Dad rides on my sister's head every day to take me to school, because my sister is a dynamic bicycle, and even all kinds of vehicles on the street are transformed by women. It's because women in this world can awaken as mecha girls after they grow up, while men are commanders who control them. When men and women match and form a contract, they can transform into mechas and kill together. At this moment, everyone is watching the school beauty Chung Zairu walk into the awakening room. She awakens as an A-level racing car, truly deserving of being the school beauty. If only I could awaken as an A-level commander, maybe I could win the favor of the school beauty. Just as several male classmates were discussing, Chang Zairu walked straight to me and said, Tian Chun, let's break up. We have been together for exactly ten and a half years. I know you are good to me, and I remember everything you have done for me. But Zij has come back, and he has awakened as an A-level commander. You know, I have been waiting for him for many years. My smile froze on my face instantly. Twelve years of being in love. I never thought that one day Chung Zairu would leave me. Her indifference, her lack of concern, instantly chilled my heart that wanted to save the relationship. Let's pretend we don't know each other from now on. Zij is transferring to our school. Don't let him misunderstand. This is the last sentence Chung Zyra left before leaving, but she will soon regret this decision. At this moment, under the guidance of teacher Xia Ling, I walked into the awakening room. Talent detection completed. Congratulations on awakening as an SSS level commander. The biological energy conversion rate is 100%, and you can contract an unlimited number of mechas at the same time. You can even forcibly log into uncontracted mechas, turning any mecha into a puppet controlled by your mental power. This talent is definitely a strange contract. In theory, a commander can only contract with one machine girl, but I can contract with unlimited ones. Just imagine, if I lead a team of machine girl squads on the battlefield, directly land on the enemy's independent mecha without a commander, and then launch a joint attack from inside and outside, catching the enemy off guard. Wouldn't that be perfect? When the awakening chamber opened, I saw teacher Xia Ling standing beside me, her eyes red with excitement. Tian Chun. Would you like to contract with me? Teacher is an S-Class racing car, the bursting Sky B, with a 100% brand new condition. No one has ever test driven it, not even me. I even take taxis when going out to avoid any wear and tear on the car body. Teacher Xia Ling is 22 years old this year. She just graduated from the Mecha Graduate School and came to teach at the school. With a well-proportioned figure and strong combat power, she quickly became the goddess teacher of the Mecha Academy. Teacher Xia is not ungrateful. She took the initiative to confess first. That's an SSS level commander. The square was filled with cheers and excitement. And countless people were waiting for my answer. Teacher Xia. I'm willing. I agree to make a contract with you. I slowly stood up from the awakening cabin and looked at teacher Xia Ling in front of me with a smile on her lips. At the same time, the news of my awakening as an SSS level commander spread throughout the entire Mecha Academy. What? You said Tianchen awakened as an SSS level. And upon hearing the news from her good sister. Cheng Zairu's mentality exploded, and she fell heavily onto the chair. On the other side, in the principal's office, a teacher barged in without even knocking on the door. Principal, something big has happened. Our school has awakened an SSS level commander. How many times have I told you? Can you please calm down a bit? What? SSS level commander? What's wrong with that? The calm principal suddenly became restless, stood up from the chair with a crash, and said he wanted to meet this good student. No, principal. That woman Xia Ling, she awakened a student to become an SSS level commander. They are about to form a contract soon. What? Hurry to the awakening room. The principal followed the teacher and hurriedly rushed out of the principal's office. Tian Chun, let me ask you one last time. Do you really agree to sign a contract with me? You will be at a disadvantage if you contract with me. I am four years older than you in age. And you are an SSS level commander in strength. While I am just an S level mecha. Teacher Xia Ling bit her lip. Her voice choked up. Teacher Xia, age has never been a problem for me. You are the most popular goddess in our Mecha Academy. While I am just a poor boy with nothing, it's me who is reaching for the stars. In addition, there are no waste mechas, only waste commanders. You don't need to care too much about your rank. Hearing my words, Xia Ling's last hesitation in her heart also disappeared quietly. With a crackling sound, a yellow racing car appeared in front of me. The streamlined body flickered with a faint yellow fluorescence. There were nine energy nozzles at the rear of the car. It was indeed a top-level S-Class racing car. Without hesitation, I opened the car door and sat in the car. A transparent panel appeared in front of me. Name, Xia Ling. Comprehensive rating, S-Class Explosive B. Applicable energy sources, nuclear energy, solar energy, fuel energy, mecha material, ceramic alloy metal body. Contractual relationship, not contracted. Condition, 100% brand new. 
Looking at this dashboard, my heart is moved. How could I let such a perfect race car slip away? Tianchen and Xiaoling are about to form a contract. The resonance system is successfully connected. The neural system is successfully connected. And the kinetic energy system is successfully matched. After the contract is completed, teacher Xiaoling will transform back into human form. With an uncontrollable excitement on her face, she sweetly calls me husband. And for a moment, I feel like I'm walking on clouds, not grounded at all. No need for dowry. No need for a house or a car. No need to look at how much I earn per month. I have married a beautiful wife who comes with a top-level race car. Suddenly, the door of the awakening room is slammed open. Xiaoling, come out. Dare to form a contract with Tianchen and see what happens. Tianchen, you still have a bright future. Your contract partner shouldn't just be an S-class race car. You should contract with a fighter jet in the sky, or an aircraft carrier in the sea. The principal Jiang Hai pounded the door hard while shouting loudly, afraid that I would make a contract with Xiaoling when my mind was hot. This is the only SSS level commander in their mecha academy. It can't be ruined like this. At this moment, the door was opened. Jiang Hai grabbed my arm and asked, You didn't make a contract with her, right? Tell me, you didn't. My arms felt like they were clamped by huge pliers, and I struggled hard, but I couldn't move at all. I have already signed a contract with teacher Xia. Hearing this answer, Jiang Hai's hands instantly softened. It's over. It's all over. A promising talent with unlimited future has been ruined. What a tragedy. At this moment, I lowered my head and whispered something in the principal's ear. I see. No wonder you are an SSS level commander. I won't disturb you then. Take a day off and go out to play. Just make sure to come to school on time tomorrow. The principal laughed a few times and left after saying this. Cheng Zairo hurriedly walked towards me and said, Tian Chun, I am really disappointed that you disregarded your own future and casually made a contract with someone just to stimulate me. At first, she was a little surprised when she awakened as an SSS level commander, but when she heard that I had just awakened and made a contract with teacher Xia, Cheng Zairu's regret turned into anger. They had just broken up, and I couldn't wait to find a new partner. Cheng Zairu, Xia Ling is my wife. My wife is the top S level racing driver, Bao Tianfeng, and you are just a fast A level car. What makes you think that I would use such a perfect girl to stimulate you? Are you even worthy? Cheng Zairu's face turned black, and her anger surged to the top of her head. She stared blankly at the backs of me and Xia Ling, unable to say a word. It felt like the things she had once ignored were really about to leave her. After coming out of the Mecha Academy, teacher Xia Ling was full of excitement. Tian Chun, come up quickly, I'll take you somewhere. Although I am a little confused, I still opened the car door and got in. Identity verification succeeded. Energy docking succeeded. Current state can last indefinitely. Shared perception system paired successfully. Husband, you are indeed an SSS level commander. The energy is so abundant. Theoretically, I can keep fighting, but I'm afraid my body may not be able to withstand it. It seems that I need to find you some higher level mechas. Without waiting for my answer, Bao Tianfeng stepped on the accelerator and rushed out in the blink of an eye. On the day of our wedding, we should cultivate our relationship well. Where are you taking me? I feel a strong pushback, and I can't help but be curious. The far outskirts leveling area, as the name suggests, is a place for leveling. Nowadays, the world is plagued by Warcraft, and a large number of steel-converted Warcraft roam the human world. Occasionally, there are steel Warcraft roaming in the far outskirts leveling area. Killing steel Warcraft can earn many rewards. The most common energy crystals can be used to upgrade armor and enhance the kinetic cores of the mechs. Of course, they can also be sold. Ten minutes later, we were stopped. Hello, please show your mech code. Xia Ling quickly handed the mech code to the maintenance personnel in front of her for verification. S rank explosive sky B. It's my first time entering the far outskirts leveling area. I suggest you only kill monsters on the edge of the leveling area. The further away from the edge, the higher the level of the Warcraft. After the three maintenance sisters finished explaining the precautions, their eyes couldn't help but look into the car. I rolled down the car window and nodded. Today, we are just going in to understand the situation and won't go too deep. The beautiful maintenance sister handed me a business card. Yi Qing Cheng, the captain of the cold ice team. I have heard of this Yi Qing Cheng. She seems to be the strongest machine girl in the leveling area of the outskirts. The most important thing is that she seems to have very high requirements for the commander. So she has not found a suitable commander until now. Unexpectedly, she actually gave you her personal contact information. Tian Chun, there is a chance. At this moment, the radar detection inside the racing car suddenly sounded an alarm. The presence of a magical beast has been detected in the vicinity. Please respond in time. Commander. Chen Mo looked at the radar screen, and sure enough, 
There were several red dots flashing around them. Xia Zheng performed a transformation at the first opportunity, and his racing form instantly converted into a mecha form. At the same time, the cockpit inside the racing car had all changed. The steering wheel and transmission of the racing car itself had all but disappeared, and a countertop covered with buttons of various sizes and colors appeared in front of Chun Mo. A mecha was different from a normal mecha, in that a mecha could fight on its own to a certain extent. However, when it came to releasing some skills or fighting remotely, it would require the commander to cooperate with the mecha through the established empathy system, interaction system, and so on. Top commanders can even change the outcome of a battle in the nick of time when operating various buttons. One could imagine how important this center console filled with buttons was. Chen Mo gently pressed a button, and the left arm blade of the explosive Skyfire Carp instantly popped out. And in a short moment, the sound of air being cut could even be heard. Chen Mo pressed all the buttons one by one, roughly understanding the controls. As one of the top S-Class racing cars, the biggest advantage of the explosive Skyfire Carp was that it was quite agile. Therefore, when Chen Mo was controlling it, he must pay special attention to the release of the movements, and it was very possible that he would fail because of the speed due to a very small error. Luckily, Xia Zhang would also work hard to match his maneuvers. Roar. A huge roar came from the distance. Perhaps sensing the movement from Chen Mo's side, the steel behemoth rushed towards them at a fairly fast speed. Xia Zhang looked in the direction where the red dot had moved over and assumed a fighting stance. Soon, two cheetah-like steel behemoths lunged towards Xia Zhang. The front claws popped out sharp and pointed steel blades, violently slashing towards Xia Zhen's face. If this was really scratched, it was feared that the entire head would directly become two halves, right? Xia Zhen quickly dodged to the side, and at the same time, Chen Mo manipulated the center console, and the blade popped out the moment Xia Zhen raised her arm. Put, the steel cheetah was instantly cut in half, and blood sprayed all over the ground, killed slave class cheetah, gained energy crystal asterisk 1, points 10 by 1. Kill slave level cheetah, gain energy crystal asterisk 1, 10 points asterisk 1, kill slave level cheetah, gain energy crystal asterisk 1, 10 points asterisk 1, kill slave class cheetah, gain energy crystal asterisk 1, 10 by 1 points, kill slave class cheetah, gain energy crystal asterisk 1, 10 by 1 points. After consecutively slicing several steel cheetahs into a pile of broken pieces, the remaining few cheetahs stopped at once, looked at each other, turned around and ran. They were steel behemoths but it wasn't like they were brainless, with such an obvious outcome, what was there to think about, staying one more second was death, 36 plans, walking is the best, however, Xia Zhan was experiencing the joy of killing monsters for the first time, how could he let them run away, in the blink of an eye, she sprinted behind the steel cheetah, a slash, a second kill, cool, really cool, no wonder they always tell me that in the far outskirts of the leveling area, one can experience the excitement that one can't experience in a normal peaceful life. The feeling of fighting is really addictive. Especially you. I feel like you've been providing me with a constant supply of energy. So much so that I just had such a strenuous fight. But I don't feel any lack of energy at all. Xia Zhang said to Chun Mo with gusto. The abundant energy and super high reaction speed made that seemingly dangerous fight just now incomparably easy. Xia Zing's first battle was a success. And her strong self-confidence caused her gaze to look deeper into the leveling area. Chen Mo, let's slightly move slightly deeper into the leveling area. I feel that my strength should still be able to deal with steel demon beasts that are a little higher in rank. Listening to Xia Jin's tone of eagerness, Chen Mo looked at the status of the mech and then at the level information of the magical beasts. The slave level magical beasts just now were only the lowest ranked magical beasts. They were not very strong in terms of speed, strength or all other aspects. At least with Xia Zheng's strength, they could still be easily disposed of. Anyway, their location was still located at the edge. Even if they leaned a little further in, there shouldn't be any two high-grade magical beasts, and even if they encountered a high-grade magical beast that they couldn't defeat, they could still exit in time. Then let's go and look further in. What else is there? As the words fell, Chen Mo controlled the mech and walked towards the depths of the leveling area for a while longer. Ding ding ding, detected the appearance of a warrior soldier class magical beast in the vicinity. Please respond in time. Commander, Teacher Xia. Be careful, seeing that the red dot displayed on the radar was near them, Chen Mo hurriedly reminded. However, the battlefield situation was changing rapidly. Before Chen Mao's voice even fell, a pair of sharp steel wolf claws pounced from behind Xia Zhang, sparing Xia Zhen's speed and agility. She did not react for a moment to this attack that suddenly sprang out from behind. After a short second of sluggishness, the wolf claws were about to grab onto her. Base state shield. Z, a transparent shield instantly appeared in front of Xia Zhen and the steel wolf claws viciously grabbed onto the shield. 
emitting an ear-piercing friction sound. Xia Zhang also came back to his senses at this moment, instantly turning around and kicking the Steel Wolf King's body. The blade on the tip of the foot was ruthlessly stabbed into the Steel Wolf King's body under Chen Mao's control. Put, blood instantly gushed out. The Steel Wolf's body collapsed in response. Kill Battle Soldier Grade Steel Wolf King. Gain Battle Soldier Grade Energy Crystal Asterisk 1. 100 points Asterisk 1. Don't look at the fact that only one energy crystal was obtained from two consecutive battles. The fact was that the energy contained in a battle soldier grade energy crystal was five times that of a slave grade energy crystal. And if it was taken and sold, the price would be five times that of a slave grade energy crystal. The stronger the mech, the easier it was to obtain high level energy crystals, and the easier it was to accumulate wealth. But likewise, the stronger the mech wanted to be stronger, the more advanced the equipment it needed, and the more money it required was countless. It was no wonder that the top mechs in the world usually came from big families, ordinary families. Who could afford to play with such money-consuming contraptions? Chen Mo casually sighed, and then he heard Xia Zhang's slightly trembling voice. Luckily, you just opened the base state shield in time, or else this little life of mine would probably be GG. To be honest, don't look at the battle just now that only lasted for a short dozens of seconds. If it wasn't for Chen Mo's timely opening of the base state shield that blocked off the first wave of the Iron Wolf King's attack, Xia Zheng would probably have no way to stand here and talk right now. It was also fortunate that Xia Zheng had come back to her senses in time and matched Chen Mo's attack with a fine tuning of her speed, or else she really wouldn't have been able to decapitate the Iron Wolf King so smoothly. We are now in the practice area. There are unknown risks hidden everywhere around us. Don't be lax or you might not even know how you died. Chen Mo's voice was a bit serious. Just now it really startled him. If not for his timely reaction, I'm afraid Xia Zheng would have been injured. No, I'm still too weak. Too little combat experience. When faced with an unexpected situation, it's easy to get flustered. Chen Mo was a bit chagrined. The first time he personally participated in a battle, he was not very satisfied with his performance. Teacher Xia, let's take another turn and see if we can fight again. Good. Mecha Academy. On the way back to his office, Headmaster Zheng Hai's entire body looked like he had won the jackpot, and the smile on his face never stopped. SSS Class Top Commander. Although Chen Mo was still only a first-level commander, his talent was surprisingly infinite mecha synchronization. As long as he was given time and resources, in the future, he would surely be another pillar of the country Ah, the name of their mecha academy. And even his name, Zhang Hai's name, would leave a permanent mark in this world because of Chen Mo. Perhaps one day, when Chen Mo became the treasure of the town, he would proudly say in the face of an official interview, My principal is Zhang Hai, immersed in the images imagined in his mind. Zhang Hai's entire body was a bit fluttery. Official. That's right. Official. We have to hurry up and inform the official of the news that Chen Mo is an SSS ranked commander. Such a top talent. If we don't take the time to cultivate it, it would be a loss for the country. Thinking of this, Zhang Hai hurriedly edited an email and sent it to the Imperial Capital Vigilante Force Captain. On the other hand, the Imperial Capital Maintenance Force Captain, Zhang Chen, was directly shocked at the moment when he saw that there was an SSS ranked commander amongst this year's awakened ones. One must know that among the commanders who had awakened this year, there were only a mere seven SSS rank commanders in the entire Divine Dragon Kingdom when all was counted. Unexpectedly, one of them was lurking in the place under his jurisdiction. Chen Mo. What a Chen Mo. Zhang Chen decided that no matter what, after finishing the matter at hand, he would definitely go and meet this SSS ranked commander. Just at this moment, the phone in Zhang Chen's office suddenly rang, reporting to Captain Zhang. The two prisoner mechs that escaped from the Mamba prison in the far outskirts have been tracked, and according to indications, they are now heading towards the fringe area in the far outskirts. Hearing this piece of news, Zhang Chen sat violently straight. Inform Yi Qingqing to lead the ice cold squad to pursue the prisoner mechs, and if necessary, they can be killed directly. Yes, after hanging up the phone, Zhang Chen's face, which had just been excited, instantly turned gloomy. The Mamba prison in the far suburb was incarcerated with some extremely ferocious mechs and compared to the steel demon beasts, it was these intelligent but antisocial mechs that caused more of a headache for their maintenance forces, the two prisoner mechs that broke out of prison this time, although they were not the strongest, but because of their evil deeds, I'm afraid that if they were allowed to cross the fringe area and enter society, it would cause another great disaster, let's hope that Ji Qingqing's ice cold squad would be able to subdue them, thinking of this, Zhang Chen's frown tightened, far suburb practice zone, edge zone, Chen Mo piloted the explosive sky fire carp and spent nearly two hours killing almost all of the steel demon beasts in the edge zone. Perhaps the bloody aura was too heavy. The steel demon beasts in this area subconsciously walked deeper into the leveling area. What should we do? The two of us are too strong. 
Even if a war soldier level demonic beast sees us, it won't survive for more than a minute. Why don't we continue to walk deeper? Xiaxian had already walked around the edge area for 10 minutes, not to mention the steel magical beasts, even an ant, they hadn't seen it. Indeed, the level of these magical beasts are all too low. After getting used to killing them, it feels like one slash at a time. It's really meaningless. Let's go. Walk slightly further in. If we can beat them, let's beat them. If we can't, we'll both run. After a few crushing victories, Chen Mo also gradually familiarized himself with the controls of the center console, and was familiar with releasing various skills, so much so, that he now couldn't wait to fight with even more powerful magical beasts. Just as the two of them were preparing to continue deeper into the leveling area, the radar system suddenly blared with alarms. Ding ding ding. Warning. Prisoner mecha infestation detected at 1. 800 meters. Please evacuate in time. Ding ding ding. Warning. We've detected a prisoner mech at 1. 800 meters. Please evacuate. Unlike the previous reminder. This time, as if it was very afraid of the prisoner mecha, the radar system's broadcasting sound did not stop for a long time. Chen Mo could not help but be a little curious. What is a prisoner mech? Xia Zheng thought for a moment and replied. I've heard before that in the deepest part of the far outskirts of the practice area, there is a particularly horrifying prison, and those incarcerated inside are all sorts of mechs with ferocious temperaments. Although they are humans, they are even more terrifying than magical beasts, and their malice towards humans seems to be even heavier, like they've been brainwashed with antisocial personalities. However, the official personnel guarding them are not to be underestimated in terms of strength, and at the same time, those top-tier magical beasts in the depths of the practicing area also play a role in suppressing them. So I've never heard of a situation in which the prisoner mechs would run out. After listening to Xia Zhang's words, Chen Mo also had a general knowledge about the prisoner mech. Ferocious in nature. Strong malice towards humans. What's the rank of the prisoner mech? Is it very powerful? The secret of an excellent commander, who would not be defeated in a hundred battles, was inevitably to know oneself and one's enemy. To the extent that I haven't heard of any particularly high-ranked ones, this side of the practice area is too close to the human cities. So although the prisoner mechs imprisoned on this side are violent, their ranks aren't particularly high. Then you think, can the two of us deal with it? Chen Mo hooked his lips into a smile and asked softly, What do you mean, to fight them? Xia Zing exclaimed in shock, a little disbelieving. After all, this was the first time they had entered the leveling area, and she was still more or less terrified in her heart. But Chen Mo was different. After more than two hours of killing monsters non-stop, he was now perfect in both his reaction speed and the accuracy of his skill release. Every part of the explosive Skyfire Carp was like his own body, operating with ease. It was not easy to stumble upon an opponent who wasn't very strong, but a sufficiently violent opponent. When would it be better not to go on at this time? Charge! Go! Chen Mo and Xia Zhang spoke out at the same time, and in the next second, the heaven-busting Fire Carp violently transformed into a bolt of red lightning, charging straight towards the red dot on the radar. Only. Just as the explosive Skyfire Carp was heading towards the depths of the leveling area, the Ice Cold Squad fled towards the fringe area in a frenzy. Worthy of being two star prisoner mechs, they were simply powerless. If it wasn't for the fact that a few of their mechs were running fast, they were afraid that their lives would have to be accounted for there. However, even though they had desperately run out, it was still to no avail. Seeing that the two prisoner mechs were about to catch up with them, they couldn't fight, and they couldn't run. Yi Qingcheng was even almost in despair. She herself was an S-class mecha, but because she didn't have a contracted commander, it resulted in her strength not being able to be fully utilized at all. At the moment of survival, Yi Qingcheng couldn't help but regret a little. If she wasn't so picky and had contracted the commander earlier, wouldn't the situation have been different? Wouldn't her squad members have been in such a perilous situation? Just when they were about to be caught up by the prisoner mech, just when Yi Qingcheng closed her eyes in despair. A mech that flashed with red lightning bolts sprinted towards the two prisoner mechs against their direction. Because the speed was too fast, the ground swept up a thick layer of dust, leaving a deep crack where it passed. Crap! Yi Ching Cheng, who had closed his eyes and given up struggling, was called back to his senses by a shout. The imagined pain did not happen, and the wind that whistled past his face was still lingering. What was that red lightning? It was too fast for me to see. Let's not talk about anything else. Doesn't she know that's the prisoner mech? Doesn't she know how terrifying the prisoner mech is? Not to mention the prisoner mecha. The group of slave level magical beasts around it. There must be 80 if not a 100. That's not something a single mech can kill. Should we go help her? Captain. Yi Qingqing snapped back to her senses at this moment. Her pale face looking towards the mech that rushed over. Don't go over there. Come back ah. That's a prisoner mech. Run. 
The voice was somewhat torn because it was overly frightened. But the red mech that sprinted away not only didn't run, but instead rushed towards the prisoner mech at an even faster speed. Base state shield on. Thrusters on. The explosive skyflame carp that broke through the wind instantly lit up a transparent shield around its body. Under the propulsion-assisted acceleration, the speed of the body could no longer be seen with the naked eye. The prisoner mecha faced the red lightning that was sprinting towards it and instantly turned on long-range shooting. The bullets came with a bursting effect, and under the thick firelight, they pounced towards the explosive skyflame carp. Shen Mo manipulated the thrusters, bypassing the rows of bullets, crossing over the walls surrounded by the slave-level magical beasts, and heading straight for the prisoner mecha. The ultra-fast flying speed gave the explosive skyfire carp a super-strong inertia, and with the help of the inertia, the blade of the right arm of the explosive skyfire carp violently popped out, slashing straight through the neck of the prisoner mecha. Explosive sky slash. In an instant, the prisoner mecha's steel head flew high into the air and finally slammed hard into the ground. The neck was like a broken faucet, and blood soared wildly. The crowd of ice-cold squad, who had already run to the safe zone, had their jaws dropped the instant they saw the scene. Yi Ching Chang, stimulated by the fresh blood, burst out. All members go up to support. Throttle the buggy to the bottom. Charge. The moment they received the order, the fighting spirit of the ice cold squad was also instantly energized. The scene just now where Chin Mo chopped off the head of the prisoner's mecha also deeply stunned their pride. They were a maintenance force. How could they stand behind the people? Fuck him. On the other side, after maneuvering the explosive skyfire carp to decapitate one of the prisoner mechs, Chen Mo manipulated his thrusters and quickly left the attack range of another prisoner mech in the blink of an eye. This quick, unhesitating face-to-face -face type of combat could only be used at most once for a two-star prisoner mecha. Otherwise, once the other prisoner mech reacted, then Chen Mo would be like a fish on a chopping board, personally delivering himself to the prisoner mech's mouth. Seeing his companion's head being cut off with his own eyes, the other prisoner mech was completely enraged. Energy shells the size of a child's fist were fired one after another towards Chen Mo. The thrusters behind the explosive skyfire carp did not stop for a second, and under Chen Mo's control, it delicately dodged all the energy shells. Right at this moment, the minion-class steel demon beasts in the periphery also finally came back to their senses and surrounded towards the explosive skyfire carp. Under the internal and external attack, Chen Mo directly turned the thrusters to maximum, and the wings behind the explosive skyfire carp flapped slightly, flying directly above the head of the prisoner mecha. A group of steel magical beasts surrounded the prisoner mech in three layers. The prisoner mech hooked its lips and smiled contemptuously. With such a tight defense, I'm afraid that the Bakudan fire carp's best skill of close combat would no longer be useful. How could Chen Mo not know what the prisoner mecha had in mind? Who told you that I only know close combat? As the words fell, in the prisoner mecha's surprised gaze, behind the explosive sky fire carp, two turrets slowly rose. Quantum pursuit cannon. Lock on. Bursting the sky fire carp. Dozens of energy shells were sent out from the turrets, heading straight for the prisoner mech. Boom. Boom boom. The energy from the bursting of the cannonballs swept up layers of dust from the ground. After a few loud bangs, the dust slowly dispersed, and the prisoner mecha in the middle of the steel giants had completely become a pile of debris. These steel giants were not only its strongest defense, but also a cage that would kill it. Kill 2 star prisoner mech. Reward, warp engine fragment asterisk 2. Increase points by 100 asterisk 1. Kill 2 star prisoner mech. Reward, curvature engine fragment asterisk 2. Increase points by 100 by 1. Note, 10 curvature engine fragments can synthesize a curvature engine. Looking at the rewards obtained from killing the prisoner mecha, Chen Mo was quite satisfied. Although there were no crystals, currently for Chen Mo, these equipment that he had no way to buy were more useful than crystals. After putting away the rewards, Chen Mo's line of sight looked towards the swarm of steel giants on the ground. Since we've already gone on a killing spree, let's give you all a good time at once. The quantum pursuit cannon was unleashed once again, and dozens of bull-sized energy cannons as if they had a purpose, exploded with pinpoint accuracy on the heads of all the magical beasts. For a time, flames shot out in all directions, and huge mushroom clouds rose into the air. As the last demonic beast was decapitated, the members of the chill squad finally arrived at the scene. Unfortunately, the yellow flowers had already gotten cold. What did I just see? Two prisoner mechs, 180 steel behemoths, and they went up in smoke in a matter of moments? No, the way he did it, it looks like we just ran as hard as we could, as if we were fools. Ha! You'd be a fool if you were chased by a prisoner mecha and then didn't run. Too strong. Really too strong. An S-class mech is as terrifying as this after contracting a commander? Boss, you should also hurry up and contract a commander. Your strength shouldn't be constrained to this level. But, should I say no? 
What grade is this commander? I'm afraid that it's not an ordinary commander if he can make an S-class mecha exert such strength. If only I could be contracted by him. I'm really envious. Listening to the team members discussing, Yi Qin Cheng, who had just covered her teammate's escape and brushed shoulders with the god of death, had her heart beating like a drum at this moment. It was because she had experienced the feeling of powerlessness in the face of the prisoner mecha that she knew even more about how powerful this mecha really was. It was because she herself was an S-class mech, so she knew even more about how awesome the commander controlling the mech really was. After three years of awakening the S-class battle armor, although Yi Qingcheng didn't know what kind of commander she was ultimately looking for, she knew very well that none of the commanders she had encountered could be as good as her eyes. And now, her heart was thumping uncontrollably. A heart like an iceberg began to melt at this moment. She submitted to this young commander from the bottom of her heart, and she was willing to sacrifice her life for such a commander. But, everything was too late. Such an excellent commander, unexpectedly, had already contracted, and it was still the same S-class chariot as her. Her greatest advantage, in front of him, was actually not worth mentioning. The restless heart gradually calmed down, and the blood that filled her heart became cold in an instant. Since you can't have it, you might as well not start thoughts that shouldn't be started right now. Yi Qingcheng turned back, instantly turned into a chariot form and headed straight to the base, reporting to the first captain. The two prisoner mechs that escaped from Mamba prison have been wiped out, and there are no casualties in the ice-cold squad. After returning to the base, Yi Qingcheng was the first to report the battle situation to Zhang Chen. What, both of the prisoner mechs have been wiped out? Your squad didn't have a single casualty? Obviously, such a result was out of Zhang Chen's expectation. Although those two prisoner mechs were only two stars, their strength was relatively higher than theoretically because of their own ferocity and violence. As for Yi Qingcheng, as the only S-class battle armor, but she had yet to make a contract, with her strength, it was simply impossible for her to annihilate the two prisoner mechs at the same time, and even protect her teammates from harm. Right, a very powerful commander came to the far suburb practice area today, bringing his S-class mechs to kill monsters, and both prisoner mechs were all killed by him alone, and our squad didn't participate in the battle. Although this was a bit difficult to say, Yi Qingcheng still gave an honest account of everything. A very powerful commander? What's his name? Zhang Chen's mind stirred, and the face of a young man vaguely surfaced under his heart, strong enough to directly annihilate two prisoner mechs and appear in the far outskirts of the practice area. Could it be that it was him? His name is Chen Mo. He contracted an S-class battle armor explosive heavenly fire carp. Exactly what commander rank is unclear for now, but he is very strong, at least S-class or above. Hearing Yi Qingqing's report, Zhang Chen could not help but hook his lips in a smile. Good brat, he hadn't even had the time to meet him yet, but he didn't expect that he had already barged himself within their official line of sight. I know him, he's an SSS ranked commander. Qing Cheng, you haven't contracted a commander for so many years. I know it's because you have a high vision, but I still want to tell you that this Chun Mo must not be missed, although this son is not very old. He is definitely a potential stock. He was just indentured today, and he was able to annihilate two prisoner mechs in his first battle, so you can imagine his future achievements, which are unlimited. Qing Cheng, you must seize the opportunity. Zhang Chen persuaded Yi Qing Cheng bitterly. Yi Qing Cheng was about the same age as her daughter, and he had always treated Yi Qing Cheng as his daughter. At this time, when he came across such an excellent commander, he really did not want Yi Qingqing to miss out. Great captain. It's too late. He already has a contracted mech. And it's not inferior to me at all. I don't have a chance. Hearing Yi Qingqing's despondent voice, Zhang Chen snorted out a laugh. As a person from the past, he certainly knew that Yi Qingqing was moved. I'll whisper a secret to you. Chen Mo's commander's talent is infinite mecha synchronization. He can contract countless mechs. In that case, do you still think you don't have a chance? Hearing Zhang Chen's words, Yi Qingqing froze in place at that moment. It did not slow down for a long time. Far suburb leveling area. After Yi Qingcheng left the combat area, the members of the chill squad followed closely behind and followed. And after Chen Mo and Xia Zhen completely killed the last steel beast, the battle came to an end. Chen Mo jumped down from the explosive skyfire carp, and Xia Zheng instantly transformed into her human form. Looking at the metal corpses all over the ground, Chen Mo let out a long breath. This battle was more intense than the two hours we just spent. It's been a long time since I had such an exciting and hot-blooded feeling. Regardless of handheld games, computer games, or 3D games in VR, there was absolutely no way to compare it to an immersive and real battle, especially when fighting face-to-face -face with a powerful enemy. That hot-blooded rush was something that consoles couldn't do. After continuously fighting in the leveling area for more than two hours, Xia Zhang's physical strength was indeed greatly depleted. However, 
Having such a brilliant battle record after entering the leveling area for the first time, although she was a little more tired, her eyes shone with a bright light. Hubby, you're so great, we didn't miss a beat in the battle just now. Quantum Pursuit Cannon, it's really awesome. The taste of battle, so good. The air was filled with a strong odor of blood. Looking at Xia Zhang's sweat-soaked shirt, Chen Emo suddenly felt his throat a little dry. That's satisfying? Then can we skip the cave-in tonight? Chen Mu hooked his lips in a smile, his eyes filled with innuendo. Chen Emo, don't you hate it? How can you say that kind of thing at a time like this? Xia Zing did not expect Chen Emo to say such things. For a moment her small face blushed and gouged out Chen Emo. Chen Emo was tickled by Xia Zhang's blushing and delicate appearance, and couldn't help but pull the person into his arms with one hand. Don't! Looking at the mess all over the place, Xia Zhang blocked Chen Mo's probing lips with one hand. This place, there was really no ambiguous atmosphere at all. There's no rush. There's plenty of time at night. Chen Emo let go of Xia Zhang and turned his head to look at the large swathes of metal corpses, and in the commander's warehouse panel, all the rewards obtained had already been categorized and organized. In just about three hours of fighting, they had obtained a sizable amount of energy crystals, engine fragments, and a large amount of points. Today's harvest far exceeded Chen Mo's expectations. It could be said that this trip to the far suburban leveling area experience was not a wasted trip. Let's go. Go back. I'm almost exhausted. You have to treat me well at night. Saying that, Xia Zhang directly transformed into a racing car form, carrying Chen Mo, and rushed out of the far suburb leveling area in a puff of smoke. Only, when passing by the maintenance space in the fringe area, a pair of showy eyes stared tightly at the explosive skyfire carp until the exhaust could no longer be seen. And only then did she slowly retract her eyes. Chen Mo, let's meet again. Soon, a racing car that flashed with red electric light slowly drove into an upscale neighborhood. Buzz. As the sound of the engine faded, Xia Zing arrived home. Ever since Xia Zing joined the workforce, she had moved out of her home by herself, renting a suite in the Lulin neighborhood and settling down. Only, after Chen Mo opened the car door and got out, Xia Zing turned into her human form. And for a moment, her legs went weak and she almost fell down. On the way back, Chen Mo did not let Xia Zing drive freely. Instead, he manually drove and ran for half an hour. Although Xia Zing's neurons were not very sensitive when she transformed into a racing form, it was more or less a bit of an effect on her. So much so that, the moment she transformed, she actually somewhat failed to stand still. Are you alright? Fortunately, Chen Mo was standing right behind her, and pulled her arm to stabilize her. Without waiting for Xia Zhang to speak, Chen Mo directly grabbed her waist and hugged her horizontally. The first time he came to Xia Zhang's home, Chen Mo's mood was indescribably excited. The faint fragrance of a young girl filled the entire room, and the moment Chen Mo came in the entire person was like clockwork. After an afternoon of fighting, Chen Mo sat in the mech and took charge of the controls, refreshed, but Xia Zhang was not able to do so. After more than three consecutive hours of high-powered sparring, her entire body was about to fall apart. She was now in dire need of a good soak, soothing and relieving her stiff body, and by the way, washing away the sticky sweat stains on her body. Chen Mo, you sit down for a while, I'm going to take a bath. After saying that, Xia Mao directly dug into the bathroom. However, Chen Mo did not stay idle. Today was at least the day of their contract, that is, the day of their marriage. Even if it was shabby, it had to be at least a bit ceremonial ah. Chen Mo quickly used his cell phone to place an order for a bouquet of roses, then opened the refrigerator and took some ingredients out. To capture a woman's heart, you must first capture her stomach. Half an hour later, Xia Zhang wore a semi-transparent red lace nightgown and walked out of the bathroom. Under the red nightgown, her skin appeared unusually fair, her slender waist, a handful, and her already 168 height. From a distance, the proportion looked nearly perfect. Chen Mo turned his head back and instantly froze in place. For a time, the eyes were straight. Xia Zhang smelled the fragrance that came to her face, and saw the candlelight dinner on the table that Chen Mo had prepared with all his heart, as well as the bouquet of 99 roses, and her heart, which was already throbbing, was even more wildly beating. This was the first time, other than mom, that a man had gone to the trouble of cooking a meal for her. That was, well, romantic, right? Please sit down, my beautiful bride. Chen Mo returned to his senses. Gently pulling back the chair and extending his hand towards Xia Zhang, the wine was not drunk. The long dark night firelight moved. Night, deep. The next day, the sun rose. After getting up, Chen Mei took a shower refreshed, taking advantage of Xia Zhang's shower, using the ingredients in the refrigerator, simply cooked a bowl of egg noodles. The cell phone, which had just been fully charged, ding dong dong ding dong 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 dong, 
Chen Mo was a bit distracted by the noise, and casually grabbed the phone and opened the interface. Oh, on the Mecca Academy's campus forum, a post titled Chen Mo roll out and accept the challenge, S post was pushed up to the first place. Countless students who knew Chen Mo, one by one, at him. Chen Mo's face sunk slightly, a challenge was a challenge. Was there a need to make such a big deal out of it? The matter of placing a letter of war, making it known to everyone, would not end well in the end. It wasn't that he felt he would lose, but he felt that if he won too quickly, the other party would lose face. There is no way. He is just so kind. Chen Mei clicked on the post. What surprised him was that the person who gave the letter of war was not someone else. It was his ex-girlfriend Lin Yuro, S current commander, Wang Jia. Chen Mo could not help but snort. If he was a C rank commander, he would probably kneel down and beg Wang Jia to spare him. If he was a B rank commander, he would probably make some good connections and try to avoid this battle. If he was an A rank commander, he might use his best efforts to have an even match with Wang Jia. But, he was an SSS ranked commander. This battle was destined to be a highly dramatic and crushing battle. An A class commander? In Chen Mo's eyes, it was nothing more than an ant that could be crushed to death with a gentle squeeze. If Wang Zhu wanted to step on his SSS ranked commander's name to get to the top, then he had succeeded, and he had already become famous in the school the moment he had placed the battle order. However, if Wang Zhu wanted to stand up for Lin Yuro and teach him, his ex-boyfriend, then he had the wrong idea. Chen Mo would let him know what it meant to crush. He was destined to pay a terrible price for his choices. While Chen Mordor was flipping off the clouds, Zhang Chen, the first captain of the maintenance unit, was listening to Yi Qingcheng, the captain of the chill squad, about the restoration report of the battle yesterday. Yi Qingcheng had stayed up all night last night, organizing all of the battle data of the exploding sky fire carp. At this moment, she slid the data and introduced it to Zhang Chen one by one. We collected some of the corpses of the minion class magical beasts, battle soldier class magical beasts, and the two prisoner mechs yesterday, and after the data reduction, we judged that the exploding sky flame carp's firepower should have been above 5, 0, 0, 0, and its combined combat power should have been around 15, 0, 0, 0. What? Zhang Chen stood up violently, snatching the data report that Yi Qingcheng had compiled. 15,000. A four star mecha can't even reach such a high combined combat power, right? The explosive sky fire carp is only a first class mecha. How should it not have such a strong combat power, ah? Uh? Yi Qingcheng said somewhat helplessly, I don't believe it either, so I did the math all night yesterday, but no matter how many times I did the math, it's always 15,000 over and over again, excluding all the impossible cases, the rest, no matter how unbelievable, is the truth, big captain, this figure shouldn't be wrong, Yi Qingcheng had been shaken up for the entire night because she had already been shocked, so much so that she was now a bit numb, but although Zhang Chen had thought that SSS class commanders were terrifying, he hadn't imagined that it would be as terrifying as this. He thought that Chen Mo drove a one-star mech and did nothing more than try his best to maneuver around and use tactics to gain victory. But looking at the video Yi Qingcheng had submitted, there was no tactics there. It was purely a reckless fighting mode. Without saying anything, it was just dry. A bombardment. And they were all directly blown to pieces. Qing Cheng, the national battle will start next month. Last year you only took a completely unranked place in the single-player tournament because you didn't have a contract commander. If, this year, you want to take a better ranking, Chen Mo will be your best choice. Under his transformation, I'm afraid that you will not only be able to bring your true strength into play, but you will even be able to have a considerable increase. Think about it, in the afternoon. Let's go to the Mecha Academy and meet Chen Mo for a while to see what he has in mind. Zhang Chen's words directly spoke into Yi Qingcheng's heart. Yi Qingcheng hurriedly nodded. 2.30 in the afternoon. Chen Mo and Xia Zhang arrived at school on time. Chen Mo went back to the classroom while Xia Zhang went back to the office. In the classroom, Wang Zhu was leaning on Lin Yuro's shoulder, dazed and asleep. Lin Yuro, on the other hand, was looking at the side of his face with a gentle expression. Her small face red. The moment Chen Mo entered the classroom, he saw this scene. For a moment, Chen Mu was a bit stunned. This was a scenery that Chen Mo had never seen before. In these 12 years, Chen Mo thought that Lin Yuro was straightforward and big-headed, and would never have this blushing shy look. Originally, that was just what he thought. Only, if it was before, Chen Mo might still be sour and jealous in his heart. But yesterday, repairing the mech for the whole night, his heart had long been filled with Xia Zhang, and the love that ran in both directions made him completely understand. What is love? So much so that, seeing this scene, Chen Mo only felt, bitchy, and at this time, Lin Yuro looked. Wang Zhe's side face was mesmerized, and did not even notice that Chen Mo had arrived in the classroom. Her eyes were a little lost. It had been 12 years. 
Since she was six years old when Wang Zhe followed his family out of the country, she had never seen him again. To be honest, the doll's marriage that the two of them had set in jest by pulling the hook back then had long since changed its flavor after so many years, and Wang Zhe's appearance was also very different from what Lin Yuro remembered. He still had that smart look, but the sparkle in his eyes from time to time always made her feel a little uncomfortable. Unlike Chen Mo, who was always full of her and always sweet. Wait, Chen Mo? How could she think of Chen Mo? Chen Mo is just the existence she found to replace Wang Zhe after he left the country. Now the main owner is back. There is still in Chen Mo what matter ah? It's just a little strange. In the past, no matter how much she said, Chen Mo could always coax her back on the same day, so that her temper would never last the night. But from yesterday to today, Chen Mo really didn't say a word to her. Could it be that Chen Mo was really angry? He had never been angry with himself. Besides, it wasn't like he didn't know that he had Wang Jia in his heart. Even if we can't be a couple, we can still be friends. It's so petty. Seeing Chen Mo's arrival, the students in the classroom instantly began to raise a ruckus. The post on the campus forum, after a morning of fermentation, had long been circulating throughout the campus. It was the first time the school had awakened an SSS-ranked commander, and they wanted to see just how powerful a top commander could be. Therefore, after Wang Zhe placed his battle invitation, all the teachers and students of the entire school paid attention to this matter, and the heat grew higher and higher. The uproar in the classroom grew louder and louder, and Wang Zhe jolted out of his sleep, and the moment he opened his eyes, he saw Chen Mo, who was standing at the door of the classroom. Chen Mo, I thought you were scared and didn't dare to come to school. After hiding for a morning, you finally given up to show your face? With a clatter, Wang Zhe stood up and the chair behind him fell to the ground in response. He had been waiting for Chen Mo's appearance since he posted on the campus forum this morning, and as a result, he hadn't waited until now, not steaming buns to fight. He was determined to give Chen Mo a little taste of bitterness today, letting him know that Lin Yuro's choice was not wrong. Chen Mo rubbed his ears, he had seen those who were looking for death, he had not seen those who rushed up and begged for death. How could a mere mole cricket dare to provoke a god? If you want to fight, just fight. Where is all this nonsense? Just as Chen Mo was about to open his mouth, a cold voice sounded outside the door. Chen Mo? Yi Ching Chang? What was she doing in their school if she wasn't staying properly in the distant suburban leveling area? Wang Zhu was also stunned when he looked at the woman beside Chen Mo. Chen Mo? This guy, who didn't dare to accept the challenge himself, even let a woman come out to back him up? However, it should be said not to say. This woman is really good looking, much better looking than Lin Yuro. How come there are so many beautiful women around this guy? Wang Zhu was so jealous that he couldn't wait to kill Chen Mo by a thousand cuts right now. Okay, don't look. How to fight, where to fight, you decide. Chen Mo took a slight step forward and blocked in front of Yi Ching Cheng, a big old man. Why would he need a woman to stand up for him? And Lin Yuro, who was standing behind Wang Zhu, was even more astonished at this moment. Didn't Chen Mo contract with MS? Xia Zhang yesterday? Then who was this woman? What was their relationship? Can't it be that yesterday, Chen Mo was really looking for MS? Xia to act out a play with him in order to piss himself off? Otherwise, why was there a change of people around him today? Ha, man. Lin Yuro thought she had figured everything out. And in her heart, she despised Chen Mo even more. Mecha Battle Arena. Go. Wang Zhe said and walked towards the door. Chen Mo rolled his eyes and followed and walked out as well. Plaza. The students who got the first-hand news had already occupied the position with the best view on the mech battlefield. The students who arrived late could only squeeze at the very back of the crowd, patting their feet and poking their heads in as far forward as possible. Make way. Make way. I also want to see which warrior dares to challenge the SSS-ranked commander. I heard that yesterday the school beauty Lin Yuro broke up with Chen Mo because of this one called Wang Zhe. One mouthful of Zhe. I'm sick of hearing it. Crap. Chen Mo hasn't come to clean him up yet. But he sent himself to the door? If I were Chen Mo, I would have hammered him to death. The hatred of taking his wife, we don't share the same fate. Forget it, Lin Yuro is more beautiful than MS. Xia, that's not the same weight class. Why? I thought he was so awesome. But it turns out he's only an A-class commander? Is he alright? Rising and falling murmurs resounded in the square. And after a long time, the figures of Wang Zhao and Chen Mo slowly walked towards the mecha battle arena. No! What are you doing in our school? Did the far suburb practice area side give you a vacation today? Chen Mo whispered and bit his ear with Yi Ching Chung. Well, vacation. Looking for you to play? Just happened to see you being challenged. Thought I'd back you up. Yi Ching Chung had little expression on her face, and the words she said were also hard. Worthy of being the captain of the ice cold squad. Really cold. But I already have a contracted mech. Haven't you seen it? Chen Mo spread his hands, as if helpless. 
and shrugged his shoulders, don't act out, I know your commander talent, you can contract countless mechs, this move of yours is useless to me, Chen Mo froze, he hadn't really thought that Yi Qingcheng would be able to find out about his commander talent, the lie was torn apart on the spot, Chen Mo was a little embarrassed for a moment, I can make you a temporary contract, if you are satisfied with my performance, can you be my contracted commander? Perhaps it was because he had been the squad leader of a maintenance unit for several years. Yi Qingcheng did not beat around the bush in his speech, and was straightforward with any claims he had. Instead, it made Chen Emo look at it in a high light. This, I have to talk to Xia Zhang before deciding. After all, it was only yesterday that the newlyweds caved in on their wedding night, and Chen Emo is not the kind of person who lifts his pants and disowns them. In ancient times, marrying a concubine still had to be discussed with the main wife. He couldn't just agree to Yi Qingcheng directly. Otherwise, it would be a bit too disrespectful to Xia Zhang. Yo, I didn't see that you were still a wife's wife. Listening to Yi Qingcheng's flirting, Chen Mo did not feel ashamed, but instead felt quite honorable. Top commanders were never afraid of their wives. That was called respecting their wives. After everyone stood still on the mecha battlefield, Wang Jia said in a loud voice, Let's not engage in the two out of three games thing. Let's just fight. If you guys lose, kneel down and kowtow to you Ro and I. Hearing Wang Jia's words, Chen Mo wanted to laugh. How did he dare to say such words to him when he was just an A-class commander? He really thought of himself as a scallion. How bullish and boisterous was he? Those few slave-level magical beasts in the practicing area yesterday would probably be able to get them killed easily. Right? Really speechless. Don't. Let's sign a life and death contract. Contract. There is no win or lose. Only life and death. Yi Qingcheng spat disdainfully. After three years in the far outskirts of the leveling area, Yi Qingcheng had seen life and death too many times. The situation on the battlefield changed rapidly, and in the face of the steel wraiths, it was very likely that because of your momentary sanctimoniousness, there would be irreversible consequences. The wraiths would not stop harming you because you raised a white flag and surrendered. Therefore, in Yi Qingqing's world, enemies, only when they were dead through and through, would not be a threat to her. There was no such thing as victory or defeat, only life and death. Only, Yi Qingqing overlooked that this was not a battlefield, and she was not facing a steel demonic beast, but a group of students who didn't even know much about what war was. So much so that, when she uttered these words, the square that had been abuzz with people a second before, instantly quieted down. Wang Jia's brows furrowed even more fiercely. What exactly was this woman's origin? Why was she like a bandit? And the life and death contract, playing with life? Ching Cheng, don't fool around. Just at this moment, a majestic voice came from the crowd. Chen Mo turned his head to look, an imposing man of nearly 1 meter 9, accompanied by headmaster Zhang Hai, was striding towards them, yes, senior captain, the moment she heard the voice, Yi Qingqing turned around with a swish and saluted towards the man, first captain, although Chen Mo did not recognize Zhang Chen, she knew through Yi Qingqing's address that this was her senior officer, with a higher position than her, our enemies are magical beasts, not these unarmed children, be gentle when you strike in a while, don't really injure them, Zhang Chen actually followed Yi Qingqing to the school, only that he first went to meet the principal and explained the purpose of his trip, it was only when he was inquiring about Chen Mo's news that he accidentally learned that Chen Mo had been challenged, which was why he rushed over with the principal, unexpectedly, just after coming over, he heard Yi Qingqing's outrageous statement, Zhang Chen's eyes glanced a few times towards Chen Mo, and his heart was satisfied, a talented, well-built, SSS-ranked commander, simply impeccable, yes, Yi Qingqing saluted again, then turned to Wang Jia, a battle to determine the winner, come on, as the words fell, Yi Qingqing directly transformed into an S-class racing ice phoenix, the ice blue color of the entire body was sacred and solemn, the blue headlights were like a divine eye looking down on the living world, and the body was surrounded by a blue mist, like the gusts of ice mist emanating from the land of extreme cold, the moment the ice phoenix appeared, Chen Mo felt that the temperature around him dropped a few degrees, it was another S-class top racing car, yet it was completely different from Xia Zhang's explosive sky armor. For a moment, all the students present who were watching the scene were so surprised that their mouths couldn't even close, and the people were crowded, itching to get to the center of the field and take a closer look. Wang Jia on the opposite side of the battlefield, dead duck mouth hard, until now refused to say a soft word. Humph, it's not just S-class racing, let's see how I'll trample you under my feet. In an instant, Lin Yuro also transformed into a pink and blue gradient racing car. Without saying anything, Wang Jia directly pulled open the car door and sat in. Chen Mo was stunned by Yi Qingqing's racing form for a moment, but in the next second, he came back to his senses, pulled open the car door, and sat in. The moment he sat down, 
Yi Qingqing's temporary contract was sent over. Chen Mo did not even look at it. No need. Forced login. In an instant, information about the S-Class racing car, Ice Phoenix, was instantly displayed in front of Chen Mo's eyes. Name, Yi Qingqing. Comprehensive rating, S-Class Ice Phoenix. Applicable energy, nuclear, solar, fuel energy, mecha material, rhenium alloy steel plus special glass. Contractual relationship, not contracted. Modifications, zero times modifications, zero times. Gemstone slot, 5, initial quality, A+. Plus. Body initial quality, A+. Plus. Condition, 99% new. Slightly worn, condition, 99% new. Slightly worn, compared to the Bakuda armor's stats, the Ice Phoenix is a bit slower than the Bakuda armor, but because of the high-end materials used in the body, it offers a bit more protection. The condition of the car is 99% new, but since it hasn't been contracted to a commander, I'm sure that the only 1% wear and tear was slightly worn out during the battle with the Iron Beast, whether from the face value of the car itself, or from the condition of the car. Chen Emo was already considered quite satisfied with Yi Qingcheng. Chen Emo suddenly remembered the first time he saw Yi Qingcheng yesterday. She was wearing the clothes of a maintenance member. Valiant, although there was no contracted commander, but just standing there, the aura came out majestically. This aura could definitely not be cultivated without a life and death battle. Unable to help it, Chen Emo was a little more curious about this frosty beauty. After Chen Emo logged onto the machine lady system, Yi Qingcheng instantly transformed into her mecha form. The same blue battle armor that emitted a light frosty mist, a 3 meter tall body that looked full of power, but without losing the golden proportion body of the mecha itself. Behind the mecha floated 3 phoenix plumes, making the overall look of the ice phoenix mecha, more than a few fairy-like feelings. At the same time, opposite the battle too, Wang Jia and Lin Yura were also ready to fight. Only, a 1 meter 9 mech looked unbeatable in front of a 3 meter tall mech. Wow, another S-class mecha, Chen Emo was also too cool. Two days in a row, two S-class mechs in a row. Is this the charm of an SSS class commander? Say, which side do you guys think will win this match? That goes without saying, an SSS ranked commander with an S ranked mecha. Do you think there's a chance of losing? That's not necessarily true. Pride breeds defeat. Maybe Chin Mo thought he had it in the bag, and underestimated Wang Zhe, and flipped out? Moreover, yesterday, Wang Zhe and Lin Yuro had already contracted. They could have been grinding for a whole day. Chen Emo and this pretty sister, maybe they can't really beat each other. Listening to the students' discussion, Principal Jiang Hai couldn't help but ask towards Zhang Chen. Captain Zhang, what do you think? They're two teams, who do you think can win? Although Jiang Hai was the headmaster of a school, he was but a small A-ranked commander, and this was the first time he had witnessed an SSS-ranked commander fight. For a moment, there was no plan in his heart. Zhang Chen smiled with hooked lips at his words, there is no other possibility. In this battle, even if Chen Emo fought Wang Zhu with his eyes closed, Wang Zhu would not have a single possibility of winning, let alone an A-class commander with an A-class mech. Even an SS-class commander with an SS-class mech would have no chance of winning against an SSS-class commander, regardless of whether it was the commander or the mech itself. Once the grade exceeded S-grade, then every other grade, the difference between them was a gap that could not be bridged by external forces. Putting aside everything else, just Chen Mo's energy core which could be supplied indefinitely to support the mechs to fight for an unlimited amount of time, would be enough to defeat 99% of the opponents. Not to mention, the other parts of him that were so strong that they were immeasurable. Hearing Zhang Chen's affirmative answer, Zhang Hai suspiciously looked towards the battle arena and said, truthfully, even though Zhang Chen said this, he actually still had a hint of expectation for Wang Jia and Lin Yuro. Of course, more than that, he was still feeling curious about Chen Mo's battle performance. In the middle of the field, both sides had already prepared for battle. Wang Zhe sat inside the mecha chamber, manipulating the center console, commanding Lin Yuro, and instantly rushed out. It was only funny that a 1 meter 9 mech was like a younger brother in front of the 3 meter ice phoenix. However, Chen Emo was not careless and also maneuvered Yi Qingcheng at the same time, charging out. After yesterday's afternoon of practical exercises, Chen Emo had already completely adapted to the feeling of driving a mech in battle, and even though he had now switched to a different mech, there was no unfamiliarity at all when it came to operating it. And Yi Qingcheng was really a bit surprised at this time. The constant supply of energy made her even start a few seconds faster than usual. And that feeling of having more than enough energy was completely gone. As if no matter how recklessly she consumed it, Chen Emo had enough energy to support her. No wonder. No wonder that yesterday's explosive heavenly flame carp, who unleashed various moves one after another, acted as if nothing was wrong, and completely lacked that feeling of being out of energy that she had. An SSS class commander, 
It really was so terrifying. Only, what shocked her was just beginning. The moment she rushed out, Ice Phoenix's gas pedal was directly pressed to the bottom. Although compared to the speed of the explosive sky armor, the speed of the Ice Phoenix was considered to be relatively slow, but when the opponent was replaced with an A-class racing car, then the speed of the Ice Phoenix was directly finished. Wang Zhe, who rushed over face to face, looked at the oncoming Ice Phoenix mech and couldn't help but tremble in his heart. The large body, the lingering aura. Wang Zhe felt as if there was a huge knife mounted on his neck, but whenever he moved, he would be directly beheaded by this large knife. The strength of an S-class mech was so powerful that it was this strong? Before this, Wang Zhe felt that S-class mechs and A-class mechs were only one grade apart, and that they were not necessarily incapable of fighting. However, at this time, Wang Zhe truly realized the terror of an S-class mech. Looking at Yi Qingqing's exposed eyes, Wang Zhe even felt that if Zhang Chen hadn't just ordered her not to fight a life and death battle, she really would have killed herself. Is this, this fucking still human? Just as Wang Zhe began to chicken out, the illusory shifting speed spirit under his seat instantly slammed down hard towards the ground. Lin Yuro was startled and instantly changed from mecha mode to racing mode. After landing, Lin Yuro didn't even last a second and instantly transformed into a human form, huffing and puffing and gasping for air. Seeing this scene, Zhang Hai's brows tightly furrowed. The reason why this situation happened was obviously because the commander had not provided enough energy to the mecha, causing the mecha nymphet to be unable to sustain the mecha mode. Logically speaking, it had only been a few minutes. The A-ranked commander's ability shouldn't just be like this ah. Uh. His mentality collapsed to the point that the energy core was affected and couldn't sustainably provide energy to the mecha nymphet. And many fighters on the battlefield before had this problem, resulting in the destruction of their machines and deaths. As a commander with such a fragile heart, it even directly affects the mech itself, which would directly lead to the mech's distrust of him. Even his closest partner doesn't trust him anymore, their contractual relationship. It's time to end. This commander, I'm afraid it will be difficult to achieve great things in the future, or at least, have no chance with the troops. Zhang Chen gently shook his head, somewhat disappointed with this challenge. He had thought that he had prepared his heart for this person to dare to cross the line of challenge, but he had never expected that it would be just a farce. Similarly, as a commander, yesterday, when Chen Muo first piloted a mech in battle, he even decimated two prisoner mechs, so one could imagine how stable his heart was. Alas, there was no harm without comparison. Zhang Hai on the side heard Zhang Chen's tirade and his old face turned red with shame. The grand captain of the peacekeeping force came to visit the school and ended up seeing such a humiliating scene. Where does this make his principal's old face go? Inside the field, the moment Lin Yuro transformed into human form, Yi Qingcheng also hurriedly stopped. Chen Emo looked at Lin Yuro who had transformed into a human form and was dumbfounded. Just this? Just this? The problem of being embarrassed for others could never be changed. And Chen Emo was now ashamed for Wang Zhe. He was the one who initiated the challenge. And he was the one who was so aggressive. But in the end, he didn't even touch her. And she directly declined? Don't be so funny. As for Wang Zhe, he was still trembling with fear from the murderous aura that Yi Qingcheng had just exuded and he couldn't even be bothered when Lin Yuro landed on her butt and fell on her back. What a waste. Lin Yuro had just felt that the energy in her body was instantly drained, completely not giving her time to land in switch forms, trying her best to transform into her racing form. She unloaded a large portion of the impact of falling from a high altitude, but because her butt landed on the ground, she was really in a bit of pain at this point and couldn't stand up. However, compared to the physical pain, the pain in her heart was even greater. Lin Yuro had quite high expectations for Wang Zhe, and she also wanted to take the opportunity to knock Chen Mo to let him know what a good commander he had found. The result, it was simply humiliating. When he placed the challenge, he couldn't wait to slaughter Chen Mo on the spot, but as a result, when he actually got on the field, he was so scared by a single look that he didn't even have any energy left. Look at him sitting on the ground, his face pale and shivering. What's the difference between him and a deserter on the battlefield, and a traitor who sold out his country? What kind of demon was she in, that she still thought he was the brother Wang Zhe back then? How can such a cowardly and unbearable person be her commander? If it wasn't in front of so many people, Lin Yuro really hated to break the contract with him on the spot. However, the love of childhood sweethearts was still there, and lifting the contract would have a great impact on both sides, which ultimately allowed Lin Yuro to bite her teeth and forget to swallow in her stomach. Lin Yuro held onto the ground, endured the sharp pain on her buttocks, and stood up tremblingly. Her eyes couldn't help but look towards Chen Mo who was sitting in the mech. If, at that time, she hadn't broken up with Chen Mo, if the person who had contracted with Chen Mo at that time was her, would things have been different? Unfortunately, this kind of face-slapping words, Lin Yuro would never say, even if she regretted it to death, 
she would never admit it. Chen Mo, this time counts as a win for you. However, you only have an S-ranked mech. If you have the ability, next time use a mech of the same rank to compete. Chen Mo rolled his eyes. Don't. I'm afraid that I'll scare your commander into peeing his pants again. What if he blackmails me then? Stay away from me and don't challenge me again. It's annoying to waste so much of my time. In an instant, the Ice Phoenix mech dissipated, and Yi Qingcheng playfully appeared beside Chen Mo. Without saying anything, they turned around, and together they walked off the stage. Zhang Chen, who was standing under the stage, watched the scene with immense relief. It was truly a perfect match between a talented man and a beautiful woman. A handsome man and a beautiful woman. Coming down from the Mecha Battle Arena, Chen Mo and Yi Qingcheng then walked together. Captain Zhang, don't you need to call out to them? Don't you have something to say to Chen Mo? John Hai said as he was about to ask Chen Mo to stay. Eh, don't don't don't, can't you see that the two of them have something to say? Have a good time being an unappealing, dislikable little old man. Otherwise, you'll spoil any good thing by flirting with it. Zhang Chen spat at Zhang Hai with a teasing smile and turned around to walk away. As long as Chen Mo is contracted with Yi Qingcheng, then it must be that wherever Yi Qingcheng is, he will be there. And at that time, he is still afraid that Chen Mo can run away? On the other side, Chen Mo and Yi Qingcheng went to find Xia Zhang. In Chen Mo's words, it's okay to have a concubine, but you have to talk to the queen mother. Gently knocking on the door of Xia Zhang's office, only to hear the sound of high heels stomping inside. Immediately afterward, the door was instantly opened. Hubby, Xia Zhang didn't expect that there was someone else beside Chen Mo. And for a moment, her face reddened. Yi Qingcheng, why did you come to our school? I came to indenture Chen Mo as my commander. Yi Qingcheng's tone was cold and icy, with little warmth, but since Xia Zing had asked her, she had answered the question. The smile on Xia Zhang's face stiffened slightly for a split second, and she hurriedly let the two of them into her office. In fact, from the moment she contracted with Chen Mo, Xia Zhang had already made her choice. At this moment, when she heard this news, she was only slightly surprised, but not disgusted. Just like she said, an SSS-ranked commander was going to indenture an aircraft carrier, and it was already an honor for them to indenture them. Moreover, Chen Mo was such a good person that she was willing to do so. In fact, when you handed Chen Mo's personal business card to him yesterday, I was already prepared that you would become his indentured mecha. It's just that, I didn't expect it to be so soon. You guys don't have to worry about me. As long as Chen Mo agrees, I am fine with it. Xia Zheng's words made Ji Qingqing's lifted heart instantly fall to the ground. She saw how well they worked together yesterday, and thought that Xia Zhang would more or less make things difficult for her, but she didn't expect that it would go so smoothly. Then, let's contract. Chen Mo looked at Yi Qingcheng, had a look at Xia Zhang, then, nodded. Good. As the words fell, Yi Qingcheng instantly transformed. Buzz. The all-blue ice phoenix appeared in front of Chen Mo in the blink of an eye, and the faint ice mist on the body of the vehicle caused the temperature of the entire office to instantly drop a few degrees. Wow. It's so pretty, so much prettier than my original. It was the first time for Xia Zheng to see Yi Qingqing's racing form, and for a moment, she was actually mesmerized, especially the three phoenix plumes fluttering in the wind at the rear of the car. It was so beautiful that people couldn't take their eyes off of it. It was worthy of being an S-class racing car like himself, with nine jet holes, a top-class racing car. Come up, what are you waiting for? Seeing Chen Mo's delay, Yi Qingqing couldn't help but urge. It had been three whole years since the awakening of the S-Class racing car, and seeing that the commander he had fallen in love with was right in front of him, but he was slow to come to the contract, Yi Qingcheng could not help but feel a little anxious in his heart. The emotion of suffering and losing is getting more and more serious. After all, if the best treasure is not in one's pocket, one is always worried that others will miss it. Coming coming, Chen Mei hurriedly opened the door and got on the car. That said, although you are also an S-Class racer, your defense is really strong. But accordingly, your speed is too slow. It can't be helped. It's too hard to find an engine that's good enough to match me. I've been awakened for three years now, and I haven't been able to find a suitable one. Moreover, it's too expensive. So after going to the battlefield, many times I used myself as a meat shield to fight hard. But whenever the enemy is faster, I can't do anything about it. Yi Qingcheng obviously knew her own performance very well, and she had also tried to make changes. But, there was really no way. Unable to help it. She was a bit discouraged. No matter. Leave your engine to me. In these two days, let's go on another trip to the far outskirts of the leveling area. Your engine. I'll give it with both hands. Consider it. Bride price money. Chen Mu hooked his lips into a smile. Remembering the few warp engine fragments in his commander's warehouse, his heart had an idea. Wasn't it just killing a few more prisoner mechs? 
this was all a small problem, with Yi Qingqing by his side, there shouldn't be any worries about finding a few two-star prisoner mechs in the district. At that time, after Yi Qingqing's speed was raised, coupled with her own ultra-high protection performance, it was simply a true war killer. Fierce batch, Chen Mei, Yi Qingcheng is about to make a contract. Sympathetic system docking successful. Nervous system matching successful. Kinetic system matching successful. Interaction system matching successful. Yi Qingcheng sent the contract to Chun Mo. And after the icy beep ended, the contract was officially completed. Right at this moment, an electronic tone that only he could hear resounded in Chen Mo's mind. Ding, congratulations on successfully contracting your second S rank or above mech. The commander's exclusive mall is officially open. Ding, congratulations on receiving a reward of 10, 000 points. Note, points can be exchanged in the mall, and can also be used for lucky draws. The unexpected joy came somewhat suddenly. Chen Mo wanted to study this commander's exclusive mall, but after thinking about it, the timing seems a bit inappropriate right now. Waiting for the night to go back and then study it properly. Click. The door of the Ice Phoenix opened from the inside, and when the contract was successful, Xia Zing had already entered the information of Chun Mo and Yi Qingqing's contract into the system. The relationship between the two was also officially legalized. Drip, 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 drip. Yi Qingcheng, who had transformed into a human form, had originally planned to take Chen Mao to a maintenance unit in a while. After all, Zheng Chen was interested in recruiting Chen Mao, who knew that her communicator, however, suddenly started ringing nonstop. As the chill squad leader of the far suburb leveling area, she naturally knew what this represented. Chen Mo, I'm going back to the far suburb practice area now. If you have time tomorrow, you can come to the far suburb practice area to look for me. And by the way, go with me to the maintenance unit. Our first captain has something to look for you. Good. Then I'll go to the far suburb leveling area tomorrow and earn your bride price money on the way. To be honest, having just contracted with Chun Mo, Yi Qingqing really didn't want to go. But her identity was here, not allowing her to fool around. After school, Chen Mo driving the exploding Skyfire carp, he returned to Xia Zheng's home. It wasn't that Chen Mo did not have a place to live. It was just that compared to Xia Zheng's, it seemed small and broken. Besides, how could a newly married couple be willing to live apart? Along the way, Chen Mo was full of the commander's exclusive mall that was just activated today. So much so that, he didn't even joke much about the colors. Xia Zhang could see that Chen Mo had something on his mind, and didn't disturb his thinking along the way. Name, Chen Mao. Age, 18. Identity, SSS Class 1 Commander. Commander's talent, unlimited mecha synchronization. Unlimited supply of all types of energy. 100% biokinetic energy conversion rate. Current skills, replacement parts, upgrade parts. C-Class combat skills, empowerment skills, none at this time. Existing accessories, quantum pursuit cannon. Warp Engine Fragment Asterisk 4, Contracted Mechanical Girl, Xia Zhang, Yi Qingqing, Points, 22,984, Chen Mo pulled up his attribute panel, and the only thing that caught his attention was the 20, 000 plus points, when the commander's talent was activated, he had been rewarded with 10, 000 points, and this time, contracted Yi Qingcheng had rewarded him with another 10, 000, and the rest should be the points that he had gained from the last time he had killed monsters with Xia Zing in the far outskirts of the leveling area. I don't know. What exactly is the use of these points? Thinking of this, Chen Mo opened the exclusive mall. Without looking, one, look, it was a shock. The screen was full of neatly arranged commodities. From engines to superconducting cannons, everything was there. The items were very comprehensive, but the prices were also very beautiful. A small F grade screw cost 10 points. A hundred points for an E-ranked one, and a thousand points for a D-ranked one. As for the finished parts, they were even more expensive. The engine of the lowest grade F would cost one million points, and that complete curvature engine, with a string of zeros floating behind it, Chen Mo looked all blurry-eyed. However, Chen Mo's own starting point was ridiculously high, and the two mechs in the contract were all S-class mechs. The price of a single screw made his brain buzz. One second, he was happy to steal joy, and the next second, he was knocked back to reality by the outrageous price. What's the use of this mall? 20,000 points in this. Simply cannot afford to buy anything ah. Really want to rely on killing monsters to get points. That have to kill to win to go? Alas, the gift of destiny has long been marked in the dark price. But unfortunately cannot afford to buy anything. Chen Mo sighed long and hard. However, then again, don't look at Chen Mo's commander mall. Every single accessory was expensive. However, this was only expensive for Chen Mo who had little capital at the moment. 
but if this was put on the market, it was simply a great bargain. Regardless of whether it was an official neck repair shop or a private repair shop, the price could be two zeros more than the points. It could be imagined that if such cheap parts were to fall into the market, it would trigger a war for resources. Perhaps, when Chen Mo killed enough monsters in the future, to the day of retirement, he can really use these parts to open a repair shop. When a small amount of points, in exchange for a large amount of wealth, think about it. Chen Mo returned to his senses and smoothly scratched in the mall to see what other panels were available. Seconds Pavilion, Luck Field. These two channels caught Chen Mo's attention. Filled with curiosity, Chen Mei clicked in. Superconducting Weapon Electromagnetic Cannon, 10001. Seconds, the moment Chen Mo clicked in, he didn't even think about directly pressing the spike button. Congratulations, you have obtained the Superconducting Weapon Electromagnetic Cannon. Go ahead and equip your mech with it. I don't know if it was because there was no one else in this mall, or if it was because Chen Mo was really quick with his hands. This superconducting electromagnetic cannon, Chen Mo actually did get it in seconds. At this moment, looking at the cannon that was placed in the warehouse panel, Chen Mo was a bit confused for a moment. Today's luck, so good? Originally, Chen Mo also thought to continue to stay in the spike pavilion for a while longer, to see if he could spike something good again. But unfortunately, the panel was not refreshed for the entire 10 minutes. Chen Mo fixed his eyes on it. Ha! The mall could only be refreshed every 24 hours which meant that the spike pavilion would only be uploaded with new things at this time tomorrow. Chen Mo simply launched the spike pavilion and clicked on the luck field again. Special card, 10,000 points, there is a possibility of a treasure hidden inside. Mental strength enhancement card, 1,000 points. Agility improvement card, 1, 0, 0, 0 points. Strength enhancement card, 1, 0, 0, 0 points. Strength enhancement card, 1, 0, 0, 0 points. In the luck field, all of them were a single card with different prices. There were 10 in total, and they were refreshed once every 24 hours. The main thing was that all of these cards were surprisingly all functional cards that boosted the commander. It was important to know that after a male awakened a commander at the age of 18, he could only try to level up as much as he could under his own grade in his lifetime. Just like Chen Mo had awakened an SSS ranked commander, he could only reach a maximum of SSS rank 9 commander, and could not go beyond SSS rank. The definition of a commander's rank was based on the commander's data which was comprehensively determined. Humans and steel beasts are different. Although humans have unlimited potential, but ordinary people can only develop up to 10%. After all, it is flesh and blood. Even after years and years of practice, we'll always reach the bottleneck. If there is no external intervention, this bottleneck is likely to be the end of a person's potential. One could imagine how important these cards in the luck field were to a commander. As long as there were enough points, there was no chance that one could actually build an F-ranked commander step by step, into an SSS ranked commander. Compared to those astronomically priced machine plus accessories, the things in the luck field were the town treasure of Chen Mo's commander exclusive mall. Looking at the only 12,000 points he had left, Chen Mo was a bit torn. Should he buy a special card or not? 10,000 points for a special card, saying that there might be treasure inside. But what if it opens up a pile of shit? Wouldn't it be a waste of 10, 000, 000 points? But in case it really opens out something good then it will take off from the same place, and it will be a big profit. But, do you really want to gamble? 10,000 points can be exchanged for 10 various ability enhancement cards. This was not a matter of probability. This was 100% obtainable. For a time, Chen Mo was somewhat at a loss as to what to choose. Punch him in the face. He's come to the field of luck, and he still cares about these 10, 000, 000 points? What's more, the probability of the special card being brushed out is extremely low. Miss this one. Don't know when the next one will be. Chen Mo clenched his teeth, and with a ruthless heart, he directly spent 10, 000, 000 points and bought the special card. Ding, congratulations, you have obtained the empowered skill Red Flame Crosscut. In an instant, Chen Mo's mind felt as if it had been hit by a heavy hammer, and the use of the Red Flame Crosscut appeared in his mind. After easing the sharp pain in his head, Chen Mo began to check his first empowerment skill. Red Flame Cross Slash, Commander can independently perform the slash with the effect of protecting his body and life. Red Flame Crucifixion, Commander can perform a slash in conjunction with a contracted mecha, increasing the power of the slash by 100%. Red Flame Crucifixion, Red Flame Crucifixion, Commander can forcibly land on an uncontracted mecha, and forcefully control the mecha to perform a slashing attack, which will have the power of the slashing attack. Seeing the introduction of the Red Flame Cross Chop, Chen Mo only felt a loud bang in his head. What the hell? What does this mean? 
Does it mean that this skill can be successfully activated regardless of the circumstances? It was only the difference between doubling the power and weakening it. If this is in a life and death situation, as long as the skill can be released, then there is a possibility of escape. What else can be said? Can be called a divine skill ah. This 10, 0, 0, 0 points. It's worth too much, because he was too excited. Chen Mo's body was even shaking with excitement. Xia Zhang felt the changes in Chen Mo's body, and a trace of an unnatural look flashed across his face. This little bastard, what was he doing in his car? Nay, Chen Mo did not know that Xia Zheng was thinking the wrong way, as he was currently immersed in the excitement of obtaining the red flame crosscut, unable to extricate himself. He couldn't wait to hurry up and empower Xia Zhang right now, to experience how powerful the empowerment skill really was. Subsequently, Chen Mo used his last 2000 points to buy a mental strength enhancement card and a speed enhancement card. Chen Mo's commander talent destined him to contract many powerful mechs, and perhaps one day on the battlefield, he would have to face the situation of controlling multiple uncontracted mechs at the same time, and all of this needed to be built on the foundation that he had strong spiritual power. When he contracted Xia Zhang, Chen Mo did not feel anything, but today, after contracting Yi Qingcheng, he clearly felt that his spiritual power was a bit weak. To harness a battle armor of S-class or above, the mental power needed was not normally strong, and this was still just two, and he already felt a bit weak, in case he stumbled upon a stronger and better battle armor in the future, and it turned out that he didn't have enough mental power to harness it, that, it would be a real joke, it would be a laughing stock, therefore, Chen Mo did not even think about it and directly bought the spiritual strength enhancement card for his first enhancement card, as for the speed boost card, it was actually Chen Mo's best choice after comparing them. In the Mecha era, commanders who wanted to utilize their strongest combat power could only fight alongside the Mecha. So other than mental strength, other skills were really too worthless to mention. Commanders usually sat inside their mechs the entire time, and even if they got into a fight, it would only be the Mecha that would get hurt. So, these enhancements were a bit of a chicken scratch. However, after the mental strength enhancement card, Chen Mo still bought a speed enhancement card. After all, when the commander was controlling the mech for battle, the smoothness of the operation was also very important. The commander's hand speed directly determined the speed of the release of the mech skills, and on the battlefield, even a minute and a second, that could determine life and death. With the purchase of the two cards, Chen Mo's body also quietly changed under a warm feeling. One fold energy boost, permanent boost, a doubling of speed boost, a permanent boost. Although Chen Mo did not have much of a concept of this doubling boost, the fact that the efficiency of accomplishing the same thing could be doubled should be a great boost. Subsequently, Chen Mei once again called up his attribute panel. Name, Chen Mo. Age, 18. Identity, SSS Class 1 Commander. Commander's Talent, Unlimited Mecha Synchronization. Unlimited Supply of All Types of Energy. 100% Biokinetic Energy Conversion Rate. Double Mental Power. Double Speed. Current Skills, Accessory Replacement. Accessory Upgrade. S Class Combat Skills. Enabling skill, red flame crosscut. Existing accessories, quantum pursuit cannon. Warp engine fragment asterisk 4. Contracted mechanical girl, Xia Zhang. Yi Qingqing contracted mechanical girl, Xia Zhang. Yi Qingqing. Points, 984. Oh, don't look at the attribute panel as if it was much different from before. But upon closer inspection, Chen Mo's combat skills directly jumped from C rank to S rank. Moreover, even in the absence of the machine maiden, Chen Mo, by himself, was considered to have a life-saving skill. That was the biggest gain from this time in the field of luck. If it wasn't for the fact that it had actually happened to him, I'm afraid that no one would believe it if they said it. While an ordinary person might exhaust their entire life without being able to raise a single rank, Chen Mo had only used 20 minutes to jump from C directly to S. It was simply outrageous. Z, just as Chen Mo had spent almost all of his points, Xia Zhang had finally arrived home as well. Chen Mo did not even have time to say much as he directly pulled Xia Zhang who had just turned into human form, and ran towards home. Look at your monkey-like behavior. Xia Zhang was a little speechless. Was this a newly married man? So anxious? Lie down. The red flame cross chop that Chun Mo had just drawn was an incomparable match to Xia Zing's mech attributes, so without thinking much at all, he was ready to equip her with it first. But Xia Zhang misunderstood all the way, purely thinking that Chun Mo wanted to do something bad. Hubby, let's either eat first. It's still light out. Chen Mo looked at Xia Zheng's expression and knew that she had misunderstood. Obviously when he saw Xia Zhen in school before, she was so cold and beautiful. How come after she contracted with him, she was like a different person? Delicate and charming. She was even better at driving than he was. I've newly acquired an empowerment skill. 
I was going to equip you with it, if you don't want it, then should I contact contact Yi Qingcheng, she should quite want it. Chen Mo looked at Xia Zhang and said with a teasing smile, wow, Chen Mo's words hadn't even fallen yet when he saw Xia Zhen lying on the modification table with a crash, I want it, if you dare to give it to Yi Qingcheng, I will, I will, Xia Zheng's small face was slightly red, wanting to say harsh words to threaten Chen Mo, but she couldn't spare a single word, Chen Mo's heart, in an instant, turned into a pool of warm water, this silly woman, cannot even spare a heavy word to say to him, Chen Mo shook his head, hooked his lips in a smile, and lowered his head to equip the red flame crosscut to Xia Zheng, S-class explosive heavenly armor, kinetic core, apocalypse, 260-1000, grade, 1 star mecha, firepower, 8, 000 in melee, 2, 000 in long range, combined battle power, 18, 000, base state shield value, 1000 plus 1000, base state shield value, 1000 plus 1000, Mech material, ceramic synthetic metal body, accessories, quantum pursuit cannon, accessories, quantum pursuit cannon, S, special skill, red flame crosscut, level 1 enhancement, modification completed Xia Zhen. the comprehensive combat power directly soared to 18,000, looking at his masterpiece, Chen Mo was incomparably satisfied, it was a step closer to being an SSS class mecha, Xia Zhen, who had personally experienced the modification, was even more excited at this time. The red flame cross chop could be considered a big move for Xia Zhang. As a good looking racing car, Xia Zheng had always felt that her offensive means were too few, and she was simply not worthy of being Chen Mo's battle armor. However, it was different now. Whether it was the quantum pursuit cannon or the red flame crosscut, it allowed Xia Zheng to explode with superb combat power. In times of battle, this was a must have technique for saving one's life. Hubby, come teach me how to play my big moves. Hearing Xia Zheng's request, without saying a word, Chen Mo taught Xia Zhen, hand in hand, the experience he had just realized in the car. Early the next morning, Chen Mo and Xia Zheng directly set off to the far outskirts of the leveling area. Yi Qingcheng was still wearing the same set of clothes of the maintenance force, diligently on duty. The moment she saw Chen Mo, she immediately walked towards them. The other members of the Ice Cold Squad also froze when they saw Chen Mo, seeing their captain, who was usually like an iceberg, reveal a sweet smile the moment they saw Chen Mo. They felt as if the sky was about to change. No, what did I miss? Why does the captain look as if she's familiar with that Chen Mo? I don't know ah. Uh. Last time when Chen Mo fought with the prisoner mecha, didn't the captain leave early? Doesn't it mean he doesn't like Chen Mo? Wrong wrong wrong. According to the gossip, the captain followed the first captain to Chen Mate's school yesterday. It seems like it was for the purpose of contracting with Chen Mate. Didn't you guys notice that the captain got stronger yesterday afternoon when we fought with the magical beasts? What? Captain contracted with Chun Mo? But doesn't Chun Mo have a contracted mecha? Then I don't know. I also heard about it. But, looking at the captain's worthless appearance, I reckon the odds are that it's true. On the other hand, Yi Qingqing's face covered in frost, instantly put on a gentle smile and asked, You guys are here? I reported to my superiors after I came back yesterday, and picked out three prisoner mechs that should have been executed a long time ago. However, are you sure that just three of them will do? After the last battle, Chen Mo had obtained pieces of the warp engine from two of the prisoner mechs, so he boldly guessed that by decapitating the two star prisoner mechs, he would be able to obtain pieces of the warp engine. Therefore, last night, Chen Mu had greeted Yi Qingcheng early and asked her to prepare in advance. Unexpectedly, things went so smoothly, and the three two star prisoner mechs were so easily prepared. Prepared. It should be fine. I'll try. As Chen Mo's words closed, Xia Zhang instantly transformed into her mecha form. Her quantum pursuit cannon was unleashed, and in the blink of an eye, she decimated the three two-star prisoner mechs. As expected, the moment the prisoner mechs died, Chun Mo heard the cold mechanical tone again. Killed two-star prisoner mecha. Reward, warp engine fragment asterisk 2. Points increase by 100 asterisk 1. Kill two-star prisoner mecha. Reward, curvature engine fragment asterisk 2. Points increased by 100 by 1. Kill two-star prisoner mech. Reward, curvature engine fragment asterisk 2. Increase points by 100 by 1. Three consecutive broadcasts, and when Chen Mo looked at the commander's warehouse again, the curvature engine fragments had already gathered enough for 10. Is it possible to synthesize curvature engine asterisk 10 into curvature engine 1 from curvature engine fragments 10? Chen Mo did not hesitate to press, yes. Ding. The curvature engine has been synthesized successfully. Please install it on your mech. Let's go. It's time to give you the promised bride price. In front of the crowd. Chen Mo held Yi Qingqing's hand and walked towards the rest area. Obviously, the blazing sun was just over their heads, 
But the members of the ice cold squad actually felt that the air was so cold that it was about to freeze when they saw this scene. Ah, the captain had actually really contracted with Chen Mao. In the lounge, Chen Mo had taken out that superconducting weapon electromagnetic cannon that he had secured yesterday at the second kill pavilion, as well as the curvature engine that he had just synthesized. Yi Qingqing's racing form, the Ice Phoenix, was at the top of the S-Class combat vehicles, but it actually had quite a few problems. The Ice Phoenix's body and frame were made of the best materials, and its defensibility was naturally nothing to speak of. But its biggest problem was in its speed and attack skills, because the body itself was quite heavy. It caused its own speed to be particularly slow, a mech with a very slow speed and little attack skills. Honestly, if it wasn't for its superb impact resistance, I'm afraid that it would have shattered into crumbs in one battle after another. Chen Mo had used the speed boost card yesterday, so much so that the speed at which he was replacing Yi Qingqing's curvature engine was quite fast. The effortless movements, the methodical process, and the ultra-high precision control that he had at his fingertips caused all the onlookers in the lounge to cry out in shock. Don't look at Chen Mo's fast speed. Accuracy is actually not to say, even a very small screw. He is serious about not leaving a single mistake. In half an hour's time, Chen Mei had completely modified the curvature engine. He then loaded the superconducting weapon electromagnetic cannon for Yi Qingcheng as well. Although the grade of the superconducting weapon electromagnetic cannon was not at the top, it was considered to be pretty good among S-class long-range weapons. Not only could it be fired remotely, it was also ranged damage. For Yi Qingcheng, this weapon was just right. Another 10 minutes passed, Chen Mo clapped his hands and looked at the ice phoenix in front of him with satisfaction. Okay, done. Name, Yi Qingcheng. Comprehensive rating, S-class ice phoenix. Applicable energy, nuclear, solar, fuel energy, mecha material, rhenium alloy steel plus special glass. Firepower, melee, 3000. Long distance, 6000. Combined battle power, 11, 000. Base state shield value, 5000. Accessories, curvature engine, S, superconducting weapon electromagnetic cannon, S, smoothly transforming the Ice Phoenix into a battle armor that could carry and fight, and was also super fast, Chen Mo was quite satisfied at this point. In fact, to be honest, when he obtained the pieces of the warp engine at the very beginning, Chen Mo was planning to give them to Xiaozhen, but Xiaozhen couldn't use them at all. Although the curvature engine was able to bring about ultra-fast speed, it also had quite high requirements for the material of the mech itself. And if the curvature engine was really mounted on the body of the explosive sky armor, it was feared that the body of the explosive sky armor would be torn apart without a few times of acceleration. And the ice phoenix is just right. Its body strength completely can be brought by the curvature engine of the kind of tearing force to cancel out. And the curvature engine was exactly the equipment that the ice phoenix needed most urgently. Everything was perfectly just right. The maintenance force, as the first line of defense for the safety of the imperial capital, the maintenance force can be described as solemn and dignified. Since the explosion of that particle collision experiment a hundred years ago, when the Wraith natural disaster descended, the Imperial Capital officials set up the maintenance force at the first time, isolating humans from the Wraiths and providing a clean land for the survival of the human race. After a hundred years of development, today's maintenance force has become quite mature. Various types of witches and commanders, in collaboration with each other, maintain the last piece of the human world whether it was combat power or resistance to strikes. In short, it was able to carry and fight, and was well-rounded. At this moment, an ice blue chariot and a fire red sports car sped all the way and finally stopped under the office building of the maintenance force. A handsome man walked down from the sports car. Immediately afterward, the two cars transformed into two well-built girls accompanied by a clicking sound. It was none other than the two girls, Chen Mo and Xia Zhang Yi Qingcheng. Captain Yi, Captain Zhang has been waiting for you for a long time. The team member standing guard at the entrance saw Yi Qingcheng and hurriedly made way for the three of them. Yi Qingcheng nodded and stepped in. It was the first time for Chen Mo and Xia Zhang to come to the office area of the maintenance force. And although it was a five-story building just like the school, the atmosphere was a hundred times more serious. The people passing by were all unsmiling, their faces taut and appalling to look at. At the same time, the office of the brigadier general of the maintenance force, a broad-shouldered, narrow-waisted man with a handsome face was sitting in front of the desk. Looking at the report that had just been submitted, Zhang Chen's brows were tightly furrowed. These steel demon beasts in the distant suburbs practicing area were getting more and more restless. Even the prisoner mechs locked up in the Mamba prison were also getting restless. The way things were going, I was afraid that it wouldn't be long before the wraiths started another round of attacks. The maintenance force had already quelled several waves of steel beasts this year, with heavy casualties, so if they carried on for a few more times, I'm afraid they really wouldn't be able to carry on. When that time came, 
The first to be hit hard would be the human gathering area near the fringe zone of the far suburban practice area. Zheng Chen's eyes looked towards the document placed by his hand. At the top of the document, there was clearly a picture of Chen Mo, with the SSS ranked commander being specially marked in red. I don't know if he can carry the heaviest flag in the shortest amount of time. Alas, as Zhang Chen looked on, he could not help but sigh heavily again. The next second, Zhang Chen's office door was not done. Zhang Chen hurriedly put away the file containing Chen Mo's information and put it aside. Enter, Senior Captain. Junior Captain Yi has brought Chen Mao with him. And also, Lieutenant Colonel Wu's son, Wu Hao, has heard that Junior Captain Yi has come to your place and has come to pay a visit as well. Let them wait outside for a while first. I'll go over later, Zhang Chen said after thinking about it. Yes, after the maintenance team left, Zhang Chen gently rubbed his eyebrows. What should come cannot be avoided. Since Chun Mo contracted Yi Qingcheng, it was time for him to deal with her emotional problems. On the other side, Yi Qingcheng slightly frowned when she heard that Zhang Chen had something to deal with and asked them to wait for a while. Taking Chen Mo and Xia Zhang with her, she had just walked downstairs when she saw Wu Hao walking towards them. Sister Qingcheng, it's been a long time. You've made me look for you. The dangling voice came, and Yi Qingcheng's face instantly changed from sunny to cloudy. Wu Hao, the son of Lieutenant Colonel Wu, a B-ranked commander who fought with the A-ranked schoolgirl bus but always wanted to indenture her. And after all, Yi Qingcheng still had to work in the army, and more or less had to be concerned about LT, Colonel Wu's face, so for such a long time, she had tried to hide as much as she could, not clashing with Wu Hao head on, but this person was like a gum that had been chewed over and over in his mouth a thousand times, disgusting and sticky. Duck, Yi Qingcheng said coldly. Eh 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 eh, Sister Qingcheng don't go off. I found my way here from the far outskirts of the leveling area. There's hard work even without merit, right? There's always time to have a meal with me, right? My father will soon be promoted to colonel. If you serve me well, I can make you no longer have to listen to that old man Zhang Chen and replace him as the captain tomorrow. How's that? Are you excited? Seeing that Yi Qingcheng was about to leave, Wu Hao directly crossed over her with a quick step and stopped in front of her. With an evil smile on his face, his mouth spoke disgusting words. I'm heartwarmed you am my ass. Yi Qingcheng was not used to him, and opened her mouth in beautiful Longwa dialect. Don't you fucking give your face. It's been two years. Laozi has been chasing after you for two years. Who the hell are you showing this ascetic face to? You really think you're an unattainable SSS class machine girl? A broken S class machine girl? Who are you showing your innocence to? It's your good fortune that I've taken a liking to you, and I'm willing to run after you when I'm in a good mood. But if you really sneak up on me and play with me, you'll see how I'm going to get you. Saying that, Wu Hao was ready to make a move to pull Yi Qingcheng. But in the blink of an eye, a tall and big figure blocked in front of Yi Qingcheng. Try moving her. The voice that rang beside his ears wasn't very loud, but it was like there was a knife hidden in that voice, instantly causing Wu Hao to freeze in place. Cold sweat couldn't help but seep out from his forehead, dripping and smashing on the ground. Only, there was someone above Wu Hao so his body only froze for a moment before he came back to his senses. Who the hell are you? Dare to get in my way? When Wu Hao tilted his head to look at Chen Mo, he realized that Chen Mo was followed by another beautiful woman, who, regardless of her face value and figure, did not lose to Yi Qingcheng at all. For a moment, red hearts flashed up in his eyes again. Good brother, don't be angry. Can't it be that you also like Yi Qingcheng? Then I'll let you have this pussy. You give me this pretty sister beside you. Let's exchange. Ah. Uh, Wu Hao didn't even finish his words. Chen Mo directly pinched his neck and lifted the person from the ground. Compared to Chen Mo's 183 height, Wu Hao's 168 height really didn't look good. Chen Mo hadn't even lifted him high enough for his feet to reach the ground. The suffocating feeling at his neck made Wu Hao unable to resist struggling. But no matter how hard he slapped Chen Mo's hands, those two hands stuck on his neck were like pincers, tightly clamped around him, not moving at all. Didn't your father teach you not to covet other people's women? If it wasn't taught, then it was taught today. When he felt Wu Hao's struggling strength getting weaker and weaker, Chen Mu threw the man to the side and smashed him hard on the ground. Cough cough cough. Cough cough. Wu Hao, who had regained air, completely disregarded the pain of falling on the ground and panted heavily. For a second, he really felt as if he was going to die. Do you step on the horse? Know who I am. My father. Cough cough cough. My father. But, Wu Hao slumped to the ground, not caring about the woes, stuttering and saying harsh words to Chen Mo. Your father, your father. Your father didn't just teach you not to covet other people's women? Forget it so quickly? Good big son. Remembering to eat and not remembering to fight. Can't it be that you really want to die? Chen Mo crouched down, pinched Wu Hao's cheek with one hand, and with the other hand he snapped his face a few times. How could Wu Hao endure this insult? 
his mouth cursing. My father is a lieutenant colonel. You dare to hit me like this. You're finished. Do you believe it or not? I'll make it impossible for you to mix in the army. Listening to Wu Hao's words, Chen Emo was furious and laughed. He wasn't from the army. He didn't need to mix in the army in the first place. For a moment, the hand that slapped on Wu Hao's face clenched into a fist. A fist smashed into Wu Hao's face. Wu Hao's whole person was tilted to the side, clattering and spitting out two or three teeth, his mouth full of blood, making him not dare to say a word again. Your father I'm warning you for the last time. Don't come to find me in pain. And don't let me see you coveting my woman again. Or else, it won't be solved by just losing two teeth like today. Do you understand? Understood. Understood. I don't dare anymore. Wu Hao, who was the boss of the sky one second, was on the ground begging for mercy the next. The team members who heard the commotion and were rushing this way couldn't help but slow down their steps. Crap. Who is this master? He even dares to beat up Lieutenant Colonel Wu's son? Don't know. But I heard that it seems to be personally invited by the first captain. It should not have a low status. He he, you guys don't look at who's following him around. It's not like you guys don't know little Captain Ye's temper. The person who can make her smile and personally bring her here. Can he be good to be messed with? However, this little brother hit is really relief ah. Wu Hao Tian Tian with that bus is not clear. But also always pestered Captain Ye not to let go. Also do not look at their own a few pounds and two. Cool is cool. But, now the question is. Should we report to Captain Zhang Ao? The maintenance team members saw that the matter was over and hurriedly ran away with their feet on the ground. This matter was not something they could get involved in. As for Yi Qing Chang, when she saw Chen Mao standing up for her, she couldn't help but have a sour nose and slightly red eyes. Don't look at Yi Qing Chang as the captain of the cold ice squad, usually saying one thing or another, as if she was in a position of power. But in fact, it was only in the ice cold squad, in the far outskirts of the leveling area that she had that kind of status. She grew up without a father or a mother, and grew up alone, without a deep background in the army, and even more so without a family that had the power to back her up. That is, at the age of 18, accidentally awakened to become a S-class battle armor, only to let her have the opportunity to enter the maintenance force, step by step with the life and the battlefield killing, and finally use three years of time, mixed a small team leader position. It was also because no one backed her up. So in the face of the harassment of the powerful Wu Hao, she didn't dare to resist even if she had the ability to do so. If she pissed off Wu Hao, she might not even be able to stay in the VPC unit where she could finally stay. Previously, when she had first seen Chen Mo's strength in the far outskirts of the leveling area, she had only wished that she had been able to contract a stronger commander, so that she could maximize her own strength. And it didn't matter who this person was. Afterwards, after the contract was successful, she didn't expect Chen Mao to fall in love with her and protect her. After all, Given Chen Mao's talent as a commander, his future would definitely not be hers alone. If you don't move and don't expect, you won't be disappointed. However, just now, when Chen Mo blocked in front of her without hesitation at the moment Wu Hao struck, Yi Qingqing's iceberg-like heart abruptly beat wildly. This was the first time that someone blocked in front of her without hesitation, blocking away all the harm for her, even completely disregarding how powerful the other party was and how deep their background was. It was a lie to say that she was not touched and her thumping heart had obviously betrayed her. She seemed to, really picked a good husband for herself. Looking at Wu Hao's fleeing back, the tears that were stored in Yi Qingqing's eyes instantly gushed out uncontrollably. Immediately afterward, she violently jumped into Chen Mo's arms. Hubby, as the warm and soft body entered his arms, Chen Mo could not help but freeze in place, and a restlessness could not help but rise in his heart. However, soon his restless heart calmed down, feeling the girl in his arms slightly trembling. Chest clothes vaguely transmitted wet feeling. Chen Mo could not help but a little heartache. So high and cold. So proud. So resolute and unyielding. How could she cry? Chen Mao gathered the person in his arms and raised his hand to gently pat the girl's back. It's fine. I'm here. A single sentence made the walls Yi Qingcheng had built up over the years come crashing down. And that iceberg-like heart instantly turned into a pool of spring water. So long that he did not know how long had passed. Yi Qingcheng's tears finally stopped. Only when she slowly withdrew from Chen Mao's arms did she see that Chen Mao's clothes were wet by a large part of her crying. Xia Zhang, who was waiting quietly next to her, had a promising smile on her face. Yi Qingcheng could not help but blush a heap of red, never before embarrassed emotions, so that she could not wait to dig a three-room apartment on the spot and bury herself. After a small episode, the crowd arrived at Zhang Chen's office. Xiao Chen, come come come, have a seat. Zhang Chen, the captain of the hallowed maintenance force actually did not have the slightest bit of high-ranking officials, and personally got up to welcome him. Chen Mo hurriedly walked over and shook hands with Zhang Chen. Yesterday in the school, 
Chen Mo and Zhang Chen had a one-sided acquaintance, only that he did not speak to Zhang Chen yesterday, so he was a bit formal now. Captain Zhang, you're too kind. Ha, don't call me Captain Zhang. I treat Qing Cheng as my daughter, so you can just shout to her and call me Uncle Chen. All right, Uncle Chen, you can just call me Chen Mo. Although they had never been in contact before, Zhang Chen's bright personality was very much to Chen Mo's liking. So much so that the two of them unconsciously had the feeling that they hated each other. After some pleasantries, Zhang Chen's face became slightly more serious. Chen Mo, I wonder if you have any thoughts of entering the army? Hearing Zhang Chen's question, Chen Mo was not too surprised. After all, Chen Mo had awakened an SSS ranked commander. If it was an S rank or SS rank, perhaps the maintenance force might not necessarily recruit him. But SSS ranked commanders were too rare. An SSS ranked commander? That was equivalent to a troop. On the battlefield, it could even play a role in changing the battlefield. And the vigilance force would definitely not let it go easily. But I'm only an SSS rank 1 star commander now. My rank is too low. I'm afraid I won't be able to play much of a role when I enter the force, right? Hearing Chen Mo's words, Zhang Chen shook his head. Chen Mo, don't be too presumptuous. If you really can't play much of a role, then how did your contracted mech, the explosive heavenly fire carp, manage to have 15? 000 combined battle power for a 1 star battle armor? That's almost the same as the battle power of a 4 star battle armor. Zhang Shen couldn't help but twist his head to look at Xia Zhang at the side. Was this the first S class racer that Chun Mo contracted? The explosive sky armor. Sure enough, it was outstanding. Chen Mo scratched his head, not knowing what to say for a moment, thinking that Chen Mo was hesitating. Zhang Chen couldn't help but throw out another giant bomb. Chen Mo, as far as I know, your commander talent is infinite mecha synchronization, right? That means you can contract many, many mechs. I wonder how much resources you have to be able to drop on them. Without enough resources, it would be much harder for your contracted mechs to improve. In a few months, the troop has a national competition to compete in, and anyone who is a troop member can participate. As far as I know, this year's rewards are especially generous, especially for the champion. I heard that there are several high-level accessories and a large amount of energy crystals. The single-player competition is based on a point system for one mech, while the team competition is a cooperative point system for multiple mechs. Like you, a person who can contract multiple mechs. If you directly contracted the top few places in the single-player tournament, and the first place in the team tournament, I'm sure there must be a lot of resources. Alas, it's a pity that you're not a trooper and can't compete. Speaking of this, Zhang Chen sighed slightly, as if he was very sorry, and gently shook his head. Chen Mo had originally planned to directly accept Zhang Chen's invitation. And anyway, his final destination would definitely be the maintenance troop. So why bother with that falsehood? However, upon hearing these words from Zhang Chen, Chen Mo's eyes instantly lit up. Originally, he was still struggling with the fact that he had contracted two mechanical maidens. And even though there was a commander's exclusive mall where he could buy accessories, the price was really outrageous. And he wouldn't be able to earn that many points even if he killed monsters without rest. But now there is a reward that can be obtained for nothing. Then this reward is not not for nothing? Only, regardless of whether it was Xia Zhang or Yi Qing Chang, although they were equipped with high level accessories and their battle power wasn't weak. After all, they themselves were S ranked machine girls, which was a hard injury that couldn't be significantly improved in a short period of time. A national competition, it sounded high end. The nationwide maintenance crew, all of them were qualified to compete. So I guess there must be not a few high grade mechs so his S-class mechs would not be enough to look at, although winning all the competitions sounded great. However, to really do it, the difficulty was simply comparable to reaching the sky. However, then again, if he could really contract a very powerful mecha in these few months, and then do his best to cultivate her, he might really be able to make an impact on the championship. At that time, using the resources of the Divine Dragon Kingdom to train one's own battle mech, that would really be a great bargain to catch. To be honest, Chen Mo really had his heart set on it. But, Uncle Chen, as you know, the battle armor that I'm currently contracted to, one is Xia Zhen, and the other is Yi Qing Cheng, and both of them are only S-class battle armors, so when the time comes, against such powerful opponents, not to mention the champion, it would be hard to squeeze into the top 10, right? Chen Mo sighed somewhat depressedly. Zhang Chen, seeing that there was a chance, hurriedly sat up straight and gave Chen Mo an idea. There's no need for you to worry too much about this issue. Because the participants of the national competition are limited to those who have just entered the maintenance unit within three years, and the year is not eligible to participate if they are not qualified, this greatly reduces the chances of super high-ranked commanders and machinima to participate. Moreover, 
the number of S rank and above mecha goddesses themselves is not large, especially SSS rank mecha goddesses. There is only one SSS rank mecha goddess in the country who just entered the maintenance force, and it has not been contracted to a suitable commander up to this point in time. Therefore, there's no need for you to worry too much at all. As long as you can improve in these few months, it's possible for you to want to take the championship, or even bag the top few places. After hearing Zhang Chen's words, Chen Mo's last shred of doubt was dispelled. All right, then I'll join the VPF, and I'll participate in the national competition when the time comes. Ha ha ha, good brat, worthy of being the person I look up to, just bold, young and vigorous, the future is promising. Zhang Chen fiercely stood up, his steel-like hand slapped Chen Mo's shoulder heavily a few times, letting out a loud laugh. Now then, I will officially send you all the things that belong to you. With that, Zhang Chen walked back behind his desk and took out a document from the drawer. Comrade Chen Mo, in view of the fact that you single-handedly killed two two-star prisoner mechs during the special incident in the far suburb practice area, defending the human survival, area security, with outstanding performance, you are hereby awarded the, attack like a tiger, medal of honor, also, you are granted the highest privilege of the imperial capital's maintenance force, you can enter and exit any area of the imperial capital as you please, including the forbidden land of war, at the same time, the maintenance troop will list you as a key training object and protect you to the best of their ability, if necessary, you can form a combat team, and the far-flung practice zones or forbidden lands that you attacked can be applied for as private territories. Lastly, in order to show our intention to cultivate you, we hereby reward you with 1 billion Dragon Kingdom coins. Crap! Listening to Zhang Chen's announcement, even Chen Mo was a bit surprised. The highest privilege of the VPF? You can apply for private ownership of the land you captured? A billion dollar cash reward? Crap! Was the SSS ranked commander's treatment this good? Originally, he had already received a reward when he had killed the prisoner Mecha, and that reward had been beyond Chen Mo's imagination, but he had never thought that there would be a wave of rewards waiting for him. A billion dollars in cash, although it couldn't buy a few top-level equipment, it was still enough for him to squander for a long time. For a while, Chen Mo was even more glad that he had made the right choice to join the vigilante force. Afterward, Zheng Chen took out the medals inside the brocade box and handed them over to Chen Mo. The billion dollar cash reward would be transferred directly to Chen Mo after he entered his bank card number. After sitting down again, Zheng Chen looked at Chen Mo's excited appearance and slowly tightened his smile. Chen Mo. In fact, apart from the national competition, there is one more thing that I would like to ask for your help. Hearing Zheng Chen's serious tone, Chen Mo also hurriedly sat up straight. You said, I'm already a member of the maintenance force now, so I should help with any favor. Chen Mao. Do you know how many SSS ranked commanders have awakened in total this year? Zhang Chen frowned and asked. I don't know. I only know that I'm the only one in our school. This year, including you, the country has awakened a total of seven SSS rank commanders. Perhaps when you hear this number, you feel that it is very few. But, the fact is that the SSS ranked commanders that awakened this year have already broken all records in the past hundred years. In the past, the highest number of years, there were only three, and more often than not, it could take two or three years to awaken an SSS ranked commander. Hearing this number, Chen Mo was instantly startled. Only, he did not know whether awakening an SSS ranked commander was good or bad. In his own opinion, after he had awakened the SSS ranked commander, all of his stats were not a tiny bit stronger than the others, especially the unique commander talent, infinite mecha synchronization, which was even stronger. Two days ago and opened the commander exclusive mall, but also for him to empower the mech laid the material foundation. This year, the country has awakened seven commanders in its entirety. Isn't this a good thing? This could obviously drastically increase the country's battle power ah. But, why does Zhang Chen have a bitter melon look on his face? Immediately afterward, he heard Zhang Chen continue. Did you think that the more SSS ranked commanders awakened, the better it would be for the country? Actually, it's not. Based on the statistics over the past hundred years, we have found that every time it comes to a sudden mass awakening of SSS ranked commanders, the following year, the encroachment of magical beasts on the human world will be even more drastic. Thirteen years ago, the country once directly awakened three SSS class commanders, and as a result, the following year, an unprecedented beast tide occurred. Countless commanders and machinima died in that beast tide, and strangely enough, three SSS rank commanders were awakened that year, but in that beast tide, it was also the three older SSS rank commanders who combined their efforts and used the cost of their lives to stop that beast tide from continuing to spread. Although it's a bit fanciful to say it out loud, it's really as if it was destined to happen, causing one to think more in that direction. Speaking here, Zhang Chen's face turned pale. 
Chen Mo listening to Zhang Chen's description, his heart was also shaken. A hundred years ago, because of a failed particle collision experiment, an unprecedented huge explosion was triggered, causing space-time to be torn apart, with multiple dimensions colliding with each other. The wraith heavenly tribulation descended and the rules of the world were subverted. However, no one could tell where these steel giants actually came from. However, as far as Chen Mo knew, the largest several beast tides in the past hundred years were actually not on land, but in the sea. The imperial capital was located in the central region of the Blue Star Continent, a long distance from the sea, while the Divine Dragon Country had many, many cities in addition to the imperial capital, including some coastal cities. 70% of the sea, compared to 30% of the continent, was simply huge beyond imagination. And those steel giants, and not just exist on land, the sea of steel giants is countless, especially has not been explored the unknown sea, or deep to human technology cannot detect the deep sea under the existence of steel giants, who cannot estimate how powerful it is. Over the past hundred years, there have been several fairly serious beast tides in coastal cities, where those metal behemoths seem to have appeared out of nowhere along the coastline for no reason at all, and struck directly into the interior of the human world, causing fairly serious damage and casualties. Fortunately, in recent years, the maintenance forces had become more and more powerful and technologically advanced, and the monitoring of the sea had become more and more strict, largely controlling the occurrence of the beast tides and trying to calm them down as much as possible before they happened. However, what goes around comes around. With a large number of steel demon beasts infesting the sea, there was no chance that he could take advantage of this opportunity to seize the time to develop a good wave of rewards given by killing the monsters themselves, together with the rewards from the commander's exclusive mall redemption. And lastly, there was also the rewards that the Divine Dragon Kingdom had vigorously cultivated him and given him. With all of these added together, there was no chance that he could really step into a new level. All in all, I'm afraid that the road ahead is getting harder and harder every day. I'm telling you in advance so that you can be mentally prepared and just deal with it calmly when the time comes. As Zhang Chen watched Chen Mao's expression change from confused to heavy, to finally turning into perseverance, he couldn't help but feel a little more relaxed in his heart. This kid's heart was really stable. Hearing this kind of military secrets, he didn't change his face, which in turn stirred his heart to win. The future is boundless ah. By the way, Uncle Chen, I wonder if there are any powerful machine girls in the army that haven't been contracted yet? If I want to get a place in the national competition, or even be prepared for the coming of the beast tide, I'm going to need some very powerful machine nymphs to do so. But as you know, the level of the mecha nymphs that I have access to is really too low. It's already not easy for me to train up Xia Jin and Yi Qingcheng. So why don't I just directly contract more powerful mecha nymphs, and save the resources from being wasted? Upgrading an SSS class mecha to the top level required resources that one didn't need to think about to know that it was astronomical. One could imagine the amount of resources one would need to pay to upgrade an S class mech to top tier. First, the S class mech itself had to be upgraded to SSS class, and then only on top of the SSS class could it make a star level upgrade. This part of the extra resources would naturally be wasted resources and both Xia Zhang and Yi Qingcheng had already contracted with him, then it was natural that they should be treated with care, even if they gave more, that would be the right thing to do, but that didn't hinder, the rank of the machine girl he contracted in the future ah, in order to save a lot of resources, the only thing he could do was to determine the grade of the contracted object before the contract was made, save time and effort, do you have any requirements for the contracted mechanica, bring it up and I'll see if I can recommend you recommendations, such as performance, sea and land, and so on, Zheng Chen asked, why, it's fine if people don't pick me, what more do I want from a bike, hiss hiss, pretty a little bit on the line, performance and so on is not important, she wants what I give her what is, originally, when listening to the previous sentence, Zheng Chen was still a little happy, as long as it is not picky, everything is fine, who knew that an SSS ranked commander couldn't even get rid of the temptation of a beautiful woman, however, just by looking at the two girls in Chen Mei's contract, he knew that his aesthetics were still very much online, whether it was with Xia Zhang or Yi Qingcheng, that look and that figure, they were all one in a million. Although, a high-level machinima is not necessarily a very beautiful woman, but a very beautiful woman will definitely make the commander overplay his strength. Zheng Chen thought about it, high grade, no contract, and very beautiful machine woman. Not to mention, he really remembered one. I don't know if you've heard of it, but the schoolgirl of your next door mecha university. Luo Dai. Luo Dai? Chen Emo sniffed and shook his head in confusion. The only woman in his life before this year was Lin Yuro, and his heart and eyes were full of her, fearing that if he didn't pay attention, she would be aggrieved. How could he care to know about other Mecha University schoolgirls? 
let alone seeing them. He had never even heard of them. As the schoolgirl of the Imperial Capital Mecca University, Luo Dai has gained a large number of diehard fans since she joined the school, and even commanders who are in a higher grade than her want to contract her as their own Mecca nymphets, like Wei Bin, the last SS grade commander who awakened last year, the last schoolboy of the Imperial Capital Mecca University. He's one of Luo Jin's suitors, even though he finished his awakening last year, he hasn't contracted any of the Mechas until now. Because the day of his awakening he let out a message saying that he'd wait for Luo Jin to finish her awakening, and that no matter what grade of mechas that Luo Jin had awakened, he would unconditionally contract her. Oh, after hearing this, Chen Mao straightened up and called out good guy. This man was really pure hearted. For a pact that had no reply, he actually didn't contract for a whole year and froze waiting for Luo Jin. It wasn't clear if he should be praised for his deep love or scolded for being unrealistic. Other than commanders like Chun Mo who had activated their commander talent and were able to contract many mechs. Other commanders, in their entire lives, could only contract one mech. Weibin had gone so far as to completely desert his SS ranked commander's talent altogether just to wait for a woman who hadn't even awakened her rank. Wouldn't this be a bit too outrageous ah? Uh, isn't this purely cutting off his future path with his own hands? Chen Mo could not help but exclaim out in shock, spitting out nonchalantly. That being said, but this is all based on the condition that he is unable to contract with Luo Dai. If he can successfully contract with Luo Dai, with the Luo family supporting him from behind, it's not unlikely that his achievements will be even higher. Maybe. Zhang Chen shook his head and explained. Luo family? Is the Luo family rich? That can't even be described as rich, powerful and rich as well as status. After all, the Luo family is one of the oldest few great families in the imperial capital. Although it has fallen a bit out of favor over the years, but a thin camel is bigger than a horse. As long as the roots aren't destroyed, and it will last for another hundred years, it's not a problem at all. That is to say, this Weibin actually doesn't see how much he likes Luo Dai. It's entirely about her birthright. As long as he contracts Luo Dai, he won't have to worry about his resources for the rest of his life. Chen Emo looked at Zhang Chen with seeming understanding and asked, Then who knows? Anyway, the news I've gotten so far is that Luo Dai has awakened the SS Plus grade, Heavenly Vault Battle Voice, this year and her original body is a fighter jet, but so far, she hasn't contracted with anyone, the main mecha itself will choose a commander one or more levels higher than them when contracting a commander, so that the mecha itself has room to grow, so Weibin's SS level has been brushed down on the hard conditions, with the Luo family's intervention, Luo Dai's contracted commanders, should be chosen from among the SSS ranked commanders, especially since you guys have awakened 7 SSS ranked ones this year, the probability is the greatest, if, you can succeed in contracting with her. No matter if it's the next match or the beast tide that will happen at some unknown time, or if it's you yourself, it will be a strong booster. Listening to Zhang Chen's analysis, Chen Mo also nodded. Indeed, if analyzed from these perspectives, Luo Dai's own conditions where the power of the family behind her was indeed the best choice for Chen Mo. However, the problem came. With such a large family behind her and her own strength at the SS plus level, why would people have to be him? Chen Mo, when there was a choice, Chen Mo already had two contractual objects right now, and that alone was not necessarily acceptable to the other big families. It wasn't Chen Mo that was choosing people now, it was whether or not they could look at Chen Mo. Why? It's too early to say that. People may not necessarily be able to look at me yet. Chen Mo shrugged and spread his hands, helplessly saying, It's also counted on you to see through. This kind of girl, it's best if she can be contracted. Don't be discouraged if she can't be contracted. She's not the only one we have to choose from. Zhang Chen symbolically pacified Chen Mo. Ha, Uncle Chen, tell me honestly, do you still have a suitable candidate? Chen Mo's eyes lit up as he heard the implication of Zhang Chen's words. There is, only it's my daughter, and I'm still pondering whether or not to introduce her to you. What, Uncle Chen's daughter? Hearing this, Chen Mo was a bit dazed for a moment. What, what's with this expression? What's wrong with not seeing my daughter? My daughter is an SS-class nuclear submarine. If it wasn't for the fact that she only supports nuclear energy and doesn't have the right to control the sea, she wouldn't be subjected to this lousy situation and forced to be a mecha repairer. My daughter is tall, well-built, and pretty. Contracting with you that's all for you to take advantage of. Why do you still resent on it? Zhang Chen looked at Chen Mo's expression, and his anger dried up in an instant. His little cotton jacket, originally he held in his hands for fear of falling, contained in his hands for fear of melting the baby. Who knows awakened a nuclear submarine? In the imperial capital useless not to mention, even a suitable commander cannot be found. Day after day, they can only face all kinds of broken and destroyed mechs, constantly repairing and repairing. As her father, Zheng Chen knew deeply that his daughter, 
who had been educated by the VPF since she was a child, really wanted to dedicate her life to the country, but the truth was so cruel. Zhang Chen was dying of heartache, it was so hard to see Chen Mo as a good seedling, but as a result, he even showed this kind of expression? No no, Uncle Chen, I don't dislike it, what I mean is, it's useless for just the two of us to talk about this now, I'm satisfied, what if your daughter doesn't like me when the time comes, I say, when we meet, if she's happy with me, then we'll talk about what's next, hearing Chen Mo's explanation, Zhang Chen's tense face slowly relaxed, count on your kid's good sense, if you can really contract with her in the future, I hope you can treat her well, don't hurt her, even if you really can't stand it anymore, you'll just send her back to me in one piece, as he said that, Zhang Chen unexpectedly had a sour nose and his eyes vaguely contained tears, he only had this one daughter, and every time he thought of his daughter contracting another man and leaving him, Zhang Chen always involuntarily felt his heart clogged and his chest clogged, Uncle Chen, what kind of person do you think I am, I, Chen M.O., am not the kind of person who is inappropriate, I still understand what I can and cannot do, just rest assured, Zhang Chen wiped the corners of his slightly moist eyes, his eyes staring intently at Chen M.O. for a long time, and then, nodded, this brat was personally picked by him, although he was a bit horny and occasionally a bit immodest, however, in terms of heart, strength, and character, Chen M.O. really had nothing to pick on, and given enough time, he could definitely become a unique commander, given enough time, he will definitely be able to become a commander in his own right, with him protecting Nian Nian, he, as a father, is also quite relieved, just as Zhang Chen and Chen Mao were having a great conversation, they somewhat lost track of time, the walkie-talkie pinned on Yi Qingqing's waist suddenly rang out, calling Team Yi, calling Team Yi, in, something please speak, reporting to Captain Yi, the magical beasts in the far outskirts of the leveling area are rioting, we've tried our best to resist, and we won't be able to carry them any longer, repeat, a riot has occurred in the magical beasts in the far outskirts of the leveling area, we have resisted to the best of our ability and will soon be unable to carry on, the moment she received the message, Yi Qingqing violently stood up from her chair and, body, Zhang Chen's face instantly darkened, Qing Cheng, set off now and head to the far outskirts of the leveling area as fast as you can, you must defend this beast tide, never let the beast tide break through humanity's last line of defense, yes, saying this, Yi Qingcheng was about to head out, wait, I'll go with you, Chen Mo hurriedly got up and followed, although the beast tide would indeed jeopardize the human world near the edge zone, to Chen Mo, this was a rare and great opportunity, Chen Mo had even seen the large amount of rewards he would receive from killing monsters, as well as the commodities in the commander's mall that were clearly priced, a great opportunity, how could he miss it, far suburban leveling area, all the way to the wind, the two chariots almost pressed the gas pedal to the bottom, because the speed was so fast, from afar, it looked like the cars were flying, ding ding ding, warning, a large number of steel giants have been detected 2000 meters away, please evacuate in time, ding ding ding, warning, a large number of steel giants have been detected at 2, 0, 0, 0 meters, please evacuate in time, Chen Mo completely ignored the radar's beeps and increased the speed of the explosive skyfire carp to the fastest possible and rushed up towards the beast tide, at a distance away from the far outskirts of the leveling area, at the edge of the human world, all the loudspeakers simultaneously broadcasted a warning. Warning, a large number of steel giants have been detected infesting the area. It is very likely that our army will not be able to resist. Please ask the citizens to enter the air defense holes in a timely and orderly manner under the guidance of the staff and not come out. Notice again, warning, a large number of iron beasts have been detected. There is a high probability that our army will not be able to resist. Please enter the air raid shelter under the guidance of the staff in an orderly and timely manner. And do not come out. For a while, under the urging of the alarm, the citizens of the fringe area began to evacuate to the underground air defense holes in large batches. Without the expected panic, the citizens looked like they were used to this kind of evacuation, and there was no stampede. After crossing into the leveling area, Yi Qingcheng instantly changed into human form. Looking at the large number of beast tides, Yi Qingcheng's beautiful eyebrows were tightly furrowed into a ball. How could this happen? Wasn't it all calmed down yesterday before the beast tide happened? How come there are still so many steel beasts today? Moreover, when did so many flying magical beasts pop up in the far suburb leveling area? How can we fight this? All racing cars had a certain amount of stagnation when they were transformed into witches for battle. But stagnation didn't mean flight. In the face of flying magical beasts, apart from those equipped with propellers, the only type of witches that could fight were fighters that could fly in their own right. As for the ice cold squad, there wasn't a single flying mecha. Looking at the steel giants flying in the sky, 
Yi Qingqing's voice was trembling a little. Perhaps this time, it really couldn't be defended. Just at this time, Yi Qingqing's ears heard a man's low voice. Although the voice was not loud, it actually gave her a sufficient sense of security. Qing Cheng, you go and organize manpower to meet the next wave of beast tide. The first wave will be given to me first. I should be able to handle the, the vanguard. As Chen Mo's words fell, Xia Zhang instantly transformed into the explosive heavenly fire carp battle armor, and with the assistance of the thrusters, disappeared in front of Yi Qingcheng in the blink of an eye. Yi Qingcheng also did not dare to delay and hurriedly rushed towards the ice cold squad. On the other side, after Zhang Chen dispatched Yi Qingcheng, he hurriedly began to deploy his troops. Don't worry about the interior of the city for now. The priority now is to hold the border portion of the far outskirts of the leveling area. Otherwise, once the borderline is breached, the interior of the city will be over sooner or later. Little Li, have all those long-range thermal weapons in the armory been dispatched yet? Reporting to the captain, all of them have been dispatched, but it will take 15 minutes for the support to be in place. I don't know if the ice cold squad will be able to hold on for those 15 minutes. Tell them to speed up. They must provide support as fast as possible. Yes, Zheng Chen stroked his brow and hurriedly made another call. Just leave only one four-star mech inside the city to guard the home. All other mechs go out to support the borderline and replace those injured machine nymphs first. And all the commanders, don't stay at the base camp. All of them will join the battle. This time the beast tide is coming ferociously. All of them will follow me. Gather at the far outskirts of the practice area. After Zhang Chen hung up the phone, he rushed outside with large strides. Team Zhang, what about the commanders here after you leave? Didn't you leave a four-star mecha behind? Everything will be under his command. But, Team Zhang, the place where this beast tide occurred is near the Mamba prison. What if the prisoner mechs in the Mamba prison take advantage of this and run out? What to do? What should we do? Anyway, it's a group of sinful mechs that deserve to die. As long as they can be killed, they should never be spared. After saying that, Zheng Chen also sped towards the far outskirts of the leveling area. Dear readers, this book's debut site is in Genesis. And 50, 000 words are about to hit the shelves. At 12 o'clock tonight, this book will release the chapter on the shelf. Little brother here. With everyone to ask for a wave of first booking, so that little brother to see exactly how many people are reading. Secondly, since the book was released for such a long time, I didn't ask for a vote. Today I also ask for a wave with everyone. Everyone's hand of monthly votes and recommendation votes, try to give me a vote. I will definitely take every chapter seriously, so that everyone can read it. Kneel down and thank you. Far outskirts of the leveling area, deep within. When Chen Mo piloted the explosive sky fire carp and rushed into the deepest part of the battle, the entire battlefield was already devastated. There were mech limbs and broken arms everywhere, and pieces of steel were scattered all over the place. From steel behemoths to organic women, Chen Mo looked down at the radar scanning map in the car. Within a radius of a thousand meters, there were glowing red dots everywhere. Not only was the ground covered with steel behemoths, even the sky was flying with huge dragons. Apart from the ice cold squad, the other squads that were responsible for the maintenance of the far suburb practice area almost tried their best, but they didn't have the ability to fly, so they were completely helpless in the face of the magical beasts in the sky. The cannonballs that were shot up from the ground, even if they hit the flying dragons, they couldn't penetrate their hard armor, and the damage was almost negligible. Arriving at the densest part of the battle, Xia Jin instantly changed her form, the 3 meter tall Megane expanding into a 5 meter tall wargirl, the wings transformed by the rotor doors on the back, assisted by the thrusters, directly sent Xia Jin slowly into the air. Chen Mo operated the center console and snapped, speeding towards the steel dragon flying in the sky. The crimson warjack flew at breakneck speed in the gray sky, illuminating the gloomy sky like a fire. The maintenance team members on the ground who were tangling with the steel behemoth couldn't help but cry out in shock at the sight of the explosive skyfire carp. Crap! That mech can fly? This is the first time I've seen a mech that can fly. It should be an SS-class fighter. He's really fast. Whether it's a fighter or not, by the looks of it, we should be saved. Sisters, leave the battlefield in the sky to him. Let's guard our own ground battlefield. Yes, the crowd of machine nymphs chorused in unison. And then, once again, they plunged into the brutal battle. Harnessing the explosive sky fire carp, Chen Mo did not even think about it and directly flew above the heads of the steel giants with his fastest speed. Don't look at these steel dragons as if they looked huge and powerful, but in fact, they were nothing more than a group of slave level magical beasts. Chen Mo didn't even need to expend too much energy, and easily killed each and every slave level dragon by relying on close combat. Slay slave class dragon. Gain energy crystal asterisk 1. 10 points asterisk 1. Slay slave class dragon. Gain energy crystal asterisk 1, 
10 points asterisk 1, slay slave class dragon. Gain energy crystal asterisk 1, 10 points asterisk 1, kill slave class dragon. Get energy crystal asterisk 1, 10 by 1 points, kill slave class dragon. Get energy crystal asterisk 1, 10 by 1 points. Listening to the broadcasting sound that kept coming from his ears, Shenmo's killing aura became even more biting. His mouth constantly chanted 80, 80, 80, 1 slash for 80, 1 slash for 1. Chen Mo was happy to kill up there, but the maintenance team on the ground suffered. It was like rain in the sky, and the corpses of the dragons were falling down. While they were fighting bitterly, they also had to pay careful attention to the sky, so as not to be hit by the falling dragon corpses. However, fortunately, the corpses of the giant dragons did not distinguish between friend and foe, and would not only smash into the vigilantes, but also into the steel behemoths. For a while, the entire ground battlefield was filled with the spitting sounds of the maintenance team members. Hey Gu, can you be a little public spirited? It's against the law to throw things from a height. Of the law. It's not good if it hits someone. My goodness. Scared me to death. Almost got my arm bitten off by the steel beast. Luckily God threw a pie down. And smashed me. The steel beast. To death. Is there really only one mecha fighting in the sky? Why can he kill so many by himself? It's too outrageous. And the sky. Extreme killing. Extreme beauty. It was as if Chun Mo was dancing an elegant waltz. And as he spun and jumped, a steel giant dragon lost its life. Kill slave class dragon. Gain energy crystal asterisk 1. Points 10 by 1. In the blink of an eye, Chen Mo's commander's warehouse had actually collected a full 58 energy crystals. It was also at this time that the steel dragons in the sky finally realized with hindsight that there was actually an alien among them. Ow. The steel dragon in the lead hissed at the sky, and all the dragons instantly looked towards Chen Mo. Ding ding ding. Detection of a battle soldier class magical beast appearing in the vicinity. Please respond in time. Commander. Hearing the broadcast, Chen Mo's eyes narrowed slightly. Finally noticed me? Teacher Xia. Are you ready? We're going on. Of course, my quantum pursuit cannon is already on the move. Inside the mech, Xia Jin's delicate voice came out, and Chen Mo was like Popeye who ate spinach. His entire body instantly exhilarated. The thrusters continued to accelerate and the explosive Skyfire Carp met the Battle Soldier class Steel Dragon and sped off face to face. The Crimson Battle Soldier danced in the sky, the red lightning crackling around her body like it was applauding her. The explosive Skyfire Carp spun and jumped, dancing gracefully, obviously floating in the sky, but it was like walking on the ground. The leading minion class Steel Dragons were chopped down one by one, and with that, the sound of thumping landings could be heard coming from the battlefield on the ground. That Battle Soldier grade Steel Dragon, watching one of its minions fall, was instantly enraged. The wings, which had an arm span of nearly 10 meters, flapped and flew towards Chun Mo. The two thick and large cannon barrels behind the explosive Skyfire Carp slowly rose, aiming straight at the Battle Soldier class Steel Dragon that sped towards them. Quantum Pursuit Cannon Lock On. Fire. Boom. Boom Boom. Boom Boom Boom. Dozens of cannonballs blasted into that Battle Soldier class Steel Dragon. The large 10 meter long wings were instantly blown apart, and the steel body was pitted. The large, Morose hole that penetrated from the back to the front chest was bleeding like a river at this time. For a time, the smell of blood that was already in the air became even more intense. The battle soldier class steel dragon no longer had the strength to support its flight, and slammed down hard towards the ground. Killed warrior grade steel dragon. Obtained warrior grade energy crystal asterisk 1. 100 points asterisk 1. The announcement of the reward obtained sounded like heavenly music, as if it was applauding Chen Mo's bravery. With his eyes looking towards the large number of steel giants not far away, Chen Mu hooked his lips and smiled, acting like a savior as he traveled against the odds. On the ground, Yi Qingqing summoned all the members of the chill squad, and after dealing with the slave-level magical beasts that leaked out, she turned her head and also headed deeper into the leveling area to support them. Qing Cheng, you came just in time, we really can't resist any longer. Guo Luo Luo, the captain of the fierce tiger squad, gasped for air and looked towards Yi Qingqing for help. It was not that they were not strong enough to defeat these slave-level steel behemoths. The truth was that there were too many of these steel behemoths. Killing one and then another. Killing a group and then another group. Where is your commander? Our squad's commander. All of us went to the field for training today. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to exert our strength and fall to this point. Guo Luo was a bit disengaged at this time. The stored energy was already almost no longer supporting her to maintain her mecha form. As for the entire fierce tiger squad, all of them were facing this problem. Once the fierce tiger squad had no combat power, they were afraid that they would really be unable to hold this line of defense. Wait, I have an idea. Yi Qingqing's mind turned, 
instantly looking up at the crimson figure in the sky. Maybe, he had a way. After a mecha had contracted the commander, even if the commander was not inside the mecha, the mecha could still contact the commander through the mecha system. Chen M.O. I remember that you are able to forcibly log into a mech without a commander, right? Chen M.O., who was fighting the steel dragon in the sky, abruptly heard Yi Qingqing's voice, froze for a moment, and hurriedly replied, Yes, then how many mechs can you force log in at most? I don't know, I haven't counted specifically. Then can you try? On the ground, the mighty tiger squad has a total of 13 people. One of them is an S-class mech, 5 A-class mechs and 7 B-class mechs. Their commanders have gone out for training causing their strength to be greatly reduced, see if you can force log in, otherwise, the ground might be lost. Yi Qingcheng spoke in a hurry, but Chen Mo had heard all of it clearly, feeling his current state. Chen Mo gave Yi Qingcheng an affirmative reply. Okay, I'll give it a try. Forced login. Ding. Detected a total of 13 machine girl systems around that can be forcefully logged in, which are S-class tanks, A-class heavy trucks, and A-class. Landing at the same time, Chen Mo took a deep breath and prepared himself to forcefully land 13 mechs at the same time. After a few breaths, the electronic tone in his head slowly sounded. Ding. Forced access begins. Ding. Congratulations. Forced access to the S-class tanks has been successful. Ding. Congratulations. Forced access to class A heavy duty truck succeeded. Soon, the successful landing of 13 mechs without commanders beeped. Chen Mo only felt that a large portion of his mental power was instantly drained away, and his head ached dull and the rotational speed of the energy core directly tripled. However, it was fortunate that all of them were able to supply energy stably. The information of the 13 mechs were all projected in front of Chen Mode, and even though Chen Mode was prepared, he was still shocked speechless. Unexpectedly, it was actually possible. It was just that the mental power was still too weak, and landing so many mechs at the same time was a considerable burden for him. It was also thanks to the fact that Chen Mo did not need to be distracted to manipulate them. He only needed to provide them with enough energy to move on their own. Otherwise, with his current mental power, it was still a bit overwhelming. On the ground, the members of the mighty tiger squad looked like they couldn't hold on any longer. Guo Luo Luo was even a little deflated. Yi Qingcheng said she had a way, but she didn't see her take any action. Is it possible that she is just teasing her? What time is it? Still making this kind of nutrient-less joke? No, no, Yi Qingcheng is not such a person. She has always been a man of her word. She said there is a way. There must be a way. At the moment of life and death, Huo Luo Luo's mind involuntarily flashed a trace of distrust. However, it was negated by herself in an instant. They were soldiers, and even more so, they were comrades in arms with a lifelong friendship. On the battlefield they could bear their backs to each other without fear. Even if the other party raised his gun and shot at her chest, she believed until her death that it was just a gun gone off. Guo Luo Luo clenched her teeth and exerted her last ounce of strength to cut down the steel and iron behemoth in front of her, iron beast to behead it. For a moment, her feet went soft, and she was half kneeling on the ground at that moment, somewhat unable to stand up. Chloe, be careful. Seeing a steel behemoth coming from behind Guo Luo Luo, sneaking in, Yi Qingcheng was too far away, and there was no way to come over to support it. In the nick of time, Guo Luo Luo's limp body was instantly filled with strength. With a stomp of her feet, she did a beautiful roll, dodged the steel behemoth's attack, and with a backhanded slash, she chopped off the steel behemoth's head. What kind of power is this? I feel like I don't have any weakness at all now. The energy is like inexhaustible. Guo Luo Luo looked at her mechanical arm and squeezed her fist. The power that she lost, all of it came back. It looks like he succeeded. Chloe, don't freeze. Go. At the same time, on the ground, all the members of the mighty tiger squad, like Guo Luo Luo, all the weakness in their bodies disappeared, and their bodies were filled with power. Charge, kill this group of beasts. For a while, a killing started once again. The battle lasted for another 10 minutes before the backup troops finally arrived. With the addition of long-range thermal weapons, the machine maidens fighting on the ground were obviously a lot easier. Zheng Chen looked at the red dots on the radar, which actually had a tendency to decrease drastically. Captain Zhang, we have monitored that the airborne gargoyles in the far outskirts of the practice area are decreasing drastically. Is it possible to lower the risk level? Any idea what's going on? How could the airborne steel dragons decrease for no reason at all? Have they broken through the defense line and moved towards the city? Zhang Chen frowned tightly and could not help but think of the most serious situation. If it had really moved towards the city, I'm afraid that a larger scale battle would really be necessary. Captain, we've monitored that a crimson colored mecha is fighting the steel dragon high up in the sky, and it's already decimated a large portion of it by now. Chen ended. 
who that red mech was, Zhang Chen instantly realized, worthy of being the person he had his eye on, he had actually turned the tide of battle around, this kid, his future is truly unlimited, in the sky, Chen Mo had forcefully landed 13 mechs at this time, while also harnessing Xia Zheng, and although there was no acute shortage in terms of energy, he was indeed a bit overwhelmed in terms of mental strength, his attacks were no longer flashy, and with his hands raised, he decapitated the giant dragon, knife after knife after knife, there is absolutely no beauty to speak of, only non-stop killing, the most direct killing, anyone who looked at it couldn't help but say that it was plain, simple and brutal, under the command of Chen Mo's spiritual power, the sky and the ground cooperated with each other, the giant dragon that fell from the sky no longer smashed any of his side's mechs, but instead smashed the steel beast, the energy-rich tiger's squad members were incomparably hot at this time, this constant flow of energy, I've never felt like I'm this powerful before, who in the world forcefully logged into my mecha system, who the hell is this commander, don't worry about that, a commander of this level, we'll find out one day, crap, fast and furious, I feel like this is my peak right now, I can't wait to fight these beasts for another 3 days and 3 nights, that's not necessary, looking at the dwindling steel dragons in the sky, Chen Mo sighed deeply, just hold on for a little while longer, just a little while longer, and they would all be exterminated, however, just at this time, the radar at Chen Mo's hand once again issued an alarm, ding ding ding, warning, a war admiral class magical beast has been detected 500 meters away, please evacuate in time, ding ding ding, warning, we have detected a war admiral level beast at 500 meters, please evacuate in time, what's that, war general level magical beasts, Chen Mo was about to spit out a mouthful of blood, it came sooner or later, but it had to wait until he was almost exhausted, and then it came out, playing around, Chen Mo knitted his brows and rode the explosive sky flame carp, killing the monsters even more vigorously, the war general level magical beasts hadn't gotten too close, but the slave level dragon in front of him was not afraid of death and rushed up, I don't know what the deepest part of the far outskirts of the leveling area was like, how could there be so many steel behemoths, however, because it was simply impossible to detect with human power, no one knew what was actually inside, even though high technology was extremely advanced and satellite detection technology had reached its peak, it was still impossible to see the deeper parts of the far suburb, it was as if there was an invisible substance that interfered with the picture, and there was no way of knowing whether these steel giants, on their own, wanted to attack the city themselves, or whether they were organized and planned to encroach on the human world. All that was known was that no matter whether it was these steel giants or the humans who stepped into the deepest part of the far suburbs leveling area, in the end, they would all obtain a mysterious power. This power catalyzed them to become powerful, but at the same time, it would also infect their spirit and mind. Most of the evil mechs imprisoned in the Mamba prison had suddenly turned into antisocial personalities after coming into contact with the something in the deepest part of the leveling area, and their strength had become inexplicably strong. However, if you want to explore all this, it's all an afterthought, in the blink of an eye, more than a dozen steel dragons fell from the sky, the blades on the Bakuden fire carp's arms all popped out, and under the acceleration of the thrusters, the Bakuden fire carp was literally like a fish swimming in water, darting in and out of the middle of the giant dragons, easily decapitating one every time it brushed against them, only, the giant dragons, whose numbers had already plummeted, attacked once again as if they had returned a mouthful of blood after the war general Wraith's vanguard had joined them, Chen Mo controlled the arms of the explosive Skyfire Carp, one slash at a time, and it was clear that he could no longer keep up with the pace. In an instant, the two large cannon barrels behind the explosive Skyfire Carp rose once again. Boom! Boom boom! The Quantum Pursuit cannons suddenly issued. The silver-white energy shells hit a group of steel giants, and the exploding light instantly lit up the gloomy sky. The sparks that blew up were like celebrating a feast. The hot air felt like it wanted to burn everything clean. The flesh underneath the steel armor gave off a strong aroma of roasted meat. And then, it became charred. Red. The red of the sky. The red of sparks. The red of blood. Shot after shot of energy cannonballs sprayed out. And one steel dragon after another smashed into the ground. In just three minutes, the barrel of the energy chasing cannon slowly retracted. The intensity was simply too great. Even though Chen Mo's energy core had tripled its rotation speed, such a high intensity energy output still gave Chen Mo a feeling of energy depletion. Luckily, under the high-intensity shelling, the minion-class steel dragons had pretty much fallen as well. Watching the War Admiral-grade steel dragons slowly fly towards them, Chen Mo huffed and puffed, panting heavily. Xia Zheng accumulated the portion of energy that Chen Mo had just wasted when he had massively exported his energy and slowly redirected it to him. For a moment, 
Shenmo's energy core that was about to be depleted was instantly surrounded by a warm and moist feeling. Along with that, even Chen Mo's gasping, breaths were weaker. As for the war general class steel dragon, as if it was waiting for Chen Mo to recover, it flew unhurriedly, only flapping its wings once in a few seconds. Chen Mo squinted his eyes and floated in the air, spitting with his waist crossed. Can you damn well fly faster? Grinding like a pussy. As if it understood Chen Mo's words, the war admiral grade steel dragon instantly raised its head, its eyes staring at Chen Mo with a deadly stare. Its wings, which were tens of meters long, flapped heavily and instantly sped towards Chen Mo. For a moment, the sky was filled with hunting gusts of wind, and a huge amount of energy swept towards Chen Mo. That is, the sky was killed by Chen Mei nothing left. Otherwise, I am afraid that like a tornado, more or less must be all swept away. Meanwhile, on the ground, Zheng Chen was always concerned about Chen Mo's situation in the sky. The VPC members who were responsible for keeping an eye on the sky always relayed first-hand intelligence to Zhang Chen. Oh no! The explosive sky fire carp is surrounded. Team Zhang, do we need support? What? Hurry up and send support. Wait a minute. The Bakudan fire carp have one slash at a time. And they've broken out of the encirclement. Hoo hoo. It's okay. Ah, why is there suddenly a large group of dragons flying over again? Bakudan fire carp is surrounded again. What? We need backup. Wow. Bakudan fire carp turned on its quantum pursuit cannon and knocked down all the dragons. Hey Gu, can you not be so shocked? It scared the hell out of me. Zhang Chen blankly glanced at the maintenance crew. His mood was like riding a roller coaster. Going up and down. Rising and falling. It was almost disorganized. Just as he exhaled and relaxed, the voice of the maintenance crew rang out again. It's over. It's over. Team Zhang. It's over. What? He's surrounded again? Don't worry. He'll stand out in a moment. After hearing the story of the wolf coming too many times, people would really think that the wolf wouldn't come. So much so, Zhang Chen now even wanted to make a cup of tea and wait for Chen Mo's good news. It's not. Team Zhang. A warlord class steel dragon flew in. The explosive skyfire carp is trembling and looking a bit unsteady. What? A war general? How could a war general class magical beast appear in the edge area of the leveling zone? Did you see it right? Zhang Chen violently snatched the binoculars over. Looking at the tens of meters long wingspan, his entire body went numb. Quickly, quickly, hurry for support. Where are the fighters? Why aren't the fighters here yet? And at this moment, Chen Mo's nearly depleted energy core slowly filled up after Xia Zhen's feedback. The energy core tripled its speed and ran super fast. Wisps of energy were slowly being created as Chen Mo breathed. The battle on the ground had almost subsided, and the 13 machine girls that Chen Mo had forcefully landed on had all stopped fighting at this time. Chen Mei glanced towards the ground and withdrew from the 13 mecha systems. For a moment, Xia Jin also felt that the strength she had just lost had finally begun to recover bit by bit. The desire to fight, once again, skyrocketed. As if sensing Chen Mo's desire to fight, the warlord class steel dragon that sped across the street snorted in disdain. It was hard to believe that with his physical body, he still wanted to fight with his steel body? It was simply an egg touching a stone, not measuring itself. Instantly, the speed of the battle general level steel dragon's flight accelerated a bit more. It was eager to eat Chen Mo alive. At the dragon's chest, the steel shield slowly opened, and two cannon barrels slowly extended out from within. Within half a minute, the two cannons were aimed straight at the explosive sky fire carp standing in the air. Ooh, it actually has cannons. Chen Mo raised his eyebrows, somewhat surprised that the steel beast could also use weapons. It looked like the cannon was also a laser cannon, with a speed comparable to the speed of light. Crap, it was really a tough one. Teacher Xia, it looks like it needs to be used. Are you ready? Of course, after watching us fight for so long, I'm sure it's already hungry and thirsty. In an instant, under Chen Mo's maneuvering, the thrusters behind the exploding skyfire carp were directly open to the maximum. In the blink of an eye, the explosive skyfire carp flew up towards higher altitudes. That battle admiral class steel dragon only thought that Chen Mo was afraid, and the smile at the corner of his mouth became even more disdainful. With a shock of its wings, it followed closely. The war soldier class dragon and the minion class dragon that followed behind it were even more closely following, chasing towards Chen Mo in unison. At this height, it should be about right? Almost there. After flying upwards for a full thousand meters, Chen Mo slowly came to a stop, squinting his eyes and overlooking the giant dragons beneath his feet. Chen Mo raised a deep breath. Just when almost all of the giant dragons had caught up, Chen Mo manipulated the explosive sky flame carp and shouted furiously, Great move, red flame crosscut. For a moment, heaven and earth changed color. The gloomy sky was illuminated by the firelight, and thick and long lightning bolts filled the entire sky as if they had exploded. Immediately afterward, 
rumbling thunder exploded in the ears, feeling the intense energy fluctuations in the air. The face of the war general class dragon changed drastically. The barrel of the cannon that had already been set up in front of its chest hurriedly aimed at Chen Mo. Just as the laser cannon was about to fire, the explosive skyfire carp raised its arm and drew a cross in the air with force, using its arm as a blade. That cross in the void instantly transformed into a solid body, burning with a blazing fire and containing a burst of thunderous intent. Accompanied by the electricity crackling through the air, it whistled towards the war general class steel dragon, not waiting for the laser cannon on the dragon's chest to fire, not waiting for the dragon to turn around and escape. Boom! In an instant, not only the war admiral class steel dragon, but even those closely following war soldier class dragons and slave class dragons, all simultaneously turned into a cloud of black smoke. Even the thick steel armor was melted and sublimated, turning into gas and dissipating into the air. Red Flame Crucifixion Commander can use this in conjunction with the contracted mecha to perform a slash, increasing the power of the slash by 100%. Red Flame Cross Chop If you don't use it, it will destroy the sky and the earth. Kill a Warlord Class Steel Dragon Reward Laser Cannon Grade B Warlord Class Crystal Points increased by 500 by 1 Crap Grade B Laser Cannon it's not a fragment, it's a real B-grade equipment. How many points would it cost to buy this with points? It's developed. Just as Chen Mo had just heard the reward broadcast, the feeling of being drained from his mind instantly hit him. Chen Mo fainted. Ground. The mighty tiger squad members in the center of the battlefield slowly climbed up from the ground, feeling the air's temperature rise dramatically. The searing heat actually made their throats a little dry. Captain. What just happened? How come there was such a loud explosion? And this temperature? How did it suddenly become so hot? Just now in my mind, a male voice suddenly appeared, yelling for me to get down. Me too. Me too. Is, the one who just forcefully landed on us during the battle? Faced with a whole bunch of questions from her teammates, Guo Luo was also confused at this time. Just now, a clear male voice also came from her mind, telling her to get down. Based on the soldier's obedience to command and the principle. Well, Luo Luo didn't even think about directly drilling into the gap where the steel behemoth was piled up. As a result, the next second a loud explosion was heard, and the temperature of the air instantly became boiling hot. Well, Luo Luo couldn't help but look towards the sky. That small dot that was glowing with red light. It was hard to believe that it was him. And on Zhang Chen's side. One second. Zhang Chen had just gotten his fighter and was preparing to fly it up to support Chen Mo. Who knew that the next second, a loud bang could be heard coming from the sky followed by sparks bursting in the air. Zhang Chen's heart burst into a frenzy. It was only until, the flames dispersed and the nearby maintenance team members came with happy news that Zhang Chen's heart fell to the ground. Captain, the War Admiral class Steel Dragon was defeated by Chen Mo with a single move. Not only the War General level dragon, all the magical beasts in the sky, all turned into a cloud of smoke and disappeared. Zhang Chen, who was looking at the sky above the battlefield from afar, could not help but stare. What? Wiped out? turned into a cloud of smoke and disappeared? Say that again? Captain. It's true. I don't know what skill the explosive sky fire carp used. All of the steel devils. All of them were melted. He even flew nearly a thousand meters higher. As if he was just afraid of rippling to the ground. The maintenance team members, at this moment, were so surprised that their jaws were about to drop to the ground. Stuttering, they reported the battle to Zhang Chen. Should we be so fierce? This idea of me going to support him looks stupid eh? Zhang Chen froze for half a day before slowly coming back to his senses. Looking towards the sky with a smile on his face, he could not help but spit out a sentence. Ten minutes later, the explosive skyfire carp slowly descended from the sky, and Xia Zhang used almost all the energy in her entire body to try her best to safely return herself to the ground. Fortunately, thanks to the incomparable abundance of energy that Chun Mo usually provided, she was able to save a point of energy for herself to save her life. Otherwise, I'm afraid that even if they won over those steel giants, they would still have to fall down from a thousand meters above the ground. By then, I'm afraid that they would really be shattered into pieces of slag. At the same time, all of the maintenance crew on the ground, at the same time, waited for the explosive skyfire carp to land. To the biggest hero in this war, the most noble salute, just as the big guys clattered and applauded, welcoming the hero's return, Xia Zhang, who had exhausted his last ounce of energy finally couldn't hold on any longer and collapsed towards the ground. In an instant, the exploding sky fire carp transformed into two people. After Chen Mo, Xia Zhang also fainted the moment she landed on the ground. Yi Qingqing rushed forward violently and held the two people up. Zhang Chen also rushed over at this time. Don't even move them. Someone, hurry up and send the two of them to Zhang Yanqing. She's the best mech repairer. She understands. Hurry. Three days later, 
After fainting for three whole days, Chen Emo finally had a bit of awakening. In fact, the most consuming thing for him in that battle was actually not the nearly depleted energy core. Rather, it was his spiritual energy. From the time he had forcefully landed those 13 mechs, Chen Mo's spiritual energy had already been drained of most of it, and his head already had a bit of an uncontrollable dull ache. As a result, when he finally unleashed the red flame cross chop, that was the real moment when his spiritual energy was almost drained away, and the little bit of energy that he had managed to build up was also drained cleanly. It took three days of slowing down before Chen Mo's spiritual energy was replenished a little bit, and the headache was all gone. Open your eyes when you wake up, you've been sleeping for three days, it's time to get up. A clear voice rang in his ears, and Chen Mo, who had his eyes closed, frowned tightly, then, slowly opened his eyes. After not opening his eyes for three days, the light shining in from the window flashed Chen Mao a little blurry, and he squinted for a long time before adapting to the brightness. The girl in front of him has a curvaceous figure, with a faint smile on her face, her long hair draped behind her like a waterfall of ink, and she looks about the same age as him. A long white dress made her look out of place in this room of parts, but that feeling of reserved innocence made Chen Mo somewhat slightly stunned. Where is this? This is my maintenance room. My dad said for me to make sure to cure you too. I've never seen him in such a hurry. Your dad? Yes, my dad, Zhang Chen, and I'm his daughter, Zhang Nianqing. Zhang Nianqing? Uncle Chen's daughter? Wasn't that his future girlfriend that he hadn't met? Chen Mo sat up violently and straightened his body, and in an instant, intense pain hit him, and Chen Mo's just straightened waist instantly hunched back. Be careful, why are you so agitated? You've just overdrawn your body, and although you've been slowed down for three days, the soreness and weakness after a violent overdraft will still last for a few days. Zhang Nianqing rushed forward to support Chen Mao and let him lie flat on the bed. Chen Mo's lively mind instantly rested. Gotta, it was better to take his time. He was now in pain even to lift his chest, not to mention chasing after women. Unexpectedly, this time, he had drained all of his spiritual power and energy, which had actually caused his body to become overdrawn like this. Overdraft? Right. Where's MS? Xia, how is MS? Xia, I was fainting in the sky. Is she alright? It was only at this time that Chun Mo remembered. At that time, he had completely failed to leave himself an ounce of leeway, and in order to completely kill the Battle Admiral Class Dragon and the gang of minions behind it, not a single ounce of his spiritual power or energy was left behind. At that time, the situation was so urgent that he didn't have time to think about what would happen to Xiaoxian, and it was only at this time, when he had come back to life, that he realized this problem. Don't worry, she's just like you, she's not injured per se. It's just that the exertion was too drastic, and she fell into a deep sleep. But she woke up yesterday. She should be back in school now. Should not say. She is really powerful. Above a thousand meters high. She even after the commander fainted. There is still enough energy to support her to land. To be able to accumulate so much energy. Must be. You guys should have been contracted for a very long time. Zhang Nianqing stroked her chin and faintly said. No. I only awakened as a commander this year. And she hasn't contracted a commander before. We contracted for less than a week. Hearing the news that Xia Zhang was fine, Chen Mo's lifted heart slowly fell to the ground. Xia Zhang's beautiful face surfaced in his mind. Chen Mo could not help but feel a softness in his heart. What? It's only been a week? Impossible. Then it's unbelievable that she was able to accumulate so much energy. Chen Mu hooked his lips in a smile and did not say more on this issue. After experiencing such a situation, he now couldn't wait to see Xia Zhang and just wanted to hurry back to her side. That. I'm not injured anyway. Can I go now? Yes you can, but are you sure you can get off the ground now? The overdraft is so severe. I suggest you can rest for one more day. No matter. I'll just go back and recuperate again. Then I'll leave first. Chen Emo slowly got up from the bed, ninjing the discomfort in his body, and walked towards the door. Right, I heard my father say that you've made a great achievement this time. He'll report it up to you, and your privileges should still be increased. Three days later, you'll come back to my place and I'll take you there. Okay? Thank you. After saying that, Chen Mo turned around and left Zhang Nianqing's maintenance room. After walking out of the maintenance unit, Chen Mo made a call to Xia Zhang. Wife, I'm awake. Come pick me up. It's time to make up for tonight. Xia Zing, who was on the opposite side of the phone, snapped and exclaimed, then reddened her face. Then you wait for me at the V. I. P. Unit. I'll change my clothes and head over. Right. What style do you like? I'll change it for you. Xia Zhang had just returned to her apartment from school at this time, and after receiving Chen Mo's phone call, she was a little overjoyed for a moment, and her hands were busy rummaging around in the closet. I just like your dainty, pure lust style, how you usually wear it. 
Chen Mo, this is not a lie. Xia Jin itself is the golden ratio. That leg is amazingly long. Wearing a small skirt, simply let Chen Mo heart. Three days passed in a flash. Under Xia Zheng's day and night care, Chen Mo's body had basically recovered to the state it was in before the battle. After sorting out the harvest from the wave in the far suburb leveling area, Chen Mo was simply happy to jump up and down. Although that battle had indeed made the past two days of his life worse than death, the joy of the harvest was simply insatiable. A total of 236 slave class iron dragons were killed, 32 battle soldier class iron dragons, and one battle general class iron dragon. A total of 6, 560 points were gained, plus the 984 left over from before, for a total of 7, 544. A total of 236 minion grade crystals, 32 battle soldier grade energy crystals, and one battle general grade energy crystal were obtained. Chen Mo did not think much about it and directly used the crystals obtained on Xia Zhang. Ding! Reinforcement successful. Red Flame Crosscut has been upgraded to level 2. The energy outreach distance has been extended to 200 meters. And the combined battle power has been increased by 30 hundred. Although the skill level had been raised. Since the release of big moves was not allowed inside the city. Chen Mo did not forcefully test the damage of his big moves. From the looks of it. He could only test the power of the red flame crosscut the next time he went to the far outskirts of the leveling area. After seeing Xia Zhen off to work, Chen Mo was also ready to leave for the maintenance unit. However, since Xia Zhen was not accompanying him today, he did not have a car to drive. So Chen Mo could only take the bus to the maintenance unit. On the road, there was an endless stream of all kinds of cars, bicycles, and motorcycles. Of course, the transportation vehicles that came and went were all machine girls. In the society of the machine girl era, not a single car was made by humans. All of them were machine girls. No matter how much money one had, there was no way to purchase one. Unless contracted. Squeak. The sound of brakes rang out in front of Chun Mo, and a bus then stopped. There weren't a lot of people on the bus. After all, it was a weekday and there weren't many people hanging around at this hour. Chen Mo found a window seat and sat down. His eyes couldn't help but look out the window. The city was full of high-rise buildings. Only these houses were not built of concrete bricks wrapped in steel. After all, this was a world where magical beasts had descended, and no one could predict when the city would be swept away by war. So here, no matter if it was a big high-rise with 20 or 30 floors, or a short house with 5 or 6 floors, the material used was basically steel alloy. The outside of the house is coated with heat insulation, sound insulation, cushioning and various other protective materials, which are not only solid and firm, but also warm in winter and cool in summer, making it comfortable to live in. The bus shook. Chen Mo could not help but feel sleepy in the bumps and slowly closed his eyes. Just then, the bus slammed on the brakes. Chen Mo's entire body was uncontrollably flung toward the front. Fortunately, he was not asleep, and hurriedly reached out to pull the handrail beside him. Z, boom! The bus had just come to a stop when a violent crash suddenly rang out, followed by the bus flipping over with its entire head downwards. Crap! What the hell? Is it tailgating? Tailgating? How could the bus flip over? The few passengers in the car kept spitting from their mouths, although they were cursing and swearing. Fortunately there were no casualties. Before Chen Mo had time to open his mouth, his vision was suddenly hooked by the scene outside the car window. What tailgating ah! The flat road in front of him was directly stabbed out into a deep pit, and a steel beast with a bronze-colored luster was reaching out to climb out of the pit. The bus was obviously toppled over by this big monster ah! Bang! As the bus flipped upside down headfirst, the protective airbags inside the body instantly popped out protecting all the passengers from harm as much as possible. All passengers, I have been severely traumatized. The doors are squeezed and cannot be opened. Please take out your window breaker hammers and smash the windows to get off the bus. All mechs in the bus. At the first moment after escaping, please transform into mech mode to protect those who are unable to defend themselves. Thank you for your cooperation. After saying these words, the bus machinima directly fainted. And, Chen Mo removed the window breaking hammer next to the window smashed the glass of the bus with a single hammer, and jumped off the bus. At the same time, facing the giant steel demonic beast that crawled out from the middle of the road, all the vehicles and the girls on both sides of the road, all of them changed their forms at the first time. Some of the weaker bikes couldn't help in the face of such a situation, carrying the commander and running away in a puff of smoke. Some of the small cars almost also have little combat power, want to help but cannot help. Stand in place dry anxious. Woo. Buzz. The roar of the engines around them was endless, and the slightly stronger machine girls, under the control of the commander, took some small children who hadn't yet awakened and the men who had little combat power, and took them away from the scene at the first opportunity. Only, the place where Chin Mo smashed the glass was a bit backward, 
and none of the machine nymphs noticed him for a while. The huge steel behemoth cocked its head, and from the gap where the bus had toppled over, its gaze locked onto Chen Mo. For a moment, Chen Mo had the feeling of being locked in, goosebumps running from his heels straight to the back of his head. I don't go out for fuck's sake. Nothing happens, I just sat on the bus once, and I stumbled upon the wraith, and just happened to catch up to the time when both teacher Xia and Yi Qingcheng were away. I'm damn, really down with eight lifetimes of bad luck. Chen Mo jumped out from the back of the bus and twisted his head to look around. However, the nearest few Mashinima all had commanders, and there was no way for him to escape even if he wanted to force a login. The only vehicle that didn't have a commander was the bus in front of him, but this bus was almost scrapped, even if he didn't mind. This thing couldn't run anymore. Is this God's way of killing me? Can't see that there are geniuses in this world? A strong sense of crisis made Chen Mo's back go cold. However, with Chen Mo's physical body, he couldn't do anything. Is this the fate of a commander? Is it possible that I'm really going to be accountable here today? What in the world is the security problem in the city center? How come no policewoman has rushed over in such a long time? Chen Mo was like an ant burning its feet on a stove, anxious in his heart but unable to do anything. When his eyes met with the steel beast, Chen Mo instantly sucked in a breath of cold air. What's the situation? Only to see that the steel beast maintained the posture of crawling out from the big pit in the middle of the road, its eyes staring tightly at Chen Mo, with no intention of looking to the side at all. It was as if whatever happened in this world had nothing to do with it, as long as Chen Mo was within its line of sight. Seeing this scene, Chen Mo could not help but drum up in his heart. Can't it be that it wasn't because he was unlucky? The only time he took public transportation, ran into this kind of thing. Rather, the steel beast itself was waiting for him? Outrageous thoughts appeared in Chen Mo's mind. Although it was somewhat unbelievable, the situation in front of him had to make Chen Mo think more. No wonder, no wonder the steel behemoth hadn't hurt anyone from the beginning to the end. If it was truly waiting for Chen Mo, then everything made sense. It was targeting itself. So naturally, there was no need for it to part its sights with insignificant people. However, what exactly was this thing looking for him for? Chen Mo hadn't seen any steel behemoths that looked like it either. Not waiting for Chen Mo to think clearly, the steel beast's body violently pressed downward, and then, the two hind legs stomped fiercely towards the ground, and the huge body instantly popped up, and lunged up towards Chen Mo. The two front claws were sharp and pointed. If it was really grabbed by it, it was feared that the soul would directly return to the west. Whoosh! Fortunately, Chen Mo had doubled his speed before, and although there was no way to completely escape from the steel beast's attack range, it was still not a problem to dodge its attacks. Roar! The steel beast swore that its blow fell short, its face full of disbelief. Then it roared into the air, turned its head towards Chen Mo, and once again lunged towards him. The originally flat ground was instantly cracked by its stomping with all its might. Chen Mo gulped, thinking in his heart that he absolutely could not let it touch him, or else his life would not be guaranteed. Running speed was raised to the extreme, dodging that magic beast's attacks again and again. Nay, humans are humans after all. After running back and forth for a dozen times, even if Chen Mo was made of iron, he would have fallen apart. Puffing and panting, Chen Mo felt that his two thighs were like lead. He couldn't even lift them up. It's over. It's over. The sky is going to kill me. In Chen Mo's gaze, the steel beast took a deep breath and once again leapt up high, lunging towards Chen Mo. I'm a damn SSS ranked commander. Today I even perished because I didn't have a machinima that I was able to land on. Saying it out loud is a damn joke. Heaven spirit. Please God. Send me a mecha. It doesn't matter if I can beat it or not, as long as it can take me to escape. For a while, Chen Mo even closed his eyes. The atheist finally wished to the heavens when facing death. What are you standing here foolishly for? A clear voice sounded like heavenly music in Chen Mo's ears. Chen Mo jerked his eyes open and turned his head to look in the direction the voice came from. Zhang Nianqing? How did you appear here? Weren't you waiting for me at the maintenance unit? I waited for you for a long time and you didn't come. I heard that a mega incident happened over here and thought that I guessed you were trapped over here. So I came over. Listening to Zhang Yanqing's crisp voice, Chen Mo felt that his congealed blood had finally started to flow slowly again. That feeling of fear of being dominated by death. But he could do nothing about it. Chen Mo really did not want to do it again. After slowing down, feeling the breeze on his face, Chen Mo could not help but look down. Crap. At this moment, he was being held in Zhang Yanqing's hands while Zhang Yanqing's entire body transformed into a mecha that was 10 meters tall. Thick armor covered the entire body, and just by looking at it, Chen Mo felt an unparalleled oppressive force. The darkness-based battle armor was like a god of death, annihilating the wheel of regicide. Black and gold color echo, right hand holding a pole double head or very sharp lance, surrounded by two barrels, 
like the next second will be the enemy shelling tier. Behind the back of the self-propulsion, two cylindrical jet barrels, a full nine jet holes. At first glance, Chen Emo felt that Zhang Yanqing's mecha form was majestic. Even Yi Qingcheng's majestic mecha looked petite and showy in front of her. Zhang Yanqing, there is no way to repay the favor of saving my life. Why don't I give my body in return? Hearing Chen Mo's words, Zhang Yanqing rolled her eyes, only thinking that Chen Mo was mouthing off. Unbeknownst to her, Zhang Chen had long had the intention of wanting to introduce her to Chen Mo. Should I say no? You're also really capable. How did you manage to be targeted by the hunters? Ha, huh? and you actually managed to wait until I arrived under the attack of the hunters. Zhang Yanqing couldn't help but exclaim. You know what this thing is ah? Uh? Why is it staring at me ah? Uh? I feel as if it's coming to kill me with a purpose. Chen Mo instantly became energized and hurriedly asked. Didn't you all have to read the Fei illustrations when you were in school? How could you not know what it is? Zhang Yanqing couldn't help but spit out a sentence. And in her heart, she couldn't help but think somewhat less of Chen Mo. What kind of powerful character could he be if he didn't even recognize a foreign beast? It was also unknown what role he had played in the war, and Pops was even trying to claim great merit for him, the titan purple and gold ape, known as the Huntress. The figure is about 2 meters tall, like a steel version of a gorilla, but the titan purple gold ape is different from ordinary gorillas, their figure is not as sturdy and robust as ordinary gorillas, although it is 2 meters high, but it does not appear to be formidable, and the speed is particularly fast, claws have a very sharp edge, as long as it can stab to the side of the target, will be able to kill. Moreover, this titan purple gold ape itself had an ability to block out radar retrieval, so it could always catch people off guard. Luckily, this kind of magical beast was scarce in number, or else on the battlefield. I'm afraid that if you're not careful, you'll be backstabbed by them. However, this kind of magical beast would normally not appear in the downtown area of a city, unless they were here to carry out a mission. That's right, the reason why the titan purple and gold apes were called hunters was because they would hunt down the geniuses among the humans. Regardless of whether it was the topmost machinima or the topmost commanders, they were all their targets. Zhang Yanqing couldn't help but twist her head and glance at Chun Mo. Could it be that he was that genius? Roar! Right at this moment, the titan purple gold ape on the ground roared angrily towards the sky above when it saw Chen Mao being taken away, only to see its body pressed down to its lowest level, its hind legs storing up full strength. It instantly catapulted out and leapt towards Zhang Yanqing, the terrifying explosive force tore the entire pavement apart. It had thought that it was just a human, and hunting it down was just a matter of snapping its fingers. Unexpectedly, it was bound to kill, but because of Zhang Yanqing's arrival, it completely fell through. Beneath Zhang Yanqing's feet, he could even feel the wind swirling from the sharp claws scratching through. This hunter, it has already reached more than three stars, I may not really be able to deal with it without a contracted commander. I'll have to wait for the maintenance force to come. Looking at the mess under her feet that was destroyed by that steel ape, Zhang Yanqing had more than enough power. There was no way. Whether or not a machine girl had an indentured commander, and what level of commander she had indentured, it was crucial to their strength. She was an SS-class nuclear submarine, and she couldn't contract a commander after awakening for so long. It was a joke to say so. However, the commanders that could provide nuclear energy were so few and far between that she had few, almost never seen. Why don't you try me? Maybe if the two of us work together. We can really get rid of that stinking ape down there? And, in case it jumps to the ground and disappears when the maintenance force comes, in case it causes damage to the city's sewers, that would be a big problem. Chen Mo rushed at Zhang Yanqing. After all, this hunter-killer's target was him, and letting it go this time, in case he really succeeded in backstabbing it next time, it would be a big loss. Might as well, just get rid of it now, once and for all. But, my only applicable energy source is nuclear energy. Can you provide it? Zhang Nanqing shook her head. She had no expectations from Chen Mo then. Ha, huh? didn't your father tell you what rank of commander I am? Chen Mo was about to laugh at her. How could a man say no? Looking at Zhang Nanqing with a confused forehead shaking her head, Chen Mo slowly said, I'm an SSS ranked commander who can provide all types of energy, including nuclear energy. Chen Mo explained patiently to Zhang Nanqing. In his heart, if this girl did not agree, it looked like he could only land by force. At the same time, Zhang Yanqing's mind began to spin rapidly. On one side was a man she didn't know very well, but knew was a good man. On the other side were the steel gorillas that were destroying the city. Looking at the mess at her feet, Zhang Yanqing gritted her teeth. Come up here then. Zhang Yanqing directly opened the door of the mech and let Chen Mo in. HM? Oh, good. Chen Mao was ready to forcefully land at this moment, but as a result, when he suddenly heard Zhang Yanqing's voice of agreement, he did not slow down for a while. 
He was never expecting that a top SS class mecha would actually agree to him getting on board. Bang! Chen Emo had just entered the cockpit when the mecha hatch instantly closed. Zhang Yanqing sent a temporary contract in the first instance. It was not Chen Mo's first time contracting a mecha long ago, and he was familiar with the temporary contract process. Chen Mo, Zhang Yanqing is about to carry out a temporary contract. Sympathetic system docking successful. Nervous system matching successful. Kinetic system matching successful. Interaction system matching successful. The moment the temporary contract was successful, Zhang Yanqing's various information was simultaneously displayed in front of Chen Mo's eyes. Name, Zhang Yanqing, name, Zhang Yanqing. Comprehensive rating, SS class nuclear submarine undead reaper. Applicable energy, nuclear energy. Mecha material, molybdenum steel alloy steel. Contractual relationship, uncontracted. Number of modifications, zero, number of modifications, zero, number of modifications, zero, number of modifications, zero. Gemstone slots, four, initial quality, S. Initial quality, S. Condition, 100% brand new. The cockpit's console was clean and all the buttons were protected exceptionally perfectly. Wow, it's worthy of being a nuclear submarine in 100% brand new condition. It's so cool. Undead Reaper. This nuclear submarine mecha is also too good. At the same time that Chen Mo was surprised, Zhang Yanqing's entire body instantly froze after the success of the temporary contract. Chen Mo hadn't lied to her. He really was an SSS grade commander ah. The attributes given to her were simply too perverse, right? Not only was she able to support her nuclear energy, but this energy also had the feeling of being inexhaustible. Moreover, he was just an SSS rank 1 star commander, but he had already learned a great move? Red Flame Cross Chop. It sounded like a kind of close quarters move, although it wasn't quite suitable for a deep sea nuclear submarine like her, but it was already enough to highlight Chen Mo's strength. I should have known that I shouldn't have made a temporary contract with him just now. It would have been better to just give him a formal contract. Zheng Yanqing looked at Chen Mo's panel at this moment. The more she looked at it, the more shocked and excited she became. What kind of heaven-sent divine commander was this? It was simply tailor-made for her. No wonder. No wonder. Not only was Xia Zhang willing to contract with him, even someone as proud as Yi Qingcheng had become his contracted mechanic. No wonder the huntress would risk her life and appear in the city today just to kill Chen Mo. He was, truly, a genius. Boom. Just as Zhang Yanqing was shocked, the titan purple and gold ape under his feet, once again destroyed a building. The members of the maintenance force also rushed over at this time but they were no match for that steel ape. And the moment they rushed up, they were blasted back. Are you ready? We're going on. Chen Emo slowly exhaled a breath and placed his hand on the center console. At this moment, he was also very nervous. After all, it was the first time he had harnessed an SS class mecha, and his hands were trembling a little with excitement. However, after the high intensity battles some time ago, Chen Mo's mind had long been honed to be unperturbed. So he soon stabilized himself. The gas pedal under his foot was pressed to the bottom. The energy core rotated in overdrive, and nuclear energy was continuously transferred into the SS-class mech. In an instant, Zhang Yanqing's entire body directly flew out. Wow, so cool. Is this the feeling of nuclear energy filling up? So refreshing. It's like I'm floating. For the first time in her life, Zhang Yanqing felt the sensation of a contracted commander, only feeling a lightness in her 10-meter-high fuselage. No, sister, we're fighting. Be serious. Chen Emo was crying and laughing a little. It was heartbreaking and funny that the SS-class nuclear submarine could not even find a commander who could provide her with energy. With this unseen look, under Chen Mo's reminder, Zhang Yanqing's excitement slowly returned. The mecha and the commander were both one at the moment, and Chen Mo's emotions would more or less affect the mecha itself. In an instant, Zhang Yanqing's stern eyes focused on the steel gorilla. As if it had a sense, the steel gorilla also snapped its head up, meeting Zhang Yanqing's line of sight straight on. Roar! There was another roar venting the fury of being besieged. The undead reaper gripped the double-headed, pointed lance in his hand and violently charged up towards the steel gorilla. The steel gorilla stomped its feet and instantly rose into the air. Sharp, sharp claws scratched up towards Zhang Yanqing's face, and Zhang Yanqing hurriedly crossed his lance in front of him, blocking its attack. Boom! Chen Emo was inside the mech and clearly felt a violent impact. This gorilla was really strong, no matter if it was speed or strength. Zhang Yanqing jerked back and without waiting for her to catch her breath, the steel orangutan's attack came after her again. The surface of the orangutan's tail was also wrapped in a thick layer of steel, and when Zhang Yinqing froze, it viciously lashed out. Even though Chen Mao was sitting inside the mech, he was shocked by this powerful whip and broke out into a cold sweat. Luckily, Zhang Yinqing dodged quickly, or else it was estimated that with this one blow, he would have to have his skin split open. Dang, 
Seeing that the steel gorilla's tail, once again flung towards them, Zhang Yinching hurriedly raised the lance in his hand and met it. Clang! The lance violently entangled the orangutan's tail, and then ruthlessly smashed onto the orangutan's back. The sharp end of the lance, ruthlessly piercing into the orangutan's steel underneath, must have pierced into his flesh and bones, only to see the steel orangutan's face grimacing, his mouth constantly emitting a low roar. As if sensing the pressure that Zhang Yinching brought to it, the steel ape could not help but retreat a little. Only, Zhang Yinching did not. He had no intention of letting it go. Just as he was about to rush up and kill the steel gorilla, the gorilla jumped away violently. The speed was so fast that Zhang Yinching was instantly confused. Worthy of being a three-star or above magical beast, its speed is too fast. My eyes see it, but my movements can't keep up with it at all. Zhang Yinching couldn't help but spit out a sigh, and his heart became anxious. This feeling of being able to see it but not being able to touch it was really hard to bear. Right at this moment, Chen Emo directly and forcefully seized the right to use the mech. As the steel gorilla flew up to tickle people once again, Chen Emo directly raised his lance and blocked its attack. How could you block its attack? I couldn't even react. Zhang Yinching exclaimed with some disbelief. I doubled my mental power and doubled my speed, so its movements were nothing more than that in my eyes. At least it's an SSS ranked commander. Do you think it's a soy sauce? Chen Emo hooked his lips and smiled, his eyes looking at that steel ape with a disdainful blank stare. That steel gorilla saw that its attack was blocked, and instantly realized that its attack was too one-dimensional. Flying lunge, scratching, as long as you saw where it jumped and the direction it jumped up, you could basically block its attacks. In an instant, the steel gorilla directly changed its stance and increased its speed to its fastest, making it almost impossible to see its trail with the naked eye anymore. Ha! Winning with speed? You can't beat it head-on so you want to engage in a sneak attack? Chen Emo snorted and pressed the gas pedal straight to the bottom maneuvering Zhang Nianqing and holding his lance across his chest. Then, only to see the undead reaper's knees bend, his body leaned back, and in the process, he slashed the lance in his hand. Clang! Only a loud collision sound was heard between steel and steel, and that steel gorilla instantly manifested itself. The huge impact force acted on the ape, directly slapping it as it flew out. Zhang Nianqing no longer dragged his feet, and the two cannons that surrounded him aimed straight at the steel gorilla. Eh eh eh, don't fire ah, this is in a downtown, are you trying to destroy the city? Seeing that Zhang Yinching was about to unleash the ultimate nuclear submarine move, Chen Ma Gong hurriedly called for a halt, this girl is also a violent temper, killing monsters to kill the head, this to really send out, that cannot be good? What should we do, if we don't hit it, it's really going to run away, don't worry, I have a big move too, with that said, Chen Mo manipulated Zhang Yinching and charged violently towards the steel ape, even though the ape was fast becoming a shadow, Chen Mo did not put it in his eyes. Red flame cross slash. Chen Mao's hand quickly slapped on the center console, his hand speed almost so fast that it was invisible. Similarly, the undead reaper almost disappeared from sight. Hiss. In the blink of an eye, the undead reaper reappeared once more. Behind it, the steel gorilla's body directly shattered into four pieces, clattering and scattering all over the place. For a moment, the city center, which was in a mess was instantly silent. Chen Mao. Ha, huh, what's wrong? I have a feeling of killing addiction. The abundant energy makes me feel a satisfaction that I have never experienced before. Can you formally contract with me? If I hadn't made a temporary contract with you, I might have found someone who could provide nuclear energy to settle for the rest of my life. But having been harnessed by an SSS class top commander like you, I don't think there's any way I could ever settle again. That move just now. Was it called the Red Flame Crosscut? Can you teach it to me? Chen Mo sat quietly within the mech, his heart thumping at his mouth. Zhang Yinching, was this a confession to him? She was going to make a formal contract with her. Officially? Chen Mo could not help but hook his lips in a smile. Perhaps, this was the charm of an SSS-ranked commander. Or rather, this was a personal charm that belonged uniquely to Chen Mo's own. Having felt the soundness of being harnessed by him in battle, having seen the best, how would one look at the rest more? You're just briefly mesmerized by my strength right now. After you've calmed down and seriously thought about it, if you still want to contract with me, by then, I'll definitely agree. Chen Mo was full of smiles and spring. Of course he wouldn't put words in his mouth. After all, two months later, he was going to participate in the troops competition. And if he could really contract with Zhang Yinching, the probability of him being able to win would be greatly increased by having an SS class mecha sitting on the ground at that time. What's more, Zhang Yinching really grew on his aesthetic point. Such a beautiful woman. If it was really cheap for someone else, then he must not regret it to death. Now that the cooked duck flew to his mouth by itself, it was okay to fish for it, 
if he really rejected it in one bite, then he would not be a fool? However, hearing Chen Mo's words of refusal, Zhang Yinqing smiled instead of being angry. Good, then we have a deal. You must leave me a contracted seat oh. After collecting the reward for killing the steel gorilla, the two of them headed towards the maintenance unit. The maintenance unit, the training ground, an armored car led the way, followed by several military combat vehicles, and stopped in a crowing manner. The armored car in the lead, its door opened, and a man with a swollen nose and a neck immobilizer jumped down from the car. Perhaps it was because he also had injuries on his legs. The moment he jumped down, he stumbled and almost fell. It was none other than the man who had been brutally beaten up by Chin Mo some time ago, Wu Hao. Even though his whole body was covered with bruises, Wu Hao's face at this moment was filled with arrogance. Behind him, the door on the other side of the armored car also opened, and a middle-aged man wearing a military uniform with two stars drawn on the medallion also slowly walked off the car. This person was Wu Hao's father, Wu Yuan Feng. After the two of them got off, the armored car that looked like it was not to be messed with also transformed into a human form. This woman was precisely Wu Hao's mother, Lin Rong. The woman's face was a bit grim, her eyebrows filled with anger, as if she was suppressing her temper, and she glanced around the perimeter. Her eyes focused on Zhang Chen, who had just arrived, and she said coldly, Captain Zhang, I handed my son over to you and this is how you take care of him. I donate money to your troop every year just so that you can take it and use it against my son? Zhang Chen knew why they had come when he got the news of Wu Yuanfeng's arrival, and at this point, he had already prepared himself. Wait, what money did you donate? That's what above the dome donated to the troops to keep the warriors fed and warm. The cost of repairing the mechs. What does it have to do with you? Zhang Chen had expected that Lin Rong would take this to task. After all, Lin Rong was a high-ranking staff member of above the dome. How could he not use it with such a powerful backstage? However, Zhang Chen was not false at all. Because above the dome is essentially an economic organization. And it is not the economic organization of Xin Longwu's own country. It is a joint formation of various overseas forces. In the face of Zhang Chen's attitude of not allowing a single step, Lin Rong narrowed her eyes in indignation. However, Lin Rong also knew that it was best not to start a conflict here until it was absolutely necessary. After all, this was a maintenance force, and in case there was a four-star mecha sitting there, it would be very difficult to end it at that time. Lin Rong glanced back at Wu Yuanfeng, signaling him to step in. Wu Yuanfeng instantly understood, and walked forward. Little Zhang Ah, regardless of anything else, my son was beaten by your men in the army to this state. His neck is also injured, a few teeth have fallen out, and his body is covered in bruises. You should give me an explanation, right? Wu Yuan Feng was like a smiling tiger. His tone seemed to be good to talk to, but the killing intent that flashed in his eyes was captured by Zhang Chen. Looking at the row of chariots behind Wu Yuan Feng, Zhang Chen was lying when he said he wasn't worried. If this was a real fight, what should Chen Mo handle then? Then why don't you ask him why he was beaten? In the army, he dared to harass Yi Qing Cheng, stopping other young girls from leaving. Everyone saw it. You could have asked. Zhang Chen argued with reason refusing to back down. Then did my son hurt that girl? No, he didn't. But look at how my son was beaten up. Zhang Chen, I advise you to better stay out of this matter. Hand over that Chun Mo and cooperate with the investigation. Wu Yuanfeng really didn't expect Zhang Chen to harbor Chen Mo so much. If he was really so insensitive, the big deal was to try a fight. When Chen Mo and Zhang Yanqing rushed here, what they saw was such an evenly matched confrontation scene. Seeing the tightly wrapped Wu Hao, and the pair of men and women beside him, Chen Mo instantly understood the situation. The son couldn't beat him, so he brought his father here to take over the scene. I don't know. By the time the father also can't beat, whether to call the grandfather also. When the time comes, the family will be disgraced, neat and tidy. Seeing the main character Chen Mo came, Wu Hao the whole person is very angry. After all, there are people backing up. He is not afraid of Chen Mo at all. Chen Mo, I advise you not to hide behind Captain Zhang and act like a softie. If you have the ability to do so in front of my parents, you'll be bullish again I'll see. Chen Mo snorted, somewhat speechless. He really hadn't seen this kind of remembering to eat and not remembering to fight. I didn't do it now is not that I don't dare to do it. I am giving Captain Zhang face. If you don't know how to be good, then I will be in the face of your parents, and then beat you up again. I don't know how many teeth left in your mouth are enough for me to beat you up. How? Dare you? The last time he was violently beaten by Chen Mo, he still vividly remembered. Every night nightmares are Chen Mo beating him. To be honest, Wu Hao is still a little afraid. What a rotten slime that can't hold up the wall. How did I give birth to such a useless son like you? A single word can scare you like this. Wu Yuanfeng gave his own son a hateful look. Really a bit hateful. Kid, 
There's no need to hitch up the rest of your life for a woman. I advise you to hurry up and lift the contract with that what's her name Yi Qingcheng. Let her contract with my son. Wipe my son's body and wash his feet every day. And I'll take this matter as not having happened. That's right. Lick my stinky feet every day. Stay with me 24 hours a day and be my chambermaid. Wu Hao looked at his old dad giving him a head start and hurriedly responded. Listening to Wu Yuanfeng and Wu Hao's words, Chen Mo's eyes instantly turned stern. And for the first time, he looked squarely at the man in front of him with a lieutenant colonel's shoulder badge. Even the best-tempered person had a bottom line. And for Chen Mo, his woman was his bottom line. Although the relationship with Yi Qingcheng hadn't come to the final step yet, he didn't mind if the Wu family's father and son had such thoughts, letting them learn a long lesson. There were some things that could not even be thought about. Wu family dog thieves, I only taught your son a lesson before, but now, I hate to put you all on the spot, and next year's today will be the anniversary of your family's death. The murderous aura in Chen Mo's eyes instantly erupted, and Lin Rong hurriedly turned back to look at the blast-proof car in the middle of the convoy. Although Lin Rong was a high-ranking person above the dome, the power in her hands did not allow her to decide whether she could or could not make a move today, and the real person in charge was inside that explosion-proof car. Over here, Wu Yuanfeng had no idea what Lin Rong was worried about. Instead, he was still somewhat complacent. After all, Chen Mo was really too young. Even if he was now furiously putting out harsh words, for Wu Yuanfeng, it was just pride that drove him. As for that S-Class Mecha, if it could really be contracted with Wu Hao, then his Wu family would really be shining and shining. He himself was only a B-Class commander. And the reason why he was able to contract Lin Rong's kind of A-class mecha was only because he himself had been promoted all the way up to lieutenant colonel, and it wouldn't be long before he would be promoted to colonel, so he was just lucky. But even so, he hadn't been able to contract an S-ranked machine girl. If his son could really contract an S-class, then what did he care? In the modern world, who hasn't been divorced? Just at this time, the person in that blast-proof car sent a message to Lin Rong. Let it go. I'll carry it if something happens. After receiving this message, the uneasiness on Lin Rong's face instantly dissipated, and her spine straightened. The feeling of having someone at the top to support the scene was really damn cool. You'll be called Chen Mo, right? I see that you're also still a tough guy. I'll give you a chance. If you're willing to work as an ox for my Wu family and protect Wu Hao's safety for the rest of your life, then this matter will be over and we won't make things difficult for you. Listening to this outrageous statement, Chen Mo was furious and laughed. What kind of drama was this woman playing in her head? Did she really take him for a softy? Just you guys, you're also worthy of making me work as a cow? If you didn't hear what I just said, can you go to the hospital and hang up an ear, nose, and throat department to see what's wrong? Or worse yet, go to a psychiatric hospital to see if you have any mental problems. Just as Chen Mo's words fell, he felt someone tugging on his sleeve. Turning his head, he saw that it was Zhang Chen. I just watched Lin Rong turn around before I saw that there was her superior, Xin Shou, an S-rank commander, sitting in that explosion-proof car. But why did he appear here today? A troop heavy area isn't the place for him to be. Zhang Chen frowned tightly and whispered to Chen Mo. Uncle Chen, these people's purpose doesn't look innocent. I don't know what great things they are going to do under the guise of standing up for Wu Hao. Zhang Chen nodded with a serious face. Above the dome, is this something that can't be hidden anymore? Right at this moment, without saying a word, Lin Rong directly transformed into a 6 meter tall mecha. Reno guard, Wu Yuanfeng hurriedly jumped on it. At the same time, on the entire training ground, all the vigilantes also instantly completed their form switching, while all the vehicles on Lin Rong's side also instantly morphed. The situation was at a standstill for a moment, tit for tat, only, although both sides seemed evenly matched, it was obvious that Zhang Chen's side was somewhat weaker. This was because Qin Shou and his mecha, the S-Class Hades, had also joined the fighting team. Chen Mo, I'll give you one more chance. Are you going to be a dog for my Wu clan, or am I going to destroy you? Wu Yuanfeng's voice sounded once more, residing high in the air and looking down at Chun Mo with a disdainful expression. I still say the same thing. You damn well deserve it? Then let's go on as well. Chen Mo glanced at Zhang Yanqing beside him. At this time, Xia Zhang and Yi Qingchang were both. Weren't there, he could only fight with Zhang Yanqing once again. Zhang Yanqing nodded, and in an instant, the 10 meter tall mecha undead reaper, once again appeared. Whether it was Wu Yuanfeng or Qin Shou, they simultaneously stayed in place not daring to move. As for Zhang Yanqing's father, Zhang Chen, he was even more shocked at this time, and couldn't stop wondering in his heart, when did these two people hook up, and one after another, the whispers of the maintenance team members came from the training ground, wow, is this Zhang Yanqing's mecha prototype, it's the first time I've seen it, this has to be 10 meters tall, 
right? It's worthy of being an SS class mecha. This figure, it's perfect. It can only be viewed from afar. I'm not worthy of it. It's a pity that Zhang Yinqing couldn't find a suitable commander. There's nowhere to utilize the strength of hers. Crap, crap. Look guys, Chen Mo went up. Could he provide nuclear energy? Tai Pants Hot, SSS class commander. I want it too. Looking at the crowd that was flabbergasted, Zhang Chen sat in his mech and slowly spoke. Xin Shou, can I assume that you above the dome are declaring war with the country? With so many mechs and guns pointed at the soldiers. Are you sure you're in charge? Wu Yuan Feng. And you, don't think that just because you're attached to above the dome, you don't care about anything. You're a lieutenant colonel. Ask yourself, what contribution have you made to this city? Some time ago, a serious beast tide occurred in the far suburb practice area. I don't believe you didn't receive any news at all. Why didn't I see you piloting a mech over to fight at that time? Today, just for that son of yours who was not good enough to accomplish anything, he openly declared war with the army? I see that you've drifted as an official. Who are you to pick on Chen Mo? In terms of rank, Chen Mo is an SSS ranked commander. In terms of family and national righteousness, a few days ago, it was he who turned the tide of battle and guarded the stability of the city with his own strength. That son of yours, I think it's all a light beating. And even you, as a father, should be given a good beating. Zhang Chen's words, inside and out, scolded Wu Yuan Feng, Lin Rong and Wu Hao, through and through. The point was, they were still unable to refute a single word. Xin Shou listened to Zhang Chen's words at the back, seeing that his plan was about to be destroyed by Zhang Chen. He was furious for a while. What are you still waiting for? Get on me. Get them killed and snatch all the top tier machinima. Wu Yuan Feng was scolded by Zhang Chen, and when he heard Qin Shou's order, he instantly became murderous as well. Uncle Chen, should I stay my hand? If I don't leave any survivors, I'll go all out. Before Chen Mo made his move, he asked appropriately. After all, it was related to the high-ranking personnel above the dome, as well as the leaders of the troops, so one had to be cautious in making a move. Leave a survivor. Wu's family is after all a troop official. When the time comes to go to the military court to be convicted, as for Qin Shou, when the time comes to hand it over as well, let's see if we can interrogate something. Okay. Saying that, Chen Mo directly connected into Zhang Yinqing's machine lady system. In the blink of an eye, the undead reaper directly headed towards the opposite side and charged up. Under Zhang Chen's command, the vigilantes also followed at the first opportunity, and the two parties fought to a standstill. Chen Mo's target from the beginning to the end was only one, and that was Wu Yuan Feng, daring to covet his woman. Wu Yuan Feng was simply tired of living and shall not die. A 10 meter tall undead reaper against a 6 meter tall Reynolds guard could not be said to be crushed, but it was also without a doubt. Only, although the Reno guard was of a slightly lower level, it was equipped with quite a lot of equipment. Chen Mo did not pay attention to the right hand of the Reynolds guard, slowly rose up a diameter of about 20 centimeters or so of the barrel. See the mouth of the barrel has begun to smoke rolling smoke, Chen Mei in the center console, crazy operation, hand speed fast to have heavy shadow, for a moment, the undead reaper looked like it had flashed, appearing directly in front of the reno guards, with a kick, it directly slammed into the reno guards chest, not everyone had Chen Mo's double mental strength and double speed, the speed of the undead reaper was so fast that Wu Yuan Feng and Lin Rong didn't react at all, and were directly sent flying backwards with a kick, for a time, the training ground was flying with dust, and the VPC members who were far away couldn't see what was happening in the swirling dust, and in the flying dust, Reynolds guard was kicked by the undead reaper and stomped backwards, his knees weakened and fell to the ground, and Wu Yuan Feng inside the mech was even worse, the whole mouth sprayed blood wildly, dying the center console red, at this time, the sympathetic system between Wu Yuan Feng and the Renault guards was heavily damaged, Lin Rong's neuron sensitivity decreased after she transformed into the mech, but she didn't feel much, just like the middle of her chest had already been dented by the undead reaper's kick, and the kinetic energy interface had been severely deformed, but she only felt a vague pain, unlike Wu Yuan Feng, whose entire being was almost gone, ding, synchronization rate has dropped to 30%, please disengage the mecha, commander, ding, synchronization rate has dropped to 25%, please disengage the mech, commander, ding, synchronization rate has dropped to 20%, commander, please disengage the mech, the system warning sound inside the mech, one sound higher than the other, urged Wu Yuan Feng to disengage from the mech. Seeing that Chun Mo manipulated the undead reaper to attack once again, Wu Yuan Feng hurriedly forced open the hatch and jumped out of the mech. The Reynolds guard that had lost its commander lost its energy source and instantly turned into human form. Lin Rong's face was white, the corners of her mouth were oozing stars of blood, her chest was dented, 
Her breathing was intermittent, and she was obviously not lightly injured. From the start of the fight to the end of the fight, it all ended surprisingly so quickly. Lin Rong just couldn't even think of how she lost. Looking at Wu Yuan Feng, who had directly cast her aside and ignored her in the face of danger, Lin Rong had a feeling of lightness for a moment. Ten minutes ago, she was still a high-ranking person above the entire dome. Raising her hand and throwing her feet could decide the life and death of some people. But after ten minutes, even Wu Yuan Feng, whom she usually looked down upon, dared to roll his eyes at her. For a while, Lin Rong looked at the back of the undead reaper with incomparable regret. What kind of monster had she? In the end, provoked, Wu Hao stood at the back, watching his proud father and mother, being beaten by Chen Mo, without any fight, and at that moment, he also froze in place. With his insight, he really didn't understand why his mother, who had spent a huge amount of money to equip so many luxurious accessories, would not even be able to defeat a mech that was not equipped with anything. It was even pressed to the ground and blasted and hammered. It was surprising that his mother hadn't even used her strongest weapon yet before she was knocked down. Only, without waiting for Wu Hao to think about it, Chen Mo's eyes looked at him again. That murderous look was just fixed on Wu Hao's face, and Wu Hao was so scared that he sat on his butt on the ground. A yellow liquid spread uncontrollably. Chen Mo had indeed moved to kill. In the love scene, in an honorable competition, he could still think highly of the other party. But if the other party uses this kind of underhanded means, want to rely on the power to separate a pair of lovers. That is really disgusting. Wu Hao should never have moved earth on his Chen Mo's head. The end of coveting his woman was only death. What's more, at this time, his father and mother betrayed their motherland and declared war on the Divine Dragon Kingdom's army. Then they had already been labeled as spies. Wu Yuan Feng could not be touched, but Wu Hao was just a minor character. Color, killing it was just as good as killing it. I told you, I will definitely take your head. Chen Mo's face was infinitely enlarged in front of Wu Hao's eyes, and then the pain of the lance piercing his chest spread all over his body. Put, the undead reaper instantly appeared in front of Wu Hao. His right hand copied the double-headed pointed lance and stabbed forward, easily sending Wu Hao away. On the other side, Qin Shou's Hades of the Underworld and Zhang Chen's Halberd of the Jinhai also fought with fervor. Although both mechs were S-class, Qin Shou's Hades of the Underworld was slightly higher in star level, so much so that Zhang Chen was slightly weaker. Chen Mo frowned slightly and rushed forward to help. It should be said that this underworld King Hades, although its quality wasn't too good, the things it was equipped with were all fat. Chen Mo looked a little greedy. If this was equipped for MS, Xia and Yi Qing Chang, I'm afraid that it could directly raise two stars. Above the dome is worthy of being an economic organization, a high-ranking person, such a luxurious equipment, said to buy it, the piece that protrudes from its back alone, that's an artificial kinetic energy core that can't be bought with money on the market. No wonder Qin Shou was able to rank very high in the imperial capital, so I'm sure that above the dome had invested absolutely a lot in him. If there was a boost from this thing, at that time, when Chen Mo fainted in the sky, even if Xia Zhang didn't have stored energy, relying on the artificial kinetic energy core, he would still be able to ensure their safe landing. It was also unknown how the hell this person had gotten his hands on it. It was hard to believe that above the dome could still provide a sales channel for this thing, or perhaps, Above the dome had already mastered the method of making this thing? The more Chen Mo thought about it, the more surprised he felt, and the more bizarre he felt. This above the dome, it was time to look into it. Uncle Chen, let me help you. Chen Mo shouted, saying that he was about to rush up and decapitate Hades, the king of the underworld. Chen Mo, don't force yourself. You and Nian Nian haven't formally contracted yet. Be careful that you can't fight. This guy is very powerful, Zhang Chen said with some concern. Mainly, Hadn't Chen Mo gone to confront the Reno guard? How did he have time to come to his side? Zhang Chen couldn't help but shake his head as his afterglow inadvertently looked behind Chen Mo. Oh, what a guy. Where on this battlefield were the figures of the Reno guards? It was merely a group of remnants spitting blood. On Wu Yuanfang's side, the most powerful mechs were none other than Lin Rong and Qin Shou's Hades, and the rest of the low-level mechs were able to be dealt with by the maintenance staff. At this moment, Lin Rong had already lost the battle, and in a two-on-one situation, there was almost no chance that Hades could win. Chen Mo heard Zhang Chen's reminder and hooked his lips into a smile. He was still certain of handling an S-class mecha. Clang! The undead reaper's lance slammed towards Hades the underworld king, making a loud clashing sound for a moment. He didn't know what kind of material this mech was made of, but his base state shield was so thick that a strong strike with full force stored up didn't even break his base state shield. Just when Qin Shou swore, thinking that the base state shield could resist all attacks, Chen Mo quietly unleashed his big move. The black and yellow lance in his hand emitted a faint glow. His speed increased to the fastest, 
and the lance was raised above his head. In an instant, it slashed violently downwards. The lance, which was full of power, had all the energy it could muster for a moment, and it slashed down from the head of Hades, the king of the underworld. Red flame cross chop. Chin Shou's smile instantly froze on his face. A cross-shaped wound appeared on top of Hades the Underworld King's head. It was also the fact that Hades the Underworld King's own material had received a huge upgrade to the point that the base state shield was solid enough, or else it was this strike that would have blown Qin Shou's head apart. It was also the first time that Zhang Chenchen had enjoyed Qin Mo's battle from close range, and at this moment, he was also in a daze. Crap! An SS Grade 1 Star Mech, an SSS Grade 1 Star Commander, even released a big move? Could he have learned this big move a little too quickly? Was this the charm of an SSS ranked commander? To be honest, after experiencing the last beast tide, although Zhang Chen knew that Chun Mo was powerful, he did not know that this guy was actually this powerful. Having just come from afar, Chen Mo arrived almost in the blink of an eye. Just this speed alone made it impossible for people to keep up. Ah, San Tian Ah, a man is more powerful than a man, and he's so angry. Hades, the king of the underworld's kinetic connection was severed and he lost his mobility at that moment. Only the spare energy core on his back was still spinning. Chen Mo manipulated the undead reaper to raise his right arm, his lance pointing at Hades the underworld king's spare energy core. Uncle Chen, I can keep this thing alive, but can I remove some equipment from it? Chen Mo looked towards Zhang Chen, with an air of, if you don't let me dismantle it, I'll get him killed. Zhang Chen could not help but laugh breathlessly. You dismantle it, just leave a life to send him up for interrogation. Don't get him killed. I just want the person. Chen Mei heatedly smiled and gently lowered the immobilized king of the underworld Hades in front of him. Gently like treating a girlfriend. This guy's body, everywhere is high-end accessories. Is simply a walking accessory box? In case of broken, Chen Mo should really heartache. After dismantling Hades, Chen Mo dragged Qin Shou out of the mech bay. The connection between Qin Shou and Hades had all been severed, and his entire body had been severely injured. So when he was dragged out by Chen Mo, he was almost out of breath. Hades, the king of the underworld, had also instantly transformed back into his human form. Seeing Chen Mo finish dismantling it, Zhang Chen rushed to have someone call an ambulance. Only, in his mind, he still flashed back to Chen Mo's appearance of piloting the mech just now from time to time. Although he had already acquiesced to Chen Mo as his son-in-law long ago, in his impression, this was the first time Chen Mo had piloted Zhang Yanqing. Logically, there was a process of adaptation between the commander and the mech. But Chen Mo, just now, no matter whether it was the speed or the angle of the attack, it was perfect and unbelievable, and under the ultra-high-speed movement, he was still able to release the attack so accurately. Was this really something a human could do? An SSS-ranked commander? Was he that invincible? Sure enough, Chen Mo did not let him down, and Yin Yin would count himself as relieved when he handed him over at that time. Not long after, the sound of an ambulance came from far and near. After arriving at the training ground of the maintenance unit, the ambulance transformed into a humanoid form at the first opportunity, with blood in various parts scattered all over the place. The ambulance lady couldn't help but be scared. What in the world is happening here? Why does it look even more horrifying than doctors performing an operation? Looking towards the several people whose blood was gushing wildly on the ground, the ambulance lady hurriedly went forward to stop their bleeding, and fixed the broken bones in the meantime. What are you guys doing? Do all the troops fight this seriously? Playing for real? Crap! Is this Hades the king of the underworld? The one who ranks in the top 5 in the entire imperial capital? Wow! Who did this? It's too brutal, right? Fortunately fortunately, it can still be saved. The ambulance lady spat while rushing to save a few people, fearing that if she was a little late, these people would become corpses. In three tries, the several people lying on the ground were wrapped into mummies. There was no way. There were too many injuries, so they could only be wrapped this way. Right at this time, Zhang Yanqing also slowly changed back to her human form, and Chen Mo also appeared on the training ground once again. The ambulance lady looked at Chen Mo's spirited appearance and couldn't tea help but ask, Is, this something you did? Looking at the ambiguous winking look of the ambulance, son, Chen Mo could not help but follow the pole. Dry, a group of spies, they are also worthy? The ambulance lady's eyes instantly lit up. I'm contributing to the country. Clean and innocent Dragon Kingdom people, do you think I'm worthy? Chen and froze. Never thought that this ambulance is so. In broad daylight Lang Lang Shankuan dared to say this kind of words. For a time do not know how to return. Just at this time, Zhang Yanqing grabbed Chen Mo's arm. Sister, he already has a girlfriend yo. Chen Mo, I've thought it over. I want to formally contract with you. After disappearing from the training ground, Zhang Yanqing took a deep breath and said to Chen Mo, 
When I was in the downtown area, I was enamored with the strength that you brought to me. It was a feeling that I had never experienced before. The first time I participated in a battle, the first time I slayed a steel demon beast, in that moment, I was really addicted to it, and I wanted so much to be able to have this kind of ability for my entire life, and to use my strength to serve my country, just like a true warrior. However, just now on the training ground, I suddenly realized that I appreciate you as a person more than the strength you bring to me. I don't deny that I had some prejudice against you before, having one woman and contracting another, and no matter if it's Xia Zhang or Yi Qingcheng, they both love you from the bottom of their hearts. I don't understand it. However, just now, on the training ground, you even for Qing Cheng, without hesitation, you went against Wu Hao, without the slightest regard for how powerful the forces behind him are. I don't know if it's because you're too stupid or too deeply in love. I even inexplicably have some heartfelt thoughts, thinking that if there is a day when you can protect me like this as well, then how good it would be. Your calmness on the battlefield, your heart that doesn't panic in the face of a strong enemy, and your out of this world maneuvering made me explode with an unprecedented amount of energy. I'm willing to dedicate my entire life to you. Chen Mo, can you, be my commander? Never turn my back. Zhang Yinqing took a deep breath and quietly looked at Chen Mo, waiting for his answer. The SS-class noble Mecha had finally found a commander she was satisfied with, and even lowered her noble head for it. Chen Mo's heart shook slightly. He had thought that Zhang Yinqing would definitely come back to find his contract in the end, but he had never thought that it would come so soon. A beautiful and powerful Mecha. What man wouldn't love it? What was there to hesitate about? Good. In an instant, Zhang Yinqing transformed into a huge deep-sea nuclear submarine, and the hatch opened to greet Chen Mo. Chen Mo. Zhang Yinqing is about to make a contract. Sympathetic system docking successful. Nervous system matching successful. Kinetic system matching successful. Interaction system matching successful. Zhang Yinqing sent the contract to Chen Mo, and after the icy beep ended, the contract was also officially completed. Right at this moment, the icy electronic tone resounded in Chen Mo's mind once again. Ding! Congratulations on successfully contracting your third S-class or above mech. The commander's exclusive mission panel has been opened. The mission panel will be issuing missions from time to time. Completing the mission will result in massive rewards. Ding! Congratulations on receiving 30, 000 bonus points. Ding! Congratulations on obtaining a curvature engine. Ding! Congratulations on receiving a special card. Ding! Congratulations on obtaining a martial arts card. The cold electronic voice sounded for a long time, and every reward made Chen Mo shiver with excitement. This reward is simply too generous ah, and that martial skill card inside. It sounded like it was able to enhance him personally. Previously, Chen Mo thought that it was enough for a commander to be able to pilot a mech well, and it didn't matter if he had any combat skills of his own. However, this afternoon in the downtown, when he was targeted by that steel gorilla, he really regretted it. When there was no mecha around, one's own martial arts skills were something that could really save one's life. Bullseye. There's also that commander's exclusive mission panel, which will give up missions from time to time. What does that mean? After Chen Mo put away the rewards, he clicked on that extra panel. Only, the mission panel hadn't refreshed at this point, indicating that the randomized missions hadn't been issued. Chen Mo could not figure out the function of this panel for a while. Buzz. After the contract was completed, the hatch of the deep sea nuclear submarine slowly opened. Chen Mo walked out from it. Zhang Yinqing also transformed into human form and led Chen Mo to Zhang Chen's office. Zhang Chen sat in front of his desk and looked at the relaxed Chen Mo with a serious expression. You two have already succeeded in your contract? Ha, huh? I, a father, didn't even realize it until now? In vain, I was still thinking about how to urge you guys to get to know each other, to understand, and my brain was dizzy from thinking about it. You little brat still laughing? Look at me today. For your sake, I got a hole in my uniform. Chen Mo looked at Zhang Chen's fuming appearance and couldn't help but want to laugh. If this was put before, he might still joke with Zhang Chen. But now, he couldn't. Zhang Chen's identity was no longer just the captain of the maintenance unit, but also his father-in-law. What kind of son-in-law dares to jump in front of his father-in-law? Especially, Chen Mo had also indentured someone's daughter without Zhang Chen's knowledge. However, Zhang Yinqing on the side was newly married. How could she watch her father tease her husband? Chirping, she said, Dad don't you have something to say to Chen Mo? You quickly say it. Zhang Chen glanced at his daughter with hatred. Alas, a daughter who married out is like a torn little cotton jacket. Although it does keep her warm, it more or less leaks. Chen Mo, after this battle today, Wu Yuanfun stepping down is probably a nail in the coffin. There shouldn't be any more reversals, and above the dome should have treated them as outcasts as well. This time, you have made a great achievement. I have just reported it as well. 
I'm afraid that even the top doesn't know what to reward you with. Good boy. Just joining the army. You have made three consecutive meritorious achievements. It's worthy of being the person I have my eye on. Shen Mo scratched his head and was still a bit embarrassed for a while. This was originally his own personal matter. Who would have thought that the person who provoked him was a hostile force? This credit, he was still a bit soft in taking it. Uncle Chen, as you know, this credit is simply a mistake. If it wasn't for Wu Hao messing with my head, I'm afraid there wouldn't have been this later incident. Bastard, deeded my daughter, flip-flopped and disowned her, still calling uncle, an address that called Zhang Chen's eyebrows straight up. Eh, dad, ha ha ha, if you really can't call out, just call uncle Chen first, I'm teasing you. After a small joke, Zhang Chen's face sank again. Chen Mo also realized that Zhang Chen was about to say something serious, so he sat up straight as well. When I just reported the situation to my superiors, they revealed a piece of news to me. In fact, above the dome has long been monitored by an official organization, the Hundred Battles Mercenary Corps. It's just that because they haven't been revealing themselves, the officials haven't been able to move them, and this time, we've kind of forced their hand. It's said that the Hundred Battles Mercenary Corps has gathered more than 30 municipalities to link up and start lining up spies from foreign forces throughout the country, and if the mission is successful, the rewards will be extremely high. This time, you helped our Imperial Capital Vigilante Force get the top spot, and the top gave you a big prize straight from the top. The Hundred Battles Mercenary Corps? Chen Mo had really not heard of this organization at all, thinking that it was an official and very private organization, as if he knew what Chen Mo wanted to ask. Zhang Chen followed up. The Hundred Battles Mercenary Corps is a national organization established by the official mandate of our country, currently only open to a portion of the population. Those who join the Hundred Battles Mercenary Corps are free to form a team and complete the officially released missions. These missions are highly confidential, but the corresponding rewards are also very generous. Chen Mo's entire body was stunned to hear this. Anyway, in short, completing the Hundred Battles Mercenary Corps missions, one would be able to obtain a large amount of rewards chant. That's not bad at all. Now, I'll send you your rewards first, Comrade Chen Mo. In view of the fact that during the Beast Tide operation in the far suburb practice area, you turned the tide of battle with your own strength, single-handedly killing more than a hundred flying magical beasts, and defending the safety of the human survival area and the safety of the troopers, you have performed exceptionally well. You are hereby rewarded with $1 billion in cash, Grade A equipment, Phantom Sound Gun, S-Class equipment, Wind Stabilizing Wings. After reading it out, Zhang Chen placed a large wooden box in front of Chen Mo, wind stabilizing wings, mounted on the back of the mech. It allows the mech to have the ability to fly. Phantom gun, a medium to short range weapon that drastically increases the mech's combat power. Chen Mo never thought that this time the reward would be so generous. Two finished equipment. This is not something that can be taken down by one billion dollars, especially that S-class wind stabilizing wing. If it is put on the market, I am afraid that it will cause countless people to squeeze their heads and scramble for it. What's more, Chen Mo now has three machine girls to raise. The most lacking is these equipments. Just as Chen Mo was excitedly preparing to put it away, Zhang Chen's face changed slightly, and he took out another large wooden box from under his desk. That wooden box was in the shape of a long strip, and it looked translucent in color, obviously having been carefully cared for. With a slightly sunken face, Zhang Chen slowly opened the wooden box, and in an instant, a power if any, surged out from within the wooden box. Chen Mo had been to the battlefield twice and knew exactly what this felt like. This was killing Qi, a dense and majestic killing aura. What exactly had this warblade gone through that it contained such a dense killing aura? Even across the width of the table, Chen Mo's heart trembled. At this moment, the surface of the warblade was slightly pitted, perhaps. Back then, it had also been on the battlefield and bathed in the nourishment of blood. Back then, when it shone on the battlefield, did it also carry the pain of the steel behemoth? At the same time, the moment he saw the battle knife, Zhang Nianqing instantly froze in place, but in the blink of an eye, he relaxed with relief. Uncle Chen, this sword? Chan Mu, this knife is given to you by me in my own name, and it also represents the blessings of Nianqing's mother and I, for the two of you. Saying this, Zhang Chen gently pushed the wooden box forward, and tears actually flickered in his eyes at some point. Chen Emo looked at the tears in Zhang Chen's eyes and froze for a moment. Uncle Chen Chen, is there a story to this knife? Can you tell it to me? Otherwise, I'm afraid I'm ashamed to receive it. Hearing Chen Mo's words, Zhang Chen's thoughts instantly returned to that beast tied several years ago. This blade is called Annihilation. It was Nian Nian's her mother's equipment, and after attaching the spirit to it, while killing magical beasts, it will also devour the essence of the beasts to evolve automatically. And each time it evolves, 
it will enhance its firepower by 20%. The way you see it now is already the way it was when it completely returned to its most essential nature. About 8 years ago, Nian Nian her mother and I participated in a war to quell a beast tide that was simply unprecedentedly strong. At that time, it was just in time for my official position to rise all the way up and my strength to rise, and I drifted too far in my youthful exuberance. Thinking that with my status as a 3-star S-ranked commander and a fully equipped S-ranked mecha, I would be able to walk sideways in this world. So, when I received the order to go to participate in the war to quell the beast tide, I winded up taking Nian Nian her mom with me. Because of my arrogance and lack of self-importance, a huge blunder occurred, and Nian Nian's her mother's kinetic energy core was directly destroyed, and she could no longer participate in the battle. The Jinhai halberd that you saw me harnessing today is just a temporary contracted mecha. Speaking here, Zhang Chen's tears completely stopped and dripped down his face. Chen Emo frowned and pondered for a moment before opening his mouth to ask, Uncle Chen Chen, to what extent has Auntie's kinetic energy core been damaged? Does it affect her normal life? Hearing Chen Mo's question, Zhang Chen raised his head sharply. Over the years, he had brought his wife to all the big and small repair organizations, but no one had the means to repair it until now. Could it be that Chen Mo had a solution? Yeah, he was an SSS ranked commander, so maybe there really was a chance. It doesn't affect normal life, it's just that there's no way to switch into vehicle form or mecha form. Chen Mo nodded. Then there is the possibility of being able to repair it, but I have to wait until I see Auntie before I can come to a conclusion. Zhang Chen stood up violently and grabbed Chen Mo's shoulders with both hands. You're serious? You really can? Chen Mo thought about the set of kinetic cores he had removed from Hades, the king of the underworld today, and nodded with certainty. It might not have been possible before, but now, it shouldn't be a problem. Good good good, Nian Nian. Bring Chen Mo to the house for dinner sometime so your mom can meet him. Zhang Chen's eyes erupted with a different kind of luster, and he looked at Chen Mo with even more fervor. As a soldier, he knew the despair of not being able to go to the battlefield, the feeling that his heart was in the right place, which would make a soldier feel like a wreck. The fact that his wife could no longer fight alongside her commander because of his mistake was a devastating blow to her. Every time he saw her forlorn look, he felt guilty and hated to replace her. Now that he heard that Chen Mo had a way to repair it, his dying heart came alive once again. Right, there's one more. Didn't we crack down on spies from foreign forces for the first time today? The higher-ups gave you a mega reward. A mech modification store that the previous official got from above the dome, as well as 100 billion whole. What? Chen Mo's entire body felt like it had been struck by lightning, his brain buzzing, not daring to think of such a good thing at all? 100 billion dollars? This wasn't even a grade compared to that billion. There was also a mech modification store. Chen Mo also thought of opening a modification store after retirement but the country directly gave him a good deal? The money is there, the store is there, and the mech girl is there. This is not properly take off? When he walked out from the maintenance unit, Chen Mo was floating. This couldn't be blamed on his unstable nature. Who wouldn't float in the face of such huge rewards one after another? To the extent that, that, when Chen Mo got into the mech, when he took off and when he landed, he himself did not even know. Buzz. The sound of the mech turning off its flame came into his ears. And only then did Chen Emo slowly came back to his senses. Where is this? Zhang Yinqing transformed into her human form and hooked onto Chen Mo's arm. My dear mister. Commander. We have arrived at our destination oh. No. No. What are we doing here at the hotel? Zhang Yinqing's fiery gaze scratched across Chen Mo's face with an enchanting smile. We have contracted. It's hard not to. Can't we still go to the last step? Looking at Zhang Yinqing's face, which was less than 5 centimeters away from his own. Chen Mo's blood surged for a moment. Old husband has agreed. I'm still grumbling Dara. The next morning, as the sun rose, Chen Mo was woken up by his cell phone, squinting his eyes and looking at Zhang Yinqing, who was still sleeping beside him. Chen Mo quickly dressed and walked to the restroom. Hello? Hello? Is this Mr. Chen Mao? On the opposite side was a girl with a sweet voice. Yes, and you are? I'm from the Hundred Battles Mercenary Corps of the Imperial Capital District. We're having a party this weekend. On one hand, it's for comrades who haven't contracted yet, to recommend each other, on the other hand, it's also for our comrades in the Imperial Capital District to get to know each other. This year, we recruited quite a lot of newcomers, so it will be easier for all of us to do a team mission together at that time. Mr. Chen Mo, during the weekend, do you have time to come? The sweet voice came slowly, causing Chen Mo's sleepless snooze to run away. Can go can go, I will definitely go then. Chen Mo was instantly energized. One must know that as an official organization, the Hundred Battles Mercenary Corps must be filled with people of high standing, or at least their family background must be clean. Moreover, for this gathering, 
It was surprising that many newcomers without contracts would also be invited. So wouldn't that mean that he would have another chance? How could this not be happy? At that time, in case he met a suitable machinima, he might actually be able to add a fierce general to his squad for the national competition. Then, at three o'clock in the afternoon on the weekend, you can just arrive on time. Yo, back in the room, Chen Emo was no longer sleepy, and looking at Zhang Yanqing who was still asleep and showed no signs of waking up at all, Chen Emo walked to the edge of the sofa and sat down, in addition to those readily available equipment rewarded by the troops. The contracting of the 3rd S rank or above mech had also given him a very generous reward. Entering the commander's panel, Chen Mu directly took out that martial skill card from the commander's warehouse. In an instant, it was as if an incomparably subtle information had suddenly appeared in Chen Mo's mind, and his spiritual power wrapped around it, slowly absorbing its contents. The moment those information were finished being absorbed, Chen Mo's consciousness was directly transmitted to a fighting arena. Moreover, the moment Chen Mao appeared, all the magical beasts within the arena instantly pounced towards him. In an instant, Chen Mao was torn into pieces. However, in the next second, Chen Mao was standing in the arena intact again. Chen Mao hadn't reacted at this point. So, once again, he was turned into pieces, back and forth, endlessly. Chen Mordecai himself did not know how many times this situation had been repeated. All he knew was that he was torn apart again and again, and emerged intact again and again. Same place, same enemies, endless killing, no fancy moves at all. Every punch, every kick running towards death, pure tight-fisted killing, pure murderous aura outward, again and again and again. Chen Emo could not feel any fatigue, but the feeling of close combat was like a bit by bit engraved into his bones and blood. From being instantly killed in the beginning, to holding on for 5 seconds, holding on for 10 seconds, holding on for half a minute. In the end, Chen Emo unexpectedly persisted for an entire hour amongst this group of berserk magical beasts. With his physical strength reaching its limit and his mental strength about to be exhausted, Chen Emo felt that he would be torn apart again in the next second. However, strangely enough, in this instant, all the magical beasts in the entire field disappeared. It's finally over. The moment the magical beasts disappeared, Chen Mao's legs went limp and he paralyzed on the ground. He really couldn't do it anymore. If he held on for a little while longer, he would have lost his human body. A white light flashed in front of Chen Mo's eyes, and his spiritual power instantly retreated. And when he opened his eyes again, he had already returned to the hotel sofa. Chen Mo looked up at the watch hanging on the wall. Only five minutes had passed. And just now, he had spent what seemed like years and decades in the space of consciousness, touching the arm that had just been dislodged. It was as if all that had just happened was a dream. All the soreness and pain, all of it, had disappeared. However, Chen Mo's stature had obviously become a bit leaner and stronger. Before, Chen Mo's height was 183, his weight was only 70 kilograms, and he looked tall and thin, with a feeling of weakness, and at this time, Chen Mo's muscles obviously bulged, but it didn't look like a bullfrog, and the abdominal muscles on his stomach, like thin chocolate, were refined and full of explosive power. In just five minutes, it's like I've spent centuries, the harvest is quite good. Chen Mei swung out a fist towards the air, and his fist actually stirred up a hunting wind sound for a split second. It was evident that although the Colosseum just now was in the space of consciousness, the battles that he had experienced were practically engraved in his body. Although as a commander, the biggest dependence was his own mech. However, there was no way for anyone to guarantee that the commander would not be around when his mech was not around, and at that time, only by grasping a strong power himself could he fight his way out when his life depended on it. Subsequently, Chen Mo then used up that special card in the system warehouse. Buzz. A golden light instantly enveloped Chen Mo. The familiar color, the familiar feeling, caused Chen Mo's spirit to tremble. One should know that the first time he purchased a special card, it was this golden light that erupted at that time, and subsequently, he obtained the first great move in his life, which he could not only use on himself, but also commanded the machine girl to use, allowing his strength to increase by a large margin. I didn't expect his luck to be so good that the second time he used a special card, it was another top tier card. Ding! Congratulations on obtaining the empowerment skill, Beyond the Fear of Death. Beyond the Fear of Death, fires a beam of light that pierces the first enemy it hits. If that enemy's life value falls below a certain threshold, that enemy will be directly executed. Fear of Death, Commander can perform this skill independently, and it has the effect of protecting his body and life. Beyond Fear of Death, Commander can use this skill in conjunction with a contracted mecha increasing the power of the skill by 100%. Beyond fear of death, commander can use this skill in conjunction with a contracted mecha. Beyond the fear of death, commander can forcibly land on an uncontracted nymph, and forcibly control the nymph to perform a skill, 
the power of the skill will be halved. The electronic voice reminded Chen Mo of the precautions, and Chen Mo quietly listened while feeling the inheritance of the move. After several minutes, Chen Mo slowly opened his eyes, his eyes full of surprise. Wouldn't this skill be a bit too strong? An enemy whose life value reached a certain level would be directly executed. If this was on the battlefield, when facing a powerful magical beast, if it was on its, before dying, with the idea of dying together, detonating itself, this move can directly lock the magical beast, and will directly execute it. This, is not a matter of probability, this is 100% can be executed, just like the name of this move, it really was a fear that surpassed death, so damn strong, at that time, empowering all three of them with this move, at that time, no matter which mech it is, it will have the ultimate move that can protect itself, too fierce, really too fierce, thinking of this, Chen Mei called up his commander panel, Chen Mo, SSS class commander, current commander level, 2 star, energy core, Chi Yuan can provide all types of energy, biokinetic energy conversion rate, 100%, biokinetic energy conversion rate, 100%, possible packed mecha types, all, currently contracted fighters, SS class deep sea nuclear submarine, S class fire carp, S class ice phoenix currently contracted fighters, SS class deep sea nuclear submarine, S class fire carp, S class ice phoenix, current skills, accessory replacement, accessory upgrade, S plus combat skills, commander's exclusive skill, close combat technique, enabling skills, red flame crosscut, beyond the fear of death, existing accessories, curvature engine asterisk 1, S class battle blade annihilation, S class wind stabilizing wings, A class phantom sound gun, external kinetic energy nucleus new asterisk 1, commander points, 37,544, Total assets, 120 billion. Chen Mo looked at the panel that was twice as long as it was at the very beginning and exclaimed good guy. In just half a month's time, Chen Mo's attributes had almost changed drastically. The most important thing was that his commander rank, with the addition of double spirit power, double speed and close combat technique, had been upgraded to two stars. This was the point that surprised Chen Mo the most. As for the rest, Chen Mo's heart was roughly in the right place. As for those points, Chen Mo was not ready to move. After all, the rewards he received today were already generous enough. There was no need to continue drawing. Wait for some time, then make the enhancement. After taking a quick shower and coming out, Zhang Yanqing had also gotten up, and seeing Chen Mo returning, he purposely stretched out a huge waist. Wait for me to wash up. I'll send you home in a while. Ha, huh? you woman is really ruthless. Abandoning me so soon? Chen Mo flirted with a look of urgency. I still have three mechs to repair today. I'll accompany you next time I have time. Saying that, Zhang Yanqing quickly walked towards the restroom and thunderously finished washing up. By the way, Chen Mao, when you want to receive a mission from the 100 Battles Mercenary Corps at that time, be sure to notify me ah, uh, I'll accompany you to complete the mission. At that time, let Sister Yi also teach her Xia come alone. Chen Mo laughed softly. Good. The loss that Zhang Yanqing was holding back within her heart instantly disappeared cleanly. In this way, she would also be able to be with Chen Mo all the time, and could be considered legitimate. Sunday, Chen Mo had spent the past two days at school, the maintenance unit and home, running back and forth in a three-point line. He was really a bit overtired, so much so that when he woke up from his nap, it was noon. Chen Mei just got up and washed up, deliberately dressed more handsome than usual, because, this afternoon, he was going to attend the 100 Battles Mercenary Corps party. After all, it was the first time they met, and it was still vital to leave a good impression on everyone. After going out to eat, the time was almost 2 o'clock, only, because today, M.S., Xia, Yi Qingcheng and Zhang Yanqing were all absent, so Chen Mo could only have no choice but to go and take the bus, looking at the traffic coming and going on both sides of the road, Chen Mo couldn't help but think of the bus that fell down to protect the passengers when the fight broke out in the city center that day, to be honest, that bus sister was indeed righteous, even in such a dangerous moment, the first thing that came to mind was the passengers, however, later on, Chen Mo also watched the news, that bus sister, although she was seriously injured at that time, but the good thing was that she was treated in time, and her life was not in danger. After that battle, the bus company also gave her the best welfare treatment. She was exempted from all maintenance costs, and also helped her to replace all the old equipment in the car with new ones. To put it mildly, it was a blessing in disguise. Previously, Chen Mo still felt that the bus was more or less a bit diabolical. However, now he had sort of changed his mind. At least, there is no longer a sense of contempt before. The route of the bus was still the same route as last time. Only, this time, there were no more magical beasts that jumped out to annoy people. 
The city center of the imperial capital was still as busy and lively as ever. And the further into the city center one went, the more high-grade vehicles there were, the S-class supercars that were usually rarely seen. Here, they were simply counted in abundance. Ferraris are entry-level supercars here. Bugatti Veyron, Koenigsegg, Silber, and Pagani were lined up on the side of the road like a car show, quietly waiting for their commanders. The meeting place of the Hundred Battles Mercenary Corps was being held in the highest-end entertainment place in the city center, especially some of the stronger commanders, or the rich kids with status and position and money, would often come here to relax and unwind when they were stressed. Only the night was the most lively time here, and at two o'clock in the afternoon, there were not very many people here. Chen Emo walked all the way to the party's special room. He thought that he had already come very early, but, before he came, there were already quite a few people sitting on the seats. The attendants in the special venue were all machine nymphs, and while acting as attendants, they also took care of the function of defending security, and a large portion of the people present were commanders of these machine nymphs. Hello, I'm Chun Mei. There was no invitation for this gathering. After all, it was a relatively niche gathering, and everyone only needed to report their name to get in. The moment Chen Mo reported his name, the machinima in charge of personnel inspection at the main entrance lit up with wild eyes. For a while, she actually blushed a little red with excitement. This was the famous SSS class commander Chen Mo. In just half a month of entering the maintenance force, he had made three successive meritorious achievements, and had even apprehended the spy on top of the dome for the first time. It was no wonder that the security nymph had such a look on her face. Chen Mo ignored the blush on the security nymph's face and walked into the chamber with large strides. Looking at the private room that was so large that he did not dare to imagine it, Chen Mo could not help but be shocked. The lights on the ceiling were bright, reflecting the entire private room glittering, like a glittering palace, noble and upscale. Inside the bar, a few handsome little brothers couldn't stop shaking the mixer in their hands, performing fancy mixing techniques, and in less than three minutes, a cocktail was served on the table, the huge dance floor. At this time because there is no music, so there is no one dancing, it seems empty. Behind the stage there was a small stage that came out one section high, so I guess that's where the speeches were made when the time came. As for the second, third, and fourth floors, they were all audience seating, and it was not known if so many people would be invited to this gathering, and if so many seats could be filled. TSK, TSK, is this the rich man's revelry? It's also too luxurious. Chen Mo could not help but sigh. Ding. The ringing of his cell phone instantly brought Chen Mo from his shock. Hubby, are you here yet? I just arrived. Coming, coming, I'll pick you up. It was a message from Xia Zhang. For this gathering, Chen Mo thought about it and brought his machinima along. It was only that Zhang Yinching still had a few mechs to repair. Yi Qingchang was also too busy to leave in the far outskirts of the leveling area. And there was only Xia Zing, who was on a school vacation and didn't have much to do. Therefore, when Chen Mo invited her, she agreed very quickly. Hubby, the moment she saw Chen Mo, Xia Zhang excitedly jogged over. In the past two days, Chen Mo was busy with his school studies and running to the maintenance unit. He was so tired that his body was a bit overdrawn, so he hadn't been to Xia Zhang's house for several days. A woman in love is always like three autumns after one day's absence, and after a few days of not seeing Chen Mo, Xia Zhang was dying of longing for him. Chen Mo opened his hands and hugged Xia Zhen, who was jogging over, into his arms. On the contrary, Xia Zhen, like a scared little rabbit, poked his head to look left and right, afraid of being noticed by others. Just as Chen Mo pulled Xia Zhen to find a seat and sat down, a group of people bustled in outside the door, looking at the young faces. Chen Mo did not need to think to know that these must be the new students recruited by the Hundred Battles Mercenary Corps this year. It was also the first time they had seen such a luxurious mega private room, so much so that their eyes were glittering with envy. Xia Zhang had just gotten up to go to the restroom on the front foot, and on the back foot, there was a girl dressed up in a flamboyant manner, pulling out a chair and sitting beside Chen Mo. Handsome guy, mind sharing a table? The girl's eyes curved in a smile, and the dimples on her lips looked like they were full of spirits making people drunk for a moment. With this look, with this smile, one would think that even if she wasn't the school flower, she was one of the top few girls in the school in terms of beauty. Only, Chen Mo did not recognize her. It should not be from their school. Don't mind. Have a seat. As soon as Chen Mo's words fell, she saw the girl's smile grow even wider as she inclined her head and shouted, Sisters come quickly. He agreed. Chen Mo froze slightly and looked in the direction the girl inclined her head. Good fellow. Five or six girls were sitting together in twos and threes, and when they heard the girl call out to them, they didn't hesitate to get up at the same time and walk towards this side. Is this, peach blossom blooming for me? The expression on Chen Mo's face changed slightly, 
and for a moment he did not know whether he should be happy or not. Just at this time, the lights in the center of the stage fiercely lit up. A gorgeous baritone voice rang out. Dear comrades, good afternoon everyone. The host of this party stood on the stage holding the microphone, his gaze looking towards all the guests present. I wonder who is the star that everyone is most looking forward to tonight. Who is it? Luo Dai, Luo Dai, Luo Dai, Chan Mo, Chan Mo, Chan Mo. For a moment the entire private room instantly and automatically split into two streams of voices. The boys shouted out the names of their goddesses. The girls, on the other hand, were also unwilling to be left behind, their voices rising in waves. Then let's, right now, have these two comrades come on stage, shall we? Good. Yes. Good. Just as the cheers and shouts were about to topple the ceiling, two lights lit up from the center of the stage, hitting Chen Mo and Luo Dai straight on their bodies. Chen Mo was confused, and for a moment, he looked towards Luo Jin, who was also illuminated by the light on the second floor. Coincidentally, Luo Dai also looked at Chen Mo at this time. For a moment, the two men's eyes met in the air, each seeing some confusion in the other's eyes. Together, 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 together. I don't know who started it, but the entire room actually started shouting in unison at the same time. Crap, is this a party or a blind date meeting? How did these people know that I'm Chun Mo? As if they had heard Chen Mo's self-talk, the few girls beside him said towards him, Comrade Chen Mo, you're the only SSS-ranked commander in our imperial capital this year. I'm afraid the entire imperial capital knows about you. Right, right, right. Your picture has been spreading like wildfire on the internet for a long time now and I've even printed an oversized poster and pasted it on my bedside. Comrade Chen Mo, quickly go up there. Hurry up and go to the contract with Luo Dai Ah. You guys are so talented. You really match well. The girl beside him, her eyes were full of little red love hearts. Chen Mo sighed helplessly. No wonder. No wonder all these little girls were moving towards his side. So they already knew who he was Ah. Together. 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 Seeing that Chen Mo did not move. The cheers in the arena became even louder. For a time, the enthusiastic atmosphere completely enveloped the entire arena. Even these young sisters beside Chen Mordecai also came together to applaud and cheer. The only SSS ranked commander in the imperial capital this year, and the SS plus ranked heavily vault battle voice. The man was handsome, the woman was beautiful. Same age, same region. This was simply a fairy tale prince with a princess. A damn good match. Only, in the midst of the crowds cheering, there was a man standing in the darkness with a gloomy face, his eyes staring tightly at Chen Mo, itching to skin him. Chen Mo was feeling the spotlight at the moment, completely unaware that someone had locked onto him. Chen Mo tilted his head and looked away from Luo Jin. Luo Dai's face had no expression, and her 360 degree face looked even cooler and more noble under the spotlight. She just stood in the ordinary crowd, but seemed to be glittering with light, giving people a feeling of standing out from the rest. Really beautiful. No wonder it was possible to make an SS-class commander wait a whole year for her. Chen Mo was secretly marveling over here, while Luo Dai, who was on the opposite side, was also sizing up Chen Mo at this moment, a meter eight or so tall, with a robust figure, and a smile on his face that, although debauched and unruly, didn't give people a feeling of disgust. Some time ago, the guy who made a great achievement, was he the one? But, this guy was not her cup of tea, philandering and prodigal, entangled with several women and she didn't know what method he used, but he was able to contract three machine nymphs at the same time. All in all, not a good person. Thinking of this, Luo Dai hurriedly withdrew her gaze, no longer looking at Chun Mo. She also blocked out the cheers of the people around her. Come, let's have the two of you walk onto the stage. The host's voice rang out once again, and the audience under the stage instantly erupted in applause. For a moment, Chen Mo felt as if he was a big star, a thief with a rowdy face. In the midst of the applause and cheers, Chen Mo slowly moved towards the stage and walked over. Flowers, applause, cheers, and the attention of all the beautiful women present. Chen Mo was undoubtedly the brightest star of tomorrow tonight. Tonight, Chen Mo was held by everyone on the throne. All the glory was at his feet. Only, there was an old saying that went like this. Don't bow your head, the crown will fall. The higher you fly, the worse you fall. How much glory Chen Mo received today? How much spurning would inevitably follow if Chen Mo failed in the coming days? Glory is a double-edged sword. If you are strong it will make you shine, if you are weak it will destroy you. Accompanied by cheers, Chen Mo walked onto the stage. At the same time, on the other side of the stage, Luo Jin also walked up. As Luo Dai approached, an ethereal fragrance reached Chen Mo's nostrils. The moment the two walked to the center of the stage at the same time, 
A flash of light instantly erupted from underneath the stage. Click click click. The shutter sounds of cameras were endless. Only, Luo Zhang's gaze never landed on Chen Mo once more, which made Chen Mo somewhat lost. He was at least the only SSS ranked commander that had awakened in the imperial capital this year. So even if Luo Dai wasn't warm towards him, there was no need for him to be so indifferent, right? However, this kind of loss passed in an instant. He, Chen Mo, wasn't money, and not everyone could like him the first time they met him. What's more, he now had three beautiful wives, so there was no need to lose his head over a woman who didn't look up to him. The big deal was that he just didn't contract her. Was she the only SS plus grade in the world? Right after the two stood in the center of the stage, a banner was instantly pulled up on the stage. Congratulations to student Chen Mo and Luo Yen, awakening to become the highest rank in the imperial capital this year. At the same time, the beautiful staff who had been waiting for half a day under the stage delivered flowers to the two of them. Just when Chen Mo felt embarrassed and could not wait to pick out a three-room apartment with his feet, another pretty woman came up. Comrade Chen Mo, this is for you. Congratulations, Comrade Luo Dai. This is for you. Congratulations. There's 100 million in this card. Although it's not a lot of money, but it's also a piece of our 100 Battles Mercenary Corps. I hope that you guys can have greater achievements in the future and fight for the glory of the country. Oh, the moment the money arrived, Chen Mo's feeling of embarrassment disappeared in an instant. If he was always this embarrassed and always had money to take, he could hold on to it for the rest of his life. Although the money wasn't much, only 100 million, but a mosquito's leg was also meat. Who would mind less money? Wow, doing nothing? You can get a hundred million dollars in bonuses for nothing. Ha, if you're capable you take it too. If you're an SSS ranked commander. I'm just saying, if I had that kind of ability, would I still be sitting here? The audience under the stage. When they heard that the prize money amounted to one hundred million dollars, exclamations of surprise and comments resounded throughout the venue. After handing out the rewards, Chen Mo walked off the stage and returned to his seat. The group of little girls who shared the table with him instantly surrounded him like a group of little fangirls, looking at Chen Mo's eyes, full of longing, with beautiful women surrounding him, how could Chen Mo refuse, and for a while, the fight was hot, when Luo Dai returned to her position, she saw Chen Mo's side for a group of women, one hated to stick to Chen Mo, and couldn't help but frown, to be honest, Chen Mo was really outstanding, regardless of strength, or talent, he was a superior choice for a commander especially since he had just joined the VPF and had made great achievements one after another. His future could be considered immeasurable. It wasn't that Luo Yen hadn't considered Chen Mo, and he was even a bit biased towards him in his selfishness, especially when she saw Chen Mo with her own eyes today. She felt that Chen Mo was suitable. However, this year, nationwide, a total of seven SSS rank commanders had awakened. Moreover, Wei Bin, the SSS rank school grass commander of their school last year, had been waiting for her as early as last year. Her choices were, to say the least, quite numerous. Before this gathering, she had actually already come into contact with a few of them. Her family, too, was doing the most rigorous comparison amongst the commanders. Chen Mo, despite being the most handsome and having the brightest future, was also the first to be eliminated. There was no other reason. It was because he had contracted three permanent machine girls one after another. That alone was enough for him to be eliminated. How could someone who couldn't be single-minded and consistent with his mecha girls be worth entrusting? Just look at him now. He's already contracted three machinima and now he's still hooking up. A man who can't even resist the female color is destined to never become a great man. Luo Jin couldn't help but roll her eyes. She was an SS plus grade machine maiden. She was only one step away from being SSS ranked. And in the future, she was bound to become a world famous battle maiden. Her other half must be the best man in the entire divine dragon kingdom and there must be only one woman for her. Chen Mo? Luo Dai shook her head. Let's forget about this person. They were not destined to cross paths. Just at this time, the host's voice sounded again. Friends, today, in fact, besides Chen Mo and Luo Dai, we have also invited a heavyweight guest. Guess, who is it? For a moment, the entire room froze. Who is it? Are there any newcomers in our empire this year? What if it's an old man? An old man? From last year? It can't be Wei Bin. Can it? That would be too embarrassing. Ha 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 ha. The chatter grew louder and louder. And the host snapped as he heard a certain name. That's right. He's our last year schoolboy of the Imperial Mecha University. Comrade Wei Bin. Use your loudest applause. Cheers. And welcome him. Crap. It was really Wei Bin. For a while, the screams from the scene were practically toppling the roof. The crowd that had just been shouting that Chun Mo and Luo Dai were together were all smiles of urgency at this moment. 
Things seemed to be getting more and more interesting. As the host's voice fell, the spotlight snapped on, shining down to the bottom of the stage. In an inconspicuous corner, a man no lower than Chen Emo slowly walked onto the stage. Under the illumination of the lights, the man's high nose, resolute eyes, and the knife sharpened jawline made him look extremely manly. His half length hair was gently resting on his forehead, fresh and sharp, worthy of being the last school grass. The moment Wei Bin showed up, the cheers from the stage never stopped. Wei Bin, I love you. Wei Bin, I love you. Luo Yan's ears echoed with the host's voice, and the moment she saw Wei Bin, her entire face changed. Not only did the people here not expect it, she also didn't expect Wei Bin to come today. Although Wei Bin's scandal with her was spreading like they were already privately engaged. But, in fact, Luo Dai and Wei Bin could only be described as acquaintances, and they didn't even speak in private. When Luo Dai went to college, Wei Bin was one year older than her, and from the time she entered the school, Wei Bin became her most loyal dog. On the road to create a variety of chance encounters, even if you know Luo Dai will lose, or will buy her breakfast every day. So until the fourth year of college, Wei Bin awakened the SS class commander. The moment he awakened, he announced that he would wait for Luo Jin, and even if Luo Jin finally awakened an F class mecha, he would still contract with her. To be honest, Luo Jin was really touched at that time. She had even thought about accepting Wei Bin's contract application after awakening, no matter what the grade was. However, slowly, she began to realize that something was wrong. Obviously she hadn't awakened yet, and obviously she had almost no contact with Wei Bin, but in the eyes of the outside world, Wei Bin's name had been engraved on her body, and it was as if she had climbed high above the SS-ranked Wei Bin. The growing rumors were simply too much for her to bear. Just as her best friend ran up to her and asked her if she was really settling down privately with Wei Bin, it was only then that Luo Yan suddenly realized that she seemed to have fallen into a big invisible net. Wei Bin had used his identity as an SS-class commander to fabricate a big net that only she, who was in the middle of it, could feel. On the other side, Chen Mo looked at the the cheering crowd and couldn't help but look at the little beauties who were sharing the table with him. Why don't you guys shout along? Isn't he handsome? As if they had agreed to do so. These little girls looked at Wei Bin without a trace of excitement, with a feeling that it was not a matter of concern. You, an SSS ranked commander, is sitting in front of us, so what's there to see in an SS rank? That's right, the rank isn't as high as yours, and his looks aren't as handsome as yours, so what's the point of looking at him? Listening to this, Chen Mo could not help but feel secretly happy. This was really exciting to hear. Which man would refuse a woman's gaze of admiration? I shouldn't say. This Wei Bin is saying that non Luo Yan doesn't want it. But isn't this pure moral abduction? People Luo Yan didn't agree to be with him. Also didn't ask him to do anything. He made a big fuss everywhere publicizing non people don't want. Make the whole world know. Then people Luo Yan don't contract with him. As if it is still people's fault. That first girl Rin Jia who accosted Chun Mo spat out in a bad mood. That's right, that's right, I see that this man is also unsettled. You guys guess? This party today, is it because the Hundred Battles Mercenary Corps specially invited him, or did he himself have to come? That's hard to say. According to his temperament, I seriously doubt that he intentionally wanted to come and force Luo Dai to marry him today in a scene with so many people. You guys think ah, this year Luo Dai herself awakened SS plus grade mecha, when the machine lady picks a commander, she would have picked a grade higher. And this year there are seven SSS grade commanders awakened. So it can be imagined. Luo Dai is estimated to have picked her eyes. SS grade Wei Bin. It is simply impossible to get into her eyes. Even if Luo Dai is willing to do so, their Luo family won't agree to it either. Crap. I suddenly feel as if this is a big game of chess. Chen Mo sat on the side, listening to the girls spewing out their righteous indignation. He couldn't help but nod in his heart. These little girls were quite thorough in their readings. The hearts of people were unpredictable. This Wei Bin was not simple. Gentlemen, on the stage, Wei Bin took over the microphone. His clear baritone voice slowly rang out. Today, I am honored to be invited to this gathering and to meet you all on such an occasion. You should all be younger than me. So if you don't mind, you can call me Brother Bin. Listening to Wei Bin's speech on the stage, Chen Mei breathlessly rolled his eyes. Just as he wanted to urinate, he suddenly heard a commotion on the stage. Chen Mo turned his head to see that the spotlight in the middle of the stage was focused on Luo Zhan upstairs. Immediately afterward, Wei Bin, who was on the stage, said with deep emotion, I came here today, not only for the Hundred Battles Mercenary Corps, but also for her, my girl. Wei Bin's eyes looked towards Luo Dai upstairs, his smile gentle and warm, like the warm sun in winter. Luo Dai had never been in love, and in the face of such a confession, she panicked for a moment. At the same time, throughout the hall, 
All the spectators were all excited and chanted once again. Contract. Contract. Together. Together. Contract. Contract. Chen Mode had an expression of unconcernedness, and after thinking about it, he decided to urinate. This kind of scene that was in the name of love but was full of calculations was just a little too much for him to watch. However, just at this time, the cold electronic tone in his mind violently rang out. Ding, detected that someone has stolen your thunder. Now releasing the commander's mission panel. The first mission. Sabotage Wei Bin's confession and bring the focus of this scene back to you. Mission success, you will receive 10. 000, 000 points and a physique enhancement card. Mission failure, you will be awarded the title of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Is there a need to think about such a choice? This mission, just complete it, if it cannot be completed. No if it is. While Chen Mo was receiving his mission, Luo Jin, over there, was again surrounded by the crowd as he walked onto the stage. Wei Bin looked at Luo Dai who was close at hand, his face full of deep emotion. Dai Dai, I'm really happy to see you again. Congratulations, finally becoming what you want to be. Finally standing on this stage as this year's highest ranked machine lady in the imperial capital. I'm really proud of you. I believe that one day in the future, you will definitely be able to become the best battle nymph in the Divine Dragon Kingdom. I hope that on your way to becoming the most outstanding battleheim of the Divine Dragon Kingdom, you will also be able to have my figure. Although I know that a year is enough time to change a lot, and you will have more and better choices. But here today, I still want to gather the courage to confess to you like I did last year. Die. This day, I've been waiting for 380 whole days. Are you willing to become the only contracted mechanic lady in this life for me? Wei Bin? Wei Bin's gaze was hot, and because he was overly excited, his voice was a little choked. The mist in his eyes reflected the glitter of his eyes, making people involuntarily fall into his gentle vortex, the audience under the stage, at this time, was moved to the tip of their noses. Oh, Wei Bin is really so affectionate, being loved by such an affectionate man for so long, that is, a heart of stone should also be turned into 10,000 strands of tenderness, right? So touching, my commander has never loved me so much. I don't know why, I really want to shed tears when I see others happy. Wei Bin's deep love didn't just move all the audience present. Accepting Wei Bin's deep love storm face to face, Luo Zhan, who had never been in love before, her entire body turned red with shyness. In an instant, all the pros and cons have all put aside, eyes and heart, all by this grand and passionate confession filled. Did Wei Bin love her to this extent? Perhaps the rank of commander is not the only way to judge a person. Perhaps, she could try to give Wei Bin a chance? For a while, Luo Dai thought of countless reasons to excuse Wei Bin. The audience under the stage was in high spirits at this time, frantically calling for Wei Bin. Contract, contract, contract. Together, together, together. This further overwhelmed Luo Dai, who was ready to open her mouth to agree to his confession right then and there. Just as Luo Dai's emotions were out of control and his sanity was completely lost, a bellowing voice suddenly rang out from the stage. I'm not willing, seeing that Luo Dai had already fallen. Chen Mo at the behest of his mission, violently stood up and bellowed towards the stage. His voice seemed incomparably abrupt in this moment filled with happiness. It was even louder than the cheers of the audience, as if it was trying to completely break up this cozy mood. For a moment, it didn't matter if it was the entire audience, or the host who was in tears on the stage, or the two parties who were at the scene of the confession. All of them were looking towards the source of the explosive sound with a confused expression. Even though Chen Mo had already prepared himself for the attention of the audience, he still couldn't help but blush at this moment. How embarrassing. The entire venue instantly became quiet, and everyone present looked at Chun Mo with a puzzled expression. In their hearts, they could not help but spit out a burst of words. Isn't this the S? SS ranked Chun Mo? He doesn't agree when people confess their love? What makes him unwilling? It's not like he's confessing to him? What the hell? Is it possible that Chun Mo and Luo Dai were pretending not to know each other well on stage? Maybe they secretly hooked up behind their backs a long time ago. Hey. Hey, 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 then isn't this a love triangle? Crap, big melon big melon, too exciting, suddenly jumping out of a program. Wei Bin was also in a daze at this time. At the very beginning when Luo Dai and Chen Mo went up to the stage together to receive the award, he was already very jealous. At this time the confession that had been prepared for a long time was interrupted by Chen Mo. Wei Bin's eyes narrowed, and he instantly got up a killing intent. Just now he clearly saw Luo Dai was moved by him almost cried. Give him another minute time. No, as long as half a minute, 10 seconds, Luo Dai will agree with him. However, at this moment, it all came to nothing. Luo Dai's eyes were clearly focused again. Wei Bin was now simply furious and wanted to kill. As for Luo Jin, who was standing opposite him, her out-of-control feelings were directly interrupted. 
her sanity gradually returned, and her eyes gradually became clear. She twisted her head to look at Chen Mo under the stage, and for a moment, she was a little surprised to know, before this, she and Chen Mo were just a distant glance before the awards started. What was the significance of Chen Mo jumping out now to interrupt this confession? Could it be that he had fallen in love with her at first sight? This man, indeed, is an unreliable playboy who loves one at first sight. You're the only one in the imperial capital who awakened to become an SSS-ranked commander this year, Chen Mo, aren't you? I'm confessing my love to die. What's the point of you not wanting to? Weibin clenched his fists and slowly pressed down that murderous intent at his chest as he questioned towards Chen Mo. What's the use of my unwillingness? There's nothing to be gained by my unwillingness. I'm just saying that I'm unwilling can't I? You confess to Luo Zhan. Whether she is willing or not is her business. What's it got to do with me? Chen Mo shrugged and spread his hands, as if he couldn't understand what Wei Bin was saying. Then what the hell are you jumping out for now? Shouldn't you give me an explanation? Looking at Chen Mo with a bitchy look, Wei Bin's fire went straight to his head. That killing intent that had been suppressed with great difficulty was instantly galvanized again. For a moment, he didn't pretend to be a gentleman anymore, and the curse words came out of his mouth. Explain? I'll explain your grandma's spiral inflection fart. Logically speaking, this is your private matter, and it has nothing to do with me, and I really shouldn't say anything. But what day is today? Today is the day that everyone celebrates Lousy's awakening as an SSS-ranked commander, and Lousy is the brightest figure at this party. So why do you think you have to come out and get involved? Do you know that this makes me lose face? Didn't your mom teach you not to steal other people's thunder when you go out? It's easy to get beaten up. Furthermore, I just can't stand to see this hypocritical look of yours, pretending as if you're so deeply in love. You're so damn close to writing calculations on your brain. You fucking made such a mess last year, putting people at the center of public opinion, and you're doing it again this year? You want to confess on a good confession, so that people see your sincerity. Find a quiet place to put their own adoration of the details to her to listen to, so that I also respect you are a man, can bend and can stretch. As a result, you have to be in such a public occasion, in front of hundreds of people to confess your love. With all due respect, are you forcing a marriage? Are you morally kidnapping Luo Dai so that she has to accept your confession? Brother, can you be a human being? Using this kind of calculation on a little girl, you don't know how to be ashamed. I'm even ashamed for you. What's more, you're just a broken SS-ranked commander. Confessing to someone else's SS-plus-ranked machinima, are you worthy of it? Whether it's her family or her talent, Luo Yen is not even half a star better than you. So how can you have the nerve to stick it to her? If I were you, I would have hid far away. Afraid that people would say that I'm eating a woman's soft rice, but you're still licking your face to get in front of her? You go back to your mother's womb to practice for another hundred or eighty years before you say it. Really, if you really love her, you wouldn't be here to stop her from running to someone better. Seven SSS class commanders this year. Are they blind or brain dead that they have to choose you? That abacus playing, I heard it even sitting here. What a damn shame. Chen Mei knows. In the moment he stood up to destroy the confession. He and Wei Bin have been immortal. Today either Chen Mei was hit in the face, or Wei Bin was hit in the face. This ending will not be possible to be happy. Whether it is out of the man-to-man -man understanding, or the problem of the main field, Chen Mo does not regret to come out of this head. Today, either you die or I die. So much so that, when Chen Mei cursed Wei Bin, he didn't hold back at all, and directly exposed the disgusting calculations that were hidden under the grand and magnificent in the sunlight. Wei Bin did not want an explanation. I don't know this explanation. Is it enough? Chen Mo cursed with pleasure. All the people present listened with pleasure. At this time, they only realized afterward. The original roaring love behind, surprisingly full of unpleasant, just been way been hooked up touched, as well as stored in the eyes of the tears, an instant disappeared. I throw, can't be, the CPI knocked is cold again? I don't think so. Is Chen Mo overthinking it? Yeah yeah yeah. Chen Mo wouldn't start a rumor at someone's confession site just because the limelight was stolen right? That would be too disgusting. Young man, you're still too young. The discerning have long seen that this Wei Bin has bad intentions. Think about it. Don't you all think Luo Dai and Wei Bin are a couple? But what's the truth? Have you heard any rumors about Luo Dai and Wei Bin getting close? Has there been any news about them? I'm afraid that this is all being manipulated by Wei Bin. Otherwise, why did he choose today for this confession? Isn't it just so that so many of us can force Luo Zhan to agree? For a while, more and more people reacted to the cattiness of it and the eyes of the crowd looking at Wei Bin no longer had the same kind of envy they had just had. After listening to Chen Mo's words, and listening to the murmurs of the crowd under the stage, Luo Yan's sanity finally slowly returned. Calculating? Forced marriage? Moral kidnapping? Chen Mo word for word, 
Although the words are hard to hear, but this is not precisely Luozhin in the past year. Personally experienced? Last year, because of Wei Bin's wide publicity, obviously do not know him, Luo Dai was still on the center of public opinion, the transparent giant net that was carefully woven out, finally in Chen Mo's words, slowly appeared in the world. Only at this moment did she realize that just now she seemed to have been PUA'd by Wei Bin again. All the emotions followed his rhythm. Shyness, touched, all of them were fake. Even, she was so close to actually agreeing to Wei Bin. Luo Dai didn't even dare to think about the consequences of doing so. As the new generation of machine maidens that the Luo family had high hopes for, she was the strongest in the family for this term. If she was really emotionally superior and chose the SS class commander, in the end it would definitely end up in the dissolution of the contract as well. And what would everyone say then? Say that she had betrayed her trust and failed Wei Bin's heart for so many years? Saying that she had changed her mind and abandoned Wei Bin when she had a better one? However, in the end, she and Wei Bin were only nodding acquaintances. Thinking of this, Luo Dai twisted her head to look at Chen Mo, and couldn't help but feel grateful. Fortunately, Chen Mo interrupted this confession. Otherwise, I'm afraid that the situation would really get out of control. Moreover, because Chen Mo had made all the pros and cons clear, even if Luo Jin refused Wei Bin's confession, she wouldn't be criticized and had a way back. For a moment, Luo Dai couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief. Chen Mo, don't give your face, the promise between us. How would someone with a dirty mind like you know about it? I heard that on the day of your awakening. You broke up with your girlfriend who you've been with for more than 10 years, and turned your face and contracted a beautiful female teacher from your school. You're the one who's disgusted, right? How could you understand the innocent love between us? Wei Bin was somewhat out of control as he was spoken to by Chen Mo, pointing at Chen Mo's face and cursing angrily. Chen Mo was denigrated and laughed instead of being angry, raising an eyebrow. He snorted. Commitment? Who has a promise with you? Luo Jun? Does she know about this herself? Innocent love? Are you two childhood sweethearts or are you in love at first sight? As far as I know, Luo Dai hasn't even talked to you, right? Didn't all the breakfasts you delivered all those years get eaten by the garbage can? You're not talking about your love affair with the trash can. Are you? Ha 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 ha. Chen Mo held his stomach and laughed his head off, causing the entire room to laugh lowly for a moment. Just as the crowd was looking at Wei Bin, wanting to see how he would retort, a person suddenly jumped out from below the stage. Chen Mo, don't go too far. My brother fell in love at first sight with sister Luo Dai, and since then he has kept his body like a jade, waiting for her alone. Such deep love was even said to be so bad by you. What kind of intention do you have? That person in Wei Bin looks like seven points. Listen to the name, should be Wei Bin's younger brother. Hearing this, Chen Mo laughed again. Love at first sight? It's just love at first sight. How come he didn't fall in love at first sight with Ruo? To put it bluntly, isn't it just coveting someone's beauty? What's more, Luo Dai's family is famous in the imperial capital. I don't believe Wei Bin hasn't heard of it. I'm afraid that in addition to falling in love at first sight, he has also weighed the pros and cons, right? After all, the Luo family is a big cake that you can't get enough of. A toad wanting to eat swan meat is not afraid of rotting his mouth? As Chen Mo's words fell, Wei Bin's younger brother Wei Zhuan could no longer hold back. The S-ranked machine girl beside him instantly transformed, and Wei Bin obediently sat down in the mecha cabin. Wei Zhuan, who had awakened his S-class commander this year, was also considered a pride of the heavens, and he wanted to see what this Chen Mo was bullshitting about. Come on, Chen Mo, if you have the ability to come to the ring and talk, my brother hasn't contracted a mech yet, I'll fight on his behalf. Chen Mo was just about to say that his own mech nurse was not there when the back hem of his clothes was gently tugged a few times. Xia Zhang had actually returned from the restroom a long time ago, but looking at the circle of girls sitting around Chen Mo's table, she was too lazy to move over. Later, she saw Chen Mo shining on the stage and watched him break Wei Bin's confession. Although she didn't know what Chen Mo's intentions were, it was always right to trust him. As a contracted machinima, she unconditionally trusted her commander. Therefore, when Chen Mo needed her the most, she decisively walked towards him. In an instant, the three-meter-tall Bakuden firecarp flashing with red lightning appeared on the scene. Although Bakuden firecarp was quite a bit shorter than Chen Mo's other machine girls, as a top S-class machine girl, there was still a certain gap between her and her opponent's S-class. Just in size alone, it was a head taller. Not to mention, the equipment that Chen Mo and Xia Zhang were equipped with was more luxurious than one another. Crap! S-rank versus S-rank. How could I ever see a battle of this level? My life is worth it. It's too handsome, isn't it? Is this the seat of an SSS ranked commander? Worthy of being my dream commander? It really is extraordinary. If Chen Mo is willing to contract me, I'm willing to be his 999th mech. 
The moment the two S-Class mechs appeared, the entire scene instantly became lively. Within the arena, everyone's gazes became blazing and their breathing became rapid. As a group of commanders who had only just succeeded in awakening this year, the vast majority of them had not even contracted a mech girl of their own yet. As for those girls, the moment they saw Xia Zhang's prototype, they also rested their minds of trying to seduce Chen Mo. After all, having already contracted such a flawless machine girl, how could they look at them? Machine girls that weren't even S-ranked? However, of course, there were still some people who held a different view. Should I say no? At a glance, Chen Mo, no matter if it's the commander rank or the quality of the machine girl is quite stronger than that Wei Zhuan. Is this considered bullying Wei Zhuan ah? Brother, get it straight. It was Wei Zhuan who challenged Chen Mo. It wasn't Chen Mo who took the initiative to start the fight by bullying the smaller one. Besides, if he really goes to the battlefield, can he guarantee that all the enemies he encounters are weaker than him? He placed the challenge himself. He himself should pay the price. In the midst of the crowd's murmurs, the huge dance floor directly turned into a battleground. Buzz. Boom. Chen Mo kicked the gas, and the explosive Skyfire carp directly roared and hissed as it rushed out. Even though this dance floor was already big enough, it seemed worthless under the speed of the exploding Skyfire carp. Oh roar. It's been a long time since I've fought. So good. Xia Jin's excited voice came from the body that had been transformed by Chen Mo, like a brand new batch from the factory. Z, Chen Mordecai slammed the steering wheel, the brakes under his feet stepped on the bottom, and a magnificent tail swinging was displayed in front of the crowd. Crap, dry up, SSS level commander's car skills, really extraordinary. This drift tail, simply perfect incredible, obviously all commanders, why am I such a waste? Not to say anything else, just this hand drifting, are enough for me to learn for a year. The crowd under the stage cheered and whistled. Wei Zhuan, on the other side, was also ready at this time. Boom. The low roar of the motor resounded throughout the arena. And Wei Zhuan drove his ride deadless with it. Again. It was a beautiful drifting tail. Just stopping on the other side of the dance floor. Looking face to face with the exploding skyfire carp. The extremely provocative attitude caused the entire audience to be in an uproar. Chen Mo. I'll give you one last chance to apologize to my brother. Chen Mo snorted. Not knowing where Wei Zhuan got the confidence to dare to talk to him like that. Teacher Xia. Transform. Chen Mo ordered softly. He was too lazy to concur in the face of a weakling's grandiose words. Click. Click. With a clicking sound, Xia Zheng's machine lady form appeared in front of the crowd once again. Wei Zhuan's deadless was a step slower and took a little longer to transform into a machine lady. Charge. Kill him. Wei Zhuan didn't even think about it. And the moment the transformation was completed, he maneuvered his mecha goddess to rush towards Chen Mo. Only. Probably because she had just been contracted not long ago and had not been on the battlefield. Although the aura on Wei Zhuan's body was biting cold, there was nothing of that kind of murderous aura that could make people freeze into ice. Swish, only to see Deadless pull out two long swords from his back, his aura instantly became more ferocious, a little bit more fierce. To be honest, in the S-Class mechs, Deadless was also considered to be of medium to high quality. The body of the Deadless mech was pitch black, equipped with a technological blue light honeycomb engine. Calm and light. However, Deadless and the Bakuda Carp, which had not been modified at the beginning, had a common and fatal problem. That is, they both belonged to close combat mechs, and if the enemy was good at long-range attacks, they simply didn't have an ounce of ability to fight against them. Only, this one weakness completely ceased to exist after Chen Mo had retrofitted the explosive Skyfire Carp with the S-Class Quantum Pursuit Cannon, and Wei Zhuan obviously didn't realize it. Or rather, he might have realized it as well, but didn't have enough economy to improve it. In the face of Deadless, who was aggressively racing towards him, Chen Mei didn't even move a bit. However, the powerful aura that emerged around the exploding Skyfire Carp silenced the entire room. It was a killing intent that had truly faced death. Morose and cold-blooded. Why do I suddenly feel a bit cold ah? A killing intent that can freeze the air in the scene into ice. This is not something that people like us can provoke. Too scary. The SSS level commander really isn't joking. Wei Zhuan is afraid of kicking the iron plate today. Do 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 The row of spectators closest to the dance floor. At this time, their teeth were chattering in the cold. The goosebumps on their arms instantly flared up, and the chill went straight from the soles of their feet to their scalps. Seeing that Deadless was getting closer and closer to himself, Chen Mo could not help but hook his lips. The opposite side of Wei Zhuan was slightly stunned. What was he laughing at? Laughing my ass off. Perhaps sensing Chen Mo's disdain, Wei Zhuan's anger became even more monstrous. Clenching his longsword with both hands, he chopped towards the exploding skyflame carp's neck. I'm also afraid of being said that I'm bullying the small and bullying the strong. How about, 
Let's simply and decisively convince you. Everyone present only saw the exploding Skyfire Carp violently take a few steps back, not even popping out the sharp blades on his arms, reaching out and lightly drawing a cross in the void. With that, the explosive Skyfire Carp instantly disappeared in front of the crowd. With a burst of residual shadows, it violently dashed forward. Boom! A loud sound of steel colliding came from the ears, and just as everyone covered their ears, the exploding Skyfire Carp once again appeared on the dance floor. In an instant, the entire scene was silent. It was only after a few seconds that the audience gradually began to react. Suddenly, they stood up and pounced on the fence, their eyes wide with terror, and their hands couldn't help but cover their wide open mouths. For a moment, a feeling of terror swept through the entire body, only to see that on the dance floor, the right chest of the deadless mech had been broken through a large hole, and deadless commander had long disappeared. And then look at that right hand held high in the explosive skyfire carp, carrying in his hand, is not that Wei Zhuan who disappeared. Tick, tick, quiet as a scene. The sound of liquid dripping on the dance floor was infinitely amplified. Wei Zhuan's whole person seems to be scared silly, his eyes are disoriented, his body trembles, and his sphincter muscles directly do not listen to the instructions of the brain and relax. And the explosive skyfire carp who carried him like a small chicken child did not gasp for breath, not even a hint of dirt. She just stood there quietly, wearing a smile like a heavenly god. It was as if the person who had just instantly killed Deadless and captured the S-Class commander alive was not him. Too domineering, too elegant, too beautiful. This kind of beauty came from her power over all beings, and from her appearance that was comparable to that of a heavenly god. No, perhaps this kind of temperament all originated from the SSS-ranked commander sitting in that cockpit with a smile, shun M.O. Is this, a big move? After a deathly silence, a slightly trembling voice finally resounded from the scene. It wasn't anyone else. It was none other than Luo Dai who was standing on the stage. Looking at the dance floor from the closest distance, Luo Dai's trembling voice was like a break in the ice-like atmosphere of the scene. Everyone leisurely came back to their senses as if they had been awakened. Is this, this the big move? The strongest skill of the machine lady? The empowering move? How is this possible? Wasn't Chen Mo awakened with us? Right. How could he have learned the empowering move in just half a month's time? Could it be that this is the strength of an SSS-ranked commander? Nope. In previous years, there were people who awakened SSS-ranked commanders, but I've never heard of anyone being able to learn the empowerment move in just half a month. It's terrifying. What kind of man is Chen Mo in the end? In the audience, everyone was boiling at the same time, completely out of control from Chen Mo's astonishment. Things that had never been heard of before suddenly appeared in front of their eyes, simply shocking people beyond words. It could be said that Chen Mo had directly broken their concept of an SSS-ranked commander. Only one move. Chen Mo did not even bully and generally torture Wei Zhuan slowly. Instead, he used a very direct and decisive manner to tell Wei Zhuan about the gap between them. This empowering move alone was not something Wei Zhuan could provoke. Is this, the perfect commander, the true strength? On the stage, Luo Dai's eyes flickered with an unknown light. The way she looked at Chen Mo could not help but be a little more curious. She had also come into contact with a few newcomers who had just awakened SSS-ranked commanders this year, but without exception. None of them had an empowering move. Chan Mei. It was really different. As for Luo Dai's side, Wei Bin's face was already gloomy to the extreme, and the anger within his chest was about to engulf him. Seeing his own brother, carried in the air by Chen Mo like a small chicken, frozen and helpless, Wei Bin hated to kill Chen Mo on the spot. However, he didn't have a contracted machinima, and Luo Dai hadn't agreed to his confession yet. You're lucky that your identity isn't that of my enemy. Therefore, I will spare your life today. However, what I want to tell you is that the best commanders don't turn their cannons on their own compatriots. They only turn them on foreign enemies in the battlefield. Don't mess with me again. Your strength is nothing but a joke in my eyes. In the middle of the dance floor, Chen Mo's voice slowly rang out. And what he said, even more so, made everyone tremble. The best commander. The cannon fire would only be directed at the incoming enemy? This was not only a lesson for Wei Zhuan, but also a lesson for them. The explosive skyflame carp slowly let go and Wei Zhuan's body, unsupported, fell directly to the ground. Hurry up and carry her down for repairs. What I just pierced through wasn't her vitals. However, if it's any later, I'm afraid it's really hopeless. Chen Mo jumped out from within the mech and rushed at the host. It was only until now that they reacted to the rescue. In an instant, the security personnel on stage rushed to the dance floor and carried the injured mecha goddess down. Just when the crowd thought that the hilarity was over, they only saw Chen Mo slowly turn in the direction of the stage his gaze following. In an instant, his gaze met with the stage's person's gaze, which met distantly. Wei Bin, the audience followed Chen Mo's gaze, 
only to see Wei Bin's face turning blue as he stared at Chen Mo with a deadly glare, as if he wanted to eat him, good fellow, this hilarity, it seemed like it wasn't over yet, Wei Bin, what to say, your brother fought on your behalf and has now lost, isn't it time for you to appear on your own, is it a mule or a horse, pull it out, I, Chen Mo, will not begrudge you, if it was said that Chen Mo's previous act of bringing Wei Bin down in front of the entire audience was to complete the mission, now, it was a complete targeting of Wei Bin, using his own brother as a shield, what kind of good thing could he be, of course, Chen Mo also knew that it was almost impossible for Wei Bin to accept the challenge because he simply did not have a contracted machinima, unless Luo Zhan agreed to his confession, only, in that case, Chen Mo's mission, would be considered a failure, however, after all, the mission had not been completed yet, and Luo Zhan had not given an answer yet, Chen Mo then thought of using such provocative and insulting words to force Wei Bin to personally tear his hypocritical face, only, Wei Bin hadn't said anything yet, Luo Dai instead had her little mind wandering, what was Chen Mo doing, he had already defeated Wei Zhuan, why would he still want to provoke Wei Bin, can it be that he really fell in love with me at first sight and loved me so much that he couldn't help himself, then, how should this be good, the girl in love, always feel too good about themselves, for the boy's heroic behavior is always full of admiration, just now Chen Mo stood up for her and made a big move to kill instantly on the dance floor, Luo Dai's hero loving girl's heart was simply stirred to its peak, Luo Dai was afraid that she herself hadn't even realized that her curiosity towards Chen Mo had slowly begun to deteriorate, should I say no, not only is Chen Mo not only powerful, this mouth is also really poisonous, knowing that Wei Bin's confession hasn't succeeded yet, and that there's no contracted machinima, he still has to poke people's hearts so much, actually, I do understand Chen Mo, Wei Bin did this, really not very generous, no matter if it's to his brother, or to Luo Zhen, I also don't know, Wei Bin can swallow this breath oh, the audience under the stage slowed down at this time, looking at Chun Mo directed the spearhead at Wei Bin, the mindset of watching the spectacle warmed up once again, S class against SSS class, ending in failure, SS rank against SSS rank, I wonder what the outcome would be, would Chen Mo still win so easily, and would he still be able to achieve an instant kill, curious, it was so curious, Chen Mo, I know you're strong, there will be a fight between us someday, but not today. I haven't contracted a machine lady yet, and besides, I'm not like you, hooking up with a large group of women, my mind and body will only be loyal to one person, even if it's a temporary contract, an expected answer, yet it still made everyone applaud, however, Chen Mo did not intend to let him off just like that, his face had not been completely trampled under his feet, and his mission had not been completed, so how could it end so easily, Wei Bin? Isn't the contracted machine lady of your dreams right in front of you? Hasn't she not replied to you yet? What's the point of retreating in such a hurry? Since we'll have to fight one day. Why don't we ask her today and see if she's willing? If so, we'll fight today. Saying that, Chen Mo's eyes looked towards Luo Zhen who was standing at the side. Wei Bin clenched his fists tightly and also followed and looked over. He more or less still harbored a trace of expectation. Expecting Luo Zhen to not reject him at this time and give him face. Luo Dai looked towards Chen Mo then twisted his head away and looked down to the stage. Gentlemen, today because of my matter, I'm really sorry for disturbing everyone's pleasure. Actually, this matter was originally a farce. So let's end it today. Luo Dai turned his head to look at Wei Bin. His clear and cold voice seemed like it was clipped with a knife. A knife that saw blood. Senior Wei Bin, you and I didn't have much of a relationship in the first place. And last year when you unilaterally declared that you were not my non-contractor, I didn't respond to it because I didn't think it was necessary. However, since things have gotten this big, I'll still respond to you solemnly. Senior Wei Bin, I have other plans for the matter of the contract, and I cannot accept your confession. Gentlemen, I've given you all trouble today, and made you all look at the joke. So everyone's consumption today, all of it is on my account. Everyone eat, drink and have fun. Don't let this matter disturb the heart of everyone who understands each other. I still have things to do, so I'll retire first. Luo Jin slightly nodded and bowed then turned around and walked off the stage, Luo Zhen's cool voice still echoed in his ears, Wei Bin only felt that his heart, in an instant, shattered into a field of glass slag, Chen Mo, who was on the dance floor, couldn't care less about Wei Bin, the ice cold electronic sound instantly resounded in his head, so wonderful that it was unrivaled, ding, commander detected completing the first random mission, successfully preventing Wei Bin from confessing his love and refocusing all the limelight on himself, mission completion, 100%, Reward, 10, 0, 0, 0 points. Reward, 1 physique enhancement card. Use. Chen Mo did not hesitate and used that physique card right then and there. 
successfully obtaining the mission reward. Chen Mo held Xia Zhang, who had transformed into a human form, and walked out as well. There was basically nothing left to wool gather in this carnival party today. Staying any longer would be nothing more than spending the day drinking. Getting high with this group of strangers was not as fun as getting high with Mr. Xia. After a few days of not seeing Mr. Xia, his heart had already started to flutter vaguely. With one foot on the gas, he went straight to Xia Zhang's house. Early the next morning, Chen Mo opened his eyes from sleep. A night of flirtation. Even though Chen Mei's physique had been strengthened, it was really a bit unbearable. Looking at the still sleeping Xia Zhen, Chen Mo quietly climbed up and made breakfast. While eating, while watching the morning news broadcast on TV. Surprise, the dome is being investigated. What exactly are the secrets of this economic organization? Notice, notice, recently, there have been frequent activities of magical beasts in the far suburbs of the practice area. So please try not to approach the far suburbs of the practice area as much as possible for the citizens of the fringe area. Surprise, an unknown warship has been detected near an island called Mystic Mori Island in our country. Our deep snow warship has gone to investigate, and there is no sign of war for the time being. Watching the broadcast on the television, Chen Mo suddenly remembered the economic organization above the dome, the set of external loaded kinetic energy cores that he had removed from Hades, the king of the underworld. That day was still in his commander's warehouse, and after being so busy for so many days, he had almost forgotten about it when he hadn't been paying attention. Chen Mo clicked on the commander's warehouse and took a closer look. Without looking, he was shocked. S-Class external carrying kinetic energy core, product of the far suburban practice area F. It has been fully purified. And loading this kinetic energy core can provide an additional 500T of carrying and 500T of kinetic energy deployment system for the machine lady. Leaving aside the rest of the information, the fact that it was produced from far suburban leveling area F alone was enough to shock Chen Mo. The far suburban leveling area F was already considered a very deep area. That day, when Chen Mo fought that group of flying steel dragons, it was not even halfway to area F. How did Qin Shou obtain that kind of forbidden area? How did Qin Shou get that kind of equipment in the middle of a forbidden area? Did Qin Shou get it alone? Or did above the dome support him from behind? In an instant, Chen Mo's mind spun, but he was completely unable to come up with an answer. However, this external kinetic energy core was already fully purified, so it was thought that it shouldn't be harmful to the mecha, or else how could Qin Shou have directly planted it on his mecha? Although, this thing wasn't very useful to Chen Mo. I'm afraid that it could play a crucial role for Zhang Yinqing's mom. Whether or not she could get back on the battlefield depended on it. Thinking of this, Chen Mu hurriedly made a call to Zhang Yinqing. Yinqing, do you have time today? How about I come to your house as a guest? Good, but I have some work to do today. Do you want to come and meet me at the maintenance unit? When I'm done, we'll go home together at noon. Zhang Yinqing's voice was filled with surprise. On one hand, she really did miss Chen Mo a little. On the other hand, if Chen Mo went to her house, there was no chance that her mom's problem could really be cured. So much so, Zhang Yinqing stood up happily through the phone. Okay, then I'll go over to you in a while. After hanging up the phone, Chen Mao woke up Xia Zhang. On Monday, he could go to the army without classes. But Xia Zhang had to go to work. Any later, and she should be late. At 9 in the morning, Chen Mo arrived at the maintenance troop on time. Xia Zhang was busy sweating in the maintenance room. But it was a matter of confidentiality for the personnel of the maintenance unit. So Chen Mo could not get his hands on it to help with the maintenance and could only wait outside. Chen Mo, who had nothing else to do, was walking around aimlessly, and just happened to run into Zhang Chen. Chen Mo, what are you doing in the army today? Came to look for Nian Nian? Dad, I'm here to look for Nian Nian. Go to the house for lunch, and help mom with the repairs on the side. During this period of time, Chen Mo and Zhang Chen became more and more familiar with each other, and their names slowly changed. Hearing that Chen Mo wanted to go to the house, Zhang Chen's eyes instantly lit up. Good good good. But as if he thought of something, Zhang Chen's face instantly collapsed. Alas, you guys go, I might not be able to return at noon, so just come over and talk to me when you see what the problem is. Hearing this, Chen Mo froze for a split second. On the day of meeting the parents properly, Zhang Chen was not there. Missing someone, it was always not good. Dad, what's wrong? Is there something going on? Is it tricky? Ugh, go go go, go to the office and talk. Bringing Chen Mo back to the office. Zhang Chen's expression completely chilled. I don't know what favors above the dome has given them. Why are each and every one of them so tight-lipped? Qin Shou has been locked up for so many days, and when he should be eating and drinking, he just doesn't say a word. Not a word. His indentured machine lady, is even more of a hardcore? How to torture is useless. Mouth with soda up like. I'm convinced, 
is above the dome their regenerative parent? They've all been caught red-handed on the spot, and they're still dead set on defending it. To be honest, these two days Zhang Chen in order to interrogate out some valuable clues. Soft also used, hard also used. As a result, froze from the mouth of the two people did not ask out a little bit of information. This made Zhang Chen, who had been mixing with the maintenance force for so many years, couldn't help but feel a little bored. This matter, can I participate? Chen Mo opened his mouth and asked, Do you have a way? I've exhausted my methods and failed to interrogate. Can you? Zhang Chen couldn't help but be a little skeptical. That's bound to work. Mang Mang will work. Looking at Chen Mo's confident face, Zhang Chen held his skepticism and brought him to the Imperial Capital Vigilante Force interrogation room. To be honest, Zhang Chen did not have any expectations at all. After all, after these few days of interrogation, Zhang Chen was almost certain that these people must have undergone special training and were soft and hard. A green melon egg like Chen Mo. He was afraid that it wouldn't take long for them to hit the wall. On the other hand, Chen Mo entered the interrogation room and looked at Hades, the king of the underworld, who had reverted to his human form in front of him, and his eyes narrowed slightly. Zhang Chen was really a good guy with a conscience. That day this guy was so heavily injured, but today he was still able to sit here in one piece. I'm sure Zhang Chen had spent a lot of effort to help her repair it. It was just a pity that these spies had no heart and couldn't recognize good and bad. Come on, tell me everything you know. I'll make it clear to you in advance. I'm not as good-tempered as they are, and if what they say doesn't suit me, what I could beat you up that day, I can still do today. Chen Mei crossed his legs and asked, Ha, then you just kill me. I don't know anything, you can't ask anything at all. The woman on the opposite side had a disdainful look on her face, as if Chen Mo's threat was painless to her. Alas, if the tiger doesn't give out, you are really treating me as a sick cat. Forced login. For a moment, information about Hades, the king of the underworld, was instantly displayed in front of Chen Mo's eyes. You, are you? Nervous system begins forced invasion. Neurological system invasion successful. Obtaining Hades the underworld king's mental control rights. Interaction system invasion successful. Obtaining Hades the king of the underworld interaction rights. The woman had just realized that someone had forcibly logged into her and was about to kick them out of the machine lady system. Who knows, without waiting for her to react, the spirit system and interaction system fell at the same time. For a moment, Hades, the king of the underworld, had completely become a plaything that Chen Mo had pinched in his hands, seeing that the woman in front of him had completely fallen into a daze. Chen Mo hooked his lips and smiled. It should be said that this forced login function was really quite versatile. At the time when he awakened this talent, he himself did not think that this trick could be used to interrogate prisoners. Placing the recorder on the desktop, Chen Mo turned over the book of questions that Zhang Chen had prepared in advance. Do you have any other identities above the dome besides the appearance of an economic organization? Only seeing the woman's eyes looking forward in a lifeless manner. She slowly opened her mouth after hearing Chen Mo's question. Above the dome is an economic organization jointly created by multiple countries outside of the country, and in addition to its headquarters being set up in the imperial capital. It actually takes care of the underground equipment manufacturing of the entire Divine Dragon Country. Chen Mo did not ask as many questions as he wanted, but rather followed the flow of questions based on the question book given by Zhang Chen. With the economic support you have given to the Imperial Capital Maintenance Force, have you completely infiltrated the Imperial Capital Maintenance Force? This I don't know. The mission of every personnel above the dome is private and will not inform each other. Then do you know who else within the Imperial Capital Maintenance Force is above the dome besides the Wu family? The woman's eyes flashed with confusion, as if she was recalling the information in her mind. I don't know. I've tried to look for it before but didn't find any clues. But the power above the dome must have infiltrated the vigilance force, and has even infiltrated some of the people completely. On what basis were you able to recognize the people infiltrated by above the dome? All of us above the dome have a cherry blossom on our crotch that can only be seen with a violet light. Question after question was asked, and the woman told the answers she knew. Through and through. Even though Chen Mo had already had a rough guess about what was above the dome before this, he was still taken aback by the answer. Within the Imperial Capital's maintenance force, there really had been people from above the dome. Zhang Chen was right. The financial support they had given to the maintenance force for so many years had really allowed their forces to go deeper and deeper. Sakura? It is hard to believe that behind above the dome is actually that country. Turning off the recorder, Chen Mo put away his questioning book and prepared to turn in to go. But then he suddenly remembered this morning's scene. The external kinetic energy core, a product of the Forbidden Land. Those Forbidden Land accessories on top of the dome. Did you guys make them yourselves? No. We have collected a lot of top technology from the Divine Dragon Kingdom over the years for the sake of economic development. But at the moment, 
we can only produce accessories below C grade at the highest, and the Forbidden Earth accessories are still mainly relying on special channels. Special channels? What channels? Where are the channels? A special channel is an underground passage that specifically leads to the depths of the Forbidden Land, just 2 kilometers outside of the 6th ring of the Imperial Capital and 1,000 meters underground. These last questions completely confirmed Chen Mo's speculation this morning. Above the Dome was actually really involved with the Forbidden Land, and even had a direct passage to the depths of the Forbidden Land. I'm afraid that the industry chain above the Dome not only covered the human region, but also the magical beast region. No wonder these beasts are getting stronger and stronger in recent years, and the frequency of the beast tide is getting higher and higher. No wonder these beasts have been getting stronger and stronger in recent years, and the frequency of beast tides is getting higher and higher. So it turns out that there are really people behind the scenes. Chen Mo couldn't help but be a little moved. If this big cake above the dome could be gnawed down, combined with the top technology of the Divine Dragon Kingdom, it was possible that those steel beasts could be completely snuffed out. Moreover, at that time, the dome would not be broken, and would no longer be a thorn in the side of the Divine Dragon Nation's eyes and a thorn in the flesh. After figuring it out, Chen Mo picked up the questioning book and recorder and walked out of the interrogation room. Dad, what's inside can shock your imagination. Don't let anyone else know yo. Chen Mo handed the things over to Zhang Chen and instructed with a slight smile. Zhang Chen didn't even react for a moment, and only after a few seconds did he snap back to his senses. What? She explained everything to you? Well, she told everything she knows. All of it, right here in this recorder. So make sure not to keep anyone you're not comfortable with around while you're listening. Chen Mei had personally interrogated her, so he naturally knew just how explosive this information was. He had been making big feats one after another during this recent period of time. So this kind of small feat, he might as well just let it go to Zhang Chen, which could be considered a meat angry gift for his father-in-law. Dad, listen to it yourself. I'll go find Nian Nian. We'll wait for you to come home for dinner together at noon. On the other side, Chen Mo had just arrived at Zhang Nianqing's maintenance room when he saw her delivering a commander out. Thank you, Master Zhang. How much do you think this repair will cost? Why? It's all for the sake of the country's contribution. Price-wise it's fine. I'll give you a discount. When Chen Mo heard Zhang Nianqing's words, the appreciation in his eyes grew even more. This was his woman. It was said that when a man fell in love with a woman, he either looked at the face or the body. But a woman like Zhang Nianqing, who had a face, a body and a great character, really made Chen Mo's heart flutter more and more. How could he, Chen Mo, let such an excellent woman become his contracted aircraft maiden? Sending off the last commander and his machine girl, Zhang Nianqing turned back to see Chen Mo with a smile in the corner of his eye. Pulling Chen Mo back to the maintenance room, Zhang Yanqing asked delicately, Hubby, where did you just go? I just came out and didn't see you. I went to help my father interrogate a prisoner, and helped him finish solving his puzzle so he could come home with us for dinner. The lone man and woman shared a room without the disturbance of a light bulb, and the temperature of the air gradually began to rise. Chen Mo's heartbeat suddenly accelerated, and his head couldn't help but probe over. Noon. Chen Mo followed Zhang Chen and Zhang Yanqing and returned home together. Speaking of which, this was Chen Mo's first time meeting his mother-in-law, so he couldn't help but feel a little nervous. Just as nervous as he was, there was also Zhang Chen. As early as the last time Chen Mo said that he could help his wife with her repairs and get her back on the battlefield, Zhang Chen had been waiting for this day. After so many years of waiting, it had actually long since made his heart numb with pain. Time and time again, his expectations had fallen short. Zhang Chen had even prepared himself for a lifetime of not being able to stand on the battlefield with his wife. But at this moment, when he saw that unrivaled confidence in Chen Mo's body, Zhang Chen's heart, again, beat fiercely. Could it be that his greatest regret could still be remedied in his lifetime? He was so afraid that all of this was just an illusion. For a while, Zhang Chen, who was upright like a poplar tree in the army, could not help but hunch his back at this moment. You're Chen Mo, right? What a good looking man. When the group arrived home, a woman with a dusty demeanor was already waiting at the door. The moment she saw the trio return, she rushed to welcome them. The woman had a gentle smile on her face. 162's height was not too high, but she had excellent proportions, and her legs were slender and long. Zhang Yanqing simply like her like 10%. Chen Mo didn't need to think to know that this was his mother-in-law. Mulan. Chen Mo just hurriedly walked forward and bowed towards the woman. Good day mother-in-law. My name is Chen Mo. I am Nian Nian's commander. Seeing Chen Mo's nervous appearance, the faint sadness in Mulan's eyes faded a bit more and turned to be colored with a bit of a smile. Come in quickly, come in quickly, thirsty, I'll go get you some water. Greeting the crowd as they walked into the house, Mulan hurriedly prepared to go and pour water for Chen Mo. 
Chen Mo hurriedly called out to Mulan, mother-in-law, don't get busy first, I'm not thirsty, can I take a look at your injured kinetic core first, we'll eat after we fix it, the moment Chen Mo spoke, Mulan's back froze, to be honest, this old injury of hers had been around for many years and belonged to the category of old injuries, for so many years, whenever Zhang Chen heard about where there was a great repairman, he would definitely bring her to take a look, and even his own daughter ended up becoming a repairman, nay, the part of her injury was the kinetic core, which was not something that could be repaired at all, and how many veteran repairers saw such a serious injury and ended up frowning and shaking their heads, Mulan had long since lost hope, she was now only glad that the war had left her a life, and that she could at least still accompany Zhang Chen and Zhang Yanqing, the father-daughter duo, this was enough, some time ago, Zhang Chen returned home and hugged her, saying that the commander of the Nianqing compact had the means to be able to repair the kinetic energy core, although Mulan's face showed delight, her heart couldn't stop beating the drum, after all, it is an 18-year-old child, just awakened the commander, even how to repair the mech is estimated to have not yet studied to understand it, how can deal with the difficulty of such a big problem, fear is not bragging, however, even Yen Yen spoke up for Chen Mo, assuring her that Chen Mo would do what he said he would do, only then did Mulan become more curious about Chen Mo, such a young kid, could he really do it, Chen Mo, the maintenance room is ready, Alan, you should quickly go in with Chen Mao and come out again later, so you can stand on the battlefield again, Zhang Chen saw Mulan froze and hurriedly urged, he had waited for one day, really waited for too long, come on, mother-in-law, trust me, I'll definitely help you fix the kinetic energy core, listening to Zhang Chen and Chen Mei's words, he felt his daughter's clenched hand, Mulan nodded, no longer resisting, inside the maintenance room, Mulan transformed into a vehicle form at this time, it was a military off-road vehicle with a high chassis ground clearance, no matter if it was climbing a slope or crossing a trench, however, because of the damage to the kinetic core, her energy supply was intermittent, and she was already doing her best to maintain her vehicle form, there was no way to change from her machine girl state, looking at Chen Mo's frowning appearance, Zhang Chen's heart could not help but sink, can it still be repaired? Chen Mao circled around the buggy twice, gently exhaled a breath, and his frown slowly unfurled, if we were to directly repair the kinetic energy core, the difficulty would indeed be too high, even I have no way to repair it, Chen Mo's words were not yet finished, but upon hearing this, Zhang Chen's entire body instantly declined like a deflated ball, however, in order for mother-in-law to be able to transform successfully, there's actually no need to repair this broken kinetic energy core, I have another method, his mood was like riding a roller coaster. Zhang Chen only felt that his mood was going up and down, up and down. Brat, why are you talking half and half? You're going to scare me to death. Zhang Chen couldn't help but give Chen Mo a punch. Of course, he didn't dare to push too hard for fear of breaking Chen Mo. Immediately afterward, Zhang Chen and Zhang Yanqing stepped back to make room for Chen Mo's maneuver, only to see that in Chen Mo's hands, he suddenly took out a set of equipment at some unknown time. It was the very same thing that Chen Mao had removed after the battle with Qin Shou's underworld Hades that day. Although Zhang Chen couldn't understand maintenance, Zhang Yanqing did. The moment she saw this set of external kinetic energy cores, she knew what Chen Mo had in mind. Chen Mo, to think of such a method? Was he a genius? Under the shocked gazes of the father and daughter, Chen Mo's hands were as fast as lightning, and every screw was smoothly placed where it should be. Zhang Yanqing had been a repairer for a few years and she unexpectedly realized that Chen Mo's hand speed was even faster than hers, and his accuracy was also much higher than hers, she didn't even know what Chen Mo's real strength was like anymore, but she vaguely felt that with her SS rank, she was afraid that she wouldn't be able to match Chen Mo's strength at all, without realizing it, half an hour passed in a flash, even though Chen Mo was very confident in the effect of his installation, he still couldn't help but slow down a bit, after all, he was repairing it for his mother-in-law, and didn't dare to make the slightest mistake, this set of external kinetic energy core? I have checked it and there is no problem. It can provide an additional 500T load bearing and 500T kinetic energy deployment system. In addition, I also replaced a set of engines. The off-road vehicle will definitely work better with a warp engine. There's also this annihilation, which I've also reobtained back to its original owner, so that it won't reduce mother-in-law's own comprehensive combat power. Listening to Chen Mo's words, Zhang Chen and Zhang Yanqing's jaws dropped in shock. 500T load bearing and 500T kinetic energy deployment, curvature engine, S-class annihilation, this, this was simply a modification for Mulan from start to finish, one must know that Mulan was nothing more than an S-class mecha, and after some modifications by Chen Mo, it had successfully stepped into the S-plus class, mother-in-law, get up and feel it, 
As Chen Mo's words fell, Mulan slowly sat up. She clearly felt that the forcefulness of her usual life had completely disappeared. She clenched her fists, only to feel that peak strength fill her entire body again. Seeing the surprise in Mulan's eyes, Zheng Chen tugged on her hand and ran straight into the courtyard, excited like a child who had eaten candy. Chen Mo and Zhang Nianqing looked at the backs of the duo running out, glanced at each other and couldn't help but burst out laughing, then, hurriedly followed them out, only to see the ultimate McKellen mech, which was about two and a half meters tall, constantly turning over its heels in the courtyard. Zheng Chen was sitting in the mecha cabin, feeling Mulan leading him to do all sorts of actions that she would never dare to think of again in her life. The courtyard was filled with the couple's laughter, and the dark clouds that had accumulated over the Zheng family's head were finally lifted, and the suppression of the past few years was completely released at this time. Zhang Nianqing looked at her parents running and jumping, she couldn't help but have a sore nose and tears pooled in her eyes. Hubby, thank you, really thank you. Her mother's injuries were always a heavy burden on her heart. She had studied mech maintenance for so many years, but she had never been able to learn to repair the kinetic energy core. Every time she saw her mother behind her and her father's back, secretly sobbing, Zhang Yinqing's heart always couldn't help but throb with pain. Unable to help it, she hated herself even more for not being able to learn to repair the kinetic energy core. At this moment, all of her mother's problems were solved by Chun Mo, and that heavy burden finally fell to the ground. For a moment, Zhang Yinqing's tears rushed out, dripping all over her face. Chen Mo reached out and held Zhang Yinqing in his arms, gently patting her back. At this time, no sound was better than sound, everything was in silence, until, a warm touch came from the lips, only, that warmth and moistness was separated at the touch, and before Chen Mo had time to react, Zhang Yinqing retreated and joined in the cheering, I don't know how much time passed, Zhang Chen ran in holding Mulan, only to see that both of them were sweating profusely, but they couldn't suppress the smile on their faces, ha 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 ha, it's too good, how many years has it been, I haven't experienced such a hot-blooded feeling again, wife, we can finally stand side by side on the battlefield once again, Chen Mo, I really thank you for letting me regain the ability to turn into a mecha, Mulan's eyes were slightly reddened at this time because she was overly excited, her voice was also a little choked, and her eyes became more and more tender as she looked at Chen Mo, when a mother-in-law looked at her son-in-law, the more she looked, the more she liked him, seeing Zhang Chen and his wife so excited, Chen Mo felt that it was really worthwhile for him to work for a few hours. Mom, I'm only upgrading your own accessories for a bit now, so after you've adapted to the new accessories in your body, you'll be able to add some more powerful equipment. Chen Mo instructed with a smile. Chen Mo, these things of yours aren't cheap, are they? Whether it's the external kinetic energy core or the warp engine, it's not something you can get casually, so let's see how much it'll cost in total and I'll give it to you. Although Zhang Chen didn't know much about this aspect of modification, these complete high-level equipment were obviously not something that could be measured in terms of money, and although he didn't know if he could afford to pay for them, his attitude had to be correct. Dad, you're out of line. I'm just doing something to help mom within my means, a family helping each other. How can you use money to measure it? Chen Mo frowned, somewhat helpless for a moment. He had already contracted Zhang Chen and Mulan's most precious treasure. How much money would it take to match this love? If he really wanted to do the math, it would be him, Chen Mo who had taken advantage of the situation. What's more, he had just gotten over 100 billion and a mech modification store on top of the dome some time ago. To be honest, the last thing he lacked right now was money. Chen Mo, mom knows that you are a capable person, and mom won't be too formal with you. You cannot accept the money, but this annihilation, mom still wants to give it to you. Looking at Mulan handing that annihilation back to himself, Chen Mo was ready to reject it right away. Don't refuse, listen to mom. Chen Mao. Mom is really happy to be able to turn into a mecha again, to be able to stand on the battlefield again. But, after so many years have passed, the sharpness I had back then has actually been worn down to almost nothing, and this annihilation blade continues to be in my hands. But instead, it won't be able to bring out its power anymore. Mom knows that you don't lack equipment, but S-rank equipment is at least still rare, and since annihilation can devour magical beast essence and evolve, mom doesn't want it to be buried in my hands. So take it. Every one of Mulan's words were heartfelt truths, so many years of injuries had rounded off all the sharpness in her body, and she no longer had the majestic aura she used to have, perhaps one day she would still stand on the battlefield, but after all, she wasn't the god-killer mecha from back then, annihilation would only become duller as it followed her, Chen Mo nodded and eventually took the annihilation blade, when the crowd returned to the dining room, the meal had already been prepared and set up a table, at the table, Zheng Chen couldn't help but ask, Chen Mordor, 
That mech modification store above the dome that was rewarded to you last time, have you gone to see it yet? Not yet. There were a lot of things going on a while ago, so I haven't cared to go over to see it. Chen Mo replied. You should take some time to go over and take a look recently. I remember that mech modification store can not only do modifications, there is also a huge parts manufacturing plant behind it. The back manufacturing, the front modification, it's one in the same, if utilized well, it's quite a big boost to your mech. Chen Mo was shocked. What? There's a parts manufacturing plant in the back? Then I'll take the time to go there in the next two days to see what it's all about. Well, there's also, the national competition will be starting two months from now. So if you have time, you can go over to the far suburb practice area to fight more monsters, or at least raise your 2S classmates to 4 stars in order to take a relatively high ranking in the competition. Moreover, the magical beasts over in the far outskirts of the practicing area have been getting more and more restless lately, and I don't know what's stirring in the forbidden land in the depths. Good, it's just hunting magical beasts. I'm happy to do it. Chen Mo had originally had this intention recently. After all, the rewards given by killing monsters were still quite large. The minion grade crystals and war soldier grade crystals in his hand were good for upgrading equipment levels when the time came. So naturally, the more the better. After eating lunch and resting a little bit, Zhang Chen and Zhang Yanqing still had work to do, so they returned to the army together. Chen Mo, on the other hand, was preparing to make a trip to the mech modification store, mainly to see what grade of accessories that accessory manufacturing plant could actually produce. At that time, no matter if it was for his own use or to sell, it would be a surefire deal. Moreover, in case the secret technology can be accessed at that time, it may be possible to independently develop high-grade accessories, and that would be a great achievement. Coincidentally, Xia Zhang did not have class in the afternoon, so she took the initiative to apply to follow along. The S-Class supercar drove for more than an hour before Chen Mo finally arrived at the mecha modification store. To be honest, before he came, Chen Mo thought that it was just a simple modification store. Who knew that it was simply an underground research and development kingdom? The ultra-long passageway filled with a sense of technology, even if Bokuda fire carp throttled down, all drove for a long time. Chen Mo did not even dare to think about how much manpower and resources were spent above the dome to build such a large military kingdom. The moment the gates opened, a high temperature heat wave hit his face. The interior of the parts manufacturing plant that met his eyes was completely devoid of a single person, but all the machines were running in an orderly fashion. Standard high-tech mechanized production. Chen Mo's scalp was numb for a while. He couldn't help but begin to wonder what the officials of the Divine Dragon Kingdom were thinking, that they would take such a huge high-tech military kingdom and give it to him for nothing as a reward. Crazy. Chen Mo logged on to the Underground Kingdom's network system, connected to the database, and backed up all of the information, which was considered to be a basic understanding of this large factory. Although this place looked very lofty, it was still more or less backward, and the highest grade of the accessories that could be manufactured was only D-grade, and it was still the most common type on the market. Chen Mo was a little disappointed for a moment, he had expected at least some higher grade accessories, actually being able to produce D grade accessories is already considered very good, I see that D grade accessories on the market are already as high as 20 million, seeing that Chen Mo was a little less than satisfied, Xia Zheng said comfortingly, well, although it's true that D grade isn't much use to me, but if it's sold, 70% profit, it can simply be said that it's a windfall, Chen Mo looked at such a high profit and relieved himself and sighed in his heart. No wonder the accessory dealers are all squeezing their heads trying to capitalize on this. This is too scary. With such a constant flow of production lines, does he still worry about not having enough money? Chen Mei slowed down and then upgraded and reinforced the servers of the underground kingdom, then rebuilt the core algorithms and upgraded the secret keys. The firewalls and defense devices were also fully upgraded, and all personal privileges before this were all cancelled. At this point, all the people and accounts that had contacted this underground kingdom before were unable to log in and access it. After spending a few hours, Chen Mo completely changed the name of this underground kingdom. At the same time, he had also gotten a system so that next time, even if he did not have to come over in person, he could still know all the information as well as adjust the manufacturing plan in real time. When he came out from the underground kingdom, it was already more than 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Chen Mo had originally thought of going straight home, but after thinking about it, he ended up turning to the far outskirts of the leveling area. On one hand, there was nothing to do if he went back so early, and on the other hand, he hadn't killed any monsters in the past few days, so he did have some itchy hands. It just so happened that he was on the way to the far outskirts of the leveling area, so he simply went there to get his hands dirty. Moreover, 
The slave level crystals that he had accumulated from killing monsters in the far outskirts of the leveling area before were already more than 700. After gathering enough of a thousand of them, it would be possible to strengthen S rank equipment. Although it was impossible to continue to raise the equipment level, it was still no problem to give the equipment some strength, so that Xiaoxian's star level would also rise faster. By the time they reached the far outskirts of the leveling area, the sky had slowly become dim. I don't know if it was because it was getting late, but at this time, the far suburb leveling area was filled with hordes of steel demonic beasts. There were smaller ones, like steel moles and steel rabbits that didn't do much damage. There were also slightly more powerful ones, like the steel falcons that flew through the sky from time to time. However, these were not Chen Mo's targets. Right now, their location was still at the edge of the far outskirts of the leveling area. For Chen Mo, these small magical beasts with little combat power, there was no need to kill them. Moreover, it would instead expose his position. At this time, Xiaozhen had already transformed into her mecha form. After all, the movement of a mecha flying was slightly smaller than the engine roar of a sports car. Chen Mo piloted the explosive Skyflame Carp Mecha directly towards the depths of the far outskirts of the leveling area, and it was only after flying for nearly 5 kilometers or so that he slowly slowed down his speed. Teacher Xia, from now on, I will no longer participate manually, so try to exert your full strength as much as possible, and I'll record your data and the data of the minion class Steel Beasts, I'll make my move when I encounter a war soldier level or above magical beast. Chen Mo had been more than a little curious about the Forbidden Land since yesterday when Zhang Chen had told him that there were things within the Forbidden Land that were foolishly moving around. After all, with the current technology, it was completely impossible to detect what kind of existence was within the Forbidden Land. If one wanted to completely penetrate the interior of the Forbidden Land, then one would inevitably need to first understand clearly what kind of magical beasts there were in the first layer of protection of the Forbidden Land, the depths of the far outskirts of the leveling area, as well as their characteristics. Top commanders, did not fight unprepared battles. Good. Xia Zhang had not moved since that last beast tide, and was also excited at this time. Especially since Chun Mo had loaded her up with annihilation before she came to the leveling area this time. She felt as if she had become much stronger again than last time. As she encountered the steel wolves once again, Xia Zhang struck out, only to see the explosive skyfire carp holding the blackened annihilation standing in the path of the steel wolves, just standing so quietly without a sound. The steel wolves had been hungry for a day and suddenly saw a machine woman appear in front of them, although they felt that the situation was a bit wrong. But in the case of their stomachs grumbling, they could not think too much. They didn't have time to think too much. Just as the steel wolves pounced on them, Xia Zhang moved. A strong killing aura emanated from annihilation, and that killing aura seemed to have materialized, causing the air to distort. Between raising his hand and waving his sword, a steel wolf was cut down, and none of the steel wolves were able to withstand a chop from annihilation. In a short while, the ground was filled with the corpses of steel wolves, and an entire group of steel wolves was completely annihilated. As for the annihilation in Xia Zhang's hand, after tasting the taste of blood, its body was black and shiny, and after devouring the essence of a group of steel wolves, the annihilation also began to recharge again. At the same time, in Chen Mo's commander's warehouse, the points and slave level crystals slowly began to accumulate. After entering the Forbidden Land, Chen Mo clearly felt that the number and types of iron demon beasts were much more numerous than the fringe area of the far suburb leveling zone. Moreover, the biggest difference between the steel demonic beasts in the forbidden land and the steel demonic beasts in the edge zone was that they would actively attack. However, it was a good thing that the explosive skyfire carp had been upgraded after several repairs and upgrades by Chen Mo, and at this time, it was almost not a concern for this kind of slave level steel demonic beasts. So much so, wherever the explosive skyfire carp passed, not a single steel demonic beast was able to leave alive. Three hours of frantic killing, fighting from the forbidden land all the way to the edge area of the far outskirts of the leveling area. Xia Zheng's energy was also basically almost depleted, slightly panting, although the steel demon beasts encountered were not of a high level, and they had not even encountered a single battle soldier level, but they could not help but be numerous, and it was indeed a bit tiring to kill them all the way back like this. All right, let's call it a day. I've collected almost all the data. Tomorrow let's call up Yi Qingcheng and make another trip to try to maneuver too much to cooperate in battle. Chen Mo looked at the moon hanging high in the sky and slowly said, On this journey, Xia Zheng had killed a total of 326 iron demon beasts and obtained 326 minion grade crystals, together with the 781 pieces that Chen Mo had originally accumulated. There were a total of 1,107 pieces. This had completely met and even exceeded Chen Mo's expectations. 1000 minion grade crystals were enough for him to upgrade an S-class accessory. 
Only Chin Mo had yet to figure out which one he wanted to upgrade. Far suburb practice area. Maintenance base. Yi Qingchang had just finished her day's work and was just about to go home when she heard the roar of a sports car resonating outside. Before she could go out, she saw a man hurriedly walking towards her. With one hand, he swept her into his arms. Compared to Xia Zhang and Zhang Yanqing, Yi Qingchang was almost the person who had seen Chen Mo the least, but this was really no way out. After all, Chen Mo contracted three mechs, and Yi Qingqing's workplace was far away in the suburbs. So naturally, she couldn't see each other day after day. Not seeing Chen Mo for many days, Yi Qingcheng seems to have gotten used to this feeling of not being able to see him, and at this time, she was violently hugged by him in her arms. For a moment, it was so aggrieved that her eyes reddened. Why did you take so long to come to me? Listening to Yi Qingcheng's delicate and glutinous complaining voice, Chen Mo's heart instantly softened to a mess. Yi Qingcheng, who had always been cold and icy to outsiders, actually had such a soft appearance, and Chen Mo was again somewhat unable to stop his pride. For a time, mixed emotions intertwined in his heart. Chen Mo could only hold the person in his arms a little tighter. That day in the downstairs of the maintenance unit, Chen Mo and Yi Qingcheng also counted on each other's intentions. But after that, Chen Mo had been too busy with his feet, and did not bother to come up to see her. I'm sorry, it's my fault. It's okay, I know you're busy, so I don't blame you. Yi Qingcheng withdrew from Chen Mo's embrace, and her afterglow happened to see Xia Zhang with a promising smile on her face, and for a moment she reddened. Xia Zheng walked forward and took Yi Qingcheng's hand. Sister Qing Cheng, tonight, Chen Mao will be handed over to you. I'm tired for the day, so I'll go back to rest first. After saying that, she also invited to gently pat on Yi Qing Cheng's hand twice. With that, he turned around and walked out of Yi Qing Cheng's office. Buzz. The roar of a sports car sounded outside the door, and Xia Zheng decisively skipped, leaving Yi Qing Cheng with two confused eyes. All the way to the wind, Chen Mo almost pressed the gas pedal to the bottom. The ice blue S-Class racing car was practically flying fast looking like a blue lightning bolt, and in the city at nightfall, it disappeared in the blink of an eye. It was only after arriving home and urging Yi Qingcheng to take a shower that Chen Mo's pounding heart slowly calmed down. The entire room was filled with black, white and gray tones, just like Yi Qingcheng's character, quiet and uncontested. Yi Qingcheng finished her bath and changed into a Changsam that was just above the knee. As soon as Chen Mo turned his head, he was shocked into speechlessness by the beauty in front of him. The light green Changsam is the most white. Lining Yi Qingcheng seems to shine like, slim style as her body outline concave and convex, outstandingly beautiful posture is emphasized to the fullest, a glance let the heart be happy, Chen Mo could not help but think that Yi Qingcheng usually always wore the uniform of the maintenance force, it was really a pity for this good figure, however, it was also really cheap for him, Yi Qingcheng slowly walked towards him, slender waist swaying, usually cold aura disappeared, replaced by an indescribable charm, Chen Mo's heartbeat, which had hardly calmed down, once again beat wildly and uncontrollably, immediately, a night of spring color, the next day, the two woke up at 6.30 in the morning, at the same time, years of work and rest habits, has long made Yi Qingcheng have a biological clock more punctual than an alarm clock, but also thanks to her years of training in the army, the body's ability to adapt to and withstand are still good, at this time there is no particular uncomfortable feeling, Chen Mo on the side was even more cheerful, not showing any fatigue at all, According to Chen Mo's plan, today they were going to continue to go to the far outskirts of the leveling area to brush the monsters. At the same time, Chen Mo also planned to record the data of the Ice Phoenix Mecha, and at that time, see how else it could be upgraded, because he hadn't been coming to Yi Qingqing a while ago, to the point where Chen Mo's commander's warehouse had so many goodies in it that he hadn't even loaded it up for her. Fortunately, Chen Mo never forgot about her and always remembered to keep a copy of the equipment for her as well. The Ice Phoenix mech itself had strong protection, but not very strong combat power, and because the body was heavy, it resulted in it not being very fast, so many times, she always acted as a sandbag-like role on the battlefield, taking a lot of damage, but not having the means to attack. Last time, Chen Mo equipped her with a curvature engine, which first allowed her speed to increase dramatically, and then equipped her with a superconducting weapon, the electromagnetic cannon, which allowed her to have the means to attack remotely so that the Ice Phoenix could be considered a mech that could carry, fight and run as well. Chen Mo took out the reward equipment given by the troops last time from the commander's warehouse. S-rank equipment, wind stabilizing wings, grade A equipment, phantom sound gun. These two pieces of equipment, one could give the mech the ability to fly and one could give the mech the ability to fight in close combat. Regardless of whether it was Xia Zhang or Zhang Yanqing, they themselves had the ability to fly. So this wind stabilizing wing was definitely going to be given to Yi Qingcheng. As for the phantom sound gun, 
Chen Mo also struggled with who to give it to, and after thinking about it, he also decided to give it to Yi Qingcheng. After all, Xia Jin already has annihilation, and Zhang Yinqing's original body is a undersea nuclear submarine, equipped with the phantom sound gun, a bit too big to use. Soon after, Chen Mo put all these two pieces of equipment on Yi Qingcheng, then connected all the systems and the energy was also connected. Chen Mo planned to fight from the edge area inwards today, so that Yi Qingcheng could also adapt to these two pieces of equipment better. After all, the Forbidden Land was no joke. A carelessness could easily pulverize one's body. One must not rush in like a reckless person without preparation. That is simply sending death. After all the equipment was installed, Yi Qingcheng instantly transformed into his mecha form. Name, Yi Qingcheng. Comprehensive rating, S-Class Ice Phoenix. Applicable energy, nuclear, solar, fuel energy, mecha material, rhenium alloy steel plus special glass. Firepower, melee, 6000. Long distance combat, 6000. Combined battle power, 13. 000. Base state shield value, 5000. Accessories, curvature engine, S. Superconducting weapon electromagnetic cannon, S. Wind stabilizing wings, S. Phantom gun, A. Let's go. Let's go to the fringe area and try to see what the strength is like. Chen Mo said and intended to go out. Just at this time, Yi Qingqing's cell phone suddenly rang. What? The Mamba prison has been terminated? The prisoner mechs were all robbed? Do you know who did it? Good good good, I'll be in the leveling area now. So you guys stabilize the situation and wait for me to get there. After hanging up the phone, Yi Qingcheng hurriedly looked at Chen Mo. Chen Mo heard her call and guessed out a rough idea as well. In the Mamba prison, the prisoner mechs that were held there were not very high grade, but because of their serious anti-human tendencies, so much so that they were able to burst out with strength that was a little higher than their grade. But, wasn't this a gift of points? Chen Mei remembered that the first warp engine was given by killing the prisoner mecha. Go go go. Isn't this bumping into my gun? Chen Mo excitedly pulled Yi Qingcheng and headed out. He was worried about not having a suitable opponent. However, the entire Mamba prison could be taken over. And to be honest, Chen Mo did have some worries. After all, the Mamba prison was right next to the Forbidden Land. Could it be that the intelligent magical beasts in the Forbidden Land had done this? Then the development of these magical beasts could really be beyond their imagination. Right at this time, Chen Mo's cell phone also rang. Hello? Nian Nian. Chen Mo. Urgent mission. My father just received intelligence that a large number of high-level magical beasts have appeared near the forbidden area of the far suburb practice area. The maintenance force has already begun to gather manpower and prepare for battle. Can you come? On the opposite side of the phone. Zhang Yinqing's voice was a bit urgent. Obviously this situation she had contacted Chun Mo the first time she received it. Go, I'll be there in a moment. Okay, I'll go talk to my dad now. After saying that, the phone was hung up. Chen Mo hurriedly called Xia Zhang as well, telling her to go to the far outskirts of the practicing area to wait for the vigilant force, so that when they assembled together, they would also be able to utilize a greater power. With that, Yi Qingcheng transformed into an S-Class racing car and carried Chen Mao as he sped towards the far suburb practice area. When they arrived, the ice-cold squad was already waiting. Last time, Chen Mo's bravery and courageousness in saving them from the fire was still fresh in their minds, so much so that the heart of the members of the chill ice squad dropped into their stomachs the moment they saw Chen Mo. On that occasion, Chen Mo had taken on a hundred of them, and in the end, he had even successfully killed a battle general-class steel dragon. This kind of strength was enough to make them feel relieved to rely on it. At the same time, the engine roar of that fire in the darkness, the exploding sky fire carp, came from far and near, and in the blink of an eye, it stopped in front of the crowd. It was not the first time that Xia Zhang and Yi Qingcheng had met, and after exchanging pleasantries, they simultaneously looked at Chen Mo. Chen Mo looked at the crowd that had arrived and said in a deep voice, The people are all here. Let's go. To the front line, the far outskirts of the leveling area the edge of the forbidden land. The air was filled with the strong smell of gunpowder, and the steel wraiths and the vigilant force had already fought each other long ago. Shell after shell was fired from the depths of the forbidden land. A group of VPC members were crawling in the trenches, and if they were not careful, they were blown to pieces. In the sky, the commander piloted a fighter jet, firing bullets towards the depths of the forbidden land, like the spring rain in June, as fine and dense as a cow's hair. Nay, with only one wave of firepower against each other they were beaten back. In previous beast tides, this kind of fierce confrontation was actually quite common. Only, this time it was unusually fierce. High-grade steel behemoths that had never shown up in the past, time and time again, impacted the defense line established by the maintenance forces, falling down in waves and coming back again, as if they could not feel any pain at all. 
As if they were not afraid of death at all, Zhang Chen was standing at the rear commanding, and the maintenance team members around him were constantly passing on the frontline intelligence. Captain, we have detected that the magical beasts of the Forbidden Lands G, H, and I regions are all converging towards the F region, and we didn't collect the basic information about the magical beasts in the I region before, so I'm afraid, it's going to be a bit tricky. Zhang Chen's brows were tightly knitted as his eyes stared at the locations that were marked in red. That ominous premonition in his heart grew stronger. Well, I'm afraid that another beast tide, even more violent than before, is about to erupt. What exactly is at the very center of the Forbidden Land? Why are these steel demon beasts madly moving against us as if they're being manipulated? Ha, huh? there are also those prisoner mechs that are actually involved in the war. Zhang Chen stroked his brow. There were too many things that there was no way to explain. Behind him, Mulan gently patted his shoulder. Don't think about it if you can't figure out some things. Let's deal with the situation at hand first. At least the fighters in the sky are still resisting, and can give those magical beasts some suppression. That's the only way. Xiao Lu, organized the defense as planned. Just as Zhang Chen calmed his mind and continued to give orders, a strange change occurred. Drip 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 drip. The radar detector suddenly emitted a violent alarm sound. The crowd present, jerked their heads towards the radar detector only to see that a large number of red dots suddenly appeared on the screen, and were slowly flattening into a straight line at a flying speed. It is important to know that each of these red dots represents a magical beast. Are they, preparing to build a city wall with their flesh? Moreover, under the all-encompassing coverage of the army's radar detectors, what means did they use to appear so close to them without making a sound ah? Xiao Lu, quick, hurry up and issue a citywide warning. These magical beasts are targeting. I'm afraid that it's the human society behind us. Zheng Chen hurriedly shouted towards the maintenance team members. Then he said towards the communicator. Notice, the first echelon of the front continues to advance 200 meters towards the depths of the Forbidden Land. The logistic unit will not move. All the others will follow upwards. Yes, Xiao Lu, issue a notice to the city, and gather all senior commanders and machine girls to prepare to guard the city. If, if we can't resist, they are the last force against the magical beasts. Speaking here, Zheng Chen's voice was a bit choked up but both eyes burst out with a refined light. It was a light that put life and death at risk. It was thought that he was ready to die for his country at this moment. Wearing the uniform he was so proud of, he died on the front line of the battle against the demonic beasts. This was the last glory of being a soldier. Report, great captain, that group of magical beasts don't know where the cannons come from, like don't want money to keep on releasing. Our mech is seriously injured, if not timely repair. I'm afraid. Report, great captain, the battlefield maintenance room is already full, the mecha repairers are completely inadequate, and the battlefield hospital site is already full of injured commanders, listening to news after news from the maintenance crews. A hint of ruthlessness flashed under Zhang Chen's eyes, looking at the precarious battle line, he finally realized that this war, I'm afraid, is going to be more serious than the previous times combined. Hurry up and send the injured pilots and commanders to the rear under the premise of ensuring their personal safety and empty the battlefield hospital and battlefield maintenance rooms as much as possible for those who need them. Where's Chen M.O.? Has he not come yet? To be honest, right now, Zheng Chen was indeed a bit flustered. If he hadn't really reached the point of desperation, he wouldn't have wanted to pin everything on Chen M.O. However, the situation at hand, it might really only be Chen Mao who could turn the tide against the wind. Last time, Chen Mao drove the explosive Skyfire Carp Mecha and it was no problem for him to single-handedly take on several hundred steel behemoths in the sky. This time, I'm afraid that the treasure could only be placed on him as well. Not yet, but it's already entered the leveling area, so I guess it won't take long to come over. Okay, then I'm relieved. Lan, follow me in charge once more. Good. In the face of Zhang Chen's invitation, Mulan did not hesitate for a second and nodded with a smile on her face right away. She had been looking forward to this day for eight years. From the time she was injured eight years ago until now, she had never imagined that there would be a chance for her to stand on the battlefield. Since Chun M.O. had given her this opportunity, then this time, she would definitely kill enough. At the same time, in area F of the distant suburbs leveling area, an ice blue mech and a mech with a black background and red light were driving side by side. Under the effect of the thrusters, the two mechs sprinted towards the direction of the Forbidden Land at a speed that was indiscernible to the naked eye. Chen Mo sat in the Ice Phoenix mech with a serious face. The current him did not realize that the front line had even been jeopardized to such an extent. Chen Mo seriously checked the detailed data of the Ice Phoenix mecha. Because he had never driven the Ice Phoenix in a battle before this, he still did not understand the various attributes of the Ice Phoenix. In case his own negligence caused his side to fall into a critical situation, 
that would really be a big surprise. While carefully examining the A-grade phantom sound gun, Chen Mo suddenly discovered something that he hadn't noticed before. The phantom sound gun was not a gun in the ordinary sense, but a pulse gun that belonged to the non-nuclear battery pulse. There was no need to fill ammunition when using it, and as long as Chen Mei's energy was constant, the phantom sound gun would always be usable. The greatest effect of the phantom gun was its ability to disrupt communications, disabling or destroying the electronic components in the radar system. This was only the effectiveness of a level 1 phantom gun. If the phantom gun was upgraded to level 2, it could be fired remotely, and could even detonate the explosives in the missiles in advance. If the distance was closer, the pulse microwaves from the phantom sound gun could also cause enemy mechs or steel beasts to fall into a stunned state. This was something that Chen Mo had not noticed before. So much so that, after seeing the efficacy of the level 2 phantom sound gun, Chen Mo did not even think about it and directly upgraded its level with 100 minion grade crystals. Coincidentally, a steel cheetah happened to run by at his feet. Chen Mo directly drove the Ice Phoenix mech and rushed up. Under the acceleration of the curvature engine, the speed of the Ice Phoenix was directly pulled up to full speed, and the naked eye could only see the gusts of shadows flashing through the air. As it approached the steel cheetah, the Ice Phoenix mech raised the phantom sound gun in its right hand and pressed. The pulse microwave charged. In an instant, the steel cheetah fell straight to the ground. The Ice Phoenix mech appeared on the ground in a flash and hammered the steel cheetah's head with a punch. I throw, this thing is so good. If this is used on the battlefield, wouldn't it be directly invincible? Chen Mo had a face of surprise, not realizing that this A-rank equipment was in no way inferior to S-rank. Ching Cheng, target, forbidden land, departed full speed. Yes, far outskirts of the leveling area. Front line, great captain. Those motherfucking magical beasts are too ruthless. Their ammo is like no money at all. Bombing indiscriminately. The main thing is that their accuracy rate is simply terrifying. Basically no bullets are fired. The cannons are accurate. In the past, when we fought with them, even if they fired their cannons, they were only 25% accurate, or at least they wouldn't cause us this much damage. But this time, our first echelon was suppressed and couldn't move at all, completely unable to advance an inch, and near 100% blow up rate, this was nothing short of a disaster for the human troops. Zheng Chen's face was so white that even the color of the blood on his lips had faded quite a bit, showing how desperate he was at this moment. After more than 10 years of fighting with this group of steel demon beasts, this was the first time he was beaten without any power to fight back, and his previous combat experience was simply not useful. The situation of the battlefield at this moment had completely exceeded his cognition, and was rapidly getting out of his control. Stop continuing to advance. Hurry up and have them all pull back. We can't continue to increase ineffective casualties. Zhang Chen's order had just been sent out less than two minutes ago when even worse news followed. Great captain. It's over. It's all over. The first echelon has already entered the range of the wraith cannons. And now no matter if we advance or retreat, we simply can't do anything. What? Zhang Chen violently tended to slap on the table. The entire person completely exploded. This time, the beast tide was utterly beyond Zhang Chen's imagination. One had to know that in the past 10 years or so, even the worst of a huge scale beast tide had never given him such a great pressure. Because the intelligence of those magical beasts was not too high. They launched their attacks with nothing more than hard resistance with their steel flesh. Even if there were hunters who were able to block out the radar's exploration and act as openers for them, but because the number of hunters themselves was small, and because those magical beasts did not have a unified command, it hadn't brought them any overly tragic consequences, but this time was different. This time the magical beasts looked like they were commanded by someone, and their goals were quite clear. Moreover, those evil cannons of theirs didn't know where they came from and their aiming rate was surprisingly almost close to 100%. Grand Captain, I'm afraid they have satellite positioning, and no matter if it's from the war tempo or strategic deployment, it's simply premeditated, and their cannons seem to be war admiral class wraiths, with a longer distance and better aiming ability than ordinary wraith missiles. As he watched the commanders and witches on the front line fall one by one, Zhang Chen's heart was simply like being cut by a dull knife, vaguely aching, a battle general class wraith acting as a turret. That was simply hitting a moving target. If this continued, I'm afraid that they wouldn't even be able to hold out until Chen Mo came, and they would all have to die here. Song Kai, Wang Yuanbua, here, Song Kai, you take over my position to be in charge of command. Wang Yuanbua, you be the deputy commander. During my absence, assist Song Kai. If there is something you two negotiate on your own, the rear, I'll leave it to you. Previously, Chen Mo had made modifications to Mulan, whether it was the engine or other accessories. They had all made no small upgrades. Zheng Chen wanted to try and see if he could get rid of the positioning of the wraiths under the super high speed of the curvature engine and directly strike their back row. 
buying some time for his side's first echelon. The decapitation operation was the only feasible way in this desperate situation right now. Regardless of whether it was successful or not, it was better than waiting for death here now. Moreover, what if it succeeded? Senior Captain, are you going to go personally? Song Kai and Wan Yuan Bo both asked in unison. No, big captain, you have to sit at the back, or else it'll all be a mess ah. Uh. Song Kai hurriedly voiced his opposition. Great captain, let me go. I'm a four-star commander, and my battle power is also very strong. Wang Yuanbo spoke up immediately afterward. It wasn't that they had to force Zhang Chen to stay here in command, but it was because the next frontline battlefield would experience wave after wave of artillery bombardment, and it would be difficult to pull back now, not to mention fighting. For Zhang Chen to charge forward now was simply sending him to his death. Stop talking, my mind is made up. After saying that, Zhang Chen and Mulan glanced at each other, and both saw a strong will to fight in each other's eyes. With that, the two of them held hands and stepped out of the command headquarters. At this moment, the great battle from eight years ago flashed before their eyes again. That time, Zhang Chen had caused Mulan to suffer the greatest injury in his life because of his high-mindedness and insolence. This time, after eight years of precipitation, Zhang Chen had long since not been the brat of that year, and the hatred of that year would be avenged today. In an instant, the ultimate McKellen Mecha appeared. Under the acceleration of the curvature engine, Zhang Chen headed straight for the center of the Forbidden Land. Only, the reason why the curvature engine was an S-Class top equipment was because it required a high level of proficiency itself. But Ultimate McKellen had just equipped it for two days. So it was obvious that he was not very comfortable with it. So much so that, just after entering the Forbidden Area, Zhang Chen received a warning from Ultimate McKellen that it was locked. On top of that, Zhang Chen realized that Ultimate McKellen's targeting system had been interfered with, making it completely impossible to aim. Damn it, how can we even fight? Zhang Chen cursed with hatred, without waiting for him to react. The cannon from the wraith's side flew towards them, seeing that it was about to hit the ultimate McKellen. Zhang Chen hurriedly and quickly operated on the center console. The curvature engine was activated, and utilizing staggered movement, he quickly got the fuselage out of lockdown and dodged the attack. Nay, was the lock on the wraith's side so simple to get rid of? Listening to the ding 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 alarms coming from within the mech, Zhang Chen made a dodge and skillfully used the ultimate McKellen's own thunder cannon to detonate the incoming cannonballs. Ahead of time. However, the power of the cannonball was clearly beyond Zhang Chen's imagination. And the aftermath of the explosion directly shook ultimate McKellen to the point that it kept lurching. And the smoke stirred up by the explosion completely engulfed ultimate McKellen in an instant. Captain. Captain. Song Kai and Wang Yuanbo, who saw the scene from a distance at the command headquarters, exclaimed in shock at the same time. Separated by such a distance. The two of them thought that Zhang Chen had been directly bombarded head-on, and at that moment, they directly panicked. As for Zhang Chen, who had just dodged a shell, he had a face of remorse at this moment. Alas, still too low in proficiency, the plan to forcefully break into the enemy's rear is still a failure. Ideal was plump, reality was bone dry. If he were to follow the ideal situation, he would have already broken into the rear of the enemy army and carried out a decapitation operation by now. Unfortunately, on the one hand, his proficiency was still too low, and on the other hand, the S-Class curvature engine hadn't been upgraded, and couldn't achieve such an effect on its own. Right at this time, the enemy's artillery shells were once again chasing after him, and they were really just indiscriminate bombardment without any regard for attrition, like they didn't need any money. It's over. I'm afraid it's really over this time. The S-Class curvature engine consumed energy too quickly, and after such a long time of dodging, Zhang Chen had very little energy left that he could provide. The first echelon at the back had absolutely no ability to be able to support it. Song Kai and Wang Yuanbo, who were far away from the command headquarters, were also unable to pass in such a short period of time. For a while, no matter if it was the rear maintenance team members, or Zhang Chen and Mulan, they all guessed. They, I'm afraid, would really have to stay here. Just as everyone had a look of despair, an icy blue point of light came from far and near, from the sky above the command headquarters. It sprinted to the front of the first echelon in the blink of an eye. The Ice Phoenix Mecha, which was about 5 meters tall, instantly appeared within Zhang Chen's reach. Ching Cheng, forget about everything else, save the people first. The roar of the engine resounded in the air above his head. Chen Mo, had finally arrived. The Ice Blue Ice Phoenix Mecha made a flash and appeared directly beside Zhang Chen. And on the other side, the explosive Sky Fire Carp, whose entire body was flashing with red lightning, followed closely behind. Dad, Mom, I've arrived in time. Right. Hearing Chen Mo's voice, Zhang Chen's eyes, which had already given up struggling to close tightly, instantly opened. 
Brat, you finally arrived. If you don't come, I'm going to be shelled to pieces. Zheng Chen cursed on his lips, but the smile on his face could not be suppressed. Saved. Chen Mo had come. They were saved. At the same time, the two of them, Song Kai and Wang Yuanbua, who were staying at the command headquarters, instantly burst out with hopeful gazes on their tear-filled faces. It's the Ice Phoenix Mecha, and the Exploding Sky Fire Carp Mecha. Chen Mo is here. The great captain is saved. Woo woo. Amidst the cheers, Song Kai and Wang Yuanbua's cries were so out of place. However, the excited and surging hearts were unanimous. At this moment, it was as if everyone had forgotten that they were now on the battlefield, and the sounds of cheering resounded throughout the battlefield. Looking at the two S-class mechs hovering above their heads, the first echelon of the maintenance team members who were suffering from artillery fire couldn't help but burst into tears. When facing a powerful enemy, they did not cry. When faced with imminent death, they did not cry. And now, at the sight of Chen Mei arriving with his machinima, their tears were simply like a flood that broke the dike, raging out uncontrollably. Superconducting weapon electromagnetic cannon. Fire. It was the same familiar commander. The same calm and bright voice. Only this time, it was the Ice Phoenix Mecha that participated in the battle. The power of the S-Class superconducting weapon electromagnetic cannon was simply frightening. And the Minion-Class magical beasts could not hold back at all. And the cannonballs that locked onto them were detonated in advance as early as the moment they were locked onto by Chin Mo. For a time, the entire battlefield instantly resounded with a terrifying explosion. However, the damage to the members of the maintenance force was pitifully small. Crap. Too fierce. Simply too fierce. That's the explosive sky fire carp. Is that the big guy who picked off a few hundred magical beasts in the sky last time? The mecha beside Bakuden fire carp is also very handsome. That electromagnetic cannon must be A-class. How can an A-class mech be that powerful? I'd say it must be S-class. By the way, when did our troop have so many bigwigs? Last time, the explosive Skyfire Carp Commander Chen Mo was so fierce. And this time there's another one. I don't know. But I know that once they come, we might be able to turn defeat into victory again. The VPC members on the battlefield looked at the two mechs that were fighting in the sky. Their faces full of envy. They didn't know that these two mechs were all Chen Mo's. It didn't take long for the terrifying explosions to slowly stop. Eh? Why isn't the Wraith side releasing shells anymore? Running out? Listening to the diminishing explosions. Song Kai was puzzled only to see that blue figure on the battlefield weaving back and forth through the cannon fire like an excellent ballet dancer, dodging all the cannonballs as he spun and jumped. The shells that exploded around him instead looked like they were applauding his performance. Fireworks. Beautiful. Good lord. Chen Mo and his exploding sky fire carp shocked me last time. How come this is another one? Wow. It's really elegant. And this mech is so beautiful. Kai Kai. I feel as if we can win big this time. Just as Chen Mo was on a killing spree ready to kill directly to the enemy's lair in one breath. Yi Qingqing's voice came. Chen Mo, don't chase after the poor enemy. There is still a troop of people behind us. In case you are in danger, I'm afraid that the rear will suffer. Let's go down first and see what the first captain arranges. As a chill squad leader who fought on the battlefield all year round, Yi Qingqing's concern was quite necessary. After all, every step they took determined the life and death of the large force at the rear. Chen Mo, who was about to continue sprinting, Heard Yi Qingqing's suggestion and stopped at that moment. Indeed, a poor enemy should not be pursued. No matter what, how to fight next and to what extent, he had to more or less communicate with Zhang Chen. Moreover, such a grueling battlefield, a completely one-sided crushing battle situation, was indeed a bit beyond his imagination. It was always right to know more and make more preparations. Right away, Chen Mo returned to the rear command headquarters with the Ice Phoenix and Explosive Skyfire Carp. Song Kai and Wang Yuanbua had long been waiting outside, just waiting to see the true face of the commander within the Ice Phoenix mech. Buzz. The mech's hatch slowly opened, and Chen Mo's head poked out from inside, followed by a direct jump. Chen Mo? Isn't he? The commander of the explosive Skyfire Carp? Then who was piloting the explosive Skyfire Carp? Song Kai looked at the explosive Skyfire Carp with a head full of questions, only to see that the explosive Skyfire Carp had directly turned into a beautiful girl, and there was no commander at all. For a moment, Song Kai's brain directly died, and he simply couldn't figure out what the hell was going on. He only heard someone behind him whispering, Crap, it's true, these two S-class mechs are both owned by Chen Mo. You guys don't know, right? I heard them say last time that Chen Mo was able to remotely channel energy to the mecha nymphets, and that he doesn't just have one mecha, that SS-ranked repairer of our troop is also his contracted mecha. Ha, huh? you said he can contract so many mechs, it's not too much to ask for one more, right? Sister, people are indentured more, but not not unpicky okay, 
You look at yourself if you have S-class before you say it. On the other side, Chen Mo led Yi Qingcheng and Xia Zhang, directly striding into the command headquarters. At this time, Zhang Chen had already returned to the rear with Mulan. A bitter look on his face. Failed again. Was he really getting old? He couldn't even raid the enemy's rear and almost put his life on the line. If it wasn't for Chen Mo's timely arrival, he was afraid that he would once again lead Mulan to destruction. Alas, it really wasn't possible to disobey old age. Yo, how is the captain of the maintenance force wilting? Chen Mo's flirtatious voice came from behind him, and Zhang Chen hurriedly straightened his chest, hiding the despondency on his face. Right, wasn't there still Chen Mo? Although he was old, his son-in-law was still young. Thinking of this, Zhang Chen's mood instantly improved. Chen Mo, no kidding, I'm afraid this war is different from all the previous ones. Zhang Chen told Chen Mo all about all the intelligence gathered and the situation of this battlefield. The more Chen Mo listened, the more alarmed he became. It was hard to believe that the center of the Forbidden Land, there were already highly intelligent beings? Otherwise, how could this orderly and premeditated war be explained? And who came up with the method of the war general level magical beasts acting as turrets? I can go up and try it, but it's my first time using it as well, so it's not necessarily guaranteed to work. Chen Mo recalled the phantom sound gun that had just been upgraded and suddenly had an idea in his heart. What are you going to do? Zhang Chen was a bit uneasy. He had experienced it firsthand. The enemy's rear was not something that could be entered by recklessness. I'm going to go in alone. No way. Without waiting for Chen Mo to continue, Zhang Chen hurriedly interrupted him. Hear me out. This is the best idea I have. I'm going in by myself. The target is smaller. And I can take care of myself. And I have the means to save my life. Even if I can't cut through the enemy's rear, I'm sure I'll be able to exit alive. To be honest, Chen Mo actually did not have a 100% certainty himself. The enemy's firepower was indeed a bit fierce, and the range range of the phantom gun wasn't particularly far, so he would have to raid very close to the magical beasts in order to succeed. Moreover, the main thing was that there were definitely more powerful magical beasts hidden in the center of the Forbidden Land, and with his strength, he really wasn't sure he could succeed. Have you really thought about it and are prepared to go by yourself? In case you fail at that time, we really can't do anything to help you. Zheng Chen inquired about Chen Mo's thoughts one last time. Chen Mo had also made up his mind that this was the only way. Yes, the strength of our large force cannot pass through the enemy's bombardment zone. In order to completely open up the battlefield, the only way is for me to destroy their rear base and clear the way for our large force. Apart from this reason, Chen Mo actually had his own selfishness. The swarms of magical beasts on the battlefield came one after another, and to him, they were simply points and crystals delivered to his door. There was no chance that with this wave, he would directly become rich. On the other hand, Zhang Chen thought left and right, but he really couldn't find a better method than Chen Mo's method. After many years of war, the manpower and material resources of the maintenance forces had indeed been depleted too much, and it was almost impossible to fight the magical beasts head on. It was those cannonballs that didn't cost anything that they couldn't even carry. The other day, the scene of Chun Mo single-handedly taking on a group of dragons was still fresh in his mind. At this moment, there was only hope for him. Chen Mo, I order you in my capacity as the grand commander of the maintenance unit, come back alive. After saying that, Zhang Chen fiercely stood up straight and gave a standardized military salute towards Chen Mo. This was the most sincere wish as a soldier. Chen Mo's heart stirred as he hurriedly saluted as well. Yes, at this time, they were not father-in-law and son-in-law. They were just the superior and subordinate in the maintenance force. It was the most honorable. Soldiers, as for Xia Zhang and Yi Qingcheng, they never objected to any choice made by Chen Mo. Although they also knew that Chen Mo's decision this time around was very risky, the two women still stood behind Chen Mo very decisively. After Chen Mo's exit from the battlefield, the wraith side soon began to bombard again. At this time, the front line was filled with smoke and the sound of explosions continued to flow. The ground was filled with deep craters left behind by the explosions and the corpses of humans and magical beasts were countless, and the strong smell of blood made people sick to their stomachs. Chen Mo took advantage of the smoke to sneak into the battlefield. He was very fast and tried his best not to let the enemy realize his presence, piloting the Ice Phoenix mech like a shadow. He quickly skimmed over the buildings in the battlefield that had already been blown to pieces, and by the way, utilized the phantom gun to directly collect all the magical beasts that he had fought in front of. Under the effect of the curvature engine, the Ice Phoenix mecha's own advantages were thoroughly utilized. On the rocky road, the Ice Phoenix was simply like walking on flat ground. Chen Mo did not feel any bumps at all, and under the roll of the laser phased array multipoint precision tuning radar, the enemy's position and configuration were all mapped out by Chen Mo. Distance, angle, movement status, 
all the data were all detected and recognized. The display screen inside the Ice Phoenix mech showed all of this data to Chun Mo. Ching Cheng, we are about to enter the core area of the Forbidden Land. I'm afraid that the anti-detection material will fail. Prepare to be locked. Several cannonballs flew directly towards the Ice Phoenix mech. Fortunately, the Ice Phoenix mech was equipped with a warp rate engine. It dodged the cannonballs with a dodge when it was about to explode on the mech. Boom. Boom boom. The position that it just dodged away in the previous second was blasted by a cannonball in the next second. However, the next second, several more shells flew straight over. Crap. It's not over yet. After dodging three or four waves of cannonballs in a row, Chen Mo was enraged even if he was good-tempered. The curvature engine was exerted to the extreme, and the Ice Phoenix mecha instantly turned into a trail of stumps. The superconducting weapon electromagnetic cannons behind the Ice Phoenix Mecha kept firing, and one by one, the strategic points were precisely knocked out by the electromagnetic cannons. As for the enemy's several Battle Admiral class artillery pieces, they were simultaneously aiming at Chun Mo, intent on knocking him out. Without this group of highly accurate artillery bombardment, the members of the first echelon of the VPF also slowly let out a sigh of relief. Seeing that the situation on the battlefield was less intense, Xia Zheng hurriedly joined the fray as well. The explosive Skyfire Carp Mecha instantly transformed, and under the acceleration of the thrusters, the annihilation frantically decimated the magical beasts. Some people were happy and some people were sad. The side of the maintenance force had achieved considerable success, while the side of the Forbidden Land was caught off guard. Forbidden Land Area J, Command Headquarters. Inside the secret room that looked full of technology, a humanoid creature with steel armor attached to his entire body was sitting behind a desk. The person opposite him was clearly Qin Shou, who had just been sent to prison by Qin Mo some time ago. Qin Shou, we went through the trouble of rescuing you, and this is what you're going to show me this time? Didn't you say that the Imperial Capital Maintenance Unit only had one yellow and black mecha that you couldn't handle? Tell me, what about this blue mech? A dozen or so of our Battle Admiral class artillery, and not a single shot was able to hit it. Is this what you call foolproof? I advise you to better figure out what to explain now, or else, when Lord Wiener asks, I won't help you explain. Last time that black and red mecha decimated a large number of our flying magical beasts. And this time the exact same situation has occurred. You'd better give me a reasonable explanation. Facing O'Hara's question, Chin Shou didn't know how to answer. This ice blue mecha, he hadn't even heard of it, let alone seen it before ah. Uh. Luckily, O'Hara gave him a chance to speak, since he didn't let him die outright. It meant that there was still a chance for everything to be salvaged. My lord. I've never seen this mech before in the maintenance force. We've gathered intelligence on all of their highest level mechs. But this one really isn't there. It's most likely a new mech that just joined the maintenance force this year. But from the looks of it, I'm afraid that the battle power is even stronger than the one that Zhang Shen has. As for that black and red mech, it's the contracted mech of a new commander called Chen Mo who was recruited by Zhang Shen this year. And I've already given you all the data of the explosive Skyfire Karpa. Aside from this mech, all of the defense forces and configuration data of the maintenance unit are all indistinguishable from what I provided. Qin Shou was also confused now. Some time ago, he had been messed up in jail by Chen Mo and Zhang Chen. Taking advantage of this, he gathered intelligence bit by bit and almost mapped out the Imperial Capital's defense force, especially Chen Mo. He had even gotten his information to the bottom of it. The previous beast tide was caused by him. Because the Imperial Capital security forces were very weak in terms of air defense, they were very powerless in terms of aerial combat, so if they used flying magical beasts to launch an attack, they would definitely be able to break through the defenses of the far suburbs leveling zones. At that time, wouldn't the fall of the imperial capital be within their control? Who knew that a Changbite gene, a flying explosive sky mecha, would directly kill all of their flying magical beasts in the middle of the road? That time, Qin Shou was almost killed by Lord Wiener. Luckily, he had a bit of old money from the past few decades. And only after all of it had been contributed did Lord Wiener leave him alive. In this beast tide, the powerful radar jamming and precise positioning system were the cards he handed over to save his life at that time. After O'Hara had tested these systems many times and determined that they worked very well, only then did he launch a larger scale beast tide. When the war started at the very beginning, with the radar jamming device and the precise positioning system, they had indeed gained a considerable advantage. Seeing that, the Imperial Capital's maintenance forces were being beaten back by them, and the defense line at the edge of the city was about to be breached. Who knew that two more inexplicable mechs would come out? One was the very same explosive Skyfire Carp that had saved the day last time, and the other was the ice blue mech that had never been seen at all. But they were at their wits' end with him. Watching on the screen, the Ice Phoenix mecha was getting closer and closer to their command headquarters, and O'Hara's heart was in his throat. 
It couldn't be helped. The purpose of the Ice Phoenix mech was clear. It was obvious that it was going to destroy their command headquarters. Could it not panic? Get down. If you don't take care of this matter, if Lord Wiener doesn't kill you, I will. I, I'll go now. Seeing a gust of murderous aura flashing in O'Hara's eyes, Sheen Sho hurriedly retreated. If the Forbidden J area was destroyed, not to mention him, I'm afraid O'Hara's head wouldn't be saved. The only way now was to preserve the Forbidden J area. Perhaps then everything would still have a chance to turn around. Outside, under the consistent aiming of a dozen or so Battle Admiral class cannons, wherever the Ice Phoenix Mecha's front foot was, a furious bombardment would be ushered in. For a time, the entire battlefield was thick with smoke, covering the sky. After such a long period of circling around, Chen Emo was already quite familiar with the situation behind the Wraith. With the curvature engine utilized to its fullest extent, Chen Ma was confident that it was not impossible for him to break in and even come out unharmed. At this moment, the distance from the back of the Wraith was only about one kilometer. Chen Mo's eyes flashed with a brilliant light, and he fiercely pressed the gas pedal to the bottom. The moment he surged within a kilometer, a warning came from the Ice Phoenix mech. Warning, warning, a large number of high-grade magical beasts have been detected ahead. Please evacuate in time. Commander, warning, warning, a large number of high-grade magical beasts have been detected ahead. Please evacuate in time. Chen Mo just ignored the warning and drove the Ice Phoenix mech directly upwards. In the blink of an eye, he was close to the beasts. The phantom sound gun in the Ice Phoenix mecha's hand had already been recharged. Chen Mo's eyes were glued to the large red dots in the radar image on the screen. One could only see the number of red dots growing more and more dense. As O'Hara guessed Chen Mordokai's purpose, the first thing he did was to rush the magical beasts of the G, H, and I regions together, bound to take Chen Mordokai down. All the steel wraiths spontaneously fired missiles, and the battle admiral class artillery was firing one after another. The Ice Phoenix mecha looked like it was completely blind to the missiles that grazed its face, and every time it skimmed over a spot, countless wraiths were decapitated. At this point, the curvature engine was already at its peak, and Chen Emo flew around the center console, reaping lives like the god of death, heading straight for the enemy base camp. His only purpose now was to destroy all of the enemy's radar jamming equipment and precision targeting systems. In this way, the explosive Skyfire carp following behind would be able to follow without a commander. After all, all of these cannons were battle general level magical beasts, and there was no way to deal with so many of them with Xia Zhang alone. With another super high speed acceleration, the Ice Phoenix mecha finally entered the range of the Phantom Gun. In an instant, the pulse power of the Phantom Sound Gun that had been stored up for a long time surged out, quickly spreading out behind the demonic beast troops. All the radars and electronic instruments fell into a state of silence. The wraiths closest to the Phantom Gun directly fell into a deep coma. The battlefield that was roaring one second was directly quiet the next. Through the machine lady system, Chen Mo's voice calmly entered Xia Zheng's ears. Teacher Xia, go! The moment they received the command, the explosive Skyflame Carp Mecha directly rose up into the sky, following the Ice Phoenix Mecha and delving into the back of the magical beasts, hearing a dead silence on the battlefield. Seeing the Ice Phoenix Mecha and the explosive Skyfire Carp Mecha fly into the back of the magical beasts at the same time, all the members of the maintenance troop, at the same time, let out deafening cheers. I told you, we're saved when Chen Mo came. Long live the exploding Skyfire Carp. Long live the Ice Phoenix. Long live Chen Mo. Look, 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 look. That group of devilish beasts. They've all fainted. It worked. Chen Mo really did it. Zhang Chen, who was watching the front line from the command headquarters with fear and trepidation, even stood up violently. Both hands slammed towards the desktop, shaking the entire command headquarters into instant silence. Brat. It really did it. Xiao Lu, notify all ground troops to take this opportunity to advance 5 kilometers forward to receive for Chen Mo. Aerial forces stand ready to cover for the Ice Phoenix and explosive Skyfire Carp. While cheering on this side, the members of the Battlefield Hospital and Battlefield Maintenance Room on the other side had also stopped what they were doing. Ever since Chen Mo's arrival, the wounded that were received at the rear had become fewer and fewer. Up to now, they were only helping the wounded sent in before to recover and there had been no new wounded for a long time. Zhang Yinching wiped the sweat from her head and finally revived the last machinist. It was at this time that she snapped to the sound of cheering outside. Chan Mu, I love you. Chan Mo, it's so handsome, really awesome. Chan Mo, contract me, I want to give you monkeys. Hmm, sister Nian Nian, why are you here? All the machinima are repaired. I came out to see, what's the situation? Did Chan Mo succeed? Yes, Chan Mo took two mechs the Ice Phoenix and the explosive Skyfire Carp, and fought directly into the demonic beast's lair, were going to win. 
Zhang Yinqing looked across the distant battlefield, her lips slightly hooked. Although this time, she did not go on the battlefield as Chen Mo's machine lady, however, she did not regret it. The battle in the early stages was simply too intense, our troops were simply powerless to fight back, and no matter if it was a machine girl or a commander, those who died were injured. Although she was Chen Mo's contracted Megane, she was also the strongest Megane he had contracted. However, there were at least Yi Qingqing and Xia Zhang at the front line to accompany him in the battle, while the mecha repairers at the rear were simply too busy, and the large number of injured and wounded, without her repairs, I'm afraid that all of them would really be dead, now such a situation, I'm afraid that this is the most full of results, on the other side, after driving the ice phoenix mech to raid the back of the wraith, Chen Mo driving the ice phoenix mech, he directly placed the most cutting edge core equipment in the back, into the commander's warehouse, this thing was so terrifying that it could achieve the effect of turning the tide on the battlefield. It would really be a shame if this broke. In short after some even eating and taking, Chen Mo had looted all the goodies in the rear of the wraith. Then, only then did he look at the surrounding group of magical beasts that were eyeing him. The surroundings were filled with magical beasts that were besieging him, almost like ants, too dense to count. The phantom voice gun was almost smoking, but it hadn't cleared the group of beasts. Fortunately, the phantom voice gun had been upgraded and had a stun effect. Otherwise, I'm afraid that Chen Mo would really not be able to get away for a while. Right at this time, Xia Zhang also finished handling the large group of magical beasts at hand and rushed to Chen Mo's side. Chen Mo, I can't, I only have 20% of my energy left. I'm afraid I'm going to run out if I use the warp engine a few more times. It was only then that Chen Mo remembered that he had just been preoccupied with piloting the Ice Phoenix Mecha to raid the rear, and he simply did not have enough energy to provide energy to the explosive Skyfire Carp. It was only at this moment. When he heard Xia Zhen tell him that, that he hurriedly turned the remote recharge on. In an instant, Xia Zheng felt that the energy that was just about to be consumed was slowly starting to increase again, feeling the energy in her body gradually filling up. Xia Zheng's eyes looked towards those war general grade cannons. They were the ones that had just blown her up so much that she couldn't even dodge, almost becoming a pile of metal fragments. For a moment, Xia Zheng's eyes began to turn cold. The quantum pursuit cannon behind her back slowly rose, and under the energies of the abundant energy, a single round of cannonballs went straight towards the war general class wraiths. The rear of the magical beasts was instantly engulfed in raging flames, and a large number of magical beasts were engulfed in a sea of fire before they had time to scream. The explosive skyfire carp that flashed with red electric light held annihilation in his right hand and stepped into the sea of fire. Annihilation frantically harvested the last vestige of life force from the magical beasts, and wherever it passed, not a single magical beast could survive. With the explosive skyfire carp mecha at the front, the ice phoenix at the back was also a lot easier, stepping over the corpses of a group of magical beasts and receiving the constantly rising points in his mind. Chen Mo could not help but smile slightly. Cool. At this rate of points, I'm afraid that those objects in the commander's mall, he would be able to afford them even if he saved up a bit more. Thinking of this, Chen Mo driving the ice phoenix also joined the battle. The two mechs coordinated with each other, and it didn't take long for them to reach the location of the war general class wraith. At this moment, Behind the war general class magical beast, a large number of minion class magical beasts were still rushing out in a steady stream. The number was so large that Chen Mo felt shocked even looking at it. The phantom sound gun in the ice phoenix mecha's hand was once again used. The powerful pulse energy rushed towards the slave level magical beasts, and the battlefield instantly quieted down once again. Teacher Xia, follow me, Chen Mo shouted, piloting the ice phoenix mech to directly burst into the open space in front of the war general class demonic beast. Just now, he hadn't been able to see them very clearly from a distance, but now that he saw this group of magical beasts face to face, Chen Mo's brain buzzed. One by one, they were really monster artillery, with their asses sitting on the ground. The turret was a full 5 meters high, and the huge barrel was their nose, which was longer than the height of the turret. Unorthodox, simply monsters. Moreover, these cannon magical beasts were all battle general level magical beasts. The explosive skyfire carp glanced sideways at the ice phoenix mecha and with Chun Mo inside the cockpit glancing at each other, they suddenly rushed out together. Under the acceleration of the curvature engine, the explosive skyfire carp dodged and appeared on the side of the fire cannon magic beast. Annihilation was raised high above its head, and Xia Jin shouted explosively and chopped out with all his strength. With a single chop, the annihilation instantly exuded a dense murderous aura, and the moment the blade light flashed, the fire cannon demon beast on its side was directly cut off, while the blade light did not go out. And in the process, it took away two or three more fire cannon demon beasts. With just one slash, several battle general level magical beasts, their souls returned to the west. 
the majestic aura of annihilation burst out, majestic aura of annihilation burst out, and the entire battlefield instantly fell into a dead silence. Even Chen Mo inside the Ice Phoenix Mecha was in a state of fear at this moment. Good guy. An S-Class Mech paired with an S-Class weapon was simply frighteningly strong. At this moment, Xia Zhan was simply a merciless killing machine, and it was also a melee killing machine, violent and direct, not giving anyone a chance to react at all. Ding. Killing a Warlord Grade Wraith, 155mm Light Cannon, Grade A, Warlord Grade Crystal Asterisk 1, Points Increased by 500, Annihilation's Soul Power Increased by 500, Ding. Kill a War General Class Beast, 155mm Light Cannon, Grade A, War General Class Crystal Asterisk 1, Points Increased by 500, Soul Power of Annihilation Increased by 500, Icy Electronic Tones came one after another in his mind. The expression on Chen Mo's face directly lost control. Crap, this reward was truly generous. 155mm light cannon. This is simply the most powerful long-range attack cannon on the battlefield. Kow pow kow pow. While the explosive Skyfire Carp was decimating the War Admiral class magical beasts, Chen Mo piloted the Ice Seal Mecha and began another round of scavenging. There were bound to be a lot of high-quality shells near this kind of War General class artillery. As expected. Chen Mo had quickly found a magical beast's armory where the artillery shells were stored, and there were 500 Excalibur precision guided missiles inside. No wonder they didn't feel any pain at all when they opened fire towards the maintenance forces. This reserve of artillery shells was too big. Although Chen Mo knew that the wraiths were bound to be inseparable from above the dome, he thought that the equipment would also be more advanced and have more reserves, but he never thought that there would be so many. He also didn't know whether it was provided to them by above the dome or whether they had made it themselves. With the nervous system and cosensory system all connected, Yi Qingqing felt Chen Mo's shock at the first moment, and also knew the question in his heart. Then, he said, I've been in the distant suburb practicing area for such a long time, I know more or less about them. As far as I know, these magical beasts are supposed to have very powerful manufacturing ability and reproduction technology. As long as there is enough energy, they can build out the accessories or finished products according to the drawings. I'm afraid, in the deepest part of this forbidden land, there should really be high intelligence magical beasts present, only that their intelligence might not be the highest, so they can only build out relatively low grade accessories and finished products at the moment, while the top grade S equipment, they can't build out, Chen Mo nodded, what Yi Qingcheng said coincided with his guess, from the looks of it, after we go back this time, we have to continue to strengthen our forces, and I'm afraid that we'll inevitably have to come to the forbidden land a few more times by then, however, there's nothing wrong with it, fighting monsters, not only can we add points, but we can also explode equipment. Why not? Chen Mo put all the cannonballs, all of them in one brain, into the commander's warehouse, and then joined the battlefield. Because of the consideration that killing monsters could allow annihilation to upgrade, Chen Mo driving the Ice Phoenix Mecha was only responsible for keeping the high-level magical beasts under control, and all the killing was handed over to the explosive Skyfire Carp. It didn't take long for dozens of the enemy's fire cannon wraiths to be killed. Chen Mo had obtained 37 units of 155mm light cannon as a whole. After that, he had found a few locations to store ammunition one after another, and had gotten a total of nearly two 000 Excalibur precision guided missiles. If this was put on the market, I'm afraid that it wouldn't even take two hours for them to be snapped up. Chen Mo's side was full of harvest. On the other hand, the other side, Xin Shou, who was drawn out by the huge commotion caused by the exploding Skyfire Carp and Ice Phoenix Mechs, hid in a corner and secretly looked at the two god of warlike mechs, and was directly scared to the point of sitting on the ground. It's over. It's all over. The Forbidden Zone J command was completely finished. His little life, I'm afraid, can't be saved either. For a moment, Qin Shou hurriedly climbed up from the ground and ran towards the deeper part of the Forbidden Land. At great speed, over here, Chen Mo led the two girls, Xia Zhang and Yi Qing Cheng, to frantically kill monsters and frantically harvest points. Only, the prolonged high energy output had indeed made Chen Mo somewhat unable to cope. Just at this time, a violent alarm came from the radar detector. Ding ding ding. Warning, a commander class magical beast has been detected 800 meters away. Please evacuate in time. Ding ding ding. Warning, we've detected a commander class beast at 800 meters. Please evacuate. Upon hearing the alarm, Chen Mo's spirit jolted. Commander class magical beasts. It was one rank higher than a war general level magical beast. To be honest, Chen Mo really wanted to fight with a commander class magical beast to see which one was stronger or weaker. But naturally, after such a long time of fighting, his energy was no longer enough to allow him to continue to fight with a powerful magical beast. Teacher Xia, retreat. For safety's sake, 
Chen Mo hurriedly called for Xia Zhang to run with him. There was no fear of not having firewood to burn if you stayed in the green hills. Anyway, all the strategic resources in this area were basically taken away by Chen Mo's mad captivity, leaving almost nothing useful behind. He would fight his way back when he had more energy next time. In a flash, the explosive Skyfire Carp Mecha and Ice Phoenix Mecha no longer lingered in the slightest, and under the ultra-high speed acceleration of the curvature engine, they exited the command headquarters of the Forbidden Area J in the blink of an eye. Before the Commander-class magical beasts even showed their faces, the two mechs trailing breaths could no longer be seen. On the way back, Chen Mo opened the commander's panel and checked the bountiful battle results of this battle. Battle result statistics. Hunting and killing, minion-class magical beasts, 2. 286, war soldier-class magical beasts, 368, war general-class magical beasts, 37. Energy crystals, slave-grade crystals, 2286, total, 3293, war soldier-grade crystals, 368, total, 400, war general-grade crystals, 38, total, 39. Points, 78660, total, 126204. Annihilation Soul Power, 18500, total, 33200. Looking at the harvested panel, Chen Mo really wanted to exclaim, it's so damn cool. Although it was true that he was a little bit tired, these points were just like a free gift, and a beast tide battle could be much faster than if he had been alone in the far outskirts of the leveling area looking for magical beasts all over the place. Today's one day's battle results were more than all of his previous ones combined. The energy crystals were even collected in a big wave, making him rich overnight. Ding! Annihilation has reached the conditions for evolution. Is it going to evolve? Chen Mo did not even think about it and directly upgraded. Today's monster killing was thanks to the explosive Skyfire Carp and Annihilation. Ding! Evolution in progress. Ding! Evolution complete, destructive power increased by 20%, 36545-40,000. When Chen Mo returned to the command headquarters with the explosive Skyfire Carp Mecha and Ice Phoenix Mecha, from afar, he saw a large group of people already waiting below. Chen Mo jumped out from the cockpit, and the two mechs instantly transformed into their human forms. Dad, I brought you something good. In the blink of an eye, 2155mm light cannons were placed flush at the entrance of the command headquarters. At the same time, a whole thousand missiles were also arranged and placed neatly next to the cannons. To be honest, Chun, Mordecai himself was not a stingy person, and the Imperial Capital Maintenance Force was really too poor. If it wasn't for the fact that they had tried their best to wait until he arrived this time, I'm afraid that they would really be wiped out. Although the Wraith's side was indeed fierce. To put it bluntly, it was also because their side was really too weak, or else they wouldn't have been beaten without a fight. These 20 cannons were also considered his contribution to the troops, and he couldn't use so many cannons by himself. Thinking about exploding the Heavenly Fire Carp and Ice Phoenix, they couldn't even pretend to be this kind of cannons, or else it would probably be a problem to even take off. On the contrary, Zhang Yanqing might be able to pretend, and would need to look into it again when the time came. Therefore, Chen Mo kept some for himself and gave all the rest to Zhang Chen. Seeing the loot that Chen Mo had surrendered back in the news that the Wraith Command headquarters had been breached, the entire VPF completely exploded. It's fortunate that we have Chen Mo, or else it seems like I would have died on the battlefield just now. Can you be a little outgoing? Today is a big day for our troop. After so many years, Chen Mo is the only one who has attacked the Forbidden Land, representing that our troop will finally be able to extend its hand into the Forbidden Land. Chen Mo is bullish. Explosive Sky Fire Carp is bullish. Ice Phoenix is awesome. We did it. Salute. Under Zhang Chen's loud chorus, all the members of the maintenance unit simultaneously saluted towards Chen Mo. At this moment, no matter if it was the commander or the machine girl, the movements were all in unison. With their right hands leveled with their eyebrows, their faces were either excited or serious, reverent or grateful. For a moment, the respect that came out from the bottom of their hearts filled the hearts of all the members of the maintenance force. Chen Mo's heart stirred, his body tightened and straightened, and towards all of them, he returned the salute. As the beast tide came to an end, Chen Mo finally managed to take a break. It was only after bidding farewell to everyone that Chen Mo felt indescribably drained. To be honest, after a few hours of fighting at a super high intensity, coupled with the fact that he had also brushed the far outskirts of the leveling area yesterday, Chen Mo was really a bit overwhelmed. Not only was his physical strength depleted, but the consumption of his mental energy was even more difficult for Chen Mo. So much so, when Chen Mo sat on the explosive Skyfire Carp racing car, his entire body fell into a deep sleep. When he opened his eyes again, the warm sunlight basked on his body, baking Chen Mao warmly. A burst of fragrance came into his nostrils, and Chen Mao's stomach grumbled. Looking at the familiar room, Chen Mu had a moment of confusion. 
He didn't even know how he returned to Xia Jin's house. Couldn't it be that Xia Jin carried him back? It couldn't be. Or was it a princess hug? That would be too embarrassing. Chen Mao stuck his head into the pillow with a face of shame. Next time, absolutely can't fall asleep again. It's too embarrassing. Click. Just at this time, the room door was pushed open. Xia Jin walked in with the scent of shower gel all over her body. Hubby, get up. The sun is all over your ass. I'll go serve you breakfast. So hurry up and get up yo. Watching Chen Mo sit up, Xia Zhang then turned around and returned to the kitchen. Breakfast wasn't very sumptuous, but it was nutritionally balanced. Chen Mo thought about it and prepared to go to the Hundred Battles Mercenary Corps. He didn't do it for the purpose of taking on a mission. After all, he had just finished solving the beast tide, and he still hadn't slowed down a bit. However, he had heard that over at the Hundred Battles Mercenary Corps. In addition to being able to take on quests, there were also many powerful devices for sale. After this battle, Chen Mo still felt that Xia Zhang and Yi Qingcheng were too weak, although as S-Class mechs they were already very strong, but if they wanted to move up to a higher level, then they were a bit far behind, the equipment needed would have to be a bit better. There was also Zhang Yinqing, the SS-Class nuclear submarine, although the equipment that they were equipped with was already very luxurious, however, the top-level weaponry was still vacant and needed to be replenished as well. Therefore, Chen Ma planned to take advantage of the time he had today to go over and see if there were any suitable ones, he had money anyway, and if he happened to stumble upon a good one, he reckoned that he could afford it. Along the way, the explosive sky fire carp could be considered to be in the limelight, and its body that flashed with fiery red electric light attracted countless passers-by to look back at it. As a nationwide mission organization, the Hundred Battles Mercenary Corps naturally had quite a few agency points in the imperial capital. However, Chen Mo did not go to those small agency points, but instead went straight to the mercenary group's headquarters union. After all, the headquarters union held first-hand information, and the tasks with the highest commissions were always the first to be issued from the headquarters. So much so, not only was Chen Mei the only one who would choose this place, but most of the high-level commanders and machine girls with strength would also choose to come here to receive missions. As for those high-quality melee or long-distance weapons, they were only qualified to purchase them if they met the union's requirements. Under Xia Zhang's high-speed speed, the Hundred Battles Mercenary Corps Headquarters Union was reflected far into Chen Mo's eyes. It was a large skyscraper that was about dozens of stories high, and even in the downtown area of the imperial capital, it appeared so abrupt, and in the center of the oversized square in front of the union, there stood a dozen meter high statue of a war maiden, majestic but not lacking in beauty that belonged to women alone. The statue of the war maiden was like a god of war guarding the earth, with an icy gaze that looked like it was trying to see through all the evil sycophants. Inexplicably, Chen Mo felt a strong sense of oppression. However, after the sense of oppression, there was a full sense of security. After arriving at the mega square, Chen Mo got off from the exploding skyfire carp, and Xia Zhang also returned to human form. Not to mention that the plaza was already very large, but there were countless people coming and going, even making the mega plaza seem a bit crowded. Looking at a passing gaze, Chen Mo's heart was astonished for a moment. All of them were strong people. Even if they weren't SSS class top tier powerhouses, they were still existences whose strength could not be underestimated. However, this was not a rare thing. After all, the first threshold for joining the Hundred Battles Mercenary Corps was that one's strength had to be at least be rank, or else after accepting a mission, one would only be sent to their deaths when faced with a super strong opponent. Among the people coming and going, there were not a few whose eyes revealed a murderous aura. Accepting missions all year round and living a life of licking blood from the mouth of a knife, being a little more vigilant was not a bad thing. Sometimes it was even the most important thing to save one's life. Hubby, are we going to the mission receiving hall now? Xia Zhang asked as she swept over Chen Mo's arm. Let's go to the quest collection hall, see what suitable quests are available, and by the way, see if we can buy any suitable equipment. Chen Mo's goal was clear. He was running towards the quest rewards. The grade of the equipment should preferably be S rank. If not, A rank equipment with special functions could also be considered for consideration. After all, the quality of his contracted machinima were all too high, and if the equipment was poor, it would be better not to have it. He himself had two empowerment skills, the Red Flame Cross Slash could utilize a strong attack power, and the Beyond Death Sphere could cut down a dying enemy directly. These two empowerment skills were already powerful in their own right. The low-grade equipment was indeed a bit unwatchable. While walking and thinking, without realizing it, the two of them walked into the guild hall. In the center of the hall, there was an oversized panel and the font of the first line on it was directly bolded and marked red, so Chen Mo wanted to ignore it, Chen Mo wanted to ignore it, but he couldn't, SSS grade quest, three S's in a row made Chen Mo's pupils quake, 
I've heard that this SSS ranked quest has been here for over a year, but no one has completed it until now. I heard that the strength of this magical beast is so strong that it caused quite a bit of destruction on the troop side, so much so that the officials directly released this mission themselves, and the team or individual that beheads this magical beast can receive quite a generous reward. As a teacher of the Mecha Academy, Xia Zing was always particularly concerned about this kind of officially released news, only, she did not expect that a mission from a year ago would still be hanging around here even now. SSS Ranked Mission, Hunting the Magical Beast Demon Monarch Mission Content, a Demon Monarch class demon beast mixed into the human world in human form a year ago, and it is known to possess the ability to transform into a mecha form, and can even simulate functions similar to the mecha nymphet system. Mission Requirement, Identify and Kill the Demon Monarch class demonic beast from the human world. Mission Reward, 100 billion dragon coins, 1 S-class engine, 1 S-class cold weapon, and 1 S-class hot weapon. Mission Reward, 100 billion dragon coins, 1 S-class engine, 1 S-class cold weapon, and 1 S-class hot weapon. Requirements for receiving the mission, Commander of SS rank or above or Mercenary group of S rank or above. Note, the war power of the magical beasts is unknown, their level is unknown, and they are extremely dangerous. Please think twice for commanders and mercenary corps. Looking at the mission information on the mission panel, Chen Mo's brows tightly furrowed. Demon Monarch level magical beasts. In this world, magical beasts were categorized into a total of nine ranks. Slave class, battle soldier class, battle general class, commander class, lord class, monarch class, demon monarch class, tyrant class, and juggernaut class. Two days ago on the battlefield, Chen Mo had briefly sensed the presence of a commander class demonic beast when he was retreating. However, at that time, he was overly consumed and simply did not have enough strength to fight with the commander class demonic beasts. So, Chen Mo did not know how strong the commander class demonic beasts were. However, there was no need to think about it. The battle strength of a commander class demonic beast was definitely several times that of a war general class demonic beast. Just like the commander and the mecha, the difference between each rank was not a fraction of a point. Who could tell if a commander class magical beast would have something like Chen Mo's SSS class commander's exclusive talent or something like that? In case there was, with Chen Mo's depleted strength at that time, it was simply a fish on the chopping block, a typical meal delivered to the door. At that time, the commander class demonic beast had already made Chen Mo's brain buzz, and the object of that SSS class quest on the quest panel was actually a demon monarch class demonic beast. It even had the same change ability as the machine lady, and even had something similar to the machine lady system. This was puzzling. How did it, a demon beast, make it seem like a mecha? Most importantly, this magical beast had even mixed into the human world in human form. How could it distinguish between a human and a magical beast? Doesn't this mean that the entire human world is unsafe everywhere? However, as Chen Mo's mind turned, a bad idea suddenly occurred to him. He was able to forcibly log in to the machine lady, and this demon ruler level magical beast also had a system similar to the machine lady. I wonder, when he arrived, could he directly forcefully log into the demon monarch class demonic beast? And at that time, directly manipulate her spiritual power. Just like the last time he interrogated Hades, the king of the underworld. If he could, wouldn't it be a breeze to complete the mission? The corner of Chen Mo's mouth hooked into a bad smile. Only, he also knew that there was basically no way for this situation to materialize. He didn't even know where the magical beasts were. Just at this time, an icy mechanical tone instantly sounded in his mind. Ding. Random mission now issued. Complete SSS ranked mission. Hunt demon monarch ranked magical beasts. Mission time, unlimited. What? The moment he heard the mission, Chen Mo's entire body instantly froze. He hadn't heard it wrong. Hunting a demon monarch level magical beast? This commander's mission was really looking up to him. Wasn't this purely letting him go to his death? Imagination was beautiful. Reality was bone chilling. Just imagine the mandatory landing of the demon monarch level magical beasts. That can only exist in the imagination. If this is put into reality, it may not wait for him to mandatory log in it has already been chopped into pieces. That was a demon monarch level demonic beast. Ten of them wouldn't be enough for him to even take a look at. However, fortunately, there was no time limit for this quest. When he contracted an SSS class mecha and equipped her with top-notch equipment, he might really be able to fight with a demon monarch class demonic beast. Right now? I don't think so. This mission had been sent out for more than a year, and the mission rewards were so generous. I'm afraid that there would have been a large group of people accepting this mission long ago. Why hasn't it been completed by now? There are two reasons. One, where is this demon monarch level demonic beast? She took human form and lived in the human world. As long as it didn't want to expose itself, who could find it? If you can't even find it, how can you talk about completing the mission? 
Second, what is the strength of a monarch level beast? Demon monarch class magical beasts are second only to dominator class magical beasts and tyrant class magical beasts. Their strength is bound to be extraordinary. Not to mention SS class commanders, even SSS class commanders, I'm afraid that they will lose their lives if they're not careful. Alas, no wonder no one has come to claim such a generous reward for such a long time. However, a large amount of dragon coins, S class engines, S class cold weapons, and S class hot weapons, regardless of any of these rewards, Taking them out alone would be enough to make everyone's heart skip a beat. Not to mention that completing the mission was a direct way to take all the rewards. Honestly, Chen Mu was really moved. Watching Chen Mo's urge to take the mission, Xia Zheng's voice rang out in time. Hubby, are you going to accept this mission? You have to think clearly. This mission, but it was issued uniformly throughout the country. So far more or less commanders have folded on this mission. Not to mention fighting, they haven't even seen it. And it's not certain if it's in the imperial capital or not. Chen Mo could not help but nod his head. Indeed, finding it was all a big problem. However, it wasn't in the way anyway, and even if it was received, it didn't mean that it had to be completed at the moment. Thinking of this, Chen Mo still directly took this SSS ranked quest and claimed it. Just as Chen Mo had just finished accepting the quest, a cold snort suddenly sounded behind him. But, what kind of thing dares to accept an SSS ranked quest, and doesn't look at how many pounds he has? Chen Mo followed the voice and turned back only to see, a young man in a flamboyant suit, surrounded by women that could not be counted on one hand, looking at him coldly, with a snort of confiscation on his lips, Chen Mo could not help but frown, at a glance, he knew that the person in front of him was a rich second generation, a playboy style, usually brutal and accustomed to it, and looked down on anyone he saw, when Chen Mo turned around, Xia Zhang on the side also turned around, the moment that young man saw Xia Zhang, his eyes instantly flashed with a glint, what a beauty, it was more beautiful than these five, six, seven or eight women around him, kid, be sensible and let me have this beautiful woman beside you, hearing this, Chen Mo almost laughed in anger, be sensible, what kind of thing are you, keys are five dollars a piece, are you worthy, seeing Chen Mo's disdainful gaze, the fire of the second generation ancestor in front of him went straight to his head, do you fucking know who I am, oh, who are you, he he, kid, listen up, I'm a member of the Mordor Luo family, Luo Yi, you can call me Master Luo. Luo Yi finished and smiled coldly. Every time he brought out his identity, everyone would cower and apologize towards him. This time, after he finished speaking, he waited for Chen Mo to also cower like everyone else. Who knew? But Chen Mo asked, Then do you know who I am? Chen Mo rolled his eyes, and the moment the words were asked, that kind of murderous aura colored by killing on the battlefield involuntarily radiated out. For a moment, the few beauties beside Luo Yi couldn't help but take two steps back. Even Luo Yi felt the temperature around him drop two degrees. Roll. Chen Mo suddenly burst out with a murderous aura. Luo Yi was usually arrogant and accustomed to it. How had he ever seen this kind of situation? And for a moment, he was frightened, stomping back several steps in a row. On the contrary, Luo Yi's side of the machine lady, the first time will take out a cold weapon, blocked in front of Luo Yi, dead staring at the end of Chen. Don't point your broken sword at me. Just as Chen Mo was about to make his move, a female voice suddenly rang out from his side. Luo Yi, are you tired of living? Chen Mo, who heard this female voice, stopped his hand in an instant. This voice, is so familiar. Chen Mo turned his head to look. Luo Dai, last time at the Hundred Battles Mercenary Corps Party, they had a chance to meet. SS plus grade fighter, unfortunately, was missed by a man with bad intentions. Hearing Luo Dai's voice, Luo Yi, who had just been acting like a second generation ancestor, instantly shriveled up and lowered his eyebrows, living like an aggrieved little daughter-in-law. Sister, Luo Dai ignored him, slightly apologetic eyes looking directly at Chen Mo. Chen Mo, this little brat didn't bully you, right? I'm fine. This person is. Chen Mo looked at Luo Yi with a questioning face, and then looked at Luo Dai. This doesn't really look like him either. He is my cousin. Usually eat and drink over in Magic City without learning. This has not recently come to Imperial City to play. Everywhere to cause trouble for me. I have caught him several times. Luo Dai's face was speechless. Her eyes couldn't help but whiten Luo Yi a few more times. Truly, hating iron is not enough. Looking at Chen Mo's icy cold eyes, Luo Dai directly carried the person to Chen Mo. Why don't you hurry and apologize to Chen Mo? Sister, even if you don't help me beat him up, you still make me apologize to him? Why are you elbowing out? Snap. Not waiting for Luo Yi to finish his sentence. Luo Dai slapped his ear directly, letting you apologize to Chen Mo. Don't you understand? 
Luo Dai slap not only blinded Luo Yi, but also blinded the group of Mashinima around him. Even Chen Mo was stunned by Luo Dai slap. Seeing the red slap marks floating on Luo Ye's fair face, Luo Jin was afraid that he had used his full strength in this slap. Luo Dai, how dare you step on me? Slap. Luo Yi came back to his senses and was about to start cursing when he turned his face and received another slap from Luo Dai. A reddish slap mark instantly surfaced on his right cheek as well. Seeing Luo Dai's hand raised high again, Luo Yi gave in. I was wrong, I'm sorry, not apologize to me, Chen Mo, I'm sorry, I was wrong, I shouldn't have provoked you, I shouldn't have offended your machinima, the tone of the apology was very sincere, and there wasn't a hint of reluctance at all, Chen Mo was not in a good position to continue picking a fight, it's fine, be more restrained next time, hurry up and get lost, don't force me to slap you again, if you have nothing to do in these two days, hurry up and get back to magic city, don't let me see you again. Luo Dai as if not relieved generally. Cursing, Luo Yi also do not dare to stay more. With his beautiful machine bitch, hurriedly slipped away. Chen Mo today is really open eyes. The last time looks clear and cold. Gentle and soft girl, suddenly in front of him to reveal such a tough side. Really let him some surprise. Is this, really the same person? On the other hand, looking at Luo Ye's back that ran away in ashes, Luo Dai gently shook her head. And the expression on her face also converged as if she had become the same as when Chen Mo first saw her. Serene, light and elegant. To be honest, if it wasn't her Luo family that messed with Chen Mo today, Luo Dai would never have cared. On the day of the party, when he instantly killed the s rank commander, Luo Dai knew that she should never anger Chen Mo. Even if she wouldn't be able to make a contract with Chen Mo, at least the Luo family definitely couldn't feud with a monster like Chen Mo. On the night of the party, the scene where Chen Mo instantly killed the s rank commander was still fresh in her mind. He was ruthless, yet left enough room for his opponents and had his own bottom line. This kind of courageous and resourceful person. It would be best if he could be used for me. If not, he must not be an enemy. After all, the current Chen Mo contracted only an S-Class Mecha. If one day in the future he contracted an SSS-Class Top Mecha, I'm afraid that those who have a grudge against him definitely won't have a good ending. Are you guys, ready to accept the mission? Luo Dai looked at the mission panel on the side and then asked. Yes. I want to see what suitable quests there are to go and exercise myself. Luo Dai's gaze glanced at Xia Zhang beside Chen Mo. She remembered this woman. She was the one Chen Mo driving in the party last time. That said, today is quite a coincidence. Are you here to receive a mission as well? However, don't I remember that you don't have a contracted commander yet? It was indeed a bit unexpected for Chen Mo to run into Luo Dai here. After all, Luo Dai didn't have a contracted commander yet, and the strength she could utilize was very limited so I'm afraid it would be very difficult if she went to complete the mission alone. No, I heard that Luo Yi had come, and I was afraid that he would pick another fight, so I hurried over to look for him. Luckily, I came early. Never thought that he would mess with your head. Luo Jin had a speechless face and couldn't help but be a little glad that he came. I'm really a bit sorry about today. Why don't I take you guys to get to know each other? Although I haven't gone on a mission myself, I'm still very familiar with this place. Hearing Luo Dai's words, Chen Mo smiled. Thinking of the Luo family's monstrous power in the imperial capital, he finally nodded. After all, having a familiar person to recommend was much better than wandering around like a headless fly on your own. Following Luo Dai and looking at her slender figure, Chen Mo's gossipy heart couldn't help but overflow. By the way, do you still not have a contracted commander? That way been from the party that day, didn't he continue to look for you afterward? Only to see Luo Dai, who was leading the way in front, stiffen, and then turn around with a sad face. Speaking of which, I do have news to tell you. And, it's not good news. What? Chen Mo froze and asked. At the party that day, the video of Wei Bin confessing his love for me, as well as the video of you directly instantly killing an S-Class Mecha, was uploaded on the internet. And the results. A big family over in Magic City accidentally discovered that Wei Bin is their family's lost bloodline. In the past two days, Wei Bin has already gone to Magic City, as if he will soon recognize his ancestor. Hearing Luo Dai's words, Although Chen Mo was a little surprised, he did not have a trace of fearful and harmful, fearful feeling. This rather made Luo die somewhat unexpected. You, you unintentionally incurred such a big trouble. Aren't you afraid at all? Looking at Chen Mo's expression of lightness, Luo Dai asked in alarm. It was important to know that Luo Dai had already mapped Chen Mo's situation long before she had ever met him. Of course she knew that Chen Mo had little background at all. He didn't even have parents. So how could he talk about any background? However, with no power behind him at all. What made him so calm? Scared? What's the use of being afraid? Will Wei Bin spare me if I act shivering? 
Chen Emo shook his head, the faint smile still on his face. A big family in the magic city? The magic capital and the imperial capital were thousands and thousands of miles away, with countless mountains and hills separating them. He Wei Bin is the child of a big family in the magic city. Then he, Chen Emo, is still the meat and potatoes in the heart of the imperial city's maintenance force. Previously, when he had made his mark, Zhang Chen had told him that the Divine Dragon Congress would do its best to cultivate him and protect him. How could they let him be hobbled by the big families of the devil's capital? Even if he was playing dirty, with his SSS grade talent and the high grade mecha he had contracted with, he wasn't something to be messed with. If one wanted to move him, they would at least be peeled off a layer of skin by him. On the contrary, it's you. You let him down in front of so many people before. Don't you think about what to do? Chen Mo asked. Alas, before, his SS level commander's strength was actually directly passed over by my family. But, he has the power over the magic capital as his background. My family is hesitating again. However, I always feel that he is not suitable for me. No matter if it's strength, or genuineness. Chen Mo nodded, then asked, then what are you going to do? If you refuse, will you be embarrassed by his clan and your clan? Together? Luo Dai shook his head, a confused look on his face. I don't know, but since I've already clearly rejected him, I will never consider him again. Besides, with his family's conditions, it may not be impossible to find a better machinima. This was not a faulty thing to say. The last thing the big families lacked was high-grade talent. After saying that, Luo Jin led the way again and walked ahead. Xia Zhang, who had just heard Luo Jin's words with his heart pounding, hurriedly took this opportunity to secretly tug on Chen Mo's clothes. Hubby, that way Bin, can you really handle him? We were the ones who directly beat his brother to the point of pissing his pants that day, not leaving any face at all. Why? I'm now the meat and potatoes of our imperial capital's maintenance force. They're holding me for fear of dropping me. Holding me for fear of melting me. How could they possibly watch me get killed? Relax. It's fine. Chen Mao did not put this matter in his heart at all. A tone of certainty on his face. But it also made Xia Xing breathe a sigh of relief. Then I am relieved. Under Luo Yan's leadership, Chen Mo and Xia Zhang arrived at the place where they received their quests. Looking at an entire wall of quests, Chen Mo could not help but look at them with two eyes, not knowing at all what level to pick. Say, with my strength as an SSS ranked commander with an S given mech, what rank of mission would be better to pick up? Luo Yan looked like he knew everything and explained to Chen Mo, these missions, all of them are from F rank to SSS rank. Generally speaking, individual commanders have to start receiving the lowest ranked F ranked missions and after a large number of completed missions, slowly raise their rank before they can receive higher ranked missions. However, as an SSS rank commander, coupled with the fact that you've participated in wars many times before and have combat experience, you can slightly cross the ranks to receive missions. However, at most, you can only break down to rank D, and if you have a mercenary group of 3 or more, you can go up to rank C. The maximum can only be level C. I'm afraid that if you cross levels at night again, you'll encounter dangers that are difficult to deal with. Many commanders are just too conceited and end up directly sending their lives away. Remember, don't be overly ambitious. Luo Dai spoke meticulously. After all, this was Chen Mo's first time here. His first time accepting a mission. Although Xia Zhan was a teacher of the Mecha Academy, and knew a lot, but after all, he had not personally come over to see it, and was also half understanding it. Listening to Luo Jin's instructions, Chen Mo nodded. Then let's make it a C-rank mission. The mission rewards are not too bad. Don't underestimate the sea level mission. Sea level missions are dangerous everywhere. And the magical beasts to be dealt with in a sea level mission are commander level magical beasts. And if not, there might even be lord level magical beasts in that area. Which is not something a person like you, who has just awakened as a commander for a month, can accomplish. In case, when the time comes, a lord level demonic beast carries a commander level demonic beast. Not to mention completing the mission. Whether or not you can come back alive is a problem. Luo Yan's words directly woke up Chen Mo. Chen Mo never expected that just a sea level mission would already involve a lord level magical beast, and magical beasts in this segment were really not something he could handle. If you ask me, for your first time accepting a quest, why don't you just accept a D ranked quest? First of all, the magical beasts of a D level mission are generally war general level magical beasts. Even if there are commander level magical beasts in that section, you'll have room to escape if you can't beat them. Moreover, for the first time, think of it as going for a long look. One bite won't make a fat man. If you think it's easy, it's not too late to come back and take on a C-rank mission. Luo Dai's words were very pertinent, and Chen Mo pondered seriously. In the end, it was decided that it would be better to take a D-ranked mission first to test the waters. Then let's do this one. 
Full detection of Sunset Mountain. Level D mission. Full detection of Sunset Mountain. Mission requirement. Sunset Mountain is suspected to be infested with inexplicable magical beasts at night. Please conduct a full detection. Task time, 5 days. Mission reward, 10 million dragon coins. Mission reward, 10 million dragon coins. Among the dazzling tasks, Chen Mo finally picked the task of detecting Sunset Mountain. Not for anything else, just for the sake of proximity. Out of all the deranked missions, this one was the closest to the Imperial Capital, and it would be a bit easier to go early and return when the time came. Thank you for today. If you need help with anything in the future, you can look for me. Chen Mo finished his words politely and was ready to take Xia Zhang home. On the contrary, Luo Jin was a bit bewildered. Looking for you? Why don't you leave me a phone number? How else can I contact you? Now in this world, if you're not deliberately looking for someone, you probably won't be able to see them in this lifetime. This person, really use up people to throw. Not at all merciful ah, that. Chen Mo. Ah, what? Chen Mo's footsteps instantly stopped and turned back to look at Luo Dai. That. When are you going to go to Sunset Mountain? Hmm, tomorrow. Go early and come back early. It's just probing. It shouldn't be that difficult. That. Can I. Go with you guys? I don't have a contracted commander. So I've never been on a mission before. I. Just want to go and take a look. Without waiting for Luo Dai to finish. Chen Mo directly nodded his head in agreement. Okay. If you want to go. Wait for me at the maintenance unit at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. And you'll go with us at that time. Compact Luo Dai. Itself. Was within Chen Mo's range. After all. SS plus class fighters were not something that was seen that often. At the very least, after indenturing Luo Dai, it would be a great boost to his strength. This time, when they went together to complete the mission, even if they couldn't directly contract it, if they could provide some convenience for contracting Luo Dai in the future, that, it was also not bad. All in all, it was a sure thing. As if sensing Chen Mo's thoughts, Xia Zhang also nodded and gently squeezed Chen Mo's palm. The future of an SSS ranked commander would definitely not be just one mech for her, an SS plus ranked fighter. Xia Zing also knew how rare it was, so she naturally would not hinder Chen Mo. On the other hand, as soon as the words were spoken, Luo Dai regretted it a little. After all, Chen Mo was not her commander, and it was not right in sense or reason for her to follow him out on a mission. However, she was too eager to go out and see. As the most outstanding SS plus grade machine girl among the Luo family's new generation, she had been protected by the family since her awakening. Although she said protection on her lips, Luo Dai only felt as if she was trapped in an invisible cage, and was simply a puppet being manipulated by the family. Commander, she had no choice. The family gave her a choice. She could only choose which one. Missions, without a commander, she couldn't do them either. And even ordinary exercises, she was told she couldn't participate. She was an SS plus class fighter. She was destined to ride in the vast skies. How could she be willing to be trapped in an invisible cage by the clan so tightly guarded? After two meetings, Luo Dai's view of Chen Mo had changed greatly, although she still felt that Chen Mo was a playboy. But at least in terms of character and strength, there was a complete reversal. At the very least, if she was given the choice to go out with someone to see if that person was Chen Mo, she would not resent it in the slightest. Only, she did not expect that Chen Mo would directly agree to it. This rather made Luo Dai surprised and delighted. Only, I'm afraid that when the time comes, it would not be easy to explain to the family side. Good. Tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock, I'll be waiting for you at the entrance of the maintenance unit on time. After returning home, Chen Mo directly locked himself in his room. After all, he was going on a mission tomorrow, and he more or less had to give himself a slight boost. Buying some enhancement cards from the Commander Mall, Chen Mo directly used all of them. Ding. Congratulations. Your physique has received a 1% permanent boost. Ding. Congratulations. Spiritual strength has gained a 1% permanent boost. Accompanied by a gush of white light, Chen Mo's body radiated a burst of warmth. Only, after Chen Mo had used all of the low-grade cards with all of the attributes aside, the beeps in his head suddenly rang out. Ding. Detecting that you have used cards with the same attributes, your body has developed resistance and cannot continue to improve. It is recommended that you use a card with a higher grade. Note, a top-grade gold-colored card will not develop drug resistance. No wonder the display won't let you buy a second low-grade attribute card. This would be a real bargain if every card received a 1% permanent boost with no limitations. However, the golden cards were only refreshed by luck in the luck field. Thinking of this, Chen Mo clicked on the luck field. Never did he expect that in a large swathe of white cards, there was actually a spiritual power boosting card that shone with a golden light. Holy shit, I'm so bursting with luck? Without even thinking about it, Chen Mo directly bought the card and used it decisively. 
In an instant, Chen Mo's mind felt like being sprinkled with mint leaves. A cool sensation filled his entire brain. The questions that he usually couldn't figure out vaguely seemed to have answers. The chaotic fog in his mind was instantly cleared. Ding, congratulations. Your mental power has increased to four times. Activating mental power attack. Put down outside of your spiritual power. Your opponent's spiritual power will be weakened by 10%. You can consume 50% of your mental power to release a mental power attack. This attack creates an aura of suppression and ignores the opponent's level. The object of suppression will not be able to use any power for 3 hours. I'll throw. What a perverted mental power attack. When Chen Mo saw this attack skill, his entire body froze, ignoring the opponent's level. It directly suppressed the inability to use any power for 3 hours. In other words, even if it was a master level magical beast, when he used his mental power attack, it would be a younger brother? It's too strong, isn't it? This was properly another life-saving skill. Although, with his current strength it was basically unlikely that he would run into a powerful magical beast, but one more life-saving skill would be one more way to live. It's really too strong. Chen Mo hurriedly called up his attribute panel. Chen Mo, SSS class commander, current commander rank, two stars, Energy core, Chi Yuan can provide all types of energy. Biokinetic energy conversion rate, 100%. Possible packed mecha types, all. Currently contracted fighters, SS class deep sea nuclear submarine, S class fire carp, S class ice phoenix currently contracted fighters, SS class deep sea nuclear submarine, S class fire carp, S class ice phoenix. Current skills, accessory replacement, accessory upgrade, S plus combat skills, commander's exclusive skills, close combat techniques, Talents, infinite mecha synchronization, quadruple mental power, double body speed, double physical fitness. The whole body has a slight increase in various attributes. Empowering skill, red flame crosscut, beyond the fear of death. Other skills, mental attack. Available accessories, 17155 mm light cannons, grade A. Commander's points, 11, 5004. Total assets, 120 billion. Total assets, 120 billion. Early in the morning of the next day, Chen Emo took Xia Jin and headed to the maintenance unit in a flurry of activity. The night before, Chen Emo had contacted Zhang Yanqing and Yi Qingcheng, explaining that they would be waking up early today to go on a mission. And the two women cheerfully agreed. When Chen Emo and Xia Zhang arrived, Zhang Yanqing and Luo Jin had already arrived. Yi Qingcheng was in the far outskirts of the leveling area. And on one hand, there was always a constant situation. And on the other hand, there was some distance from the maintenance unit so she was slightly late. Buzz. Accompanied by a roar of the engine, the ice blue racing car stopped in front of the crowd with a tailswing. Click click click. In a flash of lightning, the ice phoenix racing car instantly transformed into Yi Qingcheng. Sorry ah, I suddenly had a bit of a delay over there. Yi Qingcheng shrugged with an embarrassed face. It can't be helped. The far outskirts of the leveling area. For some reason, there are always magical beasts stirring up. And she, the captain of the ice cold squad, is always unable to get out of it. It was today that she was able to come out, or she switched shifts with someone else before she could find the time to come. After all, it was Chen Mo's first mission. Everyone was going, and she didn't want to be left behind. However, now although the crowd is here, but how to go to Sunset Mountain has become a problem. Xia Zhan was a two-seater racing car, and it simply couldn't seat so many people. Zhang Yanqing was a deep-sea nuclear submarine that couldn't be used on land. Although Luo Jin was a fighter, she didn't have a commander, so she couldn't fly far. Now, one could only hope for Yi Qingcheng, although Yi Qingcheng was also a racing car. It was a five-passenger racing car, which was just enough to pull them all on. It's fine. It's the best if you can come. Chen Mo smiled and joked. Hearing Chen Mo's words, Yi Qingcheng's small face blushed and hurriedly transformed into an ice phoenix racing car. The front and rear doors of the car opened at the same time. After the crowd sat firmly, Chen Mo did not dawdle, and with a kick of the gas, he directly made the ice phoenix roar out. Buzz. Ever since Yi Qingcheng was replaced with the curvature engine, this speed simply increased by leaps and bounds, the ice blue body instantly erupted with a dazzling light. And in the next second, the ice phoenix, which had already reached super high speed itself, directly tore through the air, leaving behind a trail of residual shadows. Zhang Yanqing and Xia Zhang had long been accustomed to the curvature engine. Chen Mo had installed curvature engines for them all, and this kind of speed was simply child's play. But Luo Jin didn't change ah. Even this was her first time to experience the feeling of the curvature engine. The powerful pushing sensation hit her back. Her whole body was like being pressed against the seat. She couldn't move the slightest bit at all. Whoa whoa whoa. It's going to fly. Feeling that the wheels of the ice phoenix were somewhat off the ground, 
Luo Dai couldn't help but exclaim in shock. Z, Chen Emo slowly released the gas pedal and stepped on the brakes little by little, and the speed of the Ice Phoenix instantly dropped. Chen Emo, why are all your race cars so fast? Ice Phoenix's engine, did you replace it for her? This engine sounds so good. What level of equipment must this be? I just felt that Ice Phoenix was flying. This speed is really scary. After feeling the car's speed slowing down, Luo Dai's heart that had been beating straight up gradually slowed down. Only the slightly trembling boy still exposed her excitement at this time. Excited mood. S-Class curvature engine. All of my racing cars have been replaced with S-Class curvature engines by me. That's why the speed will be so fast. However, I feel that the upper limit of this engine is definitely more than S-Class, and it's not likely that by empowering it I can directly raise its class as well. Listening to Chen Mo's words, Luo Dai's heart, which was beating violently, instantly cooled down. Her eyes couldn't help but flick back and forth between Xia Zhang and Zhang Nianqing's faces. It was known that the three women in front of her were all Chen Mo's women. In other words, at least Chen Mo had replaced the S-Class curvature engines for three of the Mets. This was too terrifying, wasn't it? A person who had just awakened as a commander less than a month ago was able to directly take out 3S rank equipment. Even the Luo family was afraid that they wouldn't be able to do it so painfully. Luo Dai's heart kept trembling, and her eyes couldn't help but look towards Chen Mo in the driver's seat. She had always known that Chen Mo was very powerful, but she had never expected Chen Mo to be so powerful. For a moment, she was actually a little jealous of the three women in front of her. Obviously, she was the highest ranked mecha, but why wasn't she fitted with a curvature engine? What, envious? If you want one too, just contract with Chen Mo's husband as well, and he'll definitely install one for you as well. Of course, the prerequisite is that you have to become his contracted engine lady. Zhang Nianqing, who was sitting in the back row, looked at Luo Dai's expression and said flirtatiously, Luo Jin, who had her thoughts punctured, instantly reddened. But, at the same time, it also nudged her awake to this unrealistic idea. Behind her was the Luo family. Her future path had already been paved by the Luo family, which commander she would be able to contract in the future. She herself couldn't make the call at all. What was the use of being jealous anymore? For a while, Luo Dai couldn't help but show a pained expression on her face. Chen Emo from the driver's seat saw the expression on Luo Jin's face through the rearview mirror. Of course he knew what Luo Dai was thinking at this time, but he didn't intend to force it. Forced to come, after all, is not willing, at that time, may be a small setback. Will let her question what she has in the end is not the best. Only willingly, only willing to go through fire, only willing to in the face of bumps in the road again and again, more determined to their own choices. Afterwards, the gas pedal under her foot was once again pressed to the bottom, and the speed of the Ice Phoenix was once again raised to its maximum. Soon, with the Ice Phoenix at full speed, it didn't take long for the crowd to arrive near Sunset Mountain. Chen Mo parked the car on a large open space, and the three women walked down from the car as well. Click click click, accompanied by a clicking sound, the explosive Skyfire Carp Mecha, the Ice Phoenix Mecha and the Undead Reaper. The three mechs instantly appeared in the clearing. Don't you change your body? Chen Emo looked at Luo Dai who stood frozen and motionless and asked. I, don't have a commander. I'm afraid I don't have enough energy. It's fine. I guess our mission will be over before you run out of energy. Chen Mei hooked his lips for a moment. After all, today is just probing. Can avoid the battle as much as possible? Even if it cannot be avoided, Luo Dai only need to protect her own can be. His three mechs can always deal with the problem. That. Line it. Click click click. Luo Zhan's words fell, accompanied by a gust of metal clashing sounds, only to see a huge and incomparable mecha rising up from the ground. The moment Chun Mo saw the heavenly dome battle voice mech, his entire jaw dropped to the ground. The SS-class Zhang Nianqing mecha prototype was already 10 meters tall, and the heavenly dome war voice in front of him was feared to be 20 meters tall. With just one more plus, it was 10 meters taller. Although it looked oppressive, it was very tall and beautiful. Well proportioned body proportions. So she looks short waist and long legs. Pink body is full of young girls. But the ion cannon on her back made her look not so good to be messed with. All in all, the feminine qualities were not lacking the dominance of a hot weapon. Then, let's go up the mountain. Chen Emo retracted his gaze and looked towards the not too distant sunset mountain with an uplifted face. To be honest, after seeing Luo Yan's mecha prototype, Chen Mo's heart to indenture her became even stronger. He could completely feel the power of the Heavenly Dome battle voice at this moment. The kind of intimidating power that even Zhang Yinqing did not have. Only, now was not the time. Of the three contracted mechs, Chen Mo finally chose the explosive Heavenly Flame Carp mech. On one hand, he had piloted this mech for the longest time and was the most comfortable with it. And on the other hand, the Bakuden Fire Carp's current comprehensive battle power was the highest among all the mechs. 
Our mission today is to fully explore Sunset Mountain, so we should not use force if we can, and even if we meet a magical beast, we should try our best to use melee attacks, so as not to use hot weapons, which would result in disturbing the powerful magical beasts. Luo Dai, you're just responsible for detecting. If you encounter danger, first take care of yourself and just run straight away. Nian Nian, Ching Cheng, it's best for us not to be impulsive. When we encounter a magical beast, first gather with the others, do not get attached to the battle. As Chen Mo's words fell, his spiritual energy was directly split into three strands, supplying energy to the three mechs simultaneously. In an instant, even Zhang Yanqing, who consumed the most energy, felt a steady stream of energy rushing towards her. With Chen Mo's order, the crowd of mechs directly took off and headed towards Sunset Mountain. Only, just now, when they were at the foot of the mountain, Chen Mordecai and the others could still see some green grass, but the further they flew into the mountain, the more they felt that the Sunset Mountain was filled with a deadly aura, and that it was a completely barren and deserted mountain. I heard them say that Sunset Mountain wasn't like this before. A hundred years ago, Sunset Mountain was also once a place where the mountains were clear and extremely beautiful. Only, then suddenly appeared here a magical beast with poison. It every day and every night destroys the mountains and water here. For years and years, green mountains and green water is no longer. The Sunset Mountain has also become a barren mountain. That magical beast was once one of the tasks on the Hundred Battles Mercenary Corps list. Only, although that magical beast has been killed, there was no way to deal with the toxins it left behind. So that, after so many years, Sunset Mountain is still without an inch of grass. Along the way, Luo Dai recounted the news she had inquired about to Chen Mo. Chen Mo looked at the bare land under his feet, and also had a look of pity on his face. Let's probe closer today. Don't go too far. Before dark, we must withdraw to a safe area, and we'll explore the rest tomorrow. Once a problem that can't be solved occurs, first of all, try to run as much as possible if you can't run. If you really can't run, you must try your best to stall until we gather. Staying alive is the ultimate answer to our mission this time. Listening to Chen Mo's instructions, the four mechs nodded at the same time. Just as Chen Mo was about to fly away in the explosive Skyfire Carp, Luo Dai's voice suddenly rang out. Chen Mo. What's wrong? Is there anything else? If there is ever a danger that cannot be resolved, please be sure to make a temporary contract with me. The expression on Luo Yan's face was incomparably serious, staring tightly into Chen Mo's eyes through the mecha hatch. Good, but we shouldn't be that backward. It's just a D-class mission, even if a group of war general class magical beasts. I don't even put it in my eyes. Chen Mo laughed, and the atmosphere instantly lightened up. Let's go. As Chen Mo's words fell, the four mechs lifted off at the same time and a huge roar instantly resounded. The empty barren mountains instantly resounded with echoes, and the thrilling sound caused goosebumps to rise. Underground, the crimson magma bubbled, and the dry, hot air simply gave people a feeling of dehydration. A burning odor filled the air, and the hot ground made it impossible to gain a foothold. Obviously, this was not a place for people to stay at all. Report, we found a man and four women. They have entered Sunset Mountain. A small steel butterfly suddenly flew in from outside the lava cave spitting out human words and saying slowly in the gloomy direction of the cave. Looking closely, there was actually a slender beauty looming in that shadowy direction. The firelight of the lava shone on her long golden hair as if she were a heavenly god, and her beautiful but not demonic face shone with a natural emperor-like aura. No one could resist her beauty. Her curvaceous figure was hidden in the darkness, but the part that was vaguely revealed was enough for one to surmise that it must have been a front and back that was stunningly beautiful. And, someone is coming? I'm afraid that your trail has been discovered. Find a few that don't have a high level of spiritual intelligence and release them to attract their sight. Definitely, definitely, don't let them notice my existence. Got it? The woman's voice like a silver bell rang out in the cave, clear and without temperature, as if she was trying to freeze this molten lava. The beautiful peach blossom eyes flashed with a hint of stern danger, lest they were about to go on a killing spree in the next second. Master, I'm afraid they're not that easy to dispatch. That human man is an SSS rank commander and the three women beside him, none of them are below S rank. What? Listening to Steel Little Butterfly's reply, the pretty woman exclaimed in shock, how could they send an SSS rank commander to this barren mountain? Could it be that they have already discovered my trail? Damn it, damn it. If it wasn't for the fact that this king fell for their trick last time, he wouldn't have been injured like this. If Chen Mo were here and heard the pretty woman's words, he would definitely be shocked. This was because this pretty woman was none other than the SSS ranked quest he had seen on the list yesterday. The Demon King ranked Demon Beast. Master, do you want to? Steel Little Butterfly's voice instantly went cold, and her tiny body burst out with a shocking killing intent. How many stars is that SSS level commander? 
It feels as if it's two stars, not too powerful. The Wraith Queen bowed her head in contemplation for a long time, and finally slowly shook her head. There's no need to kill him. After all, it's only a two-star SSS class commander. This king doesn't put it in his eyes yet. This kind of SSS class commander that isn't too strong can be rare. Killing him would be better to make him into a specimen and study it properly. A teasing smile appeared on the Wraith Queen's face as she stood up and paced out from the shadows. Master, never, you are now injured. You must not underestimate that human. In case the news of you recuperating here gets out, it'll all be over then. The little steel butterfly's wings fluttered anxiously, and her tone couldn't help but bring out some impatience. However, the Wraith Queen acted as if she hadn't heard the little butterfly's words and stretched her waist. It didn't take Chen Mo seriously at all. To be able to awaken an SSS-ranked commander means that his genes must be extraordinary. If we don't dispose of him while he's not highly starred, I'm afraid that he'll be another powerful opponent in the future. This king's mind is made up. This time it is necessary to completely fuse the strongest human genes. Perhaps, this king can really have the possibility of being promoted to tyrant. The Wraith Queen's laughter echoed in the lava cave for a long time. But Chen Mo on the other side, was completely unaware that danger had crept in. Unconsciously, half of the day passed in an instant. The people who had split up and acted separately finally gathered together before sunset. Nian Nian, Ching Cheng, Luo Dai, have you all found anything on your side? Only Yi Ching Cheng and Luo Dai shook their heads at the same time. This mountain is simply a barren mountain. Not to mention magical beasts, even a tree, a flower or even a piece of moss. I haven't seen it. Yi Ching Cheng revealed a lost expression. Obviously not finding anything made her frustrated. Me too. There's nothing at all on this mountain. Luo Yan also shook her head. What about you? Nian Nian. Did you find anything? Zhang Nianqing nodded. Thinking about what she had just seen. A confused look could not help but appear on her face. This mountain is definitely not a barren mountain. I just detected a metal demon beast. Only, that magical beast was just lying there. Motionless, as if it was asleep. Its body color was exactly the same as this barren mountain. If you don't look closely you can't tell anything at all. If it wasn't for my sonar system's relatively strong detection and localization of targets, I'm afraid I wouldn't have been able to spot it either. However, that magical beast is only at the warrior soldier level. It's not a very powerful magical beast, and it seems to have fallen into a deep slumber. It didn't even wake up when I went over to check it out. As the crowd listened to Zhang Nianqing's words, they not only looked appalled. Did it mean that they had probed for most of the day today? All for nothing? A magical beast that had become one with Sunset Mountain, and they hadn't even discovered it once. Ah, I remember. Luo Zhen suddenly exclaimed, and the crowd looked at her with questioning faces. I've heard our family elders say before that there are many magical beasts that are good at hiding themselves, and once they fuse themselves with the nearby environment, even their body temperature and their own vital signs will be hidden along with them. What this kind of magical beasts are best at is ambushing. Once they fall into their traps, they almost can't run away. There are simply too many types of magical beasts, like this kind of metallic magical beasts. Some are extremely good at sensing, and may be separated by two mountains. They can all sense it. There are also magical beasts that are similar to signal shielding, and magical beasts that are good at assassination. Hearing this, Chen Mo and Zhang Nianqing glanced at each other, and their minds couldn't help but recall the assassination they had once experienced that day in the downtown area. Hunter killer. Right. 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 It seems like it's called that. You guys know it too. Luo Dai nodded with a surprised look on his face. Well, Chen Mo had once encountered an assassination by the hunters when he was in the city center before. Fortunately, I arrived at that time, so that it didn't lead to a major disaster. Before Zhang Yanqing's words fell, Yi Qingcheng and Xia Zhang asked at the same time, Hubby, when did this happen? How come I don't know? Chen Mo shook his head. It's fine. It's all in the past. It's good that we were lucky at the time and picked up a life. However, it seems like this probe of ours will definitely not be completed today. The sun is about to set, and the sky is getting darker. With today's experience, let's make another trip tomorrow and strive to have a direction and purpose to detect these able to hide the magical beasts. Today, we'll go back first. At least we have to retreat to the safe zone first, otherwise by midnight, it's likely that we'll be surrounded by these magical beasts. Chen Mo looked at the sun that was about to set in the west and said seriously, right at this moment, Chen Mo's face flinched and his eyes instantly widened. Indeed, there really is the aura of a magical beast. For a moment, everyone's spirit instantly focused, especially Luo Dai. She had been detecting for the whole day. Her energy was almost on the verge of exhaustion. And at this time, her senses were already very, very weak. It shouldn't be any magical beast that's too strong. Its strength is just at the war general level. However, 
We're not sure that it's the only war general level magical beast in this vicinity. In case we accidentally walk into their lair, we'll be finished. Zhang Yanqing's detection ability was the strongest, and the moment Chen Mo finished speaking, she also discovered the magical beast that had blended in with the environment and was sleeping. Hurry up and withdraw, Luo Yan. If you don't have enough energy, you can sit in Yanqing's cockpit. Let's withdraw to the safe zone first. At the moment of crisis, Chen Mo's decision was made very decisively. Just as the crowd was preparing to slip away, a vision suddenly appeared. A small butterfly whose wings emitted colorful light looked very beautiful in the afterglow of the setting sun. Although the wings are made of metal, but fly up does not have that kind of heavy feeling at all, but rather light and airy, so that people cannot help but see fascinated. The small metal butterfly fluttered its wings and stopped in front of Chen Mo. Chen Mo could not help but reach out his hand and gently caught it. But just at this time, in the afterglow of Chen Mo's watching the little butterfly, a huge object rose up from the ground. Rumble, accompanied by a loud rumbling sound. A metal magical beast that was even taller than Luo Dai's mecha form slowly stood up. Looking at it, it was feared to be 30 to 40 meters tall. Bad. Quick. All transform into mecha mode. Luo Jin. You go up into Nian Nian's mecha and save yourself first. Damn. It was sleeping well. Why did it suddenly wake up? Chen Mo's heart sank violently as he quickly gave orders. Roar. That metal magical beast stood up and hissed and growled towards the sky. As if it was very dissatisfied with this group of humans who had disturbed its sleep. The surface of the demonic beast's body was covered with a thick layer of steel armor, and at this time, after not hiding itself, the color gradually changed back to its initial silver-white color. With a growl, the steel beast's two eyes instantly focused on the several mechs in front of it, and its icy gaze made people's hearts sink, but that wasn't the only thing that made things worse. Immediately after this metal demonic beast roared, the crowd then heard the entire mountain seem to be rumbling, as if a mudslide had erupted, and the loud rattling sound echoed nonstop among the barren mountains. Retreat, retreat, this mountain is full of magical beasts. Chen Mo's spiritual power instantly connected to the three mechs, and through his spiritual power, he shouted explosively towards the crowd. The current situation had clearly exceeded his imagination. A war general level demonic beast and a group of war general level demonic beasts, that was not a weight class. Moreover, who could guarantee that there were no commander class magical beasts inside? The 36th plan, walking is the best, but just as the three mechs were about to take off, the land close to their side instantly burst open, and a huge metal claw pulled up from the ground. Underneath the sturdy and sharp giant claw, the land of Sunset Mountain was simply like a piece of white paper. A big hole was broken with a gentle tear. Another huge magical beast that was 40 to 50 meters tall, the moment it appeared in front of the crowd, it was simply like a small mountain, covering the sky and the sun, and the powerful sense of oppression made it impossible for people to even bring up the desire to fight. Battle General Level Earth Dragon Chen Mo's brain buzzed. It wasn't that he hadn't seen war general level magical beasts before, but it was really the first time that he had seen one this tall and this powerful. The previous war general level artillery was simply a younger brother in front of it. How to fight? With full defense and strength, he was afraid that the quantum pursuit cannon would be like scratching an itch on it. Right? Go! Sensing the strong battle intent of the three women, Chen Mo roared, and the energy core operated at super high speed, supplying 100% to the three women. For a time, a dense murderous aura filled 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 the entire battlefield, the curvature engine rioted, and the air was directly torn apart. Boom! The explosive skyfire carp mecha instantly appeared in front of that steel earth dragon, and the annihilating blade shone with the light of the sun, slashing straight at that steel earth dragon's body, a straightforward killing move, without a hint of procrastination. Roar! Looking towards the ink-black greatsword that was chopping towards him, the steel earth dragon's eyes rolled over, not taking this blade seriously at all completely relying on its body that was hard enough to resist Chen Mo's blade. His mouth roared angrily as he roared towards the explosive skyfire carp, and that roar even transformed into a shockwave. With a kind of destructive aura, Chen Mo hooked his lips and smiled. The murderous aura in his eyes intensified, but it was just a war general level magical beast. It was also worthy of carrying Annihilation's full force strike? Put, without the imagined loud roar of steel colliding, the moment Annihilation touched the right arm of the Just Fall Earth Dragon, it was like chopping vegetables, easily chopping down that huge right arm. Explosive sky fire carp did not stop at all. A knife chopped down. The curvature engine was launched again. A flash from the sky. The annihilation of the blade light and the light of the setting sun more and more dazzling. Not waiting for the steel dragon to react. Annihilation will once again chop up. This time the target is its head. Like cutting tofu. Annihilation slashed down from the center of the steel dragon's head. Using inertia. This knife directly from head to tail. Boom. 
That steel earth dragon didn't even have time to let out a roar of pain before it was chopped in half and fell to the ground with a loud crash. Even if its defense was strong, it was only a warlord class magical beast. How could it compete with the S class annihilation? Only. The fact that a war general class demonic beast fell to the ground didn't mean that this battle was over. One by one, the steel ground dragons surrounded Chen Momo's side, and as far as the eye could see, it was estimated that there had to be a hundred or eighty of them. Each one of them was like the one just now. 40 to 50 meters tall, battle general level magical beasts. Luo Dai, who had never been to battle, was dumbfounded for a moment. She had never seen so many magical beasts, and all of them were also at the war general level and her voice couldn't help but tremble. Is this, this a beast tide? Chen Mo's spiritual power was connected to the three mechs. So naturally, he also heard the words of Luo Jin, who was sitting in the undead reaper. This isn't quite a beast tide, but it's only a hundred or eighty heads, it's just that it'll take a bit more effort to kill them. It's unlikely that there's still a commander level beast sitting behind this group of war general level beasts, so everyone be careful. Chen Mo's voice rang in the ears of the crowd. Having faced the super large-scale riotous beast tide in the far suburb leveling area, the crowd's mindset eased down when they were faced with this mere 180 magical beasts. At least with Chen Mo's energy supply, the girls would definitely not be in too much danger as long as their energy was constant. Come on, girls, push across Sunset Mountain. Chen Mordecai's bellowing voice fell, and the three women's curvature engines were launched at the same time. One locked onto a steel earth dragon. Zhang Yanqing drew out the black and yellow lance and shone it at the steel. Iron Giant Dragon's head and slashed it. Yi Qing Cheng, on the other hand, took out her phantom sound gun and stunned a large number of magical beasts. Xia Zhang, on the other hand, flew high above the heads of the magical beasts, and the quantum pursuit cannon behind her slowly rose, shining at the large swathes of magical beasts and firing. Boom, boom, boom. Too violent, too exciting. Luo Dai, who was sitting in the undead reaper, looked at the heads of the magical beasts that erupted away in front of him. His face was excited and agitated. It really was too powerful. Was this the strength of SSS ranked Commander Chen Mo? That day at the party, the strength Chen Mo demonstrated was simply child's play. No wonder, no wonder so many powerful machine nymphs were willing to go out of their way to contract with Chen Mo. A strong killing aura, a terrifying killing. These three human mechs in front of them, which they had not even placed in their eyes, had actually caused this group of magical beasts to stop trembling at this moment. Nay, the killing wasn't over yet. These battle general level magical beasts were simply like a crop of leeks. Before they could react, they became a patch of debris. Although they're playthings, but killing too many of them will make this king's heart ache. Just as Luo Dai was shocked, just as the crowd was getting addicted to killing, an ice cold to emotionless voice suddenly rang out as if it had exploded in the ears of the crowd. Chen Mo felt goosebumps running straight to the top of his head, and a wave of coolness spread out from his back. The others even softened their arms right away unable to even use their curvature engines. Chen Mo driving the explosive Skyfire Carp, he violently looked back, only to see that, in the void, a beautiful girl was sitting in a firelit chair, looking at the explosive Skyfire Carp with a smile on her face. Nope, it was looking at Chen Mo through the mech hatch of the exploding Skyfire Carp. The girl looked at the shocked Chen Mo with a smile on her face after getting away with her mischief. At this moment, the demon beast queen, having shed that unapproachable deity-like glow in the lava cave, smiled like a little girl who loved to play pranks, appearing mischievous and adorable. In the afterglow of the setting sun, the girl smiled brightly, revealing her neat and white teeth, and her thin lips carried a lava-like color, looking like red flower petals wet with dew. However, this picture, which was beautiful to the extreme, changed completely in Chen Mo's eyes. Chen Mo only felt that the girl in front of him was extremely dangerous. Even before, when he had braved the great backlands of the magical beasts alone, Chen Mo had never been as scared as he was now. The foot that stepped on the gas pedal was trembling a little uncontrollably. Escape. Run away. Don't look back. Hurry up and run. Chen Mo hissed towards Yi Qingcheng and Zhang Yanqing with his spiritual power. The moment the order was given, Chen Mao's energy supply was directly pulled up to full capacity, mandatorily maneuvering the three mechs to violently charge towards the outside of Sunset Mountain. This woman, by no means human, looking at the inexplicably quiet magical beasts at his feet. The words of the woman just now once again echoed in his ears. She is. She is a magical beast. A humanoid magical beast? The SSS ranked quest that I saw on the list yesterday surfaced before my eyes. Demon monarch level magical beasts. It can transform into a human and hide in the human world. Battle strength unknown. Rank unknown. Extremely dangerous. It's right. It's all right. If the guess was right, the girl in front of her with a harmless smile was the object that always hung on the number one spot on the character list. 
the demon monarch class demon beast, Chen Mo's brain instantly went blank, and his body, according to his subconscious, was moving on its own. However, it was completely useless. The three mech scurried out a few hundred meters in the blink of an eye under the effect of the curvature engines, but who could tell them? Why did that girl, who they had left far behind, somehow appear in front of them? Even the chair made of flames hadn't changed a bit? The radar detector looked like it had gone out of control, with no alerts at all. Chen Mo's heart was desolate. It's over. This time, I'm afraid it's really over. Feeling the signals that were completely blocked out, Chen Mo's heart was also desolate. There was no hope of escaping, and even the distress signal could not be sent out. Wasn't this clearly waiting for death? Chen Mo, contract with me. Luo Dai, who was seated among the undead reapers, gathered her courage and said, she was currently the strongest mech that Chen Mo could use. In this kind of life and death situation, she couldn't care about anything else. If Chen Mo was able to fight against this demon monarch level demonic beast in front of him with her help, she wouldn't regret it even if she died. It's useless. She's a demon monarch level demonic beast. Even if she contracts with you, I'm afraid I can't help her. Chen Mo's words caused Luo Dai to suck in a breath of cold air. How could this be? Isn't this a deranked quest? Why would it run into a demon monarch level demonic beast? Luo Jin's self-talk caused everyone's hearts to sink and sink. The demon beast queen in front of them, on the contrary, had a casual look of not caring about anything, and without making a move, she just sat on her chair with her legs crossed, looking at them with a snickering face. Nian Nian, Ching Cheng, listen to me, I've come to create an opportunity for you to escape. You guys turn the curvature engine to the maximum, don't look back, no matter what happens to me, you guys don't stop and make sure to get out of here. Facing a demon monarch level demonic beast, the people present were already completely at a loss as to what to do. Chen Mo was completely able to empathize with them, so he decisively gave orders towards them. Husband, Chen Mo, Zhang Yanqing and Yi Qingqing opened their mouths at the same time, but were stopped by Chen Mo. Stop talking. You guys listen to whatever I say. If you don't want my words to turn into last words, then listen. For a moment, Zhang Yanqing and Yi Qingqing were instantly silenced. What? Haven't discussed how to escape? The Wraith Queen gently raised her eyebrows looking at the three mechs in front of her, and spoke quietly. The voice filled with metallic texture was simply colder than the electronic voice in Chen Mo's mind. Like an emotionless machine, it was simply frightening. Chen Mo's spirit was shaken. A demon monarch level demonic beast already possessed the skill of transforming into a human form, and she could even spit out human words. Wouldn't that mean that demon monarch level demonic beasts and dominator level demonic beasts would be even more intelligent? Could it be that their intelligence would even be higher than that of humans? Thinking of that time when that beast tide broke out in the far outskirts of the leveling area, Chen Mo felt that this was definitely not a guess, and feared that there were really life forms that were just like human beings, dominating the battlefield. After all, the magical beasts themselves were also a type of intelligent life. You're really an interesting commander. Can you tell me how you managed to manipulate three mechs at the same time? Ha 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 ha. Truly worthy of being the man this king has his eye on. This king has seen countless SSS class commanders, and I'm afraid you're the most perfect one. Everyone else is too far from you. Although she did not receive a response from Chun Mo, the Wraith Queen did not get angry at all, muttering to herself alone. And in the end, an uncontrollable laughter that could not be suppressed, resounded at first in the deathly silence. The mind was seen through by the Wraith Queen. Only then did Chen Mo return to his senses and asked back, How did you know? The expressions you all just made, the looks, I saw them all, clearly, and also analyzed them all. And I also heard all of your conversations. That woman sitting in the mech bay. Do you intend to contract it? The Wraith Queen didn't beat around the bush at all. Explaining to Chen Mo in a straightforward manner. To be honest, not to mention Chen Mo. Even if they were all together, they wouldn't be able to touch a single hair on her head. So she didn't take them seriously at all. And said everything that she should have said or shouldn't have said. That said, your mechs are really advanced. Especially their engines and weapons. They're terrifying. Did you empower them? The Wraith Queen's question was even more so as it sent a chill down Chen Mo's spine. He felt like a newly born child in front of her, with absolutely no secrets to speak of. The most terrifying thing was that the Wraith Queen had only speculated from their expressions and conversations. This IQ, how heaven defying must it be? Oh perfect human, are you willing to come with me? Your genes are the treasure I've been searching for for a long time. Although the demonic beast queen was asking Chen Mo, how did it look like she was asking for permission? It was simply giving orders. My genes? Chen Mo's head buzzed. It was hard to believe that high-level magical beasts had already begun to study human genes? This was too terrifying, right? Yes, the perfect commander's genes are a necessity for this king to go further. Don't worry, 
This king won't harm you, at least until the gene fusion is successful. This king won't touch you. Listening to the words of the demonic beast queen, Chen Mo stabilized his mind and replied, I'll go with you, but you have to promise me to let my machine nymphs go. This time it was the demonic beast queen who was filled with confusion. Leave? Why should I leave? They are just a bunch of broken brass with no research value. What's the point of keeping them? It's not as useful as giving them to my pups. Although the demonic beast queen looked no different from a human girl, she was ultimately a beast. Although she had a high IQ, she was completely ignorant of human feelings, and she really didn't understand why this kind of worthless thing had to be left behind. Things with no value should be torn apart. Then do you think I will follow you? Killing my machinima and asking me to work for you? I thought you were a brainy one. But I didn't realize you were an incredibly stupid beast after all. The Wraith Queen cocked her head. Release them and you'll come with me? Yes. Let's go then. I'll give you two minutes to leave the range of Sunset Mountain. Hurry up before this king changes his mind. Or else, you'll all just stay behind. The Wraith Queen's voice grew colder and colder. But at least it was considered to have agreed to Chen Mo's request. Right at this time, that familiar electronic tone finally sounded in Chen Mo's mind. Ding, detected a total of two machine girl systems around that can be forcefully logged in, respectively SS plus ranked heavenly vault battle voice, SSS ranked wraith queen, crap, it really works, taking advantage of the time he was pulling with the wraith queen, Chen Mo detected the nearby devices that could be forcefully logged in, and to his great surprise, he really detected the wraith queen, as long as they were able to forcibly log into the wraith queen's system, they might actually be able to retrieve a life, although it was dangerous. This was the only way at the moment. Chen Mo swallowed his saliva and calmed down to speak to everyone. Xia Zhang, Yi Qing Cheng, Zhang Nianqing, take Luo Jin and go. As fast as you can. Leave this place. Don't look back. Don't hesitate. Don't think about fighting for your life with her. After escaping, there's no need to rush for help. If nothing happens, I'll try my best to contact you all tomorrow morning when the sun rises. Remember? Through his spiritual power, Chen Mo's words fell into the ears of the crowd in their entirety. Chen Mo, are you sure you can? Xia Zhang's voice was incomparably calm. Right, I'm sure. After you guys go out, don't reveal her existence to the outside world and wait for news from me. Chen Mo was even calmer than Xia Zhang, as if the person who was about to face the demon beast queen was not him. Good. Xia Zhang's voice fell, and the mecha hatch then opened. Chen Mo braced himself against the hatch and jumped straight down. Go. Chen Mo exploded with a cry. The three women's curvature engines instantly exploded and disappeared into place at a speed indiscernible to the naked eye. Looking at the three mechs that disappeared into place, the Wraith Queen's face did not change. Instead, she looked at Chen Mo, who jumped out of the mechs, with a promising smile on her face. How young! You should have just awakened your SSS rank commander not long ago, right? I'm sure that you still have many, many talents yet to be tapped. It doesn't matter. Leave it to me. I'll make sure to make you the best commander in the entire world. Chen Mo's heart, which was hanging high after detecting that he was able to forcibly log in to the Queen of Magical Beasts, finally fell to the ground. At this moment, he had a relaxed look on his face, and was not the least bit afraid in the face of the Wraith Queen's question. Indeed, I just awakened the commander for a month. However, can you tell me what you want my genes for? Is it hard to cultivate the next generation? The Wraith Queen froze and cocked her head as she asked. Are you, molesting me? Chen Mo froze. He didn't mean it. It won't work. Don't see that I look the same as you humans, but I'm ultimately a magical beast. With reproductive isolation, it's simply impossible to have a baby beast. The demonic beast queen explained in a serious manner, completely ignoring the increasingly embarrassed Chen Mo who was blushing. Ah, right. Time's up yo. Chen Mo snapped back to his senses. How long has it been? Less than a minute, right? Sorry. This king's territory. This king says what he wants. The wraith queen's words completely enraged Chen Mo. He never expected that this wraith in front of him would be so unreasonable. Mandatory login wraith queen. Chen Mo's voice rang out, causing the wraith queen, who was about to strike, to faintly freeze. Forced login? What the heck? In the next second, the demonic beast queen's body trembled violently. The electronic voice in Chen Mo's head sounded at the same time. Neurological system begins forced invasion. Neurological system invasion successful. Obtaining the wraith queen's mental control rights. Interaction system invasion successful. Obtaining Wraith Queen interaction rights. The strange changes coming from her body instantly made the Wraith Queen's face chill. Only to see the demonic beast queen instantly close her eyes. Her brows furrowed tightly as if she was fighting against something in her body. Nay, no matter how much she fought against it, there was absolutely no effect at all. Only at this moment did the demonic beast queen truly recognize Chen Mo's terror. What in the world have you done to me? 
The demonic beast queen violently opened her eyes, her cool and indifferent expression finally beginning to crumble. The panic that flashed through for a split second allowed Chen Mo to capture it. Don't you want my genes? Come and get it if you're capable. Ha! You don't keep your words and change your mind halfway through. Aren't you brutal? Come on. Let's see it again. Today, let's see whether you come to study my genes or I come to study your kinetic energy core. A trace of viciousness flashed through the depths of Chen Mo's eyes. Just now. The way the Wraith Queen changed her mind halfway and prepared to make a move on the three Xia Zhang girls, he had seen it clearly. If he didn't have the means to be able to forcibly log her in today, he was afraid that Xia Zhang and the girls would really be in danger. Worthy of being a beast with no morals to speak of? No integrity at all. Having said that, Chen Mo directly logged in at the background to check the details of the Wraith Queen in front of him. Wraith Queen Mechanical Archetype, Steel Nine-Tailed. Fox. Comprehensive Rating, SSS Grade Genesis Nine-Tailed Fox. Applicable energy, nuclear, solar, fuel energy. Initial quality, SSS. Contractual relationship, uncontracted. Temporary contract history, zero. Body condition, battle scarred, current status, critically wounded and weakened. Current status, weakened from serious injuries, less than 30% of strength. Current status, weakened from serious injuries, less than 30% of strength. Talent, charm, interfere with the enemy's mental world. Tearing, tearing effect on both melee and long distance attacks. Signal termination, shields, interferes and even forges all signals. Devil's might, shock enemies below its level. Reducing their strength while increasing its own. Devil commander, can command all beasts below devil level. Exclusive talent for demon monarch level magical beasts. Simulation, powerful simulation ability. Can simulate a human female's machine girl system. Creation, possesses terrifying creation skills. Form, nine tailed archetype. Human form. Machine Girl Form, Iron Nine-Tailed Fox Magical Beast. Looking at the ultra-long attribute panel in front of him, Chen Mo could not help but suck in a breath of cool air. Crap, this was too bullish. A demon monarch-grade demonic beast was unexpectedly as strong as this? I'm afraid that a top-tier SSS-class mecha wouldn't even be able to compare to her by a hair's breadth, right? With the strength that she had just revealed, Chen Mo asked himself that he had no power to resist at all. Even this kind of strength was only less than 30% of her strength? Then how strong must she have been at her peak? But then again, if she was this strong, how could she be so heavily injured? Battle scars? The mech was almost shattered, right? Chen Mo's head was a mess for a while, and he could not understand the demon beast queen in front of him at all. However, right at this time, the demonic beast queen instantly stared intently into Chen Mo's eyes. You're prying into my secrets? Sensing Chen Mo's prying into everything, the demonic beast queen could not help but feel a burst of shame. She had lived for more than one. 800 years, and it was the first time she had encountered someone like Chen Mo. What? You're allowed to look at me, but I'm not allowed to look at you? Know what fairness means? Oh, sorry, I forgot. You are a beast, not a human. Chen Mo spread his hands, with a look of a dead pig, which made the beast queen even more furious. Ha! Worthy of being the man this king has his eye on. I didn't expect that this king's best efforts to simulate your human's machinima system would in the end become a means for you to shackle this king. To be honest, this king has become more interested in you. The Wraith Queen put away her smile and appeared in front of Chen Mo with a flash, reaching out to grab him. Luckily, Chen Mao's speed had been enhanced, and the moment the Wraith Queen dodged, he followed suit and dodged a step towards the side. Are you crazy? Your kinetic energy core is in my hands. As long as I pinch your kinetic energy core, all of your one, 800 years of hard work will go down the drain. I advise you, better think clearly. Chen Mo's back was a bit cold but his voice was as steady as an old dog. At this time, but if he showed any cowardice, even a little, he would be mercilessly gotten to death by the Wraith Queen. As expected, after Chen Mo's explosive shout, the demonic beast queen indeed stopped moving. Standing in place, she stared tightly into Chen Mo's eyes, as if she wanted to see through his eyes and see through his true thoughts. If it was someone else who said this, she would definitely not take it seriously. It was just that the person who said this was Chen Mo the perfect SSS-ranked commander that she had personally nodded her head in recognition. This had to make her value the gold in Chen Mo's words. Now that her simulated system had been forcefully logged in by Chen Mo, she really didn't dare to gamble. In case Chen Mo really laid down his deadly hand, then she was really done for. For a time, the Wraith Queen really stayed where she was, no longer daring to take a step forward. On the other side, seeing that the Wraith Queen did not move, Chen Mo saw that he had bluffed her. The panel in his mind instantly changed a page. The four forms of the demonic beast queen, one by one, were neatly arranged before Chen Mo's eyes. The first thing that caught his eye was a very small reddish 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 fox. 
The little fox had nine tails, each with a dash of white fluff on the tip. Chen Mo nodded suspiciously, guessing that this was the original prototype of that demonic beast queen, except that it was also a little too small, with a height of less than a meter. However, the appearance of the little fox is strange to look at. Two eyes are big and round, and also does not have the kind of metal feeling of ordinary steel magic beasts. Each hair is windless, looks particularly soft and good to touch. Chen Mo felt cute at first glance and couldn't help but look down. The second was the human form of the demonic beast queen. Chen Mo had only glanced at it and hurriedly averted his eyes. The human form of the demonic beast queen in the picture was no different from the girl in front of her, except that the picture showed her just simulating her human form, so she was not wearing a single strand. The glance that Chen Mo had managed to flash past, although he hadn't seen it too clearly, the human form of the demonic beast queen was by no means inferior to that of his three wives, even because the form of this body was created by herself. It had almost fused all the points of a human girl and avoided all the shortcomings. A combination of everything that was perfect in one. It was no wonder that Chun Mo had only glanced at it and was deeply impressed. The Wraith Queen's mecha form also continued her aesthetics. Tall and tall. With a concave and convex body of golden proportions. Her body was crimson with some white accents only on the hand and footparts. Only. The nine tails that represented her identity were hidden by her. The last one was the Demonic Beast Queen's Demonic Beast form. A 40 to 50 meter tall giant steel magical beast that retained most of the appearance of a nine-tailed fox. The four legs retained sharp claws of steel. The nine tails on its buttocks were also made of metal. And the fox face, which looked like it was wearing a steel helmet, was mysterious. It looked like there was hardly any human element in it. That's enough of you. Stomping on your nose. Are you bullying me to talk nicely? Chen Mo's unbridled prying had obviously been captured by the Wraith Queen collectively. For a moment, she was both shy and annoyed. The tips of her ears could not help but redden, and the thin haze on her cheeks slowly spread out. Listening to the Warcraft Queen's petulant anger, Chen Mo reached out and rubbed and pinched at her hologram. In an instant, the Wraith Queen's feet that were ready to sprint instantly softened, her face reddening as if it was about to drip blood. You, don't go too far. The Wraith Queen's look of shame and anger simply put Chen Mo in a doubly favorable mood. This feeling of a top-tier powerhouse being pinched in the hand was simply not too good. Watch your tone. Saying that, Chen Mo's hand directly changed directions and grabbed another hand. This time, the Wraith Queen was unsteady and directly sat on the ground. If eyes could kill, I'm afraid Chen Mo had already died thousands of times in the Wraith Queen's eyes. Chen Mo, how dare you insult this king like this? You deserve to die. To be honest, the demonic beast queen really wanted to kill Chen Mo at this moment. Nay, at this time, Chen Mo was simply like the master in her simulated system. No matter how much she resisted, it was completely ineffective. The power that had just been built up dissipated once again when Chen Mo raised his hands and threw his feet. Seeing that Chen Mo was about to kiss her conscious body, the Wraith Queen hurriedly screamed. Stop. I was wrong. Have a talk. Everything is negotiable. The one-time demon monarch ranked demonic beast was actually forced by Chen Mo at this moment to have red eyes and a face at a loss for words. Negotiate properly? When you fucking captured my people and killed my machinima, why didn't you say to discuss it properly? Now you know you're afraid? Too late. Chen Mo snorted and rolled his eyes. What did one need a police officer for if apologizing worked? However, Chen Mo's heart was half hanging in the air at this moment. Although he was able to forcefully log in the Wraith Queen, the truth was that he could do absolutely nothing to take her apart from making some irrelevant moves. In other words, if the Wraith Queen forcefully broke through his forced login, he would directly lose all initiative. Chen Mo, if you have something to say, you can put forward whatever request you have and I'll try my best to satisfy you. The Wraith Queen had long been in disarray at this point, and other than trying to find a way to reconcile with Chen Mo, she was completely at a loss as to what else she could do. Keep these broken brass of yours away from here. All of them back off. Chen Mo looked at the large group of steel fiends and said in a cold voice. He didn't have a single mech at this point, and in case his little trick was seen through by the demonic beast queen, even if she didn't make a move, this group of steel demonic beasts would be able to eat him alive. This was definitely not a good thing. You're dreaming. What am I going to do when they're gone? Let's see. You really are really looking for death. The Wraith Queen didn't even think about it and directly refused. Although these war general level wraiths weren't of a high rank, but in case Chun Mo could really destroy his own system, then they would be able to protect themselves in time. And even if Chen Mo didn't harm himself, these war general level wraiths would be able to act as a deterrent, so that he wouldn't dare to make a move easily. Once they were allowed to retreat, one's own safety and security would be non-existent. The negotiations broke down, and the suppressed anger of the demonic beast queen suddenly erupted. If soft didn't work, then let's do it the hard way. Anyway, she was already battle-scarred herself right now, 
and didn't care about getting hurt a little bit more. Moreover, although the other party was an SSS class commander, in the end, he had only been awakened for a month. So whether or not he had the strength to hurt himself was still another story. Thinking of this, the demon beast queen's body's aura of a demon monarch instantly erupted. Ice cold voice rang in Chen Mo's ears, and the air was filled with a murderous aura. In an instant, Chen Mo felt an unspeakably powerful sense of oppression sweeping towards him, and this aura caused his mind to go blank for a moment, feeling that there was no way for his body to move. Chen Mo's face changed drastically. It's over. This seems to have really overplayed his hand. Ding ding ding. Detection of a demon monarch level magical beast's aura bursting out, requesting the commander to perform a timely aura suppression. The cold mechanical tone in his head caused Chen Mo's mind to shake violently. Right, I almost forgot about the life-saving skill I drew that day. Aura suppression, mental power attack, spiritual power attack, activate. Chen Mo's voice fell, and the spiritual power attack was launched at the same time. For a moment, Chen Mo only felt that half of his spiritual energy was instantly drained away, and the feeling of emptiness that came violently caused him to black out. The requisite condition for a spiritual power attack. Extracting half of the commander's spiritual power to launch the attack. Aura suppression can be generated and ignores the opponent's level, and the target of the suppression is unable to use any power for three hours. The moment the spiritual energy was extracted, Chen Mo felt that the oppressive force around him disappeared. This sudden change made the murderous Wraith Queen even more confused. What? You were actually able to crack my demon lord's might? Damn it, damn it. What other crushing tactics do you have? The Demon Monarch Queen's original intention was to use the Demon Monarch's might to deter Chen Mao, and then take the opportunity to drive Chen Mao out of her simulation system, and then it wouldn't still be her call? However, it was never expected that the Demon Monarch's might, which had been used a hundred times, would be directly broken by Chen Mo in the space of a few breaths, and the posture of the two of them was truly not elegant. At this moment, the posture of the two of them was incomparably strange. The Wraith Queen rushed up and wanted to subdue Chen Mo. Her cold hand directly stuck on Chen Mo's neck and pressed him to death, feeling the soft and boneless hand of the Wraith Queen. Chen Mo could not enjoy it half as much. The fear of imminent death surrounded Chen Mo's mind. Where was that charming thought? The moment the mental power attack was launched, Chen Mo's eyes went black, while the Wraith Queen was directly suppressed by the aura. At this moment, she only felt that all the power in her body could not be used, and the hand that was deadening Chen Mo's pressure softened, directly collapsing down towards Chen Mo. What is the situation? A trace of consternation flashed across the eyes of the demonic beast queen. Where had her strength gone when she was a demon monarch level wraith? Taking advantage of this effort, Chen Mo also slowed down, and just after opening his eyes, he saw the delicate face of the demonic beast queen right in front of him, and the soft and boneless body in his arms revitalized his spirit. For a moment, the aftereffects of launching the mental power attack all disappeared. Chen Mo clenched his teeth, and a glint of stern light flashed in his eyes, one way or the other. The situation was already like this. Is it possible that he still wants to retreat? A real man never does anything to retreat. Moreover, even if he retreated now, when the three hours of aura suppression passed, would he still be alive? It would be better to do it now and just let go. If you fight, you can turn a bicycle into a motorcycle. What if this demon beast queen changed her mind halfway again and wasn't going to kill herself? Today, I'll teach you. This demon beast queen, what is called heaven and earth, the commander is the greatest. Under the stunned gaze of the Wraith Queen, Chen Mo directly made a reversal and pressed the person to the ground. Three hours later, good means, good talent, I really can't bear to kill you. The Queen's voice, at this time, was incomparably calm, like a pool of stagnant water with no ripples. With sparse sounds coming from her side, the Queen had an icy face as she put her clothes back on. Her gaze faintly crossed from Chen Mo's face, as if nothing had just happened. Don't, don't be like this. According to us humans, you're now my machinima. I'm your commander. So calm down. Calm down. Don't murder your own husband. Chen Mo swallowed hard and busily replied. To be honest, the more calm the Wraith Queen appeared to be, the more Chen Mo felt weak. Compared to the current chilling and piercing queen, he still preferred her just now imposing appearance. Murdering your own husband? Get it straight. You're the one insulting this king. Only to hear the demonic beast queen shout angrily. It was obvious that Chen Mo had sprinkled another pinch of salt on her wounds. If you want me to say it, you contract with me. Contract? Hearing Chen Mo's straightforward words, the demonic beast queen was clearly stunned. A human, attempting to contract a steel demonic beast? Don't be funny. Right, contract. Our human contract is marriage. So I'm not insulting you or joking with you right now. But after deep thought, I'm seriously confessing to you. Contract with me and be my contracted machinima. Is that okay? At this time, 
The three hours of aura suppression had already ended. Chen Mo was gambling, gambling that the demon queen would not be willing to kill him just like that. Betting that there was still something the demon beast queen wanted in him. Ha, are you worthy? Only seeing the demonic beast queen in front of him laughed disdainfully. Chen Mo did not hesitate to reply. Match, of course I'm worthy. I'm top worthy. You said, besides my age not being able to match you, what else am I not good enough for you? Besides, age itself isn't a problem. To be talented, you're an SSS ranked magical beast, and I'm an SSS ranked commander. Although it's true that my current strength is inferior to yours, but I've only been awakened as an SSS ranked commander for a month and I'm already a 2 star commander, and in less than 10 years, I'm bound to become a 9 star commander. The Wraith Queen looked into Chen Mo's eyes and asked with incomparable seriousness, Your human lifespan is simply too short compared to us magical beasts. Full count, you can only live for a hundred years. What makes you contract me? A short-lived contract is like chicken ribs to me. Being able to communicate meant that there was still room to turn things around. Chen Mo's eyes lit up as he continued. Have you ever seen a SSSS ranked commander? Have you seen what an SSS ranked 9 star commander would be like after a breakthrough? My current mental strength is 4 times that of an ordinary person. And my speed and physique and so on are several times that of an ordinary person. So who can guarantee that I won't be able to break the limits of human life one day? The Wraith Queen froze, followed by a frown. It's useless. This king is a magical beast. And you are a human. The moment this sentence was finished, Chen Mo's entire body directly resembled a cat that had exploded its fur. You damn well know that I'm a human and you're a magical beast. Ha, huh? then what were we just doing? What did you say you wanted my genes for as soon as we met? Are you teasing me? Looking at Chen Mo's anger to the point of jumping to her feet, the Wraith Queen's heart couldn't help but poof. Thinking back on everything that had just happened, she couldn't help but nod her head. As if, what you said, there was nothing wrong with it. There was nothing wrong in the first place. Having taken your innocence, I will be responsible for you. Chen Mo nodded and said in a serious manner. All right. Then I'll contract with you. Not waiting for Chen Mo to be happy. The Wraith Queen's next sentence followed. However, I also said that the current you are not worthy of being my commander. Although the talent is still okay, but the strength I am not convinced. If not for the fact that this king only has 30% of his strength left today, one finger can crush you. Chen Mo froze. What was the meaning of this? Again, he said that he wanted a contract, but also said that he was not worthy of being his commander. Is it a contract or not? I'll make a temporary contract with you, but the duration of this temporary contract is permanent. I'll convert it into a formal contract with you when you can reach a height that I recognize. Shen Mo scratched his head. That's okay. What do you mean it's also okay? The Wraith Queen instantly exploded. If it wasn't for that crappy system of your human machinima that has to be set for the contract bit to work, this king wouldn't even be planning to get the contract bit. None of you human commanders are even qualified to contract this king, including you. If I give you a temporary contract bit, you can just steal it for yourself. And you still look like you've been wronged. Pull back if you don't contract. Chen Mo stood up violently. Don't ha don't ha. Contract contract contract. It was only at this time that Chen Mo finally breathed a sigh of relief. This little life of his own, by the looks of it, was finally saved. Chen Mo. White Feather is about to make a temporary contract. Sympathetic system docking successful. Nervous system matching successful. Kinetic system matching successful. Interaction system matching successful. Soon, the temporary contract was successfully completed. Chen Mo felt an indescribable connection between himself and the Wraith Queen White Feather. It was similar to the contracted machinima, but not exactly the same. In the next moment, Chen Mo entered White Feather's consciousness space instantly. Only because it was a space of consciousness and not a cockpit. In front of Chen Mo was not a console similar to that of the pilot lady, but an empty space. And all the things Chen Mao could see were the world that White Feather herself saw. Nice guy, contracting a magical beast, is this actually how it feels? Exiting from White Feather's space of consciousness, Chen Mo was stunned. The White Feather in front of him had a somewhat blanched face and a somewhat despondent expression, completely lacking the joy of contracting. What's wrong, not feeling well? Chen Mo snapped, remembering Bayu's current battle-scarred state. For a moment he asked with some heartache, Chen Mu I may not be able to accompany you. I know that you have spied on my current state. I won't hide the fact that I am seriously injured. Because of some reasons, not only am I being hunted by you humans, but even a portion of the powerful magical beasts are also hostile towards me, so much so that I have suffered from such a serious injury on my back. I'm afraid that I need a long period of time to recuperate from my injuries, so I can't follow you around. Listening to Bai Yu's words, Chen Mu hurriedly asked, Where are you going? How long will it take to recuperate? Going to a place that you humans don't know. The time. I'm afraid it will take at least 10 years. 
Chen Mo was shocked. Ten years? So long? Yes. During these ten years, not only do I have to recuperate from my injuries, but I also have to impact the sovereign level, and I'm afraid that I won't be able to finish it for the rest of my life in your human world. And you, you'd better reach a height that I can recognize in this ten-year period. As a gift of confession, I'll formally contract with you then. Otherwise, White Feather's words did not finish, but his hand and a hand knife from the neck vainly cut. Chen Mo instantly felt a coldness in his neck and nodded his head sharply. Okay, ten years is ten years. Hearing Chen Mo's voice full of confidence, Bai Yu's intimidating force instantly faded, somewhat chagrined, muttering to himself, I'm really crazy, to have such high expectations for a human. Alas, it is really a ghost. I do not know if I owe you in my previous life. This is for you. White Feather raised his hand and threw it in the air towards Chen Mo. A very, very small golden fox landed on Chen Mo's arm, and in the blink of an eye, turned into a golden fox tattoo. What is this? Not to mention, this little fox was oddly cute, and aside from the fact that this tattoo only had a tail, it was almost exactly the same as White Feather's prototype. This is what this king researched on his own, the Demon Lord's true seal. What exactly is the use of it? You research it yourself. This gift, which was like a gift to witness the farewell of the two, directly caused Chen Mo to break his defenses, even though, he hadn't known by you for a long time, but just in the past three hours, they had done the most intimate thing in the human world. So how could it be possible for Chun Mo to separate without any attachment? Bai Yu, in these ten years, will we meet again? Bai Yu's face stiffened, and in a voice that was barely audible, he whispered, I don't know, can you tell me, where exactly did you magical beasts come from? This question that had been pressed in the bottom of Chen Mo's heart for a long time finally made him ask. On the one hand, Chen Mo did want to know where exactly these magical beasts came from, and on the other hand, Chen Mo did not know if he would become a public enemy of the whole world if the matter of him contracting with a magical beast was spread out. Of course, even if the whole world was against him contracting with White Feather, he would never regret it. Chen Mo, this issue is not something that you can know right now. You only need to know that I have no interest in the war between magical beasts and humans. You are right about one thing. The SSS rank 9 stars is definitely not the end of the line for humans. And likewise the Juggernaut rank is definitely not the end of the line for magical beasts. Chen Mo. I'm leaving. As White Feather's words fell, she instantly transformed into a residual shadow and appeared in front of Chen Mo without any warning. Her slender and long fingers gently caressed Chen Mo's lips. With that, a kiss gently landed on Chen Mo's lips. Ten years, I'll wait for you. The girl's light voice still echoed in her ears. Only that faint fragrance had faded more and more. When Chen Mo opened his eyes again, the White Feather had already disappeared. No one knew where it would go and for how long. Roar! The hissing sound of a fox suddenly resounded from the distant sky. Instantly, all of the steel earth dragons surrounding Chen Mo's perimeter dispersed. For a moment, it seemed as if Chen Mo was the only one left alive in the huge sunset mountain. Who would have dared to think that I would have picked up a life and come back from the hands of the demon sovereign queen? Who would dare to think that I actually contracted with the demon sovereign queen? Chen Mo shook his head, unable to hold back his emotions. To be honest, in just a few hours, it was like Chen Mo had spent several years and his mood was even more up and down and thrilling. Who would have thought that he could run into the SSS rank demon monarch rank demon beast that was number one on the mission ranking list after a deranked mission for a good reason? This luck of his was really a bit heaven defying. White Feather's departure. Although Chen Mo did breathe a sigh of relief, at least the safety of his life was guaranteed. However, the heart that had been tantalized by her couldn't help but make him throb a little. A ten year engagement? Then let's see you higher up. Chen Mo slowly exhaled a breath, which slowly brought him back to his senses. At this time, the sky was already very dark, and the bright moon was hanging in mid-air, which in turn illuminated Sunset Mountain brightly. It was thanks to the fact that the Sunset Mountain did not produce a single blade of grass or tree, otherwise I'm afraid it wouldn't be this bright. Just at this time, a familiar electronic tone sounded in Chen Mo's mind. Ding! Congratulations on successfully contracting the SSS Class Genesis Nine-Tailed Fox. Ding! Congratulations on receiving a reward of 30,000 points. Ding, congratulations on activating the prestige panel. Ding, congratulations on receiving a golden body card. Ding, congratulations on receiving a curvature engine. Ding, congratulations on obtaining an electromagnetic railgun. Listening to this generous reward, Chen Mo's entire body instantly froze in place. That's not right. I'm only in a temporary contract with White Feather. Ah, uh, is a temporary contract considered a contract? She is not a temporary contract with you. Oh, although there are also two types of contracts in her body but both are permanent contracts, while the one she contracted with you is a slightly worse equal contract. What White Feather had given him was actually a permanent contract. 
Then why does she say that the one she gave herself was a temporary contract? Could it be that she herself didn't even know that both of her types were permanent contracts? Or, did she deliberately say this so that she could make herself work harder in these 10 years? The sudden reward, in turn, made Chen Mao's brain chaotic, completely unable to guess White Feather's intentions. However, this question, I'm afraid that the only way to ask the answer was to wait for the next time they met. That said, Chen Emo suddenly remembered the temporary mission he had accepted that day when he was at the Hundred Battles Mercenary Guild, slaying SSS ranked demon monarch ranked demonic beasts. Contracting a demon monarch ranked demonic beast could be even more difficult than beheading a demon monarch ranked demonic beast, right? Wasn't this still not considered completing the mission? As if it knew what Chen Emo was thinking, that cold electronic voice sounded once again. Dear Commander, the demon monarch level demonic beast is only contracted as an equal to you and does not have a submissive heart towards you, so you are not considered to have formally contracted a demon monarch level demonic beast, and therefore are not considered to have completed the mission. Ah, uh, wouldn't that mean that this quest would have to be completed 10 years later? Chen Emo gave a bitter laugh, a helpless look on his face. However, if he couldn't complete this quest, others would be even more unable to complete it. And anyway, the reward could only be his own in the end, so he wasn't in a hurry. After explaining Chen Mo's doubts, the electronic tone sounded once again. Ding. Congratulations on obtaining the Demon Beast Queen's exclusive Demon Monarch True Seal. Ding. Congratulations on activating your exclusive talent title, Queen's Driver. Ding. Congratulations on obtaining 50, 000 points of reputation. Ha. Huh? Queen's Master? What's the point of this talent? And what's that reputation point for? Queen's Driver. When used, it doubles physical strength, strength, speed, and mental power. Attached skill, consuming 50% of mental energy, doubles the power of the move, and the skill comes with a tearing effect. Disadvantage, the queen's harness can weaken the hostility of female beasts by 50%, but increase the hostility of male beasts by 50%. I'm really convinced. Why is there a drawback to this talent title? If I were to go into battle, wouldn't I be chased to death by male magical beasts? I didn't steal their wives, so why mess with me like this? However, Chen Emo quickly became bashful about this shortcoming. After all, when using the talent title, physique, strength, speed and spirituality were all doubled. One must know that Chen Mo's various attributes had all been greatly improved now, especially mental strength, when the talent prestige was turned on. It was directly eight times that of an ordinary person. What a concept this was. How refreshing. Thinking of this, Chen Mo directly used the golden physique card that had just been rewarded. In an instant, Chen Mo's physique directly doubled. A gush of warmth came from his body, and his body, which had been consumed for a whole day, was instantly light and breezy, with no feeling of fatigue at all. Moreover, Chen Emo unexpectedly discovered that with the doubling of his physique, the recovery of his heavily consumed spiritual energy also seemed to be much faster. After receiving all the rewards, Chen Emo then remembered Xia Zhang and the girls. He did not know how they were doing now. At the foot of Sunset Mountain, the bonfire piled up with wood burned enthusiastically, roasting the cold winds of the late night. The firelight crackled, appearing incomparably clear in the deathly silence. The four women sat in a circle around the bonfire. Anxious. I don't know what's going on with Chen Emo now. It's been a few hours and there's no news at all. Zhang Yinching's face was practically like it was covered in a layer of cold ice, and her tightly furrowed brow emphasized her inner panic. Don't be too anxious. We are all his contracted machinima. If something really happened to him, we will also have a sense. Although Yi Qingcheng said so, her mood was not at all better than Zhang Yinching's. It was just that working on the front line of battle for years had allowed her to develop this mentality of not being afraid of danger. Xia Zhang, on the contrary, did not say a word, sitting on a rock, closing her eyes in a restful manner. Teacher Xia, wouldn't you be a little too relaxed? Aren't you worried about Chen Emo at all? Just now, both of us weren't going to leave. It's you who turned your head away without even thinking. Are you or are you not Chen Mo's indentured mechanic lady? Zhang Yanqing looked at Xia Zhang's appearance and became angry. His voice couldn't help but carry some yin and yang. Luozhen looked at Chen Mo's three contracted machine nymphs infighting, and for a moment, she didn't know what to say. However, in the face of opponents who had no power to fight, Chen Mo unexpectedly chose to. However, in the face of an opponent with no power to fight, Chen Mo chose to let his dependents run away without looking back, and it did impress her as well. Sacrificing his life for righteousness, this person, of his is really heartwarming. Is it useful to worry about him? Xia Zhang's voice slowly sounded. The three women heard this and simultaneously looked at Xia Zhen who happened to open her eyes, just as they wanted to retort. They were stunned into staying in place by Xia Zhang's next sentence. I will live if he lives, and I will die if he dies. Since Chen Mo let us go, 
it means he must have his own ideas, so let's not get in his way, and if he really fails and dies, then the big deal is that I'll go with him. Looking at the determination in Xia Zhang's eyes, Zhang Yinqing and Yi Qingqing froze, and Luo Dai, the only one who had not contracted with Chen Mo, was even more shocked in her heart. Was this the love that ran in both directions? Chen Mo chose to face the demon monarch level demonic beasts alone in order to let his Mingyang live, and for him, his machine woman did not hesitate to follow him, regardless of life or death. At this moment, love truly took shape in Luo Zhang's heart, and Chen Mo's face was becoming clearer and clearer in her heart. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Right at this moment, the three women's instantly shook. Looking at each other, they exclaimed in shock. Chen Mo, sensing Chen Mo's spiritual control, the anxiety on the three women's faces instantly disappeared, and they fiercely stood up to look in the direction of Sunset Mountain. Hiss, Teacher Xia, Nian Nian, Qing Cheng, my sight is fine, come over here. Chen Mo's voice echoed in the minds of the three girls. In an instant, the three mechs instantly completed their transformations, and Zhang Yanqing stuffed Luo Jin into the cockpit as soon as she did so, then disappeared into thin air. It didn't take long. Chen Mo, who was waiting for the three women on Sunset Mountain, had a warm and delicate body suddenly rush into his arms. In the face of the SSS-ranked magical beast queen, Xia Jin did not cry. When Chen Mo let Xia Zhang go, Xia Zhang did not cry. When Chen Mo was nowhere to be found for several hours, Xia Zhang didn't cry either. However, when she really hugged Chen Mo at this time, the feeling of being lost and found again made Xia Zhang's tears like pearls with broken strings, falling non-stop. The ups and downs in her mood were like a roller coaster ride. Immediately after that, the second petite body, the third petite body, Chen Mei greatly opened his arms and felt the emotions that came back from the three women. Don't cry, don't cry, isn't hubby fine? You guys just don't believe I can handle it? Chen Mei gently soothed the three girls, gently patting on their backs one by one. Do you know, that's a SSS class demon monarch class magical beast. Ten of you wouldn't even be enough for her to eat. Zhang Yinqing roared loudly, but her choked voice made her roar sound full of aggression. Although Yi Qingcheng didn't say anything, her hands, which were tightly embracing Chen Mao, were deathly unwilling to let go. Be good. Don't cry. Don't cry. After coaxing for a while, the three girls' heads covered in Chen Mo's arms were slowly raised, looking at Luo Dai who had her hands wrapped around her at the side. They couldn't help but blush. Although they had gotten acquainted with Luo Jin today, they were still more or less outsiders, and being looked at by her like this was still a bit uncomfortable. Right. Chen Mo. Where's the demon monarch level demonic beast? Yi Qingcheng looked at the corpses all over the ground, but did not see that demon beast queen, and could not help but ask. She left, and by the way, she also dispatched those steel earth dragons. Gone? How could she let you go? Zhang Yinqing shuddered at the thought of that pretty girl. Her SS ranked machinima was nothing in front of that girl. Made a deal with her. She agreed and left. What deal? That can't be told to you guys. It's a secret. Chen Mei had a mysterious look on his face and played a riddle. After all, there was still a Luo Jin who hadn't contracted with him. Who knew if she would go out and talk about it everywhere? Just in case she contracted with someone else at that time, and told this to the public, then it would be really bad. The remaining light of the three girls glanced towards Luo Jin's side, and at that moment, they also knew Chen Mo's scruples, so they didn't ask any more questions. That said, so many demonic beast corpses, what should we do with them? Chen Mo was somewhat helpless. This ground full of corpses of steel ground dragons was really a bit too big. But the corpses of these magical beasts, they were all real treasures. In the machine lady era, all sorts of metals were essential. And these strange steel magical beasts became the first source of metal. Because when the beasts are alive, there is still soft flesh and blood under the steel general armor. But once the beasts are dead, no vital signs, it will be completely turned into a puddle of metal. And this is just for humans to solve the problem of the source of metal. For example, in the previous wars fought in the far suburbs of the leveling area, after the retreat of the army, the corpses of those killed metal magical beasts would be collected by the professional staff. After a series of dismantling and refining, they were divided into different levels of metal and used for different occasions, like the construction of high-rise buildings in the cities. Most of the sources of metal were the magical beasts that died on the battlefield. In addition, the borderline of the coastal areas, in the hundred years of the war between human beings and magical beasts, had also been accumulating various kinds of metal to build steel walls to resist the magical beasts. Even so, the demand for metals across the country was still quite large, especially rare metals, which were even more pricey. Such a huge ground of earth dragons, that was all money. Alas, so many behemoths, even if all of them are dismembered, they can't be brought back, what should we do? Chen Mo was a little embarrassed, 
He really couldn't bear to give up so many resources. Leave this to me. Our chill squad has several heavy duty trucks. It's more than enough to transport these things back. Yi Qingqing's words directly solved Chen Mo's pressing problem. With Chen Mo and Zhang Yanqing, the two excellent mech repairers, the ground full of metal fiends soon became a ground of metal debris. Early the next morning, when the sky was about to turn fish belly white, Yi Qingqing made a phone call to the far outskirts of the leveling area, and the ice cold squad received the order to send out heavy trucks and come straight to Sunset Mountain. Baby, this is the information of all the SSS ranked commanders that have awakened this year. Your father asked you to take another look and make a final decision. In a gorgeous princess room and a large villa, a beautiful woman handed the folder in her hand to the cold-faced girl. Looking closely, wasn't this precisely Luo Dai who had just returned home after doing a mission with Chen Mo and the others? After following Chen Mo and the others back from Sunset Mountain, Luo Dai had gone straight back home without following them to the Hundred Battles Mercenary Guild. Luo Dai received the information handed over by the woman, and just after turning over the first page, Chen Mo's face was reflected in his eyes. It caused Luo Dai to froze. The scene that happened on Sunset Mountain flashed back and forth in front of her like a movie, and Chen Mo's handsome face always lingered. Chen Mo, hearing her daughter's voice, the woman looked at Chen Mo's face. Baby, don't look at the total of seven SSS ranked commanders awakened this year. In mom's opinion, this Chen Mo's talent should be the strongest. Hearing her mother's words, Luo Dai jerked her eyes up to look over. Mom, wasn't Chen Mo eliminated by dad in the first round? As if she knew what her daughter was thinking. The beautiful woman inserted one of the CDROMS from the data into the computer. Originally, this Chen Mo was eliminated by your father in the first round, but this lad's talent is really, amazingly strong, so your father added him back in. Look, this is a video of him just awakening as a commander not more than a few days ago, and participating in his first war in the far outskirts of the practicing area. Just a few days after awakening, he was even able to release a big move directly with his machinima. I've never seen a commander under 7 stars able to release a big move before, but he's only been awakened for a few days now. According to my analysis, this big move was led by him, not his mecha goddess, and was forced through the mecha goddess's center console, and I'm afraid that this big move is his original big move, or else he couldn't have been so familiar with how to release it, and the power couldn't have been so powerful. You have to know that when a mecha goddess releases a big move, it must require a 100% perfect understanding between the commander and the mecha goddess in order to be able to perform it, but if there is even the slightest hint of being wrong, the move will be interrupted. Moreover, after our tests on him, we found that his reaction speed, mental power, and strength are all far beyond the level of normal people. On the screen, what was playing was exactly the image of Chen Mo's first time piloting the explosive heavenly flame carp to participate in a war, fighting hundreds of steel dragons all by himself. However, after yesterday's war with tens of meters tall magical beasts, looking at this image again, Luo Zhen had completely lost the slightest ripple. Look, look, one against a hundred. The movements are flowing and full of artistry, but every move takes the enemy's head straight. Such terrifying maneuvering ability. Even if your father and I go up there, we won't necessarily be able to do it as well as him. The beautiful woman's eyes flashed with a hint of amazement. If she was no longer in her prime, I'm afraid she would have squeezed her head to contract such a commander. An SSS class perfect commander with such explosive talent was simply the dream love officer of countless machine ladies. Listening to her mother's high appreciation of Chen Mo, Luo Dai didn't know why she felt sweet in her heart. Only, the beautiful woman's next sentence caused Luo Dai to lose her mind for a while. Alas, although this Chen Mei is indeed perfect, but he relies on his talent. Contracting everywhere? Dabbling in women. Not dedicated at all. Which good person can contract with his own teacher at the first moment of awakening? SSS rank commander, contracted a supercar, isn't this a joke? Speaking of this, the beautiful woman was overwhelmed for a while. Luo Dai actually didn't have a good impression of Chen Mo before this, and always thought that Chen Mo was a playboy who kept his feelings all over the place. However, when she accidentally encountered a demon monarch level demonic beast yesterday, Chen Mo's performance was really out of her expectation. When life and death were at stake, how many people could disregard their own safety and leave the hope of life to others and death to themselves? It was true that Chen Mo had contracted three machine nymphs, but how had those three machine nymphs treated him? Zheng Yanqing and Yi Qingcheng were so anxious that they were on the verge of tears, wanting to turn back and fight the demonic beast for their lives countless times. Xia Zheng's phrase I will live if he lives, I will die if he dies still seemed to ring in their ears. Is this really what a playboy can do? This is what love should be, right? Mom, geniuses are always deviant. Hearing her daughter's words, the beautiful woman froze on the spot. This daughter of hers, she understood, was cautious about emotional matters. That son of the Wei family, 
Wei Bin, had pursued her for three whole years back then, and she hadn't been the least bit moved. And even when Wei Bin awakened to the SS class commander, she didn't have much to say. This was not because she was emotionally weak, but she was pursuing true love. In her eyes a lifetime of love. That was true love. But, how could a daughter who was so obsessed with love speak for a man who was showing love everywhere? The beautiful woman was a bit baffled for a while. Mom, if you and dad have no opinion, I am going to ask him if he is willing to contract with me. I think he is very good. The beautiful woman hurriedly nodded her head. It's fine. I've been researching with your father for quite a long time during this period of time, and this Chen Mo is indeed the perfect candidate, except for being a bit of a prodigal. However, if you want to contract with him, it's best to say it earlier, lest you get shortchanged. Who knows how many contract slots he has. Don't be late by then. You won't even have a place to cry. Hearing this, Luo Dai froze. Shortcut first. Mom, is there anyone else who wants to contract with Chun Mo? Well, I don't know if you've heard of Wang Yuan. Wang Yuan? Luo Dai turned around in her mind, but completely failed to remember who this Wang Yuan was. Who is it? It's the only SSS class ship girl who awakened last year. Luo Yan was shocked. It's her? She's going to contract with Chen Mo? Well, if nothing else, Wang Yuan's target should be Chen Mo as well. Aren't there six other SSS rank commanders? How can you be sure? Mom, that she wants to contract with Chen Mo? Luo Jin really didn't figure it out. Was Chen Mo on meat and potatoes? How could anyone want to contract with him? Silly girl, if you can find Chen Mo's extraordinary, can't others find it? Wang Yuan has been searching for the perfect commander since she awakened the SSS class ship girl last year. So she hasn't contracted one until now. Ever since she awakened, she went straight into the Mordor maintenance force, and in the absence of a contracted commander, she independently accomplished one super difficult mission after another by herself, with an SSS class quality body, super rich war experience, the perfect ship girl and the perfect commander contracted. She can simply be said to be invincible when the time comes. Guess, if Chun Mo only has one contract slot left, will he contract with you or will he contract with Wang Yuan? The beautiful woman looked at her daughter and raised her eyebrows, as if she was inquiring, but also as if she was stating a fact. The answer, naturally, didn't require much thought. Luo Dai fiercely stood up and rushed out towards the door. On the other side, Chen Mo followed the ice cold squad, oozing and yelling as they headed straight for the Hundred Battles Mercenary Corps Guild. Three huge heavy trucks were dragging the incomparably heavy corpses of the Steel Earth Dragons, literally crushing the road. The rumbling roar drew curious gazes from the people in the guild. Ooh, good lord, where did this get so many magical beast corpses from? So much metal. I'm afraid it's not just a few magical beasts, to kill so many magical beasts. What level of battle maiden can do this? It's too terrifying. For a time, Chen Mo and his party, directly became the most beautiful scenery line in front of the Union's door. This is a, warlord grade silver earth dragon? Did you guys do a quest to decapitate it? The staff of the mission delivery hall was truly knowledgeable, and with a glance, they recognized the cartload of metal magical beasts that had been dismembered beyond recognition. Truth be told, a battle admiral ranked silver earth dragon wasn't very rare. However, this kind of magical beast would usually only appear in the coastal areas, and wasn't common on this side of the imperial capital. So much so, the staff changed their faces the moment they saw the silver earth dragon. Chen Emo slowly walked forward and said with a smile, This is a magical beast on Sunset Mountain, and I have been given the task of fully exploring Sunset Mountain. What, is it that deranked mission to detect Sunset Mountain? Chen Mo nodded. At this point, he still didn't know why the staff member revealed such an expression and spat on whether he would be making a bit of a fuss. The Sunset Mountain has unexpectedly appeared with magical beasts that only appear in the coastal areas. Head Chen, I'm afraid that you need to provide us with a more detailed exploration report. It's best to describe everything you've encountered and seen in every detail. I'm afraid that your mission this time will have to be upgraded to mission level. It should at least be C grade. I'll go apply for it for you right now. And as for the mission rewards, we'll also reissue them to you after we liquidate all these silver earth dragons. You guys wait for a little while, I'll go ask for instructions and come back for you later. With that, the staff member hurriedly left. Chen Mo, and the others then found a seat in the guild hall and waited while resting. Looking at the empty union early in the morning, Chen Mo's eyes couldn't help but be attracted by the SSS ranked quest marked in red on the quest list. Kill SSS ranked demon monarch ranked demon beast. Still remembering the first time he saw this quest, Chen Mo still felt that it was simply impossible for him to complete it. After a short night, Chen Mo's mindset however had suddenly changed drastically. The demon beast queen had become her own woman. And naturally, Chen Mo could not help but begin to favor White Feather in this mission. Recalling White Feather's battle-scarred injuries, Chen Mo's heart once again hung in the air. 
There was no telling where exactly she was going to recuperate from her injuries, nor did he know if the human mercenary group would find her shelter. In case they accidentally found her and realized that she was so badly injured, would they hurt her again? Nay, Whitefeather didn't leave him any information, so he could only worry in vain. Just then, a familiar voice came from far away. Chen M.O. Chen M.O. turned his head to look. Luo Yen? Didn't she say that she was tired and wanted to go home to get some rest? Why did she run to the labor union again? Luo Dai ran towards Chen M.O. with all the wind and fire. And even without waiting for Chen M.O. to open his mouth, he asked directly. Chen M.O., I've thought it over. Are you willing to be my contracted commander? A single sentence drew everyone present, all of them looking towards Luo Dai, and then towards Chen M.O. as the person in question. Chen M.O., the entire person was even more confused. What is this situation? Luo Dai wasn't taking the wrong medication, was she? Chen M.O., after this trip to Sunset Mountain, I'm sure sure as well as certain that you are the commander I want. To be honest, in a battle yesterday, it was simply me who kept dragging you guys down, but you guys not only didn't blame me, you even protected me at all times, which really moved me, and the way you were fearless in the face of danger and sacrificed your life to death really touched my heart as well, no matter if it's your character or talent, you are the most perfect commander in my dreams, Chen M.O., are you willing to contract with me? Luo Dai's string that had been taught broke instantly when she heard that Wang Yuan was also eyeing Chen M.O., she didn't know that Chen Mode was capable of infinite mecha co-tuning, she only knew that if she missed Chen Mode, she was afraid that she would never be able to find another commander as perfect as him. Chen Mo's figure, without realizing it, had already been deeply imprinted on her love-struck heart. Chen Mo, in front of everyone, had some difficulty choosing for a moment, and his eyes couldn't help but look at Xia Zhang, like a silent voice saying, Empress Empress, you make the decision for me. Don't look at Xia Zheng as the lowest ranked of all the machine nymphs, but as Chen Mo's first contracted machine nymph, her right to speak was instead the highest, only to see Xia Zheng stand up and walk to Luo Jin to hold her hand. After yesterday's battle, I feel all the more that Chen Mate, as an SSS ranked commander, can only be made to better utilize his talent with a top tier, powerful machine nymph. And you, obviously, are the strongest among us? If we had your participation in the battle yesterday, we might have had a chance to fight back, or at least we wouldn't have had to run away powerlessly like we did yesterday. So, Luo Jin, we hope that you can contract with Chen Mordor and become his machine lady, as well as become good sisters with us. Xia Zhang's words were right on point, and Zhang Yinching and Yi Qingcheng were completely fine with it. After all, when they were at the foot of the mountain yesterday, although Luo Jin hadn't said anything, they had all seen how worried she was about Chen Mo. When Luo Dai had asked Chen Ma to contract with her in a critical situation, her tone was also incomparably certain. This was already enough for them to accept her. At the same time, the three women nodded their heads towards Chen Mo with a tacit understanding. Luo Dai also gathered her courage once again and asked Chen Mo, Chen Mo, are you willing to contract with me and let me become your contracted machinima? Chen Mo raised his eyes and looked into Luo Dai's eyes. A big smile bloomed on his face. I'm willing, hurriedly explaining the details of the Hundred Battles mercenary corps side of the mission. Of course, Chen Mo did not mention a single word of the part of information regarding Bayou. Afterwards, Chen Mo resolutely took Luo Dai to the underground kingdom that the VPF had rewarded him with. Zhang Yanqing and Yi Qingcheng went back to the VPF on their way, while Xia Zhang didn't go to be a light bulb and returned home by herself. The first time he went to the underground kingdom, Luo Dai directly transformed into the Heavenly Dome Battle Tone Mech, and at the same time, the Mech hatch opened for Chen Mo. Chen Mo, Luo Dai is about to make a contract. Sympathetic system docking successful. Nervous system docking successful. Kinetic system matching successful. Interaction system matching successful. The moment the contract was completed, Luo Dai's information panel was displayed in front of Chen Mo's eyes in a big way. The information of the SS Plus class fighter was also of real interest to Chen Mo, and he hurriedly checked it out. Name, Luo Dai. Comprehensive rating, SS Plus class fighter Sky Dome Battle Voice. Applicable energy, nuclear energy. Mecha material, bright ceramic anti-reconnaissance alloy. Quantum shield, 5000. Battle type, far attack. Combined battle strength, 21, 000. Contractual relationship, Chen Mei. Temporary contract history, 0. Body condition, 100% brand new. Self-contained attributes, stealth. Shielded from some scans, hidden talent, automatic increase when attacking at long range. Hidden talent, automatically increases power by 10% when attacking from a distance. Hidden talent, automatically increases power by 10% when attacking from a distance. SS plus grade mecha exclusive talent. Feedback. At the end of every battle, it feeds back to the commander's mental power. 
and when the commander is empowered, it feeds back to the physique. Divine Merge When the commander and mecha reach 100% tacit understanding, the Divine Merge skill can be triggered, fully enhancing the battle power. Crap! After looking at Luo Dai's attribute panel, Chen Mo was simply incomparably shocked. Luo Jin was only one plus stronger than Zhang Yinqing, but not only did she have more hidden talents, she even had more SS plus great exclusive talents, and these exclusive talents were really ridiculously strong. Putting aside the Divine Harmony, this feedback alone is simply a talent that all commanders can only dream of. If Chen Mo's first fight against the Beast Tide had been piloted by a mech other than Xia Jin but Luo Jin, then I'm afraid that after he released his big move and all his mental energy was drained. Under the empowerment of the feedback talent, fainting wouldn't have happened at all. Also, every time he was empowered, Luo Dai could feed back to the commander's physique bonus. Even if Chen Mo didn't have those physique cards, I'm afraid that he wouldn't be worried in the slightest that he could break through the limit of a 9-star commander. Luo Dai, you're also a little too strong. Hearing Chen Mo's words, Luo Dai froze. You can see my attributes? The attributes of an SS plus grade mecha was Luo Jin's secret. No matter who it was, she had never told it. Originally, she had thought that she would surprise Chen Mo when she and Chen Mo fought side by side in the future, but who knew that he had discovered all of them on his own? For a moment, Luo Dai couldn't help but feel a sense of loss that the surprise had been discovered. I can see it ah. This SS plus grade machine girl exclusive talent of yours is also a little too strong. Especially the feedback. It's too terrifying. No wonder that way. Bin is obsessed with you. If he really digs in, I won't even have a place to cry if I want to. Chen Mo exclaimed. Don't mention him on a good day. Bad luck. Besides, I'm an SS plus ranked machine girl. It makes sense to be stronger. Right? This talent. Consider it my contractual gift to you. Luo Jin arrogantly raised her eyebrows. Looking at Chen Mo's surprised look, she couldn't help but feel a little happy. Chen Mo pondered for a while, then said, Alas, this just contracted to receive such a large gift from you, then it seems like I can't say anything if I don't show it. Chen Mo called up the commander's exclusive mall, picked left and right and finally chose a full-dimensional holographic display console. Spending 5,000 points, the operating space of the cockpit was particularly large, and after installing the full-dimensional holographic console, Chen Mo instantly had the feeling that he was the Heavenly Dome War Voice. Perfect. Driving the Heavenly Vault Battle Voice, Chen Mo slowly felt the mech. The advantages of the Sky Dome Battle Voice were its strong firepower and high protection, making it a sky dominator in the sky. However, the disadvantages were also obvious. The energy consumption was very high, and the speed of the mech was not very fast, at least compared to the explosive Heavenly Fire Carp and the Ice Phoenix. It was really a lot slower. It looks like the curvature engine obtained from contracting the white feather has a use. Chen Mo muttered. While feeling the performance index, he improved the deficiencies. Soon the curvature engine was installed on the Heavenly Dome battle voice. As for the long-range firing weapons, Chen Mo thought about it and finally installed the electromagnetic railgun on the Sky Dome battle tone. For a time, the Sky Dome battle voice looked like a mobile killing weapon. If this were to blast through, it was feared that a skyscraper could be instantly turned into a field of debris. After adding all the equipment, Chen Mo refelt the current Heavenly Vault battle voice. With a flash, a gust of residual shadows were left in the air. The curvature engine was launched, quite smoothly. As a large-scale mecha, the Heavenly Vault battle voice had clearly reached perfection. Right at this moment, Chen Mo instantly felt a sudden gush of warmth around his body. And in this warmth, Chen Mo's physical quality was slowly rising. To know that Chen Mo's current physical quality was already far from being comparable to that of an ordinary person. Yet it still allowed Chen Mo to have such an obvious feeling, which could only mean that Luo Dai's feedback was simply incredibly strong. At the same time, Luo Dai was even more shocked. Is this the engine that Sister Xia and the others are using? So strong. This engine is afraid that it's the topmost engine, right? No wonder their speed is so fast. Feeling the terror of the curvature engine, Luo Dai couldn't help but exclaim in shock. Boom! With a flash of intent, the Heavenly Vault battle voice directly disappeared in place, and when it appeared again, it had already appeared a hundred meters away. Looking at Luo Dai's curious face as she felt the beauty of the curvature engine, Chen Mo also had the sense to hurriedly start supplying her with energy. Under Chen Mo's energy supply, Luo Dai suddenly felt like she had the ability to travel through space, and the energy in her body was so abundant that it exploded. Slow down slow down. No no no. I feel like I'm going to fall apart. Luo Dai felt the commander's energy supply for the first time, and for a moment, he was actually still a bit uncomfortable. Wow, this engine is really powerful. I feel like I'm taking off now. It doesn't even consume as much energy as it did before. And the feeling of being emptied out that I had yesterday at Sunset Mountain is completely gone. 
In this world, I'm afraid there are very few fighters that can go faster than me. Luo Dai, who had finally had enough after playing for half a day, lightly panted and leisurely said, It's not just the engine that's powerful. Your commander also put in a lot of effort. Okay? Look at what your quality has become after my transformation. Chen Mei spat out with a smile. SSS grade? Chen M.O. My body's initial quality was actually empowered to SSS grade by you? Luo Dai's entire body was instantly blinded. It was quite difficult to raise the quality of a mech, especially a mech like hers that was close to the top of the line, and it was hard as hell to even think of a small increase. Chen M.O. actually did it lightly? It was only at this moment that Luo Yan suddenly realized that Chen M.O., this SSS ranked commander, was truly terrifying. As long as it was something he wanted to do, there was nothing he couldn't do. After bringing Luo Dai to play in the underground kingdom for a day, it was already very late when he returned home. However, Chen Mo had just pushed open the door of his home and was shocked by the decorations in the house right then and there. Luo Dai even blushed as if she was about to drip blood right then and there. This damn atmosphere. Chen Mo only took one look and knew that this was Xia Zhang's masterpiece. The entire room was decorated with all kinds of arrangements that made people blush. And with a lone man and woman in this room, hormones directly exploded. Chen Mo looked at Luo Jin who was blushing heaps of red. His heart was beating faster and faster. It was almost as if it was going to jump out in the next second. Lu O Dai. I suddenly feel a little reluctant to eat dinner. Ah. Before the words fell, Chen Mo directly picked up Luo Dai in a horizontal hug and went straight to the bedroom. Flowers are not flowers. Fog is not fog. Come in the middle of the night. Go at dawn. A night of charming. Luo Dai directly slept through the night. So much so, that she was completely unaware of when Chen Mo got up. Originally thought. Like this calm and harmonious life can be enjoyed for two more days. Who knows? Just after the late afternoon, Zheng Chen's phone call came over. Chen M.O., where are you now? Is there any time? Yes. What's wrong? This side of the maintenance force was suddenly attacked by several three-star prisoner mechs. And many of them were seriously injured. Nian Nian's side is too busy by herself. And there are some problems that she can't solve. So I wanted to ask you if you have any solutions. Okay. I will go over now. How is the battle situation on the troop side? Do you need my support? Hearing Zhang Chen's words, Chen Mo stood up violently and walked outside while putting on his clothes. The battle is over. But these prisoner mechs seem like they are attacking the maintenance force with a plan and purpose. I don't know if it's because someone is directing them behind the scenes. Zhang Chen's voice was very serious. And Chen Mo listened with a tight frown. Could it be that the group of things in the depths of the Forbidden Land were behind this again? Ever since he had seen the white feather that was able to transform into a human form. Chen Mo had gained a new understanding of these magical beasts. Demon monarch level beasts already had the ability to change into human form. What about tyrant level? What about the juggernaut level? I'm afraid it's more than that. Only, Chen Mo could not afford to think too much right now, and hurriedly took Luo Dai, who had just gotten up, and headed straight to the maintenance unit. Under the full acceleration of the curvature engine, Luo Dai transformed into a helicopter form and stopped at the entrance of the maintenance unit in less than 10 minutes. Zhang Chen had already been waiting for Chen Mo for a long time, and when he saw Chen Mo fly a fighter jet here, he understood something right away. Bastard. Indentured another machine lady. This speed is too fast. Only this mumbling was still heard clearly by Mulan on the side. Her slender fingers violently twisted Zhang Chen's ear. What? You seem to be envious of him oh. Why don't you also go and contract two more machinima to get over it? Ouch. Ouch. Wife. I don't mean that. I wouldn't dare to do that even if you gave me 10 guts. I'm not thinking about Nian Nian. If Chun Mo contracted so many machine girls, would he treat Nian Nian badly? Hearing Zhang Chen's words, Mulan couldn't help but let go of his hand. But soon, Mulan's eyes cleared. This boy Chun Mo. Although there are a lot of contracted machinima, he is a good boy who values his feelings. He will never fail Nian Nian. The SSS ranked commander has a long road ahead of him. Let's not be a stumbling block on his way to growth. Since it's for Nian Nian's good. It might be better to take care of him a little more in the troop, so that he can make his road a little smoother. As a mother, why would Mulan not want her daughter to contract a flawless, single-minded commander? But Nian Nian chose Chen Mo, and Chen Mo was worth it. How could she, as a mother, stand in the way? The children's own affairs, let them make their own decisions. Big deal. Herself and Zhang Chen would always be her daughter's last haven. Dad, how's the situation? Chen Mo came down from the fighter, and in a flurry of wind, he headed towards the maintenance room, asking about the situation as he walked. The injuries are not fatal. Only that Nian Nian is indeed a bit incapable of handling it on her own. Okay, I'll go take a look first. When Chen Mo walked into the maintenance room, 
Zhang Nianqing was frowning and observing to see what could be done to fix these injured machinima. Nay, with her current feats, she was unable to do so at all. For a while, anxiety surged through her heart. Fortunately, Chen Emo came in time and directly took over Zhang Nianqing's task at hand. Nianqing, stand next to me so that you can see more clearly. Chen Emo was like a senior surgeon giving his student a hands-on lesson. Each step was very careful, and each detail was told in great detail. Many issues that Zhang Yinqing had absolutely no clue about were instantly clarified under Chen Mo's explanation. The three-star prisoner mecha that attacked the maintenance unit today had come in force, and not only were there many injured machine nymphs, there were also quite a few types of them, which just gave Chen Mo the opportunity to give Zhang Yinqing a comprehensive explanation. Time just passed by minute by minute. The mechs that had just been dying were surprisingly all repaired one by one under Chen Mo's repairs. Zhang Chen stood outside the repair room and could not help but be filled with shock. He had known that Chen Mo's repair skills were very high when he was repairing Mulan earlier, but he still felt a bit shocked when he saw that the machine nymphs that were dying just a moment ago were able to run and jump at this moment. Although the commanders of those machine girls have been seriously injured, some of them have bandages on their heads, some of them have plaster casts on their arms, and some of them have crutches on their legs, they are always on guard at the door of the maintenance room. More than that, when their own machine mother stood up again, the tears of excitement. This kind of false alarm was simply torturous. And Chen Mo was their salvation. For a while, outside the maintenance room, the commanders raised their right hands in unison and gave a military salute full of gratitude towards Chen Mei in the maintenance room. With the last screw being tightened, the last machinist was finally perfectly repaired. Chen Mo stretched his waist, which had been bent for half a day, before he came to his senses. After sending off all the machine nymphs and commanders, Chen Mo walked towards Zhang Chen. Dad. What exactly happened today? How could a three-star prisoner mecha attack the maintenance force? Zhang Chen slowly shook his head. To be honest, up until now, he hadn't even found out how exactly these prisoner mechs had blended into the maintenance unit, let alone any other information. What they knew was simply pitifully little. Today at noon when everyone was having lunch, the troop alarm suddenly went off, and I reacted first, but the troop hospital side had already been lost, with a large number of casualties. It seems like they were running towards the hospital because after they captured it, they just ran away without even taking a second look at the rest of the place. It's very much like an organized and premeditated attack. And I've since checked the satellite scans, and it seems that the prisoner mechs that attacked the VPF today weren't as numerous as they were scanned out to be. Chen Mo nodded thoughtfully, always feeling that there was something that he seemed to have missed. Suddenly, an idea that made him somewhat disbelieving appeared abruptly in his mind. Concealment? Seeing Chen Mo's suddenly changing face, Zheng Chen was startled and asked. What's wrong? What did you think of? Chen Mo frowned. I always feel that this attack today is not as simple as it seems. After the last beast tide suppression, the Forbidden Land has not made any major movements for a very long time. And the sudden dispatch of the three-star prisoner mecha today, could it be to destroy the hospital out of anger? Zhang Chen nodded. That's exactly what I'm worried about. But they come and go so quickly. We have no way of knowing their true purpose ah. Speaking of this Zhang Chen was a bit deflated. The movements of the Forbidden Land were so mysterious every time, leaving people baffled. Chen Mo touched his chin and speculated. When we arrested Qin Shou before, his machinist once explained that the VPF had already been infiltrated by the offshore forces in the dome. Dad, during this period of time, you should properly scan with the radar to see if there are still any residuals on this side. Good, what about you? It was just severely traumatized a while ago, so guess what they need the most? And it just so happens that this thing is plentiful in the Imperial Capital and will allow them to risk a lot to enter the imperial capital at this time of the Forbidden Land. Listening to Chen Mo's question, Zheng Chen pondered for a moment. After the war, what is most needed that is definitely the replenishment of personnel and energy. What, could their goal be the imperial capital energy center? Under Chen Mo's guidance, Zheng Chen's thoughts instantly had a direction. Well, if my guess is correct, the imperial capital energy center is their true objective this time. The maintenance force is far away from the imperial capital energy center. And with this attack on the force hospital, it's very likely that they're making a sound bite. By focusing everyone's attention on the maintenance force, they will instead relax their focus on the city center side. And it just so happens that the Imperial Energy Center is located in the center of the Imperial City, and the largest institution around it is the Dome. The words that Chen Mo said made Zhang Chen's heart go cold, but he still held on to a sliver of hope and retorted. But the Imperial Capital Energy Center is the most important place in the Imperial Capital. If you don't have high level authority, you won't be able to get close to it at all, let alone go in. Chen Mo looked into Zhang Chen's eyes with a serious face and said in a deep voice, Dad, what if on the side of the maintenance force, there really are high-level swore offshore forces above the dome? 
With a single sentence, Zhang Chen completely lost his way back, eliminating all the impossible outcomes. The only one left must be the correct answer even if it was hard to accept. Zhang Chen looked deeply at Chen Mo and instructed, Pay attention to safety. If there's anything you can't handle, just talk to me. The maintenance force will always be your backing. Good. As he spoke, Luo Dai directly transformed into a fighter jet form, and steadily parked underneath the maintenance force. Chen Mo sat in the cockpit, and the plane instantly took off. Imperial Capital Energy Center As the energy center that maintained the entire Imperial Capital's production and manufacturing of energy, this place could obviously be said to be the most central place of the entire Imperial Capital. From top to bottom, inside and out, the layers of security were done quite rigorously. As soon as Chen Mo landed, he was stopped by the Special Forces personnel. Stand still, idle people are exempted from entering. Chun, Mordecai directly pulled out his identity information. Attacking like a tiger? Chen Mo? Seeing Chen Mo's line of great deeds and the highest privileges of the maintenance force below, the Special Forces personnel hurriedly gave Chun Mo a military salute. The above suspects that someone has deliberately infiltrated the energy center, and has sent me here to check it out. You please, my name is Lu Tao, I can tell you whatever you need to know. Hearing Chen Mao finish his reason for coming, the special forces personnel hurriedly made way for Chen Mao, leading him through the layers of guards and into the interior of the energy center. Who all has entered the energy center today? Hearing Chen Mao's question, Lu Tao quickly pulled up the visit information. Wang Ben, who is this? This is the police department that patrols the Imperial Maintenance Center every day. Chen Mo continued to look down the page and snapped to a name that shocked him. And this one? Qin Shou. Some time ago, the news of Qin Shou's escape from prison had long reached Chen Mo's ears, and this Qin Shou had already been sitting on the fact that he was involved with the things in the Forbidden Land, and now he even dared to appear in the Imperial Capital Energy Center in a big way? Ah, this is the top management of Above the Dome, saying that Above the Dome has a very important scientific research tomorrow and in order to ensure a stable supply of energy, he specially came to see if there is any abnormality in the energy baseline today. Has he left yet? No, he's right back and forth with you guys. Just went in for less than 10 minutes and you guys came. Listening to Lu Tao's words, Chen Mo hooked his lips and smiled. Pray, isn't this just delivering itself to the door? Notify Yi Qin Cheng from the far suburb leveling area to come over. Yes, Lu Tao saluted and hurriedly went to contact Yi Qin Cheng, as Chen Mo took big strides and walked in quickly. Phew, isn't this Qin Shou? Chen Mo exclaimed in surprise, only to see Qin Shou's figure stiffen, slowly turning back to look like Chen Mo, or like he had seen a ghost. You, Chen Mao, you are not. How did you come here? Is to ask me? Not in the maintenance force? How come I suddenly appeared here and disturbed you? Right? Without waiting for Qin Shou to speak, Chen Mo made a flash and the knife in his hand was directly on Qin Shou's neck. Qin Shou was in a trance for a split second, and after he came back to his senses, not only was he not afraid, but instead, his face was filled with a sneer. He he, Chen Mo, even if you get me killed now. So what? The third generation of the Mind Magic Core will be released soon, as long as it's loaded for the magical beasts in the Forbidden Land. Not to mention you. It's the entire Vigilance Force. It's all over. Ha 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 ha. You damn. Are still damned. Chen Mo dryly blasted Qin Shou's energy core with a single punch. The intense pain caused Qin Shou's expression to completely collapse and a large mouthful of blood violently sprayed out of his mouth, followed by a softening of his feet and fainting. You killed him? Luo Yan asked. No, only destroyed his energy core. This guy escaped from prison. Let Qin Cheng bring him back to the maintenance unit again. It's also considered to be a return to the position. When the time comes, let's see if we can know some more information from his mouth. Die die. Transform into the heavenly vault battle voice. In an instant, an ultra-high mech appeared in front of Chen Mao his palm holding Chen Mao into the mech bay. Die die. Turn on radar scanning. Since Qin Shou went through the surface procedure, I'm afraid that his cohorts are nearby. Luo Dai nodded, and radar detection was instantly turned on. As expected, the moment the radar detection was turned on, a large number of red dots appeared on the screen. Outside, Chen Mo drove the Heavenly Dome battle voice directly out of the energy center. Looking at the empty empty space, Chen Mo's sight looked underground. In an instant, the heavily vault battle voice violently clasped its hands into fists and fiercely slammed them into the ground. Looking at the ground that was impenetrable, it was instantly smashed out into a large pit. For a moment, several prisoner mechs completely lit up. There was also a blackened passageway in the pit, and it was feared that this was the underground passageway for them to sneak into the imperial capital. Ding ding ding, multiple three-star prisoner mechs and multiple two-star prisoner mechs detected. Please respond in time. Commander, 
The moment he saw a group of prisoner mechs, Chen Emo piloted the Heavenly Vault battle voice to directly retreat several steps back, and with that, flew into the sky. There was no way around it. The Sky Dome battle voice's melee ability was poor, and if it really had to fight the prisoner mechs face to face, it was afraid that it wouldn't even last a single round. It was only when the Sky Dome battle voice that flew into the sky that it finally returned to its familiar territory. The steel armor in front of his chest instantly opened, and the blackened hole of the electromagnetic railgun was aimed directly at the prisoner mecha. Launch. Boom. A pit of prisoner mechs, regardless of rank, all directly became a patch of debris. Ding. Killing a three-star prisoner mecha. Rewarding the commander's exclusive empowerment weapon. Soul Breaker Fragment Asterisk 1. And 500 points. Ding. Kill 3 Star Prisoner Mecha. Reward commander's exclusive empowerment weapon. Soul Breaker Fragment Asterisk 1. 500 points. With just one shot. The battle ended directly. In his mind. The cold mechanical voice lifted Chen Mo's spirit. Let's go. Die. Let's go to the Forbidden Land. I let them off the hook last time but it turns out that they're really treating me like I'm the one who let them off the hook. I haven't even gone to pick on them yet, and they're even making the first move? Then don't blame me for not giving face. Originally, Chen Emo had wanted to fight inside the Forbidden Land last time to see what was there, but it was because there were Commander-class magical beasts that happened to arrive just when he was low on energy. Since the Forbidden Land made the first move this time, he wasn't going to drag it out any longer. He would like to see what else was behind the Forbidden Land's command that could command the movement of so many magical beasts and prisoner mechs. Thinking about the upcoming battle, Chen Mo hurriedly called Xia Zhang, Yi Qingcheng and Zhang Yinqing. He told them to finish the matter at hand and gather together in the distant suburbs leveling area. Far suburb leveling area, frontline command headquarters. Chen Mao was crouching on his desk, analyzing the distribution of magical beasts and buildings behind the Forbidden Zone command with a serious face. Last time, he had also stopped just after hitting the command headquarters, and had not really seen the scene behind the command headquarters. Most of all, he wasn't sure if there was any energy behind the command headquarters that they didn't know about, or else what was it that had been supplying the forbidden area with a steady stream of energy? Qin Shou risked being caught today to enter the energy center as well. What were they going to do by plotting these energies? One question after another simply made Chen Emo curious enough to rush in and take a look right now, after Xia Zhang and the others had all arrived. Chen Emo was ready to depart. This time, he chose Luo Jin to go with him. There was no other reason. Luo Dai could be stealthy. The last time he drove Yi Qingcheng in, he was monitored under the super high speed of the curvature engine. This time, he wanted to try out Luo Dai's stealth function and see if he could avoid the Wraith's surveillance. Alright, it's decided. You guys meet me outside. I'll go in first with Luo Dai to check out the situation. At that moment, Chen Emo piloted the Heavenly Dome battle voice and disappeared into the command center and things were indeed easier than Chen Mo's imagination. This time, the Wraith side didn't even notice at all that Chen Mo had already piloted his mech into their command area. Chen Mo had already been here last time, so he did not have any desire to probe the command headquarters. Therefore, he directly skipped the command headquarters and explored deeper towards the Forbidden Land. Much to his surprise, the area behind the command headquarters was quite large. Unlike the downtown area of the Imperial Capital, this place was more like the birthplace of mechanical civilization. And although the area was not as large as the imperial capital, the various buildings filled with metallic textures were simply shocking. Here, there were many high-grade magical beasts that Chen Mo had never seen before. And when they spoke, Chen Mo could not understand many of them. But what was certain was that it was by no means the language of this world. These magical beasts, I'm afraid, came from another unknown planet. In addition to these magical beasts, there were also a lot of prisoner mechs in the depths of the Forbidden Land. And there were even some women who looked very similar to human women but were also somewhat different. Looking at the corner, a tall and powerful magical beast pressed that alien woman under his body. Chen Mo vaguely understood the significance of the existence of these alien women. Sad and lamentable. For a while, Chen Mo suddenly felt a little worried about his several wives. They were so beautiful looking. In case they were targeted by this disgusting magical beast, he was afraid that he would really have to go on a killing spree. This kind of thing couldn't even be thought about. Thinking about it made Chen Mo wanted to kill someone. Ding ding ding. Dangerous danger. Please respond in time. Commander. Just as he was about to accelerate into the core area of the Forbidden Land, an alarm suddenly sounded. Frightened, Chen Mo hurriedly stopped. Looking at the surrounding area where there was not a single magical beast, Chen Mo thought for a moment that the alarm had malfunctioned, and that it was not dangerous. Just at this time, the air in front of him reflected a bright crystalline light under the sunlight. Chen Mo froze directly opened the detection system of the Heavenly Dome battle voice, and thoroughly probed. Without probing, 
It was a shock. Desperate nanowire, s an ultra high strength nanomaterial, transparent and fine, only one hundredth of the thickness of a hair, although fine but very tough. A desperate nanowire can easily lift a large truck. Looking at the profile of this fine thread, Chen Mo was surprised and speechless. This was simply picking up a life for himself. If it wasn't for the hints, if it wasn't for the fact that his mental power had increased by four times, I'm afraid that he wouldn't have been able to see these thin threads that looked like they had become invisible. If the curvature engine was activated to the extreme, I'm afraid that when he rushed through these lines, it would be the time of his death. It is estimated that by that time, not even a whole body can be left, all be cut into pieces. However, although this thing almost killed himself, it is indeed a good thing. If this thing is transferred to the underground kingdom as a gatekeeper, it should also be very good. However, thinking about it, Chen Mo could not even pass through it now, and could not do anything. Seeing that the biggest secret of the Forbidden Land was just a few steps away from him, Chen Mo was blocked by these nanowires. Wanting to break through from the front is simply impractical. Without waiting for a breakthrough, he would first become a broken piece. Then, one can only use the second set of programs. Looking at the beautiful woman who was about to walk in, Chen Mo suddenly had an idea. Hello, I'm new in the past two days. I got separated from our leader. I want to ask where the prisoner mech was retrofitted ah? Chen Mo's appearance caused the woman to be visibly stunned. However, since the failure of the last beast tide, the management of everyone from above had become stricter, and it was impossible to think that someone could sneak in here unnoticed. For a while, the woman's face eased up quite a bit. It's right here, but you'll have to contact your leader to come pick you up. Otherwise don't say you'll go in. Even if you do, you're afraid you'll die. Sister sister, just take me in. Chen Mo's handsome and handsome face. When he pouted, he really had a feeling of a teenage girl killer, making people simply powerless to resist. No no no, I still have things to do. The woman ruthlessly ended up pushing Chen Mo's hand away. But, just at this time, Chen Mo's forced login had also been completely completed. You're not in trouble. Take me to the core data area. Now immediately immediately. Yes, I'm fine. You come with me. The woman's eyes instantly lost their vigor. And whatever Chen Mo said was what Chen Mo said. Saying that, the pretty woman opened the door access, and with that, entered Chen Mo's information into the biometric system. Looking at the woman's authority, Chen Mo could not help but marvel at his good luck. Unexpectedly, this woman's status was quite high. As a prisoner mech, in the territory of the magical beasts even mixed to such a high level of authority, it looks like prisoner mechs in the Forbidden Land is still very popular with those magical beasts. Chen Mo utilized the woman's high authority to directly turn off all identification and alarms and that nanoscale thin line naturally became his possession. Immediately afterward, Chen Mu sent a message to Xia Zhang, Yi Qing Cheng, and Zhang Yanqing, telling them that they could go deeper inside the Forbidden Land and get ready for support. Let's go, to the core data area. As Chen Mo's words fell, the women obediently led the way in front. Under Chen Mo's control, the woman even greeted and joked when she encountered familiar people along the way, completely lacking the feeling of being forced. As Chen Mo walked, he inquired, what is the structure of each district of your forbidden land like, or are they all similar to here? Basically, they are all similar, but there are more or less differences in the area size and development direction. What differences? For example, the J region where we are now is actually a small region, and our main direction of development is to create divine spirit magic cubes to control prisoner mecha and steel demon beasts in combat. Divine will tesseracts? It sounded quite lofty. It was this thing that was controlling the magical beasts in combat. I didn't think that the prisoner mecha could even be controlled. The existence of this thing was simply outrageous. And for a moment, Chen Mo was a bit unsure whether he should seize this kind of thing or destroy it completely. Chen Mo thought about it or decided to press on first. After all, this was the territory of the magical beasts. And to do so now would directly frighten the snakes. This time, going deeper into the Forbidden Land was still mainly for the purpose of probing what the Forbidden Land actually had in mind for the human world as well as their core technology. Therefore, it was still too early for everything to make a move. Where is the place where the Divine Will Magic Cube is manufactured? Take me there. Also, other than Area J, what do all the other areas mainly all do? Forbidden areas, there are more than 800 of them in this world. While the ones distributed on the side of the Divine Dragon Country are hashtag 180-220, the three largest forbidden areas are distributed in the Imperial Capital and the Magic Capital and the one distributed on the side of the imperial capital is the forbidden area of number 188, which is in turn divided into many pieces by you humans. In the coastal area of the magic capital are the forbidden lands 186 and 187. 186 is mainly responsible for the giant magical beasts and the magical beasts in the sea, 
and 187 is mainly responsible for aggregating all the magical beasts in the sea. Listening to the woman's words, Chen Mo's brows couldn't help but furrow. The distribution of these magical beasts was too extensive, far beyond the far outskirts of the leveling area in front of him. Just the two successive waves of beasts on this side of the far suburb practice area alone had already caused the vigilance force to be somewhat overwhelmed, and if he had not joined the battle in time last time, I'm afraid that the defense line would have been breached by them. What is the ultimate purpose of these magical beasts? Is it just for energy? Two purposes, I guess. One is to capture a large number of humans alive. The males are used to provide biological genes. The females are used as weapons of war. And some of the low-grade ones are. B used as cauldrons. Secondly, the various fossil fuels saved by humans are very rare energy sources for the magical beasts. And they are actually bottom-level creatures in their planet. And they simply can't access so many resources. That is, we have more resources in the blue star. And our war value is low. So we are targeted by them. And the ultimate goal of these magical beasts is to drive humans to extinction and completely turn the human world into their world. Chen Mo also didn't expect that this prisoner mecha he controlled would know so many secrets of the wraiths. Even this kind of top secret. She knew it all. Where did these magical beasts come from? And where did they come from? They came from a place in the universe called Planet Ganaber. But because of some reasons of the Blue Star itself, many of the high-level wraiths of Ganaber can't come here. So they are building a planet-to-planet -planet portal. The current portal can only be interoperable under very extreme circumstances. And this technology is not very mature at the moment. What do the high-level magical beasts want to do when they come to the Blue Planet? Of course it's to occupy the Blue Star. The Blue Star itself stores a huge amount of energy. Even though a lot of it has already been mined, there's still a considerable amount of energy that hasn't been discovered. And that's exactly what they need the most. Only, with the current technology, I'm afraid they won't be able to come at all in a short period of time. All of the existing magical beasts on the Blue Star are all experiments that were teleported to the Blue Star from planet Ganabulian. Listening to the whole thing, Chen Mo only felt shocked. If it wasn't for the fact that there were indeed a large number of magic beasts with unknown origins on the Blue Star, Chen Mo really thought that he had just been listening to a story. Planet Ganaper? A portal between planets? These magical beasts that had beaten the Vigilance Force without any fight were actually all test subjects? Outcasts? This is too outrageous. If the high-level magical beasts from planet Ganaburu really came over, would the humans still be alive? After exchanging a whole way, the three of them finally arrived at the core research and development area of the Forbidden Area in J region. Seeing the unfamiliar faces of Chun Mo and Luo Dai, a few personnel who were working walked up and asked, Guan Xiao, who are these two people? Why haven't I seen them before? These two are newcomers. I'll take them to familiarize themselves first. You guys get busy without us. Chen Mo controlled Guan Xiao and said with a smile. The crowd that had gathered around heard Guan Zhao's explanation and immediately returned to their workstations. On the other hand, Guan Xin led Chen Mo and Luo Jin all the way into the R&D building's most central classified area, right in the center of a huge transparent energy pillar. There was a large crimson stone that flickered with fluorescent light. What is this? Chen Mo asked. This is the true core that supports the smooth progress of the R&D area outside. The desire magic core. What's the point of all this? Look, next to the energy pillar is a reactor, which can convert the energy of the desired demon core into the energy needed to make the magical cube of divine will. Following the direction of Guan Zhao's finger, it was only then that Chen Mo saw that on the side of the energy pillar, there was another reactor. And at this moment, after a little girl had fused the divine will magic cube, a mecha suddenly appeared around her like 3D printing. All right, that's it for today. Go rest. As Guan Zhao's words fell, the staff being next to the energy pillar nodded before walking out with quick steps. After clearing the staff away, Chen Mei ambled over to the console and directly locked the gate. How can I take away this desired demon core? It can only be taken away with the forbidden treasure box that is a specialty of the forbidden land. Or else the person who disarms the desired demon core for a long period of time will have a great increase in desire and a great change of heart. Go fetch it. Luckily, the Forbidden Land treasure box happened to be in this room as well, and Guan Xiao entered a password and fetched the box. Taking advantage of this, Chen Mo directly maneuvered the console to turn off all the cameras in the room. Immediately afterward, the security protection of the energy pillar was lifted. Only, perhaps touching some other protection, the entire room instantly lit up with a red light, and the alarm suddenly sounded. It was not easy to make the trip, and in line with the principle of taking what you can get wrong and not letting it go, Chen Mo directly swept through the entire room for anything of value. Desired demon cores, reactors, magical cubes of God's will. Take as much as you can. This kind of high technology that humans had yet to master. Not a single bit of it could be wasted. All of it was taken away. After sweeping the area, 
Luo Dai directly transformed into the Heavenly Dome battle voice, and Chen Emo sat on the mech and decisively ran towards the data center. At the same time, he gave Guan Xiao the order, disrupt the battle, the more chaotic the better. Only, Chen Emo thought he was already fast, but the enemy support speed was also really fast. In less than three minutes before and after, there were actually already people surrounding towards this side. Although the Heavenly Vault battle voice wasn't good at melee combat, it was still easy to deal with these two little Kalamis. The curvature engine erupted, and in the blink of an eye, the front was conveniently lit up. Chen Emo did not procrastinate and drove the Sky Dome battle voice to the data center with the fastest speed possible. Die die. Break the door. At the first moment of receiving the order, the blackened barrel of the chest was aimed at the data center door. Boom. A puff of smoke rolled out. Not to mention the door being broken. Even the data center almost collapsed. However, Chen Emo did not look at the process, only the result. After entering the data center, he decisively jumped down from the mech and his fingers crackled and flew on the console. In an instant, all of the firewalls collapsed, and all of the core data of the Imperial Capital's Forbidden Land was all transmitted to Luo Dai's mecha system. The transmission speed was already flying fast, but Chen Emo was afraid that the enemy would rush over. He didn't know that Guan Xiao, who was outside, was at this moment creating rumors and commanding indiscriminately, and in the end, he even directly burned the R&D area with a single fire. The staff of the R&D area couldn't care less about Chen Mo's side. The raging fire had kept them busy. 98, 99, 100. Okay, all transmissions are complete. Let's go. Die. Let's take a trip to the weapons depot and see what's good. Before leaving, the Sky Dome Battle Voice's large cannon barrel appeared once again, and with a single shot, it blew up the entire data center. All the equipment and data, all turned into dust with no trace of their existence. Inside and outside the R&D building, under Guan Zhao's mess, it had long been a mess, with all sorts of mechs gathered into a pile. So much so, that when the Sky Dome battle voice rushed out of the building, it didn't even cause much of a commotion. The warp engine was activated, and in a few dodges, it reached the dark place outside the weapons depot. At this moment, the forbidden battle state was inspired, and the door to the weapons depot was surprisingly left open. People kept breaking in, grabbing weapons and running out. Perhaps it was because there had never been a situation where an enemy had infiltrated into the center of the Forbidden Land without a sound. The Forbidden Land's protection of weapons in this area wasn't very good. Luo Dai transformed into his human form and followed Chen Mo to directly blend into the weapons depot. The two didn't linger at all on the guns and ammunition side. With a clear goal of going straight for the big stuff, the S-Class EMGA particle cannon. Just one of them, Chen Mo took it without any hesitation. There were also a variety of missiles and in the blink of an eye, they were all collected into the commander's warehouse. At the very beginning, the people of the Forbidden Land hadn't noticed anything until the entire row of missiles at the very end had all disappeared, leaving a large hole. Only when a large hole was created did they come back to their senses. Nay, Chen Emo had already loaded his pots and pans long ago. Bye bye Yuna. The Heavenly Vault battle voice suddenly transformed and directly rushed out of the armory. After flying a long, long way, Chen Mei slowly came to a halt. The turret was set up and towards the weapons depot, a cannon blast was fired. Boom! Boom boom! Boom boom boom! A shell that directly blew up the weapons depot. Chen Emo deliberately left two giant missiles in the weapons depot, which were activated by the cannonball and instantly blew up as well. For a moment, the entire land looked like an 8 magnitude earthquake had occurred, and one could not even stand still from a long distance away. A huge mushroom cloud suddenly rose from the depths of the Forbidden Land, and the intense firelight illuminated the depths of the Forbidden Land. The scientific research building was destroyed. All the data that had been researched for many years was lost. The desire magic core was stolen. The weapon depot was detonated. And the personnel were killed and injured. The entire forbidden land, completely plunged into a dead silence. J area, want to rise again? I'm afraid it's harder than heaven. Far suburb practice area. Frontline command headquarters. Zhang Chen had followed along to the frontline as early as when Chen Mo informed Zhang Yanqing. It was only that the long period of time with no news had really made him wait a bit anxiously. Just when he couldn't sit still and was ready to vigorously attract the front line of the Forbidden Land, Chan Mo's news reached Chang Yanqing. Within half an hour, they witnessed the birth of the huge mushroom cloud. What a damned relief! Zhang Chen's broad palm nearly smashed the table. With regards to the beast tide unleashed by the Forbidden Land, everyone up and down the maintenance force, all of them dared to be angry. There was no way around it. The level of that group of magical beasts was really far beyond their imagination. And every once in a while, they got a little stronger. It was neither a good idea to fight, nor was it a good idea not to fight. If you fight, 
You can't beat them, if you don't fight. The human world is behind you. So much so, everyone was too suppressed to speak. And no matter how unwilling they were in their hearts, they didn't dare to make a move. At this time, looking at the mushroom cloud over the forbidden land, and the hidden fire, the side of the maintenance force directly exploded. The cheering and leaping sound is simply to annoy the roof. The breath that is pressed in the heart, finally in this moment to get a release. Chen Mo was so damn bullish, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have known that the Forbidden Land also had mushroom clouds. It's so cool, just seeing this scene is already a relief. I can't even imagine how happy Chen Mo must be. Song Kai and Wang Yuanbo from the command headquarters stood behind Zheng Chen and couldn't help but marvel. Good ah, good. Now the pressure on our frontline players will be much less. That's right. The magical beasts in the Forbidden Area J are getting stronger and stronger one at a time. And they have gotten hold of a large number of prisoner mechs from the Mamba prison. So it is indeed difficult to fight against them. But we shouldn't have to worry too much about them this time. I'm afraid that their casualties will be a terrifying number. Ten minutes later, Chen Mo piloted the Sky Dome battle voice, followed by the explosive Sky Fire Carp mech, the Ice Phoenix and the Undead Reaper. Amidst the cheers of the crowd, it slowly landed. Without waiting for the big guys to welcome him, Zheng Chen directly took Chen Mo's shoulder and walked into the command headquarters with big strides. Quickly tell me, what did you just go to the depths of the Forbidden Land for? And what's up with that mushroom cloud? After coming out from the maintenance force, I went to the Imperial Capital Energy Center, and I ran into Qin Shou. He himself said that he has a relationship with the Forbidden Land, and there are so many three-star prisoner mechs for him to pick up. So I wanted to see what's in the depths of the Forbidden Land that deserves his dedication so much. Chen Mo told Zhang Chen all about what happened later. Listening to Zhang Chen, he called out to him, but at the same time, a feeling of loss surged through his heart. Still young and vigorous ah, action is simply full of points. I'm older, without the vigor of youth. This kind of thing I'm afraid that I do not even dare to think about, let alone sneak into the center of the forbidden land alone. Chen Mo hurriedly said, why? In fact, I also had a sudden thought. It just so happens that Dai Dai has the ability to be invisible, and can avoid the probes from the side of the magical beasts. Otherwise I wouldn't have dared to go straight on. Dad, don't lose heart. I really do have one thing that I have to ask you for a favor. Looking at Chen Mo's serious face, Zheng Chen's loss was swept away and he violently sat up straight and looked at Chen Mo. What is it? Say, don't look at the fact that Zheng Chen was so much older than Chen Mao. And reasonably speaking, Zheng Chen had eaten more salt than Chen Mao had traveled. But looking at Chen Mao, who was half a head taller than himself in front of him, Zheng Chen suddenly had a feeling of not being able to see through him. Obviously, he was still just a child who had just turned 18 and had just awakened his commander. But the energy contained in his body made Zhang Chen's heart tremble. At this moment, when Chen Mo said that he had something to ask for his help, Zhang Chen didn't even need to think about it to know that he must be plotting another great young conspiracy, which would surely make the magical beasts pay a painful price once again. Chen Mo, on the other hand, walked directly to the map of the Dragon Kingdom that was spread out in front of the command center. The entire map of the Dragon Kingdom, a large area of gloom, were all forbidden places occupied by the wraiths. As for the imperial capital which was inland, although it was the center city of the entire dragon kingdom, it had long been surrounded by the gloomy parts, like a trapped beast that was powerless to struggle. I'm afraid that if one didn't pay attention, it would be swallowed up by the darkness. Compared to the imperial capital, the situation over in the magic capital was even more complicated. Although there were quite a few forbidden places around the magic capital, it was still much less compared to the imperial capital side. On the one hand, because magic city was near the sea, Strong ship girls could only utilize their true strength in the sea, so the vast majority of ship girls who had awakened their SSS class carriers would choose Magic City as their first choice, so much so that a large number of high level commanders would also choose to stay in Magic City. On the other hand, the number of magical beasts in the sea was far more than on land, so a large portion of the resources of the entire Dragon Kingdom first chose to supply the Magic Capital. But even so, the vicinity of the Magic Capital was still partially occupied by the magical beasts. Chen Mo's finger was on the Jin City Military Harbor, gently tapping it. I'm going to take back this Jin City Military Harbor near the Imperial Capital, and then use it as the center point to make the entire Jin City the largest missile base with the Imperial Capital as the main focus, and from the three sides of the land, sea, and air, to create an area that can completely suppress the Forbidden Land, as long as we have this piece of the sea in our own hands. At that time, no matter if we are supporting Mordor or requesting for Mordor's support, it will become a lot easier and there's no chance that we can also have a fleet of aircraft carriers, and at that time, we can then attack the inland forbidden land from the sea in reverse. From the moment Chen Mo opened his mouth and said his first sentence, Zheng Chen had frozen, 
What kind of pie in the sky bullshit was this? Who didn't know that by capturing the military harbor of Jean City, all the forces of the land, sea and air would be linked together? But Jean City had already been occupied by the wraiths for decades. If they could really take it back just like the plan said, then what have they been doing all these years? Wasn't this Chen Mo a bit too whimsical? Having just fought a small forbidden land, he didn't put the magical beasts in his eyes? And at this moment, none of the people in the command headquarters thought the same as Zhang Chen. This was simply impossible to accomplish. Are you having a fever? Do you have any idea what you're talking about? Can the Jin City military harbor be that well taken? Zhang Chen couldn't help but spit out a sentence. He had just really thought that Chun Mo had some good plan. With the imperial capital's strength of wanting no one and no resources nowadays, being able to hold on to this acre of land so that humans could have a place to live was already pretty good. Wanting the magical beasts to take their land that they had eaten in and spit it out as it was, it was like a joke. However, Chen Mo's face did not have a joking expression at all, and he looked at the map with a serious face. He also knew how shocking the words he said were, but his strength was only clear to him, and although the others knew that he was strong, they didn't realize just how strong he was, which was why they questioned it like that. I mean it seriously, as long as we bring down the Jin City military harbor, our situation will definitely relax a lot. Looking at Chun Mo did not look like he was joking. Zheng Chen also became serious. Then tell me, what makes you fight the Jin City military harbor? Seeing that Zhang Chen was interested, Chen Mo smiled slightly. Attacking the Jin City military harbor was bound to be very hurtful if he really relied on him alone. But if there was official support from the Dragon Kingdom, then the pace would be sped up a lot. After all, fighting against the magical beasts for so many years, the military supplies stored by the Dragon Kingdom itself, as well as the high-level machine girls and commanders, the number was quite amazing. If the Dragon Kingdom supported him to do it, with the input of these resources, then recapturing the Jin City military harbor would be out of the question. Thus, Chen Mo said leisurely, Nian Nian is a SS-class deep-sea nuclear submarine, Luo Dai is a SS-plus class fighter. Just their two battle power alone is not bad. Besides there are also the weapons and missiles that I snatched back from the Forbidden Land. Even though the fight down is not necessarily successful, at least to save my life and escape, I'm still okay with it. When the time comes to contract two high-level ship girls, the official government will give a little more missile vehicles and the like. It shouldn't be much of a problem. Our main objective is to fight our way back inland from the coast and take back the territory. After all, the several coastal cities near the military harbor in Jin City had not yet fallen. If they joined the war together, the probability of success would be greatly increased, and the counterattack would be much easier at that time. Chen Mo's thoughts were clear, and so were his goals. Although it sounded like it felt a bit hasty, but upon closer examination one would realize that it was the best approach. The resources in Chen Mo's commander's warehouse were completely enough for him to squander, and Zhang Yanqing's prototype of a deep-sea nuclear submarine was enough to give him the backbone to say these words. There was also the pile of treasures that he had just gotten from the Forbidden Land, and if all of them cracked out the core technology and put it into production, it would be even more of a backbone for him. So much so, Chen Mo was confident in his idea. Being pressed by the magical beasts for so many years, if they didn't fight back against them, they really regarded humans as sick cats? Looking at Zhang Chen's eyes, Chen Mo continued to speak. First of all, we use the existing mechs as the foundation and vigorously develop the manufacturing industry on top of that, while cracking the forbidden high-tech, then, start slowly advancing deeper into the forbidden land and gradually recapture it. Finally, take the point to bring the whole Dragon Kingdom back together. For a time, the entire command headquarters was silent after Chen Mo's impassioned voice. They didn't dare to think or do anything. So many years of war with the magical beasts had worn out their vigor through and through. Zhang Chen's brain felt like it was exploding yet he was completely unable to find any loopholes in Chen Mo. Ha, green is better than blue. The previous wave finally died on the beach. After so many years of standing and being beaten for so long, I've even forgotten how to attack. I'm really ashamed of my status as a great captain. Chen Mo, I'll support you. Young man go ahead and do whatever you want to do. The entire Imperial Capital Maintenance Force will be your strongest backing. We fully support your idea. I'll report to the top in a moment. Those old guys who have retired. It's time for them to come out and move their muscles. Zhang Chen's eyes flashed with a flash of brilliance, and the kind of defiant aura he had when he was young instantly erupted from him. Mulan, who was at the side, could not help but feel a sourness in her heart when she saw such a Zhang Chen. This kind of Zhang Chen was the Zhang Chen she remembered. The Zhang Chen who was once fearless, who didn't even put the heavenly king in his eyes, was back again. For a while, the entire command headquarters was also driven by Zhang Chen's aura. The clamor of battle intent was so loud that it was about to topple the roof of the room. 
Just as the crowd's battle intent was surging, Zhang Chen's cell phone suddenly rang. Seeing the video conference notification from the Divine Dragon Country's general command on his cell phone screen, Zhang Chen got up violently and brought Chen Mo into the conference room with him. What's wrong dad? What happened? Seeing the serious look on Zhang Chen's face, Chen Mo thought something big had happened. Nothing much, it's a video conference from the Divine Dragon Kingdom's general command. Chen Mo froze. A video conference from the Divine Dragon Country's general command? It was not something that he, a small team member, could be qualified to participate in. Today, you entered the Forbidden Land alone. I was afraid of any accidents, so I reported it to the top. And just now I also reported the news of your success. So I guess this meeting is because of you. As if he knew what Chen Mo wanted to ask, Zhang Chen opened his mouth and explained. Ten minutes later, the video conference officially began. Chen Mo looked around the entire conference room. The few top executives from the front line of the maintenance force were all present. However, other than them, there were not many other people. After all, it was a highly confidential video conference, so there were only a handful of people who were qualified to participate. After the sound of the video connection rang out, the opposite side quickly connected. A middle-aged man with slightly gray hair, a face like a blade, and a very serious look appeared on the screen. This person was none other than the highest commander of the Divine Dragon Kingdom, Yu Hongru. Ahem. Across the screen, Yu Hongru cleared his throat and said, Zhang Chen, you can interpret this video conference as a special communication video, so if you have anything to say, you can just say it. Zhang Chen, who was named, had a jolt and tensed up for a moment. This was the first time in all these years that he had directly spoken face to face with the highest commander of the Divine Dragon Kingdom, and he was still a bit nervous. Yes, reporting sir, according to your instructions, all the senior commanders in Chen Mao from the front line of the Imperial Capital Maintenance Force have all arrived. Hearing such a serious conversation, Chen Mao did not dare to move a muscle. This was not only his first time attending a meeting of the maintenance force, but it was also his first time attending a meeting with such high specifications, and the tense atmosphere made him quite a bit uncomfortable. Zhang Chen, you said that Chen Mode piloted the Heavenly Dome battle voice alone, penetrated deep into the back of the Forbidden J area, and blew up the entire Forbidden area? Where is he? Let me take a look. Zhang Chen hurriedly pulled Chen Mo, who was sitting upright on the side, over and placed the person right in the center of the camera and said, Sir, this is Chen Mo. Although Chen Mo was a bit nervous, he couldn't look too soft-hearted when he had already been erected here. Hello sir, I'm Chen Mo. Ha ha ha, Chen Mo. What a way to push forward the waves of the Yangtze River. Us front waves are really going to be beaten to death by you on the beach. Looking at Chen Mo's heroic brow, and the determined gleam in his eyes, the officer let out a loud laugh. From Chen Mo's body, he seemed to have seen his younger self. There were ideals and ambitions, and even more strength that far exceeded that of ordinary people. When he had initially received Zhang Chen's report, he had also thought for a moment that he had misread the situation. However, when it came to the battle situation on the front line of the Forbidden Land, it was expected that Zhang Chen wouldn't dare to take things at face value. Although he hadn't met this Chen Mo, he had heard of him several times, some time ago. Time. Regarding the rewards for Chen Mo's achievements, they had discussed it for a long time before figuring out what to give him. This time, Chen Mo not only blew up Area J of the Forbidden Land, he even went deep into the rear and brought all the scientific research products and the most important data from the Forbidden Land back to the maintenance unit. This was a great achievement. It was greater than all of his previous war feats. Not very young, yet courageous and resourceful. He was really too curious about what this young man who was only 18 years old, but had repeatedly won battles, was really like. Therefore, he organized this video conference in the first place, saying that it was a conference. But in fact, it was just his private desire to meet Chen Mo under the guise of a video conference. Chen Mo. This time, on behalf of the Divine Dragon Nation's general command, I'm going to give you a reward. In light of Chen Mo's exceptional commanding talent, as well as several times when the Imperial Capital Maintenance Force was in crisis, he saved the day and changed the battle situation. This time, in particular, it was a case of one person facing the Forbidden Land head-on and achieving considerable success. Simply unprecedented. We hope that Chen Mao can set an example for everyone, and that more young commanders can learn from Chen Mao. To summarize, we have decided to give Chen Mo the highest specification cultivation support, the best air women in the Navy, land, and air force are first guaranteed to be given to Chen Mo here, and the Imperial Capital Maintenance Force is to fully cooperate with it, and when there are any special circumstances, they will support the first to be given to the first to be given to the first to be given to the second. When Chen Mordor had previously made a meritorious achievement, one of the rewards given to him was that the Divine Dragon Kingdom was to fully cultivate him. 
At that time, he thought that it was just on top of equipment, prioritizing him with high-grade equipment, but he didn't expect that he would be able to choose any of the top machine girls from the Navy, land, and air forces. This was too fierce, right? Chen M.O., if you have any needs, you can speak to Zhang Chen directly or contact me directly. If your request is within reason, we will fully cooperate. As Yu Hongru's words fell, the gazes of all the people present all locked onto Chen M.O. Envy, jealousy, and hatred. This kind of treatment could be said to be what all commanders could only dream of. Unfortunately, they were not fortunate enough to enjoy it. After all, their talent did not allow them to contract a second machine maiden, so even more jealousy could only be endured. However, hearing the officer say that, Chen M.O. did have a request. Sir, does our troop have any ship girls that have just awakened and haven't contracted a commander yet? I'm short of one. Chen M.O. had already made preparations to attack the military harbor, and he happened to be in need of an aircraft carrier, and he really didn't need any other weapons, equipment, or anything else. However, Chen Mo's self-professed reasonable request caused everyone present to be violently stunned. Crap, what a lion's mouthful. Is it possible to have a ship girl casually? In the entire Divine Dragon Kingdom, not even one ship girl could be awakened in a year. The other officer is just being polite to you. You really don't treat yourself as an outsider. You dare to ask for everything? However, Yu Hongru did not have any dissatisfaction towards Chen Mo as everyone thought. Instead, he stroked his chin and thought back to the people who had awakened the nymphs in the past two years. Chen Mo, I won't play dumb with you. The ship girl who just awakened an aircraft carrier does indeed have one. And it's also true that she doesn't have an indentured commander as of yet. Only, aircraft carriers are not something that ordinary people can handle. You have only awakened for over a month now. Even if you pull the ship girl to your side at this time, you won't be able to use it. Yu Hongru was a bit embarrassed. It was not that he did not want to give it, but he was afraid that if he gave it to Chen Mo, Chen Mo would not be able to use it, and that would be embarrassing. However, when Chen Mo heard Yu Hongru's words, he was secretly happy. There was no clear refusal. That was a chance. It was not that this officer did not want to give it to himself, but he was afraid that he was not capable enough to handle the ship girl. Then wouldn't this be a handful? To be honest, not to mention that Chen Mo had contracted so many high-grade machine nymphs. At this moment, when he learned that he really had the chance to be able to contract a ship girl, Chen Mo's heart still beat uncontrollably. The sea, beautiful women, aircraft carriers, this is the ultimate romance for men. It was already the dream of all commanders to be able to see a ship girl with their own eyes, let alone contract a ship girl. Chen Mo was no exception. At this moment, facing Yu Hongru's question, Chen Mao hurriedly calculated his own strength in his heart. Although the energy Chen Mo could provide could almost be said to be endless, there would still be an upper limit if the high frequency output was prolonged. Just like the first time he resisted the beast tide, he had forcefully logged in 13 mechs at the same time, and also piloted the explosive heavenly fire carp in a high intensity battle causing him to pass out in the air. However, this upper limit would be raised every time a mech was contracted. Chen Mo hadn't specifically counted it either, but previously at Sunset Mountain, he had controlled multiple mechs in battle at the same time and hadn't felt much of an impact. Energy storage limit, 5200. To be honest, this number was truly a bit terrifying. However, Chen Mu was after all not quite sure how much energy the ship girls needed, so the girl was happy too early. However, Chen Mo was actually not very worried about this. After all, he himself was able to ascend the stars, even if it was not enough now, it did not mean that it could not be used in the future. Zhang Chen looked at Chen Mo's scowling appearance and was slightly relieved. He thought that Chen Mo had recognized his inadequacy to the point that he was a little bereft, but that was a ship girl after all. He was a little kid who had just awakened his commander a month or so ago. It was a bit early to be talking about contracts. Just as Zhang Chen was about to pat Chen Mo's back and calm him down, Chen Mo raised his head furiously and looked at Yu Hongru in the video. The issue of energy consumption. You can rest assured. As long as the ship girl is strong enough, Zhang Chen, who was at the side, had a few drops of cold sweat instantly seeping out from his forehead. This kid, really young and unintelligent. How dare he say such words ah. The senior commanders sitting around coincided with Zhang Chen's thoughts, and all froze as they looked at Chen Mo's confident appearance. It was good for a young man to be confident, but it was wrong to be conceited. On the screen, Yu Hongru frowned fiercely. For a moment, he was somewhat confused as to whether the young man in front of him knew what he was talking about or not. If he was truly an exaggerator, then his future would be just like that. As the Divine Dragon Kingdom's top SSS class ship girls, even the lowest energy consuming ship girls already consume more than 4 digits per hour. Chen Mo, don't think too simply, in another 2 years, there is still a possibility that you will reach the standard. 
but you have just been awakened, so don't be overly ambitious, Yu Hongru said in a deep voice. At this point, he was already a little disappointed in this young man. Such a good seedling, if he couldn't stabilize his development, and if his heart wasn't good, he wouldn't be able to achieve great things after all. However, just at this time, Chen Mo's clear laughter came. Ha ha, that's quite a coincidence. My energy storage limit is just about four digits. Chen Mo's words were like a bomb that instantly exploded in everyone's hearts. For a moment, the entire seat, were all shocked. A commander who had just awakened the commander for a month was already able to provide more than four digits of energy per hour? What kind of devil commander was this? He was only just a two-star commander now, by the time he was nine stars. What heights would he have to reach in terms of the upper limit of his energy storage? Yu Hongru looked deeply at Chen Mo, stabilizing his frantic heartbeat. You hand over to me. What exactly is your energy ceiling? It will be easier for me to arrange ship girls for you when the time comes. Upper limit 5200. As long as the energy consumption of the nymphs does not exceed 5200, I can afford to supply them. Chen Mo said with some hesitation. To be honest, he was a bit apprehensive. Not having come into contact with ship girls, he really didn't know how horrible their energy consumption was. However, when Chen Mo said the figure of 5200, even Yu Hongru did not know what to say. 5200 ah, this number was too terrifying. An ordinary six-star commander could not even reach such a high ceiling. This Chen Mo was simply a genius among geniuses. The little bit of disappointment Yu Hongru had just felt towards Chen Mo instantly disappeared. Indeed, heroes come out of youths. This young man truly had the capital to be arrogant. Ha ha ha, good, I agree with your application. I will go organize a meeting in a moment. Right, I'll send you the specific information of the ship girls first, you take a look first. Saying that, Yu Hongru sent the information over. And everyone present, including Zhang Chen, all of them were laughing so hard that they could see their back teeth. Chen Mo was really bullish. Just by virtue of an overpowering strength, he had steadily taken down a ship girl. Now, their imperial capital maintenance force was considered to have a carrier. Thinking about it made his face shine. After receiving the information sent by Yu Hongru, Zhang Chen rushed to let Chen Mo watch it. Chen Mo opened the information and what met his eyes was a white melon face. Her long black hair was tied into a ponytail and tied behind her head playfully. Chen Mo looked a little shaken for a moment. It was so beautiful. Different from Xia Zhang's charm, different from Yi Qingqing's coldness, and different from Zhang Yanqing's gentleness. It was that kind of temperament that had just come out of school and was full of vigor and vitality. Wang Yuan, Chen Mo could not help but pronounce the girl's name. This ship girl just graduated from the school last year. However, there has been no contracted commander until now. Her strength is very strong, but at the same time, her vision is also very high. The Magic City side has found her no less than 10 SSS class commanders. She didn't take it seriously. Whether or not you can get her to contract with you depends on your own skills. Also, besides Wang Yuan, I still have some ship witches here. When the time comes, send them all to the Imperial Capital as well. They should be able to help you. Yu Hongru hooked his lips and smiled. Obviously, all of these machine nymphs were for Chen Mo. Chen Mo could not help but have a head full of black lines. He was just as strong as he was, but there was also an upper limit ah. However, thinking about his future plans, Chen Mo still nodded. Wanting to counterattack the Forbidden Land, what they needed most right now were high-level commanders and various marine witches. In short, the more the better. Why don't I go and pick them up myself? The area around the imperial capital is pretty much overrun by magical beasts right now. I'm afraid that if something goes wrong, it'll be a big loss. Alright, I'll contact you then. After saying that, Yu Hongru hurriedly hung up the phone and rushed to convene a meeting. Just as Chen Mao was holding a meeting at the front line, a woman with a black duck-tongued cap, but completely unable to cover her stunning appearance, walked out of the imperial capital airport in quick steps. Huan Yu Hotel, stopping a cab, the woman took a big step up and said in a calm voice, Okay, there was no one in the cab's cab, but a female voice replied, Girl, looking at your dress, it doesn't look like you're a local of the imperial capital, are you here to travel? The cab mechanic's wife was usually too bored with hauling passengers, and would always chat with her customers in her spare time, sort of, doing some errands on the way. By the way, I heard that your imperial capital awakened an SSS class commander this year? Hearing the girl's question, the cab mechanic's wife gave a somewhat proud him. That's not true. I even took a look at him from afar earlier. That's really young and handsome. It's a pity that an SSS class commander has contracted an S-class supercar. He really ruined himself. What do you think he was thinking? He doesn't have a bubble in his head. Does he? Just like that SS rank commander last year, who was dead set on waiting for a girl who hadn't awakened yet. 
only to have her awaken a SS plus rank fighter this year, and she didn't even look at him, and I also heard about it. Last year's time there was an SSS ranked machine girl who once confessed to him, but as a result, that fool even refused, you say, in order to pick up the sesame and lose the watermelon. As a result, he didn't even pick up the sesame. If you ask me, these high-ranked commanders, their brains are more or less different from our ordinary people. They can't distinguish between good and bad. Pity that SSS rank Machinima. I heard that after she was rejected, she was heartbroken and went to the magic city, and hasn't come back for so long. The cab Machinima pulled a lot of guests. And every time she heard those guests talking about gossip, she was able to listen to a generalization. Over time, the entire imperial capital gossip all known by her, talking about anything, can say the head of the road. The girl in the back seat nodded and agreed. I've also heard about that SS-ranked commander you mentioned last year. The girl he waited for didn't even contract with him? Wouldn't that be too pathetic for him? The cab mechanic lady snorted in disdain. Pitiful for what? I heard that Wei Bin is basically brainwashing Luo Dai. He also doesn't look at it. People Luo Dai is SS plus ranked. He's only SS ranked. Can he match them? Besides, with the Luo family behind him, how could he possibly watch his daughter being utilized by someone with a heart of gold? Alas, the circle is too chaotic. We only know a rough idea. Speaking of which, the cab driver braked, and the car steadily stopped in front of the hotel. The girl opened the door and got out of the car, saying in passing towards the cab, Thank you. However, I went to Magic City in order to serve my country, not because of a love injury, and I'm not hurting, I'm not back? Bang. The girl served the fare and closed the car door with a bang. I'm talking about that Wang Yuan, and I'm not talking about you. Crap. I'm fucking talking about gossip. Talking about people's rightful owner? The cab mechanic woman looked at Wang Yuan's back, her face flashed in her mind, and she exclaimed violently. It looked like the imperial capital was going to smack a bloody storm again. Wang Yuan walked all the way to her room, thinking about Chen Mo all the way. What that cab mechanic lady had just said was actually correct. She was indeed heartbroken because she was rejected by Wei Bin and traveled far away to the devil's capital, and she hadn't taken a single step back to the imperial capital in the past year. The world knows that Wei Bin in order to Luo die bitterly waiting for a year without contract, but no one knows, Shi Wang Yuan in Wei Bin, is playing from mother's womb, was set to marry, on the day of his awakening, Wei Bin announced to the world that he would wait for Luo Dai to awaken, and that he would not contract with her, where did this put Wang Yuan's face, she had thought that she, she had thought that she had awakened an SSS class ship girl, and with such a high rank, she would be able to make Wei Bin turn around and look at her, but who knew that he really hadn't even looked at her, in a fit of rage, Wan Yuan went directly to Mordor and joined the Mordor Maintenance Force, since then, single-mindedly do the task, with a variety of difficult tasks to sharpen themselves. In a year's time, she had repeatedly won battles, obtained a large amount of equipment, and raised her strength by a big notch. Some time ago, she heard that an SSS-ranked commander had awakened in the Imperial Capital and had crushed Weibin in a rather strong manner. Wan Yuan immediately became interested in Shan Mo, finally, taking a few days out of her life. She went north to God's capital just to see what kind of person Chen Mo was. If she could become a sharp weapon to stomp on Wei Bin, she wouldn't mind becoming his temporary ship girl. Thinking of this, a trace of viciousness flashed across Wang Yuan's face, and that anger in her heart was once again aroused. Only, not waiting for her to walk back into the room, the man walking face to face made her jolt. Wei Bin. And when Wei Bin saw Wang Yuan in the imperial capital, he was also shocked. Because of him, Wang Yuan had traveled far away to the magic city and never returned to the imperial capital. How could she suddenly appear here? For some reason, Wei Bin's heart suddenly surged. There was always an ominous premonition. Hi, Yuan Yuan, long time no see. Wei Bin stabilized his mind and greeted Wang Yuan with a smile towards her. Well, it has indeed been a long time. I heard that Luo Dai rejected you this year? Wang Yuan hooked her lips and smiled brightly. Her icy words were like a sharp knife, poking straight into Wei Bin's heart. It's not really a rejection. Only she said she wants to think about it. What about you? What are you doing in the imperial capital this time? Won't. Come to find me again? Wei Bin had gotten used to the feeling of Wang Yuan chasing after him for so many years. So it was no wonder that he was able to blurt out such words. Wang Yuan suddenly felt a bit nauseous. And after removing Wei Bin from her heart, she realized how Wei Bin was so greasy. Was the once sparkling him? Was he himself glowing? Or was it the light in her own eyes when she looked at him? Enduring her discomfort with Wei Bin, Wang Yuan snorted, Duke Wei can think too much, this imperial capital is so big, it's not like you're the only one, I've heard that the imperial capital has awakened a perfect commander, his name is Chen Mo, 
It seems like you're under his thumb as well? After leaving your side, I suddenly realized that everyone I met was better than you. So, you can rest assured that I'm no longer the little girl who hadn't seen the world back then. Wang Yuan's words were said quite beautifully, looking painless, but every sentence was a knife. Knife after knife after knife. Knives poking straight into Wei Bin's heart. Chen Mo? The ominous premonition in Wei Bin's heart when he heard Chen Mo's name was finally fulfilled. Some time ago, Chen Mo and him had clearly torn their faces apart at the Hundred Battles Mercenary Corps gathering. Wei Bin originally intended. If Luo Jin delayed with their own contract, he turned back to find Wang Yuan. After all, Wang Yuan chased him for so many years, always not to say let go on letting go. If he showed love and affection for her, we'll be able to let Wang Yuan back to the heart. But now, what's the situation? There was no hint of him applying for a contract with Luo Dai, and Wang Yuan, the spare tire, even came to Chen Mo? If an SSS-ranked commander had contracted an SSS-ranked ship girl, then how could he ask Chen Mo to return everything he owed him the next time he saw him? Yeah, it's Chen Mo. Chen Mo joined the Imperial Capital Maintenance Force and has made several outstanding achievements. His name is not only loud in the Imperial Capital, it's very loud in the entire Divine Dragon Kingdom. Such a perfect man. I want it too. Wang Yuan said with a smile, as if she was incomparably worshipping Chen Mo, both of her eyes twinkling with little stars. Yuan Yuan, stop it. Although it's true that I failed you and fell in love with someone else, but you really don't need to trample on yourself like this. That Chun Mo is a prodigal playboy. He has contracted several machine nymphs on his own. Aren't you contracting with him? Aren't you just asking for your own suffering? Wang Yuan looked at his hypocritical appearance and was on the verge of vomiting out yesterday's dinner, unable to resist. She mocked. Wei Bin, what qualifications do you have to say that about him? He's philandering. He's contracted several machine nymphs. At least he hasn't been unfaithful to his feelings and dared to act. What's more, to be able to contract so many machine nymphs, it's also because he's capable. You'd like to contract several of them. Can you do it? Even if you can't match his strength, you can't match his character. What kind of courage do you have to taunt the man I have my eyes on in front of me? Wei Bin, are you worthy? If you ask me, you might as well hurry up and think about yourself. Luo Dai can't see you and won't contract with you, so why don't you hurry up and find a way out for yourself? Don't wait until you've contracted with great difficulty and you're too old to branch out. Speaking here, Wang Yuan even covered her mouth and smiled with an embarrassed look. This directly caused Wei Bin's mind to completely explode, his hypocritical mask cracking by inches. Wang Yuan's words caused Wei Bin's face to turn green and purple. Listening to her slightly shrill mocking voice, Wei Bin angrily shouted, that's not for you to worry about. However, Wang Yuan continued as if she couldn't see the sudden change in his face. This time I returned to the imperial capital just to contract with Chun Mo. As an old friend, I advise you, don't hang yourself on a tree, or I'm afraid that's all you'll get in this life. After saying that, Wang Yuan wanted to stagger away from Wei Bin's body and continue walking towards the hotel room. Only, Wei Bin managed to stop her. He he, Wang Yuan, do you really think that just because you've awakened an SSS class ship girl? You can contract with whoever you want? In my eyes, you don't even have half of Luo Dai's qualifications. Your so-called SSS rank is nothing more than a rank you've braced yourself for. What's wrong with yourself? Do you think that if you don't say anything, no one will know? To take a step back even if Chen Mo had contracted with you. So what? It's just a machine girl that I can't look at. The mocking voice rang in Wang Yuan's ears, and the conical words simply made Wang Yuan's anger surge to the sky. For a while, I see killing intent spread out in the hotel corridor. Ha! Huh? What? Want to kill me? Facing the murderous aura unleashed by the SSS class ship girl, Wei Bin was a little weak in the knees for a moment, but he stiffly endured the feeling of weak legs and forced himself to calm down. I've said it before, Wei Bin, you don't deserve me personally. One day, I will completely destroy you. What you once owed me, I will take it all back from you, bit by bit. Wang Yuan narrowed her eyes and didn't linger for another second. Wei Bin looked at Wang Yuan's back as she walked away, her face no longer taut. Looks like we can't wait for Luo Dai. We have to hurry back to the Wei family and utilize the Wei family to contract a strong machinima as soon as possible. Damn it. Damn it damn it. At this moment, Wei Bin simply hated Chun Mo. That day at the Hundred Battles Mercenary Course Party, he had made a high-profile confession, and it looked like Luo Dai had already moved and was about to agree to him. It's all Chen Mo's fault. If it wasn't for him being cheap and disrupting Luo Jin's thoughts, I'm afraid they would have already become a success. For such a long time, Luo Dai hadn't even contacted him once more. So I'm afraid that the matter of the contract is going to fall through. The main thing is, he's now neither in nor out. It's very difficult to deal with Ah. At that time, in order to morally kidnap Luo Dai, 
He had set himself up as the infatuated persona of a supremely good man, and there was almost no one in the imperial capital who didn't know that he, Wei Bin, had his heart set on Luo Dai, so much so, that now that Luo Jin was completely ignoring him, this infatuation persona had in turn become a stumbling block for him, no high-level machine maidens were willing to contract with him, they'd rather contract some commanders who weren't talented enough than consider him, after all, in their eyes, Wei Bin's heart was filled with Luo Dai, and he simply wouldn't share a single cent with anyone else, who would want their man to think of other women in his heart after marrying them, thinking of this, the hatred in Wei Bin's heart became heavier, damn Chen Mo, damn Luo Dai, far suburb practice area, frontline command headquarters, after the meeting ended, under Chen Mo's command, a person was sent into the VPF, it was the very same prisoner mecha that had taken Chen Mordecai all the way through the forbidden land and straight to the lair, when Chen Mo was transmitting the data, he saw in his haste that a lot of the data was encrypted, and in order to prevent any accidents from cracking the code at that time, Chen Mo let Guan Xiao run towards the human maintenance force after causing havoc, after all, Guan Zhao's authority in the Forbidden Land was extremely high, and she knew far more than Chen Mo had imagined. What if she could help with something? However, Chen Mo did not expect that the decryption of these data had really become a problem, and having left an extra eye open at that time, he did not expect that it would really come in handy. At the same time, the Forbidden J area, the firelight gradually weakened, but the entire building in Area J was also completely finished. Wiener, the master of the Forbidden Land J area, had completely blown up in his mind at this time, looking at the strong and prosperous area turned into a field of ruins, he was really puzzled, but the fact is right in front of him, the R&D building collapsed, and the entire center of the J area has become ruins, the effort he had put in over the years had been completely destroyed, most importantly, the desire magic core was gone, the forbidden area J was mainly relying on the desire magic core to create the spirit magic cube that could control the prisoner mecha and the many iron demon beasts, after such an explosion, it was all gone. What the hell? Which cub seed is it? It's all trash. Useless trash. Wiener's killing intent roared out. And with a wave of his hand, he slaughtered a bunch of prisoner mechs around him. This was the first time Wiener had been so angry since he had arrived at Blue Star for so long. Even before, when the two consecutive beast tides he had launched ended in failure, he had not been this angry. Chen Mo. It was all because of Chen Mo. Ever since this Chen Mo had appeared, nothing had gone well for him. The members of the maintenance team that he used to kill casually, now with Chen Mo's protection, he couldn't kill them at all. The beast tide that used to win every time, twice in a row, let Chen Mo turn around and win. After several losses in a row, the Blue Stars, who he had previously completely disregarded, had actually done this kind of thing to provoke his authority. Today, it was even more so that he had directly destroyed all of his hard work over the years. Wiener was simply furious and about to go crazy, right away. Wiener directly contacted the other nearby regional sovereigns. Although Wiener was unwilling to admit that he had lost his old horse this time, his pale face at this moment had already shown the other two people in the video something. Area K's dominator Drew had a smile on his face and said in a flirtatious tone, Yo, isn't this Lord Wiener? Why is his face so ugly? Can it be that Area J is going to be destroyed? No way. No way? Wasn't it you yourself who swore that you would definitely be able to take down the human region? I said I'd help you at the time, and you told me to get lost. To be honest, Drew's dissatisfaction with Wiener hadn't been for a day or two, and this time, seizing the opportunity, he was bound to knock Wiener hard once, and Beria from Area L also chimed in. Wiener, I feel like maybe there's something wrong with your intelligence. Otherwise, it can't be this bad, right? Don't get complacent too early. Sooner or later, I'm going to fight back. Wiener was furious and didn't budge. Beria touched the tip of his nose and continued to ask. Wiener. Do you know how much pressure your failure this time has put on us? Yesterday, the headquarters on the Imperial Capital side had already asked me to take over the main attack position, and this loss of yours has directly affected the progress of my plan. At this moment, Wiener didn't say a word. Such a situation wasn't something he wanted to see either, but he couldn't do anything at all right now. The side of the maintenance force had inexplicably become so powerful, he really couldn't fight it, and he couldn't hide from it. Aya, come on. You two make snide remarks to talk about it on the line. Originally compared to the two of you, I'm already shabby here, and it's only reasonable that I lost. It's true that I'm a bit floundering because of my long victory, but I recognize the mistake now, so you guys should stop diabolizing me and help me out. Belial thought for a moment and slowly spoke. I'm going to grab back the sea area that was taken away before, but I have a very tricky problem. What is it? Do you need someone? I'm out of that and everything, so I'm left with people. A whole bunch of crushed mechs. Feel free to use them, 
Wiener snapped his spirits up and turned towards Belial. He now urgently needed to vote to the headquarters and fulfill the targets put down by the headquarters, or else I'm afraid that his identity as the head of the J area would have to be dealt with as well. Only, Belial didn't take Wiener seriously at all, and instead said to Drew, Drew, I'm afraid Wiener can't help me with the sea matters, but I heard that you got a sea giant mecha on your side, and are ready to put it into use after a while? Drew's face was pale, as if he hadn't heard Beria's words, and he didn't react at all. As a matter of fact, Belial had long known that it would be difficult to take something from Drew's hands. However, there was no way around it. For the sake of the huge amount of energy detected in that piece and those two difficult machine ladies, he had to open this mouth. If it was an ordinary mecha he wouldn't be so attached to it, but that one, it was really awesome. Not only was its firepower stronger than other 4-star, or even 5-star mechs, the main thing was that this mech's function was surprisingly injury-free. Sometimes the cannonballs that hit him were simply like tickling him. No damage at all. This was simply his dream armor. Drew, I'm not borrowing from you for nothing. When I take those two ships, I'll share 30% of the profits with you, okay? Belial said as he raised the stakes. Wiener also chimed in. Drew, we're on the same front anyways. It's only right to help each other. I'll provide you with missile support. And never let your firepower fall to the wayside, okay? Seeing that both of them had taken out their sincerity, Drew then nodded. All right, since both of you have done it, I'll follow suit. But I have to bring back that precious lump of mine intact. It's my heart and soul for more than 10 years. To be honest, what Drew liked the most right now was all kinds of resources. The 30% promised to him by Belial was indeed considerable. With these resources, the problem of his main base in Area K could be solved, and the mechanical development of the entire Area K could be carried out smoothly as well. This is the secret key of control. You must be careful when you use it. Do not bump it for me. After saying that, Drew turned around and walked away. Belial got what he wanted and rushed off as well. He had wanted this treasure of Drew's for a long time. When he really took over that sea, he would never have to lower himself to Drew again. Dalbies, gather the sea devil beasts and prepare for battle. Belial immediately gave his general the order to move out immediately. Wiener held his breath in his heart, and at that moment, he contributed all the missiles he had additionally saved. This time, it was bound to deal a heavy blow to the human maintenance force. Once and for all, Jean City Military Harbor. As the closest military harbor to the imperial capital, this place was originally prosperous. But since it was targeted by the magical beasts, this place has become more and more cold, and now it has even been completely abandoned. The two ships parked next to the harbor were the light cruiser Tingting Hitomi and the destroyer Tsuruyan. As a destroyer, the Tsuruyan's temper was not very good. At this moment, she transformed into a girl with long silver white hair draped over her shoulders, wearing a white dress that looked very quiet and gentle, but seeing the girl's icy expression, it could simply freeze the positive ocean. Obviously, this was not one to be messed with. The reason why the He Yang ship was so young, became the big sister in this military harbor precisely because of her own special skills. No matter how fierce an attack she faced, she had a chance to reduce the damage to 1%. This was also the reason why the Wraiths had occupied this military harbor for such a long time, but they were unable to do anything about these ships. Seeing the sea demon beast that suddenly emerged with a head not far away, and the giant steel black shark that raced forward behind it, He Yang stood up violently, a dangerous light flashing in his eyes. What are these sea demon beasts up to again? Why did they suddenly come out in such large numbers? Looking at the fact that they weren't coming towards her side, He Yang couldn't help but let out a sigh of relief. But the next second she was violently stunned. Crap, can it be that they're heading towards the Ting Xie ship? Is Sister Ting Xie also something you guys can move? When old me is dead, said He Yang as he instantly transformed into a destroyer. The torpedo tube slowly aimed at the group of sea devil beasts. Boom, boom, boom. A few black big guys in a row sped towards the sea devil beasts, and the huge energy contained inside burst out the moment it touched the sea devil beasts. For a moment, the entire surface of the sea instantly swept up huge waves. The four steel black sharks didn't even have time to resist before they were turned into pieces. Only, there were simply too many magical beasts in the sea. These four steel black sharks were not worth mentioning at all. Knocking them off, there was still a large group behind them. The sea filled with the smell of gunpowder kept surging. As for how many sea devil beasts had gathered underneath the sea, even with He Yang's experience of warring with the Forbidden Land for so many years, there was really no way to guess. Fuck, I still don't believe it, I really can't finish killing them, said the destroyer as it increased its speed a bit, heading towards the Ting Hitomi for support. These sea devil beasts were really a bit difficult to deal with. After more than a hundred years of fighting experience with humans, they were incredibly clear that as long as they swam at high speeds in the sea, 
there was basically no way for humans to take them. The various cannons of the He Yang ship kept bombarding the vicinity of the Ting Xia ship. The Ting Xia ship, which had been given special care this time, had gradually lost its strength under the attacks of the many sea devils. Admiral Dalby's controlled the sea devil beasts to ignore the Tsuru Yang and only attack the Ting Xiao from a long distance away. There was no other reason, compared to a light cruiser and a destroyer, the combat power of a light cruiser was too weak. Moreover, that woman He Yang, there is a great probability to be able to immunize the damage away. To open fire on her is simply a waste of time. Rather than focus on attacking the Ting Pupil ship, may be able to really take down. The Pavilion Pupil ship, under the 360 degree attack, also began to mess up. These sea devil beasts in the sea were simply annoying as hell. Even though she had already used her best cannons to blast them, they had little effect. A fireball exploded on the surface of the sea, and the ship was wildly shaken by the waves. Without waiting to kill the sea demon beast, the pavilion Hitomi ship itself could no longer support itself, and the Heyang ship had finally arrived in the nick of time. Damn devil beasts, why are there so many this time? Do you really think that the two of us are easy to bully? The ammunition of the Heyang ship fired wildly as if it didn't need any money. Looking at the large swathes of metal limbs on the sea surface, He Yang hooked his lips and smiled, and the Ting pupil was already in a bad state at this time, her voice couldn't help but be a little weak, He Yang, my ammo is about to be depleted, if we really fail this time, no, we can't fail, the voice of the Ting pupil number was violently raised, and he strongly supported his weak body, staring at the incoming enemy with a deadly stare, no way, even if the enemy was strong, they were the last guardians of this military harbor and even if it cost them their lives, they must not take a step back. Thinking of this, Ting Xie's gaze was once again resolute. The mind that had just been hit by the sea demon beast to the point of panic also gradually calmed down. On the surface of the sea, there were more than 50 sea demon beasts showing their heads, and the number of steel black sharks was even more countless, and these were by no means the total number of sea devil beasts. Afraid that under the sea surface, there were still unnamed sea devil beasts waiting to strike. What? Looking at the two huge battleships that were heading towards them, Ting Xie's courage that she had just summoned up once again sank to the bottom. It's over. This time it was really over. If the battleships were deployed, then with this disparity in firepower, there was no need to fight anymore. On the other side, Chen Mo and the others did not yet know that the Forbidden Land had already made a move against the military harbor. After the task at the front line came to an end, Chen Mo also planned to go home and rest. After all, Trying to take down the military harbor was still a little too risky without the ship girls. Chen Mo, after all the ship girls are in place, we'll prepare to launch a counterattack, and for the next few days, you'll just stay home and recuperate and recuperate. Let Qin Cheng send you all back. This side of the Forbidden Land has been destroyed, so I don't think there will be any danger for a short period of time. Zhang Chen said towards Chen Mo. This time, Chen Mo's destruction of the J area of the Forbidden Land was considered to have relieved their immediate needs and the work of fighting against the magical beasts could also breathe a little easier. Alright, if anything happens, contact me again. After saying that, Yi Qingcheng drove Chen Mo, Xia Zhang and Luo Dai directly away, while Zhang Nianqing stayed in the troop, her work was not over yet. Only, the crowd had just arrived home for a while when the doorbell rang. Ding dong, ding dong, Chen Mo was a bit flabbergasted. His family usually didn't have many friends coming to the door. At this point, who could it be? I'll go take a look. Xia Zhang got up and went over to open the door. Luo Dai's sour words caused Yi Qingcheng to laugh for a while. Chen Mo shrugged. Who was to say? Hello? Which one are you looking for? Xia Zhang opened the door to her room, only to see a tall and beautiful girl standing at the door, and couldn't help but ask curiously. Hello? My name is Wang Yuan. Does Chen Mo live here? The girl said in a soft voice, only with such a close distance. The girl's voice had long been carried into the living room, and the crowd all froze. Wang Yuan? Was it that Wang Yuan who had awakened an SSS class ship girl last year? And before Chen Mo's eyes, the picture from the information Yu Hongru had passed to him when he was attending the meeting instantly appeared. Crap, he hadn't even gone to look for her yet. Why did she come to the door on her own? Chen Mo hurriedly got up and walked towards the door. Sorry for the uninvited intrusion. Wang Yuan, led by Xia Zhang, happened to be walking towards the house, and for a moment, she struck a chord with Chen Mo. A flawless face. A tall figure. Although her temperament had some coolness, she didn't look that aggressive though. There was some resemblance to Yi Qingqing's flag, so it must have been in the maintenance force. Honed, Chen Mo sized her up, only to feel that this girl's appearance in reality was better than her photos. Simply stunning. Hello, I'm Chen Mo. For an SSS class ship girl to personally show up at my door, my little house is quite a sight to behold. 
Chen Mo extended his hand, and Wang Yuan gently shook it, looking at the three other girls in the room besides Chen Mo, especially when she saw Luo Dai, Wang Yuan's face changed slightly, although it was only a blink of an eye, it still allowed Chen Mo to see it clearly, unable to help it, in his heart, he was calculating the purpose of Wang Yuan's visit to the door, according to reason, the notice from the maintenance unit should not have been reached so quickly, even if it did, shouldn't Wang Yuan be in Magic City at this time? How could she have flashed to the imperial capital? And even, came to his house? Can't it be that she's been here for a long time? What for? To make a contract with him? It wasn't impossible. After all, his big name had long been famous in the maintenance forces everywhere, and it was possible that Wang Yuan had come here in admiration. You, know me? Hearing Chen Mao's words, Wang Yuan froze for a moment. I know that all of them are SSS ranked. I've also looked at a lot of witches that are also SSS ranked but haven't been contracted yet. I've read all of your information, Chen Mo said with a smile, don't stand outside and talk, come in, sit down and have a cup of tea and talk slowly, Luo Dai's voice came and greeted Wang Yuan into the living room, Chen Mo did not know, but Luo Dai had heard her mom say it, this Wang Yuan came to the imperial capital this time, and was running towards Chen Mo, however, now that she had contracted with Chen Mo, the things that had worried her before were long gone, from the quality of the machine lady alone, she was still quite adoring of Wang Yuan's SSS rank. Thanks. Wang Yuan looked at the three women and smiled faintly. To be honest, the contracted machine nymphs, including Zhang Yanqing, they were all bent on thinking about Chen Mo's future, and had already done their own thinking long before contracting with Chen Mo. Therefore, every time Chen Mo contracted a stronger mecha, not only would they not be jealous, they would instead rejoice over Chen Mo becoming stronger. Therefore, this time when Wang Yuan personally came to the door, Xia Zhang and Yi Qingcheng similarly did not have any hostility. They couldn't wait to see how strong Chen Mo would become after contracting with Wang Yuan. Carrier Battle Girl, when Chen Mo replaced her with a curvature engine, how high would that battle power be? At that time, a carrier war girl just stood there. Chen Mo as long as the supply of energy does not stop, for fear that directly can become the strongest defense tower and the strongest firepower output tower. What's more, Chen Mo's own commander talent was able to infinitely assimilate so it wasn't impossible to form a carrier battle team at that time, it was too fierce, say, is there something you came to see me about, Chen Mo asked after everyone had taken their seats, only to see Wang Yuan dwell on it for a while, as if she had figured something out, she took a deep breath and slowly told the story of her grudge against Wei Bin, for a moment, Chen Mo's face was astonished, Xia Zhang and Yi Qing Cheng, had a face of eating melon expression, Luo Xin, on the other hand, was like eating shit and simply wanted to vomit, that way Bin really isn't a thing, looking human-like, but inside is really disgusting, Luo Dai slammed the table, itching to destroy Wei Bin on the spot, what kind of thing is he, does he know what he's rejecting, that's the love of an SSS class ship girl, does he deserve it, thinks he's so awesome, but he was still rejected by me, what trash, Wang Yuan smiled bitterly, her eyes tinted with some ice, but I didn't let him have a good day today, stabbed him in the heart several times, you guys are not seeing his expression, he's simply going to die of anger. Thinking of Wei Bin's expression in the hotel corridor today, Wang Yuan really couldn't help but laugh. Chen Mo, speaking of which, I am truly thankful to you. This time when I came to the door, I actually wanted to seriously thank you. Thank me? Thank me for what? Chen Mo was confused. Today was the first time he had met Wang Yuan, and it wasn't like he had helped her do anything. In that party in the Hundred Battles Mercenary Corps before, although you may have been unintentional, but it did allow Luo Dai to smoothly reject him and punch him in the face, which is also considered to be taking out some of the bad anger for me. Thinking of Wei Bin being punched in the face by you makes me want to laugh, so I really thank you. Speaking of this, Chen Mo scratched his head in embarrassment. Why? At that time, I just felt that he had stolen my thunder and couldn't stand to see him acting like a pussy. That being said, at that time, if it wasn't for that randomized mission, Chen Mo would really not have cared about this mess. Chen Mo. In fact, there's one more thing that I've come back to the imperial capital this time. I specifically came to find you today, also to hear your opinion on whether or not you are willing to contract with me. However, it looks like you already have so many machine nymphs. Wang Yuan looked around the circle, only to see the three women looking at each other. At the sight of Luo Dai, Wang Yuan was a bit speechless for a moment. Was she in conflict with Luo Xun? How come one or two commanders want to contract her? Alas, maybe this is fate. Listening to Wang Yuan's words, Xia Zhang wanted to say something, but, in the end, she didn't open her mouth. She had wanted to say that Chen Mo's exclusive talent could contract many mechs, but looking at Wang Yuan's appearance, 
she seemed to mind Shen Mo contracting them. That was true. How could a high and mighty SSS class ship girl allow her commander to contract with so many mechs? It was better to take this matter one step at a time. If Wang Yuan did not intend to contract with Chun Mo, then there was no need for her to expose Chen Mo's secret. Why? Contract or not? We are already friends now, aren't we? I remember that way Ben and I still have a fight yet to be fought, so I'll definitely take out a bite for you when the time comes. Chen Mo looked like he didn't care, but in his voice, he was still thinking of taking a breath for Wang Yuan. To be honest, he really couldn't look at Wei Bin. It was annoying to look at. Po ha ha ha. Wang Yuan really laughed out loud when she heard Chen Mo's words. Thank you. You're really nice. However, the grudge with Wei Bin. I'm still prepared to return it to him personally. How he hurt me. I'll make his machinima hurt a thousand times ten thousand times. Wang Yuan coldly spoke. Then you must not hurry to indenture a commander first? Chen Mo asked suspiciously. Yeah, that's why I didn't come to the imperial capital to find you? After all the time I've spent picking and choosing, there's only one person I'm aiming for, and that's you, Chen Mo. I remember you saying that there are no wasteful witches, only wasteful commanders. Speaking here, Wang Yuan paused violently and raised her eyes to look earnestly into Chen Mo's eyes. Chen Mo, since you already have your permanent machine girl, I'll admit that I'm willing to make just a temporary contract with Chen Mo if everyone agrees. I don't have any great dreams, I just want to ruthlessly trample Wei Bin under my feet and make him apologize to me. After saying this, not only did Chen Mo freeze, the three women present also froze. To come all the way from Magic City to Imperial City just to make a temporary contract with Chen Mo to get back at Wei Bin? Wouldn't this be a bit like picking up the sesame and losing the watermelon? An SSS class ship girl who was willing to make a temporary contract with someone else? After all, Xia Zhang was a few years older than them. And for a moment, she felt a bit sorry for Wang Yuan, and couldn't help but hug her. Why are you so stupid? How dare you belittle yourself so much for an unworthy person? You're an SSS class ship girl. Your future is infinitely bright. How can you make a temporary contract with someone else? Wang Yuan froze, held Xia Jin's hand, and slowly spoke. Actually, I don't intend to permanently contract a commander per se, even without Wei Bin. Wang Yuan's words caused the crowd to be startled again, looking at her with questioning faces. Actually, there's a problem with my machinima system. My body is not good. I have a congenital heart disease, although it doesn't have any effect on my body. But once I transformed into carrier form or mecha form, the problem was exposed. The power system has a big flaw. If the commander wants to pilot me, he has to output 10 times more energy than a normal carrier. And if I want to rely on my own, myself to continue my voyage, the maximum time I can't exceed 10 minutes. Why should a ship girl like me have a commander? Even the most powerful commander would never pilot me for more than 10 minutes. I've looked at Chen Mo's data. And even he, I'm afraid, can only use me in imminent crises, and I'm afraid it's nonsense to want to use me in normal times as well. If I were to transform into machine girl mode, with Chen Mei's strong combat power, it should be possible to instantly kill an opponent in a short period of time. So, just a temporary contract would be fine. A permanent contract is simply dragging Chen Mo. Wang Yuan's voice was getting smaller and smaller, but it was firm enough to expose all of her flaws to Chen Mo, letting Chen Mo make his own choice. However, Chen Mo did not only not frown when he heard Wang Yuan's words, he even smiled. The three women even glanced at each other and tacitly did not open their mouths. Chen Mu had contracted a total of four machine girls, each of which he had replaced with a warp engine. So much so that in their minds, empowering an engine change was a matter of Chen Mo's word. Not a matter at all. Isn't it just a problem with the power system? Wouldn't it be enough to change the engine? Hearing Chen Mo's words, Wang Yuan's face became even worse. How can the engine of an SSS class carrier be changed just by saying so? I'm afraid that the engines on the market would only lower my grade if they were to be changed on me. Even if I really want to change it, I don't have that much money. By the way, that said, Wei Bin seems to have a talent that makes me very jealous. Thinking of Wei Bin, Wang Yuan even forgot about the loss and snapped. What? The two of us knew each other when we were kids, and at that time, I didn't have any problems with my body. It was later when I had a sudden heart attack that affected my power system. However, it's as if Weibin knew from the very beginning that there was something wrong with my system, and even, today, he even squarely told me about it. Hearing this, Chen Mo nodded. No wonder Weibin had been clinging to Luo Jin from the very beginning. I'm afraid that he had foreseen that Luo Jin would awaken a very powerful talent. Moreover, as Luo Dai's commander, Chen Mo was naturally aware of just how awesome Luo Dai's talent was. Wang Yuan couldn't help but look at Luo Dai. Is your talent very powerful? Otherwise, why does he keep stalking you? Luo Jin nodded. That talent of hers was indeed a bit heaven-defying. 
seeing Luo Dai nod, Wang Yuan completely deflated. She had always treated Luo Dai as an imaginary enemy, but she didn't expect that she would lose so completely. Dai's hidden talent is indeed very powerful, at least for me, it's simply heaven defying. However, I also have a talent, I don't know if you want to know about it. Chen Mei smiled and looked at Wang Yuan, her eyes serious. Your hidden talent? What is it? Wang Yuan asked with a curious expression. My hidden talent is infinite mecha synchronization. I can contract many, many mecha nymphets at the same time. That is to say, the three in front of you are my permanent mecha nymphets, and you, if you were to contract with me, I would only contract with you permanently. Chen Mo said this solely because of Wang Yuan's own behavior. He had seen Wang Yuan's sincerity in contracting with him, and he had seen it all in his eyes, an SSS class ship girl willing to lay out her flaws and make them clear, without hiding anything. Chen Mo was also willing to be honest with her. After all, Wang Yuan's power system problem could be easily solved by him, so there was a high probability that Wang Yuan would also become his ship girl. There would be no need to hide these things from her. What? You can contract many nymphs? The permanent kind? Wang Yuan's entire body was stumped in place. Then she looked at the three of them, Xia Zhang, only to see Xia Zhang, Yi Qingcheng and Luo Zhen nodding towards her with a smile at the same time. That's right, we're all his permanent machinima. Wang Yuan fiercely looked at Chen Mo again. What about me? Are you willing to permanently contract with me? Chen Mo hooked his lips into a smile and said as he looked at her with a smirk. I wouldn't have thought about a temporary contract with you. Hearing Chen Mo's answer, Wang Yuan's hanging heart instantly fell to the ground. A happy smile instantly bloomed on her face filled with astonishment. In fact, Wang Yuan was extremely attached to the choice of commander, or else she would not have been able to wait so many years for Wei Bin. And even after traveling far away to the magic city, she did not contact any other commanders for an entire year. The reason for choosing Chen Mo, and even exposing all her flaws to him, was also because Chen Mo's strength was indeed hard enough. Even if there were problems with her power system, Chen Mei's energy supply was enough to sustain her for a short period of time in battle. Originally, she had thought that a temporary contract would have been the best outcome, but who knew that Chen Mo would be willing to make a permanent contract with her, compared to the benefits Chen Mao could bring her. Sharing a commander with other machine girls seemed to seem unimportant at all. However, if you contracted so many machine nymphs, how are you going to use them? Can you use them all? Wang Yuan couldn't help but ask curiously. Since they're all contracted, wouldn't it be a waste not to use them? I can harness multiple mechs at the same time by remotely outputting energy. And I can even use myself as the core to connect all the mechs I'm harnessing for a 100% action fit. To put it bluntly, it's not just individual mechs I'm harnessing, but entire armies of mechs. Chen Mo was very patient as he explained to Wang Yuan. Hearing this, Xia Zheng concurred. When Chen Mo is driving us, no matter where he is, we can feel his presence. And even if they are far apart, it's like he's sitting in our cockpit. Hearing this, Wang Yuan sucked in a breath of cool air. Crap, this is too fierce. Doesn't that mean that if you indenture me afterward, we'll be a complete maritime army? Chen Mo nodded, and then, uttered the last and most shocking talent to Wang Yuan. You just said that your power system is flawed, but I'm still willing to pact with you, not because I'm confident in myself that I can provide you with sufficient energy for a long period of time in such a situation, but because I can be empowered. Unlike the empowerment of other commanders, my empowerment doesn't require the accumulation of energy. All the machine girls I contracted have already been empowered by me. Their engines, weapons, including big moves, I've empowered them all. Your power problem is not a problem at all with me. After you contract with me, I'll give you a new curvature engine then, and your problem will be solved straight away. And not only is the power system no longer a problem, your own quality will also be refined by leaps and bounds. Chen Mo was smiling, almost as if he was talking about what he was going to eat tonight. The light words, however, exploded in Wang Yuan's heart. For a moment, Wang Yuan's head went blank, almost on the verge of losing her ability to think. Curvature engine? Was this thing something that could be changed just like that? How many more surprises was Chen Mo going to give her? Wang Yuan couldn't help but be glad for this trip to the imperial capital. Chen Mo's talent was simply tailor-made for her. Compared to Chen Mo, Wei Bin was like a piece of shit. She really regretted a little bit why she had wasted so much time on an SS-ranked commander and wasting so much energy on him. Chen Mo looked at Wang Yuan's incredulous expression and did not rush her. No matter who else it was, I'm afraid they wouldn't be able to maintain their composure when hearing about these three heaven-defying talents of his. Then you keep your word. Let's contract now. Wang Yuan came back to her senses and hurriedly said towards Chen Mo. However, before the words were finished, she deflated again. What's wrong? Chen Mo asked suspiciously. The place is too small. If I transform, 
I'm afraid your little house will collapse. Moreover, my original body is an aircraft carrier, and I can't show up without the sea. You can't get into my cockpit. There's no way to deed. Shen Emo scratched his head, thought about it, and asked, What tonnage carrier are you? 100,000 class, length 360 meters, width 75 meters, in mecha form, probably a few hundred meters. Listening to Wang Yuan's words, the more Chen Mo listened, the more shocked he was. He had picked up a big treasure. If there was no problem with the power system, Wang Yuan was simply the strongest SSS class ship girl. However, because my body is just too big, my reaction speed is especially slow, no matter if it's in carrier form or mecha form. Only when I'm in the water is my home turf. If I'm on the ground, as long as the high-level magical beasts are a little bit faster, I can't do anything about it. Wang Yuan said with some embarrassment. However, this problem was simply not worth mentioning to Chun Mo. For the land battle, having Xia Zheng, Yi Qingcheng and Luo Zhen was already enough, and for the battle in the sea, I'm afraid that with Zhang Nianqing and Wang Yuan cooperating at that time, it wouldn't be a problem either. Chen Mo nodded, having an idea in his heart. Don't be too presumptuous, you ship girls don't need to fight alone per se, when the time comes, let them cooperate with you. I'm afraid that our counterattack against the magical beasts will be a breeze. Since you've come to the imperial capital ahead of schedule, I'm afraid that our plans to counterattack the military port can be greatly advanced. By the way deed, I'll report the situation to the top. If they agree, we'll send troops to the military harbor as soon as possible. The sooner we recapture the military harbor, the sooner we'll be able to occupy the high ground. Hearing Chen Mo's arrangement, Wang Yuan nodded. Tang City Seaport. The order to agree from above was quickly passed down, and after thinking twice on the command side, it was decided that Chen Mo would go to the Tang City Seaport Compact. This was the largest remaining seaport that humans could control on their own, and considering Wang Yuan's large frame, it was the only seaport that could accommodate her. You guys, backed up slightly. Wang Yuan said shyly. Xia Zhan was the first to react and hurriedly pulled the crowd back. Only after watching the crowd retreat to a place far enough away did Wang Yuan begin to transform into carrier mode. In an instant, the huge aperture erupted with blinding bright light. Boom, boom. The moment the aircraft carrier appeared, the entire ground felt like a magnitude 8 earthquake had occurred, and it was impossible to stand still. Luckily, this was a harbor, and the ground was reinforced, or else I'm afraid that the ground would have collapsed with just one blow. Three minutes later, a shocking behemoth appeared in front of everyone. 360 meters long, 75 meters wide, and dozens of meters high. This was also too handsome. Chen Mo glanced at Xia Zhen, who snickered and hurriedly transformed into a machine lady, carrying Chen Mo to the deck. If this didn't have some means, it really wouldn't be able to go up. At this point in time, the aircraft carrier did not have a single carrier plane, appearing to be a large empty area. While walking towards the cockpit, Chen Mo secretly resolved to make sure this aircraft carrier was full of airplanes in the future. Of course, this was all a story for later. The cockpit of an aircraft carrier was also called the island. The island was divided into several layers, with the top layer being various radar and communication antennas. This is to keep a close eye on neighboring ships and planes, intercept or jam enemy radar signals, detect and lock local planes and missiles, as well as carry out satellite calls and other functions. Looking down, there was the control center, with a lot of computers and communication equipment. These were things that would allow people such as air combat commanders to have a better understanding of aircraft movements. In the Machine Girl Chronicles, however, this feature is rather chicken feed. Further down the bridge is the carrier's operations and command center, the actual cockpit. This is where the commander pilots the carrier. This level was also equipped with a lot of high-end surveillance and display equipment, making it easier for the commander to control the situation. However, all of these instruments could be controlled by the ship girls themselves or with the cooperation of the commander. After Chen Mo walked into the cockpit, he was practically like a grandma Lu who was strolling through the Grand View Garden, looking at these devices with curiosity. Luckily, I don't have to operate all of these by myself, otherwise I really don't know what to do. Chen Mo spat. Just at this time, Wang Yuan's indenture was sent over. Chen Mo smiled slightly. Finally, I can have my own aircraft carrier. Name, Wang Yuan. Comprehensive rating, SSS class nuclear powered aircraft carrier, sanctuary archangel, applicable energy, nuclear energy, quantum shield, 18, 000, battle type, far offensive, contractual relationship, Chen Mei, previous temporary contract history, zero, body condition, 100% brand new, fatal flaws in power system, exclusive talents, absolute defense, absolute strength, strike, water treading, super fortress fortress, SSS grade hidden talents, 
Exuberance, in the state of exuberance, battle power can be continuously increased. Revenge, in a state of rage, terror power can be triggered. Crap, this is simply too violent. Absolute defense, absolute strength. Blast, wouldn't this be directly invincible if it took on a mecha form? The two hidden talents. The hyperactive state is understandable. But what is this vengeance? It's hard not to. Before starting a fight in the future, tell her about Weibin's bad behavior for two hours? But this trigger of this terrifying power, just how terrifying can it be? Chen Mo was really a bit curious. Ding. Congratulations on successfully contracting the SSS class nuclear powered aircraft carrier, Sanctuary Archangel. Ding. Congratulations on receiving a reward of 30,000 points. Ding. Congratulations on receiving a golden spiritual power card reward. Ding. Congratulations on receiving a curvature engine. The first time the contract rewards arrived, Chen Mo thought nothing of directly installing it on Wang Yuan. Wang Yuan, I'll start replacing your engine now. Yes. In one short word, Wang Yuan's voice unexpectedly trembled a little. She had never thought that she would have the opportunity to have her engine replaced. She thought that in her entire life. She was afraid that this would be it. Unexpectedly, she had really made a wise decision. Feeling Chen Mei in the cockpit, Wang Yuan couldn't help but feel her nose sour. Boom. The moment the empowerment ended, the interior of the carrier instantly erupted with an intense light. The light penetrated through the ship's hull, making the entire carrier look as radiant as the sun. This engine is so strong, I feel like my heart has been strengthened, Wang Yuan exclaimed, her voice filled with surprise. The sudden heart attack had severely damaged her power system, and because of that, Wang Yuan felt the feeling of being abandoned by her favorite person for the first time. After that, she was even self-doubting whether she didn't deserve a commander in her life. However, Chen Mo brought her new hope, perfecting her flaws. The curvature engine. This was a top-of-the-line engine that could not be bought for a thousand dollars. Chen Mo unexpectedly gave it to her just like that. At this moment, the new engine started within herself, and the incomparably strong power gave her a sudden feeling that she was even more powerful than before she got sick. This power was simply too terrifying, and with her current condition, she was unable to utilize it perfectly. Don't be too happy. I still have a weapon that's just right for you. Chen Mo took out the mega particle cannon that he had snatched from the Forbidden Land that time. The mega particle cannon attacked by firing a focused beam, a high speed stream of mega particles that magnetic fields in any ordinary armor could not stop. Obviously, this thing was the strongest armament of the battleship. Boom! In an instant, another dazzling light erupted from Wang Yuan's hull. Turn into mecha mode and see. Sensing Wang Yuan's excitement, Chen Mo said with a smile. In fact, Wang Yuan was much more excited to see her mecha mode than Chen Mo. Ka 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 ka. Accompanied by a metallic clashing sound. Wang Yuan began to change forms. The huge aircraft carrier looked like a huge steel demonic beast, looking incomparably majestic and domineering. All of the parts all tumbled and intertwined, and the aircraft carrier, which was originally floating in the sea, drew up in place and slowly transformed into a battle maiden that covered the sky and stood on top of the earth. Because of her overly large size, it took Wang Yuan not a short time to transform into mecha mode. However, Chen Mo was in no hurry and waited patiently for her final form. When the complete sanctuary archangel appeared in front of the crowd, everyone was all shocked in place. It was too majestic, too domineering, too handsome. The entire 300 plus meter tall mech emitted a metallic glow from every part of it. The powerful oppressive force was simply terrifying. The huge circle floating behind her back instantly turned into a huge shield in her hand when she waved her hand. Immediately afterward, the shield was to behind her back, her arm gently raised, the metal shell suddenly opened, and the huge cannon mouth hidden inside was exposed. In the other hand, it was a huge lance that was about 200 meters long. The sharp head of the lance erupted with the sound of air being torn apart as she made a sweeping motion, and the sea surface that was separated by a long distance was instantly stirred up with high waves, heavy armor, huge shields, hot weapons, cold weapons, whatever you want. No wonder people said that SSS class ship girls weren't in the same weight class as ordinary machine girls. This was too terrifying. A movable fortress of absolute defense. The shoulder of the sanctuary archangel was different from an ordinary mecha goddess. It was a flat and vast huge platform, and a small mecha goddess like Xia Jin could move freely on it without a problem. What did this mean? It meant that Chen Mo's contracted mecha goddess could completely cooperate with Wang Yuan in fighting in the sea, and could completely make up for her slow reaction shortcomings. So scary, but so awesome. Wow, I didn't expect Wang Yuan to be so much more powerful than me despite being just a little bit different in rank from me. If Wang Yuan had been with us when we ran into that demon monarch ranked demonic beast on sunset that day, I'm afraid we really wouldn't have lost. That's right, just this aura, this sense of oppression. I'm getting weak in the knees just looking at it. 
A few of Chen Mo's machinists were down below, looking at the behemoth in front of them, and couldn't help but sigh with emotion. Just as the crowd was exclaiming in astonishment, the bombardment and explosions that were faintly coming from the side of the Jin City military harbor, which was across the sea from the Tang City harbor, drew the attention of the crowd. Is that the Sea Demon Beast Army? No wonder the side is so calm today. Even an aircraft carrier appeared in the harbor out of thin air, and no Sea Devil Beasts came over to scout for information. But what was that group of Sea Devil Beasts attracted to? Hasn't that Sioux City military harbor already been occupied by its gate? As the saying goes, when one climbs up and looks at the distance, Wang Yuan looked at the Tang City military harbor from a height of 300 meters, and the huge Sea Devil Beasts looked like a group of densely packed dots in her eyes. Die die. Go over and take a look. Remember to stealthily block out their radar detection. Chen Emo frowned and told Luo Dai. The Jin City military harbor was their next most important target, and at this critical juncture, such a big commotion had erupted over there, which really made Chen Emo somewhat worried. Under the effect of the curvature engine, Luo Dai went fast and came back fast. Chen Mao, it's bad. So many sea devil beasts, and a battleship. It's besieging two of our divine dragon kingdoms light like cruisers and destroyers. It looks like they won't be able to hold out much longer. And the ammunition seems to be running low already. From a long distance away, Luo Dai reported the battle situation to Chen Mo through nerve sensing. Chen Mo instantly laughed. Wang Yuan, it looks like it's time for us to move around. The tall sanctuary archangel retransformed into its carrier form. Zhang Nianqing transformed into a deep sea nuclear submarine. Luo Dai transformed into a fighter jet. While Chen Mo burrowed into the cockpit of the explosive heavenly flame carp mech. At this moment, his gaze looked out in the direction of the Jin City military harbor. The distance was too far. Chen Emo was not able to see those sea devil beasts, but he was able to see the waves tossing in the distance. Chen Mo smiled faintly, then began to manipulate all the organic nymphs. Jin City military harbor. Sister Ting, hurry up and leave, with the strength we have. We can't beat them at all. He Yang shouted loudly, with this kind of disparity in strength, not to mention fighting, it would be a problem to survive even if we wanted to keep our lives. However, behind them, the huge steel orca had already blocked behind them, and the huge body of the orca demonic beast surrounded the two of them, not leaving a single path of retreat. I just sent out a distress signal, and I don't know if anyone can receive it and come to save us, Ting Xie said in a deep voice, but obviously she herself knew that with the human's current situation, she simply couldn't spare a hand to save them. The killer whales broke the road, and the battleships attacked head-on. The Ting Hitomi and the Tsuruyan had absolutely no place to hide. The aerial bombs kept smashing into the sea surface. The two lone ships were not stabilized at all by the waves, like a piece of driftwood, about to be swallowed up by the endless sea. The enemy's firepower was getting fiercer and fiercer. The indiscriminate bombardment on the sea had already overwhelmed them, but just at such a time, several fighter jets appeared in the sky, and their guns were also aimed at them. Obviously, this time, the Beast Grandmaster completely did not intend to give them a chance to live. At this moment, the ammunitions of the Pavilion Hitomi and the He Yang had almost run out. While there were still missiles hanging underneath the fighters, it was over. This time it was really hopeless. The Ting Hitomi's courage, which was already insufficient, completely disappeared. The Ting Hitomi's already insufficient courage completely disappeared. Even the eyes of the Tsuruyan flashed with a look of unwillingness but powerlessness. The rumbling explosions in the ears kept on going and the ship's body kept on rippling with the waves. Sister Ting, do you think it counts as a great hero if we both blow ourselves up here today? Count. The two women glanced at each other, and the He Young ship was ready to blow itself up, preferring to die rather than letting this group of devilish beasts take advantage of it. A destroyer and a light cruiser. If they blew themselves up, they would be able to use their last remaining heat to give this group of magical beasts a little taste. Just as the He Yang was about to detonate itself, a burst of bombardment suddenly rang out from the direction behind them. The He Yang jerked her head to look in the opposite direction, and in the gap in the middle of the giant killer whale fiendish beasts, silver white rays of light flashed in the sunlight. The missiles rushing through the air exploded above their heads, and the fighter jet was instantly wrapped in flames and shattered into a pile of broken brass. Sister Ting, we're saved. Saruyan's exclamation filled with surprise came from her ears, and the Ting Hitomi hurriedly opened her desperate eyes. How is this shell? So fierce? This. Is the flag of the Divine Dragon Kingdom? He Yang, pinch me, I'm not dreaming, am I? The pavilion pupil ship was a bit unable to react for a moment under the great surprise, and froze as it looked at the sea level behind it. A huge aircraft carrier glittering with a silver white light was approaching them rapidly at a fairly fast speed, the red colored flag on its hull fluttering in the wind. The sound of cannons erupting was incessant, but it was unmistakable to the two women's ears. 
For a while, the sea surface was exploding with pieces of steel everywhere, almost like an alternative sea of flowers, allowing the two women to see the hope of life. At the time of the shell bombardment, the sky a body red mecha body flashes with fire with lightning, is not precisely the explosive sky fire carp mecha, the black sword held tightly in its hand was swung out violently, and a killing energy was erupted. The fighter that kept circling in the air was directly chopped into two halves and fell into the sea under the blade's energy. Immediately, Bakuden Fire Carp's curvature engine was activated, and a flash appeared behind the fighter jet. The sudden enemy made the fighter jet a bit confused. However, the Bakuden Fire Carp's great sword had already cut down, and the fate of the fighter was only to crash. The pavilion Hitomi and the Tsuruyan had already been watching from below. Reinforcements. They had held out for such a long time, and had finally waited for reinforcements. For a moment, the cheering and the tears running out of their eyes erupted uncontrollably at the same time. Sister Ting, is that a destroyer or a cruiser? Why is she so big? Idiot, that's an aircraft carrier, much stronger than the two of us. This, this shouldn't be the enemy, right? Their shells aren't aimed at us. Well, it's reinforcements all right, and to be able to navigate such a powerful carrier, the commander should be very powerful as well. While the two were whispering, Wang Yuan, who had entered the battle for the first time in perfect condition, had long been ready to fire. Main guns in position. Target locked. Wang Yuan's voice was filled with suppressed excitement and thrill. How could one not be excited about the first battle in aircraft carrier form? Fire. Although Chen Mo was in the explosive Skyfire Carp mech, everyone's spiritual energy was all connected to him. With Chen Mao's order, all the cannons in the sky and in the sea were aimed at the sea demon beast. Boom. Boom boom. The orca beasts on the surface of the sea unbelievingly tried to resist these cannonballs, but they were all blown up dead, and the surface of the sea was instantly dyed red with fire. Below the surface, the steel black sharks thought that they could escape by hiding in the sea, but they didn't expect that they were facing a deep sea nuclear submarine. Zhang Yinching did not hold back at all, and blew up this group of steel black sharks, blowing them up. At this moment, the anti-aircraft guns were frantically blocking the missiles fired from the Warcraft side's battleships. However, this was harmless to Chen Mo. The heat wave that erupted from the continuous artillery fire hit his face. And Chen Mode, who was in the mech bay, was even stimulated to have his blood spilled. The missile base that Wiener had temporarily set up was also instantly overturned under Chen Mo's attack, like a volcano erupting, and huge amounts of energy erupted out. In the blink of an eye, the entire missile base devoured most of the Wraith army with a devastating momentum. All hits. The enemy missile base has been destroyed. Wang Yuan's report was conveyed to Chen Mo. Only at this time, Chen Mo was concentrating on close combat. At this time, there were many melee magic beasts surrounding the exploding Skyfire Carp. These magical beasts relied on their goodness in water and wanted to use this advantage to introduce the explosive Skyflame Carp into the water. And then it was up to them to decide whether they would live or die. However, although Bakudai Fire Carp was not good at water, but she could not help but fly. She steadily utilized her flying advantage to control the battlefield above the sea surface. As long as the sea demon beast showed its head, it was directly a barrage of bombardment, not caring what level it was, it was either a cannon or a knife. After disposing of these minions, Chen Mo's eyes looked towards the distant battleship that posed the most threat to them. Battleships were a very powerful type of ocean battleship, with very powerful main cannons and strong defenses. It was no wonder that the pavilion Hitomi and the He Yang had no resistance. Their ammunition, Hitting the battleships was like scratching an itch. It had no effect at all. Beam cannon lock on the battleship. Chen Mei's calm voice rang in Wang Yuan's ears, and Wang Yuan quickly responded. Locked on. Fire. A violent beam of intense light contained powerful particles that modern technology could not account for, and the moment it was fired, the entire time seemed to stop. The battleship on the opposite side didn't even have time to react before the command deck instantly disintegrated. The counterattack was quick and the battleship's missiles sped towards Wang Yuan. Chen Mo bellowed, intercept, the anti-aircraft guns churned frantically, and the anti-aircraft missiles were launched at the same time, like a beast roaring out, over the battleships, erupting into huge fireballs. The explosions of artillery shells kept coming from Chen Mo's ears, louder and denser than the sounds of artillery fire from the far outskirts of the leveling area. Only, unlike the far suburb practice area which was retreating, this time in the sea battle, after a few rounds of strong attacks, Chen Mo's side could almost be said to be unscathed. However, it was not possible on the side of the wraiths. The firepower on Chen Mo's side was too strong. They simply could not withstand it, and large swathes of the sea wraiths turned into a pile of debris. Drew's precious battleship was even blown out a big hole. In desperation, the battleship instantly began to transform into mecha mode. 
Although the speed of the battleship and mecha mode was a bit faster than Wang Yuan, its size was obviously much lower than Wang Yuan's, and it was only about a hundred meters tall. The big hole that was blown out was right on the mech's chest, and it looked a bit miserable. Yo ho, this mech isn't small. Wang Yuan, move closer to the light cruiser and destroyer side. Chen Emo gave the order. As Xia Zhen landed on the carrier, Chen Emo quickly retreated from the cockpit of the explosive Skyfire Carp and turned around to enter the carrier's cockpit. Teacher Xia, you go get the two of them back. Wang Yuan, transform. The moment Chen Mo's order fell, everyone moved at the same time. The 300 meter tall sanctuary archangel appeared above the surface of the sea accompanied by a clicking sound. His feet stepping on the surface of the sea, it was almost as if he was stepping on land, not moving at all. As for Xia Zhang, he directly took off and leaped towards the Ting Hitomi ship that was moored to the side. Come on, let's go big. Chen Emo lightly smiled, his gaze austere. At this moment, the Ting Hitomi and the He Yang had already been shocked into speechlessness by this scene. The two were especially dumbfounded when that massive aircraft carrier transformed into a holding mech that was about 300 meters tall. Crap, the opposite battleship's mecha form is also too big. This is at least more than a hundred meters. This, this, this seems to be even bigger. Crikey, this is towering over the clouds. Compared to them, the two of us are really miniature. Listening to the conversation between the two, Xia Zhang snorted out a laugh. To be honest, being comrades in arms with such two living treasures was really quite interesting. When Chen Emo had just jumped off his own cockpit, he had secretly told himself that she should come over to see if these two shipgirls were good to get along with, and if it was possible, it wouldn't be a bad idea to take the two of them under her wing at that time as well. Therefore, Xia Zhen smiled, and then began to give the two of them a vocal explanation. I don't think you guys have contracted with the commander yet, right? This form is the final form of our machine girl, and only after contracting with the commander can you transform into a battle girl. Like me, I belong to the small mecha. Although I'm relatively small in stature, I'm fast and strong oh. He Yang and Ting Hitomi were living like two little kindergarten babies, listening to Xia Zhen's words and nodding every now and then. They had just seen the way Xia Zhen looked when he killed the monsters. It was simply not too valiant, strong and powerful. And coming to save them, these two points alone were enough to make the two obedient. At the same time, Chen Emo piloted the sanctuary archangel and also headed towards that battleship mech. Don't look at that battleship. It wasn't too tall but its battle power was really not weak. Chen Emo had really struggled a bit when he wasn't paying attention. After a slight reprieve, he utilized the performance of the Sanctuary Archangel to its fullest. Its speed, maneuverability and firepower skyrocketed as far as the eye could see. While defending against the battleship Mecha's attack, it searched for an opportunity to attack. The Sanctuary Archangel was practically on the surface of the sea as if it was on land, completely unaffected by the seawater. And slowly, her speed and maneuverability advantage came into full play. With a beautifully sharp glide, she pulled herself far enough away from the battleship mech to be safe. And then, with a drift, she stirred up a violent wave. The surrounding air was brought up by her in a gust of wind. And under Chen Mo's deliberate efforts, the wind even gradually formed a huge tornado. The seawater slowly rotated under the effect of the tornado, soon creating a huge whirlpool, which was expanding bigger and bigger. A large number of sea devils lost their center of gravity in the vortex and were swept up uncontrollably. Although the battleship mecha was also sinking and floating, it finally stabilized its body. However, the large hole in his chest had already caused a great impact on his performance long ago. And at this time, in the face of the commander's orders, he was no longer able to respond in time. Seeing this scene, the left hand of the sanctuary archangel placed that huge shield behind him, and the pitch black muzzle of the cannon slowly revealed itself. The mega particle cannon aimed at the battleship mecha, and dazzling light instantly poured out. Drew's brow furrowed so much that it could literally pinch a fly, forcibly controlling the battleship mecha and dodging the cannon in the nick of time. What's more, he utilized his seasoned maneuvering to pull the distance between himself and the sanctuary archangel far, far away. Can't. It wasn't a good idea to just stand and take a beating. Only by launching the strongest attack could he fight his way out. Drew took control of the mech and slowly stretched out his hand. An aperture-like Iron Man shock beam slowly rising from his huge palm, the moment it was aimed at the sanctuary archangel, a blinding light instantly erupted. Seeing that this beam of light was heading straight for him, Chen Emo directly lost his movement. With such a fast speed, no matter how fast his reaction was, he was afraid that he wouldn't be able to avoid it completely. Seeing the intense light coming head-on, Chen Emo simply did not dodge. Base state shield. As Chen Mao's words fell, a transparent energy shield instantly lit up around the Holy Domain Archangel. Under the fierce attack, this base state shield even faintly trembled. 
Chen Mao tightened the smile at the corner of his mouth and maneuvered the sanctuary archangel, slowly raising his left hand, the pitch black barrel of the cannon aimed at the hundred meter tall mecca. In an instant, huge amounts of energy gushed out, and a particle beam thicker than a large arm ran towards the mech's chest. With such speed, Drew saw that he couldn't dodge it, and tried his best to invoke the reverse propulsion device, moving quickly towards his back. Even though he activated his base state shield at the first opportunity, the shield was shattered the moment it was hit by the attack. Drew's movements were already very fast, whether it was backing up or the activation of the base state shield, it was almost all done in the blink of an eye, but the attack power of the sanctuary archangel was simply too strong, and the mech was still pierced through a large hole in its chest, the bright light dimmed down, and Chen Emo looked at the battleship mech that was half kneeling on the surface of the sea for a moment and was a bit confused, Agu, this mech's life is really hard, this is not dead, at this moment, Drew's cold sweat drenched his clothes, and his eyes flashed with a hint of fear. Fortunately, the cockpit and energy core of the battleship mech were separate. At that time, when he set the cockpit above his head, he still always felt a little unsatisfied. But at this time, it was simply wise to look at it again. However, the sanctuary archangel only used one move to make Drew completely recognize reality. He was simply no match for this huge mecha in front of him, and their actions today were considered a kick in the teeth. The 36th plan was the best. Drew dropped the broken and tattered mech and decisively dug into the water, escaping. Chen Emo looked at the sea soul beast that had come to meet him, thought about it, and ultimately didn't chase after him. The beam cannon was indeed very strong, but it was also very consuming for Chen Emo. Looking at the energy that had been drained from him, Chen Emo still stopped in his tracks. It wasn't impossible to kill them if they pursued them to the death. It was just unnecessary. It was good enough that the battleship mech stayed behind, and it would also be easier to conduct research on this giant mech that they had never seen before. Chen Emo was also really curious. This mech was different from their mecha goddess. It was a standalone mech, constructed entirely out of steel. It was indeed very interesting to study. Chen Mordecai took a step closer to the battleship mech. While that battleship mech attacked towards Chen Mordecai with the last of its strength, the muzzle of the sanctuary archangel's left hand disappeared and transformed into a large, powerful fist that met it hard and fast. Boom! After the loud roar, the sanctuary archangel stood firmly on the surface of the sea, not moving at all. Nay! The battleship mecha was already at the end of its strength. How could it withstand such a strong blow from the sanctuary archangel? In a moment, the hundred meter tall body swayed and plunged headfirst towards the sea. Turn into carrier form. As Chen Mo's words fell, the three hundred meter tall sanctuary archangel slowly transformed into an aircraft carrier. Maneuvering the metal winch, Chen Mei held the battleship mech steady. The research value of this thing was very high, and even if it was of little use to them, at least the accessories all over him were an astronomical sum. As they headed towards the shore, several other people who had already completed Chen Mo's orders had already gone ashore. The pavilion Hitomi and the He Yang stood on the shore waving their hands towards the aircraft carrier. Wang Yuan greeted the two in a good-natured manner. Hello there. Hello hello hello. I'm the Trin Hitomi. Thank you for saving us. Wow. An aircraft carrier. You're really awesome. Arriving at the shore, Wang Yuan put Chen Mao down and then turned into human form as well. Wow. Sister's body is really good. He Yang is very battered. This ninny. He Yang. Although she had reached her age, her development was as if she hadn't kept up with it, and she looked like a small child. At this moment, looking at her with a look of envy, the crowd could not help but burst out laughing. Seeing Chen Mao appear on the shore, Ting Xia and He Yang were also attracted on the spot. Are you the SSS ranked commander? Hello? Ting Hitomi looked at Chen Mao from top to bottom her mind recalling what Xia Zheng had told them. He Yang, on the other hand, didn't have that many thoughts and spoke his heart out loud and directly. Are you the strongest commander in the imperial capital that sister Xia said? Would you see if my lucky lord He Yang can join your fleet? Chen Emo hooked his lips and smiled slightly, secretly giving a thumbs up towards Xia Zheng. This brainwashing mission of Xia Zhen's was really well accomplished. At least both of them looked more inclined to become his ship girls. There's no hurry yet. You guys go back with me first. Go back with you? Then are you willing to contract with us and become our commander? The pavilion Hitomi also hurriedly jumped over. Chen Emo nodded and shook his head again. The contract was definitely a contract, but more or less, he had to talk to the top. To be honest, the harvest that this sudden battle had brought to Chen Emo was also very bountiful. However, in the midst of such a strong battle, some of Chen Mo's minor problems were also exposed. Chen Mordecai tapped on the commander's panel, preparing to give his mechs a little optimization. Battle Result Statistics Hunted, Minion Class C Double Beasts, 426 Battle Soldier Class C Double Beasts, 53 
Battle Admiral Class C Devil Beasts, 8. Energy Crystals, Slave Class Crystals, 426, total, 3719, War Soldier Class Crystals, 53, total, 453, War General Class Crystals, 8, total, 47. Points, 173,764. Soul Power, 17560, total, 57560. Seeing that Annihilation's points had also reached 40,000, Shin Ammo directly strengthened Annihilation to level 3. The next upgrade would require 80,000 points. Annihilation level 3 effect, feedback. Each evolution boosts the core attributes of the commander and warjacks by 10%, and currently feeds back by 30%. Subsequently, Shin Ammo used 12 Warlord grade crystals to upgrade the Red Flame Crosscut by 2 levels, increasing the damage by 20% and the attack range and distance by 20%. Another 12 Warlord grade crystals were used to raise Beyond Death Sphere by 2 levels as well executing the enemy's life value cap and increasing it by 10%. Lastly, was the power of the beam cannon. Today, Chen Mo had used the beam cannon a total of two times, and surprisingly, neither of them had completely decimated the enemy, which was really a bit nagging to him. Therefore, Chen Mo directly used two 000 minion grade crystals to upgrade the beam cannon to level 2, directly increasing its firepower by 10%. Then he used another 14 Warlord Grade Crystals to streak the Sanctuary Archangel's Rage to level 3, increasing its damage by 30% and its attack range and distance by 30%. After Chin Ammo had upgraded all that he could, he tested it. It had to be said that the crystals were really well spent and the effects were quite good. With today's sea battle, and having upgraded all of his mechs, it was certain that the next time he encountered a sudden situation like this, Chen Ammo would be able to fight a little more steadily. At the very least, Things like letting the enemy drop their mechs and run away could not happen again. The group went directly to Chen Mo's underground kingdom. That battleship mech was also transported over. Chen Mo was still quite curious about that battleship mech. If he could study his specific operation principle clearly. And by the way, see if there were any safety hazards in his interior. If not, it might be good to be a gatekeeper for his underground kingdom. And when it was time to match with the desperate nano wire, it would be directly invincible. Moreover, the level of the battleship mech is also high enough that ordinary intruders are afraid that they can't even enter. The other thing is to carefully study how this battleship mech converts between battleships and mechs. This is very puzzling. When Chen Mo arrived at the underground kingdom, there were already quite a few people waiting there. Chen Mo was not too surprised. After all, he had done his debriefing in advance. This was the first time that humans had fought against a magical beast and fought back successfully in a battle. It was indeed enough to make everyone wildly excited about it. However, there were also some of them, faces he hadn't seen before. A little girl who looked like she was not yet an adult was holding a flat plate that was bigger than her face, writing and drawing on it from time to time. What surprised Chen Mo was that this girl was actually the daughter of Jiang Hai, the principal of their school, but this was all an afterthought. Jiang Yingying, a rigorous researcher specializing in data flow, was also a researcher and developer. With a pretty face, a small melon face, she looked to be just 16 or 17 years old but already had a gentle temperament. Although she only wore a simple white tee and light blue jeans, it was this simple outfit that attracted many people's attention. Then what is that silver white giant mech? The person beside Jiang Yingying asked. Jiang Yingying quickly clicked on a small software she had made and said, Look, that's it, the Sanctuary Archangel, second place on the Imperial Capital's battle power ranking. Hearing Jiang Yingying's words, the people in the neighborhood also gathered around. Eh, how come you only have the second place on this tablet? Who's number one on the battle power list? Hearing someone ask, Zhang Yingying's face remained unchanged as she slowly spoke. The first place is a very mysterious mech, and an extremely special mech. As early as a few years ago in a big battle, she disappeared. No one knows where she went. I'll go. You're not mistaken with this battle power list, are you? All the commanders from the second to the sixth place are Chen Mo? What kind of situation is this? I'm not very clear about Chen Mo's hidden information, but I know that he's only a two-star commander, but he's already ranked as the number one commander in the imperial capital. Not only is this guy number one, but he's also a commander rank that was only awakened this year. Is this still human? I've heard that he's the one who turned the tide of battle several times in a row, and the higher-ups are preparing to vigorously cultivate him. Eh, isn't that Chen Mo? Damn. So young, and so handsome, give someone a way out. Zhang Yingying heard the exclamations of the people around her and hurriedly followed their line of sight. Her pupils could not help but shrink. It's him. The moment she saw Chen Mo, Zhang Yingying hurriedly pushed away the people around her and headed to Chen Mo's side and squeezed her way to Chen Mo. And Chen Mo's entire body was also a bit confused. He was returning to his own territory. How did he make it seem as if he was the outsider? With great difficulty, 
he managed to squeeze his way to the front door. Chen Mo was about to rush in, when he suddenly heard a girl's call ringing out from behind him. Chen Mo, Chen Mo. The girl's voice was loud and exceptionally clear. Despite the chaos at the scene, her voice drilled into Chen Mo's ears. Chen Mo turned around and looked, only to see the little girl waving and shouting towards herself. Chen Mo hurriedly asked Yi Qingcheng to go over and fetch the person. What's wrong? Is there something you're looking for me for? I want to take a closer look at that battleship mech that you broke. Okay? The girl's eyes as big as grapes were watery as she looked at Chen Mo. And for a moment, Chen Mo didn't really know how to refuse. Ching Cheng, check her identity. If there's nothing wrong, let her in. After saying that, Chen Mo walked in with large strides. At this time, the battleship mech had already been pulled into the underground kingdom. Jiang Yingying, who had passed the inspection, couldn't wait to rush in and saw the battleship mech at a glance. Can I use the instrument? Jiang Yingying asked Chen Mo. Chen Mo looked at the girl and then at Yi Qingcheng. Who is she? Your school principal Jiang Hai's daughter. Jiang Yingying is a researcher. Chen Mo thought of that chubby principal and frowned. Jiang Hai's daughter. How could she come here? However, the girl was really good looking, and the way she was holding the tablet in her hand, she was really competent. Yes, Chen Mo was also quite curious about what exactly she wanted to do, and simply agreed to her request. Jiang Yingying didn't expect Chen Mo to be so good at talking. So she immediately took off the school bag on her back and took out a notebook. Immediately after, she also took out two rectangles of about 20 centimeters from the bag and placed them on each side of the battleship mech. To Chen Mo's surprise, the two rectangles quickly turned into a doorframe robot. Immediately, a light blue light screen appeared, scanning the battleship mech back and forth. And on Jiang Yingying's laptop, a bunch of binary codes that Chen Mo could not understand appeared. To be honest, Chen Mo was truly shocked. This little girl didn't look too old. Was she so bullish? Chen Mo's shock only lasted for a few short minutes. After Jiang Yingying went through some operations, the battleship mech's database was built in those few minutes. Not only that, she even made a mech model. No matter if you clicked on any position on top of the model, the database data could be called up synchronously, and the attributes of each component would be displayed very intuitively in front of the crowd. With a skeptical heart, Chen Mo personally scanned the model, and surprisingly, there was basically not much difference with the data made by Jiang Yingying. For a moment, Jiang Yingying was even more highly regarded. This Jiang Hai, with such a powerful daughter, was hiding so deeply? Tian Tian said that his commander rank was not high, but never mentioned this daughter of his once in school. Seriously, Chen Mo was really a bit impressed by this software of Jiang Yingying's. If this software was installed in the maintenance system, just by scanning it, all the information of a mech could be analyzed. Even if it was only useful for metal materials known to mankind, it would be a great effort saver. As for the unknown metals that the Wraithfong had brought from another planet, even if it couldn't be analyzed, that wouldn't hurt. Chen Mo could do it himself. How is it? What did you analyze? Chen Mo asked curiously. This mech is indeed very different. No matter if it's a steel wraith or a prisoner mech, it has to catch their own biokinetic energy. But this mech, it's a pile of metal itself. It has no life. So it doesn't need biokinetic energy at all. As long as there's a controllable fusion reactor to provide energy directly combined with its kinetic energy core and chip, and then endowed with all kinds of systems, it's fine. However, this thing also has a big flaw, which is that it doesn't have a strong kinetic energy continuity, unlike the commander, which can transform and provide energy. Zhang Yingying looked at the various data on the laptop and said to Chen Mo. Chen Mo nodded and asked, if you want to repair it and use it, what do you have to do? Hearing Chen Mo's question, Zhang Yingying pulled up the database modeling. If you want to use it, the battleship mech's chip, Fire control system, avionics system, all have to be replaced, especially the chip, it's the main part that controls it, if they tamper with the chip, it's likely to be remotely manipulated. Seeing that Jiang Yingying looked as if she knew everything, Chen Mo suddenly remembered those treasures in the commander's warehouse. By the way, have you ever heard of the energy tesseract? And missiles like this, have you ever studied them? Jiang Yingying did not answer. Instead, she pressed the keyboard to crackle, and soon, Another set of databases and modeling was sought out. Are these the ones? With just one glance, Chen Mo froze in place on the spot. Detailed data, detailed descriptions of each part, roles, everything. Are you willing to contract with me? Seeing these things, Chen Mo did not hesitate any longer and asked bluntly, Don't look at this little girl's young age, but she had notable abilities in this aspect of research, and it would inevitably be Chen Mo's regret if he missed her. Only Jiang Yingying's expression snapped to joy. When she was at home, she hadn't heard her father talk about Chen Mo, the first genius of the imperial capital, 
who had topped the battle power ranking within a month of awakening. Of course that mysterious mech didn't count, so much so, in the face of Chen Mo's contract invitation, Zhang Yingying couldn't wait to agree to him now, but, but I'm still a week short of adulthood, not to mention that it's not certain what kind of grade I'll awaken in the future, in case I awaken an F-ranked mecha by then, will you regret contracting me? Won't regret it, I'm looking at your person, not your rank, facing Jiang Yingying's question, Chen Mo naturally would not regret it, putting aside the fact that Chen Mo could contract countless mechs in his own right, there was no harm in having one more or one less, when the time came, it would be best if Jiang Yingying awakened to a higher level, and even if her level was not ideal, it would not be a big problem, he had a lot of mechs, and even more powerful ones, however, there was not a single one who was engaged in research like Jiang Yingying, her greatest asset wasn't her rank or her perfect looks, but her brain that no one could replace, as for the fact that Jiang Yingying still had a week to go before she reached adulthood, this was something that Chen Mo was not in a hurry for, having gotten the girl's heart, would he especially be afraid of not getting her contract? Yes, Chen Mo's answer answered to Jiang Yingying's heart. She agreed without hesitation. After receiving Jiang Yingying's consent, Chen Mo led her to the manufacturing room. Yingying, can you make a small thing that reduces noise? The size doesn't have to be too big. Chen Mo had just finished asking when he saw Jiang Yingying rummaging through her bag. Soon, a small orb-like thing was pulled out of the bag. This can reduce the vibration of the surrounding medium. After listening to Jiang Yingying's explanation, the feeling of making a big profit in Chen Mo's heart became even more obvious. This little girl was truly a genius. In this area of research, she was really talented. This little girl was really a genius in this area of research. Although the technological content of this gadget was not high, but it was practical, and it was really shocking that she took it out when she said she would. After putting this gadget away, the crowd also walked to the manufacturing room. Chen Mo took out the desired demon core from the commander's warehouse as well as the divine will demon cube and handed it to Zhang Yingying. These two things, try to see if you can parse them out. That prisoner mecha she brought out from the forbidden land she might be able to help you out a bit. If you can, try to give me an answer as fast as you can. Guan Xiao had already been repaired by Chen Mo, although she had suffered a lot of injuries at the time, but after all, she was a mecha, and as soon as some parts were replaced, she was alive and well again. Moreover, Chen Mo had already forcefully logged into her machine nymph system and manipulated her status. Guan Zhao's status in the Forbidden Land was not low, and she knew a lot of secrets about the Forbidden Land, so there was no chance that with her help, Zhang Yingying would be able to quickly complete the data decryption. With the Forbidden Land destroyed, the work in the far outskirts of the leveling area was a lot easier. So Yi Qingcheng was dispatched to the underground kingdom to temporarily take charge of various matters here, and with Zhang Nianqing's help in repairing it, Chen Mo was able to stay busy and take it a little easier. However, he also had very important things to do. Before attacking the military harbor, the missiles he had snatched from the Forbidden Land would have to be put to use. And first of all, a missile base would have to be built, so that the fight would be a little more secure. As for the Ting Hitomi and He Yang ships, they also needed to be remodeled and upgraded. When the next attack on the Jin City military harbor comes, it is inevitable that they cannot return empty-handed again. Yuan Yuan. I'm going to run some errands first, so wait here for me to come back and we'll go home together. Wang Yuan couldn't help but blush when she heard Chen Mo's words. Don't look at the righteousness of his words, but his right eye that blinked gently revealed the meaning of his words. Good. Wang Yuan was a little embarrassed, but her heart was thrilled. Unexpectedly, she had been a faulty derelict shipgirl the day before, and this night she had become a perfect top-class shipgirl. Her heart couldn't help but feel a bit grateful that she had really been blessed to run into such a perfect commander like Chen Mo. Her powerful talent had finally been put to use. On the other side, the three of them, Wiener, Beria and Drew, did not have a good face at this moment. Especially Drew. His face was grim. He was so close to dying in this battle. Wiener's face was also dark and scary. Obviously, this battle had made his situation even worse. Bang! Beria's hands clenched into fists and violently slammed into the table in front of him, and a furious voice suddenly rang out. Fuck! In all the years that I've been here on Blue Star, this is the first time I've been beaten up like this. A bunch of lowly low-dimensional creatures. How dare they? Beria's face was red with anger, and his teeth creaked as he bit them, looking frightening in the quiet room. Under his anger, he violently copied the water cup on the table and smashed it on the opposite wall. Hearing the sound of Belial losing his temper, Drew's entire body was like a lion that had blown up, and his fire intensified. In this battle, not only did he almost die, his precious battleship was also snatched by that group of blue star people. He was the one who lost the most. Okay. For a moment, Drew's eyes flashed with a dangerous glint, 
and the veins on his forehead instantly bulged. Didn't you start this fight? What qualifications do you have to take the piss here? You guys just lost the battle. Which one of you can compensate me for my battleship? Do you guys even realize how much effort I put into that battleship? Belial, what did you tell me yesterday when you asked for it? Have you forgotten? Drew's voice of suppressed anger rang in Belial's ears. And it was then that Belial slowly came back to his senses. Drew had always been the strongest existence among them, always offering them help. And this time it was because of them that they paid the price of a battleship mech. Thinking about this, Belial's anger instantly disappeared. Wiener also deflated after being yelled at so much by Drew. Chenmo's battle power this time is indeed very different from what I know. According to my previous investigation, he wasn't this strong at all ah. I don't know why, but he suddenly became so strong. Wiener and Chen Mo were also old rivals. But every time he saw Chen Mo, Chen Mo would become stronger. This time, it was even more frighteningly strong. The main thing is that he's even openly and honestly working on my forbidden area Jace territory. Does he have us in his sights or not? Drew, can you tolerate this? Drew was also in over his head right now. And in the face of huge losses, he really didn't want to listen to Wiener's brainwashing rhetoric anymore. That forbidden area J is your territory. What does it have to do with me? I don't believe that you don't even have the strength to snatch the territory back. Belial followed up with. I didn't do well yesterday either. My right hand man Dalby's died as well. And a large number of the sea devil beasts I've been saving up for so many years died as well. Thinking about this, Belial was unspeakably heartbroken. Speaking of losses, Wiener was even more distressed. He had already lost a large batch of resources when the Forbidden J area was destroyed itself. This time, he had directly pulled out all his family's resources, who knew that all the missiles would be destroyed before they could be launched. Belial, can you lend me some polymer mechs? I want to use my last crushing resources to bring down the entire Imperial capital completely. And at that time, I'll share half of all the resources of the Imperial capital with you. To be honest, Wiener's idea of breaking his back did make Beria a little heartbroken. However, his losses yesterday were also too heavy, so much so that he was a little hesitant, or at least couldn't just say it like a headless fly. It's not impossible to lend it to you, but we have to come up with a foolproof plan first. Don't fight unprepared battles, or in case of failure, it'll be a complete game over. Drew, I know you're angry about losing a battleship mech, but can you summon back the Lord class magical beasts from your region that were previously backed up over in Mordor? With them backing us up, we can be more certain of winning. Drew also had a tangled face at this time. However, after fighting with Chen Mo, Drew also knew that this time he had kicked the iron plate, and if he didn't take out some real strength, he was afraid that he wouldn't be able to win. Alright, but I have just one Lord class magical beast here, but there are three more commander class magical beasts, and like the battleship mechs, there are only five of them left at full strength. Belial, your polymerization mech is actually similar to mine except slightly smaller, so don't hide it. This time, Put your best foot forward and be bound to completely occupy the human region. As Drew's words fell, Belial chimed in. Good. Since you said so, then we will definitely take revenge this time. On Chen Mo's side, after overseeing the start of the construction of the missile base, Chen Mo had nothing to do, so he took Wang Yuan back home. Although Wang Yuan had already been to Chen Mo's house last time, she had a different experience this time around. The moment she opened the door, her hormones began to soar. Even the temperature of the cold and quiet room was raised quite a bit. Wang Yuan's delicate little face was colored with a slight blush. Chen Mo's heart. Chen Mo's heart swirled, and he immediately indulged in Wang Yuan's tenderness. The next day at noon, Chen Mu woke up from his sleep. Looking at the exquisite face beside him, Chen Mei really did not want to get up. Closing his eyes, he checked the commander panel. To be honest, all of the mechs that Chen Mo had contracted could fly, except for Wang Yuan. Therefore, Chen Mo always thought that if one day, he could give wings to an aircraft carrier as well, and build an airborne mothership, that would be too cool. However, it was really difficult to get a flying accessory that could carry an aircraft carrier. If you want to buy it from the human world, I'm afraid it's impossible. Not to mention whether Chen Mo has that much money, even if money isn't a problem. Whether there are accessories to buy, it's still another story. Looking at the commander's mall, an S-class accessory required 250, 000, 000 points. Chen Mo smacked his lips. He had saved up his points for so long, but it was only 170, 000 points, so he simply couldn't afford it. In that case, he could only draw a lottery. Chen Mo's luck had always been very good, and he didn't know if he would be able to draw what he wanted this time. Supreme Lucky Draw Pool, 100, 000 points to draw once, can obtain A or S grade accessories, S grade 1% probability. Ordinary Lucky Draw Pool, 50, 000 points to draw once, 
can obtain B grade or A grade accessories? 1% probability of A grade. Why not? Don't pick the right one. Just pick the expensive one. Anyway, there are enough points. In case I draw an S grade accessory, then I've picked up a great bargain. Chen Mo resolutely pressed the supreme lucky draw button. Chen Mo hurriedly closed his eyes, folded his hands together, and silently recited, Heavenly Spirit, Earthly Spirit. After a ding, Chen Mo's one eye squinted up and glanced at the lottery results through the slit. After just one glance, Chen Mo was so happy that he almost didn't jump up. Auxiliary Superconductor Weapon, Holy Silver Wings, S. The thin, razor-thin metal feathers are hollow inside, and when connected to the engine system of the mecha, when activated, a terrifying airflow can be generated from all the feathers of the wings. Not only can the carrier lift off into the air, but it can also gain powerful flight speed, and during battle, the hollow metal feathers can also be used as a weapon to form wind blades to slice the enemy apart. Crap, what do you think? Being able to take off and speed up at the same time, this simply complements the curvature engine, an airborne mothership, not a dream. For a moment, Chen Mo's body was trembling, and his breathing couldn't help but worsen. Chen Mo looked at the sleeping Wang Yuan beside him and thought in his heart, when we go on the next expedition, we'll load her up. Subsequently, Chen Mo looked at his commander's warehouse, which also had all sorts of equipment, especially those sea devil beasts that were beheaded yesterday, the equipment on their bodies, but whatever was useful, were all picked off by Chen Mo. Looking at these equipments, Chen Mo suddenly had the idea of remodeling the Ting Hitomi and the He Yang. The destroyer was directly transformed into a large firepower. And the light cruiser, Chen Mo wanted to install an electromagnetic cannon on her and get an electromagnetic light cruiser out. As for the mecha forms of the two of them, let's wait for when the contract is made and get it done. Thinking of this, Chen Mo sent a rough program to Zhang Yingying to see if it was feasible. It was already 2 o'clock in the afternoon when they arrived at the underground kingdom. Zhang Yingying was holding the analysis results for final review. How's it going? Chen Mo's voice came from behind him, and Zhang Yingying glanced at him and replied, Ideally, it's fine, but this thing's radar system, avionics system, fire control system and control system all have to be replaced. The main thing is that there are a lot of accessories that have stopped production and are no longer available. Chen Mo looked at Zhang Yingying's notebook and said, It doesn't matter. Adaptability, kinetic energy and load bearing are fine. I'll take care of the accessories. Chen Mo directly took out the equipment that he had taken from those sea devil beasts that he had killed yesterday. Looking at the big guy that suddenly appeared in front of her, Zhang Yingying raised her eyebrows. I throw. Compared to Chen Mo casually taking out so many big guys, those small things of hers, in an instant, gave her a feeling of not being able to get on top. Oh, you put such a big cannon on someone's little girl. You're not afraid if the two of them can handle it or not. Well, then study it again. Zhang Yingying stroked her eyebrows. And according to these cannons that Chen Mo took out, she restarted modeling and analyzing. The calm days only lasted for three TJ City military harbor side then came the information of the Wraith agitation. Chen Mei rushed to the harbor with his men at the first opportunity to get ready for battle. Wang Yuan transformed into an aircraft carrier and became the strongest city wall of the human maintenance force. Chen Mei snapped back to the goodies he had drawn in the lottery that day. Yuan Yuan, transform into mecha form and I'll give you a goodie. Chen Mo, you've given me enough. Give them a share of the goodies too. Don't give them all to me. Wang Yuan had already lost hope for the contract as early as when she learned that she had a heart condition. And now, to be contracted by Chen Mo and have a very powerful engine replaced, she was already very content. No, it can't be given to them. This equipment can only be utilized to its fullest value if it is fitted on you. I'm going to make you the only air and sky mothership in the entire imperial capital, the entire divine dragon kingdom, and even the entire blue star. Chen Mo's voice rang out, and not only Wang Yuan, but everyone present all froze. An empty sky mothership? That was something that only existed in science fiction movies. Once it lifted off, it was the strongest aerial turret, overlooking the entire ground and causing the most powerful firepower suppression on the ground. Don't worry, this superconducting weapon belongs to the auxiliary class of equipment, and none of MS, Xia and the others can use it. Hearing Chen Mo's explanation, Wang Yuan then nodded. In three minutes time, Wang Yuan transformed from her aircraft carrier form to her sanctuary archangel form. At the same time, Chen Mo's empowerment unfolded smoothly. The holy silver wings were fitted onto the sanctuary archangel's body little by little by Chen Mo. For the entire half hour, everyone present did not dare to breathe for fear of affecting Chen Mo's empowerment. With Chen Mo connecting the silver wings to the engine system, this empowerment was considered to have ended successfully. Boom! The moment the empowerment was completed. A violent silver-white light erupted from the back of the sanctuary archangel. The dazzling light slowly dimmed, 
and a pair of holy silver white feathered wings slowly appeared. The crowd present trembled violently when they saw the scene. The silver white feathered wings were simply as if they were tailor made for the holy realm archangel, and the fit was simply perfect. Ka 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 ka. Accompanied by a metallic clashing sound, Wang Yuan controlled the wings behind her to slowly unfold. Countless metal feathers, each one was like a blade, incomparably sharp. Under the illumination of the sunlight, it flashed with the sharpness of a razor blade. The feathers shook continuously, and the air passed through the hollow feathers to form a powerful airflow, and the entire surface of the sea was blown by the waves. Buzz, rumbling sounds iterated. The powerful air currents swirled crazily in the thin feather congregation, soon creating a powerful air pressure. One could only see the legs of the sanctuary archangel slightly bend, and then, violently stomping towards the sea, the gigantic wargirl, which was more than 300 meters tall and weighed an unpredictable amount of weight, instantly shot up into the sky. In an instant, the crowd present directly exploded. Crap, the aircraft carrier is flying. Are these wings so awesome? It can actually make even such a heavy aircraft carrier take off. I'm afraid Chen Mordor isn't even talking big. He's truly prepared to personally create an air carrier out of it. Holy, Domain Archangel is afraid that it's going to become our aerial fortress. Now, no matter how strong the wraiths are, it'll be a descending blow to us. Under the crowd's exclamations of surprise, Wang Yuan's movements weren't over yet. Those silver wings slowly began to flap, and every time they flapped, a terrifying air current could be rolled up. The silver wings flapped very slowly, but under Wang Yuan's control, even with such a slow flapping speed, it still allowed the sanctuary archangel's huge body to float steadily in the air. Chen Mu Chen Mu, look at this, I can really fly, I can do aerial combat too. Compared to the others, Wang Yuan herself was the one who was the most surprised, feeling the sensation of taking off into the air. Wang Yuan's entire body was overwhelmed with excitement. By the way, Chen Mo, will my use of these wings drastically consume your energy? Wang Yuan's only remaining shred of rationality made her rush to ask. It's fine, my energy conversion speed far exceeds the speed of providing you with energy. Don't worry, Chen Mo hooked his lips into a smile and patiently replied. To be honest, he had also thought that supporting Wang Yuan's use of these wings would definitely consume a large amount of his energy, or at the very least, would make him feel a sense of oversupply. Who knew that Chen Mo had absolutely no problem with a lack of energy at this time? And even, it felt similar to the usual energy he provided to Xia Zhang and the girls, an auxiliary S-rank equipment, but it was so energy-saving? Yuan Yuan, transform into the air and space mothership form. Upon receiving Chen Mo's order, the massive warjack began to slowly transform into an air carrier form. The sound of metal clashing was unceasing, and the moment she transformed into an aircraft carrier, those wings were retracted. Only that it was only affixed to the sides of the carrier's hull, and even if it wasn't unfolded, it continued to provide her with the ability to fly, allowing her to float steadily in the air. Chen Mo, I really can, will I be able to fight in the air in future battles as well? Moreover, my deck is exceptionally large so I can also provide you with a landing spot. Chen Mei smiled and nodded, then said, You're an airborne mothership now, using you as a stepping stone can be a bit of a big deal. As Chen Mordor's words fell, several of his other mechs instantly transformed, the explosive heavenly fire carp, ice phoenix, undead reaper, and heavenly dome battle voice all dodged under the effect of the curvature engine and rose directly into the air, standing firmly on top of the deck of the airspace mothership. The four of them walked side by side to the edge of the deck and looked down. Zhang Yanqing stretched her hand out, fantasizing in her mind about the scene of firepower output. Wow, this deck is really big. If there were more machine girls, hundreds or thousands of them would be able to make long-range attacks at the same time. I'm afraid that they would be able to directly create the most terrifying firepower blockade. Yi Qingqing shook her head. Imagination is beautiful. Reality is boneheaded. If we really use the air mothership like this, it would be too much of a waste of Wang Yuan's firepower output. Xia Zhang walked over and heard Yi Qingqing's words and nodded as well. Indeed, Wang Yuan's mecha form is her strongest form. Whether it's long range or process, whether it's attack power or protection, it's simply flawless. Xia Zhang's words caused the other three women to nod at the same time. A ship girl that was over 300 meters tall was simply fierce. You guys be careful oh, I'm getting ready to land. Wang Yuan's voice came out as the carrier floating in the air slowly descended. Boom! Even though the carrier's descending speed was already very slow, the moment it made contact with the sea surface, a loud bang still erupted. The four women on the carrier, as she fell into the seawater, also jumped to the ground in unison. Chen Mo walked out of the cockpit and jumped down as well. The members of the maintenance force were even more shocked when they saw the scene, exclaiming, Chen Mo is really bullish. Such a high aircraft carrier, jumping when he says so, 
nothing happened at all. I won't be able to catch up with Chen Mo in this lifetime. Even his exhaust, I'm afraid I won't be able to see it. Luckily, we are humans and are of the same kind as Chen Mei. Otherwise as his opponent, I really want to kowtow to him. At the same time that the VPC forces were getting ready for battle, Wiener and the others were also ready. Beria had suffered heavy losses in his outing, so much so that when he faced Chen Mei again, he had simply made all preparations, with every detail being done quite well. Wiener was simply impatient with his caution. Beria, can you please hurry up? By the time you study the research again, the yellow flowers will be cold. Regarding Wiener's urging, Belial only turned a deaf ear, still calculating earnestly, making sure that everything was on schedule. After my analysis of the combined power of the humans, as well as the intelligence that Qin Shou provided me with earlier, I am confident in this battle, including that super large mech of Chen Mei's, it's by no means our opponent, and will give him a direct decapitation in the opening round. A hint of killing intent flashed in Wiener's eyes. For insurance purposes, I'll leave those five-headed polymerization mechs of mine to you. Take it easy with them. They're more precious than even the five-star prisoner mechs, and their strength is equal to that of a commander level. Listening to Beria's instructions, Wiener only felt annoyed. Got it got it. However, with a five-headed polymerization mech in hand, Wiener felt like he could do it again, and his confidence in wanting to break through the human defense line was even stronger. This time, Wiener, Beria, and Drew, could be said to have really pulled out all the treasures from their bottoms. Thousands of iron demon beasts and hundreds of prisoner mechs were deployed, and among them, there were many five-star prisoner mechs. This time, they were trying their best to fight with the humans in the final battle, and were bound to take the human area of the imperial capital. With the large amount of resources hidden in the imperial capital, it was enough to attract them to make a break for it. On the other side, Chen Emo was also making his final deployment before the battle. Ying Ying, with this radar jamming system of yours, there won't be any problems with the distance and effectiveness, right? Aya, uh, you've asked so many times already. I personally made this thing, and I've already checked it no less than 10 times. Absolutely nothing will go wrong. Zhang Yingying replied with a helpless face. Just at this time, the observers suddenly transmitted intelligence. A large number of magical beasts are heading in the direction of the missile base's engineering team. Upon hearing this news, Chen Mo ordered at once. Missiles, launch. The moment that missile base received the command, it directly launched several eagle missiles towards the Wraith army. Wiener had already prepared for this and snorted. Chen Mo, you didn't think I would fall in a pit twice in a row, did you? My missiles are gone, but Belial has them. Wiener's spitting voice fell, and the steel lion and tiger, hidden in the back, suddenly had black holes of missile launchers rise up behind it. A few anti-aircraft missiles directly intercepted most of the missiles launched by the maintenance force. And although the two missiles that were missed smashed over, the Wraith army wasn't affected too much because there were five polymerization mechs carrying them in front. Hoomph. Childish means of attack. You're done attacking. It's my turn. Wiener maneuvered the missile launcher and fired towards the missile base. Seeing this scene, the corner of Chen Mo's mouth could not help but hook up. In fact, that missile base was nothing more than a blindfold. It was just a few unimpressive batteries that had been snatched from the Forbidden Land earlier. The purpose was to expose the enemy launchers and Wiener had indeed fallen into the trap. Get rid of them. The steel lions and tigers hiding the launchers had already been discovered, and the vertical launching silos on top of the Ting Hitomi and Saruyan had already locked onto them at the first opportunity. Boom boom boom. A large number of eagle missiles simply blasted furiously towards the group of steel fiends like they didn't need money. Seeing this scene, Wiener's face instantly turned pale. How did they get so many missiles? Wiener's entire body shouted out in shock. So many eagle missiles were simply out of their expectation. Logically speaking, yesterday's fight was so intense, the humans' long-range missiles should have been left with very few awe. Taking the vertical launch silos on top of the two ships where did they come from? These steel wraiths didn't have specialized anti-aircraft guns, they simply couldn't intercept so many missiles. For a moment, Wiener's mind went blank. But of course, he wouldn't know that when Chen Mo then went to the Forbidden Area J, he not only snatched the desired demon cores, but by the way, he also went to his weapon base and took a lot of the highly configured missiles along with him. Of course, ordinary people can't do it. But Chen Mo has a commander's warehouse. How much can be loaded all depends on how much he wants to load. With these several hundred eagle missiles, he still felt that he had taken less. The missiles rang for half a day. But Chen Mo did not wait for the enemy to return fire. You're not going to fight? Then I'll do it. Aim at the enemy's low-ranked magical beasts. Kill the wrong ones if you can. At that moment... The bombardment sounds that resounded throughout the battlefield once again began to rise and fall. The pavilion Poople and Crane Yang ships were loaded with rather terrifying combat weapons by Chen Mo, 
as if they were trying to pay for themselves the other day, one cannon after another, not caring if the enemy died or lived. For a time, smoke filled the entire battlefield. Huge mushroom clouds rose up into the air, and there were fragments of the corpses of the steel demon beasts all over the place. The cold electronic voice in Shen Mo's head kept reporting the progress of the points, and from time to time, the sound of obtaining equipment fragments would also be heard. The continuous artillery fire had directly blown the low-grade magical beasts apart, and the war soldier and war general-grade magical beasts were able to survive by relying on their hard physical qualities. They thought that they would be able to survive if they escaped the cannon fire, but who knew that the explosive sky fire carp was waiting there early? Annihilation flickered with pitch black light in the sunlight, perhaps sensing the flavor of blood, buzzing and trembling with excitement in Xia Zhang's hands. After Chen Mo's upgrades, the war admiral level magical beasts were just child's play for Xia Zhen. Under the acceleration of the curvature engine, all the steel magical beasts fell to the ground wherever the explosive heavenly fire carp passed by. At this moment, Wiener also knew that he had fallen into Chen Mo's well designed trap. Desperate, he could only devote his gaze to the sea. Under Wiener's command, the prisoner mechs and steel wraiths directly attacked towards the sea, regardless of whether it was the prisoner mecha or the iron demon beast. At this time, the means of long range attacks were quite lacking, and melee combat was the only way for them to get away. It was necessary to close the distance with the humans. Only, would Chen Mo not do as he wished? The 2155mm lightweight cannons that Chen Mo had previously snatched from the far outskirts of the leveling area had long since been retrofitted by Zhang Chen. Moreover, there was an ample amount of cannonballs, and there was no more hand-to-hand -hand combat in the face of this group of steel wraiths. 30 years east of the river, 30 years west of the river, there was no fooling the VPF to be poor. What's more, Chen Mo promised Zhang Chen that after this battle, he would add some more sword god precision guided missiles to him, so much so that it didn't even hurt when Zhang Chen fired the missiles. As for Wiener, he looked at the cannonballs that looked like rain, and his entire body went a little crazy. I'm so damned. Where did this group of doggone humans get so many missiles? Impossible, absolutely impossible. Their core technicians are dead and missing. How can they still be alive? Being so close to death, Wiener's head was messed up into a paste, deeply plunged into great fear. The increasingly violent roar of artillery fire in the surroundings made Wiener completely disorganized. His mind kept thinking of various ways to deal with it, and finally decided to put up a fight. With the polymerization mechs and high star prisoner mechs that were in the lead, he slowly drew closer towards Wang Yuan's side, and all of this was seen by Chen Mo. Recalling all of his own mechs, Chen Mo's eyes lit up as he said, Let's go! It's time for us to get to work! Chen Mo mounted the explosive Skyflame Carp mech and headed towards the dark passage that led to the Forbidden Land of Jin City. Before leaving, Chen Mo did not forget to bring Zhang Yingying with him. This girl could be very useful. Guan Xiao, who had been repaired and controlled by Chen Mo's mental power, followed at the end of the group. In fact, the reason why he had used firepower to suppress and bring great pressure on Wiener before was actually to make him feel fear so that he would take out all his backing. The missiles firing wildly like they didn't need any money was also just to stall for time. Under Jiang Yingying's precise calculations, they found a shortcut that was the quickest and most suitable for getting through. Jiang Yingying was in charge of commanding, Chen Mo was in charge of providing energy, and the crowd of mechs were in charge of firing the cannons. Soon, the obstacles in the passageway were completely bombed away. Buzz. The curvature engine erupted, and the crowd of mechs transformed into a trail of shadows and disappeared in place. Gradually approaching the interior of the Forbidden Land, the explosive Skyflame Carp took out the Annihilation that had been upgraded by Chen Mo. The three-level Annihilation had changed greatly in appearance from the two-level Annihilation, and the original black body of the blade was now glowing with a blood-like red color, and the overall length of the blade was also slightly lengthened. Feeling the enormous energy contained in the Annihilation, Chen Mo's heart suddenly had a strong sense of security. The moment he entered the interior of the Forbidden Land, Chen Mo knew that he had made the right bet. Wiener had indeed applied the vast majority of the Forbidden Land's power to the battlefield, while only a small portion of their internal guards remained. Moreover, of the portion left behind, a portion of them were scientific researchers, devoid of any combat capability. The Ice Phoenix Mecha, with the Phantom Sound Gun in its hand, fired a shot at the crowded area. The powerful pulse directly stunned the people, and even those who had some combat ability couldn't react in such a sudden situation and fainted. Explosive Skyfire Carp copied Annihilation and lightly cut down the people who fainted and killed them all. One slash at a time, without mercy. This place wasn't the core of the interior of the Forbidden Land yet after all, so their raid was quite successful. But just as they were about to go in and head inside, a sharp alarm suddenly came from the radar detector, detecting the presence of multiple mechs of a higher rank than ours in the vicinity. Please respond in time. Commander, Chen Mo's steps forward instantly stopped. 
multiple? Higher rank? Wouldn't that have to be a commander class magical beast? Chen Mo's spirit was shaken for a moment, and he hurriedly ordered, attention on guard. Just at this time, a mech that shone with a blue light appeared in front of everyone's eyes. Yi Qingcheng did not hesitate and fired directly at the mech. But the hundred tested pulse attack was as useless as scratching an itch when it hit that mech. Pulse immunity. Saying that, he hurriedly drove the warp engine and quickly backed away towards the back, pulling away from that mech for a distance. Yi Qingcheng had just retreated away, and immediately behind that mech, several identical blue light mechs came out, holding submachine guns and firing directly at Yi Qingcheng and the others. Quickly get out of the way. Chen Mo burst out, and the women hurriedly retreated behind the cover. But the blue light mech didn't care about that. Firing wildly, bursts of energy swept towards the crowd. Chen Mo manipulated the explosive skyfire carp and released all the energy stored in the annihilation blade. And in a moment, an energy field was formed. The moment the energy field appeared, the blue light mech that was in it was directly affected by the strongest impact. The gunfire stopped, but immediately after that, the sound of metal bursting from the destruction of the mech rang out, and blinding flames exploded on the body of the blue light mech. Chen Mei copied the annihilation blade and slashed directly at the blue light mecha. Unexpectedly, such a slash that was full of power was only able to leave a deep crack in the body of the blue light mech, but it did not completely split it. Ooh, it's still really hard. Zhang Ying Ying's voice rose at the right time. Chen Mao, 10 o'clock direction, full force chop. Knowing the blue light mech's weakest point, Chen Mo did not hesitate and slashed up. Accompanied by the blasting sound of bared teeth, the blue light mech collapsed to the ground with a loud bang. Ding! Kill blue light chaotic starfield mecha. Obtain S-class spiritual intelligence magic cube asterisk 2. A-class microcore submachine gun asterisk 2. Listening to the beep in his head, Chen Mo did not procrastinate at all. And with his hand, he directly killed several other blue light mechs in the energy field that had suffered serious injuries as well. The exact same reward was given to several. Not waiting for Chen Mo to be happy. These blue light mechs suddenly changed. The metal armor on the surface slowly receded, revealing the flesh inside. The looks were completely different from humans, and their blood was unexpectedly blue, which made Chen Mo squint. However, Chen Mo was a bit more curious about the spiritual intelligence magic cube than their true appearance. At that time, the one that was snatched from the forbidden area J was the magic cube of divine aspiration, which glowed with a glistening green light, while this magic cube of spiritual intelligence glowed with a blue light. It definitely looked like the grade was higher than the divine will magic cube. As for what exactly it was for, he was still confused. Whatever, it's S rank anyway, so it definitely won't be bad. Thinking of this, Chen Mo led the crowd to continue towards the core area of the Forbidden Land. The Forbidden Land on this side of Jin City was clearly much larger and a bit better developed than the J zone that Chen Mo had previously fought down. It was thought that this place also contained the heart and soul of many magical beasts. An area of nearly a hundred square kilometers was enough to shock Chen Mo. The speed of the curvature engine was pulled up to full speed, and it took several minutes for the group to arrive at the mech's refitting area. Ying Ying, start parsing and see if Guan Xiao can help you. Everyone else, keep a lookout. Without saying a word, Zhang Ying Ying directly started connecting and debugging the various systems, preparing for correlation systems such as biological and neural. Under Chen Mo's control, Guan Xiao began to autonomously construct the environment for the use of the Desire Magic Core. Chen Mo himself, on the other hand, was in charge of the most complicated transformation furnace. Environment construction complete. System debugging completed. The conversion furnace is functioning normally. Energy conversion is normal. Desired Demon Core purification successful. Hearing the electronic tones one after another, the crowd looked at each other and let out a deep breath. Chen Mo grasped for time and entered the control stash. Neuron and Desire Demon Core Building Connection, Bioenergy being accessed. Connection successful. In an instant, Chen Mo felt that a very marvelous feeling had arisen between himself and the individual that the Desire Demon Core had previously controlled. Chen Mao snapped. Success. Chen Mo, I will assist you and disable the stance shield of the entire Forbidden Land. Shutting down the Forbidden Land stance shield was also one of the purposes of Chen Mo's deeper penetration into the Forbidden Land this time. The stance shield was the strongest guard of the Forbidden Land of Jin. If the stance shield was not turned off, the vast majority of the attacks from the Vigilance Force would not be able to destroy a single point of the Forbidden Land. Instead, all of the Forbidden Land's attacks would fall on the Vigilance Force. The Intrusion Recognition System has been reset. Enemy Recognition System has been reset. Soon, the entire Protection System of the Forbidden Land all fell under Chen Mo's control. Utilizing the Desire Magic Core, Chen Mo directly gave the order to stop attacking to all the controlled magical beasts and prisoner mechs. Chen Mo's side was not much affected, 
but the front battlefield of the maintenance force was directly under no pressure. Wiener manipulated the convergence mech and the high star prisoner mech to sneak towards Wang Yuan. He was about to succeed in his sneak attack when all of his mechs lost control and stopped moving. At this moment, Wiener was like a fish on a chopping board, sending himself into the tiger's mouth. Looking at the motionless mechs around him, Wiener was simply furious and jumped to his feet. This kind of situation has never happened before, even before when the desire magic core was lost. These magical beasts are still able to maneuver normally. How could Wiener have imagined that the Forbidden Land had already fallen? He thought of retreating back before making plans, but he was really unwilling. One after another by the human counterattack, their own beasts also died out. Stored for a long time missiles are also gone, and even their own territory has been taken away. This time, it was hard for him to bring his mechs to touch over, and he was about to get within range to successfully stage a sneak attack. As a result, such an accident occurred again. Wiener, who was completely out of options, thought about it and contacted Beria. Belial, I'm now at the end of my rope. The only way for me to fight with the humans now is to fight to the death. Maybe I can still fight for a way out. At this moment, Belial was in another battlefield a hundred kilometers away from Wiener. And when he heard Wiener's angry tone, he froze. What do you mean? Belial, the batch of magical beasts used to attack the imperial capital. Give them all to me. Or else I'm afraid your polymerization mechs will all be wiped out. Wiener, what the hell are you doing? I gave you five polymerization mechs. How dare you can't even take down a small harbor? Beria asked himself. Among the three of them, Wiener's allotted battle power was the strongest. But he was surprisingly the first one who couldn't hold up. Thinking of this, Beria's anger instantly erupted. Damn, these cunning humans don't know where they got so many missiles. I've already been bombarded furiously for 20 minutes. Wiener was really a bit aggrieved and had a hard time speaking. His words were like a pot of cold water. Extinguishing Belial's anger instantly. Wiener's forbidden area, Area J, was the most prolific place for missiles at that time, and he was the only one who bombed other people, and there was no other person who bombed him. To be able to make Wiener say such words, I'm afraid that his situation was already really bad. Wait for me. I'll head across now. Without waiting for Wiener to reply, Beria directly gave up attacking the Imperial capital, and with the Wraith army, turned around in place to go back to the Jean City military harbor. After Chin Mo had finished decapitating all of the small portion of the remaining magical beasts in the Forbidden Land, he brought his witches and rushed back with the fastest speed possible. They rushed back to the front line of the battlefield as fast as they could. Although Wang Yuan was at the helm, and the pavilion Hitomi and He Yang were assisting from the side, Wiener's high-level prisoner mechs were really scary. However, seeing the battlefield where the artillery fire suddenly decreased, Chen Mo knew that his plan had worked. After explaining the current situation to Wang Yuan and the girls, Wang Yuan was stunned. Oh, it's even possible? Wouldn't this be a no-brainer to win? Teacher Xia, let's go get rid of the high-level magical beasts, and leave the weaker ones to the maintenance forces. Good. As the words fell, the annihilating blade began another round of slaughter under the sunlight. Chen Emo sat in the mech bay and coldly watched the situation outside, even without him making a move. With Xia Zhang's current strength, dealing with these magical beasts would be a breeze. As he killed, a large number of red dots on the radar detector attracted Chen Mo's attention. This is what Guan Xiao said. Another forbidden land force, right? However, the red dots did not pack towards them. Instead, they clustered together and did not move. Chen Mo manipulated the hundreds of low star prisoner mechs and slowly approached those small dots. If they did not move, then they would pack them later. If they wanted to reap the benefits of fishing, then they would simply not be allowed to live. After all, the magical beasts and prisoner mechs that Wiener had brought with him were all under his control now. But Wiener didn't know that his mechs had been manipulated by Chen Mo. And when he saw those prisoner mechs suddenly move, he thought he was saved. Scared me to death. I thought I was going to lose my life at a young age. However, not waiting for him to be happy, those mechs only treated him as air and crossed over him, heading towards the way they came. Damn, damn damn damn, the target of attack is over there. Where are you guys heading? What a bunch of losers like a person who was about to drown and managed to grab a piece of driftwood, only to have the driftwood shatter into crumbs in an instant. His mindset was simply like riding a roller coaster, with big ups and downs. Wiener looked at the prisoner mecha that was far away from him while looking at the aircraft carrier that was getting closer and closer. Wiener completely gave up struggling. The wrath of the sanctuary archangel. After Chen Mo gave Wang Yuan a boost in her combat power last time, the effect of her hidden talent rage had directly increased by a notch. With its diameter soaring to more than a hundred meters, and its intensity had also clearly increased, the violent impact swept towards Wiener. At this moment, Wiener gently closed his eyes,
feeling his body being swept up a hundred meters into the air by the tornado mixed with the waves. Although this amount of damage was not enough for Wiener to die straight away, the mental insult was simply la full. In fact, Wang Yuan did not kill him, after all, Chen Emo said that he would leave him a life, and that he would still be useful when the time came. It is true that Wang Yuan did not kill Wiener, but the process did make Wiener worse than dead. Wiener, who had already given up struggling, had his entire body washed up into the sky, and along with him were those mechs that had lost control. As a high-latitude intelligent being, Wang Yuan's playing around like this was simply rubbing his face on the ground. Under the shame and anger, Wiener didn't hesitate anymore and directly pulled out his strongest weapon, S-Class floating missile. This thing was his bottom card. Not only was it powerful, but it also had excellent penetration. He just didn't know the effect of hitting the aircraft carrier, whether it could directly pierce through its copper-walled mech shell. Borrowing the thrust of the waves rushing into the sky, Wiener jerked upward again when he reached the highest point. The muzzle of the cannon was aimed straight at the carrier's deck. After bombarding me for so long, come and taste my cannons too. In an instant, the floating missile fired, at a super high speed, blasting towards Wang Yuan. The moment the floating missiles locked onto Wang Yuan, Wang Yuan's machine girl system instantly began a high energy warning. The base state shield was instantly turned on, and she quickly changed her position. However, the danger factor of the alert remained high. Wiener's face revealed an almost maniacal expression as he aimed for the aircraft carrier's head. Chen Emo manipulated the explosive Skyfire carp and approached Wiener with a state of haste that was indiscernible to the naked eye. Red Flame Crosscut, the move whistled as it chopped towards Wiener, and the move unleashed by the upgraded Annihilation had long since changed radically from the faint blade aura that it had initially been. The reddish body of the blade, in the moment it was chopped out, it was accompanied by a huge amount of flame energy. Wiener didn't dare to carry this move, and had no choice but to quickly dodge it. A portion of the blue light lifeforms and green light lifeforms that were not under the control of the desired demon core hurriedly surrounded Wiener's side, raising their micronuclear submachine guns and firing them towards Chen Mo. Nay, the speed of the explosive Skyfire carp was simply impossible to capture with the naked eye, so much so that, none of the bullets were able to hit her. Exploding Heavenly Fire carp copied annihilation and quickly flashed between the group of lifeforms, decapitating a piece of lifeforms at every place she arrived. Wiener hadn't completely given up on the idea of survival at this point, bracing herself to raise the floating missile and attempt to fire this shot out. Even if he was going to die in this battle, he would never be killed so easily. If he could blow up the carrier that would be a big profit. If he could blow her up and injure her badly, that would also be a small profit. Under the cover of the group of blue light lifeforms, Wiener single-mindedly aimed at the aircraft carrier. Only at this time, Luo Dai had already broken through the defense line and his fighter form directly transformed into the Sky Dome battle sound mecha. Luo Dai bellowed, and the electromagnetic railgun suddenly fired. Boom! Although this cannon didn't directly kill Wiener, it basically blew him up. Fighting for his last breath, Wiener raised the floating missile and slowly pressed the launch button with his finger. Right at this moment, an intense beam of light blossomed from the body of the explosive sky fire carp. The beam staggered through all the blue light mechs and went straight through Wiener's body. Decimate! Beyond the fear of death! Chen Mo's second ultimate move directly decimated Wiener, who was short on life value. It wasn't that he was afraid of Wiener turning the tide against the wind. It was just that the war was almost over, so it would be too much of a loss if he injured his mech again. Therefore, Chen Mo simply executed the man directly without giving him any hint of a chance to strike. The moment the light dissipated, a familiar voice instantly resounded in Chen Mo's mind. Ding! Killed the purple light Ghanaian Boolean planet lifeform, obtaining S rank Divine Aspiration Tesseract Asterisk 2. S-Ranked Floating Missile Asterisk 2, S-Ranked Technical Parser, the series of S-Rank rewards directly made Chen Mo dumbfounded, this was too cool, getting rich in one battle, but what the heck is, this Technical Parser, S-Class Technical Parser, can parse all material composition elements, composition principles and core technologies in the universe, seeing the profile of the Technical Parser, the question that had previously plagued Chen Mo had an instant answer, no wonder these magical beasts from another planet were able to possess so, no wonder these magical beasts from another planet were able to possess so many cutting-edge missiles that were much more advanced than Blue Star's technology. I'm afraid that it was because they possessed the technical parser. With this thing, when the time comes, those developed cutting-edge products are still afraid of not having them? Chen Mo, what about these blue light lifeforms and these polymerized mechs? Should we kill them? Xia Zheng's voice rang in Chen Mo's ears, and those polymer mechs unexpectedly regained their freedom at an unknown time. Teacher Xia, Ching Cheng, I'll leave these blue light lifeforms to you. I'll deal with the polymerization mechs. Wang Yuan, transform into a sanctuary archangel. 
Although Chen Mo was in the mech bay of the explosive heavenly flame carp, at this moment, his mental power was mainly controlling the sanctuary archangel. After all, the size of the polymerization mech was too large, and its comprehensive battle power had even reached that of a commander-class magical beast, so using the sanctuary archangel against it was most appropriate. And just now, in the core area of the Forbidden Land, they had already dealt with a batch of blue light mechs, and with the experience, there was no need for Chen Mo to worry too much. Maneuvering the sanctuary archangels, they advanced towards the direction of the convergence mechs at an extremely fast speed. Although these convergence mechs did belong to the larger mechs, they were not worth mentioning to the more than 300 meter tall sanctuary archangel. However, Chen Mo did not get too impatient. After all, they were mechs of commander level strength, definitely not to be underestimated. Beam cannon, to die under my proudest attack, you guys have earned it. The war had reached its final end, and Chen Mo did not need to think about energy consumption, directly turning up the energy supply to the maximum, allowing the power of this cannon to be increased by another considerable amount. The pitch black barrel of the cannon was ready, and the massive energy instantly gushed out. The chest of the massive polymerization mech was directly pierced through. At the same time, after receiving Wiener's call for help, Belial used his fastest speed to rush over. He froze in place when he managed to enter the edge of the forbidden land of Zin. On the screen that was emitting a glittering light, a message flashed. The moment he saw this message, Belial's back turned cold, and cold sweat seeped out from his forehead. There was nothing else. This message was set up in advance by their magical beast headquarters. Once a master of the Forbidden Land died, the death message would be sent to all the Forbidden Land masters at the same time at the moment of death. It wasn't the first time that Belial had seen this kind of newsletter, but it was still somewhat unacceptable the moment he saw it. How is this? Possible? How could Wiener die? This time, they had sent out all of their forces without a single point of reservation. However, how could they have lost so miserably? And even one of the Forbidden Land lords had died. How could this group of humans, who used to be complete playthings for them to play with in the palms of their hands, be so powerful to such an extent? Not waiting for Beria to be surprised, the polymerization mechs he had given to Wiener immediately after, also lost contact. What? The polymerization mechs are dead too? Belial, who was far away from the edge of the Forbidden Land, did not dare to continue to the front line at all for a while, he could not guess what kind of terrifying monsters were in the front line that were able to kill the polymerization mechs. As for Chen Mo did not intend to leave any survivors at all, and the moment Xia Zheng killed those blue light mechs, he bellowed out, Teacher Xia, over to you. At this moment, the red-eyed Xia Zing, holding up Annihilation, rushed up. Annihilation had just tasted the flavor of blood, and at this time, it was extremely full of energy, flashing with a glistening red light and a killing aura. Red flame cross chop. Chen Mo matched Xia Zheng's attack and launched an attack at the same time. Beam cannon. Under Chen Mo and Xia Zhang's coordinated strike, all of the polymerization mechs, all of them, turned into a field of debris. The entire battlefield was completely silenced by the sounds of roaring cannons. The death of the leader of the Wraith side silently declared the end of this battle. Sioux City Military Harbor. Taken. Feeling that all the polymer mechs given to Wiener were all dead, Beria completely dismissed the idea of going to the front line to take a look. That tragic war many years ago was still fresh in his mind. Can it be that that mysterious mech has come out again? Five polymerization mechs. Less than five minutes. All dead? Without even a hint of hesitation. Belial decisively led the army of magical beasts that were preparing to go for support. And hit the road back home. At the same time. The first time. He contacted the Divine Dragon Country's magical beast headquarters. Requesting for reinforcements. On the other hand. Chen Mo. Who had just received the news that the radar had scanned a large number of magical beasts encircling over turned his face to see those red dots on the screen like the wind, coming and going peacefully. Ooh, quite self-aware. Seeing this scene, Chen Mo snorted and did not intend to chase after them. For one thing, there was no chasing after a poor enemy, who knew that if they still had a backhand and desperately counterattacked, and did not hesitate to exchange one life for another, then it would be a loss. Secondly, the purpose of this war had already been achieved. The Jean City Military Harbor, the Jean City Forbidden Land, was already all in the hands of the humans. At times like this, all they had to do was to take over this area, while taking a good rest and recuperating, to face the next war with the most energetic state. Another battlefield. Magic Capital. The Frontline Command Headquarters. The battle situation at this moment was simply unbearable to look at. There were mechs blown to pieces everywhere, and among them, there was no lack of a large number of commanders who were no longer breathing. Obviously, in this fierce battle, the demonic beasts were strongly occupying a suppressive position. Grand Captain, let them join the battle, 
or else they really won't be able to hold on. Seeing a large number of magical beasts coming towards the direction of the command headquarters, the young commander anxiously pleaded towards the first captain. No, the commanders and mechs in the city are the last line of defense to protect humanity. If they die on the front line, the magic city will be finished. Chiu Shu Yuan, the first captain of the magic city's maintenance force, refused with a firm face. Grand captain, that lord level demonic beast is too strong. Not to mention there is a group of commander level demonic beasts. Our team members have already been killed or injured for the most part, and with the remaining group's combat power, they are not even a match for them. And if we continue to spend time like this, we will really lose our defense. How could Chiu Shu Yuan not know that what he said was the truth? This war had already been fought for a week, originally on the fifth day. They had already gained a considerable advantage and were about to win. Who knew that a lord class magical beast would suddenly appear? And even the commander class magical beasts had come out with a few more. With their addition, the advantage that had been easily gained was instantly equalized, and they even began to be beaten back step by step. A large number of witches and commanders had died in the beasts' counterattacks. And now, even they were probably about to die on the front lines. But the machine nymphs and commanders in the city were the last force to protect the city. If they were called over and died on the front line as well, there would really be no possibility of winning anymore. When Xiao Shu Yuan thought of this, his already determined heart became even more determined. Just when he was ready to die, outside, a small team member barged into the command headquarters. Great captain. Withdrawal. What withdrawal? Xiao Shu Yuan froze. The magical beasts have withdrawn. And the commander. Level magical beasts and lord level magical beasts have all withdrawn. The remaining low level magical beasts have also withdrawn from the front line and returned to the confines of the forbidden land. What? Chiu Shu Yuan hurriedly ran out of the command headquarters. And sure enough, he could no longer see any of the magical beasts. What? Is going on here? The despair instantly faded. And ecstasy spread through the command headquarters. Big captain, do you still remember the information code we received two days ago? The words of the small team member made Chiu Shu Yuan froze. You mean, that's right, this lord class magical beast and this group of commander class magical beasts, all of them were supported from the forbidden land over in Jin City. That youngest commander of the imperial capital, Chen Mo, just applied to attack the seaport of Jin City two days ago. Could it be that they have achieved a huge victory? Making it necessary for the lord class magical beasts to go back for support? Right, right, right. I've heard that that Chen Mo is so young that he seems to already be the second most powerful person in the battle power ranking over in the imperial capital. This speculation is really quite possible. Listening to the speculations of the team members, Chiu Shu Yuan's brows frowned. Chen Mo, the second in the imperial capital's battle power ranking? When did the imperial capital accept such a talented commander? Three days after the war ended, the maintenance force resumed its normal working order. In the past, when the beast tide occurred, the VPF always counted how many casualties their side had suffered, how much ammunition was left, and how much the defense line had been reduced after the war ended. Since Chen Mo's appearance, what they counted every time was how many magical beasts they had killed this time, how many artillery shells they had looted, and how many unseen high technologies they had gotten. In the past, saving up a year's worth of wraith crystals wasn't enough to replace a low-level part, and now they were holding battle soldier-level crystals and battle general-level crystals, and didn't even know what to buy. The commanders who had gone to war were like playing chicken blood, and they couldn't wait to go and fight with the magical beasts again. Therefore, they all followed Chen Mo's official account, looking forward to participating in the war led by Chen Mo. Crap, did Chen Mo kill so many magical beasts this time? I've only killed 12, not even a fraction of what he's done. Slave level 899, war soldier level 368, war general level 87, and commander level 5. Is this really something a human can achieve? Killing so many magical beasts in a single battle. Will Chen Mo's energy really not run out? I used to think that Chen Mo's second place on the imperial capital's battle power list was blown out of proportion. Now I just want to kowtow to him that I was wrong. On the day the official battle report was released, the streets were filled with people discussing various topics about Chen Mo. And at this moment, a black stretch Lincoln. The window glass was slowly rolled down as the car speed became slower and slower. Inside the car. A stunningly beautiful woman sat next to a stunningly beautiful young girl, whether it was the jewelry they wore, or the white face that was so perfect that even the pores were invisible, it all revealed the nobility of the two. The girl was holding a white handkerchief in her hand, and from the texture and style, it was obviously a high-end luxury customized model as well, and the win embroidered on one corner of the handkerchief revealed her identity. There are quite a few win family names, but there is only one win family with such wealth and temperament. Guangdong, one family. Miss, 
Do you really want to go and contact this one called Chen Mo? The stunningly beautiful woman, frowning, asked in a soft voice. Chen Mordor is like a spring after the rain. Overnight, his name resounded throughout the entire Shenlong country. Several wars he played an absolutely dominant role, successfully being noticed by the upper echelons and cultivated. I am indeed a bit curious as to what strength this man actually has. The pretty girl listened sideways to the people's admiration for Chen Mo, and her heart could not help but become more and more curious about Chen Mo. Anti Qin, you say, Chen Mo, this man is excellent, but why doesn't he have any determination at all? Are all men like this? Although, that Luozhen is an SS plus class fighter, and already belongs to a very outstanding machine girl. But, Chen Mo is different, his strength has clearly far exceeded the strength of an SSS class commander. I really can't figure out why Chen Mo would choose her. When Chan had been harboring talent for a long time, and it was not easy for her to meet someone to her liking, but she had already been chosen first, so how could she not be despondent? At this moment, she looked through the information she had collected earlier. Without exception, all of them were about Chen Mo's bits and pieces. On his first day of awakening as a commander, he had harnessed an S-ranked machine girl and forcefully decimated a two-star prisoner mecha. The first time he participated in the war in the far outskirts of the practice area, he suppressed the beast tide with his own strength. Within a month of awakening, he possessed his first powerful mandatory killing technique, which currently appears to be a self-created move. There were also those hefty battle achievements of Chun Mo, a piece of information, each and every one of them, made one's heart pound, one battle achievement after another was simply shocking, when Chan's heartbeat couldn't help but speed up quite a bit just by glancing at it, miss, how many times have you read all this information already, it's all outdated, take a look at this one, this was just received, it can simply refresh your perception of him, An Qin handed over a copy of the war information that Chen Mo had just finished typing, and Wen Chan hurriedly took it, let me see, the information was very complete, the details of Chen Mo's battle were described in great detail, and there were even accompanying pictures beside it. The more Wen Chan looked at it, the more shocked she became, and her entire body shuddered violently. Unbelievably, she looked at Aunt Qin and exclaimed, Is this really something that can be done? Aunt Qin had a serious face and replied earnestly, The photo doesn't have traces of pee. It should have really happened. Moreover, this is exactly the war that took place in the military harbor of Jin City two days ago, in full view of the public. There is no way for Chen Mo to engage in this kind of small action. It is said that this time, a mecha with strength comparable to that of a commander level appeared over at the Jin City military harbor, and Chen Mordecai alone directly decimated five of them. It's also that Chen Mo has already joined the maintenance force on the imperial capital side. Otherwise, I'm afraid that the devil's capital side would be coming to snatch people. Miss, there must still be a huge gap between the strength Chen Mordor has displayed and his true strength. He must still be hiding more talents that we don't know about. Listening to Aunt Qin's words, Wen Chan nodded, a smile appearing at the corner of her mouth. It looks like I've come to the right place for this trip to the imperial capital. Aunt Qin smiled and shook her head. Then, as if she remembered something, she said, By the way, Miss, that son of the Wei family in Magic City, Wei Bin, said that he went to the old mansion today wanting to see you. Wen Chan raised her eyebrows, the soft smile at the corner of her mouth instantly filled with disdain. Wei Bin? First, he abandoned his doll fiancé to be, then he licked Luo Dai for a few years and was rejected, the basket is empty, and now he's using me as a target? I'm not interested in him, he doesn't think he's very powerful with his SS class commander status, does he? What's more, I've heard that Wei Bin has, a talent of being able to see through Omeka's potential, I don't want to be seen through by him, it's creepy to think about, and she nodded, then don't see it, on the other side. Three days had passed since the big battle at the military harbor in Jin City. During these three days, Chen Mo did not contact any of the witches, but instead slept for three days on the board. The physical exhaustion and the huge consumption of mental power could only be slowly recovered during the process of sleeping. As soon as Chen Mo opened his eyes, the sunlight outside the window was already warming him through the gaps in the curtains. It was only after getting up and washing up that Chen Mo began to count his gains from the great battle at the Jin City military harbor. Hunting and Killing Status, Slave Grade 899, War Soldier Grade 368, War General Grade 87, Commander Grade 5, Energy Crystals, Slave Grade Crystals, 899, Total, 2618, War Soldier Grade Crystals, 368, Total, 821, War General Grade Crystals, 87, Total, 96, Commander Grade Crystals, 10, Doubled, Points, 306,554, Annihilation Soul Power, 63,000. It can be considered a commander-grade crystal. 
I didn't expect that killing 5 polymerization mechs would give 10 commander grade crystals, this is a huge profit. Chun Mo actually wanted commander grade crystals for a long time, as it was necessary to have commander grade crystals if one wanted to upgrade the stars of an S ranked mech. It was only that Chen Mo's previous strength was indeed still a bit weak, and even if he bumped into a commander grade magical beast, he wouldn't be able to fight it. Thinking of this, Chen Mo was a bit demoralized. 10 commander grade crystals was just enough to star upgrade both Xia Zhang and Yi Qingcheng. However, for SS class machine nymphs, SS plus class machine nymphs, and SSS class ship nymphs, what they needed were not commander class crystals, but lord class, monarch class, and demon monarch class energy crystals. The higher the grade, the stronger the nymphs were. But likewise, when they upgraded, their need for energy was also greater. Only high grade demon beast crystals, with their massive energy and higher density purity, were more capable of providing them with the sufficient energy they needed. In this case, it seemed that there was still a long way to go if one wanted to fill up one's mecha star rating. Chen Mo directly gave 10 commander grade crystals to Xia Zhang and Yi Qingqing to use, the explosive Skyfire Carp Mecha and Ice Phoenix Mecha, after being upgraded to 2 stars, had all of their attributes increased by 10%, and their kinetic energy core caps were also increased by 10%. After taking care of these, Chen Mo was ready to make another trip to the Forbidden Land of Tianjin. After sleeping for 3 days, he didn't know what the situation was like. After the Xin City Forbidden Land was recaptured, many things needed to be rebuilt. Moreover, as a high-tech forbidden land, the usefulness of this land could be quite important. During the period of time when the Wraith Hordes hadn't reacted yet, it was important to utilize the high-tech technology they had constructed as much as possible to create as many missiles as possible that were common and of the widest use. Moreover, the forbidden land of Jean had just been recaptured, so I'm sure that the internal personnel would need to be reconfigured as well. It was difficult to grab back human land, and even more difficult to hold on to it. The large and small forbidden lands around Jin City should also be added step by step to the plan for future counterattacks. How did the wraiths steal the land from the humans in the first place? And now, it's time to return it as it is. After notifying his witches of the news one by one, Chen Mo made another call to Zhang Chen. Let him bring the forces of the Imperial Capital Maintenance Force to build the missile base as fast as possible. Build as big as you can, not afraid of a big site, but afraid of too many missiles to fit. Then, Chen Mo asked Zhang Chen to send another locomotive squad to the Jin City Forbidden Area. When they fought the war before, Zhang Chen and him were on two different battlefields. So much so, Zhang Chen did not know much about the situation inside the Forbidden Land of Tianjin. This time, Chen Mo intended to give him a big surprise, so that he could also enjoy the luxury of an unlimited supply of missiles. Jin City, the Forbidden Land. Compared to the rewards Chen Mo obtained from killing those magical beasts, this Forbidden Land itself, was the biggest trophy of this war? Setting Wiener, Belial and Drew, the three forbidden landmasters, ruling and building for more than 10 years. It could be said that every brick and tile here was all the crystallization of their heart and soul. Advanced high technology, sound living facilities, as well as the core technology that is far superior to the weapon manufacturing technology that mankind is currently mastering. Not just one and a half stars. It could simply be said that this war had directly allowed humanity to progress for decades. The life forms of planet Ganaber that invaded the Blue Star were of two kinds. One kind was like Wiener and the others, intelligent beings that belonged to a low grade in Ganaber. The other kind was the Steel Demon Beasts that were numerous in number. In fact, in planet Ganaber, the Steel Demon Beasts were more like intelligent life forms that were like fighting machines. Even low grade intelligent life forms were able to easily manipulate the Steel Demon Beasts. After descending to the Blue Planet, this group of intelligent life forms, was relying on manipulating the steel demon beasts to quickly take all of the human land, resources, and so on into their own hands. Then, they began to capture a large number of blue star animals and transform them into iron demon beasts. When the technology matured, they began to transform humans, transforming them into mecha forms and manipulating their minds to turn them into prisoner mechs to serve them. And it was from this point that humanity, too, entered the mecha era. That said, the forbidden land of Tsu, Chen Mo was already familiar with it. However, the vast majority of people still hadn't been here before. Zhang Chen used to only know that magical beasts would constantly be produced inside the Forbidden Land, but he was not clear on how these magical beasts came to be. So much so, he was a bit hesitant when Chen Mo asked him to come and visit for a tour, especially since Chen Mo had a mysterious look on his face, asking him to build a huge missile base while also asking him to bring the locomotive squad to visit Jin City. He was even more confused not knowing what drug Chen Mo's gourd was selling. However, thinking that the forbidden land in Jin City had already been taken down and should not be in any danger, Zhang Chen brought his men and rushed over without stopping. 
Of course, he didn't come here just for a visit this time. The news of the recapture of Jean City's Forbidden Land had already been spread as a myth in the entire Dragon Kingdom. This was the first step in humanity's counterattack since the Steel Demon Beasts invaded Blue Star, and it was an important milestone. Everyone in the entire Divine Dragon Country celebrated after hearing the official announcement, and Chen Emo became the first commander to hang the Forbidden Land Juggernaut. The senior management of the Divine Dragon Kingdom awarded Chen Emo with the title of Scholar of the Nation on the spot. Wow! Is this the Forbidden Land created by those magical beasts? It's more luxurious than the Imperial Capital. After Zhang Chen entered the interior of the Forbidden Land, he looked as if he was strolling through the Grand View Garden, as if he had never seen the world before. The strong high-tech elements inside the Forbidden Land were indeed worlds apart from the Imperial Capital. The Imperial Capital was more like a steel fortress. All the houses and buildings were glittering with metallic luster. While here, it was properly a high-tech future city. I used to think that the Forbidden Land is the lair of that group of magical beasts. I can't say it's just some caves or something like that. But I didn't expect it to be so gorgeous. Zhang Chen's adjutant, Song Kai, looked at the interior of the Forbidden Land with an envious face and marveled. Right, right, right. No wonder those prisoner mechs are willing to be second fiddle. This place is really too advanced than the human world. Wang Yuan Bua echoed. As for the group of neatly arranged women's squad behind him, even though they had undergone harsh training, they couldn't help but suck in a breath of cool air when they saw such a high-tech city. Right, Chen Mo. I almost forgot to tell you. Zhang Chen slapped his head and pointed at this group of heroic women's squad and said towards Chen Mo. Chen Mo. This is a portion sent down by the higher-ups, plus some of the witches recruited by the maintenance unit this year. All of their qualifications are at level A. There are a total of 30 of them. So I'll give them to you. Chen Mo nodded. This side of the Xin Forbidden Land was exactly the time when it was short of people. The arrival of these machine nymphs was also considered to be a little bit of a relief. Ching Cheng, these people will be given to you afterward. Mainly responsible for order management and crisis management in Jin City. Yi Ching Cheng was previously working as a squad leader in the far outskirts of the leveling area. And at this time, the problem of the magical beasts over there had already been solved. So it was just as well that this side of things could be handed over to her. Just at this time, prisoner Mecha Guan Xiao walked over with a middle-aged woman. Guan Xin now no longer needed Chun Mo to manipulate her with his spiritual power, directly using the desire magic core to control her from the root. And the middle-aged woman she led over was the one they found when they took over the Forbidden Land of Jin City. In a great battle many years ago, she was not only a machine woman, but also a scientific researcher. And after her commander died in battle, she was captured alive by the magical beasts, who later controlled her with the desire magic core, because her scientific research ability was quite strong. She was entrusted with important tasks by the Forbidden Land Lord. At that time, when they were cleaning up the remaining enemy forces in the Forbidden Land, Xia Jin and the others found this woman. However, thinking that she might be useful, they did not kill her and waited for Chen Mo to make a decision. Considering this woman's knowledge of the Forbidden Land over the years, as well as her scientific research capabilities, Chen Mo finally decided to keep her. There was no way around it. Scientific researchers were too scarce and it would be their loss if such a valuable person was killed. The big deal was to use the desire magic core to continue controlling her. Guan Xiao, from now on, you'll be in charge of the production and manufacturing of materials. Wang Yuan, you'll be in charge of the production of missiles, the three types of missiles that consume the most start producing them as early as possible. Nian Nian, you'll still do what you're best at, the research of mecha accessories and mecha design. I'll leave it to you. Chen Mo had already had a rough understanding of these things. The Divine Spirit Magic Cube. This thing could empower a designed mech, allowing the mech and the creature to bond, allowing the creature to transform its mech form through spiritual synchronization and cosensory connection. The battleship mech that Drew had before was made with this thing. Since this thing could be designed by himself, the better it was to his liking, the stronger the mech, the better it would be able to guarantee the safety of humans. Moreover, the previously encrypted database had all been analyzed. The Wraith's headquarters was not on land, but in the deep sea. If one wanted to create mechs, it was inevitable that they would have to research in the direction of water warfare. Seeing that everyone had a task, but Chen Mo was late in mentioning his name. Zhang Yingying was a little anxious for a moment. Chen Mo, what about me? What am I doing? Seeing Jiang Yingying's anxious appearance, Chen Mo hooked his lips and smiled. Yingying, your task is the heaviest in here. Saying this, Chen Mo took out two accessories from the commander's warehouse. This is the reactor that was unloaded from the battleship mech. This thing can use seawater to generate energy. The battleship mech is able to move on its own because it is equipped with this reactor. You are responsible for researching it. And Luo Dai, 
You are in charge of all the defense and attack systems in the Forbidden Land of Tsu. I see that the stance shield here itself is very good. It can carry and fight. After assigning the tasks to be completed, everyone shouted at the same time. Yes. This moment suddenly gave Chun Mo a feeling that he had really built up a machine girl battle team. To be honest, it was really cool. Let's go. Let's go study this force field shield. This technology of the force field shield was very high tech and marvelous. The larger the area protected by the force field shield, the lower the attack force it would withstand. So currently, only the entrance piece of the Forbidden Land was in its protective range. If the force field shield was expanded to the entire Forbidden Land, it was thought that its protection would not be so strong. To be honest, the reason why Chen Mo was able to cross over the main battlefield this time and directly dismantle Wiener's battle force from the rear was simply a blind cat bumping into a dead rat. Wiener was overconfident in this war, and he simply didn't believe that someone could break through the defense line of the polymerization mechs and touch his core area. Who knew that Chen Mo had taken the unusual path and seized this opportunity? However, since Chen Mo had broken through on his own, he knew that it was entirely possible that this would become a sharp blade hanging over their heads, so this bug had to be fixed. If the force field shield was able to cover the entirety of the forbidden city of Jean, then it could only be called the strongest defense. Only, the upper limit of this force field shield's tolerance was unknown. Therefore, Chen Mo decided decisively to bring his people to test the defensive capabilities of this force field shield. The crowd present was also very curious about this. After all, human technology was indeed far behind the Wraith Lords, and this so-called force field shield was the first time they had heard of it. Solely, everyone followed with a brain. Chen Mo led the people to the outside of the force field shield's protective range. Dai, fire a missile outwards from here and go through the force field shield. Luo Dai transformed into mecha mode in an instant, and a missile broke through the air. As if it hadn't touched anything, it directly passed through the force field shield to reach the target location. Teacher Xia, turn off the force field shield's enemy recognition system. Let's try to hit the inside from the outside and take a look. Not long after, the group arrived at a location 20 kilometers outside the forbidden land. Dai, Changed to a stronger missile this time. Luo Dai directly replaced a missile that was much larger and had a more powerful explosion. Boom. Accompanied by a loud roar. The huge missile stirred up rolling smoke and shot out. Boom. Immediately afterward. The missile directly exploded the moment it came into contact with the force field shield. And the powerful energy from the explosion caused the ground to tremble three times. However. Not only did the missile not explode into the forbidden land. It did not even break the force field shield. Zhang Chen's entire body was a bit dumbfounded. This force field shield is too strong, isn't it? The mecha's few chaos simply can't compare. One must know that what Luo Dai had launched this time was a YJ-21. It reached six times the speed of sound in its entirety, and accelerated to ten times the speed of sound at the end. Regardless of speed or power, all of them were the top technology of the Divine Dragon Kingdom. Even if it was an aircraft carrier, it would not be able to withstand this cannon. But this force field shield had not changed at all in front of such a large explosive force. When Chen Mu checked the force field shield, he found that not only had it withstood the attack, but it was even constantly repairing itself. This was simply out of Chen Mu's expectation. Fortunately, he had taken a wrong turn at that time and did not directly confront the force field shield head on. Otherwise, he was afraid that Wiener would not find it easy to get through. Luckily, he had taken a wrong turn and didn't directly confront the force field shield head on. Otherwise, I'm afraid that when Wiener realized that something was wrong and rushed back, he wouldn't have been able to enter the interior of the Forbidden Land. Chen Mo assigned everyone their respective tasks, but not Xia Zhang. After all, he still needed a mech that he usually used. Not only was Xia Zing his earliest contracted mech, her own prototype explosive Skyfire Carp Racer was perfect for transportation. Moreover, her mech form was relatively small but strong enough to be the most suitable for being his daily main battle mech. After doing all this, Zhang Chen suddenly remembered his primary purpose of coming to the Forbidden Land of Jin. Chen Mo. Here. Saying that, Zhang Chen took a badge and handed it to Chen Mo. This is the senior commander badge issued to you from above. From today onwards, your status is equivalent to mine. And this forbidden area of Jin City, all of it will be placed under your sole jurisdiction. Hearing Zhang Chen's words, Chen Mo's entire body froze. A senior commander badge? My position has been elevated so quickly. Ha. Huh? To be honest, Chen Mode had performed great feats one after another, and no longer valued such things as status positions, especially since he had indentured five mechs by himself, and he had all the ones that flew in the sky, ran on the ground, and swam in the water. He was a whole combat team by himself, and didn't need these false titles at all. However, getting this badge still meant something very different. At the very least, his identity was now recognized by the Divine Dragon Kingdom, and his rights, 
and jurisdictional lands all became his backbone. Not only did you bring the few members of your team to reclaim the forbidden land of Jean City, but the casualty rate was pressed to a minimum. Coupled with your previous meritorious service, it is only reasonable to break the ranks and be promoted. Chen Mo nodded, but still bowed towards Zhang Chen. Thank you dad. There should also be a part of this that you fought for me, right? No matter what. Leaping from a junior soldier with no status whatsoever to become a senior commander is not compliant in terms of sense or reason. Zhang Chen reached out and patted Chun Mo on the shoulder with a pleased expression. It's time to promote and elevate. We can't just make merit without giving substantial rewards. But this reward, it really makes a lot of people red in the eyes. Anyway, the Jin City Forbidden Land will be your independent war zone from now on. If there is anyone who opposes it, I will directly dislike him. And if I have the ability to let them go and reclaim a piece of Forbidden Land as well. Laozi's son-in-law. Laozi guarantees it. Zhang Chen laughed cheerfully. The more he looked at Chen Moyo, the more he liked him. However, don't be too complacent. If you have to perform poorly in the future, I will still take back this badge. Listening to Zhang Chen's words, Chen Mo lightly smiled. Actually, I don't have any attachment to these positions per se. It's fine if I have them. It's fine if I don't. I'm just doing my best to protect the planet I live on. Zhang Chen looked at Chen Mo and nodded, and his smiling face gradually became serious. Actually, the fact that the above is willing to give you an independent war zone and is willing to give you the status of a senior commander is also to recruit you and give you some more favor. According to your strength, sooner or later, all of these machine nymphs you contracted will become battle maidens, and at that time, you will have more choices, and I also hope that you will continue to protect Blue Star. Zhang Chen's words had caused Chen Mo to be confused for a moment. Choices? What choices? Although no one has confirmed it exactly yet, we all feel that a commander who takes her mecha goddess to the top will definitely have the opportunity to come into contact with higher level magical beasts. It's very likely that when a mecha girl becomes a veritable war girl, she'll be able to freely choose to stay in or leave Blue Star. Although this is just our speculation, everything that is being done up there right now is to allow you to consider Blue Star a bit more when making your choice. Without much hesitation, Chen Mode replied directly, I will definitely choose Blue Star's side when the time comes. Don't worry. Zhang Chen nodded in relief. Seeing you grow to this point today, I'm really happy for you. Guard this area of yours well. I've always believed that you'll definitely be able to create miracles for humanity. Right at this time, over at the Jin City Military Harbor, a sudden news came that made Chen Mo's heart skip a beat. Report, there's an alien beast riot over at the military harbor. Roar. Ever since the end of the Great Battle three days ago, the Jin City Forbidden Land, the Jin City Military Harbor, including the piece of sea right next to it, were all quiet. Only today, it was just nightfall, and the seaside was quite unsettled. Chen Mo raised his head to look at the night curtain completely enveloping the entire sea, and the originally low, soft roars gradually began to become dense. What's wrong with these sea devil beasts? Why are they suddenly so restless? Wang Yuan asked as she stood at Chen Mo's side. Isn't this obvious? We killed so many devil beasts a few days ago, and the devil beasts in this area of the sea have been replenished today. Chen Mo pointed to the depths of the sea and slowly spoke to. What? The magical beasts are actually able to automatically replenish the vacancies? Are they about to start another beast tide? Yi Qingcheng asked with a serious face. Chen Mo nodded silently. It's really possible. This group of magical beasts is not something that can stay idle. Let's step up the patrols. Once they make any movements, report back in time. Time turned around and came to a time close to the early hours of the morning. The dense low roars instantly subsided. Like the calm before a storm, the main sea area was as quiet as ever. Chen Mo. The situation is not right. Chen Mo had not slept all night. Waiting for this time. At the first moment they got the news. All of the Mashinima were all on standby. As expected. By the time the crowd converged at the military harbor port, the originally low, soft roar had gone louder than loud. The magical beasts are rioting. Roar. Roar. Loud and furious voices echoed in the ears of the crowd. Xia Zhang, Yi Qing Cheng, Zhang Nianqing, Luo Dai, and Wang Yuan. The five girls, each with their own beauty, stood at the shore of the military harbor at the same time. Chen Mo shouted, All transform into mecha form. In an instant, the sound of metal clashing resounded, and under the intertwining of machinery, the five mech girls appeared beside the harbor. At the same time, along with the pouring of seawater, a giant steel demonic beast, hissed and burrowed out of the water. Along with their appearance, a powerful oppressive force filled the waters. Roar! More and more steel demon beasts poked their heads out of the sea, assembling in an orderly fashion as if they were gathering. Just by looking at it so roughly, there were at least hundreds of sea demon beasts. Don't think that hundreds of beasts were few. 
These were all sea demon beasts, each one was bigger than the other. Even the smaller sea devil beasts were more than 10 meters long, which was not comparable to the group of devil beasts on land at that time. Chen Emo took a cursory glance and realized that the levels of these sea devil beasts were very different. Slave level, war soldier level, war admiral level accounted for most of them, and the number of commander level was also quite a lot. But what surprised Chen Mu the most was that there was a lord level steel demon beast inside. The size of the Lord class steel wraith was slightly smaller than that of the commander class, and floating in front of a large number of huge sized wraiths, Chen Mo almost didn't see it. The tyrannical aura lifted Chen Mo's spirits, even the air around him seemed to have dropped a few degrees. This was still only the aura emanating from hundreds of magical beasts. Chen Mo did not dare to think that if there was a day when thousands, or even 100, 000 magical beasts erupted in a horrifying beast tide, when the time came, what kind of scene would it be? Chen Emo chose to sit in Luo Dai Sky Dome Battle Sound Mecca today. In the face of such a huge beast tide, he was really afraid that the energy he supplied would not be enough. And when the time came, Luo Dai would still be able to feed back some to himself, which might be able to save his life in the nick of time. At the same time, Chen Emo split out another four channels of spiritual energy into the other four mechs. But the feeling given to the other four women was as if Chen Emo was personally driving them. Although Zhang Chen couldn't help much, he transmitted the news of the magical beasts gathering and attacking in force to the Divine Dragon Kingdom's headquarters at the first opportunity. And the headquarters also passed the news to the maintenance forces in various places throughout the Divine Dragon Kingdom the first time they got the news. The Central War Zone, which was also the closest to the forbidden land of Jin City, received the news of the beast tide at the first opportunity. Unlike Chen Mo's calmness, the person in charge of the Central War Zone was as anxious as an ant on a hot pan. He had naturally heard of Chen Mo's great name, a teenage hero. He had participated in many wars, turning the tide of battle with his own strength, and even strongly counterattacking the forbidden land of Jin City, returning with a great victory. This time, the headquarters even rewarded Chen Mo as an independent war zone. However, in the end, Chen Mo was only an 18-year-old young man, so how could they be confident that Chen Mo would be their umbrella, especially for their central war zone? In the past, their area was inconspicuous and did not attract the attention of the magical beasts, so they were able to survive. Now that Chen Mo is on their side, once Chen Mo's defense line is lost, their central war zone will suffer immediately after. A big hole had appeared in the entire defense line, and with their current combat power and resources, they could do nothing at all. So much so, when they received the news of the demonic beast riot, the entire war zone was thrown into a great panic, especially when they heard that on Chen Mo's side, there were only five mechs, they were even more desperate. Reinforce the Jin City Forbidden Area, make sure to quell the beast tide purge all magical beasts. The commander of the central war zone promptly gave orders at the first time, even though there was no return from this war. But seeing that the fire was going to burn on their own heads, it was impossible to back down in any way. In an instant, the commanders of the central war zone all rallied, and all the machine girls completed their transformations at the first time. Does this even allow people to live anymore? I'm already exhausted from fighting the war in these two days. How come it's so hard to finish the fight and then we have to go for reinforcements again? Isn't that SSS ranked commander? Chen Mo, the second best on the Imperial Capital's battle power list? Why does he still need reinforcements? Ha, <laughs> Silver Pewter Head, just gave him a share of the Forbidden Land in Jin City, and it's only been a few days, and he can't hold it anymore? Rubbish. As a matter of fact, it wasn't just the commanders in the Central War Zone who received the order for reinforcements who were upset. The vast majority of the War Zone commanders were upset about the announcement to promote Chen Mo as a senior commander. Letting an 18-year-old kid who had just awakened as a commander in less than two months manage an independent theater. Wasn't that pure hilarity? The battlefield was not a child's play. Once it was lost, how many people would have to pay for it with their lives? Ordinary people didn't know what was at stake, but those of them who hung out at the front lines every day knew too well. Simply hilarious. An entire city. How could it be handed over to a kid whose hair hasn't even grown? I think those old things are really senile. In every war zone, the same words were roared. But with things having come to this, roaring was useless. And at this moment, an airplane was flying towards the forbidden area of Jin City. On the large transport plane, there were only two people, Aunt Chin and Wen Chan. Have you thought about it? Do you really want a contract with Chun Mo this time? Aunt Chin smiled oddly and asked in a soft voice, Ugh, I don't know. Let's wait and see. There's no rush. Wen Chan was a bit torn. She hadn't been ruthless enough to make a decision for so many days. Just as they were approaching the military harbor in Jin City, a loud alarm sound caught the attention of the two. This is, a beast tide? In front of us is Chen Mo's jurisdiction. It can't be a beast tide happening at his place, right? 
Aunt Sheen was startled and exclaimed. I don't know whether to say that he's unlucky or we're unlucky. We just won a battle. And then there's another one. And it just happens to be caught up by the two of us. Wen Shan smiled somewhat breathlessly. However, this was also a good opportunity to examine Chen Mao. Appreciating his combat ability on site was always more intuitive than all that information. At the same time, the magical beast army was still continuing to gather. And the number was visually estimated to have exceeded a thousand. Forming a very large-scale beast tide, thousands of magical beasts continued to hiss, causing the entire Jin City military harbor to be shrouded under a strong sense of oppression. Chen Ma brought her five machine nymphs with her and stood on top of the coastline walls not far away. Each one of them similarly exuded a palpitating aura. Only that this weak aura of solemnity was simply the light of a glowing fire, insignificant in front of the demonic beast army. In the face of such a large-scale beast tide, Chen Mo and his machine nymphs seemed to have been used to it long ago, and thus, were not very nervous. After all, the girls themselves were particularly powerful and had participated in fierce battles. Moreover, the main thing was that they, as Chen Mo's machine nymphs, were fully aware of Chen Mo's terror. Even if there was a lord-class demonic beast below them, they were not panicked in the slightest. The demonic beast army has already gathered to this extent. Should we make a preemptive strike? Luo Yan didn't hold back and asked. Chen Mo shook his head his eyes firm. It's not enough. These magical beasts are only assembled in front of the military harbor. They haven't covered the entire line of defense. Even if we defend against them, it won't be difficult. Moreover, from the looks of it, they seem to be running towards me. With our strength, these are still too few. Don't look at Chen Mo's side. There were only five mechs, and they were able to kill at least 200 magical beasts by themselves. Other than that leader-class demonic beast, he really didn't have anything to worry about and that lord-level demonic beast was actually not impossible to deal with. Chen Mo had a spiritual power attack as a base card. When even the demonic beast queen could not withstand such a blow, lord-level demonic beasts would be even more out of the question. The big deal is that when the time comes, you can just use half of your spiritual power to launch one time, and there won't be much danger. Roar! As the distant magical beasts rushed to the battlefield, the hissing sounds at the military harbor became denser and more and more loud. Thousands of magical beasts! The smaller ones were more than 10 meters in size, and the larger ones were hundreds of meters in size. Standing on the city wall and looking down, the sea near the military harbor of Jin City was simply black and almost impossible to see the end. Ready for battle yo! Just treat this beast tide as a normal special training during the week. Use all your strength and enjoy this killing feast. Chen Emo watched as the demonic beast army almost took shape, so he slowly opened his mouth. The voice resounded in the ears of the five machine nymphs as the energy core was filled with energy and in the blink of an eye, killing intent filled the air. Buzz, buzz, the instant the engine remembered. All of the machine nymphs attacked first. Roar, the moment the machine nymphs were mobilized. A high-pitched and loud hissing sound came from the tide of beasts, and in the blink of an eye, the magical beasts in the front rows also instantly went into battle mode, running up towards Chen Mo's direction. As the beasts rioted, the entire surface of the sea began to vibrate, and the waves swelled larger and larger, greeting the onslaught of the magical beasts. Chen Mo sneered, talent title, queen driver, activate. In an instant, Chen Mo's physique doubled, strength doubled, speed doubled, and mental strength doubled. At that time, when he contracted the magical beast queen white feather, he was rewarded with a talent title, and this was the first time Chen Mo had used it. The moment all of his attributes doubled, Chen Mo felt that his body was much lighter. The powerful increase in mental power gave all of his machinima a feeling of lightness, and the moment Chen Mo enabled the queen's harnesser, the army of magical beasts under his feet in turn felt as if their spiritual power had been partially suppressed, not at all as restless as it had been at the very beginning, and even the speed of their charge had dropped by quite a bit. Boom! Chen Mo did not increase his energy supply, but the engines of all the organic nymphs involuntarily roared at the same time. The crazily agitated energy within their bodies made their killing aura even more majestic. A powerful deterrent swept through the entire Jin City military harbor. At the same time, the demonic beast legion was somewhat flustered instead. Even their combat formations were in disarray. Strike, leave no one behind. Chen Ma shouted explosively, and the gas pedal was directly pressed to the bottom. Kill. The machine nymphs felt the invincible power and instantly rushed out. Boom. The 300 meter tall Saint Domain Archangel leapt high into the air and violently jumped into the midst of the demonic beast army. And just by landing like this, he directly stomped on several low level demonic beasts. Boom. The mecha's own lance which was about 200 meters long, made a horizontal sweep, bringing up a terrifying wind blade, pfffff, with just such a sweep, 20 to 30 magical beasts were directly cut off at the waist, 
It was too terrifying. The bludgeoning of a Saint Domain Archangel was simply terrifying. On the other side, Chen Emo piloted the Heavenly Dome War Voice to join the battlefield as well. Buzz. Although Luozhen's prototype was a fighter jet, the battle on the ground was not difficult for her in the slightest. Her speed was so fast that she directly morphed into a trail of residual shadows, and every time she appeared, a piece of magical beasts was decimated. Xia Zhang was holding the reddish annihilation blade in her hand at this time, stained with the blood of the magical beasts in the dawn when the sun had not yet risen. Although she was the weakest machine maiden contracted by Chen Mo, under Chen Mo's empowerment over and over again, her actual battle power had long since changed drastically compared to when she initially started. A battle general class magical beast was nothing more than a slash in front of her annihilation. Roar! A tens of meters tall commander class demonic beast hissed and lunged towards the holy domain archangel. Its roar turning into a terrifying shockwave as its sharp steel claws clawed towards the holy domain archangel's back. What level? And you dare to go head to head with me? Wang Yuan snorted. Even though the commander level demonic beast that lunged towards her was almost a hundred meters, it was still a lot worse compared to her 300 meter size. Her left arm picked up the shield hanging behind her and gently swung it, and a loud clashing sound rang out. The shield flickered with glittering light, and the sharp claws of the commander class demonic beast were actually shattered. And that commander class demonic beast was even directly shaken and flew out backwards. Wang Yuan clearly had no intention of letting it go. Her right hand turned towards the spear, and the sharp tip of the spear directly pierced through the beast's head. The commander class demonic beast didn't even have time to hiss out before it directly turned into a pile of metal. The body that covered the sky was, in time, the most useful metal material for constructing the forbidden land of Xin. Death also had value. Pushing this massive metal corpse aside, Wang Yuan once again joined the battle. These steel demon beasts were indeed incomparably ferocious, but when faced with Chen Mo's machine maidens, they had long since been scared into retreat by the might they exuded. However, in the face of impending death, they still pushed through their fear and forced themselves to meet the machine maidens' fight. Of course, their counterattacks were nothing more than a painless tickle to the machine nymphs. Roar! After the commander class magical beasts fell to the ground, a large number of low grade magical beasts pounced towards Wang Yuan. However, how much damage could a group of slave level magical beasts and a group of battle soldier level magical beasts bring to an SSS class carrier mecha? Wang Yuan faintly smiled. The curvature engine was activated, and her huge body turned into a stump in an instant. A direct kick swept out, clearing the battlefield around her. The sanctuary archangel's kick used its full strength, and its speed was quite fast. The air was brought up by this kick with a burst of sonic booms, so one could imagine what effect the kick would have on this group of magical beasts. Bang! Bang bang! The surrounding circle of steel magical beasts were all directly kicked away, and some of the ones with a lower rank were directly kicked into the air and exploded to death. Detecting that there were still quite a few magical beasts around, Wang Yuan directly unfolded the silver-white feathers behind her back. The hollow metal feathers on the side were windless, and the sanctuary archangel leapt violently, flapping its wings as it swooped down and rushed towards the surface of the sea. The air turned into the sharpest reaper under the hollow feathers. Wherever the sanctuary archangel passed, no magical beast could be spared. Only that one low-grade magical beast was directly cut off by the wind blade. All the resistance was completely useless. Seeing a large number of magical beasts die in battle, that lord-level magical beast could no longer sit still. Roar! The lord-class wraith roared, using its fastest speed to furiously run towards Wang Yuan, as if it wanted to cut this carrier mech down here. Only, Chen Mo's spiritual power was always partially divided on the lord-class demonic beast. Originally, he had thought that it would honestly watch the battle from the sidelines until the end, but who knew that it would want to sneak attack? Then, how could Chen Mo be able to do as he wished, driving the heavenly vault battle voice? With the curvature engine activated to the extreme, almost in the blink of an eye, Chen Mo appeared beside Wang Yuan, who was a thousand meters away. Moreover, under Chen Mo's control, all of the machine nymphs could almost clearly know what dangers were in their vicinity. Therefore, the first moment the Lord Class Magical Beast sneaked up on her, Wang Yuan reacted. At the same time, Wang Yuan's superconducting weapon was unleashed, while Chen Mo was controlling the Heavenly Vault battle voice and unleashed the fear beyond death. The Mega Particle Cannon aimed to fire, while the fear of beyond death followed right behind, directly executing its last bit of life value. A perfect match. The defensibility of a Lord Class Magical Beast was truly powerful, but it still had no way to withstand the power of the Particle Cannon. A Lord Class Demonic Beast had died without even releasing a single skill. In an instant, the army of magical beasts that were attacking at full force felt the message of the death of a Lord Class Magical Beast, and the fear that they had felt at the very beginning became even stronger. For a time, the low-level magical beasts had completely lost the courage to fight and fled like mad. 
only, Xia Zhang, Yi Qingcheng and Zhang Nianqing, had already blocked their retreat. How could they let them slip away just like that? For a while, the roars turned into terrified screams. Under the combined decimation of the three women, the army of magical beasts actually gradually quieted down. It wasn't that they didn't want to scream, it was that they no longer had the life to scream. That lord-class magical beast, with its last breath, looked at the sea filled with blood, with incomparable pathos in its heart. Roar! This is not them rioting. This was clearly a group of humans unilaterally slaughtering them. It was a lord-level magical beast that had participated in so many beast tides before and after. But this time, it had really fallen. These human mechs were too strong. Even if it was just one of the weakest mechs, it was still stronger than the thousands of troops of their magical beasts. No wonder they were able to kill Wiener. Having the lord-class magical beast that had part of its spiritual intelligence suddenly realized at this moment. It seemed to have been fooled. It had been fooled from the very beginning. The intense sense of humiliation caused its little remaining life force to rapidly drain away. Soon, it became a pile of cold metal. With the deaths of the lord-class magical beasts, this wave of beasts slowly came to an end. In the sea, on the land, there were metal corpses of magical beasts everywhere. Xia Zhang and the girls were making their final beheadings of the magical beasts. As for the ones that had a better life, those that were able to escape during their siege, they were considered to have a great life. On the other side, two stunningly beautiful women, who had just gotten down from the airplane, were speeding in the direction of the Jin City military harbor. Auntie Qin, have you noticed that the sound of the magical beast seems to be getting smaller and smaller? And how is it that there is a tragic feeling? Can't it be that Chen Mo and the others couldn't resist and sacrifice themselves? This Chen Mo is also. Why do you have to fight head on with this group of magical beasts? Wait for reinforcements to come and then fight again. While running, Wen Chan spat. It was so hard for her to look at a commander. She really didn't want to get news of his death before she even contracted him. Miss, you seem to be wrong this time. I reckon that the hissing of the magical beasts is getting smaller and smaller because they are about to die cleanly. If nothing goes wrong, Chen Mo should not need reinforcements. He alone has already quelled this beast tide. Although Aunt Qin was a bit disbelieving, after her many years of experience in battles, I'm afraid that her guesses were not far from the truth. Just as Aunt Qin's voice fell, when Chan's entire body was stunned. Impossible. Aunt Qin, that was thousands of magical beasts. How could he have killed them all by himself? And even in such a short time? Although when Chan didn't believe it, she ran even faster towards the harbor. She was really too eager to know what the real situation was like. In less than five minutes, they finally ran up to the city wall, only for the bodies of huge steel demon beasts to block their view. Auntie Chin simply picked up Wen Shan directly, towards the bottom of the city wall, and leapt down. Only, the moment the two landed on the ground, they were dumbfounded at the same time. Crap! Miss Wen Chan, unexpectedly and uncontrollably, burst out in foul language. Auntie Chin didn't find it anywhere. Even though she was a super machine lady who had surpassed 99% of machine ladies, at this moment, seeing the scene in front of her, she still couldn't help but stare in disbelief. Below the city wall, besides the corpse of the steel demonic beast that was hundreds of meters high, the ground was filled with dead demonic beast corpses, so densely packed that there was hardly even a place to land. The small ones, a few meters and a dozen meters. The big ones, tens of meters and hundreds of meters. However, as far as the eye could see, all of the steel magical beasts had all become piles of metal chunks, and the vast majority of the beasts, a glance can be seen, clearly as a knife directly cut off the waist, a hit killed, the rest of them were directly turned into pieces and exploded to death, there were metal corpses all over the place, were these the same group of magical beasts they had just seen on the airplane, when Shan raised her head to look into the distance, on the far, far away seashore, she could vaguely see a few mechs doing the final cleanup, other than those five mechs, there were no other mechs, only by themselves, without any reinforcements, it killed thousands of magical beasts, and among them, there was no shortage of high-grade commander-grade magical beasts and lord-grade magical beasts, Auntie Chin, you guessed right, what I heard just now was really the screams of a magical beast, how can Chen Mo, he chase after a magical beast and kill it, in such a short period of time, just him and these few mechs of his, how did he do it, massacre them all, not leaving a single head behind, when Chan's entire body was now frozen, and the words she asked even sounded like she was muttering and whispering. She had never seen such a powerful commander before. And what she saw today was even more unheard of. Aunt Sheen was also quite shocked at this time. Forcing herself to calm down. Chen M.O. He really does create miracles all the time. I'm afraid that all those news reported earlier were also done by Chen M.O. himself. Completely unadulterated. To be honest, before this, 
Aunt Sheen was skeptical about the official briefing on Chen Mo. After all, Chen Mo was a child who had just turned 18. How strong could he be? However, the scene she saw today had indeed overturned all her prejudices against Chen Mo. Although, right now, she still didn't know on what basis Chen Mo was able to pilot his machine lady and complete the task of annihilating the demonic beast army. But the facts were right in front of her eyes, and there was no room for falsehoods, and even less room for her to make unwarranted suspicions. But how did Chen Mo do it? He's just alone, but there are five machine nymphs, no matter which mech he sits in, the other several mechs will lose their commanders. But look, all five of those mechs are on the battlefield, which means they all took part in the battle, and there are many different kinds of traces of the death of these magical beasts. It definitely wasn't a single mech that killed them, that S-class supercar. It's not a mech suitable for battle at all. What qualifies her to participate in the battle, and it looks as if she is still unharmed. It's hard to believe that they are especially rich and bought themselves a full set of modifications, replaced it with more powerful attack accessories? Wen Chan asked with a puzzled expression. If there were no surprises, Wen Chan was right about all of this, and it was also true that Xia Jin did not deserve to be on this kind of heavyweight battlefield. However, Wen Chan did not know that Chen Mo was their accident. I'm not too sure, but what is certain is that this is the reason why they are willing to follow Chen Mo with a lone voice. As for their strength, according to the information, all of their strengths have been drastically increased in a short period of time, and Chen Mo simply doesn't have that much money. So, eliminating all the wrong answers, the rest of the answers are still true even if they are outrageous. Aunt Sheen muttered her analysis, getting closer and closer to the answer. Wen Chan froze as she listened. Empowerment? If there wasn't a large amount of money to boost strength in a ho-hum manner, then one would have to rely on the commander's empowerment. It can only be empowerment. That carrier machine girl, is the Wang Yuan that he harnessed during his big battle a few days ago. Apparently, Wang Yuan has also defected to Chen Mei now. Auntie Qin nodded and looked towards the distant aircraft maiden. On the other side, Chen Mei, there are two people on the shore, both female. Wang Yuan's gaze gazed at the shore and said to Chen Mo in a deep voice, I just realized it. You guys have already lined up this forbidden land once. Logically there shouldn't be any outsiders entering ah. I'm afraid these two people aren't simple. Chen Mo nodded. These two people were suspicious in appearance. He had already divided a portion of his spiritual energy to keep an eye on them. Yo yo yo. I'm afraid it's not your avid suitor. Coming over to find you? Ready to defect to you? Xia Jin rubbed her chin from the side and asked with a raised eyebrow. Impossible. If they really came to defect to us, they should have waited outside instead of directly entering into the war zone. Chen Mo shook his head, ruling out. Out this possibility. Say, the video of us just killing the demonic beasts won't be circulated. Right? Yi Qingcheng said in a cold voice. If that was the case, she might have to treat them as spies. It shouldn't be. They have only been here for a short while. The two of them only appeared after we finished killing the demonic beasts. They should have just seen us clearing the battlefield. What's more, we are now strong and powerful. It doesn't matter even if we are exposed. Zhang Yinching's sonar system had alerted them as early as the first time they appeared. Only that these two women didn't seem to have any malicious intent. So Zhang Yinching didn't take it too seriously. All right, go back. These magical beast corpses, leave them to others to deal with. Chen Mo said without a care in the world, and at the same time shut down his queen harnesser. To be honest, this battle was like brushing up and upgrading monsters. It was just non-stop killing, and even though the mental energy wasn't consumed too much, it just made one feel exhausted. All he wanted to do now was to take his machine girls and return to his room to rest and relax. Just at this time, a rumbling sound suddenly came from the sky. Boom, boom. A huge rumbling sound resounded in the sky above the military harbor. A solemn aura filled the entire military harbor, and Chen Mo raised his eyebrows as he looked up. A fighter jet? Was it the enemy, or was it reinforcements? It looks like the reinforcements have arrived. Although the officials gave me the status of a senior commander and gave me the forbidden area of Jin City as an independent war zone, to be frank, they still don't fully trust me. These people must be the commanders of the several nearby war zones, and the first time they learned of the beast tide that occurred here. They sent people to reinforce us. Unfortunately, they still came too late, and the beast tide has already been quelled. Chen Mo smiled, and at that moment, he also guessed the deployment from above. As for Aunt Qin and Wen Chan on the shore, when they saw the fighter jets in the sky, they also felt the huge sense of oppression. Wen Chan frowned, a little dissatisfied. Reinforcements are only arriving now. Wouldn't that be a bit too slow? The war is over and they're just coming? But Aunt Qin didn't think so. It's not that they're coming too slowly. It's that Chen Mo and the others are killing monsters too quickly. After all, Chen Mo is still just a young man who has just awakened his commander. 
Even if he has really made great achievements, how could the top really not have any backhanders at all? The several war zones near Jean City are all keeping an eye on the Jean City Forbidden Area, and once they pick up on the danger occurring on the Jean City side, they will immediately come over to provide support. I'm afraid that they had already departed from the war zones when the beast tide began to gather, only that the speed of their support couldn't catch up with Chen Mo's speed of killing monsters. Hearing Aunt Chen's words, when Chan's entire body froze, the strength of Chen Mo's, it's really perverted. At this moment, the commander of the war zone who had come raging to reinforce him was looking increasingly puzzled. No, why is it so quiet? It can't be that the signal is wrong, right? There's no movement of magical beasts here either. It shouldn't be. The official notification that was released shouldn't be wrong. On this journey, they rushed like mad, fearing that the Jean City Forbidden Land would be broken, and then their war zone would also face the result of falling. However, the closer they got to the Jean City Forbidden Land, the more they felt that the situation was not right. It was completely different from the picture they had imagined. Thousands of rampaging magical beasts had not appeared, nor had the scene of the enemy and the enemy fighting each other with rivers of blood. The experienced commanders only thought that Chun Mo was isolating the demonic beast army and waiting for their reinforcements. And for a while, they thought that although Chen Mo was young, he still had a brain. However, when there were only a few kilometers away from the Jin City military harbor, but no sound of any magical beasts had been heard yet, even these commanders panicked. How could there be no sound at all? And even more bizarrely, on the radar detectors, not a single magical beast could be detected at all. Not to mention the beast tide. Evil. Really evil. Captain. It can't be that the information officially communicated is wrong. Right? How can there be a beast tide with thousands of magical beasts going berserk? Not to mention thousands. We can't even search one head. The commander who was piloting the airplane said with a grumbling face, they couldn't be blamed for speculating like this. Who would have thought that such a huge beast tide would have already ended? Just at this time, the crew hovering in the air sent a message. Captain, it's not good. Quickly enter the forbidden land yourselves and go up to the city walls to see the situation. I don't know how to describe it. I feel like I'm a bit blurry-eyed right now. Hearing the message from the war machine group, the first captain's heart sank. It couldn't be total annihilation. Could it? Those magical beasts had already hit the inside? They had come fast enough. And this Chen Mo was too much of a waste. Not having this strength and still daring to take on this porcelain job? If Chen Mu is really dead, he will not be able to eat and walk. The upper face of this Chen Mao is valued very much. Quickly, hurry into the Forbidden Land. Only, after entering the interior of the Forbidden Land and seeing the scene near the military harbor, the entire captain was completely dumbfounded. There was no imagined look of buildings being destroyed, nor was there the look of magical beasts wreaking havoc and destroying everything. Instead, there were two women's figures looming on the city wall not far away. Quickly, quickly get on the city wall. Upon ascending the city wall and seeing the image in front of him, the great captain who had come to provide support was completely dumbfounded. Crap, is this really fucking fake? How is this possible? How much does this have to be? Captain, what the hell is this? Thousands of magical beasts, all dead? The cries of alarm coming from his ears caused the first captain's brain to buzz. He even wiped his eyes with some disbelief, then opened them again. But the scene in front of him did not change at all. Total annihilation? The total annihilation wasn't Chun Mo and his Mech Nyang. But these thousands of magical beasts? Five mechs and one commander? That's how you killed so many demonic beasts cleanly? How is this possible? I've already rushed here at full speed. And as a result, I didn't even see anyone's tailpipe? With so many magical beasts, it would take him half a day to kill them just one by one. Right? This. Is this a lord level magical beast? It's dead too? Crap. The first time the first captain took out his cell phone clicked a few pictures, and sent them to the various groups. The five mechs were majestic. The tallest was over 300 meters and the smallest was only a few meters. But as they walked over in the direction of the city wall, even if it was only the smallest mech, it exuded a detached aura of stranger not to enter. And beneath their feet was the red carpet that thousands of magical beasts had used their lives to lay out for them. What qualifications do you have to taunt others? You guys went to support and still complained endlessly. Look at the fact that they need you to support them, cursing and swearing all the way. But in the end, you didn't even help a finger. Slap your face, your face is swollen. Too embarrassing, came over to see a joke, and ended up being that joke myself. At this moment, all the people who had spat on Chun Mo, one by one, were a little embarrassed to speak. It was like a puffer mocking the platinum god. People don't care about you. You still really think you're, are bullish and bad? Greetings, military commander. Greetings. Military commander. Greetings, military commander. Looking at Chen Mo's cold and emotionless eyes, 
The captain from the next theater who had come to support him did not have any attitude at all and gave Chun Mo a proper military salute. The machine girls behind him also saluted seriously. At this moment, how could they still be unwilling? Looking at the young commander in front of them, they only had respect in their hearts. Chen Mo was not only a commander under the protection of the officials, but also a true genius, a genius with great strength. Even though they hadn't witnessed the process of Chen Mao calming this beast tide, they knew that it was definitely not something they could do by themselves as they looked at the corpses all over the ground. In particular, that lord-class demonic beast looked to have died peacefully, completely unable to withstand Chen Mo's attack. With just this powerful battle strength, it had already surpassed 99% of the commanders. One had to know that they would have a hard time quelling even the beast tide caused by that small portion of the magical beasts in their own war zone, let alone such a large-scale beast tide. For a while, they even somewhat dared not imagine what kind of height Chen Mo could grow to if they gave Chen Mo 10 more years. At this moment, they finally recognized the official's decision from the bottom of their hearts. Chen Mo was worthy of the official's prudent treatment, and worthy of the official's dedication to cultivate him. The future Chen Mo would definitely become the most solid and powerful pillar of the Divine Dragon Kingdom. Seeing how serious the crowd was with their military salute, Chen Mo also hurriedly returned a military salute. All right, all right, no need to be so serious. Seriously, Chen Mo was still grateful for the support from these war zones. After all, they did not take the initiative to request for support, and they had worked hard to make this trip. By the way, if you guys have time, could I ask you for a favor? Military commander please instruct. As long as we can do it, we will certainly not excuse ourselves. Hearing Chen Mo's request, the crowd froze. Why? It's not a big deal. It's just that we can't very well deal with the corpses of the magical beasts that are roaming the mountains. Can you guys help clean up the battlefield? And if you don't mind, you guys can pull their corpses back to your barracks. And by then, the military merits and whatnot will also be given to you guys. Chen Mo said with a smile, he didn't really need these things anyway. That won't do. We can help you clean up the battlefield, but we didn't contribute to this war. The military credit should rightfully be yours. We can't take it. Seeing that Chen Mo was even planning to give them the military credit, the first captain refused right away. However, at the same time, his heart was deeply shaken. This was quelling a giant beast tide. There must be a lot of military merits. Chen Mo could not even look at this much military credit. Military honors could be exchanged for all sorts of parts and weapons. Didn't his machine girl need them? Since you guys don't want it, then donate it. Do you know of any places to donate it? Yes. The children of the bravely sacrificed commanders and machinists in various war zones. We have set up a small orphanage for them. The military seat if you want to donate you can donate it to them. I'll do it for them. Thank you. Military seat. Speaking here, the senior captain gave another military salute towards Chen Mo. Chen Mo's heart was also somewhat moved. After so many years of fighting between humans and magical beasts, a large number of commanders and machinists had sacrificed their lives, and their children had no one to rely on, so they finally had a place to stay. And these children are the children of martyrs, but also the future elite of the Divine Dragon Kingdom. The warriors in the war zone often donate military honors to these children, but they themselves don't have much military honors, so it's very few and far between every time. This time, Chen Mo donated these military merits, so it was conceivable that it was definitely a large amount. No one had ever been willing to donate so much before. Military commander, with all due respect, you might as well keep some military merits for yourself as well. Military merits can be exchanged for a lot of high-grade accessories, so you should keep more or less. Chen Mo shook his head. My machine girls don't need to purchase accessories. It's enough for me to empower them. Chen Mo's faint sentence caused everyone present to wind up in disarray. The entire battlefield fell silent after Chen Mordecai's sentence. My machine maidens, it's enough for me to empower them? Is empowerment something that can be done casually? If empowerment was really as easy as he said, wouldn't their commanders who had been awakened for years just take off? However, what Chen Mo said left them with no way to refute it. Aside from empowerment, what other way could make his machinima so powerful? Otherwise, why did Chen Mo not give a damn about these top priority military honors? Aside from the reinforcements on the scene, Aunt Qin and Wen Chan, who were in the distance, glanced at each other when they heard Chen Mo's words and saw the shock in each other's eyes. Sure enough, sure enough, it was empowerment. Chen Mo could empower his mecha. No wonder his mecha was so powerful. No wonder even the SSS class carrier, Wang Yuan, was willing to willingly follow Chen Mo. Military commander, then we'll go ahead and clean up the battlefield. The first captain of the reinforcements didn't dare to ask too many questions and hurriedly went to give his team the order to clean up the battlefield. And then, followed suit. Chen Mo, on the other hand, followed the machine nymphs back within the forbidden land. Buzz, 
After leaving the battlefield, the crowd of machine nymphs also transformed back into their human forms at the same time. Phew. Jumping down from the cockpit, Chen Emo slowly exhaled a long breath. The queen pilot is really strong. All the attributes are doubled. However, this side effect is also really big. The consumption is also doubled. Luckily, Dai Dai fed me a portion of it. Or else I'm afraid I really wouldn't be able to hold out a bit longer. Chen Emo secretly thought in his heart. But his gaze fell on the two beautiful women not far away. One was about 30 or 40 years old. But that smooth skin didn't even look like it should be at her age. And if it wasn't for that mature temperament. He really couldn't tell that she was an aunt. The other was about the same age as him. But she was really good looking. Even Xia Zhang was slightly inferior to her. The two absolutely beautiful women exuded an indescribable nobility. Chen Emo just took a cursory glance, and knew that these two people's identities were absolutely extraordinary, and the forces behind them were definitely very powerful. However, it was unknown just how high their identities were that they dared to trespass directly into the military camp? Chen Emo frowned, and after thinking about it, it was understandable. After all, now that society was in turmoil, the magical beasts were restless, the front line would often have large or small beast tides, they as the Divine Dragon Kingdom's machine maidens. It made sense to come and inspect them. If they did not care and caused the magical beasts to break through the defense line, they would not be able to take it in their stride. In the face of war, prescribed discipline sometimes depended on the situation. Who are you people? Chen Mao asked as he approached and opened his mouth. Reporting to the military seat, My name is Han Qin. Her name is Wen Chan. We came from Guangdong and wanted to pay a visit to the military seat. It's just that we didn't expect a beast tie to occur in the Forbidden Land so we didn't have time to apply and trespassed into the barracks, so please don't be offended by the military seat. Han Qin's voice was very sincere. In the face of such a strong strength of Chen Mo, she did respect him from the bottom of her heart. Watching Han Qin salute towards Chen Mo, Wen Shan also hurriedly saluted respectfully. Don't look at the two of them in Guangdong. We're from the big family Wen clan. On the battlefield, even if it was the old master of the Wen clan who came, when facing the supreme commander of the battlefield, they should still salute when it was time to salute. On the battlefield, the supreme commander had the greatest rights. Chen Emo raised an eyebrow and returned the salute. The magical beasts are rioting, and it is only right that the machine maiden support the front line. What is wrong with you guys? Since there is no fault, what is there to say about blaming you guys? Chen Emo said indifferently, without the slightest bit of dissatisfaction towards them in his tone. However, you just said that you guys came here to see me? To see me for what? Chen Emo was confused. He had no recollection of dealing with these two people as far as he remembered. Right, we are here to see you. Military seat. My family, Wen Chan, has not been able to find a suitable commander since our awakening. So we purposely came to the imperial capital from Guangdong this time, just to pay you a visit. But who knows that when we arrived at the imperial capital, we heard that you had already come to the forbidden land of Jin. So we could only come to the forbidden land to look for you. I didn't expect that this trip to the forbidden land would witness a miracle. Han Qin couldn't help but sigh with emotion as she looked towards the corpses of magical beasts that filled the ground around her. Chen Emo smiled and shook his head. I'm sorry, but I've already contracted it. Aunt Qin was not surprised to hear Chen Mo's words and hurriedly nodded as well. We know that. You've already contracted with Luo Dai. Chen Emo shook his head again, pointing at the five girls behind him, and said, No, not just Luo Jin. All of them, they are all my machinima. Those who have signed a permanent contract with me are officially machine nymphs. Chen Emo was no longer too worried about others knowing about his commander's talent, and he was even revealing his talent outwardly, whether consciously or unconsciously. After all, if he wanted to truly build a legion of wargirls, the more high-grade machine nymphs he needed, the better for sure. If others didn't even know that he was able to contract multiple mechas, how could they come to his door to find him? Chen Mo's words caused Han Qin to faintly stare. What? All of them are permanent machine girls? You contracted with all of them? When Chan even failed to hold back and directly exclaimed in shock. In her impression, although Chan Mo had many machine nymphs by his side, they only thought that Chan Mo had only temporarily contracted with them. After all, it was well known that a commander could only contract a single machine nymph. Luo Yan's voice slowly sounded. That's right, with Chan Mo, all of us are permanently contracted, and Chen Mo's talent can contract many machine nymphs at the same time. Is the SSS ranked commander's talent even this perverse? Surprisingly, he is able to contract many machine nymphs. Then you mean that all of you have been empowered by Chen Mo? When Shan suddenly felt her heart a little sour when she heard Luo Zhan's words, Wang Yuan suddenly let out a laugh when she saw Wen Chan's shocked expression. She couldn't help but think of herself a few days ago, who had almost the same expression as Wen Chan when she learned about Chen Mao's commander talent. Each of us, 
We have received many empowerments from Chun Mo, and almost all of them are top tier empowerments. And to tell you secretly, the engines of the five of us, all of them are S rank top tier curvature engines. And as for the other weapon empowerments, there are only a few more of them. What? Wang Yuan's words simply made Wen Chan completely doubt what she once knew. Even Han Qin, at this moment, was shocked that this was not present within the information she had gathered. That. Miss Wen, what is your mechanical prototype? Luo Dai asked with some curiosity. As the Luo family, a large family in the imperial capital, she recognized Wen Chan as early as when she declared herself. Only, she only knew that Wen Chan was an SSS class mecha, but did not know her specific information. The Wen clan was quite secretive about her mechanical prototype, and even Luo Zhan's father hadn't poked around. An empty sky fighter. My mechanical prototype is the air sky fighter. The only air sky fighter awakened in a hundred years. When Chan's voice exploded in everyone's ears. For a moment, everyone except Aunt Qin's eyes widened. An airborne fighter plane? The kind of airplane that could fight in outer space? Chen Mo was violently stunned, and his heart that wanted to be contracted throbbed instantly. An airborne fighter plane could even yaw the blue star and head towards other planets if it was powerful enough. Chen Mo had confidence in himself that as long as she contracted with him, under his own empowerment, he would definitely be able to build her into an existence similar to that of an interstellar battleship. If one possessed an air-to-air -air fighter, then there would be a chance to explore the universe and even detect the source of magical beasts. Thinking of this, Chen Mo could no longer restrain his throbbing heart. M.S. What? Are you willing to contract with me? Chen Mo asked slowly. However, he did not show the true shock within him. Instead, he had a breezy look on his face. As a matter of fact, even without an airborne fighter, Chen Mo was still very confident in himself. The big deal was that he would just keep empowering Luo Dai and paying more resources. And one day, Luo Dai would also become an Empyrean fighter under his empowerment. Even Wang Yuan, he had the confidence to build it into an interstellar battleship. However, right now there was a ready-made air sky fighter in front of him. And if it was contracted, then Chen Mo would save many, many unnecessary troubles. Moreover, Wen Chan was the only air sky fighter in the 100 years of the machine maiden era. So if he missed it, I'm afraid that if he wanted to wait for the next one, he wouldn't know when he would have to wait for it to go. As Chen Mo's words fell, everyone's gazes focused on Wen Chan's body at the same time. Facing so many pairs of gazes, Wen Chan's face instantly turned red. She didn't know why, but looking into Chen Mo's eyes, she was actually a little nervous. I don't know. In fact, Wen Chan wanted to agree directly, but the words of agreement were in her throat, but she still turned the corner. She was the most talented child of the Wen family's generation, the treasure in the palm of her parents' hands at home, and her pride did not allow her to agree so quickly. Even if Chen Mo was by far the most suitable commander for her, and the most promising and talented commander in the entire Divine Dragon Kingdom, however, she was an airborne fighter A. Eh? She was also very strong. She hadn't even contracted a commander, but Chen Mo had already contracted so many air fighters. For a while, Wen Shan was a little unbalanced in her heart. Military commander. Indeed, you are the most suitable commander for Wen Chan, and the most outstanding commander in the current Divine Dragon Kingdom. But when it comes to the big matter of contracting, Wen Chan can't make the decision on her own. She has to go home and discuss it with her parents. During this period of time, the Wen family has collected a lot of information on SSS class commanders for her, including those amazingly talented young men from the Southern War Zone. The matter of the contract may have to be discussed in the long run. Aunt Qin opened her mouth to explain for Wen Chan. However, both inside and outside of her words, she was making it clear that although you, Chen Mo, are very outstanding, our Wen Chan is also very popular, and you are not the only one she can choose from. Chen Mo understood the deeper meaning hidden in Aunt Qin's words, and at that moment, he smiled slightly and said in embarrassment, that was me being too abrupt. M.S. What? You are for so many years the Divine Dragon Kingdom's only air sky fighter, but believe me, you definitely won't be the first aircraft lady to leave the blue star and head to outer space. Before Chen Mo's words fell, Luo Dai took a step forward and blocked in front of Chen Mo with a protective look. What does that say? When Chen's eyes narrowed as she looked at Luo Dai with a hint of fire in her eyes. Also as a girl, she was naturally able to feel the provocation in Luo Jin's tone. Some time ago, Chen Mo just empowered me. My rank went from SS plus rank to SSS rank. That is, my initial rank was slightly lower. Unable to meet the conditions for fighting in outer space, but even my rank has broken through. Am I still far from boarding outer space? Luo Dai said proudly. Hearing Luo Dai's words, Wen Chan glanced at Aunt Qin, who also looked at Wen Chan with a shocked expression. The quality level of a Megane was predetermined at the time of awakening, 
and they had never seen a commander who was able to raise the level of a Megane. How could Chen Mo be so strong? He could even change the quality of a Megane? One must know that although Luo Jin's gap with Wen Chan was a bit large, once Luo Jin was upgraded to the SSS level, then the distance between them would only become smaller and smaller. After all, they were both fighters, only that the airbenders were of a higher quality. Honestly, as Chen Mo's machine mother, I'm selfishly unwilling to let Chen Mo contract with you, because once Chen Mo contracts with you, a portion of the empowerment that belongs to us will be shared with you. However, with the strength of the few of us is already enough to face many critical situations, like this beast tied today, even without you, the few of us can easily handle it, it's all the same with or without you, so why bother with the extra effort of letting Chen Mo contract with you, we have taken over the air, land and sea, and with Chen Mo's empowerment, we will eventually ascend to the outer planets, so what's the point of having you, wasting Chen Mo's empowerment for nothing, Luo Yan's voice was calm, and there were no ripples in what he said, it was like stating a fact, and there was no bragging, only, when these words fell on Wen Chan's ears, they made her furious, so what, you think that's the only difference between you and me, when you go to outer space, are you sure you'll be able to have the ability to fight for a long time, looking at Wen Chan's exasperated appearance, Luo Zhang grinned and said, speaking as if you can go to outer space alone, without a commander to supply you with energy, are you sure you can reach outer space, moreover, even if you contracted a commander, are you sure your commander would dare to take you to outer space to fight? Are they strong enough to support you for how long in outer space? Of course, if you look for those older veteran commanders, they may have the strength, but are you willing to contract with them? In the face of Luo Dai's rhetorical question that didn't even take a step back, Wen Chan was directly blocked speechless, although Luo Dai had used a provocative method. But how could what she said not be what Wen Chan cared about? Admittedly, Wen Chan's talent for aerial fighters was awesome, but without a commander to match it. It would be for nothing, to be honest, other than Chen Mo, Luo Jin really couldn't think of any other suitable commander for her. Otherwise, Wen Chan wouldn't have appeared here today. You're the one who contracted with those old men. Wen Chan, who was choked speechless by Luo Jin, roared in anger. It's not necessary. I have a commander. My commander is young, handsome and strong. Saying that, Luo Jin twisted her head to look at Chen Mao, reaching out and wrapping her hand around Chen Mao's arm with a happy expression on her face. Such a provocative look directly infuriated Wen Chan. Humph, Luo Dai, you wait for me. Today, Chen Mo is your commander. Tomorrow, he will be my commander. After saying that, Wen Chan pulled Auntie Qin and turned around. She couldn't wait to flash to her home in the blink of an eye, inform her family, and hurry to contract Chen Mo. Luo Zhan, this stinky girl, really pissed her off. Looking at the two's distant back, Yi Qingcheng gave Luo Dai a thumbs up. Dai Dai. Your words are too direct. Wen Chan is the only SSS class air and sky fighter. This talent is unprecedented. But to be said by you to be useless, are you really not afraid that she won't be able to accept it? Luo Zhan shrugged his shoulders and said with an innocent face, Which sentence I said is not the truth. Are there few SSS rank commanders awakened in the country? But other than Chen Mo, no matter who she contracts with, it's a waste of her talent. If she follows Chen Mo, she might be able to become a war girl in less than a few years and even really be able to ascend to the universe to talk to other planets, but if she follows someone else, I'm afraid that if we give her a hundred years, she won't even be able to become one, it's possible that by that time, several of us will be able to become war maidens before her, hearing this, Xia Zheng hooked her lips and smiled, so, you used the method of provoking her, deliberately provoking her and stimulating her, Luo Jin nodded, right, her family's conditions are much better than my family's, and her talent is also above mine, a heavenly maiden like her, from birth she has already reached heights that no one else can reach in a lifetime, if I don't stimulate her, and don't explain the pros and cons to her, I'm afraid that under her back and forth hesitation, she will choose someone else ah, whether it's because I selfishly want Chen Mo to be a little stronger or for the sake of the future of the divine dragon kingdom, in my opinion, the best place for Wen Chan to go is to contract with Chen Mo, she, can only contract with Chen Mo, on the other side, Wen Chan pulled Auntie Qin and spat one after another, so angry, Aunt Sheen, aren't you not contracted either, when I get home, I'll tell mom and dad that you're going to go indenture Chen Mu with me as well, I don't believe that I can't find my way back and can let Luo Jin ride on my head, the words of Luo Dai just now, really pissed off Wen Chan, gritting her teeth and thinking that next time, she must ruthlessly hit Luo Dai in the face, stupid or not, you're just too flat in your usual life, you're messed up when people provoke you a little, don't you realize at all that Luo Jin is using provocation with you, Han Qin had seen everything in her eyes, 
and naturally saw Luo Dai's little scheme at a glance. However, at this moment, when she heard that Wen Chan wanted her to join her in contracting with Chen Mo, she was actually a bit at a loss for words at the moment. Hmm, aggravating method? What is Luo Dai trying to provoke me for? Just to make me contract with Chen Mo? Watching Wen Chan come back to her senses, Aunt Xi nodded. Wen Chan was a bit confused. But why? She's also right. If I contracted with Chen Mo, I would indeed be splitting the quota for his empowerment. Ah, they're all losing out. So why would they still want me to contract with Chen Mo? Although Aunt Xin didn't know Chen Mo's talent very well, she was able to guess based on her guesses. How long has Luo Dai been contracted to Chen Mo only? Not even a month, right? But she's already gone from SS plus rank to SSS rank under Chen Mo's empowerment. Do you think she would be afraid of Chen Mo not empowering her? Or rather, do you think Chen Mo's empowerment would not be enough to score? Furthermore, just now, Luo Dai's words, every single one of them seems to be belittling you. But in reality, in reality, her tone was full of disdain for the other commanders, thus showing her satisfaction with Chen Mo. Chen Mo is very strong, and what Luo Dai said is also the truth. If you really contracted with other commanders, would you dare to fly directly to the universe? Listening to Aunt Qin's words, when Shan was then awakened, looking into her heart, she wouldn't dare. She was skeptical of the other commander's abilities. So naturally, she didn't dare to easily fly into outer space. One of the points Luo Zhan just made is also important. How long do you think it will take for you to become a war girl if you're with the other commanders? Wen Chan shook her head again. By now her mind had completely calmed down and she was seriously thinking about Aunt Qin's words. I don't know. If it's normal, it might take a hundred years. Aunt Qin continued to ask. Then, how long do you think it would take for them to become a war girl with Luo Jin and Chen Mao's other machine nymphs? This time, Wen Chan did not answer. It wasn't that she didn't know the answer, but she knew that the speed at which they became battle maidens had to be much faster than herself. She might need a hundred years, while Luo Dai and the others might only need a few decades, or even a dozen years, a few years. Seeing Wen Chan's despondent downcast expression, Aunt Qin smiled. So, what Luo Dai just said really isn't much of a problem. If the commander you end up contracting isn't Chen Mei, the gap between them and you will only grow wider, and they really do have the qualifications to spit on you a few times. Wen Chan blinked and asked, Then should I really contract with Chen Mo? Aunt Xin, do you support me in this decision? Aunt Xin nodded, I support you. Moreover, that sentence you just said in anger, I might seriously consider it, and after I discuss it with your parents, I might choose to contract with him as well. As for your parents' opinion, it doesn't matter whether they agree or disagree. It's enough that we've spoken to them and have our manners in place. After all, only a fool would miss the chance to make himself a war girl. Speaking of this, Aunt Sheen's eyes flashed with a glimmer, a yearning for a higher rank. Ha ha ha, Dai Dai did a great job. If I really contracted with Wen Shan, then if we really want to go to outer space at that time, then we can go together as well. Chen Mo's eyes narrowed as he laughed. In front of his machinima, the expression of feigned calmness that had just faced Wen Shan had long disappeared. That's right, maybe we can even explore more higher beings in the universe ahead of time. Luo Zhan nodded and smiled gently. That said, after just experiencing such a great battle and supplying energy to the five of us at the same time, won't you take a rest first? It's fine, with your counterfeiting talent, you gave me back a mouthful of fierce blood, so it wasn't too much of a drain. This battle looked to be a short and heavy task, and Chen Mo should have logically exhausted himself long ago. However, Luo Dai's gift of feeding back really provided him with ample energy to return. In this battle, not only did Chen Mo not run out of energy, he even became much stronger once again under Luo Dai's feedback. I got quite a few more goodies from this battle, and slaying commander class magical beasts and crossing over to slay lord class magical beasts gave me quite a few high level rewards. However, I didn't expect that over a thousand magical beasts would only be able to provide you with three empowerments. It's still a bit too little. Chen Mu spread his hands somewhat helplessly. If it was possible, Chen Mo was really wanting a little more reward. Otherwise, the plan to create his own battle maiden would have to be delayed until what year or month? It's already a lot. What you're empowering us with now are all top quality equipment. How many witches won't be able to get this kind of empowerment once in their entire lives? Moreover, this is just a relatively easy battle. There are still plenty of opportunities in the future. Xia Zhang's small hand gently wrapped around Chen Mo's arm and softly comforted, having followed Chen Mao all the way. She was well aware of Chen Mao's lack of ease, and at this time, she really felt sorry for him from the bottom of her heart. If we calculate according to a thousand magical beasts being able to provide you with three pieces of S-class equipment, ten thousand magical beasts can provide thirty pieces, one hundred thousand heads provide three hundred pieces, and one million heads provide three thousand pieces. 
How many beast tides would have to occur before we are able to kill enough magical beasts for one million? The more Chen Mo counted, the more alarmed he became, and the more he lost his nerve. Chen Mordor, cultivating a battle maiden is a very difficult thing in itself. Over the course of so many centuries, there are only a handful of machine nymphs that can become Battleheim. It's already difficult for you to quickly create a Battleheim. Not to mention that you want to cultivate all of us to become SSS class Battleheims. This is simply an impossible task. Moreover, many of the machine nymphs will even let their commanders lower their empowerment level in order to become Battleheim. For example, an SSS ranked Megane, when the commander is empowered, they will make him lower to a rank or even C rank to be empowered. Like you. It's simply impossible for every time to be an S-rank empowerment. Wang Yuan opened her mouth to explain. In her opinion, Chen Mo's idea was simply outrageous. Chen Mo frowned and asked in doubt. But with this kind of empowerment, won't it affect their battle power? That must have an impact. However, they can replace the low-grade accessories on their bodies by purchasing top-grade accessories, so that the side effects of their battle power will be cancelled out, or at least won't be lowered too much. So, in fact, the initial quality of each mecha goddess just has some advantages before the contracted commander, but once the accessories are all replaced, those advantages will also be leveled out. Listening to Wang Yuan's words, Luo Jin nodded. That's right, it's really too difficult to build out a warjack, and if you want to gain some things, you'll inevitably have to give up others. Chen Emo listened to the two women's words and shook his head instead. That can't be said to be absolute. Moreover, I still don't believe that with all S-class empowerments and all S-class accessories, I still can't build it. If I'm able to reach outer space and hunt the magical beasts of outer space, there's a chance that it can still provide me with some unexpected surprises. Ten years, in ten years time, I will definitely be able to do it. I want you all, all of you, to become SSS class battle maidens. Chen Mo's eyes were firm as he reckoned. At least, before White Feather returned, he must make a breakthrough. Chen Mo, I believe in you, and since I'm an SSS class machine girl myself, I don't need you to level me up. If there's really no other way, I'm willing to downgrade myself. Wang Yuan looked at Chen Mao's believing appearance at this moment and wondered why she was just willing to trust him. There was no reason to trust him. What's more, the empowerment she needed as an SSS class aircraft carrier was simply too much to imagine. I'm willing to. We're willing to. Hearing everyone say this, Chen Mo waved his hand. You guys don't need to be like this. I have my own plans. And you all don't need to think about such things anymore. I definitely won't let your battle power drop. Instead, I'll let you all significantly increase your battle power. The higher the level of the demonic beasts we behead, the more generous the rewards will be. When the time comes, we'll have everything if we kill a few more demon king level, monarch level magical beasts, or even sovereign level magical beasts, Chen Mo said with a smile. Only, when these words fell into the ears of the crowd, they caused everyone to freeze for a moment. Demon king level? Monarch level? Juggernaut level? Is this really not a dream? Boom! Boom! As Chen Mo and the machine nymphs looked into the future, a huge roar came from the battlefield just moments ago. A head of steel fiendish beasts were all sorted together, stacked one on top of the other, literally piling up into a mountain of steel. Ooh, this is really fast. It's almost moved in so little time. I'll have to hurry up and take a few pictures and post them to my circle of friends. Chen Mo, do you still need a machine lady? What if a high-ranking machine maiden wants to contract with you at that time? Zheng Yinqing looked at the tall mountain of demonic beast corpses and hurriedly pulled out her cell phone. This was their masterpiece today. How could they not show off and flaunt it? Then let's contract it. Our future goal isn't just the Divine Dragon Kingdom or even the Blue Star. Our goal is outer space. The more witches the better. Of course. Go go go. Let's go and take pictures together. These are all killed head to head. We have to keep a souvenir. Chen Mo pulled the crowd and ran to the battlefield to click pictures. Just at this time, the first captain of the reinforcement army piloted his own machine girl and brought his team members to Chen Mo. Military commander, the battlefield has been cleared by us, and at the same time, the transports have been notified. Our warzone's military seat is already on its way here as well. Chen Mo froze. Your military seat is coming? Yes, accompanied by the two general commanders of our warzone. Military commander, if there are no other orders, we will go and resume our orders first. The first captain said respectfully, just now. When he led his team to clean up the battlefield, he clearly saw the wounds on the magical beasts, the wounds that were crisp and clean, without the slightest bit of resistance at all, displayed Chen Mo's strength to the fullest, either it was a slash that killed in a single blow, either it was a direct shattering, and all of that thick metal armor was in pieces, it was too fierce, their military seat was afraid that none of them were as fierce as this young man in front of them, it was really hard on you guys today, 
Chen Mo did not hold back and gave a standard salute. The brigade captain and team members on the opposite side of the room hurriedly returned the salute. After the salute, the crowd left the Jin City military harbor. After about 10 minutes of time, the sound of rumbling airplanes flying came from the sky. A transportation plane flew in a neat line towards Chen Mo's direction. Soon, it landed on top of the runway in the restricted area of Jin City. The airplane hatch opened, and three stunningly beautiful girls walked down. Chen Mo froze. He had never expected that the military seat and two chief commanders of a district would all be girls. Although they were not young, they were really young and beautiful. One should know that at the chief commander level, the battle power would already be above eight bars. If we were to compare it to a magical beast, the strength of eight bars would be equivalent to a magical beast at the level of a demon king. Such a strong strength meant that the machine lady in front of her was at least a hundred years old. They had accompanied them through most of the hundred years of this machine nymphera, witnessing the vast majority of major events. Thinking of this, Chen Mo could not help but get serious and admire them from the bottom of his heart. It was only a pity that they hadn't become battle maidens after all, and their commanders were still a bit worse after all. Chen Mei, ever since your awakening, your name has always been ringing in my ears, and today I've finally met you in person. Indeed, you are a talented person with a bright future. During this period of time, the day I don't hear from you, I feel a bit dry and tasteless. A chief minister who walked head on, smilingly stretched out his hand towards Chen Mo. Chen Mo hurriedly greeted him and saluted. Greetings, Chief General. Chen Mo, this is Chief Chiefly, whose current battle strength is 8 bars and 6 stars. Chen Mo hurriedly saluted and was quite shocked in his heart. That was 8 bars and 6 stars. It was estimated that this would already be the topmost battle power of a human mecha in the century of the mecha era, right? This is Chief Lu, with a battle power of 8 bars and 5 stars. Greetings, Chief Lu. Chen Mo saluted once again. Ha ha ha, Army Commander Chen doesn't need to be so polite. We allow you to be a bit more unrestrained. Chief Commander Lu smiled kindly, there was a very kind fondness in his gaze towards Chen Mo, but more than that, he was still curious about Chen Mo, with this beast tied today, you have truly honored our war zone, you probably don't know, those old guys from the other war zones have been looking at the two of us for a joke, your performance this time has simply made us raise our eyebrows, Generalissimo Lu's gaze shifted from Chen Mo to that big steel mountain in the distance, a look of relief on his face, Chief General's fallacious praise, Chen Mo at this time showed particular modesty. After all, these two chief chiefs that had real strength in them, you don't need to be so formal. Your performance today is already the best reward for us. However, the next few days may be very difficult for you. You must guard this Jin City forbidden land for me. Chief Director Li said somewhat sternly to Chen Mo. Don't worry chief, as long as I, Chen Mo, am around, I will never let any magical beasts cross the defense line. Chen Mo said with a straight face. Chen Mo. You're still young. You haven't experienced a real total attack by a magical beast. When real magical beasts are attacking, what you will be facing with this defense line is not just thousands of magical beasts. The number of confiscations will most likely reach over 100. 000 heads. The faster you decimate, the more the magical beasts will replenish this line of defense of yours. Understand? The magical beasts can launch a constant stream of attacks, but humans will always run out of strength. And the defense of a battle line is not something that can be blocked by strong men alone. Every battle line needs countless witches to rotate and alternate in order to last. Looking at Chief Li's serious expression, Chen Mo's heart shook. Is it that terrifying? The expression on Chen Mo's face looked horrified. But in reality, he was all happy in his heart. With the queen's driver turned on, his entire attributes doubled. And with Luo Dai's feedback, it was not a problem for him to battle for a day and a night now. What's more? There was still room for him to improve his attributes, and when the time came to fight more and more bravely, wouldn't all of these magical beasts be his resources? Once the deep sea rift is opened, the magical beasts will be a steady stream from the bottom of the sea. At that time, from the city wall where we are standing now, we can't see the sea at all. All the magical beasts are in great numbers. Those magical beasts crowded head to head, crowded the whole sea. This is also why, the city walls of the coastal war zone are built as high as possible. Even if there is extra metal, it must be added to the city walls. If the walls aren't high enough and thick enough, they simply won't be able to withstand so many magical beasts. As Chief Lu looked at Chen Mo's dangling, completely not taking Chief Li's words to heart, he was a little angry for a moment. Chen Mo was indeed still too young to recognize the seriousness of the matter. I can defend myself. Listening to Generalissimo Lu's in-death analysis, Chen Mao's heart had long since turned stupid. These magical beast armies that were a disaster for other commanders were instead a great opportunity for him that he couldn't even beg for. He was not afraid of the number of magical beasts. 
but was afraid that there would not be enough magical beasts for him to kill. When the time came, he would install a superconducting electromagnetic cannon to all of his machine girls, shining a frantic output at the demonic beast army, and one blast would destroy a piece. As for the energy problem, the big deal was to let Luoxian rest at that time, keep empowering her, and then keep getting her feedback. Not only would it make Luoxian stronger, but he himself would also be able to maximize the benefits. This simply couldn't be too pleasurable. If there really was this kind of mega beast tied but once, he would not be far from his goal of ascending into outer space. Looking at Chun Mo not only did not have a trace of fear, but instead was also vaguely excited. Both chief ministers were somewhat helpless. Alas, you're still young and don't understand what a mega beast tide is, but we've prepared something for you, even if it's a gift for your first meeting. Chief Minister Lee spoke helplessly, only seeing Chief Director Lee raise his hand. The young girl who received the order hurriedly carried a tin box over to Chun Mo and gently placed it at his feet. What is this? Chen Mo froze and looked at Chief Lee, Taiji Shangling Dan a nourishing type of elixir developed by the Ministry of Industry, specially given to machinists who have lost their commanders. The Taiji Life Spirit Elixir can be taken by a Megane before a battle, and it can provide the Megane with a very large amount of biokinetic energy. The effect is also very powerful if taken by the commander. If in the middle of a battle, when the commander is exhausted and unable to provide energy, he only needs to take one to recover with full blood. Considering that your situation is rather special, the Life Spirit pill we gave you is the highest grade the kind we usually take, and it's more powerful than the ordinary ones. After Chiefly finished speaking, Chief Lu spoke. The magical beasts have been rioting more and more frequently in recent years. The next war, no one can guarantee how grueling it will be. If you are really able to bring your machinima to guard the forbidden land of Jean, it will be the equivalent of saving us two legions of combat power. After saying that, there was a hint of anticipation in Chief Li's gaze towards Chen Mo. Chen Mo, on the other hand, was attracted to that Taiji Shangling pill. Is this thing so strong? If he had these elixirs, then he would have an additional layer of protection, and they would be able to fire a steady stream of even those high-grade cannons. Do you think that the officials are eating their words? It's just that although this elixir is powerful, the ingredients used are also particularly precious, and currently it can only be used by a portion of powerful commanders and machine girls. Then, can you give me some more? Chen Mo asked cheekily. There are a hundred of them in this case and all of them are of a quality reserved for the strength of king-level magical beasts and above. This isn't enough for you? Chiefly was a bit teary-eyed. Chen Mo this person she really was a bit inscrutable, letting go of her military achievements, letting go of such a mountain of magical beast corpses, but instead, she had her heart set on this small elixir. Can't it be that this elixir can be as important as military honors? Chen Mo, it's not that I won't give it to you. This kind of elixir is, after all, a foreign substance. Even if you eat too much of it, it won't do any good to your body. It's purely just to replenish the empty biokinetic energy during the battle. Chief Lu explained to Chun Mo with a speechless face. I know, but you all know that my situation is somewhat special. I'll take as many of these types of elixirs as I can get. As long as you give me enough of them, I guarantee that no matter how many heads of magical beasts come, be it 100, 000 or a million, as long as there are enough of the elixirs, these magical beasts won't be able to even think of stepping one foot into the forbidden land of Jean City. Moreover, I can use myself as bait to attract more firepower during the war. How's that? Chen Mo hurriedly explained. This kind of elixir might not be very useful to others, but to him, it was simply a splash of riches. At that time, it wouldn't be the magical beasts coming to break into the forbidden land. It would be him going out to find confiscated massacres. How much do you want? The two chief ministers looked at each other and asked then surely the more the better. Ah, come what may. Chen Mo was not polite at all. It was almost as if he was treating the two chief ministers like ingrates. However, all of these pills would be transformed into points in disguise at that time, and would also be his guarantee to kill the magical beasts. As expected, Chief Minister Li looked at Chen Mo with a speechless expression. You are truly a bit of a lion. However, I can only give you a maximum of 200 more. Any more and I don't have any more. Chiefly gritted her teeth and promised her own share of pills to Chen Mo as well. Then I'm here. Thanking the two chief ministers, Chen Mo instantly smiled and saluted the two chief generals. So pleased with himself, 300 life spirit pills were more or less enough for him to use for a while. Chen Mo, do you really not need to increase your staff? You only have such a small number of people here? Facing Chief Lu's question, Chen Mo shook his head with a confident expression. With these pills, I'll give you your reinforcements when the time comes. Chen Mu hooked his lips and smiled speaking in a domineering manner, looking at such a radiant Chen Mo, Chiefly's somewhat aged heart instantly felt a sense of youthful vigor, 
Good, then I'll wait for you to continue creating miracles. However, this beast tied today happened a bit strangely. How could so many magical beasts suddenly gather here? The two chief ministers glanced at each other, both seeing the gravity in the other's eyes. Chen Mo was rather relaxed. I killed their master here a few days ago, so I'm afraid they hold a grudge against me. So I just came here and they sensed my aura and rioted to kill me. Chiefly shook his head. Chen Mo ah Chen Mo, there are too many secrets on you. Frankly speaking I can't see through you at all. But since this is your business, I won't ask too much. Chun Mo asked immediately afterward. The demonic beast invasion. Roughly when will it break out again? According to the official notification, it should be within a month. We can't rule out the possibility of the time being advanced. Around 10 days is also possible. So, Chen Mo, you must be ready for war here at all times. A war could happen every moment. No probability. It will break out tomorrow. Chief Lu said to Chun Mo with a serious face. Chen Mo nodded forcibly controlling the elated expression on his face and being as serious as possible. Good, we will definitely take more precautions. At this time, Chen Mo's machine girls had also finished filming and were ready to return. Chief Lu looked at Wang Yuan, his eyes narrowing slightly. I didn't expect that Wang Yuan would choose to contract with you as well, but she's very different from the last time I saw her. That weapon of hers looks very uncomplicated, and I remember that Wang Yuan's engine had a big problem, but it looks as if it has been resolved now? Chen Mo nodded. Her weapon is one that I empowered her with. S rank. As for her engine problem I have also empowered her to replace it with a curvature engine. So the current Wang Yuan, not only does she not have any problems, but instead she is quite powerful. And the two of us teaming up. The Lord level magical beasts are easy to handle. If I use some means, there's a good chance that I can even challenge a demon lord class magical beast to try it out. There was no need to hide these things from the chief minister and the others. So Chen Mo gave a very frank explanation. However, even the two chief masters who had seen a lot of things also sucked in a breath of cool air when they heard Chen Mo's words. Hiss. You're saying that the weapons you've added to her and the engines you've replaced are all S-class? The two of them looked at Chen Mo in disbelief. Their face is shocked. Chen Mo was really too out of their expectations. Having just awakened the commander in less than two months. Even if the strength was so strong, the quality of the empowerment was surprisingly so high as well? To be able to fight with a demon king level magical beast and try it out. This battle power was almost catching up with her. You have to know that she is an 8 bar 6 star strength ah. How long did it take her to reach the strength? How long did Chen Mo use? It was a shock to not compare. And what about your other machinima? Did they also receive the same quality of empowerment? Chief Lu held back his inner excitement and hurriedly asked. Yes. All of their engines have been empowered by me with S rank curvature engines. And their weapons have all been empowered with higher level ones. Almost all of them are S rank. Some of them may be of a slightly lower grade. So let's find a chance to re-empower them in the future. Chen Mei unreservedly said it all. After all, with his current strength, there was almost no need to hide such trivial matters. Only, the slight bit of dissatisfaction that faintly showed on Chen Mo's face still stung the two chief ministers. Chen Mo, you should be a god-level commander. Even if you aren't now, the future you will inevitably ascend to the pinnacle of commanders. Chief Minister Li's eyes were already very fervent as she looked at Chen Mo at this time. It was really hard for her to suppress the throbbing in her heart. Chen Mo, his future would definitely reach a new pinnacle, and the SSS class commander rank would not be able to accommodate him at all. A god level commander? Is there a commander of this level? Chen Mo had never heard of this kind of commander rank, so much so that he was a bit confused when he heard Chief Li's words. You are. Chief Li took a deep breath and firmly told Chen Mo, but it's not right. I've seen it before. My rank is still SSS. It hasn't changed. Chen Mo shook his head and said helplessly, that's not your problem, it's the problem of the mecha system itself. The mecha system shows that the upper limit of a commander's rank is SSS rank, and it will only show SSS rank above that. Chen Mo, can you tell me all your hidden talents? Also let us have a preparation in mind. Chiefly was really too curious about Chen Mo, and ultimately did not hold back and asked this question. I, my first hidden talent is unlimited mecha synchronization which allows me to contract and manipulate multiple mechs at the same time. And all of them are my permanent mechs, not temporary contracts. I can superconductor harness, as long as after contracting with me, I can remotely harness all the mecha nymphs contracted with me. And the sensing systems and such between the mecha nymphs can all be connected together. Chen Mei still had some slight reservations about his talents, and only said part of it. What about the empowerment? The two chief chiefs glanced at each other, suppressing the shock in their hearts. Unlimited mech synesthesia, multi-line remote piloting, and sensory sharing. This, they had truly never seen a commander with such an unbelievable talent. 
This had simply completely subverted the rules of the contract between the commander and the mech woman, subverting the common sense and foundations of the mech woman era. Up to this point, the two of them thought even more that Chun Mo was a born god level commander. If one looked at it this way, all of Chen Mordecai's contracted machine nymphs were simply a decentralized whole under the shared role. Regardless of how far apart they were, they could always make sure to work together silently. As the commander of this whole, Chen Mo acted as the brain, while the machine nymphs were his limbs. Once the command was given, all the machine nymphs could instantly and tacitly cooperate. No wonder, no wonder Chen Mo could manage this independent war zone so perfectly. He did not need others to cooperate with him at all, and the cooperation of others was rather a drag for him. This trip to the forbidden city of Tianjin by the two chief ministers was truly a bit beyond their imagination, as the corpses of the magical beasts outside the city walls were all moved onto the transportation plane. The two chief ministers also said goodbye to Chun Mo, with the war on the horizon. They really had a lot of things to deal with. It was already not easy for them to be able to find the time to come and see Chen Mo this time. Only, on the airplane, the two chief ministers had not yet gotten over their shock. Old Lu, honestly, ever since my short-lived commander sacrificed himself, I've never moved for a second contract. But today, I'm really a bit moved. No, no, it's very moved. Very moved. Chiefly looked at Chief Lu, recalling Chen Mo's valor. He couldn't help but speak. Old Li, do you think that if Chen Mo was our commander, if he was piloting us, would we be able to have a chance to talk to a king level or above magical beast in outer space? Chief Lu's eyes moved slightly and asked in a soft voice, We don't know yet, Chen Mo is still in his developmental stage after all. However, the future is not certain. Five years, ten years, he will inevitably be able to. Chief Lu replied without the slightest hesitation at all. However, when he thought of his own age and Chen Mo's age, he also thought of the gap between himself and Chen Mo. The light in Chief Minister Li's eyes could not help but dim a little. The next few days after the beast tide ended, the various research lines in the forbidden area of Jin City were also officially on the agenda, and the various departments were busy working overtime. With the forbidden land in the middle of the imperial capital and the city of Jin being opened up, the masses of the imperial capital were arguably the most shocked group. The moment they saw the official notification, the entire crowd almost jumped up and down in excitement. This was a moment that they had waited for far too long. However, very quickly, the entire population joined in the work of rebuilding the city. In particular, the thousands of square kilometers of land on the outskirts of the forbidden land of Jin City that intersected with the imperial capital had changed considerably with each passing day. Under Chen Mo's layout and the support of high tech, the Divine Dragon Country, which was known to be an infrastructural maniac, looked like it was coming back to life. A high rise building rose from the ground, and the missile bases and satellite launch centers gradually took shape. The energy center in the forbidden land of Jin City also began to be steadily constructed. The battleship mech that had been snatched from Wiener's hands at the time of the original Great War had also been thoroughly transformed by Chen Mo, and had now become the guard of the city of Jin, and its strength had also been drastically increased to the equivalent of a five-star mech, and the official investigation of the dome above had basically come to fruition. The identity of offshore Sakura's Blue Star Two-Fifths had also been solidified, if it wasn't for the fact that he couldn't spare his hands right now. Chen Mo really wanted to give them a round of East Wind Express for fun. Chen Mo had been led by the nose by that group of magical beasts some time ago, and a war had just ended, followed by another anomaly. It was not easy to get a break, and he did not let go of the opportunity to recuperate himself. Right at this time, Chen Mo received a call from Yu Hongru. Chen Mo, congratulations on becoming a national scholar. Thank you, thanks to your cultivation of me, Chen Mo said in an unassuming manner. Ha ha ha, this is what you deserve. I kind of feel that this title is a bit unworthy of your achievements. Yu Hongru laughed. He was really too satisfied with Chen Mo. If he didn't have a daughter, he would have wanted to marry his daughter to Chen Mo. By the way, today I give you this call. I want to talk to you. The SS class aircraft carrier thing. After such a long time of review, the above has passed my proposal. It is really because this matter is more important. So it took a little longer. Also hope that you can understand a little. Yu Hongru kindly explained to Chen Mo. Well, I understand. The main reason is that all of my recent thoughts have been invested in the forbidden land of Jin City. Only after the crisis in this neighborhood is dealt with cleanly, will I feel relieved to go south? Hearing Chen Mo's words, Yu Hongru's entire body shook. Is it hard for you to believe that you are preparing to move those two escaped forbidden land masters again? Chen Mo shook his head and replied, Alas, the location of the Jin City military harbor is relatively important. It's hard to fight down the land. We can't give it to them again. It's better to deal with the potential crisis earlier, and also feel more at ease. Yu Hongru frowned, 
Then do you need us to give you any support? No, it's enough to have the Imperial Capital Psi to give me a little support. It doesn't take too many people to beat them. Chen Mo had conducted a very detailed reconnaissance of the surroundings of the Forbidden Land in Jin City over the past two days. And the Forbidden Land had already begun to produce various missiles internally as well. It was thought that there was no shortage of resources. At the same time, the two of them, Beria and Drew, were also plotting. The monarch-class magical beasts that had been transferred back from the side of the magic capital had already been modified and upgraded under Drew's operation. Belial, on the other hand, suddenly ran in with a terrified face. Drew, it's not good. That damn Chen Mo has made another move. Drew raised his eyebrows and asked, what's the situation? As the master of the most technologically advanced forbidden land, Drew's usual favorite thing to do was to fiddle with various grades of mechs. Before meeting Chen Mo, Transforming and creating the most advanced mechs had always been Drew's most fulfilling thing. However, after meeting Chen Mo, it was as if he had suddenly encountered an unbeatable enemy in this field. And for the first time, he felt frustrated. In particular, Wiener's death had turned his perception of the Blue Star people upside down. So much so that, ever since the end of the last war, he had been locking himself up in his lab, forcing himself to research even more powerful mechs in preparation for the next attack. How in the world did Chen Mao kill Wiener? I really can't figure it out. Belial spat frantically, but Drew didn't want to hear that. Get straight to the point. I don't want to listen to these boring complaints of yours. With this amount of time, my monarch-class magical beasts have all been transformed. Belial squared his shoulders. Chen Mei has already pushed the borderline to the edge of my region. Is he treating me like that dumbass Wiener? Drew, I'm going to give him a lesson to taste. Hearing Belial's tirade, Drew was a bit surprised. The borderline had always been a declaration of territorial sovereignty between humans and magical beasts. For the past hundred years of the machine mother era, only humans had been beaten by the magical beasts in retreat. When had humans dared to seize territories with the magical beasts, Chen Mo's action had indeed aroused the anger of Belial and Drew, especially after Wiener had been decapitated by Chen Mo. The two of them had become more united as well. The magical beasts I'm upgrading right now are almost based on human mechs making modifications but it will take at least two more days for the modifications to be completed. By the way, didn't you apply for support from the headquarters? Has it not arrived yet? Drew asked towards Belial while pondering. Belial sighed, depressed at the thought of this matter. The main target on the headquarters side is still the magic capital, so they only gave us reinforcements of six commander-class magical beasts, and I'm going to fuse them all. Drew froze, commander-class magical beasts are fused too? What if we don't fuse them, even if I risk failing to fuse? I still have to try. Ever since the last time, when Beria heard Wiener say that the Commander class magical beasts were all dead as well, he knew that Commander class magical beasts had no sense of threat at all to Chun Mo. However, there were almost no high level magical beasts in Belial's hands, so there was really nothing else to do other than risk fusion. If these few Commander class magical beasts could have the good fortune to fuse into Monarch class magical beasts, then they would be directly developed. One must know that a monarch class magical beast was five times the battle power of a commander class magical beast. Was this fear of not being able to take down Chen Mo? Belial, I suggest that you follow the strategy we talked about before. Defend first, and when you're sure that you can suppress that human, it won't be too late to make a sentence of annihilation at that time. Since Wiener's death, Drew's motivation to work with Belial had increased quite a bit. The last time he had fought face to face with Chen Mei and almost fell, it was really out of his expectation. I've already transferred all of the ground units from the previous side of the military harbor to assist in the defense. In addition the fleet from the side of the military harbor can also provide you with firepower suppression. It's a small matter for Chen Lei to come and attack my steel city, but don't let it be like last time, when you were directly stolen from your home. Alas, that idiot wiener, it took so much effort to defend it for so many years, but as a result, such a large area, all of it was directly stolen. Drew had a face of indignation but there was nothing he could do about it. Jean City Forbidden Land. Another few days passed, and the missiles had been put into production since they were developed. Looking at the large number of molded missiles, Chen Mo's heart was indescribably solid. This is finally the missiles are free, no longer need to be made difficult by the wraith. So damn cool. These missiles, from the drawings to the materials, to the final research and development and manufacturing, were all provided by Chen Mo, so the cost could be said to be quite low. The funds that had been looted from above the dome before, as well as the income from the underground kingdom for so long, had also been more than enough. Since Chen Mo's underground kingdom had begun operating, the various accessories and such that were produced had all been sold at very cost-effective prices, to the point where almost all of the mechs in the imperial capital had had their battle power upgraded to a large extent. 
There were also more and more powerful commanders and mechs that joined the Hundred Battles Mercenary Corps. Just as Chen Mo was watching the situation get better and better, the alarm of the Forbidden Land suddenly sounded. Another air unit invasion has been detected. Please respond in time. Commander, the defense of the Forbidden Land has been automatically activated. Chen Mo was stunned. Air units? What kind of ungrateful person has come to pick a fight? Chen Mo directly called up the satellite image and locked onto the invading unit. The place where the alarm sounded was the missile base that was still under construction. Luckily, the missile base is not yet built. If the missile base is all built, it is full of all kinds of missiles, cannons and armored tanks and other things that Chen may put inside. In case the time to blow up, that can be really can die of anger. However, in the picture, the ground was covered with pieces of fighters, so the invading unit must have been wiped out. The desperate nanowire. It really deserved to be a defense essential. It was really good. Especially when it was installed all over all the key locations. The enemy basically couldn't even scan without the plug-in. Even if an army of magical beasts broke in, I'm afraid that before they could feel the pain, they would be dead. Apart from the fighters that had already been turned into pieces, the remaining few surviving fighters saw this situation and hurriedly turned their nose towards the enemy, rushed to turn their fighters around and head back. However, Chen Mei had already made a rather sufficient modification. At the same time, several missiles were directly fired out, and several more fighters became a ball of fire. The several fighters that flew at the front hurriedly launched missiles to intercept the missiles as they flew in. Although this wave of missiles was successfully intercepted, Luo Dai rushed up immediately afterward. This time, the one the wraith sent to cause trouble was a four-star prisoner mecha, although it was indeed much stronger. For Luo Jin, it was just like cutting vegetables. Seeing that Luo Dai was about to instantly kill those two prisoner mechs, Chen Mo hurriedly spoke. Dai Dai, leave one of them and ask about the situation. All right. Luo Dai hooked her lips and smiled, not putting these two prisoner mechs in her eyes at all. Hashtag you and percent you and hashtag percent you and hashtag. Ha, huh? listening to the words spoken by the prisoner mech in front of him, Luo Dai frowned. This, thing, it seems to be an offshore Fusong mech. Luo Dai, who originally still had a trace of sanity left, had no reservations at that moment. In the blink of an eye, the prisoner mecha brushed against the heavenly vault battle voice in an instant. A large hole was instantly broken at the chest of the prisoner mecha. If it wasn't for Luo Dai's exquisite control in staggering his vitals, just this blow would have been enough to kill the prisoner mecha. The interaction system was directly cut off, and the synchronization rate between the commander and the mech was getting lower and lower. Commander Sakura, who was sitting inside the prisoner mech, was filled with horror. How could there be such a strong mecha? He was a four-star prisoner mecha, but he couldn't even hold up a single blow? As the energy ran out, the commander and the mecha transformed back into their original forms. Chen Mo also piloted the explosive Skyfire Carp to the battlefield at this time, and exited the mech at the first opportunity. Looking at the slowly hating Fusang people in front of him, he slowly opened his mouth. Can you speak Shenlong? At Yuan hashtag percent Yuan star. Baga. Although Chen Mo did not understand what that commander said, but the last two words, heard clearly. I'm going to hell. Chen Mo shone his fist at the commander's face and punched him. However, the moment he punched over, the crowd present were all confused. Was his head made of dough? Otherwise, how could it be hammered out with a single punch? Xia Zhang and Luo Dai were even more shocked in their hearts at this moment. The two of them, as Chen Mo's machine maidens, naturally knew that all of Chen Mo's qualities had improved greatly. However, they really did not expect that Chen Mo's strength had actually reached such a terrifying level. In fact, even Chen Mo himself was somewhat surprised. He just didn't hold back for a moment before striking out. Who knew that he had caused such a terrifying effect with one punch? Ha! What bad luck! I should have known not to use my hands. This is too disgusting. Chen Mo took out a tissue and wiped the bloodstains on his hands while walking towards the prisoner mech. What about you? Can you speak Shenlong? Will 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 will. I will. Then you see. Are you going to give an honest explanation yourself? Or will I come and force you to do so? I, I, I'll say it myself. Seeing Chen Mo kill his own commander. This prisoner mecha had already been scared half to death. It had completely lost the courage to go against Chen Mo. I was actually forced to do so. I didn't want to be a 250 myself. But my commander he betrayed humanity. I had no choice. Chen Mo frowned. Glancing at the woman with an impatient face. Don't you fucking. Force my hand. You know what I'm asking you. And I don't mind sending you away if you say any more of this nonsense. Chen Mo's cold and icy tone simply made Nozawa Yuzi's soul freeze. No longer daring to snort. She hurriedly replied honestly. We were ordered by the Fusan officials to scout the internal situation of the Divine Dragon Kingdom. It seems like the Demonic Beast Lord gave pressure and forced us to scout. Yuko Nozawa's words caused Chen Mo to frown. 
Ha, to put it bluntly, it's still being the human's second fiddle? No need to say anymore. Give me the coordinates of your base. N33, E125. Nozawa Yuko thought for a moment before finally opening her mouth to reply. Chen Mode snorted disdainfully. Wang Yuan, are you ready? Chen Mode directly contacted Wang Yuan to prepare the missiles as fast as possible. To come and not to go is not polite. Do you really think that I, Chen Mo, am a cat that can't sleep? Target calibrated. Ready to launch. Wang Yuan's voice came quickly. Launch. Chen Mo spoke coldly. As the missile was launched, Chen Mo looked at the satellite screen. The coordinates given by Yuko Nozawa were completely fine, and a small signal filled with high technology in the picture instantly raised a huge mushroom cloud. The commander and the machinima on top of the small island obviously had no chance of survival. After all, the entire island had been leveled to the ground. Unfortunately, this small island was just a little too far away from Fusan's mainland, or else Chen Mo could not say if he would have thrown a few missiles to the Fusan territory, so that they could also taste the evils of the two-fifths. In the next second, Chen Mu took out a Divine Spirit Rubik's Cube that had already been cracked, and in an instant, Nozawa Yuko felt that all of her consciousness and spirit had been invaded. Chen Mo forced his way in, checked that there wasn't too much of a problem, and then, he used the Divine Will Magic Cube to establish a connection with Nozawa Yuko, leaving Nozawa Yuko in a completely controlled state. Four-star prisoner mechs were still relatively rare for the current Su City Forbidden Land. Instead of getting them killed directly, it would be better to waste them. In the future, you will be in charge of scouting and early warning on the periphery of the Forbidden Land, Chen Mo slowly said. Yes, master. Although the defense system here was already perfect, the early warning was still slightly late. The warning was only given after the enemy had fought their way in, and the warning range was also too small. Now, having a four-star prisoner mech patrolling the periphery could also slightly make up for this loophole. Imperial Capital, the center edge of the Forbidden Land. According to Chen Mo's deployment, Zheng Chen had already arrived at the edge of the new Forbidden Land and established a new command headquarters. This time, what Chen Mo had explained to him was a bit strange. There was a bit of a feint, but the goal was clear, to take down the core strategic points. The first goal was to take down the Steel Pterodactyl's lair. There were a very large number of battle soldier and battle general grade Steel Pterodactyls gathered here, and it belonged to an important strategic point on the outskirts of the Forbidden Land. The Steel Pterodactyls had the ability to fly and had superb long-range firepower. So if they were allowed to occupy the air battlefield, it was feared that they would pose a considerable threat to the VPC forces. Senior Captain, all the missiles, howitzers and 155mm cannons are ready. Song Kai told Zhang Chen with an excited face, because of the Imperial Capital's war power problem, the VPF had basically been pressed by the Wraith Army all these years, giving up a large portion of its land area in just a few years, and he had really had enough of such passive days of being beaten. Not only did he not have any initiative at all, but he also had to constantly worry about whether or not there would be more powerful magical beasts that would cause more serious harm to them. This time, finally, they were able to take the initiative. Hearing the excitement in Song Kai's tone, Zhang Chen nodded, his eyes looking back and forth between the satellite images, radar images, and the distant battlefield. On the other hand, in the military harbor of Jin City, the Ting Hitomi and the He Yang had long been ready, and a group of vertical missiles began to rise and rotate. With Chen Mo's command, they were launched in the blink of an eye. Boom boom boom. Dozens of missiles were fired out in unison towards the perimeter of the restricted area of Area K where Drew was located. The perimeter of the K area Forbidden Land were all layers of magical beasts, and the magical beasts inside were all the ones that Drew had transformed the blue stars, animals to be transformed into them. Feeling the bombardment sound of the missiles, Beria looked at the dense red dots on the screen, and his entire body was bad. Damn Chen Mei, is he really going to drive us to extinction? How could all the dozen or so nests in the periphery be exposed? Damn humans, their radar detection system. When did it become so advanced? Is it hard to believe that the jamming devices failed? Beria had Team Chun Mo refreshed his cognition at this time. And Chen Mo, holding Jiang Yingying this little inventor in his hands, how could there not be the slightest improvement? During this period of time, Chen Mo had long let Jiang Yingying upgrade all the combat systems and defense systems, and the technology, all of which Chen Mo had spent a large sum of money. In the commander's mall in accordance with the top by down, normal jamming devices were simply ineffective. After these two great battles, Belial had also gained some understanding of Chun Mo. This time, he didn't rush to call up the Steel Winged Dragon battle team, but instead quietly observed Chen Mate's movements, ready to take a good look at what kind of medicine Chen Mate's gourd was filled with. Dozens of missiles fell, and dozens of grayish black mushroom clouds exploded in the edge area of the restricted area of the K region. In an instant, 
Smoke filled the air as the critters that had been transformed into steel fiends in the periphery were blown into steel fragments. It was important to know that these critters in the periphery of the forbidden area, their own level was not high, their strength could not even reach the slave level. A single missile could kill a large swathe of them. Some of them were lucky enough to be far away, but they were also shaken by the power of the explosion and flew out dozens of meters away. Shenmo finished releasing the argumentative missiles and looked at the fireworks that exploded and bloomed in the screen, hooking his lips and smiling. These magical beasts seem to be a little bit smarter. However, in the face of the missile free me, I'm afraid they don't know what they're about to face yet. He Yang, Pavilion Hitomi, continue, bomb me according to the forbidden area of Area K. All the nests of the magical beasts that have been scouted out, all of them will be blown up for me. Boom boom boom, boom. A round of missiles was launched once again, and the sound of bursting roared out. The missiles bombed indiscriminately like they didn't need any money. Everywhere was filled with fireballs that burst open. One magical beast nest after another was blown up, and the low-level magical beasts had long since piled up into mountains of corpses. Yo-ho, still able to endure. But you don't think I'll stop if you don't intercept, do you? Chen Mo snorted, increase the firepower and blast away. With the firing of a single round of missiles, a large number of magical beasts were blown up. At this moment, the beeps in Chen Mo's head were like pleasant music, and the points and wraith crystals rubbed up. Seeing the heavy casualties of his side's wraith army, Beria really couldn't sit still. Originally, he had thought that those low-grade magical beast nests at the outermost periphery, Chen Mo could simply rely on luck to discover them. But who knew that Chen Mo was as if he had a complete insight into their distribution, and not a single missile fell short, accurately hitting every single nest. Belial was going crazy, the war hadn't even officially started yet, but their losses had already exceeded what he could afford. Belial hurriedly deployed a large number of magical beasts with long-range firepower from within the Forbidden Land to come out to meet the battle. The missiles fired by Chin Mo intercepted them in the air in time, and then rushed to request assistance from Drew. However, the exit of the Forbidden Land in Area K had long been surrounded by flames by now, making it difficult to cross over at all. This was the Hellfire Cannon that Chen Mao had recently researched. Not only was the temperature high, but as long as it burned, it was difficult to extinguish and the burning range was also particularly large. After this fire burned up, the entire perimeter of the Forbidden Land was completely blocked by the flames, and the magical beasts inside the Forbidden Land simply couldn't pass through, and there were some that wanted to forcefully break through, but before they could rush out, they were buried in the sea of flames. At this time, Drew had also received Belial's request for support and rushed to provide support. A large number of missiles were launched in Chen Mo's direction. Drew was actually cautious in the face of Chen Mo. But he also knew that as long as he held Chen Mo back, and Belial released the hundreds of iron pterodactyls, he would definitely be able to suppress Chen Mo in terms of firepower. Therefore, upon seeing that the iron pterodactyl's nest did not suffer too much, Drew exhaled slightly. However, just as the steel pterodactyl was about to take off, the sky was densely packed with missiles that unexpectedly flew towards them. On the other side, the maintenance force led by Zhang Chun had long been staring at the steel pterodactyl's lair, just waiting for them to make their move. Bomb the old man hard, Zhang Chen's voice rang out loudly on the battlefield, and in an instant, artillery fire roared, and all sorts of missiles and missiles were waved like rain, helicopters, fighters circled in the air, a large number of missiles pouring out, those steel pterodactyls that had just taken off were reduced to a pile of debris before they could stabilize their bodies, under such indiscriminate bombardment, even the several hundred magical beasts supported by Drew were all crushed, ha 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 ha, so damn cool, after so many years, this is the most enjoyable battle I've ever fought. Looking at the flames in the distance, Zhang Chen couldn't help but burst out laughing. When Chen Mo received the news of Zhang Chen's victory, the last bit of scruples were gone, and he gave the order on the spot to proceed at full speed to the forbidden area of the K region. Previously, Chen Mo was indeed a bit wary of the steel pterodactyl's support. That thing could be much stronger than a fighter jet's attack, with a large number of missiles and a fast launching speed. If several hundred of them attacked together, it really might bring Chen Mo a lot of trouble. After blowing up the iron pterodactyl's lair, Zhang Chen continued towards the other magical beast's lairs in the restricted area of Area K according to the plan. In the past few days, Zhang Chen had gotten comfortable with Chen Mo's upgraded radar and satellite detection equipment, and the magical beasts that they couldn't detect at all before could be detected in a single glance at this time. What's more, Chen Mei had also given him a large amount of ammunition, so he just bombed anywhere and everywhere and couldn't run out of it. This was the bottom line. This time, Chen Mo gave him the task of taking down the iron pterodactyl's lair and then making a faint attack out of the main attack, so these ammunitions were simply like sprinkles, it didn't hurt at all. Various missiles carried out saturation strikes, 
while missiles carried out precision strikes, gradually approaching from the periphery to the interior. As for Beria, who was originally full of confidence and absolutely wanted to give Chun Mo a little color, he had now long since been scared and confused. K Area Forbidden Land, Command Headquarters. Beria paced back and forth anxiously. He had originally wanted to wait for a while, waiting for Chen Mo's inattention to release the Iron Pterodactyl and deliver a precise blow to Chen Mo, who knew that after waiting and waiting, the army of magical beasts in the periphery had almost all died out. It was so hard to make up his mind to release the Steel Pterodactyl out, but as a result, before it could even take off, it was blown up. The most outrageous thing was that the several hundred warrior soldier level magical beasts that Drew had supported him with also died out in the roar of the artillery fire. Belial was incomparably regretful at this moment, being smart and letting himself fall into such a situation. Only, Beria had not figured out until now, why the humans attacked so fiercely this time, and what exactly were they trying to do with such indiscriminate bombardment. They, if their target was the steel pterodactyls, why were they still firing missiles? With the protection of the force field shield, they wouldn't be able to get in even if they bombed them. Thinking of this, Beria instantly thought of an extremely terrifying thing. Can it be that they already know how to break through the force field shield? Impossible. It was absolutely impossible. How long had it been since the forbidden land of Tsu fallen into their hands? How could they have cracked it so quickly? Still, Belial contacted Drew at the first opportunity, requesting full support. The two of them were now almost like grasshoppers in a boat, but where one of them was decimated by the humans, the other was not far from death. Drew, who had gotten Beria's message, also began to pay attention to the situation on the front battlefield at this time. Undeniably, this was the first war that made him feel a little frightened since he came to Blue Star for so many years. The humans' unrelenting firing of missiles was truly out of his expectation. If Belial was decimated again, there would really be no way for him to survive alone. The only way now was to bind together with Belial, integrating all the resources of the two of them to face the enemy together. Thinking of this, Drew rushed to gather an army of magical beasts and quickly reinforce them. While Zhang Chen's side was fainting, Chen Mo's eyes were glued to the screen. Upon seeing the small dots on the screen, all of which began to shift in the other direction, Chen Mao marked them one by one. Ha! I'm really scared, let's go! It's time for us to get on. Chen Mo directly led his mechs towards the place where the magical beasts had shifted. In fact, it wasn't impossible to directly force an attack, it was just that it would generate too much unnecessary consumption, and there was a high probability that many magical beasts would be missed. Most of all, it would definitely destroy the city itself, and when it came time to rebuild and restore it, it would be another hassle. Therefore, Chen Mo intended to use his brain to take this battle. Looking at the screen, the army of magical beasts gradually approached the place where Xia Zhang and Yi Qingcheng were ambushed. Chen Mo rushed to give orders. Teacher Xia, Qingcheng, do it. In an instant, the explosive Skyfire Carp Mecha and the Ice Phoenix Mecha simultaneously appeared on the path that the demonic beast army was bound to take. The phantom sound gun in the Ice Phoenix Mecha's hand and the annihilation in the explosive Skyflame Carp's hand glittered under the sunlight. The pulse power of the phantom sound gun that had been stored up for a long time erupted in an instant, and large swathes of magical beasts came to a standstill. Explosive Skyflame Carp took the opportunity to copy annihilation and rushed directly into the group of magical beasts. For a time, the two mechs transformed into battlefield reapers, one shot to stun the enemy, while the other decapitated the magical beasts. In a short while, Drew's army of magical beasts supporting Belial were all directly decimated. Chen Mo was currently sitting in Zhang Nianqing's nuclear submarine cabin, driving the deep sea nuclear submarine as it slowly surfaced from the bottom of the sea. Under his detection, the core location of the entire area K forbidden area was already within his grasp. Die die. All the equipment in the main control room and the external contact equipment. Cut it off quickly, with the fastest speed. Yes, Luo Dai was a little excited in her heart at this time. This was the first time she had infiltrated in alone and completed the mission alone. Teacher Xia, Qing Cheng, after you've dealt with the magical beasts, go and give assistance to Dai Dai. Assist her in taking out the internal magical beasts. Yes, the battle force of the K area Forbidden Land was indeed very strong, and Drew did have a couple of tricks up his sleeve regarding the transformation ability of his mechs. In addition to the battleship mech that had been snatched by Chen Mo, there were still three battleships two destroyers and three light cruisers in the Area K Sanctuary. Chen Mu guessed that all of these battleships could probably be turned into independent mechs. Nian Nian, you'll be responsible for destroying the reactors of those three battleships in a while. Without a constant flow of energy, they won't be able to turn over the sky. The deep sea nuclear submarine itself was extremely heavy and could only hang three missiles at most, just enough to dispose of the three battleships. Wang Yuan, you're targeting those three light cruisers. 
you can use the beam cannons, everyone, are you ready? Chen Mo shouted, and the five mechs responded at the same time. Ready, fire. The missiles were sent out one after the other in an instant. Chen Mo had grasped the distance quite well, and was able to disengage himself from being caught in the waves when the enemy was unable to intercept them in time. Mainly because, the previous research on the battleship mecha had allowed Chen Mo to know the location of the drew-modified battleship's reactor like the back of his hand, so much so that the moment the three missiles hit up, they blew out a huge hole in the battleship's reactor. The moment the missiles blew up, the entire battleship was almost overturned by the massive explosive force. Zhang Yenching directly transformed into mecha mode. Chen Mo rushed to give orders. Pavilion Poople, He Yang, you guys go all out to block the returning enemies. At the same time, Drew was still thinking about his team that was returning to reinforce Belial, why it felt like there was a lot less of them. Could it be that this group of humans strongly fainted at Belial and then blocked the returning team? However, what was the reason for that? Only, before Drew could think clearly, he heard a booming alarm. The end of Chen? How did they get here? Sounding off to the east? Could their target be the forbidden area of Area K? Drew hurriedly gave the order to withdraw all the magical beast army back to the K area. The K area forbidden land was built with his heart and soul, and the main development was the marine warfare power. Not only did it have very perfect military functions, it also had the most advanced hull manufacturing platform and testing platform. This place was absolutely not to be lost. But now that all the connections were all cut off, Drew panicked in his heart all of a sudden. At this time, his hastily recalled support troops had already suffered a heavy blow. Not only were they scattered by the heavy shells, but also, under the joint efforts of Yi Qingcheng and Xia Zhang, they had decimated all the remaining survivors. Drew also knew that he was in an impotent rage, but at this point, he was already clueless. Waiting for the enemy with an escape? Waiting for rabbits? Damn Chen Mo. On the other side, under Chen Mo's calm command, all the mechs were working together quite well, and with Chun Mo at the back providing a constant supply of energy, their actions also seemed easy. Moreover, Chen Mao had already scouted this road thoroughly, and didn't give Drew any room to counterattack at all. Looking at the two destroyers that had turned into mechs, their combat power had been greatly reduced long ago. Chen Mo did not get careless and prepared to just crush them all the way and take this battle in a hurry. The blackened gun muzzle was ready, and an intense light erupted out. In an instant, that mech was directly pierced through, revealing a large, morose hole in its chest. Belial was still waiting for Drew's army to support him at this time. However, the artillery fire outside suddenly all stopped, as if it had never sounded. The entire battlefield was frighteningly quiet. Belial was a little happy, a little excited, and a little puzzled. At this time, he still didn't know that Drew's side had been beaten up and couldn't hold back, and thought that the army sent by Drew had decimated the humans outside. Drew, has your side gotten the better of you? The artillery fire on my side has stopped. Drew had already had his head pounded by Chen Mo, and now that he saw the message from Beria, his entire being was like a small bomb that had been ignited. Like, for a moment, intense anger surged to his head. Drew's face suddenly became dark and gloomy. His body was vaguely shaking from the intense anger, and his two hands were clenched into fists, making clicking sounds. What a pig-like teammate. Chen Mordecai is already drinking celebratory champagne, and you're still there asking questions. Ha! Huh? Belial didn't understand what Drew meant for a moment and asked with a confused face. Fool, I have fucking let you lead to the desperate road. The old man's forbidden land is occupied. The old man's more than 10 years of hard work is all gone. Listening to Beria's doubtful voice like a fool, Drew smashed the communication device on the wall with a bang. If old me is not well, you guys don't want to get it for nothing. Thinking of this, Drew directly fired missiles frantically in the direction of Chen Mo's large army, although he did so uselessly and even made it look a bit ridiculous. But at this time, Drew's mind exploded, and only by doing so could he vent the bitterness in his heart. The forbidden area of Area K, along with a part of the Jin City military harbor, so many mechs had all fallen into Chen Mo's hands, even as he had completely taken back the Jin City military harbor, although he was really a bit unwilling. But now, even if he was to vent a general bombardment, he could do absolutely nothing to take Chun Mo, and the bitterness in his heart was even greater than before. On the other side, Beria only heard a loud bang coming from the communication device and was disconnected. It was only after a long time that he slowly came back to his senses. The way the humans fought today really baffled him, and inexplicably the pterodactyl nest was destroyed. The various magical beast nests around his own territory were also destroyed cleanly. Seeing that his core area was about to be blown up, the result told him that his side was just a feint, and the real target had nothing to do with his side at all? What's wrong with you? This is a feint? Missiles? Missiles? You're telling me it's a feint? All the targets are on my main army, 
and you're telling me it's a feint? Belial couldn't catch his breath, and it made his heart ache. It was only after a long time that he finally accepted this fact, but even after accepting the fact, he was still a bit furious. Exactly the same as Drew's situation, Belial was shaking with anger. The pain and struggle in his eyes and the feeling of powerlessness were constantly intertwined, almost making him collapse. Boom! Beria clenched his hands into fists and hammered on the desktop. A high-density alloy desktop was actually dented under his furious hammering. Beria's hands were covered in blood, but the pain in his hands couldn't compare to the pain in his heart. Unlike the Wraith Juggernaut, the Imperial Capital's maintenance force was in high spirits at this time. All of the maintenance team members had already lost count of the number of times they had followed Chin Mo to eat meat, and seeing that the entire battlefield was covered with the steel corpses of the Wraiths, they were practically jumping up and down with joy. One must know that in the past, the corpses on the battlefield were all of the commanders and witches. Since the emergence of De Chen Mei, their casualties had been decreasing. This war was another important milestone. The last time was the milestone of Chen Mei leading the humans to take the counterattack against the magical beasts for the first time. This time, it was the complete mastery of the entirety of the Jin City military harbor. This represented that the imperial capital had regained the right to control the sea, and within the entire scope of the Divine Dragon Nation. It was finally not the first to be ruled out as the region with the weakest war power. This was all thanks to Chen Mo. It was only that Chen Mo was still busy in the forbidden land of Jin City at this time, not realizing that his prestige had risen to such a high level in the Imperial Capital Maintenance Force that even Zhang Chen did not have as high a prestige as he did. Ouch. This is great. The entire Jin City military port is completely in hand. This time we don't have to be neighbors with the Wraith. The first step of the counterattack. A great victory. Chen Mo looked at the endless Jin City military harbor and slowly let out a sigh of relief. More than a month ago, when he awakened as a commander, he didn't even dare to think that one day he would be able to personally lead the maintenance force and snatch back the Jin City military harbor intact. Such a large military harbor. I'm afraid it wouldn't be a problem to park several aircraft carriers, right? And with this battle, many of Drew's modified mechs could still be used for him with a little more alteration. The most important thing is that the ammunitions that have been accumulated over the years in the K area forbidden area are too many to count. And Chen Mo did not expect that these ammunitions would in turn become an unexpected blessing in this war. It was not in vain that he had cooperated with Zhang Chen across the city and carefully laid out the plan. After all the magical beasts had been dealt with, all the staff stationed in the restricted area of Area K also entered the work mode. With the experience of the restricted area in Jin City, this time, everyone quickly found their jobs. Watching everyone enter their work mode, Chen Mo became an idle staff instead. Taking advantage of the fact that he had nothing to do, Chen Mo began to take stock of the points gained from this war today. Hunting and killing situation. Slave class, 4628, war soldier class, 672, war general class, 58. Energy crystals, slave grade, 4682, war soldier grade, 672, war general grade, 58. Points, 384,294. Soul Power of Annihilation, 156,488. Chen Mo was very satisfied with this harvest, and seeing that Annihilation's soul power could be upgraded again, Chen Mo hurriedly tapped the upgrade button. The combined strength of the explosive Skyfire Carp Mech and Chen Mo had once again increased by 10%. As for the more than 300, 000 points, Chen Mo directly went to the points mall and drew three prizes with 300, 000 points. Chen Mo also didn't know whether it was because the burst rate of this mall was relatively high or his luck was too good. All three times were surprisingly S-Class accessories. And the technical content is also particularly high. S-Class accessory, multipoint continuous combustion multi-circuit cyclic warp engine. S-Class accessory, time. S-Class accessory, merging chip. Chen Mo put away all of these S-Class accessories. And currently, he didn't really know who to put these accessories on. The ammunition that the deep sea nuclear submarine could be equipped with was just a little too little. So he could only star her when the time came to see if he could expand it some more. SS class mechs that wanted to be upgraded needed crystals from monarch class magical beasts. And with his current strength, he was still a bit unsure about facing a monarch class. Although the war situation in the magic city is a lot more intense than the imperial city. But accordingly, there are more people and the city is better built. I heard that there was an auction over at the magic capital and I don't know if there were any monarch-level magical beast crystals up for auction. If there was, it would really save a lot of effort. After all, Chen Mo is not strong enough right now, but is extremely well-funded. The underground kingdom's daily revenue alone was a considerable amount. Right at this time, Jiang Yingying sent a video call. Chen Mo rushed to connect, only to see Jiang Yingying's small face slightly flushed from excitement. Chen Mo Chen Mo, I've researched it, I've fixed the upgraded version of the reactor. 
Do you want to come and take a look? Yes, I'll be back now. Hearing Jiang Yingying's words, Chen Mao's heart was shaken. After all, Zhang Yingying was not yet an adult and could not participate in the Beast Tide, so Chen Mo simply left her in the forbidden land of Jin City, allowing her to focus on researching the reactor. This time, the upgraded version of the reactor was based on the most basic reactor, while adding the dual circuit fission reactor that Chen Mei had purchased in the Commander's Mall, blending the advantages of the two together to greatly improve the conversion of energy. Once the upgraded version of the reactor was researched, it would be able to directly solve a large portion of the energy consumption problem of the forbidden area of Jin City, or even the imperial capital. On this thing, Drew had studied it for more than 10 years. I'm afraid that he couldn't believe that after more than a decade of researching something that he had made no progress on, Chen Mo's site had even gotten results in just a few days, had achieved results in just a few days. If Drew knew about this, I wonder if he would also be a second wheel. The city of Tianjin is a forbidden place. At the same time, everyone in Jin City, which had also only experienced the beast tie for a few days, was busy at their own positions at this time, including the small team of 30 people that Zhang Chen had sent over. They had also been put to work. With their help, the defense system of the Jin City Forbidden Land was almost complete. As soon as Chen Mo returned to the Forbidden Land of Jin City, he went to Zhang Yingying's studio without hesitation. Yingying, good job, patting Zhang Yingying's shoulder, Chen Mo said with a serious expression. Although Zhang Yingying was currently unable to go into battle when it came to war, the contributions she had made were not something that could be achieved by going into battle, all of which, Chen Mo had seen in his eyes. I should. Speaking of which, I have to thank you for letting me participate in this research, otherwise I wouldn't know when I would be able to access this. With this upgraded reactor, I'm afraid that the entire Divine Dragon Country, and even the entire Blue Star, will undergo a drastic change. Listening to Jiang Yingying's words, Chen Mo undeniably nodded. Jiang Yingying was right. I'm afraid that this thing was really a product that surpassed human civilization. As long as it was in the ocean, it was equivalent to having a constant flow of kinetic energy, and no matter what it was used for, I'm afraid it would be a great breakthrough. Only the current limitation was that this thing could only be used in the sea. However, Chen Mo believed that on top of this thing, it would not be difficult to study controlled fusion in the future. At least there was enough theoretical foundation. As long as the material of the dual circuit fission reactor was further analyzed, it would be able to create a material that could withstand the high temperatures of nuclear fusion. Nuclear fusion was unlike this reactor. It was completely without geographical limitations and could be used wherever. There were a handful of mecha nymphs in the entire Divine Dragon Kingdom that did not have a contracted commander. If they could be provided with enough kinetic energy, at that time, even if they did not have a commander, they would be able to maintain their mecha nymph form on their own. At that time, the overall battle power of the entire Divine Dragon Kingdom would see a considerable increase. Moreover, if the issue of controllable nuclear fusion was implemented, one would think that the construction of protectorate mecha would not be just a pipe dream. Come, install the upgraded reactor on the battleship mech and try it out to see the effect. Chen Mo drove the battleship mech over and mounted the upgraded version reactor on it. Jiang Yingying, on the other hand, looked at the testing software seriously. The kinetic energy conversion rate has been increased by more than 200% over the previous reactor. The speed has been increased by 108%. The maximum output power has been increased by 202%. And the sustained combat capability has been increased by 200%. The more Chen Mei tested, the more shocked he felt. The upgraded version of the reactor was simply not in the same class as the previous reactor. If this was applied on a large scale, Chen Mo did not even know how strong it would have to be. Ying Ying. I'll send you the materials for constructing the large-scale reactor after a while. Chen Mo said to Jiang Yingying with a satisfied face. Good. Jiang Yingying, on the other hand, readily agreed. Chen Mo was calculating in his mind that he was afraid that he would have to make a trip to Magic City in the next few days. As for the machine lady, Chen Mo was not prepared to take them all away. After all, this had only just taken all of the area near the forbidden land of Jin City. Who knew if the magical beasts would organize another beast tide and take advantage of Chen Mo's absence to counterattack? Xia Zhang definitely had to be brought along, regardless of the size of the mech or the battle power. The explosive skyfire carp belonged to the stronger ones. Zhang Yingying must also be brought. Some things Zhang Yingying knows more than him, and she made her own small things. Sometimes in a pinch can be of great use. It was that Zhang Yingying hadn't awakened her witch's talent until now, which really made him a bit disturbed. Right, Yingying. When will you reach adulthood? What's the date today? Zhang Yingying asked while looking at the date. Chen Mo only saw Zhang Yingying froze, then slowly turned her head towards him. Today, Zhang Yingying's words caused Chen Mo to be pleasantly surprised. No coincidence, 
This was probably the best news before he left for Magic City. Ying Ying, I'll accompany you to awaken the machine feminization. Good. Zhang Ying Ying's eyes were glittering with excitement, and it was clear that she was also very much looking forward to what level of machine nymph she could awaken. Xia Zheng transformed into the explosive Skyfire Carp supercar and carried Chen Mo and Zhang Ying Ying towards the Mecha Academy. Chen Mo, in case if I awaken an F-class unicycle, will you still be willing to contract with me? Zhang Ying Ying was a little excited and nervous at the same time. Not only were the machine nymphs contracted by Chen Mo not only pretty, but none of them were lower than S rank. In case she really awakened a low rank, she was really a bit embarrassed to contract with Chen Mo. Looking at Zhang Ying Ying's cute appearance of picking her fingers, Chen Mo smiled faintly. Didn't I tell you before? What I care about is you as a person, not your rank. Even if you fail to awaken, I still want you. Hearing Chen Mo's words, Zhang Ying Ying's entire body jerked her head up. Chen Mo's smile was like a beam of warm sunlight, causing her tense heart to instantly relax. To think that when the time came for Chen Mo, an SSS ranked commander, to contract with an F ranked machine girl, wouldn't she be laughed to death? Thinking of this, Zhang Ying Ying couldn't help but snort out a laugh. Sister Ying Ying, Based on my intuition, your awakened rank will definitely not be low. Just relax. In the car, Xia Zheng's voice rang in Zhang Yingying's ears. Right. The principal's rank isn't too high, but it's not low either. There's no chance you can awaken an S rank. Chen Mo agreed. Well, thank you guys. Zhang Yingying's throbbing heart slowly calmed down, and the three of them had finally arrived at the Mecha Academy. Chen Mo seldom returned to the school since he had joined the maintenance force, and as Chen Mo's Mecha Nymphette, Xia Zing had not come for a while as well. The explosive Skyfire carp steadily parked at the entrance of the school, and after Chen Mo and Zhang Ying Ying got out of the car, Xia Zheng also instantly transformed into her human form. The moment the two great beauties appeared, they attracted the gazes of many students at the school entrance. However, when everyone shifted their gaze to Chen Mo, they could no longer pull it off. This time was different from the past. Chen Mo's reputation in the imperial capital had long since reached the top nowadays and there was no one who didn't recognize him, not to mention the students from the same school. These young students had long treated him like an idol, so much so that when they saw Chen Mo, they were all a little disbelieving that they could even run into him at school. Slowly more and more students gathered around, and the news of Chen Mo's return to school spread amongst the students. Who is that girl in front? How could she let Chen Mo and MS? Xia sent her over together? I don't recognize her. All of our school's awakened witches and commanders this year should have finished awakening, right? Ooh. Isn't that Principal Jiang Hai? He's here too? Chen Mo and Mr. Xia's identities are not simple. Of course the principal would personally come to greet them. It's normal. Eh eh eh. Why did that girl jump into the principal's arms? In the midst of the chatter, Jiang Hai pushed away his daughter who had jumped into his arms. With that, his eyes looked towards Chen Mo who was slowly walking towards him from behind. Obviously, it had only been more than a month since he had last seen Chen Mo. And when he saw Chen Mo again, Zhang Hai unexpectedly had a sense of crisis of being targeted by a cheetah, having just received a call from his daughter, saying that she was going to undergo an awakening today and was going to contract Chen Mo. Zhang Hai decided then that he would personally perform the awakening ceremony for his daughter, and in the meantime, see what progress Chen Mo had made over the past month or so. After all, now that the streets of the imperial capital were full of rumors about Chen Mo's legend, he more or less felt that it was a bit exaggerated. However, with just this glance, Zhang Hai's heart set off huge waves. Chen Mo's strength nowadays was feared to be even more terrifying than the rumored legends. Brat, how many machine maidens have you contracted? Not many, just five. Five is still less? You're eyeballing me, aren't you? This infinite extreme Jia Tong drop talent of yours, saying it out loud would make how many commanders drool with envy. Zhang Hai said in mock annoyance. Chen Mo shrugged. But, on my way here, why do I always feel that the eyes of those commanders looking at me? Each and every one of them wants to knife me, with two stunning beauties following beside him, one seductive and seductive, and one pure and lively, the eyes of the male students around him always looked at him with some inexplicable hostility. But, of course, they didn't dare to actually go up and just with Chen Mo, they could only hide in the crowd and sneakily glare at Chen Mo twice. Hoomph, you alone dominate a bunch of goddesses, can people not be hostile to you? People don't have one, you alone have a bunch, deserved it. While talking, the crowd had already arrived at the awakening room under Zhang Hai's leadership. Zhang Hai, as the principal, hadn't awakened a student for many years. However, this set of processes was like it was engraved in his bones, and even after so many years, he was still skilled at it. Under Chen Mo's encouragement, Zhang Yingying took a deep breath, and then, slowly sat in the awakening pod. The door of the awakening cabin closed, 
and the awakening process began to gradually advance. At this moment, Jiang Hai's heart was simply like riding a roller coaster, going up and down with an unreal feeling, a moment of worry, a moment of anticipation, a moment of ecstasy, a moment of shock. Chen Emo could not figure out what the expression on Jiang Hai's face actually meant, but looking at his shocked face, his heart could not help but raise in his throat. Buzz. Amidst the crowd's anxious waiting, the awakening hatch slowly opened. Jiang Yingying opened her eyes, got up and walked to Chen Emo. M. There's a good news and a bad news. Which one do you want to hear first? The expression on Jiang Yingying's face looked a bit forlorn. Chen Emo thought that she had awakened a not so good rank. And for a moment, he could not help but frown fearing that he would say the wrong thing and cause Zhang Yingying to be unhappy. Then let's start with the good news. The good news is that I've awakened a hidden talent. Hidden talent? Chen Mo was dumbfounded, knowing that Zhang Yingxing, as a SS-ranked machine nymph, had not even awakened a hidden talent. It was hard to believe that Zhang Yingying's rank was actually above SS rank. Chen Mo's heart was overjoyed. However, suddenly he remembered that there was still bad news that he had not heard. Could it be that Zhang Yingying's mecha had a big problem like Wang Yuan's? However, even if something went wrong, he was sure that he would have a way to help her fix it. What about the bad news? A bad smile appeared on Zhang Yingying's face. The bad news is, my awakened level is too high. There might be many high-level commanders looking for me to contract. I have a lot more choices yo. Hearing this, Chen Mo's lifted heart finally fell to the ground. Why? I thought there was something wrong with your mecha as well. Luckily nothing went wrong. It doesn't matter. It's your freedom to contract with whoever you want. If you have a better choice than me, I'll give you my blessing. Chen Emo said towards Zhang Yingying with a serious face, completely without the intention of forcing her. For some reason, hearing Chen Mo's words, Zhang Yingying suddenly became a little teary-eyed. Don't. I want a contract with you. We agreed before. You can't leave me behind. I just want a contract with you. Zhang Yingying fiercely pounced on Chen Emo. For a moment, she even forgot that her father was also in the awakening room. So, Yingying what exactly have you awakened? I'm an SSS class destroyer. Once these words came out, all the people in the awakening room were in awe. He he he, Chen Mo, my talent is considered worthy of you, isn't it? Although I'm a little small now, but I'll definitely grow up. Zhang Yingying's gaze slid over Xia Zheng's proud figure as she said with a haughty expression. For a while, it caused Chen Mo and Xia Zheng to laugh all of a sudden. It was also Zhang Hai, who looked at the baby he had held in his hands since childhood, with a helpless face. Alas, the child was too old to be left behind. However, then again, Zhang Yingying's body belongs to the tall and slender category. Compared to Xia Zhang it does seem to be slightly smaller in size, but after all, she is still young. The future, who can say? Chen Mo's heart can't help but have a burst of nonsense. The one who brought up with one hand is the best. However, he still wanted to take a look at the prototype of Zhang Yingying's SSS class destroyer first now. After all, he now had Wang Yuan, an aircraft carrier, and then Zhang Yingying, a destroyer. It looked like the goal of forming a carrier formation was not far off. After the awakening was completed, Chen Mo and the others said goodbye to Jiang Hai and rushed back to the Jin City Military Harbor as fast as they could. Ying Ying, let's get started. Returning to the military harbor, Chen Mu was the first to pull Jiang Ying Ying to the side of the harbor. Boom! With a loud bang, the huge destroyer appeared on the surface of the sea. For a moment, the entire surface of the sea swirled with huge waves and boomed. The destroyer's hull was about 180 meters long and 23 meters wide, half the length of an aircraft carrier. The hull was quite a bit thinner compared to Wang Yuan. However, even so, her water holding capacity exceeded 10,000 tons, known as the Carrier Killer Destroyer. Her weapons are even stronger than weak. Type 055 Destroyer's main gun is loaded with a 130 gun. Turret weighs about 32 tons. Maximum rate of fire up to 40 rounds per minute. Firing ordinary shells has a range of about 30 kilometers. And if you fire a super long range glide system shells, the range can be increased several times. The maximum can reach 120 kilometers. Depending on the target, it can also be equipped with different shells. It can be said that its firepower is enough to match that of an artillery battalion. Baobi gun position. Arranged 8 groups of 8 units of vertical launchers. Plus the center of the 6 groups of 8 units of vertical launchers. The whole destroyer has a total of 112 launching units. These vertical launchers, launch can be missiles, Eagle 21 anti-ship missiles, that war power directly pull full. Moreover, there is a close defense system on the weapons platform in front of the bridge, with a rate of fire of up to tens of thousands of rounds per minute. The intercepting capability is simply terrifying. In addition to these, the destroyer was also equipped with anti-submarine missiles, anti-submarine torpedoes and so on, a series of attack devices, 
Directly let the 055 destroyer firepower directly pull full. If this is on the battlefield, a meal output. Afraid of how many magical beasts? How many magical beasts corpses, right? No wonder it's called a carrier killer. It's really scary. Chen Mo could not help himself and directly boarded the destroyer. The contract was instantly sent over. Chen Mo. Zhang Yingying is about to make a contract. Sympathetic system docking successful. Nervous system matching successful. Kinetic system matching successful. Interaction system matching successful. After a cold beep ended, the two also officially completed the contract. Chen Mo tapped on Zhang Yingying's attribute panel for further inspection. Name, Zhang Yingying. Comprehensive rating, SSS class destroyer, divine realm heavenly father. Applicable energy, nuclear energy. Current commander, Chen Mei. Tier contract history, zero. Previous temporary contract history, zero. Initial hull quality, SSS. Condition, 100% brand new. Exclusive talent. Attack with mental shock damage. Can tread on water. Hidden talent. Attacking battlegirl, continuous offense. With a certain probability of triggering a one-hit kill. Crap, one strike to kill? Isn't this even more awesome than my fear beyond death? My big move still needs to reach the decapitation line. But she triggers this and it's a direct kill. Chen Mo could not help but exclaim in shock, and his entire body froze in place. At this time, the electronic voice in his head, which he hadn't seen for a long time, rang out. Ding, congratulations on successfully contracting your 6th S-class or above mecha. All of the commander's attributes have been increased by 5%. Ding, congratulations on obtaining 100, 000 bonus points. Ding, congratulations on obtaining a curvature engine. Ding, congratulations on obtaining a golden mental power card. Ding, congratulations on obtaining a golden physique card. Just when Shen Mo thought that the rewards were over, the electronic tone sounded once again. Ding, detected that the commander has contracted 6S rank or above mechas. The commander system has reached the ascension condition, unlocking the heterospatial reward function. The system has added a new mission center. The mission center will randomly release intertemporal rescue operations, and upon completion, a large amount of rewards can be obtained. Note, commander can choose whether to accept the mission or not. If accepted, you can lead the contracted mechs to the other dimension. However, the world where the commander is located must have the appropriate way to travel. Intertemporal rescue? As long as there is a corresponding way of traveling? Chen Mo suddenly recalled that limited clue he had previously obtained in the Forbidden Land. The traversal gate that was being constructed between planet Ganaper and planet Blue. Why? There was no rush on this matter. And anyway, there wasn't a huge lack of rewards right now. Ying Ying, let me empower you first. And install you with the same curvature engine as them. Chen Mo said smilingly. It was just a pity that there wasn't a cold weapon suitable for Zhang Ying Ying. Or else she would have scored full marks in both melee and long distance combat. And that would have been perfect. When there was an opportunity in the future. He would definitely get her a cold weapon that suited her. That is, there was no superconducting cold weapon. Otherwise he would have to equip all the machine girls with one high or low. Chen Mo. The benefits of contracting with you are really luxurious. As long as you contract, you can empower an S-class curvature engine. And you can even have various empowerments of different degrees. I don't even dare to think that if you were to indenture machine girls in large quantities, how many flower girls would have to rush to line up? Zhang Yingying couldn't help but be filled with laughter as she imagined this image. In the midst of her flirtatious words, Chen Mo also completed this empowerment. Buzz. Buzz. Click 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 click. Zhang Yingying, who had successfully completed her empowerment, couldn't help herself and directly transformed her form into machine lady mode. A nearly 200 meter machine maiden rose up from the ground and stood steadily on the surface of the sea, without the slightest appearance of being unsteady. Although she was not as tall as Wang Yuan, her majestic appearance was not the least bit inferior. On the right shoulder of the machine lady, a black hole turret made people look at it and shudder. Boom! Zhang Yingying's feet stomped on the surface of the sea, and the entire Megane ran directly on the surface of the sea. Under the acceleration of the curvature engine, Zhang Yingying actually had some feeling of discomfort, and in the blink of an eye, she directly scurried out thousands of meters. Ah! It's so fast! I can't break! Chen Mo! It's too fast! Zhang Yingying's screaming voice rang in Chen Mo's ears. Or Chen Mo himself went up and stabilized Zhang Yingying. Who would have thought that an SSS class destroyer would also have a time when it lost its temper like this? While Jiang Yingying screamed, she couldn't help but turn on the turret on her shoulder and fired a volley directly towards the distant sea. Boom! The 130mm Durasteel cannon suddenly fired out. Boom! In an instant, the entire sea was directly blown up as monstrous waves surged up. Chen Mo could even imagine that if it wasn't the sea but a large group of sea devil beasts, 
I'm afraid that they would have been bombarded into a pile of debris long ago under this shell. Chen Mo hurriedly lowered the energy supply, and only then did Zhang Yingying land heavily on the sea surface. For a while, it stirred up another gust of waves. However, in such a short test drive, Chen Mo's heart was no longer calm. This was the most powerful firepower system he had ever seen. Zhang Yingying alone was enough to stand up to one of the strongest artillery battalions. If, at that time, all of these weapon systems were upgraded to the top level for her, Chen Mo did not even dare to think of how terrifying it would be at that time. As long as the commander was able to provide her with a constant supply of energy, then, that energy would be converted into the form of artillery shells at the fastest speed possible. What was the difference between that and unlimited firepower? And he himself, just happened to be that kind of commander. Chen Mo could not help but hook his lips in a smile. However, the weapon system also had a division of quality and grade. The higher the quality and grade, the faster the energy was converted into firepower, and the more powerful it would be. But of course, for the commander's consumption, that was also quite terrifying. This was something that Jiang Yingying herself knew very well. Chen Mo, don't look at my firepower output as if it's very strong, but once all the firepower I've accumulated is output, my battle power will directly be greatly reduced. Saying that, Zhang Yingying felt Chen Mo's emotions with some worry. Don't worry, your weapon system, sooner or later, I will empower you to become top tier. When that time comes, not to mention the increased firepower, the energy consumption will also be drastically reduced. Chen Mo did not take this seriously at all, and was quite confident in himself. Then what about now? What about now? Will you be drained by me? I'll wait for you to drain me dry. Chen Mei heatedly smiled, his eyes narrowing slightly. You. Zhang Yingying's face instantly exploded red, and for a moment, she didn't even know how to take this stance. After the success of the contract with Zhang Yingying, Chen Mo also formally prepared for the trip to Magic City. After Yu Hongru received Chen Mo's application, the first time he had a video call with him that was quite confidential. Ha 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 ha, your imperial capital has really given me one surprise after another this year. Not only have you awakened an SSS-ranked commander, it hasn't even been a few days yet, and you've awakened an SSS-ranked machine girl. These past two days I've been listening to the shortcuts from the imperial capital, and I've been waking up laughing in my dreams. Yu Hongru, as the highest commander of the Divine Dragon Country, the magical beasts he was responsible for were not just on the side of the imperial capital. He had to watch over the entire Divine Dragon Country. However, the news that came in frequently made him worry all day long. The good thing is that the imperial capital side of the war report, once better than once, a change in previous years frequently fell into the situation and even counterattack the beasts of the Forbidden Land. This simply shocked Yu Hongru, especially since these days, the military harbor in Jin City was recovered, the missile base was built, the seawater reaction, furnace analysis, and the SSS class top machine lady. The good news that had come in these two days alone was more than what he had heard in a year. Regarding the news about the advanced version of the reactor, I hope that it can be kept as secret as possible. This big game that the dome is playing, if it comes to plunder our scientific research in the name of humanity, it will be difficult to deal with when the time comes. Chen Mo could not help but remind. This kind of self-interested good thing. Just know it yourself. There was no need to publicize it. It was only the best policy to keep quiet and quietly develop into something they couldn't catch up with. Don't worry about this. Zhang Chen told me a long time ago that this involves the secrets of the Divine Dragon Kingdom. And will definitely not be leaked out. You don't know. At the time when the reactor you parsed out was known by the scholars who researched these. They were simply going to have a seizure. If it wasn't for me stopping them all the time, I'm afraid that they would have rushed to the imperial capital to find you. Chen Mo smiled slightly, nodded, and asked, That, you think it's okay for me to make a trip to the magic city? Oh, right, 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 almost forgot the main thing. Yu Hongru slammed his head and hurriedly said, This time when you go to Mordor, I want you to go and join the Starfire program. However, this requires the consent of their leaders to be able to do so, so there is still a bit of a wait. However, don't worry, there are very few people in the Starfire program that can compete with you, and my side is in full support of you, so there shouldn't be any problems. Hearing about the Starfire program, Chen Mo was a little excited. The Starfire program was about planet Ganabulian. He had always had the intention of joining this program, and this time going to Magic City was actually partly for this program. However, there was still a need to wait for the application process to be completed, which made him break a pot of cool water to his excited and restless heart. Actually, I personally still suggest that you are able to delay going to Mordor. Internal news. The eyes above the dome have already set their sights on you. I hope that you will be able to hold off for a while, and then look for an opportunity when the time comes. Yu Hongru's tone suddenly became serious. After all, 
Being targeted by above the dome was indeed not good news. Above the dome was a force that was connected to other forces, and even had interests intertwined with magical beasts as well, which was quite a threat to Chen Mo. Nah, such a situation makes it all the more important for me to make a trip to the magic capital. Chen Mo's plan to go to the magic capital was firm. His current strength was already enough to contact the Starfire program. When the time came to contract with Miss One, the unique air and space fighter, he would even have the strength to ascend into outer space. This program cannot be delayed any longer. Moreover, the magic city is now under the oppression of the demonic beasts. The form is already very serious. If the magic city really falls, it would really be a loss for the divine dragon kingdom. Looking at Chen Mo's determined expression, Yu Hongru also knew that there was no way he could persuade Chen Mo to turn back. Moreover, although he wanted to protect Chen Mo strictly, Chen Mo was not the flower in the greenhouse after all. He was a sharp blade that guarded the divine dragon kingdom, and only the battlefield could bring out his light. It was thought that with his help in the magic capital, the battle situation should improve greatly. Then be careful on this journey. I've arranged for the Royal Wind Squad on the Magic Capital's side to provide you with support at any time. Good. The video was hung up, and Chen Mo's plan to head to Magic City was officially on the agenda. At this time, the Jin City Prohibited Area and the K Area Prohibited Area had been completely merged, and all related matters had been handed over to Wang Yuan for management. Chen Mo thought about it left and right, and finally decided to bring Xia Zhang, Yi Qing Cheng, Luo Dai, and Zhang Yingying with him to the Magic City. These four mechs took over the air, land and sea. Yi Qingcheng has high protection ability and can act as a carrier on land. Luo Yan was responsible for aerial reconnaissance to ensure the safety of their trip. Jiang Yingying, on the other hand, transformed into a destroyer and loaded most of the resources. In this way, close-range attacks, long-range attacks, protection, all of them were ready. And no matter what kind of situation they encountered, they would be able to cope with it well. After they were ready, Chen Mo directly ordered the squad to move forward at full speed. Feeling the hunting wind in the air and looking at the vast and boundless sea in front of them, even Chen Mo was a little excited. Along the way, the crowd enjoyed the rare coziness that they had been enjoying for some time recently, and the tense spirit of the previous days had also loosened up quite a bit. Although there were sea devil beasts disturbing them from time to time on the sea, but because none of them were of a very high level, they were directly harvested by Xia Zhen with a single slash. The sky gradually darkened. Without realizing it, they were not far from the magic capital. Chen Mo had Zhang Yingying move forward at full speed, seeing that they would be able to reach the devil's capital by dawn. The excitement in the hearts of the crowd dried up once again, but just at this time, a violent radar alarm sounded. Ding, ding, ding. Unknown fighter planes have been detected entering the airspace above Magic City in the direction of Magic City. At the same time, a large number of warrior soldier level flying magical beasts are gathering in the airspace above Magic City with an unknown purpose. Please respond to it in time. Commander. At that moment, Luo Dai directly transformed into a fighter jet. Chen Mo took a big step up, and under the effect of the curvature engine, Luo Dai directly disappeared in place. Eh, Raptor F-22? This isn't an airplane from the Divine Dragon Kingdom, is it? Chen Mo sent a message to Yu Hongru to help communicate with the commander of the Magic Capital. Greetings, I am the highest commander of the Magic Capital. Chiu Shu Yuan, please go ahead. Hello, this is Commander Chen Mao of the Imperial Capital. I detected two unknown fighters nearby when I entered the Magic Capital. Do you understand the situation? Upon hearing Chen Mao's voice from across the room, Chiu Shu Yuan's entire body froze, although he had never seen Chen Mo from far away in Mordor. Chen Mo's great name was deafening. Chen Mo came to Magic City? Chiu Shu Yuan had a look of surprise on his face and hurriedly replied to him. We are not aware of it. To be honest, the first contact with Chen Mo had allowed others to find out the loopholes in his city, which really made Xiao Shu Yuan blush a little. Right away, Xiao Shu Yuan intended to send a squad forward to scout the situation. Who knew? Chen Mo's indifferent voice passed through the device and entered Xiao Shu Yuan's ears. Ah, don't know ah? Uh? Then I'll take care of them oh. Chen Mo received Xiao Shu Yuan's reply and hung up the communication right then and there. Xiao Shu Yuan's words were stuck in his throat and he was confused. What? Dispose of it? Still haven't figured out how many people are on the other side and what exactly is the situation. And you're just going to deal with it? Wouldn't this be a bit too reckless? Moreover, those were two Raptor F-22s. Can they be disposed of just like that? Xiao Shu Yuan hurriedly called on the satellite to conduct a picture chase. As for Chen Mode, he had dominated so many beast tides and knew that opportunities were rare. So he didn't delay at all and directly locked onto the other party's fighters. Chen Mordecai smiled coldly, and at that moment, his killing aura overflowed. One must know that even though it was now the machine mother era and magical beasts were frequent, 
the dividing line between each country was still very obvious. This kind of entering another country's airspace directly in a fighter jet without greeting was equivalent to starting a war. Only, it was unknown whether it was the handiwork of the dome above or the magical beasts. Ha, no wonder the wraiths didn't notice it at all. The radar reflection area was surprisingly only a mere zero, zero one square meters, which was a bird-like size. Moreover, Mordor's recent war had been so violent that it had distracted its attention, and even the flying magical beasts had assembled and failed to detect it in time. Chen Emo then quietly approached towards the Raptor F-22, bit by bit contracting the Raptor's space for action, and the commander of the Raptor F-22 soon discovered Chen Mo's presence as well, and was instantly on guard. Only, his speed had been pulled to the top, but he was never able to shake off the fighters behind him, and at this point, the commander of the Raptor F-22 panicked a bit. Chen Mei leisurely slipped across the room to play, not taking it seriously at all, but the sound coming from the public channel aroused his interest, only to hear a burst of language he could not understand coming from the public channel. Chen Mo did not return, please lift the lock on us immediately, and allow the opening to let us through, or we will open fire directly. What the hell kind of bandit theory is that? You guys sneak into my house, and when you're done, you tell me to get the hell out? What kind of reasoning is this? For a moment, anger shot straight to the sky. However, it couldn't let this group of invaders die too easily. Chen Mo's heart immediately had a bad idea. Piloting Luo Dai, he slightly revealed a break, making the other party think that his strength was nothing more than that. As expected, the Raptor commander seized the opportunity right then and there, and fired a close-range air-to-air missile right towards Chen Mo. Hey, taking the bait, die die, fire the jamming bomb. Chen Mei made a decisive sharp turn, pressing against the two Raptors that were chasing him. Seeing that both attacks failed to hit Chen Mo, the Raptor commander was obviously anxious. He directly called up his M61A2 cannon and spat madly. However, this move of the Raptor commander was just expected by Chen Mo, and immediately made a large angle to avoid, and then changed the target of the attack, directly toward the tail of the aircraft blasted over. The two fighters looked like they were fighting back and forth, but in fact, everything was under Chen Mo's control. Chen Mo was like opening God's perspective unilaterally suppressing the two raptors. Naturally, there was no need to say whether they won or lost. Xiao Shuyuan looked at the screen, Chen Mo's operation as if he was teasing a dog, and shook his head with a light smile. No wonder Chen Mo could be so confident in what he just said. His strength was enough to back up his confidence. A rumbling and cracking sound came from the sky. Rolling black smoke churned, obviously a prelude to a crash. The machine guns, which had just been spewing out tongues of fire, also gradually came to rest. Threats useless and unable to fight. The Raptor commander hurriedly begged for mercy from Chen Mo. We were ordered to scout. Please also inform us. Only Chen Mo could not eat their words. By order? By the orders of the magical beasts? Or by the orders of the dome above? Come to be a door opening dog for them? Chen Mo had had enough fun. And didn't bother wasting his breath with them. Die die. Launch. In an instant, the missile directly locked onto one of the Raptor F-22S. Hearing Chen Mo's indifferent voice and looking at the missiles flying towards him, the Raptor commander was so scared that he was close to kneeling and kowtowing to Chen Mo. It was only a pity that the guns that were sent out, how else could they be retrieved? Chen Mo piloted Luo Dai, confidently turning back, and behind him, the bursts of fire dyed the sky red, and the dark night was illuminated. Of course, Chen Mo did not rush to the end, he eventually left a way out for the other Raptor. Do you want to die with him or surrender honestly? I surrender, I surrender, don't kill me. That commander and the raptor mechanical lady immediately begged for mercy towards Chen Mo, without any backbone at all. As Chen Mo looked on, he could not help but roll his eyes. He really wanted to kill them as well, but there was no chance that they could know quite a bit of information, so it was better to wait until after the interrogation. A premeditated war was thus broken by Chen Mo. Right after Chen Mo disposed of the two raptors, he looked his gaze deep into the skies of the magic capital. So many flying magical beasts, wouldn't they all be resources delivered to the door? Right at this moment, a beep sounded in Chen Mo's mind. Ding, detected a blue sea demon bird magical beast nest nearby. The reward will be based on the rating level of the completed quest. Chen Mo was violently stunned. A randomized quest? This thing had appeared before when Weibin confessed his love for Luozhen, but it hadn't budged since then. If it wasn't for it suddenly bubbling up now, Chen Mo would have almost forgotten that there was this thing. With that, Chen Mo rushed to click on the commander's quest panel. This randomized mission, Chen Mo decided to do it without even thinking about it. Anyway, there were so many flying magical beasts in the sky, he had originally planned to annihilate them all. Since this was the case, he didn't care about destroying a magical beast's lair in the process. 
resources given for nothing, don't want it for nothing. Thinking of this, Chen Emo drove Luo Dai and directly rushed towards the direction of the flying beasts. Luo Dai's speed was stretched to the limit, the configuration of Luo Dai itself was already very strong, and with the assistance of the curvature engine, it was even more so as it directly utilized the curvature engine's best effects. Chen Emo transferred two laser cannons, utilizing the advantage that laser cannons did not need to fire ammunition to deal with the large number of magical beasts in front of them, maximizing the saving of resources. At this moment, the edge of the magic capital sea defense line had long since been a mountain of corpses and a sea of blood. A large number of sea devil beasts in the sea were madly charging towards the edge, impacting the magic city's sea defense line again and again. Such a tragic battle situation was much more violent than the beast tide on the imperial capital's side, so it could be imagined just how strong the intensity of the attack on the magic city was. The edge of the sea defense line was basically equivalent to the line of life and death, because as long as you cross this edge of the defense line, behind you was the human city of Mordor. Because of its geographic location, as well as the fact that there were more sea beasts than land beasts, the magic capital itself was the most dangerous war zone in the entire divine dragon kingdom. However, at the same time, the magic capital's heritage was also much stronger than the imperial capital. The hundred battles mercenary core of the devil capital was much more numerous and stronger than the hundred battles mercenary core of the imperial capital. At this moment, under the pressure of a large number of magical beasts, apart from the high star mecha that was guarding the human city of the magic city, Basically all the forces of the magic city had gathered here, including the social forces that had also joined in the action of fighting against the beast tide. At this moment, Chen Emo piloted Luo Dai and prepared to deal with the army of magical beasts in the sky, and the fringe area of the sea defense line could only manipulate Jiang Yingying with her spiritual power, ready to provide support at any time. In the sky, the warrior soldier level Beehai Demon Bird was already entangled with the fighter jets of the magic capital war zone, but the battle situation was also really unbearable to watch. The battle force of the overwhelming Bikai demon birds was fierce, and the level of the fighters wasn't very high, so much so that their agility wasn't even comparable to that of the magical beasts. The entire sky, everywhere is the deafening roar of the fighters, but, obviously, there is no great use. After a bitter battle, or by the blue sea demon bird hit the rolling black smoke, Chen Mo did not hesitate any longer, driving Luo Dai as if stepping into no man's land. The laser cannons flashed madly and the sky instantly blossomed with one blinding fireball after another. The laser cannons flashed madly, and the sky instantly blossomed with one blinding fireball after another. Under Chen Mo's unrelenting slaughter, one after another of the blue sea demon birds that roamed the sky fell into the sea. Chen Mo's output simply did not differentiate between levels. Regardless of whether it was a slave-level blue sea demon bird or a combat soldier-level blue sea demon bird, as long as he saw one, he would directly kill it. For a while, the sky was simply going to be dyed black by the rolling black smoke, and the vast blue sky looked like it was being painted with heavy ink and landscape paintings, a magnificent aerial scroll unfolding in the eyes of everyone. For Chen Mo, this is just a simple basic operation, but for the maintenance team of Magic City, this is simply a god in the sky. Whether they were in the sky, on the ground or in the sea, all the pilots and commanders were dumbfounded. At first, they thought that the demon beast army had come with new support, and they were at a loss for words. However, when they saw a large number of blue sea demon birds fall into the sea, the eyes of the crowd were filled with surprise and shock. The addition of Chen Mo had instantly equalized the situation of this battle, and even vaguely gained the upper hand. For a while, all the maintenance team members only felt that the burden pressed on them was much lighter, and they also had a chance to catch their breath. Crap, what the hell is that fighter in the sky? How come it's so strong? I don't know. I haven't seen this fighter before. Wait. This can't be reinforcements from the imperial capital, right? Reinforcements from the imperial capital? But I don't see any troops from the imperial capital? However, this fighter is really fierce. That speed is so fast that I can't even see it. Changing places in the blink of an eye. I just saw it. That cannon he's equipped with. It's a class A laser cannon. It's bullish. I can't stop looking at it. Ha! Huh? Don't think about it. He's so fast and can still hit the magical beast steadily. I guess the value of this commander can be too much higher than that a great equipment. Wait. Crap. I see a destroyer. It's so damn luxurious. I throw. There are also two mechs that can fly. They're both flying into the sky as well. I throw. Are the resources of the Imperial Capital Warzone so good? So many flying mechs? While Chen Mo was having a good time killing. Xia Zhang and Yi Qingcheng also arrived in time. The phantom sound gun pulsed energy to fire. Instantly stunning a large swath of magical beasts while the explosive heavenly flame carp carried the annihilation blade and entered the game with his body, slashing a warrior soldier level magical beast. At this time, 
Luo Dai also transformed into machine girl mode, following the two women to join the war. For a while, the black sky that was shrouded by the magical beasts was instantly broken open into a large hole, and a large number of Bihai demon birds clattered and fell downward with black smoke. On the surface of the sea, monstrous waves were stirred up for a long time. Why? This demonic beast doesn't feel like there are many of them, but the sky still has to be sky blue to look the best. Seeing that the sky was completely devoid of a single blue sea demon bird, Chen Emo then slowly let out a sigh of relief, blindly admiring the beautiful scenery of the magic capital. Only that everywhere was dyed red with blood, and steel corpses were even more everywhere. Chen Emo also rested his appreciation. In a short span of tens of minutes, there was not a single magical beast left on the sky battlefield, and the maintenance team members of the Magic City Warzone cheered at once. Originally, they thought that they had already stepped into the ghost gate with one foot, but who knew that Chen Emo had pulled them out of the ghost gate? At this moment, the people in the command of the Magic City Sea Defense Line, after seeing Chen Mo's tiresome operation, were even more shocked that they could not say a word. Really fucking strong ah. Did the people of the Imperial Capital grow up eating spinach? How could they be so strong? There were hundreds of magical beasts, and in just a moment's time, they were all killed? However, Chen Mo was in the middle of his killing spree, and when he saw that there were no more blue sea demon birds, he immediately turned his gaze to the sea below his feet. Sea demon beast? Bring it to you. Driving Luo Dai back to the destroyer quickly, Chen Mo quickly entered the destroyer's cockpit. Ying Ying, this is your first battle. Are you ready? Zhang Ying Ying had some sweat seeping out from her forehead because she was too nervous. Although she was a noble SSS class mecha, this was still the first time she personally faced and personally participated in a war. To be honest, she was really a little unable to calm down. I'm ready, I also want to try out the feeling of battle. After taking several deep breaths, Zhang Ying Ying drank loudly. With that, the sound of clacking metal clashing came from the sea, and the destroyer's figure disappeared, replaced by a 200 meter tall giant mecha that stood steadily above the sea surface. To be honest, Chen Emo had seen countless mechs, but it was really the first time that it looked as good as the Divine Realm Heavenly Father. The body of the mech was azure blue in color, and although it was 200 meters tall, the overall appearance of the mech was tall and slender, and every piece of the mech was filled with a sense of power. Chen Emo, does my mecha form look good? Zhang Yingying asked with a red face, worthy of being an oracle heavenly father, the oracle's edict, the heavenly father has descended, Ying Ying, this mecha form of yours, I'm genuinely moved when I look at it, Chen Mo's exclamation caused Zhang Yingying's already reddened little face to become more and more flushed, however, now was not a good time for flirting, the sea devil beasts in front of them were still waiting for them to deal with them, Chen Mo piloted the divine oracle Tianzuan, followed by the explosive heavenly flame carp, the ice phoenix, and the heavenly vault battle voice, and at that moment, they impacted in the direction of the sea demon beasts, the explosive heavenly fire carp gripped the annihilation blade tightly, harvesting the low-grade demonic beasts at a speed indiscernible to the naked eye, while the ice phoenix assisted her, wherever she killed, the demonic beasts were stunned into a ball, the oracle heavenly father was even under Chen Mo's control, rapidly clearing the large number of demonic beasts in the surrounding area, the curvature engine was activated, and the crowd reached the magic capital C defense line in the blink of an eye at a fairly fast speed. Boom boom boom. The divine realm heavenly father's cannons bombarded indiscriminately like they didn't need any money. And in an instant, the sea defense line was instantly turned into a sea of fire. A large number of sea devil beasts were blown into a pile of metal fragments. And some of the luckier ones, who picked up a life but came back with broken limbs. For a time, hissed and roared throughout the entire sea area. They were not convinced, and with the hatred of having their limbs severed, they pounced on Chen Mo, but what about resentment, so what if they were angry, without waiting for them to get close to Chen Mo, they had already become a pile of metal fragments, a few days ago, he had just calmed down a beast tide consisting of thousands of magical beasts, so Chen Mo had not used his full strength at all when facing these little caramels, nay, his strength was simply too strong, and wherever he went, the magical beasts quickly turned into a puddle of scrap metal, now, the members of the Magic Capital Maintenance Force were completely dumbfounded, as if Chen Mo was the most terrifying magical beast. For a while, the crowd even forgot to breathe until they couldn't catch their breath before snapping back to their senses. Is this Thomas still a human being? Why do I feel like he's killing magical beasts like cutting vegetables? Our captain isn't this strong, is he? Wow, this destroyer ship girl, really beautiful to my heart. How come her battle power is also so strong ah? Who is her commander ah? I'm really envious. I'm so jealous. At this time, Xiao Shuyuan had also rushed to the sea defense line command with the fastest speed. The things that happened in the imperial capital might not be known to these maintenance team members, 
But as the captain of the maintenance force in the magic capital, Xiao Shu Yuan knew everything. He had long wanted to take a look at this young man who was not very old, but was like a demon. Just now, in the video, after seeing Chen Mo's battle scene for a short while, his heart had long since stopped calming down. Enduring the thought of not continuing to watch, Xiao Shu Yuan hurried to the sea defense line. On the other side, Chen Mo was in the middle of his killing spree when he saw an ethereal woman speeding towards his side in a speedboat. This was none other than Chi Kite, the captain of the Royal Wind Squad. Ever since Yu Hongru had greeted her, Chi Kite had been keeping an eye on Chen Mo's location, and after learning that Chen Mo had arrived in Magic City, she rushed to come and find him. To be honest, Chi Kite was really handsome when she drove the speedboat. Her perfect body was concave and convex. It simply made Chen Mo's attention instantly yawning. The delicate curvature, the A4 waist, the curve was simply perfect. Only, Chen Mo also knew that it was not the time to think about it. So he forced himself to focus his attention on the sea devil beast in front of him. The blackened muzzle of the oracle heavenly father instantly pointed at the few remaining sea devil beasts. And with a bombardment, there were no more than a few left in full count. Under Chen Mo's command, all of his machinima returned to the shore. Chi Kite had just circled around the sea and honestly didn't help much, so she simply returned to shore as well. Hello Chen Mordor, I'm Chiu Shu Yuan, the first captain of the Magic City's maintenance force. On behalf of all our maintenance team members, I would like to express my sincerest gratitude to you. After saying that, Xiao Shu Yuan gave a standardized military salute. Xiao Shu Yuan is in his early 50s this year. His short and hard hair is cut in distinct layers, only in the middle of the black hair, more or less mixed with some gray and white. The whole person looks a little tired, but the sharpness in his eyes is only more or less. After Chen Mo's killing spree just now, whether it was the magical beasts in the sky or in the sea, the deaths were basically almost complete. So much so, the pressure on the maintenance crew was now greatly reduced. As a matter of fact, the Magic Capital's maintenance crew had been here for many days to quell the beast tide, and today's wave was the strongest wave since the last few days, and the commanders and machine ladies were more or less overwhelmed by such a high-intensity battle, and regardless of their energy or experience, they all thought that they really wouldn't be able to hold out today. Unexpectedly, Chen Mo appeared at this critical juncture, and with his own strength, he quelled this fierce beast tide. At the same time, the battle was leveled back up. Chen Mo hadn't come out of his mech at this time, and stood on the surface of the sea very close to the shore in his oracle heavenly father, saluting towards Chiu Shu Yuan, and Chi Kite also piloted the speedboat back to the shore at this time, with a handsome flip, stirring up a wave, Chi Kite rushed to the shore with quick steps, and the speedboat also transformed into a human form to follow her, and said towards Chen Mo, military commander, I am Chi Kite, the captain of the Royal Wind Squad, I have just received the news that you have come to Magic City, that's why I came late, I hope to be reprimanded. Chen Mo waved his hand, not taking this seriously. However, looking at Chi Kite and the woman that the speedboat had transformed into, Chen Mo was a bit impressed. Roar! Without waiting for Chen Mo to say anything, the sea devil beasts behind him acted as if they did not know how to die and stormed off once again, as if they could not do so without fighting to the death. Chen Mo turned his head to look at the sea devil beast that opened its bloody mouth. A murderous aura filled the air for a while. Missile wash! Saturation strike! The moment Chen Mo's words fell, the crowd of machine girls disappeared into place. Immediately afterward, the missiles that roamed the sky were just in front of the crowd, blasting into the sea. Metal fragments scattered in all directions in an instant, and a massive fireball caused the entire surface of the sea to swell up into monstrous waves. The slave-level magical beasts were instantly turned into flying ash. The war soldier-class magical beasts all turned into a mess of debris. War general-level magical beasts and commander-level magical beasts also lost their breath one after another. This scene, even the Demon Capital Maintenance Force Grand Captain Shou Shuyuan was dumbfounded by it. Simple, brutal, and unforgiving. Really handsome. Although the missiles or missiles that Chun Mo had just bombarded the Sea Devils with were the ordinary missiles that were usually used the most in wars, but even if it was like this, a flurry of bombardment, that was still a large amount of economic output ah. What's more, after so many years under the oppression of the demonic beasts, many cities no longer had the ability to independently manufacture missiles. So much so, that the crowd present was simply in awe of Chen Mo's grand gesture. However, this was almost a trivial matter that was not worth mentioning to Chen Mo. Not only were the points given by killing the sea devil beasts, but more importantly, were the large amount of crystals that these sea devil beasts had contributed to him, and these crystals could probably be exchanged several times over if they were used to exchange for missiles. Maybe other people still had to go up and collect the magic beast crystals one by one, but Chen Mo did not need to. At this time, the wraith crystals that he had killed had already appeared in his commander's warehouse one by one, 
Such a round of saturated strikes had completely cut off the Sea Devil Beast's way of life. Seeing this scene, the entire Sea Defense Line's maintenance warriors instantly fell into a frenzy of celebration. Chiu Shu Yuan, who was standing on the shore, was now thinking in his heart that there was absolutely nothing but the comment Yu Hongru had said to him at that time about Chen Mo. Chen Mo, one man can withstand 10,000 armies. Originally, Chiu Shu Yuan thought that Yu Hongru was exaggerating, and that it was just him who was more optimistic about this young man. But the scene in front of him completely shattered Chiu Shu Yuan's original thoughts. This battle that was so difficult that he thought it was going to be broken through, only because of Chen Mo's arrival, it was directly dissolved, and so many sea devil beasts, just like that, all died. At this moment, Chen Mo jumped down from the mech and walked towards Chiu Shu Yuan, looking at the man in front of him, who was far younger than he had imagined. The marvel in Chiu Shu Yuan's heart increased. Alas, Chen Mo ah, Chief Commander you even specifically asked me to remind you that you must keep a low profile, who knew that without even waiting for me to open my mouth, you've already made a King Bomb appearance, there was no blame in Chiu Shu Yuan's tone, he was just more worried about Chen Mo's current situation, why, isn't this a coincidence, it just so happened that I ran into it, then I can't just ignore it, it shouldn't be anything, it's the middle of the night, the sky is still not bright, except for the people from the maintenance force, not many people should know about it. Chen Mo lightly smiled, but did not put too much stock in it. Well, I have ordered a complete blockade of your news, but you are still good to keep a low profile. The magic city is not the same as the imperial city. This side of the fish and dragons are mixed. It is not possible to guarantee that any person is a spy arranged by the dome. This time the beast tide lasted for many days, and it was more violent than once. I don't believe that there is no handiwork from above the dome in this. They must have found something. Chiu Shu Yuan, however, did not have a hint of relief at all, and said to Chen Mo with a serious face, Chen Mo's visit to the imperial capital this time was related to the Starfire program, could it be that the news of the Starfire training camp had already been known by above the dome? Good, I'll try to keep a low profile. Hearing Chen Mo's assurance, Xiao Shu Yuan actually did not believe it at all. Although Chen Mo had been in the imperial capital before and he didn't really know much about it, but his news would be newly transmitted to the magic capital every day, and in this short period of more than a month, the imperial capital had been completely changed by him. How could he believe that someone who was born to be a protagonist willingly went to be an ordinary person? What are you going to do next? Do you want to go to the Starfire training camp? The training rooms and instructors inside are all top-notch in Magic City, so maybe you can still take the opportunity to improve yourself. Hearing Chiu Shu Yuan's invitation, Chen Mo nodded. His current strength had indeed reached the pinnacle of his base, and it would be great if he could star up in the training room. Now that he had contracted more and more mechs, the amount of energy he consumed was becoming more and more massive, especially when controlling multiple mechs for battle at the same time. Just two nymphs alone were almost draining him. In addition, he was going to learn about the equipment's empowerment techniques, as well as learn the tricks of space combat. I do want to go in. However, I need the right to be able to go in and out at any time. There's no problem with upgrading myself, but I don't like to be pushed into upgrading myself, so closed training will only cause my condition to slip and I need to go back immediately once there's a problem over at the imperial capital. Xiao Shu Yuan nodded. He also knew that Chen Mo had his own ideas when he came to the magic city. It was impossible to be locked up in the Starfire training camp all the time. It's okay. Chen Mo nodded. As long as this was not a problem, then he was still satisfied. Moreover, from this point of view, Yu Hongru could almost be said to have 100% trust in him. The Starfire program could be considered the top secret of the Divine Dragon Kingdom. The reason for the closed training was also to keep the news from leaking out. Looking at the crowd around him, Chen Mo asked again, then what about my machinima? In fact, according to the regulations, Chen Mo could only bring one machine maiden in, but this time, Chen Mo had brought four, which made it difficult for him. Xiao Shu Yuan had obviously thought of this point as well, and immediately frowned. The orders I received were to fulfill all your requests as much as possible, but I really can't make the call on this matter. I still have to report back, right away. Xiao Shu Yuan spoke to Yu Hongru, first explaining every single thing that Chen Mo had done since arriving in Mordor. This included capturing the Raptor F-22 alive as well as the commander, and the two big battles in the sky and the sea behind. Yu Hongru smiled as if he wasn't surprised at all and said, This kid is truly a lucky star for my Shenlong country, bringing me surprises whenever and wherever he can. Commander, this isn't luck. Chen Mo is truly suppressing the demonic beast army with his strength. Xiao Shu Yuan had seen Chen Mo fight with his own eyes. He didn't think it was due to luck. Ha 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 ha. I was just joking. Yu Hongru was not angry. He knew Chen Mo's strength better than anyone else. Immediately afterward, 
Xiao Shuyuan told Chen Mo that he wanted to bring all of his machinima into the Starfire training camp. Yu Hongru thought about it and directly clapped his hands. Let him go. I'll be responsible if anything goes wrong. Nine simple words made Chen Mo's heart instantly relax. Xia Zhang and the others were even more joyful and smiling when they heard this news. The attraction of the Starfire program for them was also very strong. After all, they were also planning to follow Chen Mo to fight in outer space. And now that they were able to get in touch with this kind of training ahead of time, they couldn't have wished for it. With Yu Hongru's words, Xiao Shuyuan could be said to have no more worries about doing things. With a clean slate, he was able to get special identity cards for all of Chun Mo and his several machine nymphs. As for the Royal Wind Squad's Chi Kite and Speedboat Gu Han, they had both applied for identity cards as well. Both of them were S-class machine nymphs, so at least the rank was up to par. While Yu Hongru went to get busy, Chen Mo placed his gaze on Chi Kite. How many people are in your Royal Wind Squad? Together with the two of us, it's a total of 18 people. But Chief Commander you said that he wanted you to lay low as much as possible. So only the two of us are here this time. The others are hiding in the vicinity. And will arrive at the first opportunity if needed. Chen Mo nodded, feeling a wave of relief. He didn't expect Yu Hongru to think so highly of him. He hadn't even arrived in Magic City yet. And everything was all done. After exchanging a few sentences, Chen Mo closed his eyes and took a false sleep. At the same time, his mind began to take stock of the gains from today's battle. What made him feel most surprised was that Annihilation's soul power had reached a level where it could be upgraded again. Chen Mo did not hesitate to tap the upgrade button. And in an instant, Chen Mo's kinetic core related attributes were once again enhanced by 10%. As for Xia Zhang, who was talking to Qi Kite, she was also slightly shocked when she sensed Annihilation's upgrade. Every time Annihilation's level was upgraded, she, as the user, would always feel a tingling sensation. And fortunately, Xia Zing had gotten used to this feeling, so she did not react too abruptly. However, Annihilation's upgrade still caused her some uncontrollable excitement. Chen Mo looked at the more than 10, 000 minion grade crystals that he had already accumulated, and his heart was greatly pleased. After thinking left and right, Chen Mo finally decided to use the more than 10, 000 crystals to star up the Ice Phoenix Mecha. At the same time, Yi Qingqing's entire body was violently stunned. The sudden surge in strength made her a little uncomfortable. One must know that after the Ice Phoenix mech got star upgraded, all of its attributes directly increased by 50%. Now, no matter if it was the defense ability, or launching missiles and the like, all of them had been boosted by a considerable amount. At this time, Xiao Shuyuan had yet to finish his license, and taking advantage of this opportunity, Chun Mo opened the Commander Mall again. This time, the draw made Chen Mu a little surprised and a little confused. This was because in the past, when he drew S-class equipment, the flashing light was golden. But this time, the flashing light was a blinding red light, with a question mark on his face. Chen Mo opened the commander's warehouse and looked at the piece of equipment he had just drawn. S. S-grade? In the existing world, wasn't the highest grade equipment that existed the S-grade? What the hell is this SS-grade? Chen Mo hurriedly clicked on the lottery rules. To his surprise, after contracting 6S rank or above mechs earlier, the Commander Mall had followed suit and upgraded to the point where the highest grade equipment in the Supreme Prize Pool had been raised to SS rank. Chen Mo hurriedly returned to the warehouse and clicked on the equipment that was flashing with red light. Ancient God, SS grade the Ultra Quantum Mech is able to break down into quantum and reassemble into any desired form. Auspicious clouds added. The body of a divine beast shocks the six realms in nine states. Candle Dragon Phantom Weapon. The ancient divine weapon to clear the time evil Chong. Wings into the front. The holy dome of the sunlight to clean up a thousand hectares of the sky. Note, both the commander and the mech can use it. It can be used for both offense and defense. The offense can easily penetrate the S-class accessories. And the defense can withstand the attack of SS-class accessories or below. Seeing the profile of this SS-ranked overwhelming mecha, Chen Mo's perception was once again refreshed. What had already been recognized by the world in the Machine Girl era had surprisingly made another breakthrough. SS-class super quantity mecha which could be used by both commanders and machine girls, and could be a sword, a gun, or a shield. Ancient gods, god-slaying weapons. This is too strong, isn't it? The main thing was that for such an awesome thing, he had only spent a mere 100, 000 points. This thing is a priceless treasure. If it was really put on the market, wouldn't it be a fight to the death? Just at this time, Xiao Shuyuan walked out with the completed license. The pupil molds of all the people have been entered into the data bank and have all been activated. The pupil molds of all the people have been entered into the data bank, and all of them have been activated. Xiao Shuyuan walked towards Chen Mo and said, All right, it's all done. Someone will pick you up from your place of residence tomorrow, according to your request. 
Your credentials are allowed to enter and exit at any time. There is no limit to the number of times. Chen Mo nodded. Okay, thanks. When she came out after running her credentials, the Raptor F-22 and her commander who had been captured by Chen Mordecai earlier were already escorted and waiting at the entrance. Chen Mo walked forward and rushed at the blonde woman, opening his mouth to ask, What's your name? It was a pity that the woman didn't seem to recognize her current position. Glancing at Chen Mo and turning her face in the other direction, Chen Mo snorted and spat disdainfully. Yo, what's with this pretense of preferring death to submission with me? One could only see Chen Mo's two hands crisscrossing, and with that, a clicking skeletal sound was emitted. The commander beside that machine woman, looking at Chen Mo's imposing approach towards himself, hurriedly begged for mercy. My name is Jack. Don't do it. Unfortunately, Chen Mo had already decided to give them some color, and at that moment, he blasted his fist up. The machine maiden had no eyesight. It was all about the commander's lack of education. Therefore, Chen Mo's fist was pointed straight at Jack. To be honest, Chen Mo thought that he had already collected his strength, but the commander was too fragile, and was directly hit with a wild spray of blood. The position of his chest was directly dented into a very obvious pit. Presumably the bones were broken. After several times of full attribute enhancement, Chen Mo's strength was already several times that of a normal person, and now it was already immeasurable. Looking at that commander's appearance, Chen Mao dodged in disgust, but when it fell into that commander's eyes, it really infuriated him. What are you hitting me for? It's not like I didn't say anything. Chen Mo glanced at that Raptor F-22. Your commander is more knowledgeable than you, so aren't you going to say anything now? Bah, he's the one who surrendered to you, not me. The woman's attitude was something that made Chen Mao look at Chen Mao in a higher light. This woman had more backbone than her commander. However, it was reasonable to say that both the commander and the machine woman were husband and wife. It was only right that you have me and I have you. But why did the two of them seem as if they had a bad relationship? Could it be that it wasn't a contractual relationship? Then you shouldn't mind if I kill him, right? Chen Mo grabbed Jack's hair and yanked his head up, looking brutal. Even Chen Mo's own machine woman felt that Chen Mo's appearance was a bit strange when she saw the scene, only to see the woman suddenly struggle a bit as if she thought of something, and finally clenched her fists and spoke towards Chen Mo. My name is Catherine. Don't kill him. Chen Mo did not miss any of her micro expressions. It was just that he was a little confused as to what this woman was thinking. It always felt as if she had a lot of secrets, and it was precisely because of this secret that she had succumbed. Moreover, Chen Mo actually didn't really want to know what her name was. After all, this kind of information, as long as he forcefully logged in to this woman's machinima system, everything could be plainly displayed in front of him, but that would be more or less boring. This commander will be handed over to you for interrogation. This Catherine will be handed over to me. I'll interrogate and interrogate her properly, and we'll get a statement together tomorrow. Chen Mo opened his mouth towards Chiu Shuyuan. After all, this was Chen Mo's captive, and Chiu Shuyuan didn't think to fight with him, so he agreed right away. Only, the raptor's commander kept muttering something in his mouth, not knowing what he was saying. Pity, pity, had I known that at first, Chen Mo was tired of hearing it, so he immediately smashed his fist on the man's face. Can you say less? Annoying. Ben had already been beaten by Chen Mo's broken sternum and his mouth was full of blood. This was a mouthful of blood sprayed out. Also mixed with two white teeth. Jack was truly scared this time, and shut his mouth right away. This dragon kingdom savages. Why not move their hands off? Luckily, after Chen Mo finished beating him up, he left with Catherine without looking back. What? Still not going to give an explanation? Chen Mo sat in front of Catherine and asked her with a cold face. Humph, don't think that if Jack falls into your hands, I'll be at your mercy. There's an old saying in your Shenlong kingdom that rabbits still bite when they're anxious. Catherine did have pride, just not much of it, and at this time, being questioned by Chen Mei in a threatening manner, her heart was always a bit unwilling. I would like to see how a rabbit that is cornered bites, Chen Mo said and prepared to move. Seeing that Chen Mo was about to move, Catherine actually completely disregarded her injuries and forcefully transformed. Even if I die, I must drag you along with me. Chen Mo's movements froze, and looking at Catherine, who had transformed into the form of a machine lady in front of him, he couldn't help but think three times more highly of her. Only, in the end, they were not the same people, and in the end, they were not walking the same path. With a thought, Chen Mo directly summoned the overwhelming Mecha Ancient God. In an instant, the God of the Ancient World directly transformed into an Ultra Deluxe Mecha, and piece by piece, it attached itself to Chen Mo's body. The power of the Ultra Quantity Mech was enough to make all mechs feel despair, and Catherine was no exception. You, what, scared, still think you can kill me? Chen Mo looked at the shocked Catherine and teasingly spoke. Humph, 
I really thought that you were an amazing commander of the Divine Dragon Kingdom, but it turns out to be nothing more than a higher level prisoner mech. Catherine didn't recognize the overload mech at first. After all, in the current world, there was no such thing at all. Shen Emo snorted and shook his head disdainfully. Prisoner mech? I can't look at that kind of trash. But, from what you're saying, you're not a prisoner mecha? Catherine sneered. Of course I'm not. I'm the queen. Only, before the words were finished, Catherine snapped to a halt and did not continue on. Chen Emo looked at her with a curious face, but he was not in a hurry. Catherine, it seems like you haven't recognized your own position. I'm not begging you to tell me. I want to really want to know your secrets. I have more than enough means to do so. Only, that would be too boring. Saying that, Chen Mo directly controlled Catherine with both hands, and with a gentle stroke, he cut open Catherine's mech, and a large portion of her whiteness was revealed. Chen Mo's action caused Catherine to be staggered in place, the defense line she had built up collapsing in an instant. Chen Mo's strength was simply too strong, and Catherine was simply like an unaggressive mouse in his hands, unable to resist a bit at all. The mech that she was so proud of was just like a piece of white paper under Chen Mo's hands, and was easily torn to shreds. Even though her heart was unwilling, she still had to admit that Chen Mo was simply not something she could fight against. Even if she wanted to die a fish and pull him along with her, she couldn't do it. Don't. Don't make a move. I'll talk. Catherine appointed a compromise. Her accessories for this body were all she had exchanged for under the queen's men, working her ass off to do missions, and for Chen Mo to give her all the scratches so easily. She was truly heartbroken. After saying that, Catherine hurriedly transformed back into her human form to avoid Chen Mo continuing to destroy her mech. Chen Mo also slowly put back the ancient god, covering the pieces of mech on his body, one by one, disappeared. It was only at this point that Catherine was really a little surprised. This really wasn't something that could be compared to that cheap prisoner mech. She even felt a little silly for associating Chen Mo with the prisoner mech. Can you tell me about what you are? Without waiting for Catherine to finish her question, Chen Mo directly interrupted her. I'll say it again. I'm not begging you to explain yourself to me, and you're in no position to negotiate with me. Are you sure you want to listen? Catherine asked after a moment of agonizing, opening her mouth, looking at her blonde hair and blue eyes. Chen Mo was suddenly a little curious as to why exactly she was so torn. Could it be that she had some shocking secret? Say, I admit, you are indeed the strongest commander I've ever seen, but there are some people you can't afford to mess with. Queen Andrea has three royal maiden corps with her, all of which are frigates, and has gone on a rampage to search for the best commanders and machine girls in every country of the Blue Planet and I'm one of them. Chen Mei was a bit surprised for a moment when he suddenly heard a name he had never heard before. Queen Andrea? Who is it? Catherine shook her head. I've only heard it from others. She seems to be a ship girl who traveled over from another world, a very powerful battleship in her own right, and in her world she also possesses a very powerful sea force. Another world? How did they cross over again? This world was simply getting more and more confusing to Chen Mo. Then what kind of attitude does she have towards the Divine Dragon Kingdom now? Not very friendly anyway. Jack and I were sent by her to scout. Catherine spread her hands and answered with absolutely no reservations. What was your target? Queen Andrea has heard about your Shenlong Kingdom Starfire program and is trying to find a way to absorb the Starfire training camps machine girls, especially since there seems to be a carrier ship girl in there as well, which is very attractive to her. Catherine told Chen Mo all the information she knew without reservation. Chen Mo lifted all those things from her body regarding the queen's control over her, and it was also considered to have given her freedom again. After the interrogation was completed, Chen Mo opened the door and walked out of the room. Boom! Just at this time, a sudden popping sound came from outside. While Chen Mo was wondering what had happened, Luo Dai violently ran over. Chen Mao, it's Wen Chan. Wen Chan, why is she here? Is this provoking me? Chen Mao smiled. Let's go. Go out and meet her. Luo Jin hurriedly followed Chen Mo's pace, and the moment she left the hotel, she transformed into her fighter form and then took to the air. Xia Zhang and Yi Qingcheng also arrived at the first time and transformed into their aircraft maiden forms. As for Jiang Yingying, since she did not have the ability to fly, she stayed in the room. Let's go. Since Wen Chan wants to compete with us, how about we surround her? Chen Mo asked with a smile, while the three girls had already prepared themselves. Boom. In the next moment, the three women simultaneously disappeared in place. While chasing after Wen Chan, Chen Mo could not help but secretly ponder whether or not to empower to change everyone's radar system. It was important to realize that the radar system was an eye-like function for the machine nymphs. His machine nymphs, compared to Wen Chan, the radar systems were indeed a bit behind. Boom. However, this did not affect the excitement of the three girls, especially Luo Zhan. Under Chen Mo's intense energy supply, 
the air was about to be torn apart by Luozhen. It was as if she was traveling through space, and she was frantically approaching towards Wen Chan at an extremely high speed. Wow, is this Wen Chan's airborne fighter form? So awesome. After Chen Mo and Luo Dai rushed up, they were completely stunned as they looked at the air sky fighter in front of them. It was really too cool and filled with a sense of technology, like an existence beyond this world. It made one's heart pound with a single glance. In the hundred years of the Machine Lady era, the Air Sky Fighter had never appeared, and Wen Chan was the only one. However, in these hundred years, mankind had long drawn conceptual drawings for the Air Sky Fighter. Previously, the one time Wen Chan went to look for Chen Mao, Chen Mao had searched and looked at it later. It was called a mythological one. At this moment, the entity of the empty Sky Fighter was not far away from him in front, and that heartwarming feeling spilled out uncontrollably. Wives, accelerate, let's catch up. Chen Mo shouted, and the rotational speed of the energy core sped up a bit more. Buzz. At this time, Luo Dai was at the forefront playing the lead role, and could already see the empty Sky Fighter from afar. Luo Dai gritted her teeth and continued to accelerate. Soon, it was getting closer and closer to the empty Sky Fighter, separated from her by only one plane position. I'll go. So fast? Surprisingly, it's really catching up. Seeing Luo Jin, who was following closely behind her. When Chan's mouth couldn't close in shock, however, she was actually prepared to be caught up. This was because Luo Dai had already frankly told herself before that her engine had been empowered by Chen Mo with an S-rank curvature engine, and she had additionally been empowered by Chen Mo multiple times, so the gap between her and herself wasn't particularly large anymore. Most notably, inside her cabin sat an incomparably powerful commander, which was something Wen Chan had no way of comparing to. It was only that catching up so quickly was still a bit out of Wen Chan's expectations. She had thought that Luo Zhan's speed would be terrifying, but she hadn't expected it to be this terrifying. In such a short period of time, even she could only manage to finish the starting acceleration, right? This engine is also too strong, too tricky, Wen Chan muttered. At this time, Luo Dai had already accelerated and flew to Wen Chan's side, and when he heard Wen Chan say this, he immediately burst out laughing. Ha ha ha, who made you ask for trouble? If you directly came over and contracted with Chen Mordor, obtained the curvature engine, and gained the fuselage empowerment. It's unlikely that I would be able to abuse you. But, who made you not? The Sky Fighter was indeed very powerful. If it was under the same empowerment, Luo Jin and Wen Chan were not on the same level at all. There was no way to compare. However, Chen Mo had empowered her too much, and that kind of gap had been infinitely narrowed. Wen Chan, secretly telling you, I'm not the only one who can catch up with you, Luo Jin said with a smirk, and before her words fell, she heard a buzzing sound coming from not far away. Soon, Xia Zhang and Yi Qingcheng also swept over from behind. I'm going. When did they catch up? They're not even fighters. A supercar and an ice phoenix? The resistance of a plane is not the same as that of an airplane. Aren't they afraid of being torn apart by the air currents? How on earth can they withstand such a great pressure? Countless questions flashed through Wen Chan's mind, and Wen Chan's entire being was shocked. However, how could their biokinetic energy last for such a long time? It can support their flight for so long? Chen Mo didn't lie to me. He really can remotely pilot multiple mechs at the same time. Which means that the three mechs behind him are all controlled by Chen Mo alone? It's too heaven defying, isn't it? When Chan was truly convinced by Chen Mo at this moment, she had never seen such a perverted commander from, had never seen such a perverted commander. If she looked at it that way, I'm afraid that only Chen Mo was qualified to be her commander in the world today. Just as Wen Chan was mumbling, Xia Zhang and Yi Qingcheng also chased after her, matching Luo Jin and preparing to surround Wen Chan. Hmph, just with you guys you want to surround me? You should know that the biggest difference between me and you guys is that I can fly beyond the blue star. Wen Chan snorted coldly, and in the next second, she directly pulled up and lifted off, her fuselage flying at an angle of more than 60 degrees toward the top. Ouch, you don't think we can't catch up if you fly like that, do you? Luo Yan laughed and began to lift off as well. The speed didn't slow down at all, and there was barely any fork in the distance with the air sky fighter. Xia Zhang and Yi Qingcheng, on the other hand, were thrown off by a knot. Hoomph, this is how you get thrown off. It looks like it's nothing more than that. When Chan looked at the two women who had been thrown off, and immediately became smug, Luo Jin didn't even need to think about it. She knew that when Chan was dejected at this moment. Simply, he directly raised 90 degrees violently and lifted up into the air to accelerate. 90 degrees? Is Luo Jin's power that strong? Ouch. I should have known that I had also contracted with Chen Mo, or else I could have done the same. When Chan was shocked by Luo Dai's move and regretted it somewhat, it also counted as completely firming up her heart to contract with Chen Mo. Hoomph. Luo Dai. 
Just wait, Chen Mo will be my commander in a short while, by then the engines, the weapons, I'll have all of them as well, and by then I'll be qualified to step into the void. When Shan hooked her lips and smiled, her heart was incomparably excited for a moment. Boom! Right at this time, when Chan and Luo Dai simultaneously penetrated the atmosphere and arrived in outer space, the cold and oxygen-deprived environment made Luo Dai a little uncomfortable. The universe in front of them was so deep that it scared people. Not only Luo Dai, even when Chan had completely lost her sense of security at this point. Thus, she directly stopped sprinting and slowly floated. Ka 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 ka. On the other hand, Luo Jin, who was beside her, directly transformed into mecha mode, the large wings behind her instantly unfolding. Then, under Wen Chan's astonished gaze, Luo Jin took a step and stepped into the air, walking towards her step by step. How is it possible? Aren't they here for the first time as well? Why can she transform all so calmly? Wen Chan was completely shocked. It was also the case that Xia Zhang and Yi Qingcheng had not broken through the atmosphere. Otherwise she might have been even more shocked. Buzz. In front of Wen Chan, the wings behind Luo Jin shook. And at that moment, she swooped down with the heavenly dome battle sound, seeing Luo Dai return like a victor. Although Wen Chan was a bit upset, she could only follow and return. After all, her bioenergy, too, was almost depleted. However, she knew that she wasn't losing to Luo Jin, but to Chen Mo. When Chan's gaze took a deep look at the Sky Dome battle sound that was getting farther and farther away, and then, followed closely to return to the Blue Star. It didn't take long for the two warplanes to return back and forth to the hotel they had just departed from. Immediately afterward, Luo Yan and Wen Chan simultaneously changed back into their human forms, the two absolute beauties. Although they had different beauties, their perfect figures were surprisingly consistent. Only, Luo Dai looked a bit more mature, which was more satisfying to Chun Mo. Chan Mo, contract with me. Recalling everything that had just happened, Wen Chan did not hesitate any longer and bluntly sent out a contract application to Chun Mo. Buzz. As soon as the words left her mouth, Wen Chan directly transformed into a fighter jet filled with a sense of technology in a white light. The hatch opened at the same time. Chen Mo suppressed his inner excitement and slowly walked towards her, striding into the cabin. Chen Mo. Wen Chan is about to make a contract. Sympathetic system docking successful. Nervous system matching successful. Kinetic system matching successful. Interaction system matching successful. With the fastest speed, Chen Mo completed the contract. With that, Chen Mo rushed to tap on Wen Chan's attribute panel. Name, Wen Chan. Mechanical prototype, airborne fighter, Chen Nu. Mechanism initial quality, SSS. Innate battle strength, 5 bars and 9 stars. Innate battle strength, 5 bars and 9 stars. Current commander, Chen Mei. Previous contract history, 0. Temporary contract history, 0. Condition, 100% brand new. Attribute, divine radiance. Exclusive talent. Outer space combat. Sublimation, when the core of the machine girl accumulates enough sublimation energy, it can realize one full sublimation with the commander. Current, zero. Mutation, when the core of the mecha has accumulated enough mutation energy, it can realize one mutation with the commander. Current, zero. Hidden talent, divine might, not yet activated. Seeing Wen Chan's attributes, Chen Mo was truly amazed. The innate battle power was surprisingly as high as 5 bars and 9 stars. However, what did all these attributes of hers mean? Divine radiance? Divine might? Chen Mo was a bit puzzled. Was it similar to the queen pilot? However, the hidden talents of an SSS ranked machine girl should be a bit more powerful than this, right? Chen Mo muttered as he mulled over these two talents in his mouth, and a somewhat unbelievable thought suddenly flashed through his mind. Divine radiance? Divine might? Could it be that the pinnacle of Wenchan was capable of becoming a god? For a moment, Chen Mo himself was a bit shocked by his own thoughts. However, the Empyrean warrior itself was full of mythological colors. So even if it could become a god, it was reasonable. There was also sublimation and alteration. These two attributes, although Chen Mo did not quite understand what they meant, they sounded awesome. Moreover, these two attributes were able to affect the commander himself, which was a bit perverse. On a certain level, this talent was somewhat similar to Luo Jin's feedback attribute. However, comparatively speaking, Luo Jin's anti-feedback attribute trigger was still a bit simpler and a bit more heaven-defying. When Chan's sublimation and mutation required the accumulation of energy, and when it was full, it could only be sublimated once or mutated once, which was more demanding. I just don't know how effective it is, but if nothing else, it should be quite heavenly as well. Chen Mo could not help but feel some anticipation after comparing them slightly. If he had everything upgraded to full level after that, Chen Mo was afraid that even if he didn't need to pilot a mecha goddess, he would all be able to reach invincible vigilance. Hmph. 
How about it? Aren't my attributes awesome? Wang Chan's dejected voice came, and Chen Mo nodded obediently. Indeed, very heaven defying, very powerful. You're the strongest initial combat power of a machine girl I've ever seen. But what is divine radiance? Does divine might work similarly to might or something like that? Anyway, your potential is definitely the strongest. And you also have two exclusive talents, sublimation and alteration, which is almost a dream for any commander. Chen Mo said sincerely, indeed in some aspects, Wen Chan could be said to be quite bullish. Then, if I compare myself to Luo Zhen, who's better? Wen Chan asked arrogantly, after all, she was actually struck by Luo Zhen, so she had long saved her heart to compete with her. Well, how to say it, in some aspects you do, are slightly better. However, Luo Dai's hidden attributes are also quite heaven-defying, her goddess aura is very strong. Moreover, her two heaven-defying attributes, which are the physical and spiritual power feedback to the commander, are no worse than yours, Chen Mo said with a smile, and did not intentionally hit Luo Dai. Impossible. Luo Dai is only SS plus rank. How could he have such a powerful attribute? Wen Chan's voice snapped up an octave, clearly not believing in Luo Zhen's talent. After the battle, the commander will be able to obtain a spiritual power feed. After the empowerment, the commander will be able to obtain a physical body feed. This, this is far too powerful than my talent. Wen Chan murmured with a look of disbelief. It's probably because her rank rating has something to do with her mechanical body. Chen Mo spread his hands and explained. Actually, your sublimation is very strong. If you are able to sublimate my exclusive skills, it can be described as nothing short of terrifying. After all, Wen Chan had already contracted with Chen Mo, and Chen Mo did not want to dampen her confidence too much. So naturally, he also picked out good words to say. What? You still have exclusive skills? Only. When Chen's attention was completely attracted by Chen Mo's exclusive skills. Of course, how else do you think I was able to bring five mechs and fight thousands of magical beasts and still remain unharmed? Chen Mo replied with a smile. What skills do you, you have? Wen Chan asked. A lot. When you go to the battlefield at that time you will naturally know it all. But my skills are so powerful that they may directly extract half of my spiritual power. So try to use them in a pinch. For the world's only air and sky fighter. Chen Mo was also very attached to it. So he basically answered all of her questions. Hiss. No wonder. No wonder all your machine girls can be so powerful. No wonder Luo Dai was able to display such extraordinary abilities just by getting an engine empowerment and a weapon empowerment. So, it's not that they are strong at all, but that you, the commander, are strong, you are really too heaven defying. It was only at this time that Wen Chan was truly and completely convinced. However, at the same time, she was filled with endless expectations for the future. And even more so, she hoped that her sublimation could provide Chen Mo with powerful assistance. There was no chance that his skills would become even more terrifying after sublimation. And if the amount of mental energy consumed could be less, then Chen Mo might be able to use it a few more times. It was only feared that by then, there would really be nothing that could withstand one of Chen Mo's attacks. Ding! Congratulations to the commander for contracting an airborne fighter for the first time. Ding! Congratulations to the commander for obtaining two warp engines. Ding! Congratulations to the commander on acquiring the superconducting weapon. The Xian Nunan. Ding! Congratulations to the commander for acquiring the superconducting weapon. The wings of the Xian Nu. Ding! Congratulations to the commander for obtaining a subbiotic engine fragment. Ding! Congratulations, commander, on acquiring a merge chip. Ding! Congratulations to the commander for earning a million points. Ding! Congratulations to the commander for obtaining a golden power card. Right at this moment. The sound of rewards arriving came from Chen Mo's mind. Hiss. This stinging sound simply caused Chen Mo to go into some ecstasy. It was another golden card. And the commander's warehouse already had several golden cards stored in it. How many times can a golden card be boosted? Chen Mo asked the ice cold beeping voice, which quickly replied to him. Ten times. Crap. Chen Mo's entire insides trembled slightly, together with the two chapters of golden cards in the system's warehouse. Then all of his attributes, basically, would have a sea change. It has been detected that the commander's various indices have exceeded the standard. It is recommended that the commander wait until his body has been fully upgraded before using the golden cards to maximize the benefits. If the commander uses them now, his power will only be boosted up to 99 times at most. The prompt sounded like it had thrown a pot of cold water on Chen Mo. Why can it only be boosted up to 99 times? Chen Mo was curious. Because this is the limit of human genetics. If you want to break through, you can only break free from the chains of genetics. You need to reach the limit of all four attributes of spirit, strength, physique, and speed before you can do so. Feedback energy is different from card energy. 
Feedback energy belongs to the energy in the genes, but card energy belongs to foreign energy, and exceeding it will be wasted. Chen Mo nodded. This answer was similar to what Chun Mo thought. The good thing was, he needed to pilot the mecha goddess for his battles. He didn't need to personally take the field himself, so upgrading the energy itself wasn't a big rush. What was most urgent now was to hurry up and empower Wen Chan. Wen Chan, let me start empowering you now, as you are the only aerospace fighter in this world. I'm bound to give you the most luxurious equipment, Chen Mo said with a smile. Good. Wen Chan had been looking forward to the empowerment for a long time, and at this time, her eyes shone brightly when she heard that Chen Mo was going to empower herself. Chen Mo looked at the rewards he had just gotten. Among them, Xian Nu's questioning sky and Xian Nu's wings, since they were both named after Xian Nu, it would be better to simply give all of them to Wen Chan. Other than that, Chen Mo was prepared to empower her with another electromagnetic cannon, and as for the engine, it was a must-have for manpower, and she couldn't be left behind. Thinking of this, Chen Mu directly went from the commander's warehouse, called out the warp engine, and began to empower Wen Chan. Buzz. Soon, the engine part of the air warrior Xian Nu instantly lit up with a bright white light. The moment the engine empowerment was completed, Wen Chan was shocked. What a powerful engine. Even her own heartbeat seemed to have become stronger and more powerful. No wonder, Luo Zhan was able to catch up with himself under the acceleration of this engine. As if sensing Wen Chan's emotions, Chen Mo's empowerment was non-stop and continued. You're too early to be happy. You're so happy right now. Then when I empower you with three superconducting weapons, what kind of happy you should be? What? Three superconducting weapons? Wen Chan, who was already excited, was even more happy and wanted to jump up. That was three superconducting weapons ah. And with Chen Mo's empowerment, it must be an S-class superconducting weapon. How many witches were afraid that they wouldn't be able to have an S-class superconducting weapon in their entire lives? And they actually had three in a flash. Too much. Chen Mei gave too much. Together with the curvature engine it was four pieces of S-rank equipment. Why? It's small. One cold weapon. One hot weapon. And a pair of wings. It's similar to Wang Yuan's. After empowering you, your wings will not only be able to provide you with flight capabilities, but also be a powerful killing weapon. As Chen Mordecai spoke, the altered hands did not stop. As Chen Mo's words fell, Wen Chan's wings similarly flashed with white light. Looking at it violently, it was actually no different from what she had before. But only Wen Chan herself knew that the quality of her wings had changed from the root. Buzz. The airborne fighter completed this empowerment under the flashes of light. Immediately afterward, the entire warplane instantly emitted a clicking sound, and a rather perfect machine maiden appeared in front of Chen Mo. The Xian Nu mech was actually not very tall. The overall appearance was only about 20 meters, which was simply too small compared to Wang Yuan and Zhang Yingying, but her petite size didn't affect her mighty and domineering aura at all. The Xian Nu mech was like a divine soldier descending from the heavens. She was the true Xian Nu of the Nine Heavens. Her temperament alone was different, and her overriding dominance was mixed with a mysterious aura. Wow! The wings behind the Xian Nu mech suddenly unfolded, and in an instant, they covered the sky and the sun. Above the twin wings, a gust of mysterious aura was interwoven, seducing one to indulge in it. Boom! The Xian Nu mech violently stomped towards the ground and instantly disappeared directly into place, leaving behind only the raging sand and dust and the gusts of wind that took off and swept up. I thought that she would be strong after empowering, but, I really didn't expect her to be this strong. It's way beyond me. Luo Yan froze in place, staring blankly at the place where Wen Chan had taken off, and couldn't help but sigh with emotion. She actually knew the difference between herself and Wen Chan from the very beginning. The basic attributes and quality of the air warrior, compared to her, exceeded her by a large margin, and belonged to the degree of completely beating her. The only thing that made her truly powerful was her ability to feed back to the commander, something that all organic mothers could not do. Even Wen Chan could not do it. With this alone, she could hang the majority of SSS class mechs. However, her own level and quality, when compared to a real air and sky fighter, was immediately separated into highs and lows. Alas, there was no way. Right at this time, the Xian Nu mech that took off had already broken through the atmosphere once again. This time, Wen Chan completely lost the fear she felt when she just flew up. Facing the dark and deep universe, the blue star behind her became very small, but that feeling that made one's heart uneasy did not appear at all. On the contrary, she was in a peaceful mood and did not have any uneasiness at all. Having just gained a strong power, and an even stronger commander, Sitting in her own mech bay at this moment, what was there to be uneasy about? It was only at this moment that she finally understood what made Luo Yen able to blurt out those words that mocked her when she was at the Jin City military harbor at that time. If, instead of contracting with Chen Mo, she had really found a random SSS-ranked commander, 
Would her commander really be able to bring her to outer space? Wen Chan didn't know, but she knew that this time, compared to the first time, she was able to completely feel Chen Mo's breezy heart without a trace of fear. This feeling of sharing emotions with her own commander really made her quite confident. But what if it was a different person? Once his emotions became frightened and panicked and affected him, what would he do then? Only, this matter was no longer something Wen Chan needed to consider. Her commander was Chun Mo, and his will was affecting her and dominating her. Wen Chan couldn't help but be a little thankful that she was fortunate to have contracted with Chun Mo. However, at the same time of peace, she was also able to feel Chen Mo's yearning for outer space, his exploration and curiosity for this unknown world. The Xian Lady Mecca's wings were slightly flapping at this moment, holding the questioning sky tightly in her hand as she stood majestically in the void. Chen Mo, want to land on the moon? Looking at the moon that was very close to the blue star, Wen Chan was a little moved. Only, although Chen Mao was curious, but at least his sense was still there. Not for now. There shouldn't be any magical beasts on top of the moon. But I don't know if there are any deep space alien beasts. In case something goes wrong and the two of us are left on the moon, we'll really be screwed then. At least, now is not the best time to explore the moon. Chen Mo actually had a scale in his heart. And he knew that perhaps with Wen Chan's own strength, she would definitely not be able to travel to the moon. But with a constant supply of energy from herself, it was not impossible to land on the moon. However, there were still a whole lot of things that hadn't been dealt with in Blue Star. And if he really couldn't go back, then I'm afraid that the imperial capital would really have to fall. Alright, let's go back. Go back and get you a Starfire training camp card as well. There's guaranteed to be a place to train in deep space combat inside. Good. Wen Chan agreed excitedly. Although she had the ability to fight in outer space as an air fighter itself, she still had to practice more as a machine lady. After all, the environment of outer space was still too different from Blue Star. Boom. In the next second, when Shan flapped her wings and flew down towards the Blue Star, after returning to the ground, Chen Mo's first time was to have Chi Kite go get Wen Chan a car to enter and exit the Starfire training camp. Immediately afterward, he greeted Yu Hongru. Not only was Yu Hongru not unhappy about having an airborne fighter joining the Starfire program, but on the contrary, he was incomparably envious of Chun Mo. In just a few hours, he had contracted another machine maiden, and even if it was, it was still an unprecedented airborne fighter. It really made his teeth itch with envy. Early the next morning, Chen Mo and the others got up early to have breakfast. Military commander. The mentors from the Starfire training camp outside have already arrived. Shall we leave now? Let's go. Let's set off. With regards to the Starfire training camp, Chen Mo was also quite looking forward to it. Before leaving, Chen Mo handed over the task of searching for the Bayhaven Demon Bird's Nest to Catherine. After all, the mission to annihilate the Bayhaven Demon Bird's Nest was a randomly triggered mission, and the rewards must be very generous. In fact, Chen Mo had already known the exact location of the Bikai Demon Bird's Nest, except that it was surrounded by a mysterious mist, and even the satellites couldn't detect the information around it. So he thought that this mission was a little dangerous, and Catherine is not his machine lady, even if it breaks down. It doesn't hurt. When the people walked out of the hotel, they saw a red flag car parked in front of them. Red flag CA 7600J. Chen Mo was a little surprised for a moment. What this car symbolizes is self-evident. Seeing Chen Mo and the others come out, the door of the red flag car slowly opened, and a pair of straight long legs stepped down from the car. Immediately, a woman with an unassuming appearance, a delicate figure, a cool face, and a full aura appeared in front of the crowd. The woman had little expression on her face and her aura was a little like Yi Qingqing's, but it was even colder than Yi Qingqing's, with a feeling of rejecting others. Chi Kite on the side was even more shocked. She also only knew that someone had come to pick up Chen Mo, but never thought that it would be this great god. For a while, Chi Kite's worship of Chen Mei became even more intense. Immediately, she hurriedly introduced the information of the visitor to Chen Mo in a low voice. This frosty beauty in front of Chen Mo was Hu Yanlan of the Magic Capital Ancient Martial Family, mysterious and powerful. Not to mention her young age. The achievements she had made were already not bad. Hu Yen's Light. Divine Dragon over Talent. Iceberg Queen. Empowering Spirit Pioneer. There were countless false names placed on her head. But comparatively speaking, her achievements and the power behind her were what made her shine. The method of empowering S-Class accessories was developed under her auspices. In addition to the empowerment of mechs, she had also pioneered a cultivation method called Shenzong Cultivation. It was a product born from the perfect combination of the secret method of the ancient martial arts family behind her and the mecha, capable of fully tapping out the potential of both the commander and the mecha. Chi Kite's barrier breaking eye was comprehended under Hu Yan Lan's guidance, and it was quite helpful to her. Barrier breaking, real illusion, distant vision, 
It was also because Chi Kite had these powerful abilities that she was able to in order to be the captain of the Royal Wind Squad. And even more so the reason why she was sent by Yu Hongru to be Chen Mo's escort. Only she this is only one of the many skills. Each person awakens skills are very different. But there is a common point. Is to be able to make mechs play more powerful strength. Right now. The divine hidden cultivation system had already begun to begin experimenting with cultivation in the Starfire training camp. And if the results were better. It was likely that it would be promoted nationwide. By that time. The commander and the machine girl would be much more compatible. And there would be a considerable increase in combat power. After listening to Chi Kite's introduction of Hu Yanlan, Chen Mo was astonished in his heart, and he was also filled with curiosity about this iceberg beauty in front of him. The woman was a woman of honor. Eyebrows. Chen Mo? Hu Yanlan raised her eyes, looked Chen Mao up and down, and opened her mouth to ask. Upon seeing the several stunningly beautiful women behind Chen Mo, her heart also slightly marveled. So beautiful. So strong. Hu Yanlan had already learned most of the information about Chun Mo from above before she came here, and she had some expectations, but also some worries regarding Chen Mo. Hello, Chen Mo spoke indifferently, without being humble. Even though the woman in front of him was strong, he was not weak either. Well, hello, I will be your mentor in the Starfire training camp, Hu Yanlan. I don't care how much of a halo you had before, or how many battle victories you've made, as long as you've entered the Starfire training camp, then you're my student. Hu Yanlan's voice had no emotions, it was very nice and gentle, but it was also mixed with an aura that did not allow for resistance, if one were to underestimate her, then they would definitely pay a price, I still hope that teacher will not be stingy with her advice, Chen Mo responded humbly, to be honest, Chen Mo was very strong, so strong that he could almost be said to be the strongest of the new generation, but even so he still had room for improvement and had a lot to learn, though for the magical beasts he was currently up against, he handled them with ease, However, the true great war between magical beasts and humans had yet to begin. The strongest magical beast he had seen was none other than the magical beast Queen White Feather. And really, those high-level lifeforms on planet Ganaburu were his ultimate goal. All he had to do was to keep strengthening himself while everything had yet to begin. So with such a talented teacher willing to teach him, what was there for him to not know? Perhaps under Hu Yen Lan's training, his physical attributes could truly reach the peak of humanity. So wouldn't it be wonderful to use all those golden cards in his head at that time? While Chen Mo was calculating in his heart, Hu Yanlan was also sizing up Chen Mo. On first impression, Hu Yanlan felt that Chen Mo was not bad, at least much better than she had imagined. She had seen many senior commanders who suddenly rose to enjoy the feeling of being surrounded by stars, with countless halos setting them off. Many commanders had drifted under such a halo, becoming unrivaled and arrogant, developing a bad habit. This was precisely why Hu Yanlan's excitement was mixed with worry. But Chen Mo was different. His expression was bland, and even though he was surrounded by so many peerless beauties, he did not sink into beauty, but instead made big moves that caught the world's attention one after another. This heart alone was enough to satisfy her. Then come with me, I'll give you the upper today. Saying that, Hu Yanlan walked towards the red flag car. Chen Mo was a bit confused and glanced at Chi Kite. Military seat, the mentor means for you to follow her. Don't lose her. That red flag car of teacher Hu Yen's. All the accessories have all been empowered by her. It's far from being something that an ordinary person can keep up with. Chi Kite added, a little worried about Chen Mo. However, Chen Mo was excited. Comparing speed? He hadn't been afraid of it yet. Chen Mo turned around and glanced at Xia Jin, who instantly understood, and instantly transformed into the explosive Skyfire Carp Ultra Racer. The moment he sat on the explosive Skyfire Carp, Chen Mo directly took out the multi-point refueling multi-loop cyclic warp engine that he had obtained earlier from the commander's warehouse. The biggest feature of this engine was that the speed of the mech could be increased infinitely when the commander had plenty of energy, and it supported multiple threads to provide energy and power at the same time. Only, the test of the commander's hand speed and reflexes was also quite harsh. If the commander's reflexes were insufficient, an extremely dangerous situation would likely occur. Chen Mo's heart was clear, but he also wanted to find out what his limits could reach. Chen Mo's empowerment had just ended, only to hear the engine of that red flag vehicle slamming, buzz. Hu Yanlan's style of doing things had always been thunderous. After sitting in the car, the car started violently. With a roar, the red flag car instantly turned into a stump and rushed out, quickly disappearing from Chen Mo's field of vision. Buzz, buzz. Chen Mo did not hesitate and rushed out right after him. The explosive Skyfire car that had replaced its engine was more like a swimming fish in the sea, and its streamlined body minimized wind resistance. Only, facing the red flag car that was fully endowed with spirit, no matter if it was Chen Mo or Xia Zhang, they were all under some pressure. There was no way. 
The red flag car was really too fast. Even the explosive Skyfire carp, which had pulled its speed to the highest level, was only able to see its tailpipe. After all, the explosive Skyfire carp did not have an empowered spirit, and such an achievement was already very successful. But Chen Mo was not satisfied. The red flag aircraft nymph's bioenergy was definitely not enough to support the consumption of the empowerment skill, especially since Hu Yan Lan had already opened a second empowerment skill under Chen Mo's pressure. And if it wasn't for Hu Yan Lan's own special skill as support, it was feared that the red flag aircraft nymph would have died long ago. Chen Mo pulled the energy supply to the maximum, the speed once again skyrocketed, and the strong feeling of pushing back even continued to intensify. For a while, under the speed of the two vehicles so fast that they could barely see the residual shadow, the dust on the road did not dissipate for a long time. Looking at the red dot on the radar that was getting closer and closer to him, even Hu Yan Lan was a bit surprised. Without professional training, how could it be so fast? Even if it was a top-of-the-line sports car, in case the commander made the slightest maneuvering mistake at such a fast speed, then there would definitely be an accident. However, it was obvious that Chen Mo's micro-manipulation was quite perfect, and the car traveled very smoothly. From this, it could be seen that Chen Mo's reaction speed and hand speed were far superior to those of ordinary commanders. Perhaps, Chen Mo could really be the one who could utilize the divine hidden system to its fullest extent. After all, it was only by harnessing the locomotive to the extreme that it was possible to better apply the skills he had learned to the mech. Thinking of this, Hu Yan Lan was even more satisfied with Chen Mo, seeing that they had reached their destination. The speed of the red flag car slowly dropped. The reason why she had come this far was actually not that Hu Yan Lan had deliberately made things difficult for Chen Mao. She just wanted to further see Chen Mao's potential, only to see Chen Mo driving the explosive Skyfire carp slowly parked behind her, his speed and distance controlled with perfection. The others, on the other hand, only followed a few minutes later in their ice phoenixes. Very good. The first time she felt such speed that surpassed the limit, both of her legs trembled a little as Xia Zheng transformed back into her human form, Chi Kite and the others. On the other hand, were somewhat less adapted to such speed, and the moment they got off the vehicle, they had some slight vertigo. Hearing Hu Yan Lan's phrase not bad, Chi Kite also froze. Knowing that she had followed Hu Yan Lan's studies for so long, she had never heard her praise a trainee. This sentence of not bad was already her highest evaluation of a commander. Chen Mo lightly smiled. It was you who inspired my desire to win, allowing me to surpass my limits, and it was also the first time I soared to this speed. However, Hu Yan Lan was not too convinced by Chen Mao's remark. Based on her experience, Chen Mao had not played to his limit, and the exploding Skyfire Carp still had room to go faster. At this time, Hu Yan Lan's ride, the red flag machine lady, had also transformed into a beautiful girl. Under such a high level of intensity, fine sweat oozed from her forehead, and her face was red from the high intensity of racing. On the contrary, it was Xia Zhang, although she had just been a bit weak-legged and unsteady. She had already relaxed after a short period of acclimatization. After all, with Chen Mo's empowerment so many times, as well as the effects brought about by the Annihilation upgrade, her own physical quality had also far surpassed that of the same level of mechanic ladies by many, many times. Hello, my name is Feng Jia. I'm Mr. Hu Yan's assistant. You're really strong. The most powerful commander I've ever seen. Feng Jia rushed at Chen Mo, then turned to Xia Zhang, panting slightly as she continued. You are also very fast, but this shouldn't be your limit, right? Thanks to my husband's reflexes and maneuvering, if it was myself, I couldn't reach such speed. Xia Zing's performance was also generous, humble yet not humble. Although Feng Jia was nominally Hu Yan Lan's assistant and driver, the fact was that the work she was responsible for was also quite important. How could someone who could achieve this position be a simple character? In addition to her status, she herself was also a woman with excellent looks. Only that her temperament was a bit more gentle compared to Hu Yan Lan. If Hu Yan Lan was a cold winter, then Feng Jia was a warm spring breeze. Let's go. Go inside. After Hu Yan Lan saw that the crowd had finished their greetings, she greeted everyone and walked inside. Only then did Chen Mo turn his head to look at the surroundings. Is this the Magic City Mecha University? Yes. Go in first. Saying that, Hu Yan Lan took large strides towards the inside of the school. Seeing the growing number of people gathered in the surrounding area due to curiosity, Chen Mo also knew that this was not the place to talk, and hurriedly led his people to follow him, and when the surrounding crowd saw that he was leaving, they were restless for a moment. Can't help it. Who let Chen Mo followed by all the stunning girls? Single out one is a turnover rate of 100% of the beauty. At this time a full five beautiful women gathered together. No wonder it can cause a commotion. Among the crowd, there are also a lot of unkind eyes and even some wanted directly on the hand. However, 
seeing that the leader was actually Hu Yanlan. In the end, he didn't dare to go up, not to mention accosting her, even looking at her was scary. Of course Chen Mo saw these unkind eyes, fortunately they didn't make a move, otherwise he wouldn't mind teaching them not to covet other people's women. The crowd followed behind Hu Yanlan and walked all the way to the backyard of the Magic Metropolis Mecca University. Compared to the front courtyard, the backyard was obviously a lot less crowded. The ones walking back and forth were either specific good students or some teachers doing academic research. Hu Yanlan led the crowd into a passageway, and after making sure no one was there, he signaled Feng Jia to make introductions, because your passes allow you to come and go as you please. Your identities are also different from the students inside. On the bright side, you guys are students of the backyard of the Magic Capital Mecca University, so you must pay more attention when entering and exiting, and if you can, it's best to say hello to me in advance. Feng Jia admonished. Listening to Feng Jie's introduction, Chen Mo could already guess as well. The entrance into the Starfire training camp was established in the backyard of the Magic Metropolis Mecha University in order to hide it better. After walking along the passageway for a bit longer, the environment instantly became different from the outside. The planet-loaded buildings filled with a sci-fi feeling were simply refreshing. Even though he had seen cities built as high-tech as the Forbidden Land of Zin, Chen Mo was still stunned by the buildings here for a split second. This is Teacher Hu Yen's office. And since the training camp itself is closed and there aren't many people, the entrance to enter it is in this office. Because you guys need to enter and exit frequently, Teacher Hu Yen has already finished authorizing you. Feng Jia introduced while taking the crowd on a very high-tech special elevator. After descending almost a hundred meters from the office, the ultra-luxurious and ultra-high-tech underground city appeared in front of the crowd. To be honest, the sense of technology here was almost the same as the Forbidden Land of Tsu City. After passing a validation once again, they finally arrived at their destination, the Starfire Training Camp. Although this place was a hundred meters underground, there was no sense of gloom at all, and the light environment used mimetic technology to look no different from the environment on the ground. If they hadn't seen it with their own eyes and walked through it personally, they really wouldn't have thought that the Starfire program, which made the top commanders and machine girls fall in love with it, was actually underground a hundred meters below, and it was worth mentioning that this mimetic technology was also invented by Huyan Lan. The Starfire program is a classified program. There shouldn't be many people in the training camp, right? Xia Zhen looked at such a high-tech underground city and asked with some confusion. Feng Jia had long since seen the doubts of the crowd and immediately explained. In fact, this is not only the home base of the Starfire training camp, but it also undertakes the development and research issues of many classified programs, and it also has the most complete strategic backup in the entire Divine Dragon country. This is also considered to be the most powerful research place, bar none. The weapon development methods that were previously plundered away by the magical beasts are also in the process of being restored here as much as possible, as well as researching more various weapons that are more adapted to future forms of warfare. Listening to Feng Jie's introduction, Chen Mo's heart trembled fiercely. Doesn't this mean that the top researchers and all the classified programs of the Divine Dragon Kingdom were all gathered in this underground city? And wouldn't the most complete strategic backup directly resolved? Wouldn't that be a great help to him? Knowing that the research projects in the Forbidden Land of Jean City were also quite top-notch projects, the high technology left behind by Drew, if combined with the parsing of the advanced accessories, with enough time, it would surely become the center of science and technology. Moreover, the Forbidden Land of Tsu City also has quite a say in security and defense. Just the desperate nanowire that they got when they first entered the Forbidden Land is enough for them to research, not to mention the Force Field Shield, which is almost without any weaknesses. If they were able to push back on the weaknesses from the perspective of research and development, and then make a targeted response weapon, it would simply be a brick wall, and security would be greatly enhanced. Unconsciously, under Feng Jie's lead, the crowd entered the core area of the underground city. It was only until now that Hu Yanlan slowly opened his mouth and asked, Are you going to familiarize yourself with the environment first, or are you going to meet Chu Wanner first? Chu Wanner, an SSS-class aircraft carrier? was also the most powerful ship girl in the Starfire training camp. It was also the ultimate goal of this time when Chen Mo came to the Starfire training camp. However, for some reason, Chen Mo always had a premonition that this delicate rose carried thorns. Moreover, along the way, through Chen Mu's careful observation, he realized that Hu Yanlan's every move had a hidden deep meaning. Just like when she was at the entrance of the hotel, she suddenly tested her strength by racing her car. Chu Wanner, an SSS-class aircraft carrier, even Yu Hongru had only mentioned it to him and did not directly notify him to come to the contract, so he thought that there must be high requirements for the commander as well, so it could be imagined how cautious this contract was. He, definitely couldn't be too hasty. Let's see what Chu Wan arranges, does she want to see me first? 
Chen mowed through the question back without showing any trace, holding the initiative in his own hands. That's still unclear for the time being, but which machine girl can resist the temptation of an SSS-ranked perfect commander? After saying that, Hu Yanlan raised an eyebrow and glanced at Chen Mo. This glance made Chen Mo feel that there must be something in it that Yu Hongru hadn't told him in detail. So, sensing the subtle atmosphere in the air, Feng Jie hurriedly stepped forward to explain. Chen Mo, Chu Wan Er's identity is not ordinary. The VPF family, her father's status is not bad. Her mother is even the president of the Chamber of Commerce. The children of the Chu family are more hardcore than one another. And this one's not so good status is enough to make the nation's top commanders squeeze their heads to grab for a son-in-law from the Chu family. But where the Chu family provides them with a portion of the resources, even if it's a little bit, it is enough to let their strength skyrocket. Moreover, the Starfire training camp gathers most of the top SSS ranked outstanding commanders, and at the same time, all of their own backgrounds are not bad. So, can you understand if I say this? Chen Mo looked at Feng Jie's expression of hidden deep meaning and instantly understood. This Chu Wanner must be the camp flower of this Starfire training camp. There are many suitors, and the conditions of the suitors are all outstanding. Hu Dianlan is afraid that he can't resist Ah. However, this group of people is also really interesting. What time is it now? The magical beasts have almost finished overrunning the entire Blue Star. And they, as top commanders, are here to steal women? Wouldn't it be better to have a direct fight and the one with the highest strength would win? However, Chen Mo was not very worried. After all, his strength and talent was unrivaled, and his value was right here. The rest, just leave it to Chu Wanner to rip herself off. A pit like love bodyguard, falling into it once should grow on you. As for those commanders who blocked his path, if there was one way bin, there would be millions of them. He wasn't spoiled. Ha! If a commander contracts a machine girl and can only see the benefits she brings to herself behind her back, then they can only go so far. Unlike me, I still mainly look at the beauty of the machine lady. Chen Mei laughed lightly. And for a moment, he directly exasperated Hu Yanlan. Feng Jie stood on the side, looking at Chen Mao with a strange face, as if joking, but also as if testing. She asked, what about me? Could it be that I am also within your consideration? Chen Mei hooked his lips and smiled. Of course, it's just that I'm afraid that teacher Hu Yan won't be willing. Although Chen Mo did not know exactly how good Hu Yanlan he Feng Jie was, but Feng Jie was not only Hu Yanlan's assistant, but she was also fully empowered by Hu Yanlan so he thought that the relationship must be very close. However, speaking of this, Chen Mo glanced at Hu Yanlan. I just don't know how much Hu Yanlan has empowered herself. It can't be worse than Feng Jie, right? Could it be that his entire body was empowered with S rank? Should I forcefully log in and take a look? However, the moment this idea appeared, it was rejected by Chen Mo. Not to mention that Hu Yanlan was standing right in front of him, in case she found out that he had forcefully logged in. I'm afraid that he wouldn't have the chance to contract her in his life. Feng Jie looked at Chen Mo's serious contemplation, then saw Chen Mo's expression as he looked at Hu Yanlan, and then looked at Hu Yanlan's cold and frosty face, not knowing what she was thinking about. And for a moment, she actually had some hidden expectations. Why? I'm just kidding. Seeing that the topic was sidetracked, Chen Mo did not continue to delve into this topic. I'd better go and take a look at Chu Wanner first. My machinima will get rid of you to take them. Walk around and familiarize yourself with them. After saying that, Chen Mo turned around and walked out. Chi Kite hurriedly followed. Military commander, the order I received was to protect your safety. I have to follow you. All right, then you're with me. Hu Yanlan looked at Chen Mo's back and hurriedly reminded. Don't get into trouble. Chen Mo turned his back to her and waved his hand. He naturally knew what Hu Yanlan meant. Don't lay your hands on Chu Wan Air's group of lickspittles when you run into them. But the fact that Hu Yanlan didn't stop him also showed that as long as there weren't any major problems, she could handle it.